In the year 2045, the world was hit by a catastrophic pandemic that decimated the population. Governments and institutions fell, leading to chaos and the rise of warring factions. To gain control, a series of nuclear and biological weapons were launched, and classified military technology was unleashed. Survivors struggled in the radioactive wasteland that remained, but the chaos didn't stop there. Dark magic awakened. Demons and monstrosities emerged, and the dead began to rise from their graves, intensifying the nightmare that the world had become. Some said the world was being undone. Others called it the rebirth. Hey, you there. Wake the hell up. You can't do this alone. Holy crap, what a way to start off a playthrough. Okay, so while our saviors are probably just clearing out this POI, probably they just stumbled upon me as they happened through here, uh, but while they're kind of holding off the zombies and trying to clear this place out, I am... Uh, oh, there's a burning zombie in there. Hold up for just one second. Is this guy dead already? Oh my god, multiples. They have already ripped straight through here. Explosive immune zombie with sample remains of explosive immune zombie. It's some kind of a trophy sitting inside of them. Probably going to be important at some point. Might have to kind of like use those for bartering or for proof that I'm a badass warrior. Okay, dismember Steve just a little bit. Grab up whatever's in these loot bags and these zombies. Another explosive immune zombie, man. I lucked out there a little bit and some peas as well. So anyway, I'm gonna loot up these bodies as fast as I can and get the clothing off of them and the brains. And meanwhile, I wanna talk to you guys about this mod. This is called Rebirth Mod. This is made by a creator named Furious Ramsey. And first of all, there's so much in this mod that I can't even begin to tell you everything you know, in the span of a couple of minutes. We'll have to discover this all together. But what I will say is that in the testing that I've done in this mod so far, this is incredible. This is the real deal, guys. I'm telling you what, this mod is right up there with other big mods like Undead Legacy. Ooh, look at that stuff. And Darkness Falls and War of the Walkers and you know, other big overhauls just like this. A repairable buggy. We'll have to keep that in mind because I wouldn't mind having this at some point. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, it's right up there, guys. And we've been sleeping on this mod for too long. It's time to kind of bring this mod into the limelight, give it a real test and see what this mod's all about. Because I think within a matter of months or maybe a couple of years, this is going to be probably the best mod in Seven Days to Die. But we're starting small here. I'm not gonna make too many judgments too early on, because like I said, I've only played this a little bit here and there. Furious Ramsey was kind enough to kind of give me a walkthrough, and Furious Ramsey also has his own YouTube channel where he goes over patch notes and changes, and he gives you tutorials on what to do and how to do it, and also has his own couple of playthroughs if you want to kind of get uh, a better sense of what you should be doing, right? You don't want to listen to me just yet. I don't know quite what's going on. We're going to figure it out. And speaking of what's going on, there's a lot of politics and like mysteries going on in this world. And we will get to all that eventually. But it's a little bit overwhelming right now just figuring out how to start off. And uh, my red tea just wore off. I had drank some red tea there at the start, which gives you like extra run speed, better carrying capacity, but that is no more. And I got really, really roughed up there, unfortunately. We did not uh, get through that battle unscathed by any means. So what we should probably work on now is, uh, yeah, let's finish up that starting quest if we can. We need to craft two ropes, a stone ax, and this teleport to backpack, which basically is like a instant teleport to your backpack. <laughs> kind of self-explanatory. I'm just going to craft it to get the quest over with and toss it. Not probably something hey, that I want to use. Over here. And hello there. Who do we got here? Where are you? Yes, we've got Candrus08, who is also known as Briston and will in the future be known as Briston. But this one time Good here, job. we're now speaking to Candrus. 
Candice is going to give me a starter pack. I'm going to choose Charisma. We'll talk more about that in a little bit and uh, say goodbye to him. Gone forever. Now that that's done, it says uh, that I need to locate the trader. So I'm going to head over there now and that'll be good anyway so I can sell off the clothing that we've picked up here. Okay, so while I'm loafing around here, uh, let's talk about the map. The map will be available for download and you can check the description of this video for the most up-to-date settings and everything like that. Links, downloads, blah, 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 and probably more information on like the sort of mod pack that I'm running with. But this is like, it's not only a compo pack, map this is like compo pack plus others and so just check the description if you want to download the map Ooh, got gunfire and if you want more information on how to run it hello oh we got a zombie here oh there he is right there so oh there's two of them i'm not sure exactly yet if these are bandits or survivors i think they're survivors so let's go introduce ourselves zombie brody almost killed me well I think I'll just stay in here and let the survivors handle it. Take him out! Beat him over the head! I don't know who you are yet. We'll figure that out briefly. There we go. Look, I even got the kill. Oh man, I don't I don't know about her. Take her out. Okay, who are you? Loremaster Will! Bro! I, t I totally want to hire you, but I can't. I don't have high enough charismatic nature. Charismatic nature is the skill that governs, like, who you can hire and how many, and then... Uh, Lacey Lou is just taken off to go fight some more zombies. May we cross paths again, my friends. For now, though, let's loot the compound. I'm kind of a new trader that I haven't quite seen before. Everything is searchable in this mod, so make sure you're checking everything. And holy crap, some good food in there. We'll take that. In fact, just, just stay in there, I suppose, for now, and I'll come and get you when I'm hungry. And what we got? Ooh, weapons. This is like a main loot in here. Unfortunately, I can't open up any of, like you know, these boxes. And they, we got some low grade gun parts, low grade, low, all low grade gun parts. I'm not exactly sure how weapon crafting works. I know it's a little bit different though. And then we've got a pipe rifle and another pipe machine gun. Now, also weapon quality is, um, is different. So no more does it have like levels one through six. I'm not sure if, uh, you know, if certain guns will be better than others, or if they're all kind of more or less the same. Okay, I think the trader's around this corner. Yes, the, oh, trader wrecked, lovely. Gonna get a quest reward here for finding him. 200 old cash, gone our dukes in our, just our old currency. I'll take the beef ration. I'll take a job, and holy cow, look at the jobs available to us. They are actually sorted by distance, so I'll take the the clear zombies here at the garage and uh for a lot of these these are going to be there's going to be a preview here but i've added in a whole bunch of extra pois which don't have the previews generated and it says we have to do a total of nine tier one jobs until we get to tier two and by doing jobs that will increase our charisma and by increasing our charisma we can get more soldiers and possibly other benefits that i don't know yet where am i going i gotta sell Okay, that'll do for now. And as for these things, these are just notes. You can read through these um, and get a sort of better sense for how things go here. But I'll give you the lowdown right about now. So if you look at your skills, now this is like a little shortcut here to tell you what your level is. But it tells you like where you are toward leveling up in dexterity and constitution, which are basically the new agility and fortitude, strength, intelligence, and charisma. We have no perception anymore. It's kind of been split between the others. The reason why I want to go into charisma and eventually into charismatic nature is because this governs how many survivors you can hire. Currently, we're at zero, basically, but eventually we can get up to four. So let's start working on that. Take the starter pack, open it up. Take this... Uh, Injection for charisma, that's basically like compound Z. Blast that into my leg. Take the sunglasses, go to recipes, and I'm going to craft charismatic nature glasses. And slap those on. And then I'm gonna open up my class reference book. And here's the thing, you gotta choose a class. You can only have one to start off with. Once you max out a class, you can choose a second. If you choose Berserker, you can't choose any other classes. You're locked in there forever, and you can't use firearms apart from Horde Knight. But you're basically the most badass melee warrior the world has ever seen. You've got Builder, Butcher, Hunter, Madman, Soldier, Sous Chef, Techno Geek, Thug, and Witch Doctor. And just because I'm curious to see what the Witch Doctor is all about, and I want to be the most badass necromancer to grace the land, I'm going to go ahead and craft these. 
that's done. Witch Doctor training instructions, just a manual. You read this, accept the quest. That's gonna give you a box that you immediately slap down outside the trader bounds. Grab what's inside here, take the Witch Doctor class book, use it, and there it is. It's official. Look down in the bottom left corner here. I am a Witch Doctor and I have a certain progress bar. Now, if you go to your skills, hang on a second, we got someone sneaking up. Nope, it's just uh, Lore Master Will. Probably gonna go clear this POI here. Watch out for landmines, Will. I, I guarantee you there's some over there. Okay, so what that's done for me is it gave me Briston. Briston is the guy that we met earlier. We're gonna set him down right there. We can just stand around until Zed decides we look like it's next meal. Oh, don't give me lip like that. I, we just met, literally. Whoa, okay. We, wait, wait, wait. We got zombies here. Help! Everybody help me! Floormaster Will, get back here! Oh, no! Okay, gotta run here. I'm gonna hide in here, and you guys can deal with that mess. I guess I do have guns now. I can work on them, too. Oh, great aim. <laughs> Good thing I have these guys with me. All right, second try. Ah, there we go. My goodness, do I? I don't have any first aid, do I? We're gonna probably have to go back and see Trader Wrecked and see if he's selling any. Hey, bud, got any Percocets? Oh, I got another something for something. Oh, painkillers, though. Or pipe bombs. Oh, I'm a sucker for pipe bombs. <laughs> Hopefully he's selling something. Nope, he's not selling a damn thing. Trainer's Mission Pack. Let's open that up, and that gave me a whole bunch of these, like, books. I don't quite know what those are all about, but we'll figure that out later. All right, what I do know is that I should now have a new quest line. And the Witch Doctor Trainer right here, let's make that active. It wants me to craft frame shapes. In order to craft frame shapes, you're gonna have to have the hammer out, like literally in your hand. You need a hammer to make frame shapes. Makes more sense than I ever realized. So craft those. That took the nails and the wood that was given to me by a quest. And while we're at it, let's take these generic DNA boosts, or AKA compound Z is what I'll call it. And we're gonna slap those into the auto injector. So just hit recipes, charisma, craft. Recipes, Charisma, Craft. And then we take the the, the booster, now that it's crafted, and we cra put that into the auto injector, jam it into me, get the 50% injection. And you can see that in the bottom left corner. The next time I inject that, you probably will see that go up a little bit. There you go, level one. Ugh, are you overwhelmed yet? <laughs> Man, there's a lot going on. Definitely a little bit of a learning curve here. Okay, next up, one of my rewards there was to get this toolbox. So I'll place that down in the road here. And that gave me a couple of extra resources, like for example, the hammer and the pliers. Now I need to make hammer and pliers, it's a combination item, which turns it into a, like a workstation tool. That's done, set that into the toolbox, and now I can craft a secure door. There it is, we're off to a good start here. So just put the door down there, I guess, and then, did that, um, who are you? Zombie Mateo. I'll work on my scythe skills. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Do not take any damage because I will die. Okay, good. It's interesting. Zombie Mateo not wearing a shirt and no shirt to be found in his inventory. The attention to detail, guys, is just unreal. Okay, so that gave us another new character, Jerem the Witch Doctor. So set him down, and he, his nickname is Donover. I guess, I don't know. But what's happened here is that I've included my Patreon supporters as named characters in this mod, so we'll be seeing all kinds of cool new people that have supported me along the way, and they will continue to support me along here in Rebirth. All right, Donover, let's have a little chat. This guy is gonna sell me a bunch of missions basically that will help me unlock blueprints for certain items okay we will also look more into that later now these are like followers but they're not like regular npc followers these guys are stationary so all of the trainers like every class the classes that we looked at here all of these classes have their own trainer. They all look different, they have different weapons, they sell different things, and then everyone will get Briston. They're just gonna be hanging out at the base, basically, once we get one. And uh, who was that? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. It's a woman. It is a survivor. It is Whisper 13. All right, we'll give Whisper a hand here. Whoa, don't die. In fact, just don't even fight, because these guys are fast. Guys, help. Thank you. Okay, I can't afford a an NPC right now anyway. I really should have taken those painkillers. That was kind of stupid. And here's just another note. This just gives you a lot of important information. So definitely give these a read if it's your first time. But I, you know, I, I'm pretty confident that I 
halfway know what I'm doing at least. Okay, so anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. You can say, come with me, and that will cost me some money, and he'll go back into my inventory. So that's how you would relocate these guys. Right, so... I think we're uh, we're done, right? Are we good? I want to pull up the map because our next mission here is uh, to fill up a bunch of jars of murky water. And it looks like there's some kind of like a water treatment plant over here. So that might be where we should, we'll have to go anyway to, uh, to get some water. Or, no, 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 that's not true. We can actually get water out of sinks. Let's uh, check and see if there's a sink in one of these trailers. Oh, there's a sink right there. Is there a zombie in here? Because if there is, I'm going to have to hightail it. Okay, cooking pot there, which is interesting. Some food here, some coffee and cat food. Coffee and cat food, classic combination there. Vitamins, not helpful. And right, so I just go up to the sink and let's just search it and then right click and that fills up my water, lovely. And that gave me like a campfire, a cooking pot, some wood, stuff like that, some food there. No first aid though. Where's like an ambulance when you need one? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know about an ambulance. I don't know about uh, popping pills, that'd be nice too. But I'm in like the farming side of town over here it seems. And there's a little wolf over there that's uh, working his way over to me, so no thanks. <laughs> Head back to the safety of my crew over here to see what's next. Place the campfire and gather boiled water. So I gotta, I gotta, it's like just teaching me how to like start the game right here. This is gonna be our base of operations over, whoa, over here. Oh, Loremaster Will is trying to take out the wolf. Also, my guys are trying to do the same thing. You'll notice that, the, oh geez, run away. Thanks guys. Yeah, you'll notice the wolves. Look at the wolves. They have new animations, new appearance. They look really, really sexy. There's also like moose and uh, deer, boar, bear. They all have new um, like stuff. And there's also dogs. There's like 10 different breeds of dog. And, and there's, uh, <laughs> there's just so much cool stuff. I can't wait to show it all to you. Okay, we're boiling up some water here. Not that it's really much better than the murky water. I think the murky water probably gives you like, uh, I don't know, a 15% chance of dysentery and it's a 5% chance of dysentery when you're drinking the boiled water. So you've got to get distilled water, which requires a distiller, which is a whole process to get to, but we'll get there eventually. Okay, so while that's cooking and we're going to complete that quest, I'm going to go ahead and start this quest. Oh, was that a bandit? Loremaster Will, can you watch my back here? Because that guy could probably just knock my lights out here. Hello? Oh, he just um, completely disappeared, despite the fact that he's dressed in neon yellow. Uh, there he is over there, and I don't really want much to do with him. What I'm going to do here, hit this quest. Yeah, just, oh, geez, now I have to um, watch how far I go away from the POI or I'll fail it. And could I maybe get the kill here? Nope, but I'll get the loot out of him. Ah, blood bag. Damn it. That's a first aid item, too, so the game is working against me here. Whoa, what are you guys doing in here? Be careful. Yeah, just draw them outside and if I could perhaps blow that up, that might help me uh, with regard to that bandit there. I don't I don't want to fight him. It's <laughs> Le Big Troll. Sorry, buddy. Oh, he's got a baseball bat though, which is kind of cool. Although I'm not, I'm trying to, oh, ah, oh, what's going on? Oh, geez, paranoid. One shot kills me now. <laughs> We're playing one-shot kill mod right now. Oh, we've got Whisper over here and Loremaster Will helping me out. They're just volunteering their services, I guess. Hey, I'll take it. Oh, and that uh, finishes the quest for me, too. So I might just run back and see if there's any uh, good reward for me. Like, uh, for example, bandages, painkillers, you know, the stuff I should have taken the first time around. Okay, wrecked. Anything good for me this time, please? Ah, oh, Molotovs, though. I can't say no to that. Although really, I should not be using Molotovs with Fire Mod on, <laughs> but I can't help it. Okay, next job will be, I suppose, uh, is that a clear zombies? I don't want to do clear. I would be more than happy to do a fetch, but these are all like really kind of far away. Ooh, okay, Modern House is the closest for clear zombies. As much as I don't want to do it, I'm going to. Oh, what a bummer. Shut up, Wrecked. I gotta deal with you for the next frickin' several weeks? Great. So, what I could do, just because I'm going to need you guys, is I could say, come with me, and accept, and go ahead and come with me and accept. Oh, that's a first aid kit, thank goodness, put it into me! Yeah, so now basically I feel like I spent all that money for nothing, because, uh, 
I was going to just station them out here. In fact, where are we right now? Okay, that's where we spawned in. That's like the police headquarters there. This is the water treatment plant that I marked on the map, which is kind of an interesting place. And there's a couple trailers over there that we walked by. There's the Malibu Club, which looks pretty cool on the outside at least. Might have to go in there and check it out. Then there's this modern house here, which actually might really not be a bad place to kind of set up shop. It's got a, it's got a garage. It has a front yard and I believe it has a backyard too, all closed in. That's pretty cool. And then we have this like mansion over here with a big wall and a big tower. And that's the quiet pines down there. And if I am looking correctly, that is actually wasteland down there at the end of the road. And then there's this place here, which, uh, you know, not the worst neighborhood. All right, well, the day is starting to get away from me, so we'll check the mail. Hit the quest. Check the mail. Nothing there. Oh, we are fully maxed out on health again. That's perfect. Ooh, who's, who's that over there? I'm just gonna sneak up on this guy. This is a zombie graybeard. Oh, man, he's a tough one, too. Oh, wow, this shotgun does, like, next to nothing, and... I've attracted in a whole bunch of zombies, and they've also figured out how to get to me from there. Great. Oh, I was going to use a pipe bomb, but I do not, absolutely do not, want to start a fire here. If we're going to live here for a couple of days, we need this place in pristine condition. Yeah, this just seems like a really bad idea here, but uh, I'll do it anyways. Oh, Loremaster Will, are you here? Are you with me? Appreciate the help. Holy crap, there's six or seven zombies here. That's always nice. Okay, we're just gonna use Loremaster Will. We're gonna skirt the side here. Ooh, ah, I'm getting roughed up again. Oh, geez, they're fast. Here, up and up. And we should be good up here for now. <laughs> they're gonna make the loop around again and Loremaster Will is gonna chase him down in the pro process. Ah, skinny little Tommy boy here. Finish you off. And the zombie Greybeard. <laughs> the original one that kicked all this off and while I'm at it go ahead and grab their stuff and start scrapping it down Oh, we got a couple more dropping in here Zombie Emmett take him out And zombie yo, it seems like some of these guys are much more resistant to melee than others Like maybe there's a toughness factor black die scrap scrap. Okay crawler Loremaster Will, where are you? Hopefully I get enough money, I'd be happy to hire you at this point. Yep, no clothing on that guy, what a surprise, but they had a couple bullets onto him. Zombie Yo here, wearing an appropriate assortment of items, even properly dyed. We got another repairable buggy here with an engine in it, which might sell for a little bit, $204. And this is really cool because you can actually craft vehicles in this mod, or if you'd like, whoa, zombie butcher! Uh, oh jeez, don't go in there. There's a there's an explosion immune zombie in there. Just uh, jump my way back up here. Yeah, you can either craft the vehicle itself or you can craft the repair kit for the vehicle and just, you know, fix it in the wild. Okay, big man, you and me up here. Yeah, see, this is, um, this is not a good weapon. Oh, blew him right off the fence. Okay, he's weakened now. Finish him off with a scythe if I can. There we go. And, oh, he's got animal fat on him. Oh, that makes so much sense. Okay, where's that explosion immune zombie? There's actually a couple more in there. Are you guys all dead or are you alive? Oh, they're dead, yes, because he just despawned. I thought he might be a sleeper until I saw all these others over here. Hey, Will, have you just moved in here at this point? The area is clear, so we are all set here. And uh, I might, what do we got here anyway? We've got a kitchen. So we got a source of water. We've got uh, some food. We got some medical supplies here with uh, hydrochloric acid and vitamins. There's a gas stovetop here, which is really interesting. I could potentially do some cooking on that, or what even is this? Oh yeah, you can cook on it. You can make uh, calcium chloride, beeswax, activated charcoal. Wow, that's an interesting find, actually. A working appliance. I mean, it's a gas stovetop, so it doesn't need electricity or anything like that. We have a garage here, which is fun. And let's check the upstairs. Laundry room. Could I get lucky here? Maybe get a college jacket right off the bat? Of course not, but some ammo. It's an interesting, it's a good consolation prize and a cooking top there. We've got a one bedroom and a balcony. 
ratchet schematic and a flashlight. Got a second bedroom in here, and this would be where the main loot is. Yeah, and I'm just putting that insulated liner mod on here so that I can uh, wear it. And, ooh, another butcher. Whoa! Fast mover, and I'm totally encumbered right now. Come on down here. Same trick as before. Interestingly, the reload speed when you're running is really not that bad. I don't think run and gun is a thing anymore. All right, it's almost nightfall, so I'm content to just get the main loot out of here and we'll hang out at the trader compound for tonight. It looks like that's it. Okay, it is nightfall and yes, the 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 survivor that was out there with the pipe machine gun, she's gone. She's gone. Or more pipe bombs. Wrecked, you're speaking my language. Well, there's not much else to do here except for do some reading tonight. I think I'll probably start off by looking at these things. So look here. Mining. By completing the mission, you will be rewarded with the following item blueprint. Forge. Alchemy table, furnace, circular saw, gas stovetop, which we just found at the mansion over there. So let's just read all of these to get them out of the inventory and see what they need me to do. This wants me to just um, do some mining in the snow. Is that, could that be what this is? And it gave me some drinks in order to do that. And presumably I could just continue reading all of these. Oh, this one, I don't meet the player requirement. I have to be a level 10 to do that one. This one is uh, also giving me some, it says snow. I'm not sure if that's true. They want me to get rid of some mutated animals. Keep whatever I kill, just get rid of them. Okay, and this is gonna give me a stone sledgehammer and 40 bullets to kill the cloaked prototypes. My goodness, the Trader Network has been experimenting with cloaking technology, and some of their prototypes have escaped. So, man, there's a lot going on here. So, Trader Wrecked is a part of the Trader Network, and presumably the others that found me earlier uh, were also a part of the Trader Network, but it seems as though... They, um, they're up to some kind of nefarious deeds. Now, I have heard rumors that there are, I mean, there's like, there's demons out here, there's monsters, there's, of course, the zombies of all varieties. There are skeleton warriors that are sort of like fueled by some sort of a dark magic. There are bandits, there's the Black Shields, there's the Pandemic Clan, there's the Post-Apocalyptic Clan, and then there's me trying to kind of sort all of this out and forge my own path and carve out my little slice of this world. All right, it's just about to tick morning here finally, and I'm gonna squeak my hand through the fence and grab up that guy. I think I've sufficiently weakened all of the zombies. I've shot them all like 10 times because I wanna run out here and actually get the kill with the scythe. Let's just have a real quick drink of water or, or should we, yeah, we should wait until we get the water off the fire. Okay, let's run out here. Everyone should be on a slightly slower run speed now. There we go. Yep, she's nice and weak. Zombie nerd, nice and weak. Zombie brute, pretty weak as well. And zombie old crone, the same. Nice. And just uh, run over here. There's big boys over here. Pizza. Call him pizza because he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. And I like Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> Plus, you know, the appearance of his face may or may not resemble some certain types of pizza. I don't really know. Well, let me show you the map real quick. We got the tier one fetch over here to the west. The mortar and pestle thing is down to the south. The circular saw hunt thing is to the north. Although if I look at my quests, I mean, it seems like, oh no, scratch that. So wait a minute. I thought I had to, oh, this one here, you have to gather iron. I see. Okay. So that's a completely different one right there. These ones, you actually have to go to these special locations and complete those quests. Okay. Campfire here should have my water. Water. This is boiled water. So 5% chance of dysentery and only 15 on the hydration. But I'm super thirsty, so I'm gonna have to chance it here a couple of times. Okay, so far so good. No dysentery yet. Yep. Okay, that'll do for now. I don't want to push my luck too hard. And let's now head into town and start doing that quest over there. So one interesting thing that I wanted to point out here that I just remembered is that you see this, um, this green icon here at the bottom? That means that I'm on the road and I can run quickly. But if I were to say just head off here off the beaten path, it turned red. And so you actually get a speed boost depending on what type of terrain that you're on. And there's a wolf down here at the end of this field, but I'm gonna grab up just a little bit of this corn for eating later. And I also kind of want to see if I can gather this stump up here. Yep, wolf, just uh, don't mind me, buddy. Uh, no honey out of that, but I did get a good 
fair amount of wood. Is this another survivor? It must be a survivor. It is Victoria. Hello, hello. Take this guy down together. There we go. Nice. Now I wonder, do I have... I have $1,900. I am totally gonna hire you up. Yes, my first companion, Victoria. Maybe we should call you Victor? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it comes out naturally. Okay, I guess we're pressing on then. A team of two now. Either way, hey, check out this bus. Oh, look, it's a caribou. Bus first, then ca uh, caribou. Or is this uh, is this gonna be hostile to me? Stag. I don't remember, because some things like are hostile to you, some animals, and others are not. And I'm not sure where this one stands there. Take him out! Oh my god, he's got so many hit points. He's got like 500 hit points. I do believe he's trying to attack us right now. And he's very fortunately stuck behind that wall. Perfect. Yes, we are the the pipe pistol group here. We gotta come up with a gang name. Holy cow! Got some freaking knockdown power. All right, got your back there. All right, how about this caribou? I wonder, is this a good harvest tool? No, no, you gotta use the regular knife. Get a little bit of steak for tonight. And uh, I'm just kind of now realizing that I do believe that all books have been removed from this mod. You're gonna get your skills somewhere else, it seems. And here we are rolling up on the site. Is this, is this it? It's a freaking park of all places. Or is this a subway? Yeah, Station South. I think this has probably an underground portion. It is just a tier one though, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, compo pack and tier one don't always uh, mean the same thing, but I'm a lot more confident in my ability to get through here now that uh, we've got our friend here. Although if you could just sneak down, that might be really, really helpful to me. And just power attack. What do you say, Victoria? Wanna play some one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> oh, here we go. A couple more here. Oh, there's a... Zombie Greybeard. Those ones are a little bit tougher. And Zombie Mateo. These are both a couple of couple of tough zombies here. Ah, uh, you stole my kill there. That was totally mine. Definitely calling this one though. Oh wow. Nope, you can have him. Telling you what, man. Oh, there's a wolf over there. Ooh, let's get some space for that guy because uh, I'm encumbered right now. We gotta start scrapping down clothing again. Yep, that's the plan. Let this zombie over here weaken the wolf. Oh, it's a biker, so they can just weaken each other. Although. Kind of looks like the wolf is winning. A little bit terrifying. There's another zombie kind of lurking in the bushes here too. That you, Arlene. It is, of course. He looks to be hung up much the same way that uh, that Arlene was. Got him. Um, zombie dog. Two of them. Get him, Victoria. Ow. Oh my goodness, this is not turning out well. <laughs> Just running circles through the bushes. Ah, zombie. There we go, dog is down. And I think we've got the, where's the zombie over here? Oh, we've got another survivor. You crazy bastard, Candrus, not wearing any clothes at all and has a longbow. Getting in touch with his primitive side, I guess. Either way, I'll take the backup. Nice job, guys. Oh, I just noticed I'm infected and I sprained my arm. Ah, lovely. Okay, so the explosion that we heard was this site right here. This is a familiar site to anyone who's, uh, been uh, following me recently. What do we got in here? Oh, here's the main loot. Hey, some boiled water. I thought that was gonna be distilled water. But yeah, I wanted to take this. You can basically take anything you want in this mod. So anything that you think would work well for storage or decoration or even electronics, like these are working light bulbs, you can take them right with you. If you want a street light, jump up there and grab the street light take it home ah right there that's why I, did, I walked right by it basically there we go all right now we're done back to the trader oh, and i never did actually see if there was a main loot in here which of course there is extra frames there and oh from what i've heard also these empty looking shelves and they are they are searchable good so a little bit of extra loot in here that otherwise we wouldn't have had good toolbox extra hammer and main loot chest I guess I'll just eat that. Impact Bracing Mod's a good find. Take the rest, take this, and uh, why don't we grab that toolbox too? Oh, purse pistol too. What a good find, nice. Also some purse breakfast and some purse lockpicks and some purse money. That person was prepared, whoever that belonged to. All right, Victor and I are here back at Trader Rex and we're gonna grab up a quest reward here just a second. Uh, 
Uh, nothing terribly good, although now that I have the 9mm pistol, probably gonna just roll with the 9mm ammo. Take a new job to... How about this passing gas over here? That'll do. But instead of doing that right away, I would like to see if we can figure out a situation for, like, a home base. Yeah, we need to start setting up like a base, you know, a base of operations, and I'm not entirely sure how difficult the crafting and construction system is, if it's more like Undead Legacy, where it's super difficult, or if it's more like Vanilla, which is super easy. But for now, I think it's nice to just have a, a quiet place to call home. There's really good visibility here. I should probably see and find out what this is all made out of. It's made out of concrete, which is just awesome, and bulletproof glass. So we don't have to worry so much about fires. We do have to worry about the zombies coming up into here though, but we also have good areas where we can set up like uh, Jerem and Briston so that they can help us out in terms of like uh, shooting zombies that roll up on us. I think I'm, I'm gonna do that right now. Just get them out of my inventory, set them up somewhere, right? So I'm gonna set up Briston right there and he's gonna just instantly start drawing in zombies. Great, so. You now have a name. Ronnie Scott Owens is your name now. Didn't, wait, you had a name earlier too, but I think the name resets every time you put them into or out of your inventory. <laughs> so we'll be cycling through a lot of different names here as we go along. Barbecue grill can sometimes have charcoals good, but sometimes also has a propane tank in it, which is useful. I think for making the the oven, the, the gas stove top, which is already kind of down here. Okay, cool. We got a nice little living room. We've got a two bedroom, one bath. And so I think I'll just roll with all the stuff that's up here right now, except uh, I don't really want that on the floor. Ooh, 250 hit points for the medical pill bottles. You know, the way they make pill bottles these days, it doesn't surprise me. Okay, so we got some boxes. We got a dresser. We got a weapons bag. This will do for now. All right, it's probably gonna take me and Victor a couple of trips, but I'm gonna get everything out of the traders and over here and we'll just kind of live here from now on. Okay, I'm back and everything's more or less put away now. I'm gonna go ahead and take this honeycomb because that actually cures my infection. I don't recall where I picked that up from, but uh, it was in my inventory from somewhere. And I need to build a campfire requiring small stone. Let's go ahead and just turn on inventory broadcasting for all of these. And that'll make things super easy for us. Don't have to search through all the boxes. All right, just like that, we actually don't have to unlock things like corn of the cob and grilled meat. We can just make those at baseline. So go ahead and work on the boiled meat and then follow that up with the boiled water. Oh, we've got wooden logs here along with the wood, tree branches, and sticks, which probably all have sort of like, you know, increasing or decreasing burn time, depending on how you look at it. And oh, the logs, they burn for a long time. All right, I think we've been refitted and refueled enough. Let's head out back into town and see what other trouble we can get into today. Gimme, gimme. Oh, what is this? Healing factor sunglasses. Wait a minute, if I put those on instead of my charisma ones, can presumably, can that start healing me? And I just heard these guys uh, letting some rounds off. Are you guys okay? Oh, a boar attack. Charge! Nice, we're having bacon tonight. Didn't that look cool though, that new boar model? Freaking awesome, man. This, uh, I'm telling you what, Furious Ramsey has done a, a stellar job on this mod. Not only that, but Ramsey has been very communicative with me, helping me get started, explaining how things work, working on some of the custom modifications for me. So, you know, props to him. Oh, look, a bear cub. Whoa, check this out. Just talking about the animals. Look at this little guy. Where's your Where's your mom and dad, actually? <laughs> Probably close by, but uh, I don't see them. I'm gonna leave him to it. There's no, there's no need to kill a bear. Come on now, leave him be. Oh, instead it looks like we are heading into the downtown area to clear out, what are we doing, the gaming den? Or is it, no, it's the passing gas right next door, which is actually really not the easiest tier one thing to clear out, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Ooh, man, she hit hard. 10 bucks for that. That's all I get for my efforts. Oh, bird. Yeah. Oh, you kidding me? You bastard. Oh, that, uh, maybe this can be used as a harvesting tool. Not exactly sure. Oh boy, here we go. Yep, get the good gun out. It looks like the wolf is going for me. Great, there we go. Okay, the whole neighborhood's awake now. Look out. 
Okay, don't take a hit from Mo. He could really, really mess me up. <laughs> Not even at the P. Wow, excellent decapitation. Very That's fitting. Mark. The hell was that? There we go. All done. I think I just leveled something up. I wasn't paying any attention, though, though to see what it was. And, oh, this can, I think, be used as a harvesting tool. Okay, good to know. And that's a survivor down there, it looks like, with a bow, just kind of running around. Okay, explosive immune zombie. Couple other zombies inside. I want to just check this. This is working. But uh, I'm not particularly hungry. Okay, before this guy gets carried away here, Victor... Ooh, grab that food. Man, the ice machines seem to be really, really good for food. Yeah, let's just kick this off. Because, whoops, I almost just chopped your head off. Because, yeah, inevitably... Oh, that actually despawned the explosive immune zombie and gave me a regular zombie. That's fair. Fair for me, anyway. Did you shoot the vending machine? You're definitely not supposed to do that. Oh, jeez. Man, I'm, I'm too encumbered. Here, Victor, lighten my load a little bit, buddy. Uh, the, the other... There's one trick. Oh, let's grab this, just in case uh, something bad happens. We can just hightail it out of here. Yeah, the trick is you can kind of climb up there and then shoot across and kill the zombies, but I think I'll just stir them up, even grab them, bring them on down. That's fine. There, finally. $242 hanging out in that guy's pocket. Excellent. Oh, we got another DNA boosting sun pair of sunglasses here for Treasure Hunter. Treasure Hunter level one would be, oh, just regular Treasure Hunter. You just can bury up the treasure more quickly and you get more items out of it. So if I'm trying to hire someone, I should wear my charisma glasses. If I'm trying to heal, which I am right now, I should wear my healing factor glasses, which gives me just one additional life or HP, I guess, for every two minutes. That's not a lot. Oh, and so here's an interesting thing about the mod here, is that if you're just using the left click to use a tool, like an axe or a pickaxe or a shovel, it doesn't use any stamina. So, the way that you want to do it is to use your power attack until you run out of stamina, and then you just replenish the stamina after that by going back to your left click. So you can basically mine steadily. Okay, and in the main loot here, there's nothing much Iron Breaker mod. Weapons bag here with some parts and other mods. And that's about it up here. All right, ooh, two painkillers. That's the, that's the win of the day right there. In fact, go ahead and pop one now. We'll deal with the thirst later. Oh, look at this. It's a working shredder. This is how you like recycle items like, uh, for example, a brass trophy into brass, I think. So if we ever critically need it, we can come here and use it. Although I don't think that's the most important thing. It's a more of a luxury item. Okay, currently 2047. I am very, very encumbered to the point where I can't even really move. Holy crap. I would say that, that looks like a wandering horde to me. And also with my run speed right now, it's not anything that I want to deal with right now. Luckily, they're rolling behind the building. There could be upwards of 20 zombies in that wandering horde right there. Okay, yep, more zombies running all over the place over there, including an explosive immune zombie. Let's cut behind this POI here. Oh, where there's immediately two zombies. Can you just not shoot? Can you sneak with me? Is that even possible? Nope, of course not. Of course it's not possible. Ow, we're going loud and proud all the way home. Go, oh, jeez. So far, we're doing okay. Just hold your ground, Victor. Then when the time is right, we charge and pick up the loot along the way. Ooh, beer. Beer is not gonna help my carrying capacity. But it was a good thought. Here, I do have a flashlight. That's gonna help a little bit. Coffee might help a little bit as well. If anything, just for that little bit of hydration, because I think my dehydration is preventing stamina recharge. Attack! Zombie fisherman! And, oh, more coming out of the woodwork here. Feral tourist! Bah! Oh no, feral pizza. He could probably one-shot me. Come on, with the scythe. Nice! Anything good inside your body? Nope, just too much fat. And a quest reward. What is it with the Molotovs and the, the pipe bombs? Oh, and I can hear the AK-47 fire for whoever's back at the base. I think that was probably Briston. Customized fitting mod, I guess? 
and a job for tomorrow at the ZZ Tong farm. There's your preview window right there. Again, if you were to just play Rebirth mod without any other mods and you're not going to use my map, this would happen for every POI. However, I've added in a whole bunch of extra POIs because I wanted a little bit of extra variety and extra flavor. And so the ones that I added in are not going to have these previews. What's up, guys? Any activity while I was gone? No, it looks all quiet here. The house is still in one piece. Nothing caught on fire. <laughs> I'd say we're ahead of the game here. I do hear some gunfire too, though. Oh, and I heard a bomb go off. Or that was a vehicle blowing up and uh, a building catching on fire. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Stuff is catching on fire and burning to the ground. Briston's working on a spider over there. So what I'm going to work on then for the night is uh, just getting the inventory system sort of organized and kind of going through the crafting menu and seeing what we should be doing, what should we be going for, and what's the plan for tomorrow. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. We now have a foothold in the region, a cozy two bedroom, one bath, modern style home with an attached garage, concrete fence, and enclosed backyard. Although I have heard that the housing market has not been too hot lately. But anyway, the focus now should be on grinding quests. Quests lead to money, and money leads to new skills and schematics to purchase from our trainers, Briston and Ronnie. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you, but now it's go time. Okay, so let me catch you up on what happened last night. Really, nothing. So, the soldiers here, well, not the soldiers, but uh, I guess we'll call them the trainers. The trainers did an excellent job of defending the base last night. These guys are like legit defenders. <laughs> it's good to have them. Look at this guy over here. The other thing I noticed is that I actually get XP for every one of their kills. So I can just sit back, relax, and let them kill all these zombies for me. And make sure you do a perimeter sweep, I guess, too, because, yeah, there might be some loot bags like that one way over there. Okay, so today I'm pretty much all packed up and ready to go. Ooh, that guy's crawling around over there. That's kind of interesting and terrifying at the same time. See, I went through the inventory and stuff, so I think I have everything that I need. But uh, I think this is some kind of a boss, and so I'm kind of... Oh, yes, it's a zombie grudge. I've heard terrible things about these guys. Okay, let's see if I can sneak up here and get a crossbow sneak attack in. Yep, yeah, ooh, almost killed her too. Yeah, look at those glowing nasty eyes. Ooh, that was a headshot, wow. I'm... Ooh, that's an interesting sound there. Is there gonna be anything good in this? Ah, unfortunately, no. Probably not in the loot bag either. Ooh, good amount of money though. Take that. All right, so I've learned a lot here in the past uh, couple of hours through the night, kind of looking through the menus and trying to figure out how do I get about like crafting and unlocking things like workbenches and stuff like that. Basically, it's all going to be through those random quests. Let's just take a look at the map. So there's like the quest down here to unlock the schematic for the mortar and pestle. There's the quest up here to unlock the schematic for the circular saw. And I can purchase similar quests to unlock things like the chemistry station and the cement mixer and the workbench and you know, all the other things that the mod adds. So basically, instead of spending skill points that you get for leveling up and sort of just automatically unlocking things, you actually have to work toward them. You have to purchase either the schematic itself from Briston, who sells a few schematics, or you purchase the mission from your trainer, and you go and do that, and you gotta get it for more or less for free, I guess. Well, not really free, because you have to pay for the mission from him, and then you have to do the mission, so it's actually kind of... Uh, difficult. But let's just see here. Briston, show me your inventory. Okay, so there- he has schematics, and he also has the trainers to, like, help me level up in my skills. Which, if we look down here, these are, like, my big skill classes. We're level one in charisma, we were level one from yesterday, we're about to level up in sights, and we're about to level up in dexterity. But that doesn't really get me any closer to leveling up in these. These will have to be purchased, one way or the other, or perhaps found or selected as a quest reward or something like that. And then you've also got the glasses that will give you a level in one of these two. In terms of leveling up in my Witch Doctor class, I think the Witch Doctor level is governed by, you know, the way you level up at first is just to level up in scythes. So it's important for us to focus on this, level this up as much as we can. That's probably good because the pistol broke and I don't have a weapon repair kit and I don't have the capacity to make one. So until I find one, I put the regular pistol away and got the pipe pistol. Okay, so enough on that stuff. Let's just uh, take a look at the map here. We are heading to this tier one clear, so I'll meet you there. Well, I got some uh, free corn sitting in the field here. Victor, do you like corn on the cob? 
You're allergic to corn? Well, more for me then. Now here we are at the first quest here, some kind of a farm, so we'll initiate this, and I'm already basically full on my inventory because I brought some stuff to sell to the trader, and I also brought the stuff to make a mind control brew schematic, which is a part of some kind of a quest, so we'll work on that, and I, I don't know if I can then craft a brew. I'll probably have to craft that back at, like, the, the gas stovetop that we have at home or maybe campfire. We'll have to try and figure that out later. Basically, the mind control brew... You drink it and then you'll be able to turn a zombie onto your side. Temporarily, it'll wear off eventually. Kind of a perk of being a witch doctor. You can kind of take over an undead as one of your thralls. And whoop. Oh, hello there. <laughs> one at a time, please. Just gonna level up my sight skill here. Nice. Oh, and that's a good amount of breakfast for us. Be nice if I can find something to wash it down. You guys got any drinks down there? So far, so good. Is there one more? Oh yes, whoa, he's got hops too. All right, heading down into the bunker. This might be like a storm shelter. It looks pretty small. <laughs> Some charred meat to, uh, oh, that'll help the dehydration level, won't it? And uh, what are we doing here? We're clearing the area. Okay, great. So we gotta roll in here, kill all the zombies. Ooh, look at this. Hold up, oh, I said hold up, man, come on. That's a repairable motorcycle there, though. Which is pretty cool. Okay, search it. Get a little bit of stuff out of it. Probably get some wood here. I'm kind of thinking about it. Whoa, hello. Oh, yeah, just go head on in all by yourself. That's fine. <laughs> thinking about the, the base situation. So the base that we're living at right now is not going to be like the horde base, I don't think. It, it may be for like the first horde here in a couple of days. But uh, going forward, I would definitely want to build us a, a big, big horde base somewhere. Something because basically there's like an option for this mod now that's called Horde Knight Plus and uh, Horde Knight Turbo, which is like, um, if you've ever played Darkness Falls or watched a Darkness Falls Horde Knight, it basically turns this into a Darkness Falls kind of scenario and it gets really bad really early on. So I'd really like to be able to make some kind of a horde base that can really kind of test the limits of what's possible in this mod. Okay, made a little bit of noise there. Woke a whole bunch of zombies up. Oh, jeez, and I'm super encumbered. Okay, oh, of course that's not loaded. Let's try that again, ow. Oh, that didn't work either. Wow, I'm doing great, aren't I? There we go. Eat that. And I woke up businessman. Hmm, yeah, we need to get rid of some stuff here. Pipe pistol for the win. We're the Pipe Brothers. Okay, given that this is just a tier one, I'm gonna chance it a little bit and see if I can clear this place out without ditching anything in my inventory. That way we can make it to the trader and just sell it all. Oh, you know what, Victor? You could just, could you just hang on? Oh boy, <laughs> I forgot to clear out your inventory last night. Oh, that's nice. Scratch that idea then. Well, we need to take that bandage anyway. Okay, this, this is the final battle here. Whoa, Victor, take him out. Oh boy, oh jeez, he moves quickly, hide out here. Oh my goodness. You know what we need? We need to go to the desert and get some more aloe vera, don't we? There we go. Still have not cleared the area though. There's gotta be at least a couple more up here. Aha, whoop, oh, there's one, there's two. Victor, don't you dare. We're supposed to hold them behind the doors. Yeah, I think I, whoa, just woke up a couple more upstairs. All right, I'll just let Victor handle it. Okay, where are you at, man? You're freaking hanging out in the crawl space back here. Someone's breaking in, though, from behind me. Yeah, here we go. Take him out! Oh, jeez! <laughs> you dunking and dodging bastard, man. That's finally it. We've cleared the area. <laughs> Hopefully there's some first aid in here, damn it. Don't need that. First aid in here? Oh, well, steroids. That would probably help, but it would dehydrate the crap out of me, so no thank you. Is there a bear outside? Are you kidding me? I definitely heard a bear, and I don't hear it anymore, which is terrifying. I def He's definitely aggroed, though, for sure. Oh, please, something good out of here. Improved fittings mod. Eh, I'll take it. Yeah, I heard that bear again. He's outside. I... It sounds like he's kind of far away, like maybe he's aggroed on somebody, not us, like a zombie or a survivor or something. Either way, I'm not taking any chances going downstairs. <laughs> I'm heading out this way. Oh, I just noticed that by chopping on this block, I'm actually harvesting screws and nails. 
That's pretty interesting there. All right, it's gonna be a long, slow trek, but I'll meet you back at the trader. Oh, before we go though, there's your bear problem right there, hanging out on the back porch, trying to break in. Big papa bear. Ah! No, 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 break a wolf. Yes, oh my God, go for him, not for me, not for me, not for me. Oh my God, that was close. Oh man, <laughs> I hope Rekt has those painkillers again. Rekt, help me. Ah, damn, man. Well, he does have a weapon flashlight, which is um, not not too bad. It, it kind of it would help replace the flashlight, I suppose. Yeah, and otherwise I don't need that crap. So I'll take the weapon flashlight, and we'll get another new job for him. He's got a fetch over at the espresso yourself. I know that place. I'm familiar with it, so that shouldn't be too much of a to do. Oof! And I can finally lighten the load. Looks like that'll do it, I suppose. And he's not gonna restock. This is, oh, the firearm repair kit, though. Wow, okay, I definitely need to buy that because I need to repair that pistol. It's so much better than anything else that we have. Oh, he's got a double barrel shotgun there for 1500. That would be a pretty big step up. Yep, I'm gonna take that. All right, we're broke again. Before I run back to the base, let's check over here at the, um, the, what a toolbox thing. Yes, for the first aid bandages, we can make a couple of those to replace the ones we've been using. There's a lot of other stuff we can craft, like forge, furnace, generator, gas stove top, shredder, but, it's interesting, you actually have to go out and find a repairable one, much like the car. You could probably find a repairable shredder out there. We found the working shredder there a couple of days ago, if you remember, but that one I couldn't pick up, even though I was trying to pick it up. And uh, I think that's a bandit. I don't really want to fight that guy. Can we just run away? Oh, he stepped on a landmine. <laughs> oh, in that case, I will check on this guy. Oh, man. Poor guy. Any money on you? Ah, not much. Right, so I'm gonna put my stuff away then and I'll meet you over at the next mission. Oh, 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 this is not good. I was just kind of putting some stuff away here and I heard the pitter patter of a bunch of running zombies and it does indeed look as though we have a big freaking horde here. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can see how many there are first. It looks like there's a whole bunch more over there. And if we could just kind of kite them in front of Briston here, that would be great. Yep, and try not to get hit in the back a little bit. We do need the rotting flesh. The rotting flesh will be used with goldenrod in order to make the mind control brew. Okay, do we want to fight the rest of these guys over here? Okay, we got to be super careful. In fact, take the one of the last bandages there that I have. Okay, go nice and easy now. Oh, I just, um, ooh, I leveled up in sights, I think. Perfect timing there, yes, level one. And so that now means that we can, well, we get 5% more damage, 5% better attack speed, and my weapon durability lasts for 10% longer. Scratch that note, we got the first one. So half, <laughs> half all of those numbers. And then here at level four, we can craft either a titanium scythe or, oh, and also the tempered blade mod. Eventually that goes to structural braze, uh, Darkine or Darkine Scythe. And then the Reaper. That's what we're gunning for right there is the Reaper Scythe. Okay, to the quest. Uh-oh. Oh my god, it's an event. Whoa. Several freaking zombies. Wow. Okay, this is not good. Uh, preemptive bandage. And we gonna need Molotovs for this one, that's for sure. Molotovs and pipe bombs. Victoria, don't freaking die on me, please. Okay, yep, cluster them up the best we can, and whoa, that guy runs fast. Gonna have to start air bursting it. Oh, I just woke up a bunch of POI zombies as well. That's lovely. We've got a random survivor helping us out too. That's nice. Yep, everyone gets a Molotov. And the cherry on top, the pipe bomb. I think it's working. Uh, oh, geez, take that. Victoria's dead! No! Crap! I think Victoria burned to death. Okay, it's time for the firearm. Everyone's sufficiently loosened. Oh, look! <laughs> Whisper 13 is back! Whisper 13's back, and Beneficial is tanking for me, and that's a bandit. We don't want that guy around here. Okay, we gonna take this guy out now? All of us together? Beneficial, you're the tank. Hold him down. Robbie is dead. 
Oh, a generic perk book, as well as the weapon flashlight. Well, that's freaking convenient, right? Because I just selected one as a quest reward. That is, there's like a secret code in this game that no one's ever seen before that uh, <laughs> that says, you know, you're going to find something in loot the second that you actually buy it or craft it. It's just how it works. Well, I'm suddenly in the market for another survivor, although I think... Oh, and I can search the boss here for brains. You know, I think uh, Victor there probably... When, uh, when one of your NPCs dies, they will, I think, go back to a respawn point, which I believe is the location where you initially hired them, or you can set their respawn point, which I don't think I ever did that, but it's okay. Probably pretty soon here, we're going to upgrade to someone that has a slightly better weapon. Although you don't want to lose your NPCs too much. You want to kind of settle on someone eventually because they do actually level up with you. So if I look at this guy here, and say, show me your qualifications. The hiring cost, oh, the respawn cost is even higher. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, their, their hit points, their carrying capacity, and uh, their level, you can see the level right here, mining level, the ammunition type and everything that they use, how many kills they've gotten. Freaking awesome, right? So yeah, you wanna like keep, like settle on a guy early on. You know what we should probably do is like, you know the wasteland, it's kinda close by to where we live. We should like do a little bit of a foray into the wasteland when we get some more money, because I'm sure it'll cost a couple of thousand to, um, yeah, see, Beneficial has 450 hit points. Whisper over here has 352, so this would be the guy that you'd want, albeit, you know, with a stone club, not so good. Okay, enough of that. We're supposed to be freaking doing the fetch over here at the uh, coffee shop, and I'm suddenly a lot more vulnerable heading into the downtown area. Oh yes, and of course we got zombies over here. I think we can probably take these guys down nice and quietly though. I should not have done that, should I have? It's good XP, I guess, but uh, I gotta do the freaking quest marker now and do the whole thing over again. So maybe, maybe try and get my arrows back if I could. Pretty sure that that's a bandit down there. It is a uh, Wutter Slausch, and yes, he's a bandit and he's on to me now. <laughs> Just take a crossbow bolt to the chest. That usually does the trick. Good hunting knife there, I could sell that. Did they not all spawn back in? Well, maybe that was worth my time after all. Oh look, Whisper's coming back to help, and Whisper just spawned in a whole bunch of zombies over there. Really, man? Really? You're on your own. Oh, Beneficial's coming over to help me out now. Hey, what's up, bud? Beneficial, dressed in style, despite the apocalypse, man. He's got the tucked in polo and the clean khaki jeans. Gotta head inside and hit up that ladder that's in there to get to the rooftop, I think is how this is gonna work. Okay, let her through, close the door behind her. Let you through, close the door behind you. Take you down. Anybody else hanging out in here? I can I can hear breathing. Of course, there's somebody in here somewhere. Oh, right there. Oh, this is one of the tougher ones. Oh, ooh. Caught me off guard a little bit there, ducking down like that. And he got a bleed kill on him, although I find it difficult to believe he was not having a bleeding problem to begin with. Pulling out a bunch of coffees here, which is awesome because it's a coffee shop, so a little bit fitting there. <gasps> Mega crush poster, definitely taking this. <laughs> well worth the inventory slot in my opinion. Right, here's the main loot. We'll grab that in a second. I'm more keen on killing the birds and whatever else is up here. The birds, yes. Ooh, the strong birds too. Oof, wow, that was close. Mission complete. Not much in there. Not much in there either. Sneaky little weapons back there, and then we're out of here. Ooh, I'll, uh, I'll try to pick it, actually, if I can. Haha, <laughs> I got it. Oh, six cans of sham. Why would you put that in a safe? Ooh. Daring Adventurer glasses, interesting. So I have this generic perk book, which I can use to increase, you know, something like Sexual Tyrannosaurus or Pack Mule or Minor 69er. I'm kind of interested to see if I do Charismatic Nature, how much is that going to increase my skill? So we're at Charismatic Nature level one right now, and I think that's just because of the glasses that I'm wearing. So if I take this, my... Oh, my charisma level is too low, so that was actually kind of a bad move. I'll have to hang on to that then until my charisma is a higher level, and that will... What level does it have to be? Level four, potentially. Okay. Good to know. Catching on here. All right, it's getting late, so I'm gonna just 
slowly walk back to the base. And you know what I'll have to do here? I'm just going to take the red T, which gives me increased run speed and increased carrying capacity, so I can kind of fly now. Here's our quest reward here. here. Again, really not much good here. I'll take the fire axe because I don't have one. And the next job for tomorrow. Oh, how about the bookstore? Sounds like good to me. I'll take it. Okay, yep, officially nightfall now, but no matter, I can make it home in no time flat, and we got the cover of our trainers here. Just hang out here with Ronnie and see if we can pick off some zombies. Okay, and fortunately, I had cleared out Victor's inventory before Victor died back there, so we didn't lose anything that way. I'm not sure... I didn't see Victor on the way home, but then again, I can't quite recall where I found Victor, so we'll just be on the lookout someday if we cross paths again. Got my trophy here. <laughs> yes. Okay, so the main thing I wanted to look into today was, am I going to be able to make the mind control brew? Yes, I can. I just turned the inventory broadcasting on for the refrigerator behind me, and I could actually make a couple of these, it looks like. How many? Three? I... I'm just curious to see how it goes, so sure. Well, I brought some plants up with me so we can do a little bit of interior decorating. Get things looking a little bit more spiffy in here. There we go. Okay, here's my three mind control brews. Oh, and that just spat out a bunch of materials for me. That was actually a quest. Challenge started. Smells like bacon. What does that mean? Gather cooking fat and gather bacon and eggs. There it is. Three, and then that gave me two brown boxes. Kind of interesting so that's just telling me basically that uh, i can put storage boxes in certain places apparently not that certain space right there just put some storage here behind the chair oh that actually fixed it uh, did the quest for me oh my goodness it gave me a bicycle i wish i would have known that sooner he's been freaking loafing around here the bicycle actually goes really fast in uh, rebirth because you got the roads right the vehicles do the same thing as your person so you get like the little green indicator if you're running around here on the road so you get a speed boost and you get a speed penalty if you're riding off-road check this up a little bit of extra food there all right so i guess for the rest of the night i'm just gonna kind of poke around the base and we'll wait until morning and then how are we looking on money 1700 probably we should do another quest or two and then i don't know we'll be basically take it from there basically just trying to make money right now that's the most important thing we need money to level up to unlock items to hire people money is the key <laughs> Things never change, do they? All right, good morning, everyone. Last night, get out of the way. I was able to make a new toolbox, and I also have the hammer and pliers and screwdriver, so now we can just do all the crafting for whatever we need in here. Don't have to go all the way to the trader where the other one was, because I couldn't pick that one up. And in terms of interesting things in here, okay, yes, crossbow bolts. We need those. Can I make, like, the iron ones, though? I could. I don't have the correct things. Oh, plastic vein? Can use feathers or plastic. I wonder if there's like a difference in velocity or something between those. Not sure, but uh, I can't make it anyway. I wish, I wonder if I could, it would make so much sense if I could uh, maybe dismantle the arrows that I have and get the arrowheads back. Is that, nope, I can't even scrap these. Uh, it is a recipe though to make, oh wait, I, I can just convert it straight over in the toolbox. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Iron crossbow bolts. I can make a whole bunch of those. Oh, yes. Ah, in so many ways, this is just like... <laughs> the way that I feel like vanilla is supposed to be. So while we're waiting, in terms of quests, we have the alchemy table quest, which will give me the blueprint for the alchemy table. We need to gather wooden planks, and I don't know quite how to do that. I've got the one wooden plank right there. I need a table saw in order to make more, and those are made out of wood logs, but we don't have the table saw. So I think put a pin in that one. And then we have crafting stations, which wants me to gather up a repairable workbench, which is like... I don't know where the hell that is. I'll have to keep my eyes open. It said it's a very easy quest, but depends on who you ask, I guess. Because if you ask me, that's pretty difficult. Maybe we should, like, try to poke our head in some garages or something on our way out today. And speaking of that, I think it is time to head out. I need to stop by the trader real fast, and what I'm going to do is just stash some stuff at the trader. And I also have my Daring Adventurer glasses, and I'm going to try to remember to put on my daring adventurer glasses every time I select a quest reward because I get five 
percent more dukes if i do that so just stash everything in here and we'll do it all at once a little bit later on for now we're heading to the next quest okay here we are and you know what's great is that using the bicycle even like sprint sprinting on the bicycle uses like basically no why is that guy so big oh my god it's ray capitillo and he's charging after me he's one of the demon ones are you a bandit of course you are oh great Good thing I didn't start that quest yet again. We're gonna need fire for this guy. Burn! Demon! Oh, no, not me! Here, oh, geez, with the, <laughs> the coffee. Okay, yes, coffee's gonna help me anyways. Would you mind maybe fighting each other a little bit, Bia Armstrong and Ray Capitillo? Ah! What was that? Oh, holy crap, oh. oh. Oh, geez! Victoria, I found you! Help! Bo, it's not your fight, buddy. I don't have time for you. Holy crap! Whoa, he freaking hits hard. Run! Uh, there's no safe place to go. Except for the bicycle. That's an option, I guess. Okay, got the knockdown. And with a dub Z, try to get headshots. Oh, jeez. Victoria is just, like, locked right now. I'm not allowed to have Victoria back just yet. Did I get the kill? Oh, my God, so close. Why are there so many demons here? You! There we go. Whoa, it's over. We made it. Oh, tell me you got something interesting on your person. $325, not too bad. So I could hire uh, Victor back. Oh, another bandit. What are you doing here? Tyler Barnett. No, no, none of that. Keep your stabbing stick away from me. Ooh, oh my goodness, he stabbed me in the gut. Ow, take that. Wow, man turning into an eventful day right so if i want to report for duty 2000 now man that's that's a lot of money i don't think so ah victoria you are dismissed from service goodbye yeah we've got to we've got to get someone that has a little bit more firepower like um so what happens here is that you can go to different biomes and different biomes have different difficulties so if i were to say go to the desert biome the bandits would be a slightly higher tier and so would the 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 friendly the survivors and it's it's very predictable so here in the temperate biome you're going to get bandits that have melee weapons and you're going to get survivors that have pipe weapons and then in, if you go into the desert the bandits will have pipe weapons the survivors will have like middle tier weapons if you go to the wasteland for example everybody just has like high tier weapons so if we could like, for example, poke our head into the wasteland and not die instantly, maybe we could pick up like someone with an assault rifle or, or I don't know, sniper rifle or a desert vulture or something better than a pipe pistol. But with an increased skill comes an increased cost. So that's why I want to save my money. Stupid nurse broke my leg, broke my arm rather. Okay, so that's uh, survivable. Also, there's a bandit over there, I think. Just give me the remnants off of this one and see if we can get any good books no oh, there's no books oh crap bookstores are worthless aren't they crap I, I maybe there's a chance to get like um i don't know some kind of a dna boost oh oh no they're not useless you can get the schematic so red tea recipe that's pretty good barbed wire mod schematic and of course the real action is upstairs well the real action was out here in the parking lot what am i saying here but yeah there's definitely a bunch of people up in here kick things off with a bang here there we go Oh, close that door quickly. Oh, the reload speed's so slow, and I'm drawing in zombies from outside. Oh, that was fast. Here we go. Have some of that. Oh, great. Yeah, I just set the whole building on fire. Forgot that was a thing. Okay, we're just kiting those zombies now. I'm not gonna fight. Just kiting. And now that they're weakened, I can use my... What was that? Uh, I hear war drums. Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly that was all about, but it was scary. It looks like this is all going to burn out shortly, so I'm just gonna set myself up a little ladder system so that I can get to the loot and stuff like that. That should do it. Okay, more zombies in here. Here, take that. And that. Just doing the best I can with the shotgun. Oh, jeez. Arlene, ow. Of course Arlene gets a shot in. 
First aid. Oh my goodness, lovely. Too bad it's not a splint though. Speaking of, could I perhaps craft, one? oh, tree branch and rope, which is actually really easy to craft. Okay, as soon as I'm done here, we're gonna go find a splint. Main loot. Oh, geez. Nothing much there. Another first aid kit though, not too bad. Take this quest over. Oh, nice skull cap. Okay, we're done here. Oh, right, the tree branch though. We gotta work on that. So we need, we need like six plant fiber or something to make the rope. So we'll grab some of this plant fiber. And then we need a little bit of tree branch, which I think we can just knock off of this tree here. Splint and put that on and that definitely helps. All right, I got the daring adventurer glasses on so I get, get a little bit of extra money for the quest reward. Getting 346, and damn, man, still nothing good in here. I could sell that claw hammer for an extra 102, though, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing here. So now that we have the bicycle, I think we can push out a little bit further, so if there's anything here that kind of looks interesting, we could head out and do that. <laughs> the pharmacy. Let's just uh, figure out where this is, raid it, and yes, get the health supplies out of it. That'll be probably the, the best bet for us. But for now, definitely lighten the load for me. Okay, that'll do. Oh, 3,000. We're making good progress today. I feel like 4,000 or so would be a good, like, threshold before I say, you know, let's go dip our head in the wasteland and see if we can find anybody. So maybe we'll do this quest. We will... Do another big sell off if we can and then yeah maybe we'll kind of do some exploring ah yes we're gonna start things off with this ambulance too oh by the way what's the storage on the bicycle terrible as usual ah honeycomb that'll be good for my infection which is 2.7 percent now it's gonna tick down to zero whoa mega crush poster I'll get that on the way out if I remember and oh these ice machines here I'm gonna double loot this because these it makes sense, right, that an ice machine would have good food in it, but like every time I search one, it's good food. And uh, that'll be it. There's a zombie in there. I'm gonna just wait for him to despawn and respawn before I kill him. Just like that. Ooh, it's got a good loot bag there too. Oh, don't I recall that the zombies are all kind of on the rooftop here, or at least several of them are? I don't know. Ooh, that's a good amount of aloe there. We can make bandages with that. But I'm gonna see if I can go through here nice and quietly. Oh, jeez. More quietly than that, please. Ah, I woke him up. I heard him fall down back here. And there's Steven. And Darlene. And a stripper just fell off the roof. And with that, we're pretty much... Uh, are we done here? No, I think we got one more that's back up here on the rooftop, baby. Hello? Ooh, an airdrop. Curious to see what I could find in that. Yeah, last zombie is... A couple of them right here, actually. You just hush, hush, hush. Then nice and quietly now. Ooh, we got a survivor out here with a pipe pistol. Victor, have you returned? Now it's some guy with a pipe rifle. I'll go introduce myself at least. Hello? Can't go too far away. I don't want to fail the quest. Or, no, I've already done the quest, so we're good. Roman Brendel. How much would you be to hire, just out of curiosity? Former army, perhaps? Oh, only 1,500. That's like... Dirt cheap. Nah, I'm good. We're gonna proceed with the plan to uh, get some uh, some sort of like a high tier soldier or something like that. Uh, but for now, I need to get first aid out of here if at all possible. Oh boy, the inventory is such a big issue. Okay, just, uh, get rid of all this garbage. Eat the pie, eat the peas, eat everything. Eat the vitamins. Oh, what is this anyway? Prussian blue remedy, which will serve as a remedy for any radiation poisoning. Okay, okay, that helps the inventory. Good there. And so the problem was I was having is that there are just uh, all of these shelves are friggin searchable So there's gonna be garbage in every single one of these and I guess we just gonna kind of pick and choose what we're gonna take with us And in the main loot here not much Okay, we are heavy now though. Let's get back to the bike and head to the trader. Okay armor pocket pod Gonna have to take that see how I'm always complaining about my inventory and let's just see here if I could do one more like, really fast fetch Listen job. One more Work job until we get to the tier two. If we can get this and get the money for it, I think we'd have plenty of money to do something else. So my plan is, is I'm gonna just do a lightning raid. Okay, so here we are at the quest, and here is the plan. I am going to potentially take the red T because that'll give me 50% 50, 50 extra run speed, but I could just do the steroids as well. Let's do the red T, I guess. We'll do the red tea, and then we're just basically gonna run straight through here. I'll 
maybe should I stack a coffee on top of that or should we be good? I think we should be good. So we're gonna just run right straight through here. No hassle with the zombies. And I might need to kind of like see if I can, <laughs> is there a way I can just jump from here? Hup! Oh, almost made it. And I'm already waking people up, so. Uh, okay, we're just gonna run right straight through here, grab the supplies and get the hell out of here after that. Where are the supplies? They are around here somewhere. There's a main loot right there. Just snag that before I go in a weapons bag. Take that as well. Where's the satchel though? Crap. Whoops, I'm suddenly very concussed. Ow. Come on, give me it, give me it. No, 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 it's not working. Ow. Also, there are zombies kind of all over the place. Here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set a trap for them here, and they're all gonna blow up and die, hopefully. Did that work? Here, take the painkiller before I keel over and bleed to death. That uh, didn't work as well as I had hoped it would work. Oh, because these are the explosion immune zombies. I don't think they're fire immune, though. <laughs> Certainly not. Well, there we go. I think the POI is clear now. All right, what do we got here? We have... A little bit of loot. Not gonna worry about the zombie carcasses right now. Garage box there. There's a whole bunch of stuff here, but we're really, in the interest of time, I'm just gonna kinda not fully loot this place because what I really wanna do is go search for soldiers and... Oh, here's the set. Yeah, okay. I ran right by, I tried to get it. I was in a freaking panic. I didn't remember where it was. <laughs> All right. Oh, all's well that ends well. That was an ergonomic grip there, which is just gonna immediately go onto my rusty sickle for that plus 10% uh, or less, I think it's, what is it? 10% less stamina usage when you're using a melee weapon. That works for me. Grab up the remains on this guy, and I think that should do it for the tier ones and should all, are you shooting at me? No, he's shooting at a zombie. That should do it for the tier ones. That should give us a bunch of money. And then what I'm gonna do after that, we're gonna head to the wasteland and see if we can pick ourselves up a new survivor. Okay, and from this one, I'll take the, I think the claw hammer again so that I can sell it back to you. And oh, here we go. Bundle reward, 2,100 extra dollars. Really none of this stuff is appealing to me at all. And I don't want the wood because it's flammable. So I'll just take the melee mods. You suck. I'll take your special jobs well, if you got one. Trader Red way. Rocket yes, for is like to the you. east. Sure. 1.8 kilometers to the east, which is gonna be really far away out there. And we've got uh, a little bit of a fight. Ooh, it's a machete fight. Ooh, I gotta get a better look at this. Who's gonna win? Oh, Condrus with the knockdown. Condrus, you're all over the place in this playthrough. Condrus versus Damon. Damon the Demon Slayer. It's not looking good for Damon though. And I'm gonna intervene to get the kill. There we go. <laughs> I will take the machete for selling later. Okay, now from here we've got wasteland there and we've got wasteland through there. Let's check this way. Okay, here we go. Entering into the wasteland where there's a destroyed nuclear power plant. Not sure if that had anything to do with contaminating this area or not. Gotta be ultra careful here though. There are a couple of factions to worry about, particularly in the wasteland. One of them is uh, just the, the regular old band faction known as the aces the second who's that okay got uh, pump shotgun fire over here on the left that is a survivor i think you're friendly right i gotta be absolutely sure because they could certainly one shot me shelby pope oh man pope oh uh, could you hold still for a second please how much are, what are your qualifications? First of all, you're level one. Higher cost is only 2,700. Really not that bad. Could you maybe hang out here while I do some more shopping? <laughs> oh, that pump shotgun though, man. He is just ripping right through these zombies here. Should I maybe just hold the trigger on this guy? Where are we anyway? We're at Hellmart, your friendly neighborhood grocery store and pharmacy. Great, okay, yeah, don't mind me. I'm just kind of looting up behind you. You're doing great. You know. I don't, I don't know that I really, wait, 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 we got another soldier here. Oh, we've got a selection now. And this guy, Dank Jeans, has a, oh, the M60. Whoa. Damn it, I'm not at the point where I can hire two soldiers. Hey, what's up, man? How much are you gonna cost anyway? 4,000. This guy might actually have like better qualifications. So, okay, 330 life. 
32 slots, 25 armor, 330 life, 24 slots, 15 armor. Okay, so definitely Dank Jeans over here is the more qualified soldier, so I will hire you. Nice, look, he's got a kit and everything, grenades. He's got the wrong type of magazine for the M60. It's a belt-fed gun, you know, you don't really need those unless you get a backup M4 in your backpack or something. Well, Shelby, may we meet again someday when I have more charismatic nature. All right, well, that was like super easy. Where's my bicycle? It's over here. And so what we should do now is uh, I want to kind of push to the south and see if I can, if this is, this looks like it's going to be in the wasteland. So let's go just take a peek at that now that we are uh, <laughs> supported, fully supported by our friend here. Holy crap. Oh, geez. No, 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 no. Don't kill me. Yikes. Holy crap. Yeah, we have to be super careful here because um, if you're on a bicycle or, oh man, there's sniper rifle fire over here somewhere too. Bicycle or a motorcycle. Look at that crawling zombie there. That's, I think one of the ones that we, nope, that's a, uh, just a thug that's crawling. And I'm not sure if he's radiated or like toxic, if that's a thing, or if it's like radiated and toxic. Oh my goodness, got another, I think it's a bandit over there from the aces. But yeah, if you're on a bicycle or a motorcycle, you can get shot, hit, smacked, you know, lacerated, whatever. But if you're in a vehicle, like a car, truck, um, you know, APC, something like that, you are immune to damage from uh, entities. So yeah, we're talking about the aces. The other factions, a couple more factions that we have to worry about. We'll probably learn more about them as we go. I don't know a whole lot about them right now, but there are certainly the uh, Pale Riders. They are, the, you know, all dressed in black, leather jackets usually, stuff like that. And yes, we've rolled up on this quest here. And, uh, ooh, this guy's a uh, another survivor. And he's got a desert vulture. Okay, buddy, you wanna come and help us out over here? Nope, he's kinda running in the wrong direction. I don't wanna string us out too, too far. But I do wanna kinda see what this mission is all about. Okay, get the bicycle oriented correctly so we can make a fast escape if we have to. And what, what even is this quest here? Oh, this is for the Mortar and Pestle. Not sure if it's gonna be worth it to get it, but uh, I think we're gonna give this a try anyway. Just, uh, okay, creepy radiated zombie toxic. Okay, got good sneak attack in on him. And oh, with the M60. Can I get the kill maybe? Nope, not good enough. Nice, okay. Oh, that was a feral white. Holy crap, man. A Little bit of ammo there, okay. Um, so this one, this is the one where, um, the Traitor Network has been experimenting with cloaking technology and their experiment has escaped. So there might be some cloaked enemies here, some ghosts, you could say. So be on the lookout for that. Let's just, um, I don't know what we should do now. Let's probably have a quick coffee and top off on hit points with a bandage. Make sure we're locked and loaded here and let's hit it. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got? We got uh, we got some survivors that are here to help us, and we've got some cloaked snakes. Oh, perfect. Cloaking technology and snakes. What a great combination. Okay, these must be some, uh, some of the Black Shield members, or maybe some... Uh, I don't know who these people are, but they're trying to help me here. Yeah, the Black Shields are always kind of trying to fight. Oh, there's a cop as well. Holy crap, don't shoot me, cop. I gotta kill him quickly. Mr. Jeans, cover me! Yep, and if we could just take out these... Oh man, these um are really tough. They're, it's like they're they're cloaked and armored too. These are like, maybe they're some kind of mechanical snake. They're not actually like biological snakes. Cloaked mechanical snakes. Ooh, and there's our reward right there. However, it's not over yet. We've drawn in some attention and there's still a couple of snakes here. Take them out. Oh! Jeez, guys, holy crap. Dylan and Declan and Logan, good job, guys. And Dank is still in pretty good shape as well. Okay, let's get our reward and just get the hell out of here. Do not want to be here at nightfall, which is about 30 minutes away, so it's a good thing I thought about that. And there is our mortar and pestle schematic. We'll see if we can get that crafted tonight then. Well done, everybody. The Black Shield has uh, successfully thwarted another threat from the Traitor Network. Not even sure who to trust around here. The Trader Network seems to be up to no good, and the Black Shields, well, 
They seem pretty organized. That's them over there. They're on to their next mission. Who knows what they're going to go do. I don't have any missions to kind of help them. So we'll just kind of wait and see if they need any help from me again in the future. Oh, oh boy. Look at that bear. My God. What the hell is that thing? Super radiant. There's a survivor. Oh no, that's our friend. Oh jeez. Do I want to do it? Do we want to fight this bear? I, I think we got to try it. We got to save. Oh, the mutant bear is almost dead. Shelby! Shelby Pope! We got your back, buddy! Excellent! I wonder if this, like, harvests into anything useful. Uh, regular meat. Oh! Feral zombie there as well. Wow, just appeared out of nowhere. Okay. Yeah, I think I've, I've worn out my welcome here in the wasteland. Come on, buddy, let's get out of here. Okay, home sweet home. Let me just put stuff away now. Picked up my bedroll. I have a feeling we're going to need this at some point. All right, my friends, we're unloaded and we've got Mr. Jeans helping us out here. What a professional looking soldier this guy is. We saved Shelby Pope out there in the wasteland from the radiated bear. We are sitting pretty on a whole bunch of money and experience, although we do have a deep laceration. I might need to work on that with my one and only sewing kit. I hope I don't come to regret that. But anyway, okay, there's one more thing I wanted to test here. So there are some hotkeys. So if I hit shift oh. comma, uh, that changes uh, Mr. Jeans here to halt. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Resume. Resume. Hunting. Hunting. Full control. And full control. So I think hunting is like, they'll they'll go crazy. They'll just wander off and they'll kill zombies at a long distance. Full control means they'll stay pretty close to me, but they'll still kill any zombies that they come across. Halt. But if I go halt and have him come with me, we're going to do a little bit of an experiment. We're going to go over to the trader and get all the stuff that I left behind out there. I don't think he'll shoot at anyone that I'm not shooting at. So if I shoot at a zombie, he'll shoot at the zombie. But if he just sees a zombie, he will ignore it. So that's how I'm gonna start like sneaking around with my soldiers is put them into halt mode and they'll just kind of do as I do, right? So are there any zombies around here I can test this on? Now let me grab my stuff first. Whole bunch of crap over here. That's gonna encumber me to the point I can't walk probably. Oh no, I almost made it to the bike. Oh, and then if I hit backspace, he just, he whistles, that's how, so if he's like stuck somewhere, or if I'm like up there and he's down here and he won't come up to me, you hit backspace and uh, and that'll like uh, teleport him back to you. Okay, and I've kind of ridden all over. I can't seem to find a single zombie around here anywhere to test out the full control thing on. So we'll just, uh, we'll make a note to do that in the coming days. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. Now that we have a solid companion, it's time to work on industry. When are we gonna stop for some chow? But first, there's a few chores around town that I'd like to perform, like snagging that airdrop we missed yesterday, picking up that shredder from the day before, and doing a mission for the Black Shields in return for the furnace schematic. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. So we've added a voice for Dank Jeans, so hopefully we'll get to know him a little bit better as time goes by today. And the other thing is that there's a new feature that we can put our companions out if they catch on fire, but you have to have either boiled water or distilled water on your inventory in order to do that. Last night, I did make the mortar and pestle, and I also captured a chicken. And the other thing to report is that uh, a wandering horde came by after I had concluded the recording. And so, it was a horde full of these shock immune zombies. So they just like looked like they were being electrocuted by an electric fence. But I did pick up some shock immune remains off of them. Unfortunately, I thought I was recording when it all happened, but <laughs> it, I was not. So, I don't know. We fought them out back here, and it wasn't much of a to-do, but... Uh, hopefully we'll see some more of those in the future. In terms of the chicken, let's set up a chicken coop here in the bathroom. And what name did we get for you? Aviv? Is that how I would say that? Or, um, Aviv? Nice. Well, you're gonna live in the bathroom, Aviv. Dank, you don't have to live in there with the chicken. Why don't you come back out here? Of course, I can just, um, I can hit the backspace button and he just, like, teleports right to me. Okay, so, mortar and pestle. Oh, it's a little teeny tiny one. I was used to the one from War of the Walkers, which was a lot bigger. And this is gonna be for, oh yeah, gunpowder, okay. Charcoal. Oh, the Prussian blue powder, right, because that's um that makes some kind of a remedy that removes radioactive poisoning. So next time we go into the wasteland, it might be a good idea to have a couple of those. Oh, that uses the coffee beans. Okay, let's just make like one. Start that, oh, that's fast. Prussian blue remedy, oh, that needs the distiller. Okay, oh, well, 
it's actually we could make it once we get the distiller okay okay learning things as i go along here put that away and uh the last thing i want to do before we head out is we've got to accept the missions here because i think we're level 10 now so we can just you know read these and uh, i want to complete this one here at least before the end of the day so basically we're trying to oh kill the leader we're trying to get rid of some toxic zombies before they contaminate the area oh that gave me the prussian blue remedy just preemptively because they are going to be toxic zombies and then the faction war oh this is a mission for the traitor network and they're deciding to bring the fight to the black shields okay watch for their cyborg they're dangerous if i manage to kill it Make sure to check what it may be carrying with it. Oh, we've got to go kill a cyborg, a black shield cyborg. Man, so the black shields are dabbling in cyborg technology. The traitor network is dabbling in cloaking technology. It's like a post-apocalyptic arms race. Don't worry, my friend. I got your six. Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> oh, that's a, such a good voice. Okay, so I'm all packed up and ready to go. What is first on the agenda today? Let's first head into town to where that passing gas was. I think that was here. And we're gonna pick up the shredder that's over there. So I'll meet you there. Okay, here we are. Once I got out here, I realized that that is definitely not where the passing gas is. Here it is right here. And while we're here, I suppose we can check the vending machine. Oh, I was expecting to see candy there, but there is no candy, no more candy. Okay, we just gonna jump in here. Should be no zombies. And we're going to take this. Oh, that just totally worked in one swipe. Now we have, so it's like damaged, I guess now. We have a repairable shredder, which we use to make the shredder out of forged iron, electrical parts, mechanical parts, screws. Not too bad, I guess. Is there anything else in here I can have? What about this generator over here? This is a working generator, so presumably, yes, I can just take that with me and we can repair that with pretty much the same thing as the other, as the shredder. Whoa! Okay, I think we're done in here, but now that I'm looking at it, this is the gaming den, and I remember there's like a whole floor of computers up there, so I figured what we could do right now is check and see how, what's the value of a computer? Maybe we could just take all the computers with us and go sell them at the trader. And wow, we got a lot of zombies here. Let's now take the mind control brew, and we gotta get some zombies onto our side here, like this guy. Help! Oh boy! Oh, it's not good, not good at all. Get out of here. What are you, what are you trying to hit me for? Oh, he's trying to hit me, but he, oh, gee, dang. Oh, why are you trying to hit me? Oh, this guy's kind of not working very well. There we go, kill him. Put him out of his misery. Okay, I don't think I can get a shock immune zombie. I don't think I have the skill for that, but I'll try it. Oh, that did work. Nice, there we go. Yeah, go run and kill them. Okay, so that mind control brew works for five minutes, so I can just run through here and turn any zombies that I want. Let's, um, head upstairs then. Actually, let's come out here. Dank, you stay put, because I don't want you wrecking everything. Stay where you're standing. Yeah, and that zombie has gone back to being a regular zombie, not under my control. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> he shot the vending machine. Good job, buddy. All right, heal up a little bit. Oh, I'm infected too, great. Now let's just head up here and turn a couple of zombies onto my side. Who, who did that? Of course, crawler right there, sneaking through the freaking railing. Actually, I want this guy, zombie Emmett. He's, ow, pretty strong. There we go. Yes, go fight for me. I'm gonna end up using all my bandages, which reminds me, let's scrap down the clothing there and make some regular bandages because those Regular bandages actually give you back hit points. Okay, a couple more. Let's try business, man. I like how they grow a little bit. They become a taller zombie. Man, zombie Emmett is freaking strong. There we go. Businessman's properly not trying to kill me, but he will probably in just a second. There he goes. Excellent. So get a little bit of loot and let's see how much these are worth. Looks like, ooh, $51 for the whole combo set. Nice, give me all of these then. Good deal, and there's a main loot here and a weapons bag behind me, so, ooh, nice crossbow too. And not much in there, but yeah, this looks like the, the old crossbow is doing way, way more damage. That's the one that I got from the Witch Doctor bundle, so yeah, put that one away. Still got a couple more PCs down here. 
Oh, and check this out. Oh no, two non-working vending machines. We'll have to take them apart then. And a little bit of cash in the register there. All right, man, I think we're good here. Follow me. I'm ready to move out. Just give the order. Let's go then. Next stop, we are heading to the western edge of town because that's where I remembered the airdrop landing. It was about 400 meters from the pharmacy to the west. And so should be right over here somewhere. It should pop up on the compass or the map at some point. We'll be able to snag that. Not much in there. Okay, I'll meet you there. Very interested to see what we can pull out of these types of things. Oh, got a survivor over there with a wooden bow. Hang on, we'll get this first. Ranged mods bundle. I'll open that later, and then that was just some crappy food. Okay, so the, probably just like typical stuff that you usually get in the airdrops. All right, where's this guy? Here he is, fighting a soldier. Dank, kill him. Oh, also, <laughs> I can't move because I'm very encumbered. There we go. All right, grab up the explosive remains, and uh, is it Sun Honey Sage? Sun Honey Sage is taken off into the distance. That's fair. I, I can't really do any chasing right now. We've got to go back to the base and stash all the loot. All right, so I stopped by the house there and picked up all the sellables, dropped off all the loot, and now we're here to do the big sell-off and see how much we made on all those computers we took up from the gaming den. And while I'm at it, I'll grab another job from the trader. We're into the tier twos now, so let's see here. What looks what looks to be something good that we can do? The fetch to the drive-in movie theater, which is actually just to the north. I think we could do that. Is it north or no? It's just, it's right down here, right next to the wasteland. In fact, partially in the wasteland there, so might be a little bit risky doing that, but it should pay off. Oh, and I just remembered I have a super infection, so we are going to sell off and then we're going to try and fix that. And yep, made about 2600 there. Not too bad. He doesn't want the running shoes. <laughs> I don't blame him. And it would appear as though he has restocked, so there's a bit of a selection to go through here. Okay, so after having a look here, I think the one thing that I want to probably get is the beaker, because... I don't know how rare that's going to be, so let's just purchase one of those. And he does have an antibiotic. It's very expensive, though. I'm going to need it, though, because my infection is at 6%, so we would need more than one honey anyway. Take that before I forget it. And at this point, I think we're ready to do that mission for the furnace. Oh, hello there. Shelby, is that you? It's Shelby! Shelby's still hanging out here. That's so cool. Shelby, you are... I wish I could hire you. If you stick around long enough, I'll definitely be back to grab you up, for sure. And, uh, speaking of that, do you think maybe you could follow me for a second? I'll bring you over with me to, to, uh, what are we doing here again? Right, the, oh no, this is for the gas stove faction wars. Isn't that the one with the cyborg? Anyway, crap, that's not the one we really want. We want the furnace. We're gonna have to maybe, what time is it? It is 16.30. Crap, it's going to be too late probably to do that. We might have to just swing back there and do it again tomorrow to do the other mission to get the furnace. Kind of a bummer, but I'm already here now, so we might as well complete this one. All right, uh, here we are. Let's just um, make sure that the bicycle is in a good position to get us out of here. And dank jeans, where'd you go? There you are, okay. Got my back, so let's make our way in. It said faction wars, so there may be some black shields, there may be some bandits, there may be more zombies, there may- I don't know what to freaking expect here. Ow! Mr. Jeans, watch your back, please. Good stuff. Okay, more incoming. Zombie skeleton. Ooh, look out. There we go. And make sure we take the clothing off of these guys, because we need the, um... Uh, the cloth to make more bandages. These are a like prized possession now. Just make sure we're topped off. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go guns a blazing for this one. And hit it! We gotta get this gas stove, baby! Okay, so our target is way over there. For now, we're gonna deal with the zombies. Get him, Dank! We've got bandits rolling in as well. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, we've got the aces here. We also have some black shields here. Oh crap, I'm getting roughed up. So is Dang Jeez. I saw him healing there a second ago. All right. <laughs> He's got some brains in his mouth. Look out, Dank. I'm setting him on fire. Ow. And heal, heal, heal. Oh, here he is. Who is this? Roxy. Roxy Taylor John the Cyborg. I don't know about Cyborg. That guy is like fully mechanical. Oh, Dank Jeans is on fire. Hit, hit backspace. That'll put him out. Nice. Yeah, Dang Jeans is about 50% health right now. That's not loaded. Great. Okay, oh my god, he chopped my freaking arm off. More bandits over here, look out. I can't tell who's friend and who's foe. That big guy is definitely foe, though. 
Okay, and we gotta heal up now. Cover me, Dank. I gotta heal up for a second here. Okay, take you out, take this guy out, and now I think we can all focus on Roxy here. Roxy the Cyborg, I want this kill, baby. This is mine. Get him. Yes. Okay, they said search the body. Ooh, body disappeared quickly. Not much there. And here's our gas stove top schematic. Okay, cool. Ooh, that was a tense one there. Oh my god, another wandering horde. Crap, we gotta help out our friends here. Look out! I got the fire! Take that! Oh, I'm gonna set that whole barn on fire as well. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Take that! Ow! I, I think I'm taking a preference for helping the black shields, but I don't know yet. I think we're with the black shields here. I haven't had a chance to kind of introduce myself to him yet. Holy crap! That's a thug, though! One of the aces! And he's got a wicked pump shotgun. Can I have that, maybe? Did he... Is he gonna drop the pump shot? He dropped the pump shotgun for me. Holy! This guy's got a, a tactical assault rifle or something. Hide me! I'm in too bad a shape to, uh... I'm, uh to fight right now. <laughs> Well, losing my mind. There's a good tack assault rifle, huge upgrade over the pipe machine gun, but man, I paid for it. Just give me all the bandages. We'll make some more when we get home tonight. And a screamer. We don't want that. Not here in the wasteland, anyway. Yep, she screamed. Great. Okay, just get the loot and let's get out of here. Not bad. Okay. No, oh, no, no, no. There's some kind of an event. This is bad. Oh, out of ammo. Get the crossbow. Dank, come with me, buddy. We've got to get into position to leave, although we've got cover. We've got some help from the black shields. Oh, legendary zombie incoming. That's Pascal Forster, I think. Yes, it is. Oh, man. Get, get out. Ow. Oh, there's one of those electrified zombies, I think. Uh, Dank, are you okay, buddy? Declan's trying to blow the friggin' vehicle up. <laughs> Dank's got more zombie brain in his mouth. Not sure why I'm searching that right now, but I'm going to. Holy crap, guys. Uh, try not to blow everybody up, but it's gonna be kind of hard, honestly. Here, this should help these guys. And leave that for them and leave. Nope, I think I ran away too fast. We're working our way through them. They were getting there. They're tanking Pascal really well. Asher is almost dead. And so is this other guy, Dylan. Yep, that's right, take him out. Oh, we've got a knockdown. Pull my arrow out of his spinal cord. Okay, we've lost one of the survivors there. There's a crossbow bolt. No, no, no. Asher, no! Oh, I was, I was just a second too late there to, to save him. Okay, we gotta grab that before it disappears. Oh, there's all kinds of good stuff in there. Oh, ow, buddy. Leave me alone. What a friggin' massacre this has been. Holy crap. Zombie Wesley here. Grab up all the clothing. Like I said before, we need the bandages. I'm also encumbered, so careful. We don't want to take too much stuff with us. So that was a combination of a faction war, a legendary zombie horde, and a screamer horde, as well as probably just a lot of rando bandits and zombies that might have just heard the commotion and <laughs> tried to take the opportunity to kill us. I'm bloody starving. When are we gonna stop for some chow? Well, the brains in your mouth weren't enough for you or what? Okay, that'll just about do it for me. I think we're fine here. Did I get any sort of critical injuries there? I think my infection is still healing. So we're good, let's get out of here. 1940 it is now. Do you think we can blow right through here? It's only a tier two. I'd say it's probably worth a try. Just get a couple more bandages here. I think I can make some more just in the inventory. Just kind of max me out on that. And yeah, let's try this. Uh, hang on though, still encumbered. Let's just drop some crap here in the bike. Really, I just have these shoes because I want to. What is this? A katana? Holy cow, that's cool. Motorcycle handlebars, also a generic perk book, retracting stock mode. Okay, get rid of all that stuff, stock up the bike. Ooh, look at this, a strength DNA boost as well. Oh, and that tack assault rifle, we need that immediately. Take all, I had four mods on that pipe machine gun there. How many can I put onto this one? Another four, perfect. Although that's a single group mod for that, which is not the best, but uh, I'll hold on to it for now. We'll just have like a regular semi-rifle. All right, and 
Are we good then? No, I want to look at that katana. Oh, wow. What is, what's the damage on this compared to let's see, 36 and 72 compared to... Uh, it's far better than the, the rusty sickle here, but we have to level up the sickle in order to level up the witch doctor. And we almost are leveled up in that, so... All right, hit this. We're wasting time here. Stir up the zombies. We've got birds already. And that's out of ammo. Oh, that's not loaded. Dang jeans, you're supposed to be telling me to load my guns and stuff. Whoa. Oh, got some more brains in his mouth. All right, hold up then. We gotta, we gotta heal. I, I, getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Slow down, slow down. We got a little bit of time here. We got a couple of hours. We could just stir these zombies up and kill them all. Or no, we just have to retrieve the supplies, which are right over here, actually. They're right inside this building. In here? Oh yes, right there. Perfect. That's all we needed. And my charisma just increased because I think I've completed the mission. I don't have to turn it in in order to get that charisma boost. So, I think a couple of days ago I had crafted a charismatic nature perk book. But, I couldn't read it because my char my um, charisma wasn't high enough. My charisma has to be level 2, which it is now. So I think I can read that book now and then I can put my charismatic nature glasses on to boost up my, uh, my skill in charismatic nature. Is this making any sense at all? <laughs> Basically, I think I can, I can hire a second NPC now, as long as I have the money. So let's get out of here. Let's call it quits here. It's almost nightfall. I want to go home. Oh, and now that I'm at the trader, I heard... Oh, these have stuff in them. All kinds of repair kits. Firearm repair kits for 450 It's not too bad. Do I need one right now? No, I think I'm good. I think that the crossbow takes a regular repair kit, so... Are these all just the same thing? Yeah. Okay, so you get your repair kits out of there, FYI. See what we get for a reward for our first tier 2. And I do believe I had the Daring Adventurer glasses on. I think I'm wearing those by default right now. What do we want here? Really nothing good, but I'll take the 9 mil. That'll help us out around Horde Night. And a new job. There's a rest area desert very nearby. I'll take that. Sure. Okay. All right, I'm eager to go home now and test out my theory that I can get to the point where I can hire two NPCs. Whoa, there's an NPC right there. Who is that? Oh, somebody's fighting a wolf. Let's go help him out. All right, open fire. Oh, they're on the other side of the fence. Winter Steel. Winter Steel, that's a cool name. If only you didn't have a machete. I do like the outfit as well. Okay, there we go. You guys were just like locked in face-to-face -face combat. Ooh, who's that? That's a freaking zombie uh, demon, actually. Whoa! Let's take this guy out. Oh look, he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna be hung up on the fence. Holy crap, Allison Anderson is a tough one. Ripped right through. Oh my god, there's more zombies here. Um. Holy crap, this is bad. Where did all these freaking zombies come from? Come on, help. They take him out, take him out, take him out. Steel is, uh, was tanking one of them for us. That's pretty cool. And, ow. Ugh. Oh, get back. Jeez, man. There's just no reprieve here in Rebirth, is there? Just balls to the wall all the friggin' time. You gotta be on your game 24-7. Alright, where's the boss? Because the boss might have some, like, money on him or something. Is that how it works? Was this this, this guy? Or is he already dead? Or... Uh, no, here he is. Zombie leader. Legendary zombie. $304. We got some zombies close to home. But, um, our guys are shooting at them. Oh, jeez. Wait for my heart rate to go back down. I'm gonna dry off my palms a little bit. Check the loot, and I think we're just about ready to head back home for the night. Get all nice and tucked in. It's the only place we're safe, is at home. And, uh, Steel over there is just gonna be fighting zombies all night until he dies, or until all the zombies die, whichever comes first. Holy crap, what was that? Was that a demo? It, it had a definite, like, beeping and explosion. Oh my god, man. Great. We got, we got to worry about mini demos or whatever the hell that was over there. Jeez Louise. Close the door. Alright, so while the boys are working on the zombies outside, I'm gonna start putting stuff away and getting organized and we'll start thinking about a plan for tomorrow. Alright, everything's been put away and organized now, so have a look at what I have here. So, look at this. Charismatic nature training. I should be able to use this 
to improve my charismatic nature to, I think that was to one, because I didn't have the charismatic nature glasses on. Let's check that. Yes, it's level one now. So if I then put on the charismatic nature sunglasses instead of the daring adventurer ones, that bumps it up to two, meaning I can actually hire two survivors now. Okay, so here's the other thing. We put the daring adventurer glasses away now. Just put those in the dresser with the others. And we have a generic perk book. So let's look at the recipes for that. I was having a look. I think the one I want to do is sexy T-Rex. So we'll craft that, but I don't think I can use it yet. Can I? No, I can't because my strength level is too low. So I, I got that part right. Let's hit recipes because I got the DNA boost for strength. We will craft that. My strength level has not been increasing very much because I think you probably would want to do some mining. So before we do any big mining projects, let's just get this into us. Use that and then use sexy T-Rex. Oh no, my strength level is too low still. We have to probably get level two then, is that right? Uh, no, it says strength level. Oh, that boost actually was was not a hundred percent okay I, I was thinking that was higher okay so we'll save the sexy t-rex one for later that's fine no big deal we'll get our use out of it eventually i also crafted up a whole bunch of bandages and first aid bandages i've got forty nine hundred dollars and i should be fed and well hydrated enough to move out we're locked we're loaded we're ready to roll our destination is to the north i'm not sure if this is gonna be starving. Um, when are we gonna stop some chow? I've already had chow. I don't know. Snooze, you lose, I guess. I don't know if that's gonna be snow biome or temperate biome or wasteland biome or what, but I'll meet you there. <gasps> Did you see that? That was a zombie grudge over there, I think. I just want to take a closer look because, oh, look how freaking huge he is. Wow. Oh, that POI is kind of full of zombies, too. Look how massive that guy is. Oh, geez. That's terrifying. He's in the baseball field. I am getting out of here. We'll let this guy here handle it. He looks like he's pretty good at fighting with a pipe rifle, I guess. <laughs> good luck, buddy. Okay, we've made it up over the northern edge of this river, and we are now heading straight to the furnace mission for the to kill the toxic zombies before they contaminate the... Presumably, this river is what they're looking to try to not contaminate with those zombies. All right, try to keep your wits about you. There could be enemies here anywhere. Holy crap. Yep, we're taking contact. Look out. Oh my god, multiple directions too. Let's just bail out behind this little barrier here. And uh, return some fire here. Nice. Down. And that guy's already dead. These guys were already taking care of business before we got here. He had another tack assault rifle and some blood. Just take the blood out of his veins real quick before he starts decomposing. Oh, jeez, look out for those. Luckily, I think the bicycle frame absorbed most of that one. Okay, where's our mission here? There's a nice little gate there. I like that. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're over here. Not sure where that other bandit... Oh, no, no, no. I see him. He's right over there. Yep, yep. Just hide behind this little defilade here and... Return fire. It's Catlo. <laughs> Sorry, Catlo. That is what you get, though. You reap what you sow. Okay, another tack assault rifle. These, they sell for a little bit. We'll find out which one works the best eventually. Looks like this is the best one. Let's just switch that over since we're about to do the mission. Oh, we get an extra mod slot for that one too. Excellent. All right, sure reload. I'm on top of it, don't worry. Okay, the bicycle is here, right next. Ow! I don't suppose we should do the, the mind control brew because I think these are going to be like well, we could try it, I suppose. I don't know if they're going to be like feral or radiated or what they're going to be, but I'll try it. Take down a coffee as well, just for good measure. And this is it. Are you ready? Let's just get a good weapon out. We'll start with the shotgun and uh, the reload speed is really bad on this. So I'm just going to, you know, put the nine rounds down range and then I'll switch over to the tack assault rifle or something like that. Ready, buddy? Let's do this. Oh, right in front of us, right straight ahead over there. Real quickly then, get some fire onto him. That should loosen them up a little bit, and I'll just airburst one, just like that. Oh, perfect. That worked great. Another one. Good. We're doing fine here. Now it's just a matter of killing them all. Oh, the fire rate is so bad on this run. Oh, I killed just about. Okay, the shotgun's not going to be good for him because he's armored. 
And that's it, I think. We just got the one guy, Winter Steel, apparently has converted to a zombie. Take him out. Nice. Search the body, scrap the clothing, search this, and we've got the furnace schematic. Nice. Wow, the, uh, the air bursting pipe bombs worked a treat on that one. Yeah, I mean, we should have known better. Winter Steel was uh, not going to be able to handle that on his own last night. Don't worry, my friend. I've got your six. I'm counting on it. All right, we're all packed up, and I think we could probably try to clear that POI real quick. Our loot stage is 46, you know. Not, not terribly good, but we can see what we can get here real fast. I know the POI quite well. It should be pretty easy to get through. All right, we just head in through the front door. There should be just a couple of zombies in here. Oh! I forgot that I had the mind control brew on. <laughs> nice. Yeah, gotta wait for the mind control brew to wear off. There we go. Whoa, just blast him. Well, in terms of chow, I just picked up a can of peas. Is that gonna hold you over until we get back to the base, or do you need something else? I'll let you know if I find anything here. It's cat food. I got just the thing for you now. All right, this is where we have a bit of a fight on our hands. I'll just go ahead and turn one of you. And you can help me fight. Oh, ow. Look out. Got an abrasion. Unfortunately, I can't use the power attack now because it'll just turn the zombie. Now I, I gotta wait for this guy to turn back. And as soon as he does, I'm just gonna light him up. There we go. Alright, some free loot here. Excellent. Oh my goodness, that chem station, it's working too. My goodness, we could just take this with us. It's gonna be a repairable chemistry station, but it's better than nothing at all. And I'll just have these resources real quick while I'm at it. Good to go. There we go, some more cat food for you, Dank. All right, that reminds me, now that we have the chemistry station, what was the recipe going to be for the, f was it the furnace? Yeah, the furnace. Okay, this one you need the repairable furnace, otherwise really easy to make. This one you're going to need an empty rusty barrel iron oh, wooden planks. That's going to be an issue because we don't have the circular saw. Uh, ooh, that's a friggin' uh, empty barrel right there. Just take that with me. That's half the battle. Now we got to get the circular saw or some wooden planks. I just, I don't know where you get the wooden planks from. Is that harvestable or you've got to make it? Maybe you get those from those like big long pallets. You know, the it's like plywood it looks like. Big plywood pallets. Like, not those pallets, but, um, you know, the big, big ones, the new ones from Alpha 20. Oh, look at that, a reflex sight and a plush Prussian blue remedy there. Nice. Oh, you know, real quick, though, before we head back home. Hello? Someone got a desert vulture over here. Actually, scratch that. Let's go check on this and see if it's a survivor. It is totally abandoned. No, thank you. Right, what I want to do is just grab up just a handful of iron, because there's some kind of a quest that, where we need to collect iron, and I'd like to just get it over with. Oh! Look out! Sorry, I can't really walk. Can you just come back here, please, before you get yourself killed? Alright, now we can take him out. Yeah, I'm working on it. You're getting a little far ahead of me. Oh, jeez. That guy probably dropped a desert vulture. I'm gonna go get it. Oh, nice. We're stocking up on all the good guns. Not that we can really use them because we're not really specced into them, but good to have anyway. There we go. I can't really tell if that's leveling up my strength or not. Okay, before we get distracted yet again, let's head back home. Oh boy, there's a freaking demon over here. Great. It is my purpose in life to freaking kill demons though, so I'm gonna hop out of here. And I'm going to stash whatever I can in there, and hopefully I can run now. A little bit better. Um, excuse me. Take this guy down, Cloud Z. Great. Oh, perfect name. With a whole bunch of friends with him. Can we take him out, please? Uh-oh. I'm not running very fast right now. Great. Holy crap. Oh, no ammo. Um, we gotta get on the bike. We gotta get on the bike and get the frig out of here. Ow, holy crap. So many. Who's got a gun over here? I hear people shooting. These guys over here are gonna blow up the, uh... Oh, is that another one? Yes, it is. We got another demon over here. Holy crap. My plan right now is to cluster them all together and hopefully kill them. Oh, did we lose that survivor? Yeah, he definitely looks like he's gone. If we can cluster them on the ambulances and blow them all up at the same time, that would be really, really cool. 
Okay, cluster them all together. Light them all on fire. Just get another one going over there. Yep. Buddy's on fire. Put them out, please. They are somehow pushing the ambulance. How is that happening? That's Awit Para. I didn't catch the name though. There we go. Jeez. We've almost finished him up. Cloudzy still alive. Got him. Oh. Uh, Kenny, Kenny D. Kenny D, what's up, man? Are you new or were you the guy that was over here to begin with? What the heck? There's just a freaking ambulance sitting here? Fully fueled? Holy cow, I found an ambulance. Now, this guy is just, tr zombie Braden is tripping the hell out right now. This guy is totally possessed. The spirit from, from Cloud Z has tried to jump into that zombie. Oh, he had some silver on him too. Interesting. Oh, and he had a diamond on him and some old cash. Never a dull moment around here. So is this a, a regular ambulance? We got two regular ambulances here. So, okay, we take your pick. We got two ambulances to choose from here. They're a little worse for the wear, but they're both operational at least. Now, if I had to say, this is probably a glitch, so I'm not going to take advantage of it. We're gonna put those away, and I'm gonna report that over to Ramsey. Hey everyone, just me in editing here, and I talked to Furious Ramsey about finding these working ambulances, and indeed, this is a feature of the mod. You are able to find fully functional, fully fueled vehicles out there in the wild, and so what I'm gonna do is, in the next episode, I'm just going to go ahead and drop another ambulance out here, and we'll just pretend like this never even happened. Okay, I just caught a glimpse through the trees of all of these solar panels here at this solar-powered farm or or whatever this you'd call this. I guess just like a house, it seems. But I wanted to see if this has forged iron in it. Oh no, I just totally ripped it off. Like I can take it with me. Uh, that's nice. Are these, do these have sell value? What are these worth? No sell price. Okay, we'll scratch that. We're gonna have a difficult time getting forged iron. I don't know if that's made in the furnace or if it's made at the blacksmith thing. But uh, we're gonna need a table saw before we can make the boards to make the furnace, so... Hmm, a bit of a conundrum here. What are we gonna do? There's a lumber mill right there. Oh, you know what? I remember this place, and there are... There's like three table saws that are in here. And I'm gonna have myself at least one of them. Let's just drop off here for a second, and no, nope, nope. Halt. Resume. Halt. Full control. Full control. Come back here. You just stay put right here. We're gonna kill this zombie, and then I'm gonna start dumping inventory. And we're gonna find out if there's a table saw in here somewhere. Something right here. Uh-oh. Shush. Don't wake your friends up, please. Yep, just sit on your butt there. That's fine. Oh, I've drawn the pigs. Pigs in the pen, though. It's, oh my god, he's got a lot of hit points. This is not working. Okay, just gonna do a smash and grab now. What is that? Was that a workbench? What is this? That's the, uh, whatever it is. The, uh, oh, the blacksmith thing. That's a good find. Okay, if you could take him out. Oh, no ammo. Great. Good. Still, oh my god, there was a major collapse. Is this a freaking wandering horde now of all times? I'm trying to do a sneaky stealth mission here. Oh, what's in this? Something good, please. Something, uh, first aid kit. That is good. Please follow me. We're gonna have to probably get a move on here a little bit. Okay, we're doing great so far. Hold your ground. Yep, fire and maneuver. You got the right idea. Whoa, that's how you do it. Ride the construction worker. <laughs> I love it. Okay, that could have just been a trigger or it could have been a whole horde. There's still a couple zombies trickling in here. With uh, all the firepower here. Oh, I'm a witch doctor level two. I was just gonna say, it's hard to level up the melee stuff, but there we go. I think I did just level up my scythe skill or sickle skill, if you will. And a couple of zombies are over there. Okay, we are looking for, there are wolves over there, I think. Yes, there are. There's wolves in the cage over there. That's what the zombies are after. We are looking for a table saw. There's one right there. Give me this. This is not a real table saw, I think. I think this is just something that you, re like, wrench regular. Uh, it did give me a circular saw blade, though, which is maybe a component to craft a table saw, or a circular saw. I'm kind of still working on the terminology here. 
Okay, don't go down there. There's Grace down there. There's a... Oh, there's a cement mixer over there. How am I encumbered again? Oh, it's because I... Pro wait, I got a bunch of important notes that I... Uh, oh my goodness, a horror panther. Give me that. This is my special pet for being in the uh, the witch doctor class. Shadow. We'll give you another new name here shortly. But for now, let's see if, yes, this is working. Oh, it takes a battery, which I, I do have a battery and the animals are kind of loose. Although, you know what? I've got the horror panther now, Shadow. I kind of want to see what he can do. I think you got now. Shadow, go. Nope, Shadow, go get the wolf. Nice. Wolf battle or panther versus wolf fight. Oh, I love the sound too. Nice. Oh, and I just converted him somehow. Oh, even though I didn't drink the brew. <laughs> Thanks. Having one of his insanity moments. I guess we're pretty much fully clearing this place out at this point. I never actually did find the main loot here, so it might be worth kind of poking in here and seeing if I can find it. Oh, I see what it is. Oh my! Bad. Holy crap, I totally almost bought the farm. Uh, when Shadow attacks a zombie, sometimes it turns over to being controlled by me, which is kind of cool, actually. I like that. What I don't like is being, like, mega encumbered like this. So, what can I get rid of? Oh, look at this. Black magic bolt. That's a crossbow bolt that I can launch at someone and get a mind control buff onto him. And nothing much going on here. Some health supplies, hopefully. Yep. Ooh, antibiotics. Nice. Does that maybe mean that the loot is in here? Or this looks like a very suspicious pile of hay. Let me take care of this for a second. I see concrete. Yeah, this is where it is right here. Oh, crap. I can't pick that open either, can I? Oh, geez. 21,000 hit points. I have no dynamite. Is there maybe a button here somewhere? Because... Breaking it open is just simply gonna take too long. I'll maybe keep it in mind and we can revisit this in a couple of days. Maybe when we get some dynamite. Oh, look at that, a propane tank sitting in that barbecue grill right there. All right, it's been a pretty fun day so far, but let's go ahead and go home and we'll sort out the crafting station situation <laughs> and see if we can get started on some construction after that. Holy crap, what happened? I hear monsters. Um, oh, is that him over there? Ooh, gonna have to just kite these guys. Oh, hello there. Just gonna have to kite him around. I'm too encumbered right now to even move. However, he's looking like he wants to just go up into the base, which would be absolutely terrible. Yep, just let my, my allies here do all the work and I will take all the glory. Oh, here he is right here. Zombie leader Mateo. I guess he just got absolutely gunned down by our soldiers up here. Nice. Alex, stop breaking stuff over here. I'm gonna blow you to hell. Stop it. Okay, you are officially an enemy. Get out of here. I, don't, I just don't understand why you are insisting on doing this. You know, we could be friends, but you just... Oh, you're lucky. Now oh, screw it. Dead. Take that. All right, everyone's stationed up. It just ticked nightfall. I've put everything away and gotten organized. And I wanted to have a quick look here at the crafting stations. I was looking at the furnace. We still can't do that. We need the wooden planks. So that's going to be a bit of an issue because we don't have the table saw. And we didn't find one. We found the saw, but it wasn't the actual table saw. So we still have to work on getting that. In order to unlock the schematic, we'd have to go back to the wasteland to get the circular saw. What we do have is a repairable chemistry station. We have a repairable cement mixer, a repairable workbench. Nice, and the repairable forge. So if we can't do the furnace, maybe we can do one of those tonight. The forge requires a log, a wood log. Let's try these trees. I don't like these trees anyway. Yes, I got two wood logs out of that, perfect. Okay, so now that I got the log, I can make the forge. Excellent, start on that. The chemistry station will require 
of course, wooden planks and the forged steel. We don't have that or broken glass as well. The cement mixer will require more forged steel. Otherwise, we're good. And lastly, the workbench is going to require more forged iron, which will require the forge. Oh, and more wood planks. So the biggest shortfall right now is the stupid table saw. Ah, crap. And we were just in the area too. We'll have to go out there and do that first thing tomorrow morning then. The shredder we could do here in a minute once we get some more forged iron. Iron. And we need the shredder to make more cobblestone. We shred the large rocks down into cobblestone rocks. And then we will need the furnace to actually make the cobblestone cube shapes. Ooh, boy. So we might have to make a base out of wood. I was hoping to just make it make the whole base out of cobblestone shapes, but I'm not sure if we're going to get far enough tomorrow to do that. Uh-oh. Yeah, we might have to build the base tomorrow out of wood and... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think that's the trick here. In terms of the horde base, I was kind of thinking what we could do is we could station all of the soldiers right up here and like point them this way. And we make like a nice catwalk for the zombies to go all the way down this way, like up at the same level that we're on right now. And then wrap it around to like a fighting position out here on the front and uh, probably going to have to carve up some of these stairs man that would take a while wouldn't it uh, we're never going to be secure here though until we carve out the stairs it's just it's inevitable we have to do it eventually okay well at the very least here is the forge we can drop this down how about right there move the plant and forged iron right there we can make a whole bunch of it oh finally perfect Although there was that one quest where I have to have the forged iron on me. Just heard the tick for it. Which was that? Oh, we just have to talk to the trader now. That mission is now complete and we will get the forge schematic for that. What do you know? So let's proceed with the forged iron for tonight. And I'm going to grab the pickaxe and I'm going to start knocking out these stairs. And that's it right there. We've knocked out all of the stairs. We are now fully secure up here. That means it's probably going to mess up the zombie pathing a little bit. They're not going to want to come around to the front. So maybe if we're not fighting the horde, we'll put down a temporary system so that the zombies think they can get in here. We can pull them into the fatal funnel. But otherwise on horde night, we're going to make a nice, you know, corridor set up here. So we have a nice open line of fire for all of our soldiers. So the only thing left to do for tomorrow is to make sure that we can start production on... Wooden planks, we'll need the circular saw for that, and then we'll fight the horde, we'll build the base, and then we'll fight the horde. But anyone but friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. The horde is bearing down on us, and we haven't even started preparation. So the plan today is to slay some beasts for the Black Shields, after a trader network experiment went terribly wrong. For that, we'll get the table saw schematic, which is the gateway to crafting the workbench and shredder. Then we'll fight the horde and spend the day after collecting resources and questing. Team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. Alright, we got a super busy schedule today, so let's get started. The first thing we gotta do is change Shadow's name here to Magnus Carling. Except, aka Magnus, and you can follow me for the day. Dank, you gotta follow me for today. Next up, I want to grab a sellable item or two or three. And okay, we got some pipe stuff there. Let's just get the three pipe weapons and we'll get three pipes. Repair all of those up. And I just want to see if I can sell these to Briston. Oh, Briston has a reward for me for doing the forge thing. So we'll just take the money, I think. And may I see your inventory? Oh, what was that? He whistled. Oh, Senjik. Wow, what a perfect name for a mercenary yes yeah, so we've um what level are we we're level 21 may i see your inventory mercenary protection tier one this will allow me to hire a mercenary or like spawn one in basically for how long does it last one minute and i can do it every 20 minutes and i think there's different tiers depending on my level so go ahead and buy that thank you very much and we can use this and that just gives me the ability. Now I have to just press the insert button if I want to actually do that. I'm not exactly sure if I get this guy. Wow, you got a grenade on your belt too. If I get this guy or somebody else. We'll figure that out in just a little bit. But Briston, can I sell you stuff? I'm pretty sure I can. Someone told me I could. Yes, I can. 
that is really nice so we don't have to make our way all the way over to the other trader and uh, we'll have to take a look and see if we can get something like parkour or uh, some other skill here later on today. But for, for now, we gotta go get the table saw schematic. Just top off on food a little bit. Do this, and then yeah, we need to get the table saw so that we can get um, boards or like wooden planks, and then we need the wooden planks to make the chemistry station, the workbench, and the furnace, and then we need all of that stuff to make cobblestone. Holy crap, we got a lot to do today. Then we gotta actually build some sort of a horde base, and I think I've got something in mind for the top of the garage over there. So, are we ready to go here? We have a zombie out here? No, I think that was just... No, oh, Senjik is just running away. He's stuck in the backyard too. <laughs> and I know for a fact that there's not a way out of the backyard. So there you go. Don't break anything while I'm gone, please. Check that. And, ooh, that was good red tea. That'll be perfect for when we actually do this mission. So I'm going to jump in the bicycle and we're going to head over to the wasteland to do the table saw mission. We'll unlock the table saw, we'll build it, and then we'll go from there. Oh, and the last thing is, I talked in the last episode about uh, spawning myself in an ambulance because, you know, we stumbled across two working ambulances and I figured that must be a bug, but it is not. That is a feature of the mod that there are actually working vehicles out here, so... Uh, I, I considered just spawning myself in another one, but I think we'll just, we'll roam around. We'll find another one here eventually, I'm sure. Oh, look out for the pig. Ow! Like this car here, is this going to be working? Working car? No, damaged Mustang. Okay, well, fair enough. What about this one up here? Nope, repair. I've already searched that one. Ooh, oh, there's a grudge over there. I do want to kill the gr Ow, whoa, the boar! There we go. Okay, now where is, oh, the grudge, he's right there. And Magnus is with us. Here, pull him over here if we can. We need to kill lots of explosive immune zombies and get the remains because that uh, unlocks the future traitors. Okay, who do we got here? Matthew Cobb, big guy here. And Zombie Emmett, who's also kind of difficult to kill. All right, here we go. Put some arrows into his head. And uh, almost dead. Oh! He has been converted. Ow, whoa, he hits hard. Yeah, Zombie Emmett does not like to be converted. He can't hurt me, but, but I can't hurt him either. All right, let's check on Big Man here and check on the loot that he dropped for me. Okay, not too bad. And wow, his, um, I think Magnus, when he converts a zombie over, it lasts a lot longer than when I do it. But I'm not really interested in waiting for this guy to despawn. So let's just get out of here. Oh, hold up, hold up. Are these the ambulances? Oh my god, they're the ambulances. <laughs> Jeez, yes. I, that's perfect, so we don't even have to cheat, because I, I, what I didn't want to do is I didn't want to go into the creative menu, but hey, if they're still here from before, I'm fine with that. We are now a witch doctor with an ambulance. How perfect is that? So take up the bicycle, grab the ambulance, and there's a survivor up here I want to check on. Hi there. Uh, is it Bat Batuan? Batuan Yasar? Something like that? Interesting name, nice to meet you. We've got a pipe pistol, not really interested in that. We're looking more for probably doing all of our recruiting in the wasteland. Although I don't wanna just get like four people with M60s. I wanna get a good variety. So M60 is covered. We've got a light machine gunner. Now we need to get like uh, a close quarters combat person, like someone with a auto shotgun or desert vulture. Maybe get uh, someone that's sneaky quiet, that's got a crossbow or maybe a, a compound bow or something. I don't know who else after that. We'll just pick and choose as we come across them. Man, the reduction in speed when you're off-road is definitely noticeable. I don't even think that the turbo button works like when you hold shift. That is not getting us any more speed. And yeah, we're at the border of the wasteland now and it's not a good spot for the ambulance in there. So let's just park it up here and leave it there. We have some bandits, some zombies, and possibly some survivors that are gonna do battle over there. That's fine with me. Not really interested right now. We're just gonna drop the bicycle down. Oh, and we have the backup ambulance. <laughs> I'll hang on to it, okay? You never know. And there are actually zombies in this mod that target vehicles. Like, they will prefer to go for your vehicle instead of you. So we'll have to watch out for those. All right, having a look at the map. Yeah, there's no easy way to get here, so... I will just uh, ride my bicycle cross country, keep on the lookout for people with guns. Hello there. Creamy Ghost is back. Man, I, I, I really like the outfit there. Okay, let's check the stats. We, we only want to hire people if they're like high tier. 
Armor is 24. I think that's max. I think that's what Dank has. Carrying capacity is 24. I don't think that that's max. 352 life seems pretty good. And four grand to hire. Where'd you go? Oh, there he is. He freaking took off on me while I was reading his stats. Come back here. Got another M60 soldier out there. Okay, Creamy. We got Horde Knight tonight, so I'm interested in hiring you. Come with me. Nice, we've got Dank and Ghost. What good names for these people, too. All right, everyone, onto the bicycle. We press on. Oh, jeez. Ow, taking SMG fire. Whoa, not good. Uh-oh. God damn, man. Get some cover over here. Okay, drop it off here and get our wits about us. Oh, jeez, take cover. Return some fire on that guy. Nice. Okay, he's got the SMG, so I will grab that. And, oh, there's a bear behind me. Yikes. Okay. Whoa. Do not hit me. I could probably die instantly. Um, uh, no. Holy crap. Oh, I got the kill just in time. Guys, you got to lay down some better suppressing fire. Speaking of that, we've got another soldier coming up here with a pump shotgun. You guys mind? Holy crap. Run. Run. Oh, and we've enthralled that uh, zombie over there, that toxic zombie. Holy Toledo. Just give me a second while I get some hit points back into me. Okay, zombie, he was healing actually. You mind finishing him off please while I get these bandages in? Thank you. Got another one over here. Yes, can you maybe, there you go. Okay, this is gonna be a pretty big mission here. So I'll take the mind control brew. That way we can get two thralls, one from Magnus and one from myself. And oh wait, let's get the toxic remains off of these guys. Oh wait, do these guys not have toxic remains? Yeah, I don't, I don't know that they do. I don't know if that's a thing. I will take the cloth off of them for bandages. Okay, are we pretty much ready to go here or what? Make sure we're locked and loaded. Oh, did I? I didn't bring any water with me, which is not good. That means I can't put out my friends if they catch on fire. Well, it's gonna have to do. Let's hit this and see what happens. Also, we got some distant M60 fire. That's fine, let's do this. Holy crap, we're surrounded immediately. Guys, kill! We've converted one. Oh my god, there's like radiated chickens. Let's convert another couple here. Get me an army! Okay, we've got several converted. There's also freaking chickens everywhere and rabbits. God! Oh, jeez, now I'm on fire. Here, take that um, red tea that we had. Oh, there we go, I can move. Perfect, okay, now let's fight. Freaking werewolf here, we can kill him first, please. There you go, grab whatever's on his person. And now it's just a matter of killing the zombies that I had converted, right? Are we good? Ah, oh, we're doing great, excellent. Wow, that was fast and furious there a little bit. Oh, here's that soldier. Gliding turtle. Wow, there's so many cool soldiers in this bio. Look at these disgusting animals. What the hell? No wonder they wanted us to get them killed. Can't have stuff like that just roaming around. All right, there goes Arlene, our last thrall. Just grabbing up the loot here. Okay, I think that just about does it. We gotta head back to the base now and get that table saw crafted. Oh, you know, interestingly, the speed boost, the running speed boost that you get when you drink red tea also applies to the bicycle. <laughs> I like that. All right, well, I just wanted to check on that guy. That is totally abandoned. I kind of want that SMG though. Let's take him out. There we go. Grab this and kill this guy, please. Did you enthrall him? I'm trying to kill him. Damn it, Magnus. Okay, whatever. All right, here we go. Rolling back up the, on the base. Sinjik is still here, which is kind of interesting. And I don't know that I would like to just leave this parked here. We'll leave it here for now, but we need to take this up for Horde Night. I don't want anyone destroying it. Oh my, look at this. I, did, I didn't even see these last night when I was chopping out the stairs. We got a couple of loot boxes here. Not bad. And what's in here? Screwdriver duct tape, okay? Okay, so the the number one thing we gotta do now is get the table saw crafted. I believe that's in the toolbox. Wait a minute. I probably have to read the schematic first. Table saw, oh no, I don't have the stuff for it. What am I missing? Just regular iron. 
I can just go mine some of that real fast, I think. I was thinking maybe I could, um, crap, this is almost broken. I was thinking I could scrap it, but you actually need the shredder to scrap things like pipes and doorknobs and stuff like that. Okay, where's the iron now? <laughs> Get back in the ambulance. Oh, you know what? Alternatively, we could just probably wrench down some cars. That's probably the fastest way to get the iron. Yeah, I actually think I, that was the perfect amount right there. Table saw, two minutes on that, perfect. While we're at it, we're gonna need some wooden frames, which I need to have the hammer out to craft those. Oh crap, we got an airdrop too. Where's that gonna be? Kinda way off there. Okay, and frame shapes. Oh yes, those take the nails too, don't they? Uh, it takes the fewest amount of nails if you use either the workbench or you use the wooden planks instead of the scrap wood. It takes three nails if I use this. Wow, okay, things are a little bit more complicated. We might not really have a horde base. <laughs> we might just be standing on the edge here just shooting at zombies wildly in all directions. I'm gonna do the best that I can here though. Oh, look at that, an auto workbench. I didn't know that was a thing. Ooh, car lift. Regular workbench compressor tool. Lots of cool, like, ingredients for that. All right, there's the table saw. Finally, we're getting things rolling here. I'm gonna put this over in this room here. This is, like, all cleared out for a nice workstation room. Okay, and we need that to make the planks. Oh, geez, that needs fuel. Does it need fuel? That look, looked like a weird spot for fuel. Oh, I have 49 fuel, great. Okay, that should be enough to get me a handful of wooden planks. I gotta go get some more wood now. Quite poorly prepared for all of this, aren't I? All right, I think that's enough. Oh, that actually, pro oh, every log is producing like four or five. That's plenty of wooden planks then, my goodness. I thought we were gonna be in trouble there, but no, we are absolutely fine. Get the workbench started, then get the shredder after that. And in the meantime, I will get started with the frames that I have. Okay, what I'm thinking for a design here is just a simple catwalk design to kind of draw the zombies right up to the front. I'm not sure if we're gonna ever make it up to cobblestone, but for now, I think this is the best we can do, kind of on short notice. <laughs> and since I'm getting a little bit tired of having the whole entourage follow me everywhere I go, bring them up here and I'm just gonna station them up in their positions for tonight. Creamy Ghost, I want you to stay where I'm standing. And Dank, I want you to stay where I'm standing. And then Magnus, Magnus, you come over here and you just uh, stay where you are right there. And this will be like our fallback position at the door if I remember to craft a uh, hatch and everything there. I don't think it'll come to that. I think we have like far superior power firepower than what the game can throw at us on day seven. The real test will be to see what the Horde Knight Plus and Horde Knight Turbo options will do, because they're gonna be on for tonight. Okay, workbench and uh, frames. Oh, it needs the hammer and pliers and the screwdriver, which thankfully I have been saving those things. Yeah, we're, we're cutting it too close today. This is not gonna end very well, is it? Okay, yeah, we're gonna be rolling with the regular wood here. Make me, yeah, another 25 or so of those we got to get the wood I don't even know if I can upgrade a frame shape to regular wood without nails So that's gonna be a little bit of an experiment Let's just try that because if I can't I think we'll probably have to scrap this whole project and then oh good It's gonna work excellent. Okay time to drop in the shredder, which is battery operated. Oh No, it's propane operated, but I, I have a pro propane tank that I grabbed out of a barbecue grill recently. So not the battery. Okay, and drop that in. Yes, now we just need cobblestone. I can get 24. I'm gonna need a lot more than that. Okay, we need to mine rocks then. Oh no, 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 this is not good. I don't think we have time. We do have a little bit of cobble over here, 300-ish. Oh geez, is there nothing I can do with the small stone here? Recipes. Yeah, that, that doesn't turn into cobblestone. Crap. All right, well, hopefully another 25 shapes or so, so will do it, and then we will just have to, I don't know, we'll just have to hope that nothing catches on fire. And if it does, hopefully it happens later in the evening. And then if that happens, hopefully we can hold them. Just, you know, plain Jane, no pathing, no exploits, nothing like that. Okay, so just upgrade this as much as I can first to wood and then the most critical blocks we will upgrade a little bit later. 
Oh no, I'm just discovering now that these, to upgrade them, you need to use the freaking regular wood planks. You can't use the regular wood. And we're out of gas for the saw table. Could this possibly be going any worse right now? Scratch that, I found a little bit more gas in there. Okay, so fuel this up and get to work. Okay, so now I, I think I'm pretty much ready to fight the horde. It's just a matter of kind of running around, chopping down trees, getting the wood, putting the wood into the saw table to make the wooden planks, upgrading, and then doing as much cobblestone upgrades as I can. It's kind of just, I'm all over the place right now. We'll do the best we can for tonight, though. Kind of sounds like there's a wandering horde here. I don't know. Do you think the soldiers can handle that on their own? I think the last of them are just trickling around here. Really don't have time for you guys right now. That's time for some loot though, thank you. All right, final crafting here. Just do the best we can on everything that we have. And final upgrades if we can do them. No, nope, we're totally boned. We do not have the resources to go all the way around. Wow, okay, so I definitely underestimated my ability to construct on short notice. I thought that this was just going to take regular wood and not the wood planks. Uh, we don't even have any sort of a fighting position like right here to, to hold them off with. I mean, presumably I could just make something here real fast, but honestly, when the zombies get here, uh, there's just it's so likely that they're going to break all of this stuff right here. And wood production, oh, it's actually not doing too, too bad. 156 right there. We might be able to get this all up to at least regular wood. And then we got to work on the supports a little bit. And then how are we looking now? We've got 72 planks left and we should have plenty of cobblestone to just do that right there. Just zombie height is all we need for now, I think, hopefully. Hopefully they just, if they go into rage mode, they just bang on the, the actual concrete there. Wow, I actually think I'm gonna pull this one out and that's not important. These are much more important. Well, actually these are important because they are, the ramp would collapse without them. So there you go, hold those up. Yep, we're gonna have something of a horde base. How long it lasts, I can't say. And the last little chunk, oh no, we ran out of fuel. So that's it. That is 100% of the resources I could possibly make for today. All right, Briston is probably good over there. He can just lay down some covering fire in that direction. And Ronnie is like the killer right here. He's gonna lay down fire on whoever is closest to him up here on the ramp, as well as Mr. Ghost. And Mr. Jeans here will shoot them as they are coming up the ramp. Hopefully they don't have jumps and jump over here, but um, I guess we got uh, Magnus over here. If we, you know, we could set him loose and see if he could kill some zombies up here as much as I don't want to do that. I think he'll run away, but okay. I suppose that's gonna just about do it. Let's grab the 44 Magnum there and I should have some Magnum ammo. That'll help a little bit. Desert Vulture, I should say. And just double checking here to see if there's anything I should or could do to help prepare. Oh geez, I just drank a boiled water and gave myself dysentery just like that. Okay, so when you get dysentery, you've gotta do it. You just gotta craft the adult diaper and slap that on. All right, so go ahead and use that. That'll help treat the diarrhea. I guess I can just be liberal with the boiled water consumption now. You know what I'm gonna do too, because I'm worried about zombies jumping in. I'm just gonna lay a layer here. Okay, you're gonna have to move back a little bit. Uh, stay where I'm standing. It's really probably spiders that would be the issue with jumping, so this should help. Oh geez, I'm pooping again. Let's get some lights out here so we can see what we're doing, including some torches out here. And that's just gonna have to do it right there. Yep, I can make it in. All right, my friends, the day seven horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. All right, so far not a single one of them are coming up to the position because I think they're having an issue with pathing and this will fix it right here. Let's just double check on that. Yep, fixed. 
Whoa! Yep, we got jumpers here already. Oh, jeez, we got bubbles here too, and he could definitely set a whole bunch of stuff on fire. Peg's having a good time. Not very many of them are coming up onto... Oh, jeez. That is concerning. Yeah, not a lot of them are coming up onto the ramp. They do not, for some reason, like this over here. Oh, yeah, they're pounding on the ramp as well. Whoa, look at that jump. That's terrifying. Dog has jumped in. Oh, jeez. And the zombie and birds are here now. Yep, we got mechanical cloaked birds. The freaking Trader Network's experiments are on the loose again. Okay, the flow rate is not bad. The only thing is I don't think they want to go all the way around. I think they just want to stand here and then try to jump at us. Yeah, they're just coming straight up and then jumping right off and then trying to jump over. Whatever works for tonight, I don't really care. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna summon the mercenary and see if he can go get some action. There you go, buddy. Go get him. Yeah, the soldiers are definitely doing all the hard work here. Look, I've only got four kills so far all night long. But honestly, if I was alone, there's no friggin' way I could survive against this horde. Unless I was just like standing on top of a concrete building all night. We are gonna get a great amount of loot bags. Excuse me. All right, that block there is in real bad shape. Let's see if we can repair that. That was almost destroyed. In fact, the whole ramp is almost destroyed now. Okay, I think that's it for one wave there. How are we looking over here? Not bad, lots of loot bags. Are these all from you, Ronnie? Or is it from Briston? Oh, we've got some zombies that are inside the uh, <laughs> backyard here. Okay, no matter, I can take right care of these guys, I think. Unclear to me though if this is the end of the horde or just the end of a wave. Oh, the, the poops are hitting me again. It's all quiet now, that might have been it. So fast and furious for about two hours there, but uh, overall not a significant threat at all. Ow, oh, this diarrhea, it's gonna be the death of me. Okay, well there are some zombies beating around, but I think they're stuck in that POI over there. So I'm gonna start looting up before these loot bags start despawning. Finally, this is gonna be our first chance to actually get a decent amount of ammo and drinks and first aid. Couple of new weapons to boot. Okay, I think I've managed to find and pick up all the loot bags now. So we've just got armor, some stuff to sell basically, golden tea, goldenrod tea recipe, and that's pretty much it. All right, so I'm gonna start getting organized and we will come up with a plan first thing in the morning. All right, a new day has dawned and although it was a close call, we ended up putting together a horde base without much fuss. So I've got an inventory full of things to sell here to Briston and if there's anything left over, I think I'll head over to Ronnie and sell the rest of it. I do have an injection for strength and I wanted to see if I use this, is this gonna max me out and give me level one? Dang it, not quite. Okay, it's really difficult to level up strength. We'll have to try to do that today when we're mining. We're gonna do a big mining trip here in just a second. I have three treasure maps to read. So those are probably scattered all over the place. Yes, indeed they are. Okay, I did get a healing factor training book. I crafted that. And the reason I'm gonna take this is because now I can hit the end key and it will just auto use some type of a bandage or first aid item or like if you have a broken leg, it'll use a splint if you have one on your inventory and you just don't even have to rotate through the hot bar. You can just hit the key and you're done. So that's a pretty good quality of life feature. All right, so let's sell this stuff off then. Made a healthy amount of money there, nice. And I just wanted to see if, yeah, oh, these are so expensive though, 3,000. Maybe we should go into better barter. Yeah, the only ones that he has that I really want is, is the minor 69, that's the only one. There is better barter there though. Holy cow though, that's 6,000 dukes for that. Boy, I gotta figure out how to make money more. But anyway, for now, I think today I've proved to myself that we need to do a lot more focusing on mining and gathering resources. And of all the things, I think logs are a big one. Fuel is a big one, but we can get the fuel from the chemistry station and that's gonna require steel as well as the cement mixer So today what we should do we should focus on getting stone Large stone that is so that we can make more cobblestone Logs so that we can make the wooden planks and steel so that we can make some of the crafting benches and Ghost I'm gonna bring you with me today. You follow me everybody else stay here including Magnus Magnus is um, I don't know that I wish I could turn off the um the thrall thing, the mind control thing. 
We'll take one of the ambulances with us and I will take the golden rod with us because this gives us better mining, which I think counts for trees as well for 10 minutes. And, uh, oh, also, do I, am I still pooping myself? No, I'm done. I kind of forgot about that. We could have probably cured that a little early, but it didn't really hold us back. Basically what happens is when you have dysentery, it, it gives you a, a movement penalty because, you know, you got a little extra stuff going on <laughs> in the pants, right? I think I'll bring the coffee with me as well for the stamina bonus, and uh, let's get out of here. Granted that there's not uh, some sort of a horde walking up on me. Nope, just this guy. Kill. Nice. Yeah, that's kind of the other thing. We have to go easy on bringing the soldiers with us because if they're taking all the kills from me, I'm not going to be leveling up as well in my scythe skill. So if I'm going to clear out a POI from now on, I think I'm just going to station the soldier outside to kind of clue me in if there's like a wandering horde or something coming by but um you know i don't want to necessarily bring him in with me anymore all right hop in buddy let's go find some resources all right first stop today is this airdrop tell me there's something good in here ah antibiotics not too bad i guess okay and now let's go down to stefan's treasure map down there kind of explore the southern edge of town and we'll dig that up and while we're digging We'll dig down to the stone layer and we'll get a little bit of stone while we're at it. All right, here we are. When I was driving over here, I kind of thought to myself, can I? Yes, can I just put you up here? Can you stay up here for me? No, he doesn't like being on top of the ambulance. Crap, I thought that would be a good post for him, but we'll post him up here on top of this instead. Yep, right up here, buddy, if you will, and uh, stay where you're standing. Perfect. Looks like we got a little bit of action all over the place here. Holy, oh, that's a, another survivor out there fighting some uh, explosive immune zombies. Let's just go ahead and introduce myself to Capilli G. Nice to meet you, Capilli. Grab up these explosive immune remains and we will start chopping here. Except there's another survivor over here, Bojo, <laughs> fighting with a wolf. Oh, it's a busy neighborhood. All right, copy in, followed by goldenrod tea, and let's get to work here. Um, oh boy, Sintal, a demon, is chasing after me. Why am I moving so slow? This is not good. Help! Oh, jeez, man. Open fire this way. Cover me. Go oh, crap. Oh, I've got plenty of bullets in this now, which is very good. And just try to get the close range headshots here with the shotgun. Oh, there we go. I slayed the demon. Oh, but he spawned in all of his friends. Oh, I'm not moving fast enough for this at all. Here, light a fire under him over there. Now oh, this is turning into an eventful day after all. Okay, taking some damage here. Hit the end key and just auto heal me. Excellent. There we go. Not much of an opportunity to use my melee skills, except for on Yo here. And another guy here. Ah, just doesn't do a whole lot of damage, does it? Excuse me, that was mine. Holy crap, look at the freaking people he's killed over here. What even is this? Is this some kind of a, like a snow fox or something? That's pretty cool. Like I said, never a dull moment here in Rebirth. All right. Now, before we were so rudely interrupted, we were trying to chop down some trees, which we're good on, and now I'm trying to dig up this treasure. But I'm gonna do the trick here, where I put the frames in the corners here somewhere, so that when I see it shrink down, I'll know what direction it's shrinking in, and it'll help me find the box. Other than that, we'll just start here in the middle. Okay, it's moved away from those two, and it stayed toward that one, so it's definitely in this direction here. Aha, I did find it. Crap, I used all my lockpicks on it too. Oh my goodness. However, with the goldenrod tea, I can actually smash this thing. There we go, we're in. And, oh, well, silver and gold plus some ammo. Not too bad, I guess. Plus we got the clay, which I don't even know what the clay is used for. It's not used in the forge to make forged iron or anything like that. Okay, so let's check on that. What What is clay used for? Used to make, yeah, bullet tips, bullet casings arrowheads really nothing special here what we really need is that stone right there perfect awesome so we got all that stone there i did level up my strength and creamy ghost you may follow me 
Why not just while we're here stock up on red tea or chrysanthemums and goldenrod as well? I believe I can craft both of them now. However, I think you need the distilled water, so we should probably sit down and see how the distiller is made. And how did that do me over on the large stone front? 234. We're gonna need just so much more of that. Maybe we should take that rock down too. There we go. Feeling much better about that now. A heavy fog has rolled in. Let me snag these up. And I think at this point we should just start harvesting up some street lights and whatever we can find that contains steel on our way back home to drop off the loot. All right, I suppose this is as good a spot as any to start. Oh boy, we got a melee fight here between Z-Bark and Cajun. Oh geez, the stars of the last series head to head. Ooh, I don't know if I have enough frames to do this, do I? Come on, reach. Oh crap, scratch that idea. I guess we're heading home first. I've actually got this tier two job that's kind of right on the way home. So I might just swing in here and see what this is all about. You, my friend, stay where you are. I'll do this alone. Hit the quest before you shoot everybody. And now let's get to work here. Definitely gotta work on my sight skill. The sight skill is the key to me leveling up. Man, you're not helping. Well, you are helping, but not in exactly the ways I would like you to. Okay, let's take a coffee, because otherwise I'm not very good with the melee. Look out, if I get in too much trouble, I'll just run back to my soldier here. Help! Oh, jeez. Thank you. And heal me up. Oh, here's the main loot right here already. That was fast. Although I think I've got to clear the area. I do. We'll grab this on our way. Ten frames there. Well, on second thought, we can do the street lamps while we're out. And that was it. We're done here. Okay, that will probably do it for now because... What is that guy? A kamikaze zombie. Oh my god, is that the guy that blows up? Can we kill him, please? Ah, I see. <laughs> On second thought, let's proceed then. I thought that was going to be a big fat demon. Whoop, we've got, um, I don't know who that was. That was Mia Divinity. Oh, ow. Come on, you and me. Okay, the wrench is about to break anyway, so probably just a couple more of these. Nope, nope. <laughs> In fact, no more of these, because that is kaput. And it's going to require duct tape to fix it. Hey, that's not that bad. I have glue. Oh, I need the, the, oh man, I gotta use the toolbox to make duct tape. All right, well, I guess we're heading back to the trader then. Okay, here we are. And I've been informed that I can just use the wrench to pick this up, which, oh, I need to repair it first. Try to do that. No, no, it's not letting me repair it. Okay, maybe that was not correct. Maybe I cannot pick that up, but it's fair enough anyway. I wanted to leave it here because it's nice to have a sort of like outpost when you need to make a quick pile of tape. Oh, we don't have any cloth because the cloth is all in here. There might be duct tape in here, honestly. Okay, there's our duct tape and we can just duct tape this uh, wrench back together somehow. That work makes a lot of sense, right? And I'll grab my quest reward while I'm here. I'm thinking Molotovs, probably. I'm down to my last one. We need to recharge on that. We're doing good on first aid. The shovel I already have. Nux and Hunter mod, no good to me. So, yep, that's what it is. Now, I've also heard that you can take multiple quests at a time, so I might... Try that. All right, let's try to grab this one and let's grab this fetch at the homestead. Oh my, we could just grab a whole bunch of local jobs here. Auto parts store and some random farm. Fetch, okay, that's good enough for now, I think. Then tomorrow we'll probably just focus on questing a little bit since today we've focused mostly on crafting. Not even crafting, just getting this stuff ready to start crafting. And really, I'm not done yet. We still have some daylight hours, but I just want to stop by and see if we've gotten enough steel so far, but if not, we'll have to head back out and get some more. Yeah, I only got 22. I think I needed like 29 or something like that. I forgot. Okay, we needed the chemistry station, but we also needed wooden planks for that and nails and broken glass. However, the cement mixer, we should be good on. So start working on that. And how are we doing on wood? We're pretty good. I can just, oh no, I can't get that started because we don't have fuel for it. And honestly, do I get fuel out of cars? I don't I, I don't think I got any when I was wrenching the custom cars, but I haven't tried it on like 
a vanilla car, you know what I mean? Oh, that gave me some kind of a red damaged car engine, which is used to, you can make your own engine out of that. Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, I also got um, a damaged car chassis, which I can use to make a car chassis. Those are just for cr if you wanted to like craft your own vehicle, I think. Yeah, I'm not getting any fuel out of that. Where do I, where would I get fuel from? Oh, you know, probably have to, we have to go to a passing gas, don't we? A passing gas and we have to raid the, uh, the fuel things, the fuel pumps. We can get steel out of those anyway, so. One of these was a passing gas. Let's try to find out which one that was. Uh, sorry, the store auto parts. Well, we could just try that, I suppose. That was that one right there. Ah, uh, here we are, O'Reilly Auto. There must be some fuel in here somewhere. Okay, as per the usual, you stay where you are. We have a couple of hours, we have like one hour to do this basically, great. Thank you. Take that, uh-oh. Nice, got a little bit of backup there as I ran out of stamina, which means I don't have the coffee on me, great. Also, I am hurting on first aid, let's work on that too. Okay, this is where the real party is back here. Couple extra bits of steel out of that. Okay, yep, this is where we wanna be. Is there any, is there gonna be any fuel here or is this gonna be a, a big bust? All right, let's get down here and sort it out. Yeah, oh, I don't see any fuel canisters here at all. I've got the super speed for my red T though. That helps, well, to an extent at least. God, I was totally expecting some gas to be down here. Ooh, yep, construction zombies though. Oh, here we go, Nightfall, they are on super speed now. Well, just sprinting speed, I think. Not too big of a deal. And that was it for the mission. Excellent. Oh, there's a little, little bit of gas right there, nice. At least it's enough to get the boards that we need for the chemistry station. More fuel there, nice. Nothing much there though, bummer. All right, I think we're out of here now. Holy crap, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a real forklift. I got a forklift. Yes. Wow, that is so cool. Okay, can we kill these guys, please? Oh, I left my soldier. I didn't pick him up on our way out of here. Hold up. Get the hell out of here, all of you. Okay, we're taking this with us. Give me. <laughs> I can't believe I just ran into a working forklift. Luckily, that's not our first vehicle, because I don't know if I'd really want to drive that thing around. All right, ghost. Sorry about that. Forgot about you. Follow me, just get our reward while we're passing through here. And this time it's gonna have to be, well, probably the pipe bombs, I guess. Good enough, let's go home now. All right, let's head topside here and get Ghost up here with me. And Ghost, if you could just stand where I'm standing, that'd be great, cover the area tonight. Got a survivor out there as well. Just go say hi to Waif, what's up Waif? Oh, I like your beard. Okay, just leveled up, level 25 now. A couple golden rod teas in there. And uh, I'm gonna steal this kill here if I can. Nice. All right, the last thing I need for the chemistry station is broken glass, and I think the neighbors got us covered on that one. Waking a couple up, but we got our buddy here to help us out. Wave. I'm short by one bloody steal. Oh, got some in here though. And this is unsearched. Whoa, 400 gas in there. That's all we needed. Oh my God, we have a siren. Look out, guys! <laughs> That's a little ridiculous, but I like it. All right, chemistry station, there we go. We are done for the day. All right, there it is at long last, the chemistry station. I'm also making a generator. But let's just slap this stuff down real fast. Chem station and cement mixer. Wow, all of this in one day. Well, two days, I guess. So with this, hopefully, yes, we can craft gas. We don't have to have the schematic for that. That or I've maybe already read it, not sure. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the rebirth. With the horde behind us and the crafting chain in full swing, it's time to start accumulating money, loot, and experience. And there's plenty of missions around town to do for the Trader Network. So the plan will be to start knocking those out, but I don't want to fall behind in my skills, so I'll travel with limited support from our allies. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you, but now it's go time. Okay, a couple of items on the agenda first before we get started is that we need, well I need to find my wrench first. 
I'm not sure what I did with the one. I think it was broken. Oh, and the black die. That was the other thing. We need to see if we can craft. Speaking of craft, I did craft the generator last night and I took up the gas stove top from downstairs and just remade it up here so that we can have everything on the top floor. But I want to look and see if we can get storages now. And I think we can. Writable storage containers. And we should be able to get a couple of those from the workbench. Finally, some proper storage. We are short on... Uh, Nothing. All right, I think I quite like this being the loot storage room and then this over here being the crafting room. Although, hang on. I mean, yeah, the the storages, I don't know. Would they look better in here maybe? I don't exactly know. I think this is a good wall right here, I think, for the storage. So I'm just gonna, I hope I don't regret this. I'm gonna start stacking up the storages right here. And I'll work on getting those organized a little bit later on. For now, let's head out. Who's coming with me today? Creamy Ghost or are we gonna bring Dank Jeans? How about you come with me today? Follow me, you're just basically gonna guard the vehicle wherever I go today. And in terms of where to go, we've got three tier two fetches and a treasure map down there. That airdrop down there is good. Also, I just, uh, just a notification, I did update the, to the latest version of the mod. Furious Ramsey updates the mod like once a week or it's sometimes every couple of days. And for some reason, I've picked up a whole bunch of map markers for Maverick and Zosiah. So we're gonna just remove all those. In fact, I've got map markers for the Witch Doctor and for our Panther. Just. Just get rid of all of these. I don't I don't know how these wound up here. Okay, good now. Uh, in terms of the update, it does influence the Witch Doctor class quite a bit because now, uh, well, I've also learned one that we, when we right click to mind control someone, we can just right click power attack to disable that. And the zombies that ha uh, were not kind of working properly, that were still trying to attack me, those guys have been fixed. I'm gonna also just bring some duct tape with me because I think duct tape repairs certain weapons and probably should try to get a weapon repair kit at some point. We can get those from the trader though. All right, let's move out. All right, rolling up on the first spot here. And like I said, I think I'll just jump out here and I will post up our soldier out front just to kind of guard the area. So Dank, stay where you're standing. Yep. Good job. Yep, take out that spider for me. Are you disgusting? I will take a couple of bandages to get the extra hit points into me. Now who you killing? Oh, you're just gonna clear out the POI next door? That's nice. I guess I'll get that cobblestone while I'm uh, before I leave here today. All right, I think we're good. Hit the quest. Okay, we have got to work on our sickle skills today. So it's all about killing people with the sickle. All right, we're in sneaking range now. I've cleared out the barn over there. Not much there. There is a bear over there on the other side of the wall. I heard him trying to kill someone. Ooh, and uh, that guy woke up somehow. And a bunch of people waking up inside. Okay, this is just gonna be an issue. I figured out that I had the wrench. <laughs> it was in the number one hot bar slot from when I was harvesting uh, street lamps and stuff. Whoa, made it a little bit more convenient for me. Oh, stamina, come on. Here we go. I got some copy with me though. There we go. Aha, these have, well, they have the table saw blade, which I should be good on, I think, right? Yeah, I got that and then the small motor. Ooh, this is a dead end. We don't like that. Oh, I, I wonder, I just searched that box there. I can just take that box? That's kind of convenient. <laughs> Big storage box for free. Not the writable version, I don't think. Ah, oh, key boxes. This is a kind of a cool POI. And then those uh, empty barrels there, I'll take a couple with me because I know that they're used for crafting for at least the chem station. Holy crap, look out. All right, get some space here. Doing fine. Ah, that opened that door right there, I see. All right, here we go. Oh, nice, good job, Arlene. Making it easy on me. Might as well loot as I go, I suppose. Ah, another, another little key box there, perfect. And that should go to the door. Not that one, I guess. This one over here, there's another key box there. Bathroom. No. Whoa, janitor. Get back, right down to the basement. Okay, let's just top off on hit points here. Fortunately, all the, the doors that get unlocked are just locked open now. All the doors are locked down here. Yes, clothing. We need a college jacket. We need uh, like looting glasses. We need a lot of things right now. Helmet flashlight would be nice too. Can you hit that? Thank you. Ooh, a new shredder. In case I feel so inclined to take that with me, which, why not? Yeah, with two shredders, you know, if we have a big pile of stone. Oh, there's the uh, thing right there. Ooh, that was very well hidden. 
that's the whole quest right there. Yeah, we could get both going at the same time. Pool table, taking that with me. Ooh, very cool. Beer sign, I'll take that too. All right, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like um, I'm done with the whole key box hide and seek game, so <laughs> I'm just gonna do this the old fashioned way. And we have an explosive immune zombie trying to beat his way in here. Almost. There we go. Oh, that was uh, pretty easy. Right, and that's the other one. Jeez, this person was like super duper secure, locked every door and put the key to the <laughs> the room in the adjacent room. Oh, these are all takeable storage boxes as well. I might just do that for now. Whoops. Oh, hi there. Ow. What are you moving so fast for? Oh, maybe I'm just moving so slow because I'm full on loot. Okay, loot has been deposited. I think we're on to the second floor. The second and final floor, I think. Ooh, that's probably where the loot is right there. Hello? Where is everybody? Maybe close that. Nope, I can't close that door because it's locked open. Oh my god, would you get back? What are you trying to run through me for? Jeez. Okay, okay. Might need to uh, get away from the scythes there for just a second while I get some stamina back. Oh, whole charge of them running out of there now. That did quite a number on me. Whoop, there goes my scythe right there. And repair that. Oh, oh crap, I put the duct tape away. That's the last zombie right there, though. Oh, up to the attic, though. Maybe not the last zombie. Kind of looks like it, though. I think these guys were awake. They've been beating on the door for a while, so this should be it right here. All right, all done. Let's pack up the ambulance and head to the next one. All right, we're rolling up in. <laughs> Loud and proud, baby. Okay, stay where you're standing, hit the quest, and let's roll through here. Some kind of a farm. This is also a fetch quest, so it should be nice and easy. Whoops, I never repaired that. You Hang out there for a second. Duct tape, repair, and Dank. Oh, Dank's gonna end up killing these guys for me. Whoa, these, these running attacks today are crazy. You know what? I saw some kind of a recipe that required these barrels here, so I'm gonna take a couple of them with me. Oh, there's the satchel <laughs> right off the bat. Oh, that's not the one that we need, though. So, uh, wait a minute. This might be a little bit of a bugged quest, because it's saying that I've done everything here, but I don't... I didn't get the supplies. These are the supplies from the, the last mission there. Whatever. Oh wow, look at that bookstore box. That's super helpful. Burning shaft mod, we'll make one of those. Okay, this portion here looks like there might be maybe some animals in here somewhere? Or some plants? Oh, this is like a chicken farm, isn't it? Yeah, that's why there's all the bird nests. Yeah, makes sense now. Well, I did pull out like 39 eggs from this place. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've cleared out all the chicken areas now. We have the garage left over. I think there's a door here probably that I can go through. Yep, yeah, here we go. Oh! Why are you guys running so fast today? I don't like this. Ah! Ow! Alright, so almost improved my skill on scythes. I probably... Oh, I just did! Yes, I'm now a novice with scythes, so now... All of our experience with scythes, or in the future, attack assault rifles, the two things for our class, uh, will increase the Witch Doctor level. You can see it's at 0.6% right now. So probably just kill a few more zombies with the scythe and should level up, I think. Ooh, look at all this stuff back here. Wow. Wait a minute, are these just painted blocks? Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> we got the one food box down here. Oh, not a bad one, though. Pretty good. Got that uh, gumbo stew out of it. And cat food. Mmm, yummy. Not sure of the difference, actually, though. Uh, not the gumbo, the hobo stew. Actually, really not as good as it is in vanilla, but I'll take it anyway. Uh, last little bit here is this house. Oh, hello. Okay, close that. Do the open the door, slice him in the face, close the door trick. And yep, we're up to 3.4% now in our sight skill, or the Witch Doctor class, I should say. Okay, try to like, kite them away from where Dank is standing, because 
He's just gonna end up taking all my XP. Right now, these things with the black die, definitely gonna take the time to uh, take that off. I've been saving it anyway, but I think you can craft it with like red, green, and blue die, I think I've heard. But uh, I'd rather just save it from when I find it in the wild. It's a little bit tedious having to go through all the clo clothing items and take off the die. So we'll try to avoid that if I can. I think I'm, I'm resigned to kind of take my time a little bit more in these POIs. I feel like I've been rushing things a little bit lately. I want to kind of slow it down. Make sure that I'm looting everything that I'm supposed to be looting. Which, should, you know, basically everything. Just take everything with me. It's kind of like Undead Legacy where every, they, they found a use for pretty much everything. Oh crap, I'm totally pinned here. Get back. Oh my goodness, college jacket right there. Look at that, on the butcher. The butcher went to college for <laughs> butchering or something. I don't know, animal husbandry, we'll say. Very cool. That's run speed plus 10%, love it. How are we looking now? Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. This is kind of the look that I usually kind of aim to achieve. All right, bud, you ready to go? Just follow me and let's head on to the last one. Oh, and just like that, it did tell me that I failed the quest because I didn't pick up the supplies, but it, it wasn't telling me where the supplies were, I think. I... Oh, man. I think that quest was a little bit bugged. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Oh, but look at that, though. There's a little bit of a horde going by over there. All right, I'm going to park Dank over here for backup and say, Dank, where'd you go? There you are. Stay where you are, and I'm going to go kill these guys for the extra XP. No, 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 no. Come this way, everybody. If you can hear me, come to the gunshots. Not to Dank's gunshots, please. Give me that sweet XP for the Witch Doctor class. Thank you. Oh, suddenly I'm very out of stamina. All right, heading over here so I can slurp down a copy. Oh, crap. Not doing good now. <laughs> crap, get back. And then hit the end key for the hot key for the healing here. Bleeding kills are starting to kick in a little bit. Okay, I think that was it. Oh, I'm infected too, great. I did find some honey there a little bit earlier though. All right, let me grab up the loot here and then I'll just meet you at the next mission. All right, we're here. Kitsun's Gelato, ooh, a bandit here too. Kill him, please. Senjik is back, he's a bandit now. Jeez, great. Free spear there. We are almost full up on inventory. You know, it's really good that we found the ambulance. I really like it because look at the storage capacity on this thing. It's great. I can spend the whole day out looting without having to worry about anything. Go ahead and stay where you are there. And we're going to hit up Kitson's Gelato. Tier 2 fetch. Uh-oh. For some reason, I am unable to start the quest though. Hmm. Yeah, something's going on with the quest. Let me just reload the game real fast. Nope. Uh, still not working. You know, this is this is potentially, you know, a thing where I've updated the version of the mod kind of like it, during a playthrough instead of starting over a new playthrough, which oftentimes is okay, but sometimes is not. And so my theory is that I should probably just cancel this mission, remove that, and I'm gonna go head to the trader, get a new one, and we'll see if the new one works. Because we've had two bugged quests now. We had the, oh, it's still saying tier two fetch there. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Can we just remove that one as well? And yeah, it's still showing up on the map. Okay, so let's go grab a new quest and just start over and see if it works. And for our reward, I've already got the leather gloves. I'm good there. Otherwise, this is pretty bad. The weighted head, of all things, is probably the most valuable item. Let's just grab a new job. We've got a fetch and clear here at the gas and wash. I'll take that. Let's go see if that works. All right, here we go. Lots of steel here too, I like that. Just make sure this works. It works. The question is gonna be, is it going to work? Uh-oh, uh, am I gonna be able to finish the quest? Clear area and retrieve supplies. Yeah, I think we're good here. Everything seems to be working as intended. I'm halfway there to upgrade my Witch Doctor class. Ow! And Dank is not doing a great job covering me, which is okay with me. Give me these sweet kills. Ah, damn you. Okay, my friend, you are gonna stay outside and guard the area. Oh, check this out across the street, though. Military Humvee here. Although broken beyond repair, I think. But a fire extinguisher inside. Nice! My first one. Look at this beast here. This is repairable, too. It's like a Mad Max vehicle. You know what we should probably do is probably we should uh, get a vehicle repair kit out of the vending machine at the trader and maybe come out here and repair some cool looking vehicle. I mean, as much as I like the ambulance, I might need to uh, 
experiment with some other cars too. All right, we're heading inside now. Front door, unlocked. Very good. I, there's actually a bandit over here though that I wanted to see. Did she die? Or is that a survivor? It's a bandit. It's a bandit around back. Let's see if I can kill her. Actually, first aid kind of low. She's got a fire. She's almost dead anyway, so just take the kill, I guess. And hello there. Oh, crap. Should be some free food in here so we can top off. Wow, nice. I predict it's like every single one, though. Every single ice machine has a bunch of food in it. Holy, a cop. Oh, two of them. Yeah, I don't know about going with hand-to-hand -hand combat with these guys. Three of them. Holy crap, close that door. Oh, jeez. Oh, you know what? I think fire might be off right now because um, when I updated the mod, some of the settings reset back to default, so I had to you know, change back a couple, but I think I forgot to do the fire. <laughs> kind of glad this place would just absolutely burn to the ground if I had it on. All right, do the best I can here with the sickle. Interrupt you, and ow, whoa. Okay, a little bit of help here from Dank, not gonna be the end of the world. And a little bit of gun action as well. Little bit out of my league here. Holy crap, a whole bunch more. Look out! Ooh, that's a good one right there. Excellent. Okay, let's just clear the zombies out and then we can loot up later when it's, uh, you know, nighttime. It's nighttime now. Oh crap! What are you doing here? Alright, let's just break in here and kill these zombies wherever they are. They're on the rooftop? Really? Anybody up here? Yeah, a bunch of people are up here, I guess. More coming from downstairs as well. Check on Dank out here. Yeah, he's doing fine. Killing spiders and nurses and stuff like that. Biker over by the ambulance. I'm sure he'll take him out too. Ah, there's our satchel right there. Nice. Okay, I'm now encumbered. I don't want anything to do with that. So I got the red tea. I'll take that. It gives me extra run speed anyway, which is always fun. I can outrun these zombies. Oh. All right, now I can just loot up the compound in peace. Scratch that, the area's not clear. There's still a zombie in here somewhere. Ah, oh, hi there. That did it. Oh, you know what? I just found that honeycomb there and I'm infected 3.9%, so that will fix that. Main loot here. Ah, nothing much. Munitions box, probably gonna have some ammo, yep. Construction site box here with a bunch of iron and otherwise, not much. All right, it's taken a good long while, but I've fully looted this place now. Even all of these empty store shelves that are actually not empty. The empty looking store shelves, but they always have a little bit of something something inside of them. And I've been picking up all the trash on the ground too, because I'm starting to realize that trash has pretty decent stuff in it. It's easy to freaking fill up your inventory fast, that's for sure. All right, I think we're out of here though. Let's head back to the base, unload, and then come up with a plan for tomorrow. All right, welcome back, my friends. Last night, I spent most, I, just a couple of extra hours there, really, getting all of the stuff out of here and sort of organized into its semi-final form, which will be in storage boxes lining the rooftop here. And then eventually, we'll move out of here and we'll move to the new big base, which I might end up crafting in the wasteland, which you can just make out over there. So it wouldn't be too far of a move. It would kind of be a big to-do because we'd have to like harvest up all the workstations and then, you know, they become repairable. We had to have to repair them. But maybe if we can get a land claim block here at some point, we can just pick them up. I'm not sure. And uh, land claim block, that's actually, I could probably just make that right now. That's made in the forge or AKA the anvil, I guess. Oh, I can't do it right now because I put all the large rocks into the shredder to make cobblestone, which is probably done by now, I would imagine. 1900 of it, so we're doing pretty good on cobble now. But we're gonna need to use the cobble to make cobblestone shapes, and that's gonna require the furnace. And it takes 20 cobblestone just for one? Oh my, that's, that's a lot. I could only make like 100 cobblestone blocks right now. We need like, we need like a thousand to make the base. Well. How about we get started on the furnace, if I can. I can, good. There's some extra crossbow bolts there. And look at the cell chest, it's right full of stuff. So give me a second here to get that stuff repaired the best I can, and then we'll sell it off. Yeah, I don't really think it's worth it at this stage in the game to just incrementally repair these shovels and things like that. They're just not worth that much to begin with. And 
I mean, for this, we're talking about going from 30 to 60 with the use of, like, I think it's probably duct tape for the iron fire axe, but um, I don't have much of that to begin with, and I don't really... The reason why I don't repair my stuff most of the time is because it's going to use duct tape in one way or another, and then that means I have to use bones and murky water, and it's like a whole freaking process to do Good that. Job. Looks like Briston has a reward for me for the alchemy table quest, which I don't even really remember doing, quite honestly, but it gives us a little bit of XP and 200 old cash is what I'll take there. Ooh, special mission for Zombie Putty. Zombie Putty, if you've ever watched The Walking Dead, it's like you take um, rotten flesh, I guess, and you grind it up, you'd smear it on yourself, and then you become undetectable to zombies. So that quest is going to be, to get the schematic to make that, we need to gather up some of this stuff right here. And I just saw I don't have the tree resin right now to do that yet. We'll have to chop down some more trees. Oh look, the trees are like regrowing in the yard everywhere. That's unfortunate. I'll have to probably dig out the block underneath them to actually get rid of the tree once and for all. And get your wallet out because we're gonna do the sell off. And that's about it, $2,871 there. And so what I was thinking here is sometimes we can craft these training skills ourselves, but I think if I was gonna make them, I'd rather make the ones that are really expensive. So we gotta kind of take inventory of which ones are the most expensive and which ones are the least expensive. It's like parkour, like I'll take, I'll take two points into parkour. I think I can do two because my dexterity is level two. And I'll take maybe one into run and gun and that's basically all of my money. But um, as much as I would want the one in Better Barter, I'll just I'll just wait until I can make my own and just save myself that much money. I don't know. Sounds like a plan to me. Correct me if I'm wrong there. But yeah, let's see if we can get these finished off here. That's two into parkour and one into run and gun. And Dank over here, he got some brains in his mouth from all the way over here shooting that zombie. <laughs> okay, let's lock and load here a little bit because I was modifying my weapons last night. And we gotta go to the trader anyway to turn in our quest and get some more. And we'll get a couple of repair kits while we're there. Otherwise, I think they were pretty good. Oh yes, the alchemy table. And let's just put away these fire axes. Can I make the alchemy table right now? I sure can, that's not using anything particularly important so start working on that I got the furnace there and then over here in the main storage boxes I have the gas stovetop and the generator so when we come back today tonight we'll start setting that up in here somewhere I don't know it's getting cl claustrophobic in there already I don't know if we even have enough room for all the crafting stations but like I said we're gonna build a big huge base that is in the design process right now it is not going to be for day 14. We're going to do basically what we did in the Darkness Falls series. Two hordes at the first horde base, the main base or whatever. And then we'll build the big base and we'll kind of fight the whole, all the rest of them for the rest of the whole series from the main base, the big base. The dark ritual sanctuary fortress that I'm designing. It's going to be awesome. Okay, first things first. Do I even have enough money to get two firearm repair kits? I think I do. And let's just... Repair them now preemptively so I don't break them in the middle of a firefight. And a wreck should have a reward for me as well. Oh boy. Okay, wrench. Actually quite a bit better than the one I have. It is 2.9 more block damage. I guess I'll switch it over. And let's see about getting some more jobs here. Um, barn number three. That looks like something we could do. Four more tier two jobs until tier three so let's just grab up four jobs and see how far we can make it today another barn here the ranch house it's not too bad and how about the oh it's the vet oh no 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 it says wasteland no thanks what about this farm pine forest okay fair enough let's do all four of those or at least a couple of them today and we're at 81.6 percent on the witch doctor so just a couple more kills with a sickle or the scythe whichever you prefer and uh, we should be all set to go on that. Where are we heading first though? Closest one is the barn up there. I'll meet you there. Oh, here we are. And we've got a survivor out here to guard the ambulance. Very cool. Who do we got? Axel Barfoot fighting against Mudman here. Whoa, that was pretty cool. I do want to get an archer because I think uh, an archer would just be fun to have if we wanted to do some kind of stealthy missions. Oh, ow. Not that uh, I'm, I'm much into the whole stealthy thing myself, but uh, it might be just fun to have. A little thematic, I guess. Ooh, loot. 
All right, you can go ahead and work on that. I'm gonna go ahead and work on this. Let's do this. Alright, well that's it for this place. Just check up the loot. I don't think there's gonna be too much important stuff here. It's only a tier two, we're really low level still. Yeah, nothing good here. Got a rad remover mod there and I'm pretty much completely encumbered. We still gotta go get the hidden stash though. Not that I think this is gonna pay off very much, but $500, not too bad. In the process there, I did level up in the Witch Doctor class, so that's a thing. It also gave me a potion, so we're gonna take a look at that here in just a second when I can like safely move. There we go, okay, that should be good here in a second. Yep, there we go. Right, so, whoops, now it's all in here. Here is the potion. This is to summon a skeleton warrior, so if I was to just throw that, a, a, like a grenade, it would, uh, wherever it landed, it would just, um, you know, summon me a skeleton warrior, and that will scale up as we level up. So it's only tier one now, it will be tier two, three, four, five, as we level up in the Witch Doctor class, and that's what this note is telling me. The reason I know all this is because, uh, I think this is new in the latest version that I just downloaded for the mod, and so I kind of, uh, was aware, generally aware of the change there, and there's an airdrop straight to the south right there. Right, the generic perk book. So like I was just saying, we can use this to get better barter, because that saves us like six grand right there. So we'll read that, and we've got uh, one point in better barter, which if I recall was only a 2% better bartering. So very, very small change, but there's 10 levels to it. So, you know, I think it goes up to about a 20% discount and, you know, 20% more dukes and stuff. Oh, that kind of reminds me, I was gonna change my glasses over to the Daring Adventurer glasses. Maybe let's not, let's try not to turn in our quests until we've done a couple more, because, oh, did we? Yes, we cleared the area. <laughs> Just to double check that for a second. Um, yeah, let's get the Daring Adventurer glasses on before we turn everything else in. And, oh, hang on a second. We should just head to the north there, right on the main drag, and there's a treasure map out there as well. That works for me. Just back up over these couple of guys and head out. Let's go! Get out of the road! <laughs> oh, can't stop and not get this gas here and the steel that's in these. Free, easy steel. There might be some in this over here. Wow, I'm just flying now that the red tea is, is, is in me and, um, and I'm not encumbered anymore. Whoop! Woke up a bunch of people there. Oh! This is a working wheel, I would bet. No, that's a damaged wheel. That makes quite a bit of sense. And check that one there. That is car tire, small and flat, which is part of the recipe to make a working wheel, so that's good, hello. Yeah, they're, they're thrashing around in there. Just, just grab some uh, brunch out of here, perfect. And on to the next quest then. Is this the place? Is this the farm we're supposed to do here? The honey farm? There's a freaking wild pig running around. Yes, this is the place. If anything, might get some honey out of here, which is always nice. Let's try and, I'm gonna side with the zombie first. Uh-oh, whoa, oh, we can move plenty fast. Faster than he can, I think. Yeah, there we go. Honeycomb, yes, nice. Of course, we have the corn and stuff as well, although, oh, there's the uh, treasure map right here in the field. Ooh, I might want to dig this up first because I'm afraid that um, if I reset the quest, you know, I don't know what's going to happen to stuff that's underground here. So let me dig this out first. Aha, there it is. And we're in. And what'd we get? Just silver and gold, basically. The only important stuff in there. Okay, now, if my prediction is correct, this will all just be filled in when we snap the quest over here. Let's just double check that. 
Hit it, and yeah, so I don't know what would have happened to the chest if that was the case. But now we don't have to worry about it. We do, however, have to worry about clearing the area and fetching the supplies. Always a challenge for me <laughs> to remember to get the supplies. So hopefully I don't forget this time. Let's check the honey situation here. Got another one, great. Okay, we're in through here. It's been a good long while since I did this place. Maybe about, um... Uh, a week, I would say, at this point. <laughs> I just did this on the live stream there, very recently. Whoa, ow, oh, 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 I'm gonna get killed here. Oh my goodness. Sprained an arm, great. I think I do have some steroids nearby. Okay, well, oh geez, I am just super prepared for this, aren't I? Super fast movers here. Yeah, the power attack's gonna hurt me now. That's just wonderful. We're drawing in half the neighborhood. See, she's like going super fast, but the one that I just killed... Oh, why do we got so many zombies here? Uh, yeah, the one I just killed there, she was... Um, oh yeah, hit the end button to uh, do the... The uh, quick heal. Yeah, the one from inside is what I'm trying to say. She was really fast. And, uh, that catches you off guard sometimes. All right, area secure. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get a tree branch here to get a splint to help with my arm. And ooh, look at all the wheels over here. What do these pick up as? <gasps> three wheels, just just like that. And I'll get another three off of this. Wow, I guess we're not worrying about wheels anymore. Okay, that should do it. Splint. Oh no, the splint's not gonna work. Ah, I'm too used to freaking mods. I'm used to other mods where splints work on spraying things. We need steroids, that's what we need, jeez. Which, I don't know if there's any sitting in the ambulance or not. Nope, I don't see any. We'll just have to be extra careful then. Extra careful and topping off on the painkillers and stuff like that a little bit more often. Holy crap, oh jeez, is that a feral? Nope, kind of threw me off there. Oh my God, help me. Oh, more people outside, love it. Here, Darlene, get the hell out of here, or at least let's just weaken him up with the shotgun here. That way we don't have to worry so much with the sickle. Oh, is this a freaking horde of all times right now when I'm freaking injured? Oh yes, it probably is, and I'm probably gonna die here if I don't get out of here. Yep, give me that run speed, please. Woo, wow, that helps a lot. Just gonna kite and bandage, kite and bandage. Gather them all up together and Molotov them. About right about there. That's helpful. Yeah, look at them all. Just freaking pouring out of the field. Great. Oh god, they move so fast. Seems like my, my bandage, or my Molotov was only basically minimally effective there. Try and airburst some pipe bombs. Maybe that'll work better. Like that. Oh, these are like explosive immune zombies, so that's gonna not work as well. Okay, I've had enough of this. Trying to level up my witch doctor skill and use my sickle, but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. All right, I think that was it. Wow, look at all the freaking explosive immune zombies here. Okay, I think we're back on track now. Back into the PO. Oh, dexterity just increased. Nice. We've only cleared out two rooms so far. Uh, uh, all day. <laughs> Been here for hours. Someone's fighting outside too. That's good. Be a little bit of a distraction for us. Ooh, gyrocopter accessories hanging out in that bookshelf. Good, good, and an insulated liner mod schematic. Holy crap. Ah, oh, it's hurting me bad every time I take a swing, but I don't have much of a choice here. I mean, I, I, I have lots of choices. I have like three guns on the hotbar, but we're not going there just yet. If I could just get a steroid, I'd be all set. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a fight here, so. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wakey, wakey. Oh, explosive immune zombies of all freaking times. Ooh, I just set that whole thing on fire. Whoops. Holy crap. I heard a freaking target acquired. Is there a freaking robot out here? Oh, yes, I can I can hear it happening. It's right over there. There's a survivor fighting against a cyborg. I can't leave the area, but I'll try and help him out from here if I can. Oh, nope. Now he's coming for me. It's Dylan Corrigan. Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness, he's fast. He's so fast. Whoa, I'm trying to use the sword here. I don't know why. Here, tap us some tag assault rifle. 
that. Is he gonna blow up? Uh, Al Axel, get out of there, Axel! Oh no, he didn't even blow he didn't even die! Wow, man. Oh jeez, enemy droid. Holy crap. Interesting assortment of items in him. Okay, well, jeez, I this I can't clear this POI out. This is gonna be the death of me in here. Three minutes left on this brain arm. I, I, you know, we'll be okay there. We'll be done with this place probably in three minutes anyway. Why couldn't I just get an infection today with all the freaking stumps around here? It would have been great. Probably some loot in there. We will never know. There is a pretty big fight on our hands in here though. That I do know. Let's see if I can uncover a zombie or two. Yeah, there's one. And one more there. Okay, she's gonna come over to me though. Hit her right in the thigh, see if that slows her down at all. Yep, there's a plaster cast. <laughs> Not helpful, right now at least. Aha, there's one more guy up there. Ooh, he's a fast mover from what I can see here. Okay, there's usually one last zombie down there. Ow! Of course, closing things out with a bang. And here we are, made loot. Oh, and don't forget, yes, we gotta find the supplies. Almost forgot about that part. Oh, and there was a new drink in that container there. What was that? Oh, that's the yucca juice. That does... Okay, digging and chopping. We'll have to compare that, actually, to the goldenrod and see which one does better. I think... Oh, digging and chopping for yucca, so that would be like clay and trees, and mining is for the goldenrod, so that would be for ores and things like that. Oh, and this 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 thing here. This is a part of some crafting recipe that I've looked at some night, and I don't remember which one it was. Totally encumbered now. Take the red tea so that I can move a little bit. And right, where are those supplies? Probably in the burning building. I see them. <laughs> they are right there. There is something important in here after all. There we go. Okay, just yank them out of the fire. No big deal. And we're done here. Just wanted to come over here and check out this wreck because it looks pretty freaking cool. Look at this. Wow, there's barbed wire like curled around a body on the end of this truck here. <laughs> is this repairable? Holy crap, it's a real truck. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> I was wondering like how all of that worked together there. Apparently it's just all one model, nice. Well, that's super cool. What's the, um, okay, 7,500 hit points, 8,000 on the ambulance. Storage looks, let's see, one, two, it's a 10 by 10 storage. This uh, also looks 10 by 10. It is, okay. Well, I'll, I'll just take it with me for now then, I guess. <laughs> that was funny. All right, what, what are we doing now? What time is it? It's 1953. I wouldn't suppose that we have enough time to do another mission. Let's grab the airdrop then, and then we'll go home and get the proper glasses on, delete the maverick skill point, uh, the map point, I don't know why that's doing that, and then, uh, so we'll get the daring adventure glasses on, we'll pick up the rewards, and we'll probably call it a day after that. All right, I found my way to the airdrop right here. Check this real fast. Ooh, melee mods bundle, another wrench. Got wrenches in abundance around here. And I'm just here to stash my inventory real quick. Got these buttons here. This is the quick stack mod, so you can just press this button and it moves stuff from your inventory into storage boxes that have the same item in them. Let's just check that. Ooh, burning shaft mod, that's very nice. And I just needed the, what was it? The daring adventurer glasses. Toss those on, put the charismatic nature glasses away. We're all set with that. We've already hired our two companions anyway. And let's go to the trader now and get the rewards. Uh, nothing much anyway. I'll take the nine mil. You know, you can make an argument for the armor plating mod, but um, oh, we're doing really good on ammo anyways. I've, I'm already full up on mods. Oh, we could do leather boots. We don't have those. I'll take those. And oh, the other quest reward. Yeah, in this case, I will just do the 9 mil. Fair enough, let's go home. It'd be really cool if this drew in more zombies. And see what I can do is just open this up, fill up my inventory, use the quick stack buttons, put them all away, grab the rest of it, quick stack, quick stack, and then the rest of it is just stuff that isn't 
stackable or isn't stacked. Uh, I, I don't have it yet, and so I'll just do that manually. Okay, everything's put away now. I have a generic DNA boost, which we could use on strength to boost up our strength to level two, like instantly, or we could use it on any number of the other ones as we see fit. I kind of don't know. I need to figure out if deep cuts is affecting my sickle at all, or the scythe skill, in like the scythe t class of weapons. I mean, it talks about like 20% more damage with bladed weapons, more bleeding wounds. I mean, my sickle here does cause bleeding wounds. I'm not really sure how to increase intelligence, actually, if I'm being honest here. Increasing intelligence says it will increase with, uh, increase my damage with tools and more XP with electrical traps. I don't exactly know. I have to do some more research on that between episodes, but I am gonna go ahead and boost my strength up to level two. And then I also, I think I actually do have, yeah, I have a sexy T-Rex book right here. So we should be able to read that right now. We'll get the strength boost crafted. We'll get the strength injection crafted. So I don't know what these generic ones are. It doesn't tell me the percentage. Maybe it's random. Maybe it's 10%, um, 20%. I'm at like 86.3% or something like that. 86.9. So let's just do this and see what happens. Some compound Z directly into the veins. That brought me up to 100%, but it doesn't like cycle back around. Actually, it went up to 105.7, which is not a round number, which kind of leads me to believe maybe it um, it increased my strength by a random amount, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Let's go see if Briston is selling any uh, sexy T-Rex, whatever we're calling these, like skilled trainer books. He is, and it's a little bit cheaper because I had crafted that one book into better barter, so 2,900, I can afford that, no problem. Let's take that and should be able to read it again. That is now good for power attacks, 5% less stamina, regular attacks, 3% for melee and tools. Good deal, I feel like we've made some pretty good progress today, but there's still so much left to see and do, and I hope you'll join me for that. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. The Horde is nearly here already, and we haven't touched the Horde base since Day 7. And this base has to hold out for at least one more Horde Knight. So the plan is to dedicate some time to resource collection. We need coal, iron, and especially stone. That way we can get started on cobblestone cubes for the mega base build coming soon. And we also have two more tiered 2 jobs for Trader Wrecked. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. Okay, so I think I'm keen on probably knocking out the two tier two jobs first. Those are on the southern border of town down here. So we'll knock those two out. We'll hit the treasure map on the way home. We'll turn everything in and get our bundle reward. And then I'd like to do some mining over here. We have an iron deposit here and a coal deposit here. And we'll just look around and see what else we can find. And then we might also do some scouting in the wasteland. I know this river runs down like this and I think there's a lake over here as well. And so that might be a good spot to build the final base is just inside the wasteland here on the edge of the water. All right, couple important things. I've got everything rolling up here now. We've got the furnace rolling. And I noticed that um, I can make the crucible. So I'm gonna make that. We're making cobblestone cubes right now. Once we get the crucible, we should be able to make molten steel out of coal and iron. And then the molten steel then goes into the forge over here to make forged steel. It's a pretty interesting recipe and I do actually kind of like that. It makes a lot of sense to me. Rolling on some cement here and oh, I feel like an idiot, but um, this does not necessarily require gas. It just looks like it does, you know, but this actually can take wood and frames and stuff like that as well. So <laughs> my bad on that one. Just thought I'd point that out though. All right, I'm rolling so low today because I want to continue leveling up the scythe skill, which is currently halfway to level three, I suppose, and that'll help us level up our Witch Doctor class as well. And let's try out the new vehicle that we found. It probably has a full gas tank anyway, so that's half the reason. Yeah, the workshop van. I quite like that one, actually. <laughs> let's take her for a spin. Nice, it says, Ragsy and Tiger Customs Garage. A-Team, oh, there it is. Ragsy and Tiger Customs Garage, and it's got the cool stuff on the hood. What's the horn? Oh, it's actually a decent horn. 
Okay, otherwise I think I'm ready to go. So I will meet you over here. We'll do the tier two fetch first. We'll hit the clear and then we'll hit the treasure map. Right, just rolling up on the farm here. Hopefully this has some good resources. I'd, I'd like to get more cobble and cement mix and stuff like that. I think it does. I think this has a little bit anyway, if I recall correctly. All right, let's just go ahead and snap the quest and get an idea of what's going on here. We got a boar fighting a zombie. We have a naked survivor, not, not completely naked, but <laughs> Uh, in his boxer shorts. All right, so just, you know, keep an eye open for threats here. Boar incoming. Whoops. Holy crap. I can do this. Just, just jump and lunge. There we go. <laughs> Survivor man's helping weaken the zombies for me. Oh, I got the war drums again. I'm not sure. I think that's just like uh, when you're when you're being badass and you're getting headshots and stuff. It kind of gives you a little bit of something, something to show its appreciation for your skills. Although, oh, my enemies have ascended and thirst for blood. Right. Okay. So let's take a brief second to figure out what the heck that was. Right. Because um, this mod. Here it is. Wait, global achievements? Oh geez, I haven't even looked at this stuff yet. Whoa, that's something to do for tonight. Right here though, misery. So ascension. Marked enemies ascend as you level up. Don't think that you're the only one who gets to become stronger. Oh my, and so enemies now have a 10% chance for a periodic speed burst. Oh, maybe that's why we're seeing all those weird fast zombies. I'm not sure. And then, you know, so basically, as we continue leveling up, the zombies get like special abilities. They can jump higher. Oh my God, they can be toxic, shock, fire, immune. They can have speed burst, higher block damage during blood moons. They can unlock doors and hatches. Holy cow. In terms of downfall, I think that's, yeah, after you die. Uh, is this right though? 200 deaths, 250, 300 deaths. I mean, <laughs> I'd be lucky if I die once in this playthrough, let alone 350 times. And then natural selection. Oh, so they're evolving. The zombies will evolve as we kind of weed out the weaker ones. Okay. So after a certain threshold of kills, next would be 1500. Zombies could have a combination of more health. Health regeneration, walking faster, doing more damage, and attacking faster. Ooh, I didn't kind of realize all that. There is a loot bag here that I think... I think I can reach without losing the quest. Yep, got it. Okay, let's proceed with this place then. Speaking of, uh, we, oh. Oh, hello there. Did we have a, an event trigger and uh, they're, they're not really doing anything? Hello? Oh crap. They're, they're kind of doing something now, some of them are. And also, these guys are chasing me down. Oh, that's the other thing. I, I forgot. I'm supposed to change this out for the, uh, are you awake? Oh, here we go. They are activated now. Some of them anyway. Whoa. I'm just kind of keen on activating them all if I can. That should maybe stir them up a little bit. I'm getting hurt real bad here. Here, just take a painkiller. And a coffee. The boar is like tanking the big guy there. Oh no, he's back onto me. Sergeant five ton. Holy jeez. He's really big. Oh, did he shock me? Okay, I feel like we gotta clear out his riffraff together if we can. Who am I surviving with? Papa Hambone! Get a bleed on him. Nope, he's shocked me. Help out Papa over here. Oh, jeez. Ow. Oh, jeez, they hit hard. Oh! Gah. All right, it's time. We just gotta empty some bullets into him. There we go, he's down. And I think that's it. Ooh, look, a strength boost right there. Spotlight schematic. I think Papa Hambone has bought the farm. Oh, oh, you son of a bitch. Take that. 
Oh, we've got one more out there. I don't know what's going on. That's like they're they're paralyzed from the shock or something right now. He's uh, shock immune zombies though. Ten bucks on that guy. <laughs> yeah, I guess these uh, these shock immune remains. That's the next one. After we get the explosive immune remains to unlock one of the traders, this is the next one we gotta get. We gotta get like a hundred of these things. Yeah. See, um, I don't know what, exactly what happened here, but uh, this guy here, they're they're kind of locked right now. Oh, there they go. They wake up though. <laughs> All right, well, that was an interesting way to kick off the morning, and I didn't fail the quest. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even... I forgot all about the quest there for a second. And, yeah, healing's gonna be an issue now, because I've already used the painkiller. Okay, that'll do for now. I'll just wait for the painkiller to wear off, and I'll take another one to get the rest of the hit points back. Isn't this the one with everyone back there? Yep. Ah! Oh, speaking of speed boost, look at this guy. He's definitely got one. Slow to hell down there, man. Holy crap. Ow, man. I'm not doing good today. Definitely gonna need the cloth off of these guys because I'm running low on bandages. Free workbench right there, but I think I'm all set on that. I don't know if I need two, do I? <laughs> nice fall there. All right, this is what we came for. Done. Fair bit of like cobblestone and stuff like that here too. Okay, so I just found a recipe that I've already read, and instead of selling this, I've been informed that you should just read this, because it will help increase your intelligence down here. So I'm gonna read it. Oh, that's actually a pretty significant little jump there, just for a goldenrod tea schematic. Hunting rifle. Definitely not gonna use that. <laughs> Alright, we're out of here. We're on to the next quest. I'll meet you there. Okay, here's the spot. Done this house a hundred times, so it shouldn't be any big deal at all. Just take care of this guy real quick, Mr. David Smith. Grab that and let's hit it. All right, well, I think that was it for the zombies. I just suddenly got fatigued and uh, I don't know what else is going on for the buffs and debuffs. I did unlock the farmer trader by killing however many explosive immune zombies earlier. I thought you had to collect the remains and turn them in somewhere, but apparently it's just keeping track of how many you kill, which is nice. So that part's done. I don't remember what that goes to. Is that just taking me to some kind of an exit? Oh yes, right out here. Okay, let's grab the main loot then and we're not here to fetch anything, we're all done. Not much in there. And, oh great, pipe pistols. We're still in the pipe pistol era. Lovely. I don't suppose there'll be good anything good in here, but I guess I'll check anyway. And I think that's just about it. I'll take the cloth off of that and that. Craft up all the first aid bandages I can. We had a little bit of a wandering horde out there. No big deal though. I had some kind of a survivor with like a machete or something helping me. He might still be around here too if I looked hard enough. Oh, and I just noticed I also leveled up my scythes, and so now we're working on leveling up the Witch Doctor class again, so every zombie I see has to die. Oh, here's an experiment, though. Do I need to kill him with the scythe? Yeah, I didn't get any experience to my Witch Doctor class for doing that, so we still have to use the scythe. And I do believe this is the last level that we have to use the scythe, and then we can start using the Tack Assault Rifle to level up the class instead. And I think that'll do it. Time to go get all of our rewards. We should have two quest rewards and then the tier reward after that. And just to confirm, I am wearing the Daring Adventurer glasses. Yes, perfect. Hold up just one second there. 
when I see vehicles that are really crooked like that, it kind of piques my interest that, uh, you know, maybe is that like a, a regular vehicle, a working vehicle? Oh, ow, whoa! Almost died there. Just jump in the vehicle. Jump in the vehicle and run away. Somebody hit me and it was hard. Oh, explosive immune businessman here. Here, take a painkiller right off the bat. Heal me up just a little bit there. Okay, I'm ready to fight this guy now. Freaking fast mover too. Look out. Holy Jesus, a freaking bandit. Ow! Okay, not gonna fuss around with her. Oh my God, is this just working or not? It is just a, uh, a lootable school bus. Oh my God. God, guys, get the hell out of here. Holy crap, it's, this is a POI. And I just woke a whole bunch of people up. And there's a friggin' demon here. Oh no, it's the, uh, the kamikaze, uh, spider zombie. Alright, I am gonna take a cue on this one and get the hell out of here. Alright, here we are. I think I have some first aid kits back at home, so I'll wait until I can get those. Take the pipe bombs. And more pipe bombs or first aid bandages for this one. I'll take the first aid bandages and then... <gasps> Whoa! 500 cobblestone cubes or five grand. Yeah, I'll take the cobblestone cubes. That just saves me like so much time. And that really like gives me more liberty to do more construction before we have to pause again to get more resources. So that is a huge, huge bundle reward there. He'll give me a special job out to the east. I don't know if that's the one he already gave me or not. And he doesn't have the tier threes until tomorrow. Let's just check his inventory. I think he restocked, was it today or is it tomorrow? He's restocking tomorrow, but I'll check one more time. He does have some like military armor, which is a lot better than whatever I'm wearing right now. So, why not? Let's get a little bit of military armor. I got the legs, the gloves, and the vest. And that was the majority of my money. <laughs> All right, let's go home and freaking lick our wounds a little bit. We need some vitamins and we need a first aid kit. Oh, parking's getting, oh, I just took out my mailbox. Whoops. <laughs> parking's getting a little bit tight in here now. Oh, and so interestingly, I did get some farm plots, which I'm just gonna set them down out here. We have plenty of real estate here. Just take this up and we'll turn this into a little bit of a garden here. I just was able to use the shovel and just shovel these up from a POI. So I do like that. I don't, you can't do that in vanilla. So that's a good change. I do like it. And uh, you know what I don't actually kind of like is these basic ones. I should have changed the shape on that to something else. Can I even do that? Let's just dig one of these back up and find out. Yes, these are the variable shaped ones. So I could have done the better looking ones and I, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, much better, I like that. I don't think I have a single seed though. I make the seeds in here, don't I? Yes, but it doesn't appear as though I, that I've um, unlocked very many mushrooms, potatoes. Surely I, I have some vegetables around here somewhere. No, I really don't. I have like lots of corn, but not lots of like anything else really. All right, get that first aid kit into me and some vitamins and we should be just fine here in no time. Surprised I didn't get an infection <laughs> through all that. I've taken quite a beating today. You gotta work on the constitution skill a little bit, you know, here and there. It's not me, it's, I'm, it's, it's tactical, tactical uh, damage, tactical tanking we'll call it. Okay, so there's the new look. Wow, we're actually looking pretty fly right now. If I could just get a better helmet and a better hat, like the cowboy hat or the baseball cap, that would be great. This is broken, although in vanilla, believe it or not, the condition of your armor doesn't matter. It doesn't do a damn thing. So if you've been wasting repair kits, repairing your armor, you've, well, in that case, you've been wasting your repair kits because it works just fine. It gives you plenty of armor. You know, everything works on your armor when it's broken. I don't know, I'm assuming that's the same here in Rebirth, but I'm going to just repair it anyway, just because that's how it should be. Still haven't found a friggin' helmet flashlight, which is pretty frustrating. I did find a baking pan which is required for advanced cooking skills, but I haven't seen anything that requires it. There is an oven though. Actually, let's, oh geez, I'm, I'm kind of broke. Well, let's see if Ronnie here is selling the, whoa, what happened, what happened? Hello? Oh, Stone Wyvern, the next mercenary. Oh, come back here, please. You need to sell me the uh, mercenary protection. No, no, I can't afford it right now. Crap, how much do I need? 
I need like a thousand dukes. Here, just I'll, I'll sell you literally anything that you'll take right now. Oh, I got Billy Bob here, the farmer. Billy Bob is in my inventory. I did get a burner as well. There's all kinds of weird stuff in my inventory. Okay, you, hold tight there. I'll be right back. Yes, just give me some random thing. Oh, these uh, extra schematics. We're reading those now. We're not selling them. And just give me a couple of extra random things and... Uh, Where'd you go, Stone Wyvern? You can't run away from me. I gotta get my mercenary protections. I can hear him shuffling around. There he is. There we go, got it. $3,000. I'll take the mercenary protection tier two. All I have to do is read that. Wait, so what happens? I just hit the insert button and it gives me mercenary protection tier one. I thought I was going to tier two. A group of two mercenaries will now come to me for aid when I least expect it, or when I when I need it most, I should say. Okay, so we'll grab that, we'll grab Billy Bob, the farmer down here, and we'll put him upstairs. The return of Billy Bob. <laughs> nice, and now I just have to remember to use all these things. I mean, I've got the potion to summon skeletons, I've got like NPCs, and now I've got uh, the mercenaries as well. Here, you... I kind of like it when you guys are up here because then you can help cover, you know? Do you have a gun, by the way? You have a shotgun, so you're more of like a close quarters kind of guy. Which is, this would be a good spot for you because that'll be our fighting position for Horde Knight. And uh, this is Livid. What's up, Livid? Check your inventory. Of course, you're the farmer guy, so, okay. Farming seeds. Got a bunch of, like, base decor stuff. You know, shelves. <gasps> the dogs! Oh no, yes, Panther! German Shepherd, Pitbull, Labrador, and Husky. And I've done some testing with those before. Those are like legit. They work well. They're, I mean, they're just like the, the panther over here. Okay, so today I got the strength boost. I'm going to inject that. No big deal. I'm going to get the inventory organized and we'll come up with a plan for the morning. All right, welcome back. Just cracked boarding here and it was a long productive night. So let me show you what I was up to. I made five extra of these potion vials to summon skeleton warriors and I made a couple of extra mind control brews, which are right here. I've reorganized the tool belt. Is that a bear? Yep, let's ride the bear. A morning bear ride. Having kind of a hard time with this guy. There you go. Oh, I've used all my stamina trying to jump on top of him. Didn't save any for fighting him. <laughs> okay, good deal. It's just Toss all of that stuff back away into storages if I can. Okay, so the other thing I did was I put away the shotgun and the SMG. We're just going to roll with the tax all right. We have plenty of ammo for that now. We have the strength injection, but I want to do an experiment and see just exactly how much that's going to increase my strength. We're going from 23.2 to injected 42.0. A very weird number, which leads me to believe that maybe that's kind of a randomized... There's like a range to it, maybe. Anywho, I figured out that I could, in fact, use the workbench to craft a helmet light mod. So it's in here somewhere. I crafted that. I also crafted a new ratchet and a bunker buster mod, which will help us with mining today. And I've got the goldenrod tea with me, which will give us plus 140% mining. And we'll bring the coffee as well. And now begins the great mining trip.
All right, how's about that for a mining montage? Let's bring the crew up here and just teleport them to me. And Dank, now that I'm done mining, it's your turn, which uh, is currently not an option. How about you just stay where you're standing? Also, Creamy Ghost, I have not set your regroup point. So if anything happens, he dies or whatever, he should respawn right here now. So just stay where you are standing. And then Dank, yes, would you please help me gather resources? I can also use them to repair blocks in the area and he'll actually pull resources out of my storage container. He'll go repair my stuff. And then if he doesn't have the enough resources, he'll let me know what resources he needed to finish the job. So for now, go ahead and go mine. Ooh, we literally could have him mine anything, even oil shale, wow. So, I, yeah, okay, so Dank, you go get some oil shale. He's gonna mine, oh, that costs money. I forgot about that part. Well, <laughs> on second thought, I wonder, oh, and he'll be gone for 40 minutes. I wonder if it's like variable, if I make him do something that's easier like wood, is that going to be a little bit cheaper? Let's try, Um. yeah, let's try return wood logs. Yeah, it is cheaper and it takes less time for someone to go get the, the easier resources, I think. And if I just want him to like mine some scrap iron for me, two grand. Well, I can't even afford it. So guys, uh, forget that I even mentioned that. Why don't you just get back into position and defend? And my goodness, I have got to do something about this stupid tree over here. No, 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 no. You are going to collapse, aren't you? Is this gonna work? Oh, thank goodness. That is a done deal. All right, let's take a look and see what we got for resources there. That was good for, oh, I pulled some night vision out of some loot bag that I picked up. Uh, not actually that much. I thought I would have gotten more lead and nitrate. I just picked up a handful of that because I ran into it. 1300 coal, we need the coal to make steel. We got the iron and really large rocks and also limestone is important, I think, for something. But yeah, the large rocks, that's gonna go straight to cobblestone. How much though? 1300, really not that great. We're gonna have to do another kind of dedicated, a couple, probably several more dedicated, just stone harvesting montage missions. And let's go ahead and do a quick sell off. I've repaired everything already, so we're pretty much ready to go on that front. Okay, that was good for three grand, not too bad, up to 3700 and 1745. Let's go grab just a handful of missions from Trader Wrecked after I sell off this last axe here. Oh, look at the dogs. I gotta get a dog. What are we gonna get here? We've got the panther. Well, we've got like the, the dark panther, I guess. I'm gonna go with Dalmatian. I used to have a Dalmatian. Her name was Evie and she was the sweetest girl ever. She has since long passed away, but um, I do remember her very fondly and she looked just like this too. Can I? Can I? Oh no, no! Can, I don't have enough, um... Ah, crap, I don't have enough pets. You have like pet slots, and I think I've maxed out on that. And actually, I think that skeletons count as well. Can you? No, I, I don't think I can like pick him up. Magnus is like locked in right now. Hmm. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get more pets then. I don't know if that's a witch doctor. Yeah, maybe witch doctor level five, I can have two horror panthers. Oh yes, I had my mother load glasses on, so I think I can just take those off now and put some other pair of glasses on. We've got treasure hunter, iron gut, healing factor, daring adventurer. Let's just do the, you know, by default, have the daring adventurer ones on since we'll be doing a lot of questing. And, uh, so, oh, damn it, Evie. Evie's gonna have to hang out here in the nightstand, I guess. I'll figure out how to get that down at some point. All right, let me go get some quests. The witch doctor has arrived. Try to wreck, get your quests ready. All right, what are we looking at for the tier threes around town here? Actually, a lot of them. Country town business. Oh, that's the one right next door. So we can hit that up. Let's just do that right now, actually, while we have the time. And I'll get some more jobs. Uh, when, you know, later on, when we're not really kind of time crunched for nightfall. That is this one right here. I've always been interested to see what's inside here, and now I get to find out for good. Let's hit it. We need to level up in the Witch Doctor class anyway, so it's good that we're here. Working? Not working. Yeah, hopefully there's enough zombies in here to level me up, and if not, maybe we'll just hunt around into the night. Am I going in the right direction here? Is there maybe like a key box or a button or something that's gonna open one of these doors. Holy fast mover here, holy crap. Okay, just gonna regen some stamina. Leap up there, nice. Parkour saving my life a little bit. Go ahead and take the coffee. There we go. 
Yeah, so there was a comment recently that the, the reason that some of these zombies are super fast is because, you know, when we were looking at the Ascension stuff, so some zombies are like named zombies, but I also I have also like named everyone after my patrons too, so it's kind of hard to tell who's a special zombie, an ascended zombie, or evolved zombie, and who's just a regular, but we can definitely tell by their speed. Okay, so far no luck on the key box front. Any food in here? Yummy cat chow. Nothing up here. Oh, here we go. This is where you're supposed to go. Ooh, I like that. And we got birds here, so I'm just gonna get back over here and hopefully be able to take him out with my scythe. Okay, constitution. Yep, tactical tanking there. You gotta take some damage here and there, right? You gotta level up the constitution skill. <laughs> where are we going now? Is it... Surely it's not over here, I don't think. Aha! Ooh, you just drop into the ventilation duct. Ooh, this is a cool place. Right, because we're behind the garage door now. We're down here, got some cobblestone, nice. Take all that with me. Also, take these three working wheels with me, because why not, right? I'll take this one with me too, just in case I need to make any more. That's part of the crafting recipe for wheels. All right, moving right along here. Oh boy, here we go. So now that we've unlocked Billy Bob, the next step is to... Uh, what is it? It's the... I think it's the fire immune zombies, which are in the desert. We have to kill like a hundred or something of those. Let's just look here. It's um, not knowledge. It's global achievements. Yes, the handy woman trader. We need to kill 100 fire immune zombies. I have not even seen one yet. However, we have made some progress for the black shield trader. And that would be 150 shock zombies. They seem to find a lot of those in wandering hordes. And the base is going to be a bustling place here pretty soon with all these extra traders and trainers and dogs and cats and chickens and everything else. Holy crap. Oh, I can see your little boots there. I'm going to put an arrow right into your toe. Hope you're wearing steel toes. Come on, game. You got to let me do this. Come on. No. Where's the hitbox? There it is. More of an ankle shot here. Oh my goodness! Okay, you gotta just soften him up a little bit. Kind of an ambush. Oh, hey there. <laughs> you forgot all about me. There we go. Hey, you pizza. Wake up, man. I don't think I can hit him through the desk. Yeah, they're gonna fix that, hopefully, in the next alpha. You'll, you won't get the clipping issue. They fixed a lot of it here in alpha 20, but I think 21's... <laughs> What did- what even happened there, buddy? Oh, watch your step. Come on, get out of here. Okay, an extra coffee here. Aha, we're going into... Ooh, fire extinguisher. Nice. Going into... These are kind of valuable here. This is like the shopping area. We've kind of been in the back storeroom. One zombie remaining? I can just... No, I really can't tell who that is. Hello? Oh, there's um, there's a lot actually in here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yep, just um, kind of kite them around the best I can. Whoa, they're fast, man. One down. Just dodging and ducking over these uh, <laughs> these um, tents and freaking chairs and everything else. Whoa, over their heads. Parkour, saving my life. What's new? Nice decapitation and whoa, look out. All done. Oh, that was uh, an interesting loot bag there. Tons of money in it. Good. Like that. That might have been like a boss zombie, maybe? Not a boss, but like, we'll call them like the Ascended or the uh, Variant Zombies, perhaps. Right. Now all we have to do is loot up. Not too bad there. Beer recipe. Really, actually quite bad there. And it's nightfall. Let's go ahead and take the red tea, because I don't want to be caught off guard completely encumbered like I am right now. And probably soon we got to figure out how to make the distiller so that I can start making red tea, because uh, it's kind of a like finite resource right now, and it's really, really helpful. And I do believe I have the recipe for, like, coffee and red tea and goldenrod tea and yucca smoothies and... Not the smoothie, but the yucca juice. I think we're all set here on loot. Oh, there's a couple of shelves over here. Oh, and the button right there is probably the way out. Nice. Oh, wow. What a cool POI. Is this vanilla? And I've just never been here before. It's a, it's a country town thing, it said in the title. So, uh, yeah, probably is a, a uh, 
you know, vanilla POI, a fun pimp made POI seems to be in keeping with their style. I just never go to the country towns, really. I, I, I've spent most of my time in the cities. That's part of the reason I wanted to do this map here. Is this cloth? That is cloth. Yeah, because you just want to, I just want to get out of the big city thing because, you know, everyone's doing the big cities. I've been doing the big cities and I uh, haven't been exploring the towns or the wilderness at all, really. And like most of your tier four, tier five POIs on this map are in the wild, in the wilderness. So once we kind of get our feet under us here a little bit and get strong, um, there's definitely some kind of a boss here. Oh my goodness, what is that? Dropping things right now that I don't think I need. Read that, drop, drop, and we gotta move. Oh, it's a friggin' seeker. Holy crap. Here, um, into the thing over here. Oh my God, quickly. Get it, get to cover. Oh, jeez. It's Kiri K's. Kira K's setting the whole friggin' place on fire. All right, we gotta take this guy out. I don't suppose fire is gonna help me at this point. Oh, he's coming up here? No, 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 no. That's not good. Here, parkour my way up here and see if this place will save me. Whoa, man. <laughs> he just completely wrecked that whole... The whole entire thing over there. Don't tell me he can jump. That would be really bad. Okay, we're not conserving ammo on this guy. We gotta let it rip on him. Just a couple more bullets here. Whoa, right in my face. There we go. Holy Toledo screamer. Crap, I missed her. There we go. She's dead. I don't know if she screamed or not. I'm not... Keen on sticking around to find out. She did scream. There's her zombies over there. Okay, I do want to search the body of this guy. Because I feel like if any if anyone has anything good on them, it's this guy. Here we go, I'm searching him. And he's got a oh, thousand bucks on him. Holy crap, we're getting toxic zombies. Oh no, that's just cop. Makes sense. Another screamer. And she did scream as well. I think we just gotta, we gotta book it. We gotta get out of here. Too hot here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's an emergency. Let's get the hell out of here. You know, they're so close to the base too. They might just come straight over here and get killed by our soldiers. All right, here we go. We made it back. And they are definitely working their way over here. Yeah, let's get up to safety. There we go. Holy crap, our first seeker. Yep, that place is gonna just burn all night long and there, there's the zombies over there you can see him flickering well at least i escaped with my life and did we oh yes i was gonna say did we complete the mission because i wasn't really paying attention there we did we can get the quest reward tomorrow morning so i'm gonna start putting my stuff away and getting organized and we'll come up with a plan for tomorrow but anyway my friends and fellow survivors i think we can call it a night Welcome back to the Rebirth. The ultimate test is upon us. Our presence is starting to upset the balance of black magic in the region, and the powers that be will not let that stand without a fight. So I'm expecting an unprecedented and relentless attack under the Blood Moon, and I've got a plan to fight back. So we'll fortify the base, reposition the soldiers, and pull out all the stops when it comes to fighting zombies, monsters, and the hordes of demons that are on their way. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you, but now it's go time. And so we have less than 48 hours to get started, and this is going to be the battlefield right here. So I'm going to start by just getting this stuff cleared up a little bit. What I basically think we should do is, I have I spent some time last night kind of moving this around, and I think I might move it again to push it out a little bit closer to the road there. But we're going to have one like double wide catwalk coming up to this position here, and then we'll have another fighting position kind of at the halfway point back here. And I'm thinking a firing line of all of our soldiers, everybody, right behind some barricade right here, and I'll be up here fighting in the front line. There is a lot to do between now and then though, so let's get to work. Gonna need gunpowder and bullet tips and probably some more bullet casings as well. There's my extra frames. And the molten steel is rolling. Let's just test that out real quick and make sure I can make a little bit of regular steel. We're probably gonna need some of this tonight. 47. And hopefully that's only taking about five per block. I don't know, we'll do some testing on that a little bit later. Extra bullet casings. Okay, so I'm just gonna work on crafting for a second and then we'll get 
working on construction. Okay, I think I'm just about ready. I think we'll probably start with filling this in. And I'm starting to have concerns that, uh, remember we read that the zombies, sometimes they can jump higher if they level up enough. <laughs> I hope that doesn't become an issue where they're just gonna like jump up here and then carve their way through. That would be a disaster. Okay, ready to roll here. I'm gonna pull all this up and we're gonna move it out just a little bit. So the shape I want to go with here is I want it to be double wide because I feel like if we made it too skinny, it's going to be too susceptible to failure. And we have so many zombies that can just blow up in this mod that I don't want to take any chances. So I'm just going to make this like beefy round like pipe basically for the zombies to walk over on and we'll see how it performs. And then I'm also going to want double wide stairs going up because uh, same reason basically. I don't want it to fail too easily. So we're going to need like a big square kind of like platform right here kind of like that and this of course will need some sort of a support to touch the ground i don't think it'll need it because it's going to be connected to the side here but i'm going to put one in here anyway just in case and then we just need to build stairs going to the ground on each side just like that now we just have to replicate that on both sides all right looks symmetrical to me that should do it now we've just got to worry about the fighting position and I don't think bars are going to be the solution and I also don't think that we need these two blocks right in front of us here. We want something that we can shoot through here. Okay, a little bit of action going on over here and I'm going to go check and see what it is. Could be a horde, maybe? Or just a lot of regular zombies maybe also. Some loot bags. Oh yeah, quite a few actually around here. You guys are doing great work, excellent. Gotta level those guys up too, you know. <laughs> having fun there uh, extra coffee and 762 exactly what I wanted all right we're gonna need some kind of a new system here and this should collapse everything I think there we go nice all right let's come up with a new system here you know me gotta have my railings here on the front and we'll just double layer those as well and I think I'll even put one on the back this is my favorite system to work with right here and then we always put the uh, what's called the scaffolding plank and we flip that upside down, set that right here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the front all wide open. One big wide shooting gallery here so that we can have all of our soldiers in the back here just firing at the zombies as they come up the ramp and they start getting pinned here. And I'll probably sit up here with the mind control brew and then just keep turning zombies to our side just to create a big sort of log jam up front here. All right, Ronnie, you are going to have to come with me, even though it's gonna cost me a little bit of money there. He can't stand there and probably live it. I'm gonna to have to probably pick all of them up. How are we looking on money? Oh, we got like four grand, so we're fine. All right, let's see what I can come up with here. All right, well, it took a little bit of doing, but I've got all of our NPCs in position. Dank is up there. Everyone's got new names, too. So we've got Ray Capitillo here, Ian McTavish. Briston is the same. And I want them to be in this back second layer here because they should be able to shoot right through. Ooh, I guess that would be a bit of an experiment because I'm not sure if they can shoot through the security gates. Might have to bring some <laughs> zombies up here to check on that. Um, so yeah, before we go any further, uh, any zombies around here want to come and experiment with me? Because, uh, worst case scenario, I just knock those out and put in some bars. Anybody in here? Aha! Here we got a cop. Gonna come with me, buddy. Holy crap! Look out! Gonna set something on fire. Uh, could you not maybe shoot him just for a little bit there, buddy? Uh, this is a problem because I can't actually get in through the outside. I did that on purpose. And uh, I, I did put hatches in the kind of fallback position so I can fall back to here. So if I'm standing here, he should come right up to the front, I would think. Oh, I can hear him. He's going to blow up. No, 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 no. Do not let him do that. Okay, I can tell this is going to be a little bit more complicated than I was expecting. How about I check on the neighbors and see if anybody lives in here? Hello? Ah, we got lots of zombies in here. All right, well, stir them up here. Wake up, everyone. Come outside. The club is closing. Yeah, just let off a couple extra rounds here to make sure they're following, and then I should be able to hop up in my base, and they should path right up the catwalk there. Just jump up here. We don't want the soldiers to be shooting too much until they come up here into the fatal funnel area. All right, so I should be able to stand here, and zombies should come straight up. 
We've got one customer so far. Yes, and that's exactly what we wanted. Although the only person that shot there was Dank. Aha, uh -huh, they're coming up now. And... Yeah. It would appear as though they're able to shoot through the opening, but they're not able to shoot through the security gate. It is working kind of well, though, here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, hmm, interesting finding there. I'm wondering if bars would be better. They were shooting through the bars just fine before. I could replace these ones. I left these as regular frames. And if I take the coffee, it should only take me a minute or two to get all of these off here. It's unfortunate, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, so as I knocked those out, the uh, Briston in particular was shooting through, so... It might just be that we have to do something that's like open concept, but I will do one more experiment here just with the simple bars and see if this works. Oh no. Are you guys- Oh no, I thought they were going to be in the way. <laughs> that would have been a little bit disappointing and inconvenient as well. Yeah, because when their torso is angled a certain way, it does appear that they are in the way. Oh, come on, Ian. Get out of the way there. Oh, no. Why? It's just this one thing. Are you kidding me, man? Ian's apparently just a little bit too fat. Oh, crap. All right. Well, if this works, then uh, I'll pick him up and move him again. But if not, then we'll have to come up with some different solution anyway. So might as well wait. <laughs> All right. Back to the Malibu Club. This place will be half clear by the time I'm done experimenting. Anybody up in the VIP lounge in the bathroom? What's in here? Oh, that's locked. Whoa, look out. That scared the crap out of me. Yep, you can come on outside. That would be great. Ooh, can I squeak through here? I cannot. No, oh, that was smart of me, wasn't it? Oh, geez, here we go. Ah, okay. And then off and down. They should hopefully be able to figure out how to do that. Okay, I got a good handful of them here. Come on over. All right, look alive, my friends. Close those and we'll see if this works. Okay. Yes, as long as Ray over there can shoot with the shotgun, I'm confident that this setup will work. Okay, so bars are the solution. Can I, can I please, Ray, or Ian, can I just squeak that in there? <laughs> Come on, man, don't make me do this. I gotta have to put you away, you're gonna have to be fired and you'll have to get a new name. Okay, so this is working. They are kind of shooting my fighting position here, but I'm gonna upgrade that to steel anyway, so... I think it'll be okay. All right, so this will be the firing squad for tomorrow night then, I guess. Except for Ian, you're fired. Costing me a fortune doing this. Also, I could just do that right there and then put him right back. Is there anything else I gotta do around here before, before I do it? There you go. Tyler Barnett, welcome. Try not to be as fat <laughs> as Ian was. Um, should we maybe try and see if double bars is gonna be an issue? Maybe the security gate was okay, but when I doubled doubled it up, it was not okay. Okay, we got another zombie coming. We'll just wait for him. Hello? Oh, that's Papa Hambone down there. Papa Hambone turned into a zombie. Oh, Briston just took right care of him. He has Briston's got the good angle on him like that. So that makes me very confident that the bars are gonna work. So security gates are out, bars are in. And now I just have to start replacing things and we'll solidify them with the cobblestone and then we'll upgrade it, well, we'll upgrade the most important stuff to concrete and then the even more important stuff to steel after that. Okay, so eventually I can envision a scenario where we will maybe in, like put bars over the top as well so that we can shoot up at birds or wraiths or anything else that flies around. For now, I think I'm content to leave everything as is. This is just for armor here, basically, on the outside. And I will be up here fighting in the front at first, and if things go south, uh, we'll do. We'll, we'll be conducting repairs, and we will replace blocks as needed throughout the night. And then if, do, if they do breach in here and I can't hold them off, I will fall back here with the crew, and this will be the... Not the Alamo, because this is going to be the Alamo over here. I have a hatch crafting. <laughs> It'll just be me and Magnus back here to fight them off. Everyone else up here will just have to die. Um, I don't know what happens to the trainers if they die. Do I get to have them back or is this just like a one and done deal? Because, you know, maybe in a, a better spot for you would be like up there. But we're going to roll with this here for now and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so now just need to make sure I have all the resources that I own, basically. And another little bit of concrete there. And I think there's a little bit of steel 
that I've made over here, as well as the hatches. The last couple hatches are rolling in there. We're going to upgrade these hatches here to steel, and we'll have the final hatch back here. All right, just time to get things upgraded. Jeez, just had a dog horn show up of all things, and I was kind of out here thinking, what if we tried to do a fire trap right here? We've done fire traps before. They've always worked pretty well. Let's try it again up here with some of these catwalk plates and just hope that these work. Unfortunately, they're gonna burn out relatively quickly, but they'll burn for a little while at least. And I'm fresh out of cobblestone, so we've made it about halfway on the repairs and upgrades. We'll have to do a little bit of mining tonight to get the rest of it. And so that's exactly what I think I will do. Magnus, do you want to come with me and do some mining tonight? I think that'll work out just fine. Let's... Ooh, this van goes pretty fast in reverse. Uh, let's just check the map here because I want to do that surface node right there. Oh, we can turn in the tier 3 quest as well. And then while I'm out, I might also stop by the coal mine to get a little bit more coal so we can make more gunpowder to make more 762. But let's just swing in here and get this quest reward. And then I'll actually... Oh my god, there's just so much to do still. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be quest reward, uh, airdrop, and then stone mining, and then coal mining. That is the agenda. And I will go with... I'd say the Molotovs, probably the most relevant thing considering the Horde Knight is coming. And we'll grab a job that we can potentially do tomorrow, something that's really, really close by. Uh, this commercial fit you? Like uh, I guess so. Have I done that before? I don't know. Oh, of course, it's in the backyard of this POI here, so we'll have to find a way over. I remember this place. I know this place quite well, in fact. Oh, what a waste. Just a painkiller and a wrench in there. Ooh, I'm having a hard time jumping up here. There we go. All right, off to do the surface mining. All right, goldenrod tea in and coffee behind it. We gotta take down this whole big stone boulder. We need to take the large stones and put them into the shredder. It's literally the most inconvenient mining expedition ever. My power attack is doing 499 damage and the hit points on these stone blocks is 500. So it's gonna take two whacks. All right, that's it for the large stone. Let's bring this back to the base, get it rolling, and then head out to the coal mine. All right, I'm just about done with mining here. Just getting up a little bit more coal, a little bit more nitrate powder so we can make the gunpowder, then a little bit more large stone to make a little bit of extra cobblestone. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. So I think it's about that time. We should probably head back to the base, get stuff crafting, and make the final upgrades before the horde. All right, home sweet home. The other thing that we absolutely have to do today is level up the Witch Doctor class, and that will be done through... Oh boy. Jeez, man. Why is she so strong? This old crone halfway killed me. Yeah, we gotta level this up so that we can get level 4 of the Witch Doctor class, which will then allow us to start leveling up with the Assault Rifle, which we'll be using a lot of tonight. Okay, start on the rest of the cobblestone, give me what I have. If there's anything I can do for concrete mix, get it done. The rest of the molten steel should be turned into forged steel. And take up the last of the hatches. It is taking 10. 10 steel and 10 concrete to upgrade these blocks, like, per, per block, which is, um, seems like a lot. <laughs> We're going to need to do a lot of mining here. Magnus, you may stay here. I feel like Magnus is more of a liability than anything. I think I'm going to turn him loose and uh, try to get him killed off tonight so I can get a, a different dog. Mostly cause just because of the mind control. Like, I, I'll be like like the old crone down there. I was trying to kill the old crone. Old crone got turned into a regular zombie. And then I hit it and then turned it back. And it's just like a little bit of back and forth there that I'm not a big fan of. But on Horde Night... It might actually be in our advantage to have a whole bunch of zombies turned over to our side. Okay, so just gonna do some final upgrades here to cobblestone and then to concrete and then whatever we can to steel, get this hatch fully upgraded, and so on. I've just noticed too that when I'm doing these upgrades, I'd actually, I never got the materials into my inventory, but I think they're pulling the resources directly from the storage boxes. All, everything that I request to, to upgrade 
It's just like, yep, checks the inventory boxes, make sure I have it, and gives it to me automatically. At least I think that's what's going on here. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely using uh, resources out of my storage boxes. And kind of speaking of, the, <laughs> they're not very full anymore. We are running very, very low on resources right now. Okay, I think that's just about everything upgraded that has to be upgraded. You know, the more steel, the better. So maybe that's what I'll focus on now is just getting as much steel crafted as I possibly can. There we go, 181 more molten steel. We'll turn that into regular steel and then we will hang on to a good chunk of that just to do repairs. But I'd like to at least get the big pipe out Make here sure to solid to steel. You. At least the top layer of it, I think, would be best. Because you never know, we might face seekers and kamikaze zombies, and I don't I don't know if demos would show up or not, but I mean, demos are really the least of my concern right now. Alright, so I'm going to get my stuff put away, and we're going to go do a quick raid and see if we can get the witch doctor thing leveled up. And then we should be good to go and ready to fight the horde. We'll try to make it back early tonight. No, no, not the seven fit. Oh crap, oh no. Oh, that was a super bad move. Why did I take this one? God, I should have known better, man. Seven fit, this is gonna be a freaking disaster. On the bright side, oh my, off to a really bad start. That that bodes very poorly for us because this place is right full of bikers. It's okay, I'll just have to like potion up with lots of good stuff here. Maybe it'll be okay. I can just hear some commotion over here. I want to see what it is. It's a couple, three zombies fighting a wolf. Well, here, I got just a thing for you guys. Take that. <laughs> All right. Well, I feel like with some combination of like skeleton potions, the mercenaries and mind control brew, we should be able to make it through this place without too much of a fuss. What is that? Oh, jeez, of course it is. It's a freaking event that's happening right now because, jeez. Well, I might as well just get the brews into me now. And the mind control brew. Oh. Oh, crap. I shouldn't have done the mind control brew, really, should I have? Because then I can't power attack. Okay, convert one and distract them for me, please. Thank you. Actually, kind of a good idea, I guess. Okay, can you just lock onto my thrall here? There we go. It's working. And then I can just deactivate him by right-clicking and go back to just trying to kill him regularly. There we go. Yeah, we're almost there. 56%. Okay, so the event triggered over here, but um, they don't seem to be moving a whole lot. Okay, they're moving now. Bring them on over here. Whoops. It helps if you light it first. <laughs> Crap, give me that back. Where's the big man? Did, did the big man go away? Holy, no, no, there he is. Yep, oh, take that. Oh, no, 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 bad. Here, uh, distilled water onto me, please. Trying not to use the 762 if I can avoid it. I'm gonna have to on that guy, though. Maybe I can get a couple of thralls to tank him for me for a second. That might help. Okay, one down. Still working on this guy over here. Oh, I can set both of them on fire. That's helpful. Maybe, I'm not, I don't know. Is it helpful? Okay. No, 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 too strong. Legion's Lost is down, and that person has converted back over. Ow. Oh, crap. These guys hit hard. Get back! Oh, it's so hard without being able to use the power attack. I wish there was just another way. Not having my power attack is brutal. Ooh, the modern Wakasashi. Is that how you say that? A DNA boost for dexterity, a generic perk book, pumpkin bread recipe. And he should probably have some money on his person. No, but a college jacket. I think I'm all set there. And I have woken up some zombies that are inside. What is wrong with all of you guys? Okay, I feel weak. I'm infected now. This is just a disaster, man. I really... I'm not going to use the, the mind control brew anymore unless... Um, you know what? I'll do it from now on. I'll use the mind control arrows, I think. Because it's just too much of an inconvenience. I can't fight without a friggin' power attack. And then they, like, fully heal when you, like, unturn them or something. All right, now that I'm basically completely freaking toast, we can start the, the seven fit challenge. Yeah, there's, the seven fit challenge, not even a freaking POI clear. Okay, unfortunately, oh, geez, gonna have to get the guns out a little bit here. 
Still got a minute or so left on the mind control brew here. If I could just maybe turn a couple of you, you could help me out for a second. It'll give me a little bit of reprieve here. All right, in fact, what I should probably do... Did I drink a red tea already? No, I did not, because I don't have that sweet run speed bonus. Here we go, now I can move. I should have done that from the start. I thought I did do it. I think I did the copy instead. But yeah, we're just gonna stir everybody up in here, bring them all into one area where I can then kill them. This is where the bikers are. Yeah, 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 okay. If you can hear me, follow me. We're going outside. Hopefully, hopefully I don't get pinned here. Come on over here. That's not the right direction. All right, here we are out front. And get some fire on everybody, that's helpful. And get a potion down for a skeleton warrior. And get my mercenaries in here, here they are. And now it's probably a good time for the mind control brew. So that I can convert a few of you over. Except I, I have no stamina now. Uh oh, <laughs> uh, not good, not good. Cop, whoa! Now the mind control brew is not working, or am I just, yeah, I was, um, the zombie was too high of a tier there, I think. Ow. All right, fire for everyone then. I lost one of the mercenaries. No, I, I've lost everybody. Everybody has been killed now. Okay, convert you. Bo, I want you on my side, please. Nope, uh, these guys are all ferals, so I can't have them. Oh, look at the bodies. I think it's working. Just gonna keep after them. Yep, these are all ferals. Can't have- Oh, I can have Lumberjack there. And I can probably have Nurse and Bo. Nope, Bo just died. Oh, what about you guys? Ow! Alright, let my van do some of the tanking for me. Oh, I got that guy. <laughs> I don't know who I'm able to convert and who I'm not. Here, can I have you two? There we go. Gang up on this Lumberjack, feral one. Take you while I'm at it. And I got the cop all of a sudden, interestingly. I th thought I tried to get him earlier, but I couldn't have him. Nope, that didn't last long. Oh man, wow, that really hurt bad. All right, they've worn off. I need them to wear off anyway, because I need to kill them to level up my sight skill. Almost there, the area's not clear either. There must be, I can see one zombie on my compass. Sometimes the, the, the zombies act a little bit strangely. They don't want to like, um, you know, go for me until I get kind of close to them and then, oh, now he wants to fight. Yes, Witch Doctor just leveled up, nice. Oh, area is still not clear though, because yes, these areas here are full of people. And I'm so dehydrated, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even do anything right now. Oh, it's because I took so many painkillers. Okay, lock her in there while I rehydrate. And there's the freaking diarrhea, great. Just having a lovely day. Hopefully tonight goes better than today has. Okay, the area is still not clear because dogs. Oh, that was a good move, wasn't it? Put me out real quick. Yeah, as I poop my pants, great. Oh boy, this is nice. Did I kill them all? Yes, I did, because I've cleared the area. We can return to Trader. All right, let me just scrounge up some of the loot here and then we'll head out of here. Okay, here we go. All of our trouble was worth a mini bike chassis schematic. Can't even get any good food out of this place. <laughs> Just... I'll leave a little something something behind though, I guess. Well, that's a disappointment. Really nothing at all here. I did level up though, my Witch Doctor class, so that is a plus. I could spend all the time in the world to go through every little thing here. Oh. Check that out. I'll, I think I'll just take the golden rod. That'll help recover from the infection a little bit more quickly. But yeah, I don't think anything else here is going to be of much importance. Those glasses were charismatic nature glasses, which I've already got those. Ooh, weapons bag. Oh, geez. Of course, really nothing good, though. And the sickle that I have is better. Okay, so with that, let's go back and get our quest reward and then head home. We should have plenty of time to prepare for the horde. All we really have to do is get the weapons ready. Ooh, a crippling sledgehammer. That's new to me. Uh, but otherwise, probably the first aid kits are the most appealing. And I'll check his inventory because he has if he has any 762, he's got a bunch of it. Oh man, for $17,000 though. Ah oh, man, I don't even I couldn't even get like 300 of it. That is just not a good use of money, I don't think. All right, home sweet home. How do you think things are going to go tonight though? <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I do know it's going to be a lot worse than the last horde because we had a little bit of a bug in the last horde. Horde, horde night 
in this mod lasts all night, no matter what. It goes straight until 4 a.m., so you gotta be able to go the distance. Whether or not I can do that, I do not know. All right, here we go, my friends. This is it. I'm rolling on a little bit of 762 here. We can kind of come back here and load back up as we move along. Got a little bit of extra water rolling in here in case we catch on fire. And the dysentery looks like it's cleared up. The infection is, I think, cleared up. I think we're all good. I'm fed, I'm hydrated. Got some stuff in here to go through when the time comes and I'm not gonna risk the Dalmatian right now. I suppose if I had to wear anything tonight, it would be the healing factor glasses. So we'll put that on. Otherwise, we've got 40 steel there. We got 700 concrete mix here. We got some cobblestone, we have wood. I have shapes in my inventory. There's more mix rolling in there. And I think, if I recall correctly, everything just pulls out of the inventory just fine. I don't have to have it on me. Let's just do a quick test to confirm that. Worry, friend, yes, it's gonna let me upgrade that, despite the fact that I don't have the steel in my inventory. Pretty interesting. I'm not sure if I like that or not just yet. Let's pull the frames up, because I don't want zombies to use that. This is my fallback position back here. I'll leave, the, I'll leave that back there in case I need to use it in case of an emergency. But yeah, the idea will be I'm going to fight here as long as it will hold. In fact, let's get this up to steel. This is all very important stuff. There was, actually there's more stuff out here that I need to upgrade, like the walkway here, this little tube, the pipe or whatever we're gonna call this. Need to upgrade that to steel, this is very important. And these bars here, and the bars on the bottom are good, and this might be something that's important to upgrade. And otherwise, that was like 90 steel right there, so let's conserve the rest for repairs. Well, everyone, the Day 14 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, if we're only 27 minutes into the horde. Jeez, I think there was a mechanical vulture that just attacked me. And, uh, things are getting really quite bad up here already. I don't want to use the assault rifle just yet. I want to save that for more or less emergencies. Oh, yep, we got definitely got vultures here. Luckily, the soldiers, the guys behind me, are doing a good job at covering. Okay, things are heavy enough now. I want my tier 2 skeleton warrior. And I want my mercenaries to help out. No, 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 okay. Guys, can you just jump out that way and not try to... Oh, jeez. It's a very bad spot for you to be in, guys. Look at my skeleton, Connor. Connor is just out there wasting zombies right here on the, the platform. I love it. If you guys could just... What are you doing? <laughs> just going prone, I guess. Wow. Oh, one of them teleported. That's good. Yes, go out there. Jamie, outside. No, 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 that's bad. You're damaging the base. Okay, so the, the, the platform out there had caught on fire and has already burned out. Okay, the mercenaries have left the area. <laughs> Great. Now the cops are here, though. Oh, my mercenaries are out on the, the catwalk here fighting as well. All right, looks like I need another skeleton warrior, so go ahead with that. It takes a little bit of pressure off us here. That's Natasha, Natasha Parker. Oh, jeez. I can hear the rumbling of a seeker. Yep, we've got a seeker here somewhere. No, there we go again. Where is he? There he is right there. Pascal. Oh, jeez. If I could hold still for just a second and lay into him with some headshots. Nope, 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 nope. You need to get the hell out of here. Got the knockdown. That's a kamikaze zombie. Ooh, <laughs> that just caught me on fire. I'm pretty sure the seeker is still alive. Gotta put this out. Where is he? There he is. Coming up onto the platform. I do not want him. There he's down. 
Oh, can I harvest him, his body up? No, damn. He's always got a bunch of money on him. Okay, the mercenaries are dead. The skeleton warrior is still alive. That's a grudge right there. I think when the grudge dies, she summons a couple of zombies. So we got some bonus zombies out here now. Ooh, man, those freaking kamikazes are brutal. Oh, there's a skeleton warrior. That's an enemy skeleton warrior. And speaking of that, just huck another one out there. There we go. What I might do now, this probably is a the best situation for a mind control brew so that I can just, you know, enthrall a couple of them out there to help distract things if I can reach them. There we go. I've got two. If anything, they're just body blocking a little bit. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, I got three more of these skeleton warriors, so keep them coming. All right, suddenly, ooh, loot bag, 762. Nice. A couple of extra stuff there, too. Yeah, running quite low on the 762, though. Got to switch over to an alternative ammo type. Got a whole bunch of demons up here. I just lost one of my skeleton warriors. Is this a demon? Uh, no. I wonder if the demons have money on them. I'm trying to harvest them up. There's a grudge right there. Oh, jeez. Look out. Oh, my God. Fire's in the base. No, 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 no. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, no. That didn't work. Okay, they're uh, starting to blow apart parts of the base. How's the ramp looking? Ramp's looking good on that side. Looking pretty good on that side as well. Ooh, ow. Oh my god, this is bad. All right, we need more thralls. Let them up in here for a second and convert them over if we can. Oh, maybe not the kamikaze. Oh my god, they... Whoa. Whoa, this is not good. Wow. Um, skeleton warriors, please. Two of them. No, I can't use two. I can only use one at a time. That's fine, I guess. Um, hmm. Let's just maybe, uh... Do a little bit of patchwork here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ha! Ah! Don't kill him, please. That's a kamikaze. Oh, another seeker is here. That is definitely not good. Oh, boy. Just stat repairs here. That's better than nothing. Okay, where's the seeker? Oh, there he is right there. I don't know if I have enough ammo to kill him. We're not going to go for the headshots. Oh, man. Are you the ones that have been breaking the, the wall of the garage so badly? This should do it, though. Almost. And down. Oh my god! The structural stability problems. There we go. Okay, I've got skeleton warriors that are mine. We've got skeleton warriors that are not mine. I can't tell them apart, really. I'm really almost out of 762. I've got to run back here. And, uh, oh jeez. Uh, fire extinguisher. Set. Pl uh, put that out. And, uh, grab the 762. Grab that weapon repair kit. I've got to repair the SMG. Magnus, you are needed. Follow me. All right, convert, convert, convert. You're mine. All of you are mine. <laughs> I just got like four of them. Nice. No, 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 no. Kill him. And kill him. And we're good. We're getting better. Can we do a skeleton warrior yet? All right, that's helpful. That's my last one, though. Okay, let's have a look at repairs while the our thralls are kind of holding them off a little bit. We've lost the outside railing on the left. We've got both railings intact on the right. The pipe is at about 30% condition in some places. Oh boy, that's not good. Can I convert a couple more of these guys over or did we run out? We've run out of the mind control brew. Oh boy, okay. We got a whole bunch of demons here we gotta kill anyway. We got plenty of nine mil though, just let it rip. Oh geez, they're ripping apart my base again. Wow, I did not. Oh. And the reason being is because the ramp is destroyed on the left. And the ramp is still intact on the right, although some zombies are kind of beating on the side there. Yeah, I put the um, the V2 plates on the side so they wouldn't beat the side, but they were only cobble. And all these just explosions probably have rendered that completely useless. Um, so let's see if we can get some bombs down here for them, maybe. Even though some of them are just explosive immune, so they're not going to blow up at all. Yeah, I, I, well, now that we've made so much damage here, I'm going to make some grenade shoots so that I have an easier time throwing some bombs down there for them. All right, what are we looking at for time? we got an hour and a half to go. And I, I do believe they are technically able to come up here. They are kind of seemingly having a, a difficult time doing that, though. Not by um, lack of ability to do it, though. They're just, you know, having a frustrating time working their way around. Whoa, my goodness, I've got, we got fire, we got spit. <laughs> We're dealing with literally every type of problem tonight. 
And I have no more ladder to get to the top. How are you guys doing over here? Are you, have you broken the ramp yet? I feel like it's... The, the destruction of this ramp is imminent. Uh, Magnus is still alive. Maybe that's why they're all hung up over there. They're fighting Magnus. I'll do my best to just, you know, bounce some pipe bombs over there. Ooh, that's... <laughs> that didn't work at all. Uh, yep, boiled water, please. Yep, Magnus is going to die, I would imagine. And it's 3 a.m. I'm gonna see if I can maybe rescue him without completely killing myself. Let's go ahead with a red tea so I can run a little bit faster. Oh my god. Magnus has a whole bunch of thralls down here. That's why we're having such issues. And Magnus is dead. No! But we will replace him for sure. A worthy sacrifice because I think without him... They would have, like, stormed up here and overwhelmed us. Although, you know, the ramp's actually looking not too bad over here. We still got a bunch of Magnus thralls to, uh, to, for them to work through. Oh, just, um, ow, ooh, that was a close call. Okay, maybe just, um, yeah, working on our constitution there, tactical tanking. Don't mind me, heading back upstairs now. All right, boys, we're on the final lap here. Kill! Let's go ahead and burn through all the 762. I'm sure I'll get plenty of it out of the loot bags here. Wow, okay, here the traffic here is much worse. When I set Magnus out there, he totally was able to hold his own out there for like a whole hour. That was insane. Last two bullets for this. Oh, we got a, a grudge there. And that's it. We are over to 9 mil now with this S SMG. Only a couple minutes to go, and then we can just clear out the riffraff and loot up. Okay, there it is. It's morning. We still have a lot of zombies to burn through here. Okay, I was on fire there for a second. I think we're good now. One more zombie here. Wow. Oh, another one over here. Yeah, they're a little bit confused on what to do now since all their friends are gone. And the zombie leaders are dead. All right, we've got quite a charge of loot bags here. So I'm going to get it all together and we'll see what we get. All right, guys, here's a look at the loot haul. No shortage of shovels, it would appear. We did get a treasure map for Claude's treasure. I'll just grab that and we'll dig it up someday, I'm sure. Lots of doorknobs and trophies, but we need the brass anyway, so I don't particularly mind. Some of the stuff was stuff that was in the inventory already, probably like some of these goldenrod teas and red teas. We also got, for schematics, shepherd's pie, robotic drone cargo mod, an extra red tea recipe, two mini bike chassis schematics, and a cornbread recipe. Oh, also the fuel saver mod and the SMG auto turret, which would actually be really cool because that would give us a better way to use our 9 mil. And we need all the firepower we can get. And I think, did we just uh, level up in intelligence? I didn't quite catch that. Uh, we got the motorcycle chassis schematic and this bandolier mod schematic. So read that for the extra intelligence. And I will start getting all of this stuff put away with the quick stack buttons. And the rest of this can probably just be repaired and immediately sold. Let's just have a look at the devastation down here. And yeah, we definitely have to do some serious renovation here. Look, this is this was concrete to begin with. And it almost all got completely destroyed. My goodness. And look, the pipe got completely destroyed here on the bottom. Maybe we need some kind of a trench around here. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. Last night was devastating, but we made it out alive. Our only casualty was poor Magnus, and about a third of the front of the base. So we need to put our nose to the grindstone and get ready for the next one. So we'll gear up at the base for a bit before we set out on a mission for the Black Shields in return for the distiller schematic. Then it'll be all about resource gathering and base repair, and maybe a quest or two for Rekt. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you, but now it's go time. All right, I got a whole laundry list of things that we've got to complete. So everything's all cleaned up outside. The mercenaries are still loafing around. I thought they died last night, but they must have just, uh, I don't know, snuck off somewhere. Anyway, the first thing I want to look at today is the garden because we haven't really worked on this at all yet. And I was looking at the skills and what do we got here? Global achievements, green thumbs. So look at this. You actually level up. This is like living off the land right here. So for every, like you get a hundred, Planted, crop, harvesting, actions, basically harvesting up a crop. You will uh, progress towards the next level. And so you'll get, you know, up to two additional wild and planted crops if you've done 60 harvesting actions. So we got to get working on that. I don't know if we'll ever reach that high, but I should be able to make some corn seeds here. 
And then the crops will need water. Now, they collect rainwater, I think, but I also collected up these barrels here. And then if I go to the forge, I should be able to make a bucket. And then we'll set the barrel down over here. I think we'll just put it somewhere right in the middle-ish, maybe like that. Okay, so now just putting the corn in. And you can see that the planter has zero out of six rainwater. I think it'll fill up with water if, the, if it starts raining out. And the crop here says growth halted, nearby water source needed, and it's empty. And this tank, it says it's empty. We're gonna fill that up in just a second. And it also needs a certain temperature. So this kind of like nerfs the snow biome, which I think should be in vanilla. I don't think that you should be able to grow crops in the snow biome or the wasteland for that matter. But yeah, uh, it needs water, it needs light, and uh, no fertilizer or anything like that, though. All right, so here's my bucket. Is a chicken still in here? <laughs> it's still in here. Get some uh, water out of the sink and shut him back in there. And I should be able to put this into the bucket. And you, you're seeing it, it drained down. So it drained eight, and, and we have eight crops here. So these eight crops have just taken up water, and it says... Hello? It says 89 minutes and it's gonna be grown, so that's pretty good. Did you guys take care of business out here? Oh no, just like that one... <laughs> Could you stop shooting the base, please? Oh man, I'll take care of this guy, don't worry. Maybe I won't, that's two shots in. There we go. All right, now I got about a half dozen other things I gotta craft in here. Bandolier mod, three customized fittings, all the sand I can get, all the oil I can get, extra wooden frames, all the tier two skeleton warriors I can get. I've already made 10 and that, uh, that we're out of bone. So we gotta harvest up animals now. And that's another part of this smells like bacon. The more you kill and harvest animals or the more you kill animals, the more efficient you are at harvesting them. So currently we are progressing toward level two on that front. Oh, and I wanted to check out here and see if I could buy some stuff. So Tyler should be selling the, what is it? The uh, distiller right there. This is a hazard mission, I believe for the black shields. So we'll purchase that. What is this gonna do? The trader networks farmers. Okay, this is for the trader network in fact. They have reported citing large groups of wanderers in hazmat suits. Oh boy, okay, interesting. Uh, these wanderers seem to be testing out some of their experiments on the community. We suspect that they are spreading some sort of hazardous gas and they need you to get rid of the threat. By killing the leader, you will find the following blueprint for the distiller. And I will accept that. And while we're at it, let's check Briston's inventory and see if he... Ooh, you know what? Steel pickaxe schematic. I might just try and make that. Otherwise, we are... We're gonna craft the better barter, daring adventurer type of things. And I was hoping he had deep cuts. There we go. That's kind of what we need. Also, minor 69er would be nice. Because I'm doing four... Well, actually... I don't know, because if we have the steel pickaxe, we'll be doing a lot better on the mining front. Wouldn't mind some mother load, actually. And some parkour. <laughs> oh man, I want so much stuff, but I'm not going to be able to afford it all. Um, while I'm checking on things, though, let me check your inventory, because you were selling seeds, weren't you? No, no seeds today. He's, he's got a bunch of dogs, though, which reminds me, we've got to get the Dalmatian out. Okay, I'll take one into Miner 69er, then. I actually have a couple of these things over here. We've got a DNA boost, we've got a uh, generic one, we've got two generic perk boots, and I think I'm wearing my healing factor glasses, and we're about to go do some mining and stuff, so I'll put the um, mother load glasses on instead, and we can grab up the Dalmatian here. Who'd we get? Jeff. <laughs> Jeff the Dalmatian. Okay, read that steel pickaxe. Read the minor 69er. With those two generic perk books, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually craft better barter. Or should we do daring adventurer? Because that's... We've got the glasses. Wait, is this... Pick an additional quest reward. Oh, that would be really helpful, actually. Okay, so we need to craft a daring adventurer, and I think a charismatic nature would be best, because then, with the charismatic gla nature glasses on, we could get uh, up to level three, I think, so that we could hire our third survivor, at least for the next horde. 
Because I don't even know if we're going to get this place repaired up in time, let alone get the big base built. I think we're going to try and do that in the next uh, episode. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and take this um, one of these this generic DNA boost into charisma recipes. We're going to do, what did we say? We did uh, charismatic nature for one and daring adventurer for the other. Okay, so there's my charisma up to level four. So should be able to read both of these now. Good. Let's just get this dexterity shot into me as well. Nice. All right, let me get this stuff sorted onto my armor then. Okay, so take that sand and we've got to make empty potion vials. And in my inventory here, I'm just going to make up like 25. Oh no. Short. Oh, I've used all the small stones to make uh, the stupid sand. Fair enough. I just wanted to make a couple of those so that I could make the magic bolts, the mind control bolts. Now we got four of those and we can load those into the crossbow and I'll use those instead of the mind control brew and I'll just save the mind control brews for Horde Knight. It seems to work better at Horde Knight anyway. The last thing I'm waiting on here are these potion vials. I think 45 should do it for now because I just need to come over here, fill them up with water, and we come over to this bench here, grab up the skeleton warriors, and can I? I need to get some empty ones now. Or no, 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 I don't need to do that. What do I need to do now? Oh yes, right here. Potion vials to summon skeleton warriors tier two. Oh, I can make, wow, that's a lot. Four, oh, I can make basically all of them. So oh, that's gonna take um, six and a half minutes. And then when we get back, I think we can make skeleton warrior tier twos and that'll take six a piece. So we should be able to get like six or seven of those or something like that uh, by the end of the day. Oh, and then the last thing was that steel pickaxe. Oh, nice, two and a half minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for that then. And while I'm waiting, and while we're waiting, let's get one of you guys to start doing repairs. Creamy Ghost, can you... Uh, what do I do here? Please help repair blocks in the area. Start repairing. And that's free. Uh, fortunately, he's not going to charge me for that, because I'm already paying for him. I was just shocked that they did... So, whoa, he's already repaired the stuff down here. My goodness, he's efficient. Oh, did he just... Is that how it works? He Everything gets instantly repaired. Whoa. Okay. P probably used a lot of my resources. Uh, so everything is just instantly repaired. I was shocked that they did so much damage to this, but um, they didn't carve any uh, like hole into the ground. I don't know what that's all about and why they did this. Maybe they were, they were doing this thing where they kind of try to like claw their way up to you, but man. Yeah, we're gonna have to definitely fortify this with concrete and steel for the next horde if we end up fighting here. Uh, otherwise, we'll have the the bigger base built, but it's not it's not gonna be built out of very strong materials. I'll tell you that much. Just barely able to get enough materials for this base, let alone a whole nother one. <laughs> we'll get there though eventually. Oh, I hear pitter patters. Oh, it's a big horde out here. Nice. Let's have a little quick fight with the new with Jeff here. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Come on down here, boy. Ooh, ow. Oh, this is definitely not good. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on, fight him off. And I can't move because I was stunned. Holy cow, that was close. Jeff's tanking him for me, although, hmm. Jeff, can you come over here? You're about to die already. Come on, keep coming over here. What is this backpack? Oh, that was, wait a minute. That was this, what happened there? How did I just insta drop my whole backpack? I was like, Oh, wait, wait, is that a thing? Is that a mechanic? If I hit shift backspace, it drops my my inventory so I can run faster. Oh my god. That is crazy. Jeff's dead. All right, had enough of these guys. Gonna just take them out. Killing my dog. You bastards. Poor Jeff. I buried Jeff next to Magnus. That is an incredible finding, though. So if you're encumbered, you can totally just... Ditch your stuff. Wow, that is just such a cool thing. And then you just go back and pick it up. Holy crap. I'm blown away by some of the cool things in this mod. All right, got the new steel pickaxe. Nice. Is that going to use like a ton of stamina though? Yeah. Yeah, it's not great. But we can use the coffee and stuff like that. Goldenrod tea. Just a tiny bit infected. A seeker is here. Oh, geez. Never a dull moment around here. Let's see if this works. Take him out. Yes, it's, oh my god, it works to some degree at least. Come on, take him for a ride. <laughs> Get away from the base. <laughs> I love it. All right, you and me, bud. Mano a mano out here. 
Oh, it's ND 22Z0. Some kind of a weird code name for whatever the experiment this is, I'm sure. Oh my goodness, it's like the, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage to the topsoil, it seems. Ow. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna go in for a melee kill. He Whoa, nope, I got smacked. Ow, I got smacked again. That he hits really hard. Come on, man. Oh, I got the melee kill, but I paid for it. Yeah, 1100 bucks. Good, I needed a resupply on cash there. Yep, go ahead and just take a first aid kit. We'll be fine. All right, I feel like we're as ready as we'll ever be. Let's go head out to that quest for the trader network. Oh, would you look at that? It's up in the freaking wasteland where all those other quests were. Great. I'm gonna get Dank and bring him with me. All right, we're on our way to the distiller quest here to take out the, what was it, the, the hazmat people, I guess. And um, I'm just gonna risk bringing the ambulance in here because I've observed that it has pretty good, like, smashing capability in terms of, like, running through fences and things like that, so gonna hope for the best here <laughs> hope that we don't get stuck anywhere it's going really well so far it's smashing through the blocks and the iron without any real difficulty and this will give us like uh, something to hide behind or hide on top of if we so need it oh I said that and now I'm getting stuck on pretty much everything okay we got some gunfire locally but we should be safe inside the ambulance even though <laughs> there's no side window or windshield and yeah just a lot of gunfire going on here Looks like we're almost there though. Okay, yep, I can see the marker right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and park right here. Oh, hold spacebar for just two seconds so the E-brake goes on. And me and Dank will take care of this guy. Good, 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 okay. Okay, taking some fire here. Take cover. Take him out. He had a sniper rifle, which I'm gonna have here in two seconds. <laughs> nice, give me that. And cops shooting at me now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we could take him out just real quickly. That'd be nice. I could go check on his body, too. Do cops have anything special on them? No. Nope. What did I just hear? I just, I felt like I just heard some sort of, like, nasty breathing or something. Oh, maybe that bird there. That makes sense. Another bandit here. Take him out. Okay, free SMG there. And what's in this guy, anyway? Anything? No, it's just, just, just a bird. Well, we need the bone anyway, so that's good. Oh, that is getting totally sidetracked here, but that's a soldier, so I'm gonna go check on him. See if we can help him out here a little bit. He's taking out some rads. Oh my god, that's like a super soldier radiated. Gonna check that one. Ah, oh, nothing good in there? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Nope, we need to use this to harvest. And who's this? Suskins! Hello, Suskins. I'm interested just in seeing your qualifications. I don't think I could afford you. No, no. And he's not top tier anyway. We're only here for top tier soldiers. Thank you very much. Take him out. And I think we're just about ready. It's getting toward nightfall anyway. We should be fine here though. All right, be extra vigilant here. Let's just make sure. Let's take a red T. So we have some run speed bonus. And we're good on health and hit points and all that stuff. And we're not encumbered. So that's good. All right, Dank, are you ready? I think it's just you and me for this one. I don't have anything I can summon. Oh, I can do the mercenaries. They can help me out. Hey, guys. What's up? All right, hit it. I just... Oh, my goodness. Was that a landmine? Ow. Whoa, just start off with a freaking first aid bandage then. It looks like the enemy is on the back of that hill, and they're coming over. Hold your ground, boys. Holy crap, there's a giant. It's beautiful Tracy in a hazmat suit. Take her out. We just got a machete, so not too big of a threat here. I think they're all melee, in fact, so they're trying to close the distance on me. Man, I'm really burning through my ammo. I don't like that. I'm gonna try to use some melee myself. Yep, took her out. Oh, now we got a bandit here, and uh, Dank just got shot. There we go, down, and a cop over there. Also down. There's our distiller schematic. There is an extra SMG. And I'm getting all kinds of good stuff out here today. And a cop is beating up our mercenary here. Nice. Okay, I think that's just about it for this place. Let's go ahead and... Whoops. A little bit of a loot bag here. I'll take that since I got the higher loot stage out here. Ooh, some steel knocks. 
Although really not valuable and we're not going to use them. Yeah, it took me a second to realize that even though we're pulling out like sniper rifles and SMGs and stuff, those are actually like low tier items in this mod. The higher tier items are like, you know, things we haven't even really seen yet. Like, the, you know, we got the katana and the wakasashi, I think it's pronounced. Um, those are like the higher tier weapons. They're very, very rare though. All right, we're almost out of here. So from here, we need to go to those treasure maps that we found. We have two of them. And we need to dig them up because we need clay, of all things. We need clay soil. And so those are way, way, way on the other side of the map. So I'll just meet you there. All right, here we are rolling up on the first site. Thank you. Stay where you are and cover me here a little bit. Take that guy out. All right, so for this party here, I went home and I grabbed the... What are they called? The treasure hunter glasses. So I'll wear the treasure hunter glasses when I open the treasure, but while I'm digging it up, I'm gonna wear the mother load glasses. I'll do the little trick here where I put boxes around the side so I can see where it's shrinking down. Even though it'd probably be easier to... Is a boar? Nice. Thanks, doing a pretty good job of covering me, kind of. Holy crap! What is that? What is that? Who is it? Oh my! What happened? Oh, it's Moopsie has arrived. Try and get some melee on ya working okay oh good i'm at the point where i can melee demons to some degree i guess i'm actually hurting really bad now all right it's time you okay there tank thanks okay oh ow look out okay i think we got them all there's a, another one way over there i can actually now i think heal my allies. Did that work? Or do I... No. Right click. Did it work? I mean, oh, he's healing now. I don't know if he's doing his, like, his own heal, his auto heal, or if that worked for me. I'll take it, though. Now, who do we have? Oh, it's a, uh, corpulent Terry Brady. Oh, jeez. These guys are so freaking strong. Here, try to melee as much as I can. We've got another demon of some variety out here. No, it's a kamikaze. That's fine. Let him blow. Okay, corpulents have good stuff, right? Nope, not really. Good loot bag. So I'll take that. That's good. <laughs> Haven't even started yet, and I'm already at 58 hit points. Take a painkiller then. <laughs> I don't know what you'd do if you didn't have uh, soldiers to help you out. It'd be a lot more difficult, that's for sure. All right, so cover me. Oh, here's that demon that I didn't check, and he's got some money on him. Good. All right, yeah, cover me. I gotta dig, man. And I also think that I brought... Okay, we gotta actually stash the inventory. My goodness, I can't even get my head on straight here today. What I brought was the yucca juice. That gives me better digging. I think that's just more resources. Uh, or, no, I think... Actually, it is more damage, I think, anyway. So we'll try that. And let's dig this up. I think I'm just- I'm still one-shotting the blocks here. What is this gonna be? Oh, I'm- I'm one-shotting it with the left click. That's actually really helpful. It shouldn't take any time at all. All right, I was able to get in basically no time flat, and... Not much. Oh, I- oh, I was supposed to put the treasure hunter glasses on for that part. Oh, crap. I knew I was gonna mess that up. We will do better on the next one, though. All right, Mr. Dank, let's go. Move out. Next one is on the other side of town. I'll meet you there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got a demon here. Smash him down. Take him out. He's full of money. It's JP Gaming. Yep. Okay. Take you out too and just want the money for this one. Yep. Okay. Back in the ambulance. Go, 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 go. All right. This is the spot right here. Oh, nice. Loot bag right off the top. Take that. Ooh, that was a 4x scope mod schematic and a little bit of food there. We'll just top off on stuff here. And somebody with a pipe shotgun is fighting another zombie out there. That's fair. Be a good distraction for us. Perfect. Okay, let's dig this one up now and not forget the treasure goggles. Now hold up. We got Anarch here. Big, tall, zombie, barrel, and whoa, probably hits hard. There we go. Oh my god, did you see that? Big Mama just clubbed that survivor and knocked him down. Uh, if I leave the treasure map boundary, yeah, that's not gonna... That's not gonna fail the quest. It's not a buried supply. That was Roxy Taylor John over there, beating on Big Mama. I just wanna grab this loot bag from some whatever random zombie died over here. And I'll take the final yucca juice, and I will dig up this treasure. There's actually some iron ore down in here as well. I might have some of that before I leave here. 
Oh, and I just leveled up my strength as well. Nice. Up to level four now. Why is it that I always start on like the furthest end away from the treasure? <laughs> it's okay, we're basically here for the resources anyway. There's not gonna be anything good in the treasure box, I'll tell you that much. Definitely narrowing in on it. There it is. Well, that was easy. All right, before I get into it though, treasure hunter glass is on this time. That should give me a little bit of, oh my God, that's a really good one. Four grand and some bullet manufacturing materials, some 762, we really, really need that. Wow, excellent. Suddenly this is very, very much worth it. Maybe the treasure hunter goggles really do make the difference. Okay, so I wanted to check and see if I could get some iron here. What if I did the goldenrod T? That increases the damage I can do with mining tools. And I can two-shot the ore with a regular attack. Okay, yep. I'm gonna just spend an extensive amount of time digging down here then. Probably until morning. Just make sure we get the mother load glasses back on and we're good. <laughs> Poor Dank. He's on the top trying to beat his way down here. He was down here for a second and then you know how they kind of teleport back and forth. Now he's up top and he's frustrated about it for sure. Now he's back down here. <laughs> oh, that's great. Nice to have you here, Dank. You, you bring a lot of you know, comedic effect to an otherwise kind of stale activity. Oh boy. We're, we're stuck in the hole and there's a monster coming. Ah! Kill him! Okay, this is gonna get real bad real fast. Let's, um, get a frame. Oh, geez. Yep, can we kill him? Because, um, more monsters are coming. Jump out, jump out, jump out! Okay, I'm good. Up here! Mercenaries down! Let's fight! Oh, they've instantly gone for the mercenaries who are tanking really well for us. Nice! Let's help out Dank over here. No, he doesn't need any help. What am I doing? And... Uh, nice. Are we good then? Oh, that, he's still in the hole. I blew his leg off. There he goes. Okay, you guys handle this top side. I'm gonna go just grab whatever he had on him. I, I think that's our key. We're done mining now. <laughs> All right, a little bit of money there. Good. Yes, my mistake. I should have probably been more careful about making sure we had an egress route. Got a little bit carried away there. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think we're good here. I don't want to really harvest up all the bodies. However, we do need some coal. We're completely out of it, so I'm going to swing by the coal mine. Scratch that, there's a coal mine right here. I guess we're going to continue mining then. <laughs> got a little bit more time left on the goldenrod tea anyway. I might just drink another one. I've got 16 of them sitting in the inventory, so we're fine. Oh, and look, at there's a freaking wandering horde here. Great. We can't be using the 762 either. We've got to just, well, I'll use the 762 to kind of draw them over to me. I don't want them just loafing around on the map all by themselves. And let's dance! Dank's having a friggin' wonderful time here. The mercenaries are doing great work as well. Hope that survivor over there, however, not having such a great time. Give her a quick hand. All right, where was I? Ah, yes. Going to drink the goldenrod tea, and we're going to start mining. Going to get more coal. Coal is the key ingredient to make steel, so we're going to get as much of this as we can. Plus, we're getting a lot of small rock out of it, too, which we need to make into sand in order to make concrete and friggin everything else basically this time making sure i set dank to stay topside and cover me now, this is your classic gunpowder mine too nitrate and coal down here very nice all right one more minute left on the golden rod tea i'm out of coffee so i'm just gonna let this expire get as much as i can and then we'll head out of here oh just like that i increased my strength up to level five wow really rolling on the strength today all right that is it man look we did some serious damage down here. I got a whole bunch of stone off of that end, nitrate off of that end, and coal off of that end. And look at me, being totally squared away, not having any sort of an escape system set up here. There we go. And I'm gonna have just to uh, ditch my frames here, I think. There we go. All right, we're back topside. Mr. Dank, follow me. Let's go head to the trader real fast and grab a job for today. Then I'm gonna go drop everything off into the inventories and get rolling on some cobblestone and stuff like that. And then we will do a mission. All right, Rekt, what do you got today? Oh, he's got an advanced bellows, which I don't have and I don't know how to make. That's crafting speed plus 50%. Nice, I'll take that. Let's see, I'm partial to a fetch and clear for today. We've got the cidery, <gasps> the Kincaid lab. That's just a fetch though. We've got a house modern household bungalow farm. All right, fetch and clear at the house modern five. I'll take it.
All right, here we are, rolling up on the house martyr number five. Oh, there's a survivor out front here with a fire axe. It's Ivif. Ivif, you used to be a chicken, and now you're a badass fireman's axe warrior. Got another survivor around back, I think. Oh, fighting a wolf. Let me just help you out there, because I need to kill animals to get better at it, and I need the bones anyway. There we go. And that's Waif. Waif, you're back. And you got a much better gun. And whoops. <laughs> I, I, this tells a story of what probably happened here. Oh, we got an airdrop. Where'd that go? Way, way off there. Let's swing by and get that on our way through, I think. If I remember. Oh, boy. Oh, it's, um... Kamikaze. Yep. Well, I've even made it. That's good. Looks like he's uh, seen some things, you know? <laughs> All right. Let's uh, hit this quest here. Today, I brought with me my charismatic nature glasses. Uh, no, sorry, Daring Adventurer, so that we can get a better quest reward when we turn this in here, hopefully in a couple of hours. Uh, I forget. Do, uh, do we go in the front or the back? I think we have... No, oh, we're in this way. All right, let's do it. go poi clear supplies are found and loot is open let's see what we get here a vitamin <laughs> off to a great start right wrench sledgehammer nothing good in there motorcycle chassis schematic the third one that i found i found one downstairs a little bit earlier new iron crossbow we'll have to load a bolt into that and see if it's any better full auto mod though that'll be great for this because i've been using a semi mod on this thing and an extra beaker that's awesome because i think we have like three workstations that use the beaker so we, I can stop kind of like swapping it around back and forth. And yep, I'm super duper encumbered now. I'm just going to go ahead and take a red tea. And that should open things up enough for me to get back to the van. A little bit of stuff I missed on the way out. I do want to check the backyard. I didn't go out there. And I could have sworn there were... I, well, first of all, I could have sworn there was a dog in here somewhere. I never found a dog. And I never checked the backyard. There's usually zombies down in the pool, aren't there? Kind of like a bunch. Oh, there is a zombie down in the pool. There's a couple of them, but they're not a part of the clear quest, which is kind of fascinating. There's also a radiated crawler of all freaking things down there. And that was a level up too. Can I take him out? Nope. One more. That did it. Are there maybe more out here then that I that weren't a part of the quest, I guess? Yeah, one right there. Look at that. Take all the bones and guts I can get and hopefully make it over that without stabbing my feet. There we go. And I think that will just about do it. I could probably harvest these. These give me uh, military fiber the last I did one, although these ones aren't giving me any military fiber. What was I using before? I was using the pickaxe. Oh, you know what it is? It's like a it's like a 10% chance when you do that to get a military fiber off of it, if I remember correctly. And I'm not going to get lucky. Yep, I got lucky on the last one. Look at that. Oh, farm plots. Oh, I'll have these. Thank you very much. Gimme, gimme. Got to expand our garden. Oh, this one has rainwater in it too. Okay, interesting. And are these farm plots in the back? Oh my goodness, they are. We might get away with an entire playthrough of not making a single farm plot because I can just find them in the wild. 
And I was hoping for some more out front here, but I don't see any. Man, I'm moving so slow. But if I do shift backspace, ooh, it just drops my backpack right full of stuff. I can run around again. That is the coolest thing ever. Oh, look at that. And it takes a second for it to kick back in. <laughs> nice. Well, that's a quick way to, you know, get your stuff back. A little bit of an exploit, but hey, it's not too bad. I'll take it. Let's just stash up here. And yeah, we've got a full ambulance full of stuff that we've got today and a f half full inventory at least. So I think at this point, actually, just check this treasure map. We, I don't want to do that because I don't have the right glasses with me. So we'll save that for another time. <gasps> oh no, a droid. Oh frig, I'm going to fight this guy. Is my inventory good? My inventory is good. Ooh, who do, it's Z-Bark. Z-Bark is an android now, my goodness. All right. Target acquired. How many hit points do you have? 934? Can I melee you or are you gonna be like super resistant? Target acquired. I'm, I'm getting super resistant vibes off of you. Oh, but if you ragdoll, it definitely gives me a little bit of a benefit. Um, uh, arrows? Do arrows do anything to you? I wouldn't presume that they would. Plus your, your hitbox is very skinny. Yeah, but Target <laughs> you can't really catch me. I'm backpedaling too quickly. Oh, he's gonna blow. Look out. Oh, jeez. He's got like a semi-self-destruct on him. Now he's moving super fast. Okay. Trying to just save my 762 if at all possible. There we go. Down. Whole bunch of crossbow bolts stuck in him too. And yeah, they're just filled with like mechanical parts and pipes and things like that. Very authentic feeling. All right. Well, with that, what a way to close things out, right? Let's head home and stash the inventories and see what we can do for the night. Oh my god, wait a minute. These are also farm plots. Just give me a couple of extra minutes to harvest these up. I can't leave home without them now that I know that they're here. The real problem is going to be getting seeds for all these things. We need to start, like, I guess, I don't know, buying vegetables from Wrecked or something to turn them into seeds. All right, that's an extra 25, and I'm just going to mark my map here that these are farm plots, and if we need more, we can come back and grab them. Okay, I double checked, I'm wearing my Daring Adventurer glasses, so we got a little bit of a bonus in the cash amount, a good amount of XP there as well. Unfortunately, we did not get good quest reward options, so I'm gonna just have to roll with the nine mil, and we'll take the sword here, so we can probably just sell that for a little bit of extra money. And I'll pick up a job for tomorrow. Now, you can pick two jobs, or you can pick as many jobs as you want, but here's the problem. If you do fetch or fetch and clear missions, it's, you know, don't take more than one of those because it, it doesn't like it when you have, like, more than one supply box in your inventory. That's why our quests were bugged out there a couple of days ago, and um, I'm not sure if Ramsey has a workaround for that yet or not. Jack I will take this utility work. pump station, and we've got six more to go until oh, we're up to yes. tier fours. And we will, it's just turned nightfall, so we will do that probably tomorrow. All right, everything's put away. I've got the farm plots here, 49 extras, and I'll set those down a little bit later on tonight. Right now, I want to see if I can get the distiller crafted. Oh, wow, the dis distiller. Okay, we've got the water bottle, the iron pipe, the iron, the screws. Okay, we just need a gas stove top. Another one, apparently. I'd rather not use the one that we have, but we could. That's an option. We need a propane tank. That is not something that I can craft. I do believe... Somebody was selling one of those. Not you. Let me check on Wrecked. No, no. I don't think it was Wrecked. He's not selling it. Oh, you know what we gotta try? We've gotta try to do the land claim block to see if that will let us pick things up. Except I've put all of my large rocks into the friggin' shredder again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Give me some large rocks out here somewhere. That's all I need. Yes, that works. I can pick this up now. All right, there it is. Finally, the distiller. Nice. That's gonna let us... Oh, wait a minute, need a cooking pot, and fortunately I did just have one of those a second ago. There it is. Pop that in, and oh yes, basically unlimited supply. Wait a minute, distilled water? How do I make that? Oh, okay, activated charcoal. Wait, is that hard to make? Don't I have charcoal here? I have ground charcoal. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, we're about to go down the rabbit hole. We need ground charcoal and calcium chloride. We can make 
calcium chloride from the boiled water, hydrochloric acid, and limestone fragments. Hydrochloric acid can be made out of salt and acid. Salt, I don't know where you get salt. Salt must be something that you mine somewhere. All right, so this is gonna be a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. And I can't make the activated charcoal because that's made in the freaking stovetop burner, so. Put a pin in this one, because there's nothing else I can do. And it just cracked morning, so I'm just gonna come up with a plan of what we should do over the next couple of days, and we will pick things up in a couple of hours. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. The time has now come to get started on construction. And in order to capitalize on Loot Sage bonus, I've selected a site in the wasteland, overlooking a putrid toxic lake and just downwind from a radioactive nuclear power plant, it's the perfect spot for the Sanctuary of Steel. So we'll do as much construction as we can, and with the time left over, we'll see what work can be done around town. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, well today is gonna be the big day that we get the big base started over there in the wasteland. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure that I have all of the materials crafting that I possibly can. And we should have something on the order of about 500 cobblestone cubes there. Can I use the furnace to make any more? Yeah, there's an extra 141 shapes there. And what can I do for cobblestone? Basically, <laughs> nothing at all. And I'd rather save the large rocks in case I need to make something like a land claim block. There's always just so much to do to get ready and not enough time or resources to do it in. Oh, look at that though. We can get tons of gunpowder. And that actually leaves us with a lot of extra coal to make the steel later on. So that should do us up uh, for the gunpowder situation for a good long while. So this is something I wanted to look at today. These auras. These auras give you like ma massive bonuses, but um, I haven't investigated this. I don't know what it's all about. I don't know how to make these. It looks like you just need kind of like, oh, you need the blueprint to make those. Oh, I see now. Okay, and that is made in the blueprint workstation, which... I don't know that I can make that. Can I make that? Ah, the research table. Okay. No, I cannot make that. That would require pretty basic materials. However, we don't have the schematic to make it, which probably Tyler over here is selling. Are you selling it? Kamikaze. I see. Ooh, that's expensive. But it seems like we need it. So I'm going to take it. We'll take this mission. And... Ah, the Black Shields. They need me to uh, get some supplies for them from this location. Their attempts at retrieving the supplies from our other nearby locations resulted in their couriers being blown to bits. Looks like some sicko is strapping zombies with explosives. Oh, so somebody is actually creating these kamikaze zombies. They're resistant to physical damage, so best to just stay clear. Oh boy. Well, I would imagine that's gonna take me to the wasteland, no? Oh, down to the desert, which is great. Oh, actually, we gotta go down there anyway to do some oil shale mining, because we need oil shale to make cement. Look at this, <laughs> cement. You need limestone and sand and oil shale. It's crazy. Oh, but by the looks of it, let's see here. You need two oil shale to make 10 cement, and then you need 10 cement to make uh, 10 concrete mix, and then 10 concrete mix is one block, so basically, you need two oil shale for every one concrete block that you upgrade, but also the concrete blocks, they take 20. So it takes 10 concrete mix to upgrade it, but 20 to create the block from scratch. So really, you're gonna save yourself resources if you just go from cobble, because you use the large stone to make cobble, cobble to make the block, then you use the block and you use the 10 concrete mix to make the block. Does that make any sense to you at all? Basically what I'm trying to say is we should probably use a mix between cobble and concrete. All right, that's enough of that. I need to bring the soldiers with me because we're going into the wasteland and we don't want to get completely ambushed. Oh yeah, how's the garden going out here? Um, growing? Wait a minute, is that is that counting down? 83 minutes to go. Has the timer reset? Worry, oh crap, I think, the, I think the timer reset because I updated the mod. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, so like basically every time I do a recording, there's a new version of the mod. So I download the mod and then some things get reverted back to default settings. And I think my my farm is a is a casualty of that. Okay, ambulance or van? I think the ambulance is pretty good. It seems to smash through the wasteland stuff pretty well. So let's back out of here and see if we can find ourselves a construction site. 
All right, basically, I want it to be still very close to the trader, so I'm just going to do a straight shot over here to the wasteland, and I can definitely see the lake over there. So that should, I mean, some uh, just a nice lakeside resort is uh, just what the doctor ordered. All right, how about we just park it right here. There's a couple zombies to clear out. There's also a bear over there to clear out. Come on, boys, open fire. Come on, guys. You can do this. Oh, boy. Yes, he's... I'm riding the bear now. I'm riding the bear. It's official. I didn't even mean to. Got him. That's good anyway. I uh, needed the bones and stuff, I think. Don't we need bones? We need bones. Yeah, we do. Okay. And my uh, ambulance is slipping and sliding around. Can we just put the e-brake on real quick? There we go. All right, boys. We need to set up a perimeter here. And... Okay, so we've got... Who's shooting over here? Someone shooting in the water. Oh my, there's a zombie way down there in the water. Oh, there's several of them. Toxic radiated dire wolf is uh, swimming after this uh, cat de trois. Is that how you say that? <laughs> nice. Oh, that's funny. Here, I gotta help him out because uh, these guys are just gonna ambush me if I don't. Ow! Oh, oh, geez, getting shot now. I just saved your life, man. How dare you? Get out of here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yep, big bear is coming. Guys, help. Who did that? Oh my god, it's a huge wandering horde. Crap. Um, get the mercenaries down and crap. Do I have any, um, no, I don't have any, uh, skeleton warriors with me. That's okay. Holy crap. Dank, are you okay? You're getting totally ambushed over here. Wow, that's a really strong cop right there. A thousand hit points. Wow, the mercenaries are so helpful. Nice. Are we good over here? Are you good? You're good. Where'd that bear go? He's still over there. Okay. Mercenaries. Take out the bear. Wait, is the bear dead? The bear's dead. <laughs> My bad. All right, just give me a second to clean up all the bodies here. All right, I'd say this looks like a really good build site here. There is a loot bag over there. I'm going to grab that, and then I'm going to clear out this whole area. No trees, no blocks on the ground, no cars, nothing. All right, I think that's most of the junk cleared up that's going to be in our way today. I think this is a perfect build site right here. The build site needs to be 11 by 19 for the foundation of the base. And we'll put the back of the base... Okay, we need to sort of think about, you know, what, where we're going to orient the front of the base, base versus the back of the base. So ideally, I think this would be like where we drive up from most, like 90% of the time. So this should be where the ramp is that goes up to the garage, which kind of means like that would be the front of the base, the way I have it all kind of drawn out on paper and then uh, i think maybe eventually put a helipad on this side because there's now a helicopter in this mod and i can't wait to get it the only way to get it is to buy it though and it's super expensive so uh, that's why i was looking into auras because there's a, a trade aura that gives you like better barter bonus and i want to get that all right that's what we're doing then let's get to work the first thing we have to do probably is carve out the perimeter so that we can set the foundation in just had to double check there. I think one of my corner pillars was off already. Off to a good start. Measure twice, cut once though. Okay, that project is finished. Now, I do realize that I should probably go one further down and make like a nice thick pad. But right now, we just don't have the resources to do that. So put a pin in that project. Let me get the inventory offloaded as well because it's right full of junk that I've gathered so far. Okay, and then, so this is gonna be a big base on stilts. I very rarely do like stilts type of bases, but I'm gonna do one this time around. And so it's gonna start like one in each corner. And then on the back end, there's gonna be a central pillar. On the front end, there's not going to be a central pillar because this is where the zombies are gonna be falling. And then you'll get, you'll have two sort of central pillars in the sides and then each one of these columns has to be a total of seven off the ground it appears i have enough parkour points to make it to the ground safely and now from the top here we just gotta make the platform the basically this will be the garage level and the horde fighting level here just gonna fill this whole thing in this is gonna be the bulk of our well it's not gonna be most of it it's gonna be about 200 i think i did the math on it this will be about 200 blocks to fill in this top portion here and y'all have heard about writer's block before well i had base builders block on this one it took me a long time i had a whole base designed out that was like a pyramid base but i just couldn't get it to work very well so i had to scrap that whole idea and then suddenly i came up with this idea this is gonna be you know nothing particularly special nothing like 
you know, groundbreaking horde fighting technology or anything like that. But I'll tell you what, it's going to look pretty friggin' sweet here. Okay, that's it for the pad. That looks pretty nice right there. Now, as I was doing this, I was kind of thinking to myself, hmm, should we, should we maybe come up with some kind of a system where we can look through the floor to see zombies that are kind of beating on the supports down below? And I think the answer to that, to that is yes. But this is just cobble, so we can carve that out later. I'd like to just get the, the basic framework done for today until we run out of shapes. And then probably I'll head home and get the extra 100 shapes or so. And we will continue until we are 100% out, and then we can just focus the next couple days on resource gathering. I, If I had to say so right now, I don't think this will be horde base capable and ready, because we need steel for the horde base. Uh, I don't know if we can do that by day 21 or not. Okay, so what did we say here? We said that we're going to drive in from this side over here, so this will be the garage door. And these, like, columns that I'm building up here, these are the columns that will go all the way to the top, to the tippy top of the base. These are the main load-bearing columns. And so now I'm just going to frame out sort of the bottom wall. Oh, that's the other thing. Uh, do we want to make, like, fancy windows, or are we good with that? I think I do. I want to make fancy windows. And doing the kind of fancy shapes here for the windows will help me kind of remember where they're supposed to be so I don't end up accidentally filling them in or something. Okay, so here's what we got so far. We've got the garage. This be a big drawbridge door that folds down to the ramp. The ramp will be out there somewhere. Hopefully not much of a target for zombies. We will pull up the vehicle in here. Park right here. We'll have extended area here in the garage either you know for storage or workstations or extra vehicles and then there will be a wall here in the middle with a door right here like one of those nice roll up garage doors and then out here in the front is going to be one gigantic fighting position and i think just because i've experienced uh, one massive horde so far i think we need to make um like a fighting position with multiple redundancies and i think that this will probably carry us right here whether it's going to be like three fighting positions one two three um my design has it set for four fighting positions up here it's actually just gonna be one big fighting position so i'm gonna get that built up first and we'll kind of make modifications based on how bad the horde gets all right so now that that's done i'm not 100 percent sold on this but uh, i just want to get something in place for now i think let's see if i can jump down here without spraining something Ah, we're good. The task now is to see if we can build ourselves a ramp up there so that if we're here doing construction, uh, the zombies will just hopefully come up to the top where we can have soldiers kind of covering us. This is the tricky part, though. We gotta do some very precise measurements here. So I'm just doing this trick here where it's gonna look like one block. It's, even, it's in fact gonna look like less than one block square, but it's actually gonna be four blocks for support columns to the ramp that leads up to the fighting position. And then now that we're at the top here, I'm going to do the same trick that we're doing back at the home base and just make this gigantic, like, two by two, like, cube column that goes all the way across. Oh, but just like that, I have run out of shapes. So I guess we're heading back home, boys. Actually, you guys uh, sit tight here. I'll go get the shapes and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Hopefully with enough blocks to finish the job here. And hopefully the ambulance is tall enough to get me up here to put them down. All right, this is going to be the big cube beam or whatever we're going to call this. I'm not sure. And ultimately, I don't think that structural stability will be a problem with this because it's going to be connected by these big pillars here that we built. They, they look small, but they are in terms of the game. The game's going to think that they're very, very big, but it's also going to be connected by the ramp that leads up to it. All right, that's it for my shapes. And okay, we've gone through about 600 or so maybe today. And this is what we got so far. And it's getting quite late. In fact, it is pretty much nightfall. So let me just grab the soldiers up before this gets real hectic. Yep, gentlemen, come with me. We are not staying here the night. <laughs> because if zombies come by and knock out two or three of these support columns, everything's going to come crashing down and it'll be a huge setback for us. But I'll give you the kind of lowdown right here. So zombies will come up. They will split left or right, or probably both. And then uh, eventually, if one side gets knocked out, we have some redundancy. They will come straight up to the fighting position here where we'll make... Those automatic drawbridge doors that I've done in the past will have four of them. And what my hope is, is that if the kamikazes blow one area all to crap, we can just shut that down and force them more over to this side. Not sure if it's going to work, if the kamikazes will just blow the whole area up and we'll be screwed. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll figure it out as we go along. And if we need to, I think this base is amenable to some mild modifications. So, it is now nightfall. I think probably we should spend the night mining. 
So I've got the soldiers with me already. I Let's swing back by the base though and make sure that we have the mother load glasses. Oh man, and while we're here, look at all the stuff that we should sell off. Man, let me get this stuff put away here and get the hot bar set up and then just grab all this stuff. We gotta sell it. And suddenly, what was the, is it shift backspace? There we go. And then what I can do is just grab my stuff back and before it kicks in, <laughs> run over to Briston. There we go, I'm locked in again. Okay, oh man, if only I had some, like a good better barter bonus. Briston, can you sell me a better barter thingy? Oh, he could, but you know what? They're gonna be too expensive. And we, we decided that we were gonna craft those. So if you had like, if he sold the blank ones, that would be a real benefit, but nope. Nope, all right, let's sell. All right, that was uh, about four grand right there. And with whatever's left over here, we'll just sell them to the other traders if we can. Okay, that will do it. An extra like $400, I guess. Not great, but I'll take it. Yeah, see the better barter just too friggin' expensive. Wouldn't mind some mother load if you had that. He does not have it though today. Oh, look at this. Yeah, farming seeds. Whoops, oh, he just restocked right in front of me. And I, oh, there's the farming seeds. <laughs> That means that you restocked too. Yeah, there we go. There's a minor 69er and a mother load. We could afford both of them. I think with the amount of mining that we're gonna have to do, um, let's just get the mother load for now. Minor 69er doesn't seem like it's as important because um, I can still, I can just one shot the ore anyway. I mean, I've turned up the block damage a little bit so that I don't have to spend so many part, like chunks of the episode mining. But yeah, let's just take the mother load for now then. We've got the mother load glasses Don't on. Worry, was that seriously my first mother load? Holy crap. Man, I thought I had more than that. Whatever. Let's eat up, drink up, and I'll meet you over at one of the mining sites. Oh, here we go. Right here. Took an extra long while, but I finally found some oil shale out here. Let's get some light shining and bail out. The soldiers should be able to make short work of any of the regular zombies around here. We're on the border of the wasteland here, though, so... Careful for that. I'll also, ooh, grab some aloe vera leaves while I'm out here. Nice. All right, we're here for oil shale and stone. And should be able to get a fair amount of sand as well. So this should be very productive in terms of make a uh, cement mix creation or <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. That didn't take long, got a demon coming now. Nope, that's a kamikaze. We're gonna do the kamikaze mission while we're out here. It's pretty close by, it's uh, wait, where is it? Look out guys, holy crap, that's a rad cop. Or is that just Feral Cop? Ooh, it's a 1200 hit point Feral Cop. Take him out. Making all kinds of commotion here, but we should be okay. Yeah, the uh, the Kamikaze quest is right over there. We'll do that after we're done mining. If I could just stop getting interrupted. <laughs> I've got, how long do I have left? Seven minutes on the Goldenrod T. You can hear some pump action shotgun action going on over here. And there's a soldier out here. Shelby, is that you? That's Damon. <laughs> David the Demon Slayer is back here. Killing zombies as usual. I would expect no less from Damon. What is up, Damon? Let me check your qualifications. Ah, not not maxed out, unfortunately. That's okay though. Well, nice to meet you, Damon. Get back to work. And I'll get back to work as well. Yeah, all doing all of this makes me wonder if there's a mother load aura. That's the two things we really need. We need the aura that helps with mother load and for better barter as well. So as soon as I'm done mining, we'll do that kamikaze quest. We'll get the research table done and we'll hopefully craft the blueprints for that. Whoops, I'm getting a bit of a collapse here. <laughs> Look out, Dank. Watch your step. Yeah, that's the thing about mining in the desert. You gotta be careful because the sand doesn't have the horizontal support that topsoil has. All right, I think that'll just about do it for down here. How much did I get there? Uh, somehow when I was uh, picking up all the little bags that fell on the ground, I picked up a, a destroyed stone block. I don't know how that works, but okay. In fact, I'm not exactly sure that I even need it. Here, <laughs> just put it down there. And oh, dexterity level five, nice. I'm ready to move out. Just give the order. All right, here's the order. Follow me. Okay, so yeah, what did we get there? We got 2,700 small stone, which is really not that good, and 8,000 oil shale, which is much, much better. Here, put all this crap away. I just, you know, I can't help but notice how slow I move. It's really bad because we're not on like, um, you know, a, a proper running surface, I guess, like, you know, hot top or uh, a block like cement or cobblestone. Oh, loot bag over here. Gotta stock up on the aloe while we're out here though. Yep, give me all that. Loot stage is 53 out here. Some beer, I'll just drink that. It gives you pretty good hydration and doesn't blur your vision. And I think we're off to do the Kamikaze mission now. Where is that? Right over here. Oh, we're taking fire from a bandit there. Now nah, just ignore him. 
this is a Wild West town way out here, of all things. And... Wait a minute, is this... Am I at the wrong quest out here? No, it says Research Table Kamikaze. It just happens to be right outside of a POI, which is... Wow, pretty cool. We're gonna have a Kamikaze Old West showdown out here. Haha, <laughs> nice. All right, very busy area here. Let's just secure the area first, and then we'll get to the fight. Oh, it, oh, oh, I'm on fire! No, no, that's bad. That's a fire immune zombie. Wow, I'm just realizing that that's a thing. We're supposed to be killing those. We gotta kill a hundred of them. Holy crap, we got gunfire from all directions. We've got, um, I think that's a survivor. There we go. Give me the bones. Another wolf here. Whoop, just it disintegrated him. We've got Joshua Aaron Finn over here, who's got the pistol. He's running off. Okay, well, nice to meet you. He looks very busy. We'll leave him to it. Oh, hey, look. Oh, it's the fine swines. We got to do that after this because look at all the cement mix is going to be outside there. Nice. We'll have to kind of maybe poke around a little bit out here. We got to kill the fire immune zombies anyway, so we might have to clear this whole town at some point. Yeah, I feel like the Old West area is pretty good for materials. Who's that? Oh, that's Joshua. Hey, what's up? Let's uh, formally introduce ourselves, check the qualifications, and uh, actually not too bad. 32 slots. I think that's max, but not max on the armor, which, you know, he's wearing a tank top, so <laughs> not surprising. Oh, and look at that. Another pair of charismatic nature glasses, so if I found someone I did want to hire, just slap those on and I should be good to go. Oh, that was a bandit loot bag right there. Oh my god, look at all this stuff I'm finding. Okay, I'm not feeling too great about this. We can leave these, uh, ooh, what's this? Yeah, we can leave those farm plots there. We don't need any more farm plots. I think we'll be good. We're gonna have a big garden at the upcoming base, but I don't think we'll need any more than, I don't know, 50 or so farm plots? Okay, I am encumbered. Toss all that stuff in there. And let's snap this quest here. Lock and load first. And we'll see what happens. Hello? Kamikaze zombie anywhere? My sense is that maybe there's one around here, but um, maybe line of sight is blocked. It's a nice loot bag there. Holy crap. Is that him? Ah, there he is. Okay. It said that they're resistant to damage. Just basically let them blow up, right? Is that basically it? Oh, there's more. Uh-oh. Crap. Massive fires. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. Or oh, the metal works is gonna uh, completely burn now. No, research, it, it failed. My quest failed. Wait, why did my quest fail? Oh, there's another one. He's um, inside the building here. Oh, geez, guys, look out. Oh, now they're everywhere. Crap. Oh boy, like a delayed reaction here. Well, that's unfortunate. We did fail the quest, so we don't get to do the... Uh the table. Am I gonna just have to buy that again now? Oh, um, everybody. Oh, crap! Creamy Ghost is dead! Go, oh, God, Creamy Ghost! <laughs> Damn it! There's another one in there. Now Bubbles is gonna burn to the ground. Dank, are you gonna be okay? You're good. Dank is all healed up and fine. Oh, look out. Yeah, I'm just um, not quite uh, understanding the nature of the mission there. Maybe let's just go try to get another one and see if it works better. I guess. We'll come back for Fine Swines another day, I think. The, uh, the massive fires are going to draw in screamers and they're going to tank game performance. So if we just leave the area, uh, that should all go back to normal, hopefully. Oh, we're just having a look at the, the thing here. Wait, find the Black Shield backpack. Says completed. Stay within. So maybe there was a certain perimeter that I was supposed to stay in instead of like wandering around looking for the zombies that spawned in. Okay, so we'll just hope that the next one we get, hopefully if we can get another one out here, will uh, be kind of in the in the wilderness and not so much in the urban area. Oh, check this out, a crashed helicopter. That's pretty cool. Wonder if there's any good loot in here. Yeah, actually pretty good loot. All right, rolling back in. Okay, Tyler. So your inventory inventory should have restocked, yet yeah, we can just buy another kamikaze mission, as much as I hate to do that because it's really expensive. We will accept the mission and check the map again to see where that is. Uh, also in an urban area, it's actually like inside this POI over here. Now, this is gonna be great. At least if we stay in the POI, we should not fail the mission. And uh, Creamy Ghost, didn't I set your rally point to be over here? 
Oh no, Creamy Ghost might be gone for good. Crap. Nope, Ivy's still in there though. Oh crap, we lost one of our soldiers. No. Well, we can hire two more now. Oh, that's a bummer though. We gotta basically find him in the wasteland. Damon would have probably been a good one. Uh, Shelby should still be over there. So if we want to grab Shelby Pope, we can uh, run over and do that. Well, Dank, it's just you and me. I'm ready to move out. Just give the order. Just a second there, Dank. I'm rolling on 762, rolling on cement mix, on uh, molten steel, <laughs> rolling on limestone fragments and sand, all kinds of stuff going on. Making uh, boards in here and making concrete mix in here. I think that's just about all I can do for now, so it's time to head out to the Kamikaze quest. Oh crap, hold up! We got a freaking zombie horde here! <laughs> Look out! It's an emergency! That should bring their attention in here. Hold up, hold up. Thanks, doing half the work for me. Okay, I gotta level this up, because um, if we can level up one more in our sickle skill, then we can unlock the titanium sickle, or the titanium scythe, one or the other there. Look out, and I need coffee now. Great. Urgh. Oh, these are the, the the elite zombies, we'll say. The ones that get the speed boost. You can tell because they, they get, like, so close. They get right into your face, almost to the point where you can't even hit them. Because by the time you swing, they're behind you. Okay, good to go. I was also look having a look at some of the recipes there. And um, we need blue dye and red dye to make... I don't know, like the the blue dye to make the blueprint paper, and then the aura book, you need the red dye, so we need to start stocking up on those things. All right, rolling up on the spot here. Let's just check here. Oh, Stephen King. <laughs> Hello there. Got a pipe machine gun. Show me your qualifications, please. Not that great. Very, very low armor. But um, I'll have you here for the quest, at least. Okay, research table kamikaze. Yes, that's what we're here for. Careful not to leave the boundary this time. Let's just, like, see if I can fish out these zombies here before we start things off. Whoop, dang, you're in the way. Holy crap. Yep, we don't want any part of these accessory zombies in here. If we can get away with getting them out of here, that would be nice. Strength is now level six. Excellent. Got a couple of extra loot bags. Oh, wow. Yep, come back here, Stephen King. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate the help here. Come on, give me that sweet red dye. Red and blue. That's a whole bunch of yellow on that guy. Yep, got basically nothing off of that. So I'm going to stash it because I'd like to try to start selling most of the clothing. We're re doing really good on the cloth bandages and I don't even use them that much anymore because we have plenty of other first aid. But uh, yeah, a couple extra pennies here and there wouldn't hurt. Okay, hit the quest. And what are we looking at here? Okay, oh, this place is right full of zombies again. What the hell is this all about? Are the kamikazes in here? Is this a freaking a regular old quest, like a, a, a clear or fetch or something like that? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I do see a marker for a bag. The bag is upstairs. Oh boy. Yep, yep. Okay, the kamikazes are here. Quickly now, just get the loot off of these guys. And let's head upstairs, see if we can just end this quickly. Holy crap, look out. Oh, right in my face. Look out, Dank. Try not to catch on fire. Yep, go ahead and just teleport to me then. Uh, the stairs, I think, are knocked out, so that should help. Hello? Who's got the backpack? Ah, there it is right there. Nice. Take that and mission complete. Well, presumably the loot has respawned in here, so I'll have that while we're at it. I'm not sure if the kamikazes are still spawning. I can hear them downstairs. Oh, did you hear that? That was like two of them blowing up at the same time. There's another one blowing up down there. Holy crap, another one. How many of these guys are there? Yeah, just, ooh, there's some red dye there. I picked up a good pair of glasses. That was sexy T-Rex glasses. I'll just toss those on instead of the mother load ones I'm using. And it sounds all quiet here. Just take an extra bandage. Top me off. I think we're in a place where we can kind of take our time a little bit here. Okay, massive fire out here. Be careful, Dank. Try not to catch on fire. Everything got blown up in here, so... I told you to be careful. All right, so while we're out and about today, let's have a look at the map here. Isn't there a clear quest nearby? There is. We could just hit that up on our way through. We'll have to get the Daring Adventurer glasses before we turn that in anyway. All right, let's go do that quest and then we'll head home. Whoops, here we are, water department. Make sure you're locked and loaded. 
yeah, good tip there, Dank. Oh, Wolf's gonna actually gonna help with some of the POI zombies, which uh, there are many of them, it would appear, including several that are in there. Let's take that, ooh, where did you all come from? Holy crap, this place is full. Oh, we're trying to level up in sickles if we can. Sickles and sights. Trying not to die, preferably. Okay, give me a run speed bonus here, thank you. And a first aid kit, please. Dank, are you alive, buddy? Give me a psychotic laugh if you're alive. Oh, we got a bandit here. Trahem, the bandit, is with us. There's the psychotic laugh. Dank's doing great. Okay, whoa, area clear. Look at the bodies here, <laughs> it's awesome. Oh crap, you know what I'm just realizing is that I haven't even hit the quest yet. What? Oh, we gotta do this all over again, all of these zombies. Well, we need the XP anyway. And before I do, I'm just gonna have up all of these resources here. Might as well take them. There's lots of cobblestone, there's stone, there's cement mix, lots of good stuff. All the stuff that we need, basically. All right, that's enough for this place. Let's go hit the quest marker and do it all over again. Oh, it says there's a player inside the POI that I'm going to. So, Dank, you need to get out of there, please. And scratch that, I think it was my cameraman. <laughs> there we go, get the cameraman out of there. All right, we're doing this all over again or what? I know there's a whole bunch of you sitting over there, some soldiers, and there's a bunch that came from over here. There they are. Dank, you son of a, you body blocked my Molotov. Look out, buddy. <laughs> Oh boy, look what we did here. The whole mess of them coming in. Here we go. Oh, yep, I don't have the run speed bonus anymore. Do, do, do the best I can here. The what I'm missing is the uh, the flurry of blows where I get like stamina back for every kill that I get. And, oh, I can't even move. Come on, get him. Well, massacre number two is over. Same deal again, gotta have these resources. I got about 2,400 cement mix going back home, which is gonna be good for, I think, 2400 concrete mix. I think it's a one-to-one -one on that one. Yeah, the big decision upcoming is whether we want to spend the resources on the existing home base, horde fighting, horde fighting area, or on the new area. Oh, geez, I was just gonna see if that was a lootable shelf there, and we've got this working generator, so I'll have that. Take that home with me. All right, one more quick loot stash. The ambulance is almost full, and let's head in here. Fast mover coming around the corner here. Ooh, Neuro. Turbo Neuro, you might say. Ooh, red dye there, perfect. Okay, so what's the way to get in here? Do we go in through the back or do we go in through the front? It looks like whether we like it or not, we can go in this way. The zombies have just opened the door there. All right, here we go inside. Oh, I can see a, a zombie icon. There's some downstairs. This place looks familiar. Have I ever been here before? Are there buttons somewhere? Because I'm seeing a lot of locked hatches. Wait, wasn't there a button? I saw a button somewhere. Where did I see that at? Ah, oh, right there. Tap that one and see what happened. That opened the front door. Didn't open that one though. Did this, this opened over here. Okay, so there's this hatch that goes up to the top here. Maybe that was already open. Zombies? Ah, yes, zombies down there. Got just the thing to work on them for a little bit. Oh, uh, expanded seating mod. No, oh, jeez! Those guys broke through fast. What the hell, man? Yeah, these construction worker zombies almost not even worth the effort because they only have the one rotten flesh inside of them. I think that was a bipod schematic we can read. There is a button right here. We can grab this, and there's just a bipod right there, so that schematic is now completely useless. What did this go to? I don't know, I didn't hear anything open. That might have gone to this hatch here that's already broken. Oh, hey, Dank. You cheater, you freaking glitched right straight through that. Oh, I guess we can just jump down here anyway. So how do I get down? I mean, I could probably try to squish my way down there, but then I wouldn't have a way to get back up again. Was there some spot over here? Okay, here we go. Is this gonna be open? Ooh, this is unlocked. Here we go. Is this where you're supposed to start, maybe? You start down here and you work your way up. Uh, I don't quite know the answer to that. Oh, Dank's just gonna freaking YOLO at himself. <laughs> you bastard. Messing up my plans. I guess the, the ball's in my court. I could change his, um, you know, put him on, like, um, hunting. Or, no, put him on full control, maybe. All right. Eat that. Oh, sorry, Dank. <laughs> you definitely were asking for it, though. 
Oh, you know, the ducking zombie thing is just the worst thing that they ever did to this game. Was that it? Yes, clear the area is done. Okay, where is my loot though? Aha, here's a button. Tick that, see what happened. Oh, there's the uh, loot, there's a loot chest over here. Ah, there we go, finally. What do we got here? Treasure map acid, not much else. Was that the, oh yes it was, we're out of here now, nice. Okay, that's good, we are good, it's 2030, and I think we're done here. All right, home sweet home. Just gonna get all this crap put away out of the ambulance. All right, everything's put away, and I still have the backpack in my inventory, so probably have to turn this into Tyler here for... Hmm. I'm gonna go with the Molotovs, I guess. Ah, sure. So that gives me the research table schematic. Okay, so we're one short on the red die, and we need a bottle of ink. Can I do that? Okay, I just crafted the empty bottle of ink out of the furnace, and now I can make a regular bottle of ink. Ooh, that is expensive though. Three black dye, 10 tree resin. Do I have to maybe use a knife to get the tree resin? Have I been doing that wrong? Because I've just been like chopping it with the ax. I might go try that in a second, because that seems like a lot of tree resin there. Could I maybe make the, um, no, it was in here, the blueprint paper. No, oh, we need one more blue dye. Did I go this whole time and only got one blue dye? Here's all my clothing and stuff over here. Oh, there's a blue dye right there. All right, let's try it. Blueprint paper. Okay, there's my dye. There's my blueprint paper. There's my research table. And if I wanted to get an aura, the only thing that's holding me back is the red dye. We need to go kill some zombies to get that red dye. Let's go check on the neighbors. The neighbors always have zombies for us. I think there's actually a lot of zombies in there. So what if I just took the red tea and did a little bit of a run through there. Let's also get a uh, coffee into us. We're a little bit thirsty anyway, so that's fine. And then just do a quick run through over here. To oh wait, there's a dead zombie right there that someone killed. Not what we need though, okay. Just bring them all out here and the soldiers will take right care of them. Let's go, let's go, wake up everybody. Lots of zombies in here, plenty. Let's try the second floor. Let's just keep going around until we've stirred them all up. Here we go, lots of zombies. Come right with me everybody, how about the third floor? Anybody up here? Oh my god, it's gonna get real choppy here. There's some loot up here too. Oh, there's a tier three loot chest and there's a weapon safe in there. Oh boy, can I get out of here now? Here, just go ahead and drop right straight down through the glass. And let's just hope for the best to bring them all out here for one big fight. Yep, step right up here, everybody. Step right up here and get some fire. Oh yeah, this is gonna work great. In fact, I might have stirred up too many zombies because um, they're gonna start despawning by the time they're all dead. All right, let them have it. Tank is doing a surprisingly poor job, it seems like, of covering me. Finish the last two off with melee and start looting up as fast as we possibly can. One of you has got to have some red dye on you. There's a red dye right there, we're good. Actually, this, this worked a treat, got a whole bunch of red dye and I get to go get the loot of that POI in just a second here. Holy crap, what was that? It's Ian McTavish, the guy that we had to get rid of because he was too fat to put the block down over there. <laughs> He's back as a zombie. Oh, 4x4 truck accessories schematic. It's actually a lot going on here. A lot of loot. Lots of stuff to break down and harvest up too. Interesting thing right here. What is this supposed to be? Like some kind of a sauna or um, hot box? Maybe a human oven? Not sure. Okay, we're in. And we got a double pocket mod. That's about it for that thing. I don't think I have the patience for another lock picking mini game. Not much. Hardly worth my time. There's more salt there. We need the salt. That's part of like the distiller or the distilled water chain of things of required materials. And iron breaker mod schematic. I already have an iron breaker, so I won't be needing that. And otherwise, it does look like we're pretty good up here. Let's go home. Oh my goodness, the fountain pen. What the hell is that? And how do I get it? Doesn't appear to be a craftable item, is it? Pen? No, but um, oh, let's just check and see if maybe Briston is selling this. Boost injector, um, it's not looking good. Crap, I wonder where I get that. Are you selling it? I don't see it. I'm gonna swing by Rex and see if Rex maybe might be selling it. Wait a minute. Cancel, 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 cancel. I gotta get the Daring Adventurer glasses. 
And it just cracked morning. Let's see what we get for a bonus reward now that we have the daring adventurer glasses on. I think I need a military helmet, so that'll be number one. And I should be able to choose a second one. Man, these things totally suck. But the most sell value will come from probably the hunting rifle, so I'll take that. And we'll get another job for later on today, probably. How about the grocery store? I don't think I've ever been there before. We'll take that. And what are the chances, wrecked that you're selling a fountain pen? Nope, I don't see one anywhere. I do see a beaker. I need another beaker. We need a total of three beakers so far that I know of for all of the crafting stations. So we're all set on that. Good on anvils. He's also got a bellows over here. I've already got no, that. So I guess we're good here. Way, yeah. And that'll just have to do it for today. So we're not going to get the aura. We're still a ways off from that. And really, we, um... We're only trying to craft the aura blueprint right now, not even the aura itself. I haven't even checked on the recipe for that. So um, what I'll start doing is getting the inventory organized and I'll come up with a plan for tomorrow. Probably a lot more base building. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, what a way to end it. Damn it. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Welcome back to the Rebirth. There's two full days left before the Day 21 Horde, and we are woefully unprepared. The defenses are still in tatters, the new base is hardly even started, and we're short-staffed, and there's not enough time to fix all three. But I think recruiting allies should be the top priority. So for today, we should do a couple of quests around town to raise the money needed to hire companions. Then we should explore the wasteland for miscellaneous loot while searching for the perfect new teammates. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, we're getting a little bit of a late start today, so let's get going here. I just gotta make sure I'm wearing the Daring Adventurer glasses because I'm going to be focusing on questing a lot. I have the sexy T-Rex glasses. We need to at least have the Daring Adventurer glasses with us because we need to do questing to make money. And is this all done now? Oh, finally, we can harvest up. Uh, this is always like a rabbit hole of things that I, <laughs> every morning I discover new things that we need to do. And let's actually, yes, let's just get all the seeds we can because we need to start improving our, uh, what's it called? Farming skill or crap, what was that called again? The green thumbs. Every harvesting action will increase our harvesting skill and the next... Wait, yes, harvest one additional planted crop is the next uh, progression there, so that'll be nice. That's it. Wow, the garden's getting kind of big now, so we're gonna have to fill this up with water again. Wait, that says rainwater. This also says rainwater, so it must have rained recently and all the plots are now full of water, even though they're under the awning there a little bit. Okay, that's fine. All right, I am fed, hydrated, and ready to roll. We're rolling solo today because we've got to level up the Witch Doctor. Well, really just the Scythe skill so that we can then craft the Titanium Scythe at some point. And I don't think I ever picked up a quest, did I? Oh, I did. I picked up the grocery store. It's right over there. I'll meet you there. All right, here we go. This is the spot. Ooh, there's an ATM outside. I like the looks of that. We can double loot it. Come on. Good money, good money. $312, that's ridiculous. All right, well, I'm taking the free cobble, too. <laughs> I'll try this again. What do we get this time? More, please. 249 No, the money has been nerfed <laughs> out of the ATMs. There should be some breakfast in here, though. There always is. Blueberry pie. Take the rest for later. Anything in the mailbox? Mm, oh, yes. Metal spikes mod schematic. That's good. Well, it's not really good, but it, it helps increase our intelligence. And, oh, look, a red tea recipe right there. Okay, heading around to the other side. I think I have been here before, in fact. There is the loot stash. Of course, they make it difficult for you to get in that way. Okay, we're heading around to the rooftop on the side then, I think. All right, who's in here? Okay, we're not gonna do any, like, stealth or anything like that. We gotta increase our sickle skill. I guess those don't give you radiators anymore. Well, at least I learned. Yes, here we go, lots of them. You know what? We're gonna need lots of coffee today. Let's just get started on that front. Whoops, whoa, look out. I think I just leveled up or something. I feel like I'm leveling up very fast, um, and, but like like for my regular stuff, like strength and dexterity and then my like my character level. However, I'm not leveling up very fast in my class. And that might be because I there have been some modifications made to kind of like progress things a little bit faster because I don't want to have to be here for a hundred days trying to like 
you know, explore the mod fully, but um, also it might be because I'm just not doing this right. So in other words, try harder, <laughs> right? All right, moving right along. I don't really want to stop and, and pick up die off of everybody today. Um, as much as we do need the die, I think we're good for now. And right now, the most pressing concern to me is just blowing through some POIs. Going to get the quest reward money. We need to stock up on money so we can hire soldiers. And we also, you know, we can use the quest rewards. And we need to uh, focus on getting building materials and things like that out of these places. Holy crap, he's a fast mover. Oh, I'm pinned. Whoa. That was scary. Oh, there's our satchel right there. Just a reminder, we can take multiple quests, but if you're doing any type of a fetch quest, fetch and clear or fetch, then uh, you can't take more than one at a time because the game gets all weird if you have two supply satchels in your inventory. And as far as I know, that's just, that's a game thing, not even like a mod thing. Oh yes, here we go. Cobblestone back here. Probably zombies though, maybe just <laughs> clear the area. Oh, here we go. And how are we looking on the sickles? Not. Not, you know, pretty bad, but we're getting there. Making some progress, slowly but surely. See, all these boxes here are searchable, and they always have, like, interesting things in them. Stuff that we need, you know, if we wanted to spend all day here, which I don't. Maybe pick some brunch up out of here. Oh, a pumpkin. I'd like to get some pumpkins planted at some point. Oh, here we go. Oh, a feral. Are we just getting ferals now? That's where we are in life. Oh, two-shot at him, though. That's not bad. Oh! Soldier Boy, on the other hand, a little bit tougher. Is there, like, a horde outside? Because it freaking sounds like it. Oh, I'm pinned again. Ah, it's not good. Get out of here. Um, definitely getting horde vibes. Oh, crap, I can't. That's not, ah, that's not a real door, is it? That's just a fake door. I'm still going out. Come on, come on, come on. Let me out of here. <laughs> Where's the zombies? They're behind me, wherever they are. I think they're on the other side of the building there. Okay, this calls for red tea. Red tea makes you fly. It's like Red Bull. It gives you wings. I'm here by petitioning to rename Red Tea to Red Bull. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to the, lo the localization file, and I'm gonna do it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm doing good here. However, I need a stamina boost. Take in some coffee. I can't tell who's just on fire and who's, like, a fire immune zombie or explosive immune zombie. Confusing. I just heard an airdrop come in. I'm just doing my best to backpedal in circles here. I think I've killed all of the... You know, the special speed-boosted friggin' natural selection zombies, or whatever they are. Then again, every once in a while, one of them gets a real nasty speed boost. It makes me second-guess that. Well, that's that. That cost me one first aid kit, uh, coffee, and a red tea. I got basically Jack back out of that. But at least I can take a break and fill up the ambulance a little bit. There we go. Back inside. Oh, in fact, this was just a clear uh, fetch job, unfortunately. Oh, what are you doing back there? Oh, a couple, three of you. <laughs> we got triplets. All right, well, we're moving right along. I gotta get the loot, at least, before we leave. Oh, this is the friggin' boss fight in here, too. Great. Yep, and we've got... Is it a biker back there? Nope, it's, uh, it's just a bunch of these new zombies, which are... A little bit uh, on the more difficult spectrum of things, I think. That's personal opinion. Oh, come on, we're almost there. Couple more. Yeah, there it is. I am now talented with scythes. That's good. It's not much of a main boss fight here, though. There we go. Okay, so now we are increasing our skill in the Witch Doctor class. So we've, we've leveled up the scythe, and that has allowed us to now level up our Witch Doctor class. We're at 3%. And quite honestly, if I never had to do the lockpicking minigame again, my life would be so much better. So, here we go with the steel pickaxe. Oh, three more pumpkins there. That's not too bad. Uh, a couple of junk mods and weapon parts. I still haven't figured out the whole weapon part thing because there's... There's like tiers to weapon parts and you need certain tiers to make, I don't know, certain qualities maybe? I really don't quite know how all that works. All right, I'm just gonna poke around here and see if there's any more good loot. Like, usually these things have some drinks in them, and then uh, I'll meet you back at the trader. All right, here's your quest reward. Oh, we really, oh, so bad. We shouldn't have taken the fetch because they don't give us very good money. The steel axe, though, is not too bad. Oh, crap. I'm not wearing the Daring Adventurer glasses. Hang on, I can still do that. I'm not sure if I still get the steel axe. This will be a little bit of an experiment. I do, and I get first aid kits, I guess. 
Okay, new job. This time, preferably fetch and clear. And the closest one is the rural church. There's also the Kincaid lab, which is a little bit more interesting to me. Yep, let's do Kincaid labs. Alrighty then, I'll meet you there. All right, we made it to the Kincaid Labs, and right over there, there's a uh, airdrop, so we can grab that on the way through. Is this just um, how this works here? I'm just going to poke my head in real quick just to get a sense of what's going on here. Is that working? Ah, no, damn it. I can't quite get on top, okay. Ah, whoa, there's landmines. Okay, here we go. Fortunately, Rex just gave me a handful of first aid kits. Let <laughs> me switch the axe over real fast. Looks like I stirred up some zombies doing that. Get out of here. All right, in we go. Watch for the landmine this time. <laughs> right there. Right in front of me. Let's just maybe make sure that's not going to be a problem again. As well as the others around here. Hazmat boy. Also, I wanted to see if I use my assault rifle. Nope. Assault rifle is not increasing my sickle skill, or my, um, my witch doctor's skill, but, um, the sickle is. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff going on here right now. Oh, we got a survivor here! It's Jill Juggs! Mr. Juggs, kill him! I'm out of stamina. I gotta <laughs> risk the, the gunfire noise a little bit, and I'll take those explosive immune remains. Where did all you guys come from? Oh no, he got knocked down! But he got up again! Oh, jeez. He's getting ass, his ass kicked a little bit. Yeah, these explosive immune zombies, I think they have the ability to knock you down. Whoops. Uh, let's just get a little quick bandage onto you. There you go. Heal you up a little bit. I'd be happy to have you. Can I... Oh, crap. I can't lock the door, can I? <laughs> I'd like to lock him in here if I could. Here, I'm gonna just set some frames down. You are staying with me now. <laughs> nice. Okay, I can hear Jill pounding on some zombies somewhere. That's fine. You can just get a little bit of a head start for me. I will take up the rear here. Clear out all these military vehicles. Never know what you're going to find in these. It'd be really nice if we could find a working vehicle in here. Oh, here, here he is over here. Working on a zombie that's outside. No, we don't want that. We want you to focus on zombies that are inside. Oh, jeez, man. Okay, first aid kit. I'm doing really bad at this. Look at all these landmines, though. My goodness. They're everywhere. Alright, now if now that we're safe, there's probably a screamer on our way. <laughs> Get these out of the way. And I've never been in here before, so I don't know what to expect. I've only seen it from the outside. Okay, we got one stripper zombie in here, it looks like. More upstairs. Whoop. <laughs> He's a clumsy one, isn't he? Yeah, we need all these for the bones because we need the bones to make skeleton warriors as well as glue. So, really, it's a hot commodity for the witch doctor. It makes sense, though. You know, so much for sneaking around. Not working out too well for me. Bunch of weak businessmen. You know what, though? The suit jackets and the, the, the shoes, they sell pretty well. I might as well stock up on that and we are encumbered already. Oh, there's a button. Nice. Whoops! Oh, I thought that was a pile of guts there for a second. Oh, there's the satchel. So we just gotta clear the area now. Nice. Halfway done. And being a proper research facility, I'm Im imagining an underground portion. As well as these guys. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Go back to sleep. Abrasion. Also infection. All oh, right, because the hazmat guys... They have a higher chance to give you an infection. Oh boy. Ah! No, 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 no. Don't drink whatever that was. What am I doing? Looking for my assault rifle here. Holy crap. Yep, there's a lot of people here. Oh, and that's my natural selection, I think, has increased. Yes, the environment is evolving because I'm such a badass. Killing all the weak zombies so only the strong survive. Okay, would love to find a honeycomb now at this point. Oh, these guys, I'm actually pulling some decent loot. I had the, the one weapon part there and the college jacket. Oh crap, we've got a demon outside. That's definitely not good. We don't want that guy around here. Ha! Oh geez. Yeah, he spawned all of his minions in. Great. Oh crap, he's gonna be coming up here. Uh, I want to be outside. Oh crap, here's all of his friends over here. Can I just get on top of the vehicle? 
I can, that's good. Slowly gonna pick them all off, work on the assault rifle skill, I guess, a little bit. Trying to go for headshots, that kind of worked pretty well. He's got a lot of friends though, and oh my goodness, Jill is trying to tank him for me. Okay, ooh, a little bit of money there, more than was in that freaking second ATM that we <laughs> salvaged, or broke into. Okay, you're gonna have the real money on you though, aren't you? $300, okay, that was more than the first vending machine that we harvested up. And what's going on out here? Nope, nope, nope. Defend Jill. Get the hell out of here. Leave us alone. Okay, am I gonna fail the quest if I grab this? Oh my god, there's two dead zombies out here. Jill is a badass. All right, I, however, am running low on time. We need to press through here and kill the rest of these zombies. Holy crap, yep, goes way down here. Okay, try to do this at least partially stealthily. Unlocked door, nobody in here. Key bot, oh, somebody's in here somewhere. Hello, here we go. Yep, okay, I found a whole bunch of them. Hopefully this is the last of them. Let's go. Oh, I'm on a rampage! I don't know what that means. Maybe it was like consecutive headshots. I did pretty good there on the headshots for a second. Area still not clear. Okay, what? It goes down another level? Great. What the frig, man? This place is intense. What is this? Is this like a little pit where they feed some sort of a friggin' monstrosity or something? You know what? That ammo pile can just stay down there. Because <laughs> I don't want to jump down there and fall for the trap. Hello? Holy crap! Oh, these armored zombies, man. They're the death of me. 500 hit points and armored. Here, I'm not even gonna fuss around with these ones. Just set them all on fire. Holy crap, look at all the zombies back there. This is an involved tier 3, and it's almost nightfall. We leveled up again. Oh, here's the loot right there. Look at that. All right, these guys are crawling their way through. Slightly more wounded now than they were a second ago. Just work on them with another one. I wonder, do, do crossbow bolts have any armor penetration? I don't I don't think that they do, but I don't know that for sure. Whoa, I'm moving slow. I think I'm encumbered. No, not encumbered, just, just slow. <laughs> ah, there's my honeycomb for the infection. Good. Loot chest yields not much. I mean, acid is kind of important. Acid is actually a part of the distilled water crafting chain, because I think it's used to make hydrochloric acid. All right, I guess we're moving right along here. These all have glass in them, so that's not helpful. I guess we're just gonna do this the old-fashioned way. You know what sucks so far about the sickles is that they have, like, no knockdown power. It's really not that good. It's like using knives, I guess. Knives don't have the knockdown power either. They have the bleed damage, but if I had to choose between bleed and knockdown, I'd take the knockdown any day. This here should be the last of them. There we go. And uh, what happened? That increased something. Oh, it was my charisma, now level five, nice. All right, just gonna pick clean the last of the loot, and I think I'll probably just meet you back at the trader. Okay, a little bit of a pit stop here at the airdrop, and I've got 1% fuel. I picked up a little bit of fuel. Ooh, 50 lockpicks, that's not bad. I picked up a little bit of fuel, I put it in here, and it, it gave us a whopping 1% back on the fuel. So we're probably not gonna make it home. I'll probably have to walk the rest of the way. Uh, but uh, once I get everything organized, I'll just meet with you back at the trader. Oh, would you look at that? I actually made it back home. No problem. All right, here's the quest reward. Oh, what is it with these terrible rewards? Pretty good cash on that one. That puts us up to 6K. Guess I'll go pipe bombs and lever action rifle. And I'll hold off on doing any more quests for now. Tonight, we need to do mining. Mining to get resources to make the new base, basically. All right, really what we need is stone. Let's go down to, I have two, basically two gunpowder mines down here. Let's just head down there. We're gonna need gunpowder. We're gonna need coal to make steel and we're gonna need stone. We need a little bit of everything tonight. And wouldn't you know it? I forgot to bring the soldier with me. I forgot to bring Dank with me. Holy crap, this guy's tall. Who are you? Ah! Barrel! Jeez. Oh my god, this is not going to plan. Alright, stash up, and we'll do goldenrod tea. Where's my entrance? It's right here somewhere. Ah, here it is, and it should still be pretty well lit. Okay, we're just gonna do some nice, quiet mining here for a couple of hours. Goldenrod tea in. Look, I get 18 of those in my inventory. And we'll take a coffee for the stamina boost. 
And let's get to work. So it's looking more and more like we're going to have to hold down this upcoming horde, the Day 21 horde, at the main house, the house modern that we're living in. Which, um, if the next horde is going to be anything like the last horde, in fact, it'll be a lot worse, I would imagine, uh, that place is probably going to get mostly destroyed. <laughs> so I'm going to try and put, like, basically minimal resources into getting it horde ready, at least so that we can survive, uh, us and all of our companions. And then we'll just try to stockpile the resources and we'll really put in a lot of effort next week into getting the main new base, m getting moved over there for one, and number two, just getting it capable of fighting one of these crazy turbo hordes. Okay, just about had it down here. Yo, oh, there's a screamer here somewhere, though. Take right care of you. I don't think she got the scream off, but I've been wrong before. Nope. Looks pretty clear up here. Oh, hey, wait a minute here. We got an, an important note. Oh, that's just telling me that I leveled up in scythes. Okay, that's nice. We should be able to craft that titanium scythe now. Sure can. Well, let's get that started. A little bit of extra ammo there. That's always nice. Gonna put the ambulance away and we're gonna take the van with us today, mostly because the van has more fuel. Get all the blue dye, black dye, and red dye off of this stuff. Get started on the materials. And then we need to sell off all the rest of this garbage. Okay, that's good. We're up to almost 11 grand now. All right, here's a look at the new sickle. Ooh, <laughs> that looks much better. Like that. All right, a little bit of breakfast there, and here's the plan. We need to now head into the wasteland and see if we can discover a new companion or two, hopefully. And there's always Shelby Pope. The reason I'm not so keen on getting Shelby is because Shelby has a pump shotgun, and if I have someone with a shotgun, I'd rather it be the auto shotgun. So if we take a look at the map, this should be a trader right here, right? Because this is the, the loop entering into town. So we're going to check there first. We also have to shop around for the fountain pen and a cigar. I've checked the recipe for the aura. And, oh man, quite honestly, we're not going to get the aura here for several days. Because we need the aura book from Tyler there. We need the fountain pen. And I haven't seen anybody selling that just yet. Um, and then we need a cigar to actually craft the aura. So it's a quite... It must be kind of a late game thing and I'm kind of jumping the gun on it a little bit, but at least I know what I'm looking for now. I think we also need silver and gold nuggets, which is not too big of a deal because we can get those out of these treasure maps. In fact, there's a treasure map over there. Let's plan on hitting that up while we're over there. That way we can get a little bit of gold and silver, I would imagine anyway, if not some more money for hiring soldiers. All right, I'll meet you there. Go oh, crap, I tried to ram this bandit here and ended up just totally getting the vehicle stuck. Well, that's nice. Here, let's go. Actually, don't fuss around too much with that guy because, ooh, nice. Uh, he had an SMG, so I'll just have that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, whoops, I uh, forgot that the trader compound stuff is going to not break when you run into it. Here, just grab that up, set you back down. And this has got to be the trader right here. This is the trader spot, and it says Trader Joe's right there. Does not say open, but uh, I imagine that they are. Here we go. Heading down. This is an interesting place here. Okay, just a, a, a freaking pool to nothing that I can't even get into. Uh, blocked off staircase going that way, and two traders here. Excellent. Trader Jen and Trader Hugh. Okay, check their inventories. Oh, we do need the propane tank, don't we? We need that because that's uh, holding us back on the... Stovetop, I think. And if we can get the stovetop, we can start making drinks and stuff like that again. So I need that. No fountain pen and really nothing else of interest either. What about you, Jenny? Bust on this one too. She's got nothing. Uh. Guess we can search up the compound a little bit, see if there's anything in here. Oh yeah, and that goes up to the bars, so we don't want to go that way. Where was the other thing that I found? Yes, this. Where does this go? This goes up into a tower. Well, that's pretty good. Nifty, I like that. All right, take back your stupid clothing and let's get out of here. I did not see Shelby when I pulled through, so unfortunately, Shelby might have wandered off a little bit. All right, I want to test out this new uh, scythe here, see how good it is. Oh, it's um, it's noticeably better, I'll say. It's much better. I didn't actually compare the damage. I forgot to. We could do that when we go back home anyway. Take the black die, scrap that, and 
from here, I think I have a tr an opening trade routes way, way out there. That's where I would like to go. And uh, along the way, I'm going to explore this wasteland city and see if we can find any good recruitable soldiers. Let's just start by looping around the outskirt of the city and see what we find. There might be some interesting POIs here. Preferably, I'd like to do a POI that has a lot of resources. Or at least know where there is one so that we could do it, you know, before next week. Okay, first candidate right here. Who is this? This is somebody with a pistol. Deanna the Banana. I I'd, I'd really would prefer someone that was full auto. I know I said that I'd like to get a crossbow soldier, but um, in the interest of just like surviving on Horde Night, I think that a crossbow soldier would probably hold us back more than anything. Okay, oh, here we go. Oh, he's got an AK. Whoa! I totally just ramped over that van. That was so cool. Ooh, 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 ow, ow, ow. Watch out. Take that AK for sure. And Tommy boy tripped and fell. What? Really nothing to do with these guys here because they can, uh, they can like infect me. Toxic infection. Oh, wait. You know what? I forgot. We were supposed to do the, the buried supply mission right there. Okay, we'll do that in just a second. Just gonna see where this road is leading. It's leading to massive skyscrapers and SMG fire over there. That's another bandit. I can see the green tracksuit. Okay, that just loops back over to the desert. Yeah, we know where that's going. Fair enough, all right. What is this over here? Just backing over that dog. Oh my goodness, this is the Apaxco building material place. Yeah, that place is going to require soldiers. We can't do that alone. Uh, pretty much guaranteed right now. I don't even have the ammo for it, I don't think. Uh, great to know about, because that place has just a ton of cement and cobblestone, I think, and paper and other things. Yeah, but that's a, that's a whole thing. We can't just do that on the fly. We need to prepare for that one. That's like Bob's Burgers, but instead of burgers, it's like Bob's building materials. Whoa, goodbye, burnt boy. All right, this is the site right here. It looks like we are targeting this farm here, I guess. Is there any crops here by any chance? I don't see any. Ooh, I have a feeling we're gonna be able to level up a lot better with the sickle now because um, we can do a lot more damage with it, so I'm more inclined to actually use it. Ooh, wait a minute, he is creeping and crawling around here. Don't steal my kill. Don't you dare, Deanna. Oh, the, the, the zombies have more money on them out here too, which is kind of cool. That is, ooh, pick up the potato. Nice, we need potatoes. You are pixie sticks with an SMG. This is perfect. Ooh, and 25 armor, carrying capacity 32, health 352. You are, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna hire you. Yes, you are hired. Nice, we've made a little bit of progress. I hear auto shotgun fire over here. Oh, by the way, I have the, hello? I have the charismatic nature glasses on. That is, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a uh, bandit over there. Yep, shooting at me, so definitely. And that auto shotgun is now mine. Thank you very much. I had a look there. If we can level up two more levels in tactical assault rifles, which we almost have leveled up right now, uh, then we can craft, I think it was called the HK416, which will be our first like custom modified, like class specific assault rifle. That'd be super nice to have. Gonna take a little while to get there. That's why I've been kind of focusing on uh, gunpowder mining because we're gonna need the gunpowder to make bullets and the bullets to increase our skill and everything else. All right. Let's go dig up that treasure then. I guess in a perfect world, I would have brought my treasure hunter glasses with me, but I wasn't thinking straight. That's okay, we'll find it eventually. In fact, just to get the extra bonus, I will take a golden rod. Ah, look at that, that wasn't too bad. It's a lot of freaking crushed stone out here. I figured that this would be down into the the soil layer, but it was not. Oh, hey there, none of that please. He's gonna blow, nope, nope, nope. We're good, ooh, look at these, high grade weapon parts now. We're getting into the good stuff out here. Okay, we're in, man, uh, we should really get the treasure hunter glasses on, but it's too much of a project. Oh, the robotic drone, and there's some silver. Damn it, we don't need silver though, we need gold and uh, diamonds uh, for the, the trade aura thing that we're trying to make. 
But that yeah, is what it is. We'll get more treasure maps eventually. All right, load up, Pixie. Let's go. Still looking for another soldier. Let's see who that is. Wait, just crush Big Mama there briefly. Oops, I got I took radiation damage. Oh no no, we need the uh, the Prussian blue re remedy. Crap. Oh, I wonder how long this is gonna last, uh, or like how long I have before I die, basically, because I have, check my character stats, radiation poisoning stage one, 1 1.3%. It's basically an infection, but it's treated differently and probably has some different uh, effects there. Hey, who's that? It's Snitty. Snitty. Oh, I gotta go check on Snitty. Oh, this place has the boar. Yeah, so watch out for that. What's up, Snitty? Nice. Show me your qualifications. Ooh, Snitty is a good one. You know what? In the interest of just uh, having people... Wait a minute, are you wearing the same outfit? No, you're not. Okay, good. We can't have people with the same outfit because I won't be able to tell you guys apart. I'm interested in hiring you. Yes. All right. We are fully... Uh, what would you say? We are fully manned, I guess you could say. Yeah, I just came here. I wanted these um, hops here so we can make hop seeds and then hopefully make some hop plants for the garden. Beer is really good. It has good hydration. I don't know how difficult it is to make. Probably quite difficult, just like everything else. And a little bit of extra corn here. So this is what I wanted to do today anyway, is just kind of poke around, see what we can get. Some friggin' potatoes over here. That's nice. You know, just exploration and opportunistic looting. And speaking of opportunistic, yeah, the loot chest is right over here. All right, who's in here? Another robotic drone, look at that. If you want the good stuff, you gotta come to the wasteland. Oh, there's the robotic drone schematic. And a gumbo stew recipe. Man, making out good here today. So we can put the drone down. That drone is Power slightly damaged. Go to quiet mode and I can put like some stuff in your storage probably, just to get rid of some stuff so I can walk again. Nice. My radiation poisoning is progressing. It's okay, it's uh, progressing slow enough that I'm confident I can survive the day at least and I have several Prussian blue remedies back at home. All right, here we go. I've been driving around for a couple of hours now just looking for a way out of the city and I finally found it. There appears to be this road that probably snakes back down to where we came from and this is going to lead up into it looks like the snow biome where there might be another new trader over here and basically this would be our last chance to get the fountain pen which at this point i'm thinking that perhaps this is not even the way that you get the fountain pen maybe you get the fountain pen from the handy woman trainer i'm not sure here we are then at 2100 in the dreary fog and cold at the red rocket trader never seen this one before of course, none of this is going to be lootable for me. Where is the trader though? Ah, some extra gas. <laughs> we need that for sure. I'll loot up anything I can here. We got the snow biome loot bonus here. Loot stage is 79. Oh, there he is right there. Hello there, Trader Joel. A little bit of XP there, times two. Special jobs, he'll send me to Trader Jen to the Southeast. Just check your inventory and make sure you don't have the fountain pen. I would sell my soul for it right now. That and a cigar and I don't see either of them. Nope, they just sell basically very generic, boring stuff in my opinion. That's okay though. I guess we're just gonna finish looting here and then head out. Oh, working chemistry station in the back, interesting. Oh, and a working shredder too, nice. Look at this, working smith. This is like a, an entire freaking horde base sitting in here. Working distiller as well. Wow, ice machine should have dinner for us. Yes, sham chowder, nice. All right, and a fire extinguisher in that car. I think I'm pretty happy with what I pulled out of here today so far, so I think I'll call it. At this rate though, I wouldn't mind. How are we looking on fuel here? Really not that great, although we only had like how much did we have to start off with? Like 65% or something like that? It wasn't too good. I'd kind of like to see what's going on up here before I loop it back home. But then again, with the limited visibility here, nightfall, snow, fog, things like that. I don't know how useful this is going to be. Oh, here's your shock immune zombies though. We've got to kill like 150 of those guys to unlock the black shield trader. Well, what we could do from here is follow the road. This could go for a really long way actually. And then we could try to take like a Northern approach Maybe link up with this road here and then loop it back home. That's my goal, and we'll see what we find. Hopefully another working vehicle so I can get the gas.
Holy crap, it's a working police car. Wow. That is so interesting. I just stopped here because I uh, wanted to check that, and of course we fought all these zombies. Almost, well, I had a deep laceration. It was pretty exciting there for a second. What is the storage like on this? Oh my god, it's just as good as the van here. So I'm going to swap everything over. Or should we... We got a little bit of gas left on the, the, the van here, so we'll roll with this for just for now. Just take that with me, we'll tow it home. Now all we need is the fire truck and we'll complete the whole <laughs> emergency service loadout. Yeah, my, my thoughts of this just going straight to this road over here have been kind of dashed by the fact that it's just turning north now. And suddenly we're into a northern stretch of wasteland that I didn't even know was here. Is this... Yeah, it's wasteland. Okay, we're finally looping to the west. And there's another snow biome way out here as well. Oh, we're about to break through back into the temperate biome. All right, we're gonna have to switch over to the police car. Here we go, we passed through the snow biome, back into the temperate biome, and we're on the main road. Look at the speed we have too, this is nice. All right, here we are finally rolling back up at home. So I've got a massive pile of loot to put away and get organized, and then we'll start coming up with a plan for tomorrow. Tomorrow being horde day. So probably what that will consist of is just getting preparations made around here to fight the horde again here, and then hope for the best. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Tonight is the night of nights. A wave of monstrosities the likes of which we've never seen before is on their way. And instead of risking our nice home, I'm going double or nothing on the new base. So the plan today is to conduct a lightning round of base construction and upgrades. Then we'll move the crew over and fight the horde in the wasteland. And if by some miracle we all survive the night, we'll probably spend the following day conducting repairs and gathering resources for the next horde. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time! All right, here we go, guys. Check this out. We've got new character models for Snitty and Pixie. Just went ahead and switched that around so that we can tell them apart better. And I think that these characters kind of fit their names just a little bit better. Anyway, let's get rolling here on materials. We're going to need to bring everything that we'll need for the day and probably make multiple trips back as well. So right now, it's all about the cobblestone cubes followed by some more steel. And let me just grab up everything that I think we'll need and we'll head over to the base for construction. Whole pile of steel in there and that kind of reminds me, we need to actually start rolling on things like, um, well, I need to fix this generator that I have. So we'll start with that. I'm gonna need four vault hatches and four of the powered vault doors. Holy crap, that's gonna take all day, but we should have it. By the time we need it, I'll even bring some lights over with us. Oh, and that kind of reminds me, I put the engine into this generator. Oh, we're gonna need gas as well. Wire tool, gas. Ooh, also we've got the auto shotgun and SMG. Oh, we've got some punch turrets we can set up. Maybe like we'll bring two with us so that if one breaks, the other will kick in. Right, the potion vials for summoning skeleton warriors. We'll need that. What are you shooting at? Shoot more accurately. What the hell is wrong with you? Jeez, good thing I'm not feeding him ammo. You know, if you play on survivor mode, you actually have to give them ammo. Now who are you shooting at? There you go. And these skeleton warriors. So I've been doing a little bit of research on like how we can use these. So if I wanted to make the vial to make a skeleton warrior, I just have to combine the tier two skeleton warrior with a murky water. And I think, didn't it take a lot more before? Maybe that's been fixed because Wait, potion vial, summon skeleton warrior. Okay, yeah, so it takes, I, I don't know what I've done wrong now. I have skeleton warriors. So these are skeleton warriors that I can literally just put on the ground and they're like, they'll follow me around as a companion. It's kind of like having a dog. I think what I was trying to do before was make the ingredients and then make the, the ones that you can throw. Can I make any more of these? No, because I'm held back by iron of all things. Great. All right, I'm just gonna kind of wait until we get all those cobblestone cubes and then we'll head over. There's our extra generator. Try to get as much 762 as I can. Oh, and that's gonna be rolling after the doors. So that'll be like our last trip <laughs> to pick up some of that stuff. I did, I think last night is when I put some decorations in here. So it looks a little bit nicer. I also set the generator down and I hooked up some lights out here, but, um, then I decided to not fight the horde here. I figured it'd just be a little bit uh, of a test. I want to do a nice proof of concept for 
the the new horde base. It's really too bad. I don't have a nail gun. Oh, the horror panther. I need to actually buy panthers from Ray here. If he's selling them, he's selling one and it's a thousand dukes or a thousand dollars, I guess. So we'll grab that and I think I just come over here and I have a mind control brew and I make it into a horror panther. Right, then we make the potion vial and that will allow us to actually have another like potion where we throw a skeleton warrior. So we'll have six skeleton warriors that we can place down, five that we can throw down, and then one horror panther. It's all the reinforcements I can summon for the, for this uh, upcoming horde. Okay, just about to grab the last cobblestone cube shape right there, and let's head over. Um, let's actually bring the crew with us. I think this would be a good thing to start off with. Just get everybody over there so we don't have to worry about that part. Follow me, follow, come with me, come with me, follow. Okay, and everybody hop into the police car. It's a four-seater, so everyone should fit. All right, it's 8 a.m. and we've got a base to build. Let's go. Okay, for now, Snitty, I'm just gonna set a little bit of a perimeter here. Stay where I'm standing. We've got some gunfire over here. That appears to be a soldier, so I'll help him out. It's Vamp Clutch over here, getting his ass kicked a little bit. And that's a really strong cop. Who would really rather not get toxic poisoning. I just cured myself with the Prussian Blue Remedy from the last one. Oh man, this guy looks sick. Look at this. The AK-47. Nice. Let me just check your specs real quick. Ooh, not bad actually. Well, not, not, uh, not maxed, but uh, pretty good. Okay, enough dilly-dallying out here. Let's set down the trainers and then we've got to get this place beefed up down here. This place is about to get crushed by a horde. All right, simple stuff first. We'll just get this down, get a light set up here somewhere. That'll do. Okay, as for you guys, let's... I want you to be nice and close so that you can shoot zombies and monsters that are right up here at the fighting position. And plus, I don't want you to be in the way if I'm trying to place blocks down or something like that. So Is it too much that's the best we can do. And we'll put our three soldiers like one, two, three or something like that. Or maybe I'll be right here. I don't know. Okay, we'll get to more work up here in just a little bit. In fact, let's probably just start off with... Whatever design I'm gonna go with here. First thing we got to do obviously is uh, beef up these railings these we need these double thick at least and then oh, Do I want to put more I we I do eventually maybe want to put a railing there, but not today I think I want to keep this nice and open so that the soldiers if there's a zombie ducking down or standing up I, I'm not gonna replace these with like bigger blocks or, or, or solid blocks I should say I know that the zombies can shoot back at us if we're in there but I think that uh, us shooting at them is probably more important oh right so uh yes we need to put some sort of a block around this way oh what was the block I wanted to use here um it's the the quarter ramp is that what it's called ramp incline filler yes so right around like this and then right across the top like this of course this is all subject to change but for now i want to do this and then the outside corners for the corners just like that and then eventually i'll have a system where maybe i'll just put this in temporarily actually i'll probably start doing this on the bottom this is going to be the aesthetic kind of going up all of the um the, the support columns from from the top to the very bottom is going to be just like this and then just like this as well on the outside so it'll be a total of nine blocks connecting to the ground but um it'll look kind of more like you know one basically it'll have a very low profile but for now i'm just going to take that up we don't need that there it's just going to catch on fire anyway we should definitely consider having a block here what about a block that i don't use very often where is that? It's in the stairs, and it's uh, it's the beefy round railing. Stairs, stairs, spiral pillar. What is that gonna look like if I strung that across just like this? I guess I'll just do the one for now, because that's the important one that's gonna hold the zombies back. Yeah, I kind of like how that looks there. Crap, you know what? I'm just realizing that I made a mistake here. These have got to come off. Crap. Okay, tremendous waste of time there. Brilliant. Wouldn't be a friggin' horde day if I didn't make some sort of a critical error that wasted a bunch of time. Right, because what we really want is for this to be a little bit lower, so it's gonna help shield the uh, vault hatches that are going to be behind it. The block shape that I was looking for up for the top is this one. We're gonna do the same block just for the sake of consistency. I think we'll bring it right to there for tonight. Maybe put it straight across. 
Right, and then the corner pieces just go one lower than they were before. Okay, that is the configuration right there. And if I recall correctly, I have done this configuration in base builds before. I should be able to... Nope, not right there. I should be able to jump... Yes, right in there. You can actually sneak your head underneath that. Um... <laughs> going in at least I guess I don't know I could have sworn that worked on the way out as well oh no oh there we go okay more to be done on that in the future now we've just got to make sure that we're working on um this not collapsing because <laughs> collapsing is going to be a huge concern for me tonight okay part part of the thing that we have to do here is probably dig this down a little bit okay that's a relatively strong foundation for the stairs and I was thinking probably we need to do the same thing that we're doing right here and do it uh, on this corner over here as well. I'm like halfway out of block shapes already. This is not, not gonna be good. Yeah, okay, what I'd really like to do is actually build this out so that um, these are kind of in their somewhat final form here with the stairs going up on both sides. I suppose it won't be too, too bad if we can actually get this upgraded to at least concrete by tonight. I'm gonna save the upgrading basically for last. For now, I need to spend whatever or use whatever blocks I have left to kind of bolster these support columns. Um, namely, these four on this end, I don't think that they would target these ones over here as much if we're kind of all standing on this end. To be determined on that one, I guess. Here though, right off the bat, like this just needs to be solid steel. Steel core pillars is probably the way to go. And then I'll just do concrete the rest of the way up. In terms of the back pillars, we'll just do concrete for now. And we'll do it up to a block height of three because that's, well, there's the really tall zombies. We'll just hope, we'll hope that the seekers don't go for the, the columns. I think the seekers, I've never seen them really go for structures. Um, I've only really seen them go for the player. Like, they will seriously, they have really good targeting AI. Maybe I'm just making that up. I have no idea. Wishful thinking, at the very least. All right, that was the last one. And yeah, what I just want to do is just make sure that if there's stuff blowing up down here, it's going to have a more difficult time blowing up down into, like, the stone and the clay layer below. Oh, I'm out of steel already. What? Oh, you know what? I used most of the steel on the freaking vault hatches. Oh my god. I am making some more though. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is, this is bad. I think I really underestimated how much we could do over here. There is just so much left. Okay, everything up to concrete that we can get. Okay, that's um, the most important stuff. I'll also... How are we looking right now, actually? 14 high. We have a ton of concrete left. Actually, I, I doubt that it's going to last very long because... Oh, what's the trick? Okay, I'm just going to do a couple jumps and I can make it out of there. Yeah, it's not not going to last very long, though, because we've got to do this whole strip over here. Okay, that's it. That's all I can do for repairs. Oh, crap. Forgot that column there. That's fine. Oh, nice. Extra steel. Vault hatch is there. Ooh, uh, four minutes left on the vault door. You know what? I'm just going to wait for it so that we don't have to make another trip back here. There should be some stuff to make more concrete mix. Oh, wow. How many... 23 minutes. Okay, so not gonna get all of it, but might get a little bit of it. Yes, that molten steel needs to become regular steel, though. 73 more of that. Okay, so how are we looking? So only thing really holding us back is the concrete mix and really steel. Probably just gonna ultimately save that steel for repair tonight. Maybe? I don't know. Are we even gonna be able to repair it? The hammer is so bad at repairing. Let's see here, we've got pipe bombs, we've got molotovs, we've got the guns, we've got the ammo, we've got drinks, we've got food. Speaking of, a little bit hungry, very thirsty in fact, so let's just drink beer. Oh, let's actually get a bunch of beer. Beer is good, it's good for drinking. <laughs> yes, beer is good for drinking. Good for hydration, also adds an additional 15 armor, so it's like putting on an extra piece of military armor or something like that, so. Maybe we can uh, try to remember to top off on that occasionally, especially if things get really, really dicey tonight, which I'm not ruling that out. Yeah, you know what? We've got two minutes left on that. Is there like some large stone around here? I think I've done a really good job of uh, destroying all of the stone blocks around here, but if I could just get a little bit of cobblestone, I only have one cobblestone I, like in my entire inventory everywhere. So getting a little bit for little like repairs here and there, probably not too bad of an idea. All right, that's it. Give me some Red Bull so I can fly. Yes, cobblestone rocks, please. 84, that's 336. That's actually really not that bad. It'll take a minute. We will wait for it. 
the doors are almost done and how are we looking on the steel situation not too bad two minutes in on that so in two minutes basically we're done we're heading back and uh what's done is done we'll get the doors hooked up and prepare to fight okay there it is that's as much steel as i'm willing to wait for everything else is done we're heading back to the base we'll grab the soldiers on the way bring them up into position and, uh, yeah, like I said, work on, uh, the doors and stuff like that, and then we're good. With any time remaining, I'll just do whatever last-minute repairs I can see that need to be done. We have a, we have a couple minutes. We've, we've got, like, five or ten minutes before the horde arrives, so I think we're doing fine here. No need to be hasty. Yeah, tell that to my heart rate right now, which is actually kind of <laughs> really high. Okay, there, we got a soldier over there as well. I forgot your name. Oh, Vamp Clutch. Vamp Clutch. Maybe Vamp is gonna help us out a little bit tonight. Snitty... Come with me, you're coming to the top. Dank, Pixie, all right. Hopefully none of you die tonight. I really hope not because uh, I feel like I'm spending all of my money on soldiers. There we go, bring them up here and start getting them into position. Okay, we've got four doors. We're gonna need four switches. I'm just gonna put them way back here out of the explosion radius of anything that might be exploding, which is basically everything in this mod. We'll take the vault door we do on face, rotate it, hinges up, and I'm gonna connect it to the base and not to this thing out here. I feel like the base is probably more structurally sound and then i should be able to jump right back in zombies cannot they can actually stand on the frame there but they don't think they can so they don't really try to do it and then we'll do vault hatches in the top like this and you know what with the steel that we have let's maybe get these upgraded at least one level that's 12 steel a piece we've got 120 let's go one more and then the most critical components here up to steel that's going to be the what is this called the scaffolding uh plank i think it's called the outer rail should be steel yeah so much for saving some for repairs because uh we're we're down to one. Oh, that's it i would have really liked to get this block here upgraded and maybe this top block here that that's just gonna have to do it i guess all right get these hooked up okay um we will plan on starting them in the middle then are we good here are we done um let's do some extra lights in here i suppose and probably call it good from there whoa cop just blew up out there <laughs> he was fighting with the uh, the survivor out there all right let me out here real quick i'm gonna put down these sledge turrets in a position where I think that they might maybe be able to help us. Probably not at all. Whoops, wrong button. There we go. Yes, just like that. And uh, a resource check here. Uh, you know what I'm missing is uh, weapon repair kits. That is a bad. So I'm going to just fly back to the base there and grab my weapon repair kits. And while I'm back there... Oh, God, I just got to clear this place out so I can get through here with the vehicle. Uh, while we're over there, I got to pick up that concrete mix. Whoops, free loot bag. Not gonna pass that up, might have 762. For some reason in the cop car, I don't like it. Yep, 762. Um, you exit the, on the passenger side of the vehicle, which is weird. Okay, was there any more steel as well? 10 more steel, great. Any more concrete mix, cement mix, whatever it is, concrete mix. I always get these two mixed up. I can't, I can't help it, it's just my brain. Uh, oop, extra 762, what was I here for again? Oh, <laughs> weapon repair kits. Uh, don't I have some of those? Oh, do I not have them? Are they in the weapons box? They are. Okay, perfect. Good. And uh, maybe I'll just bring the uh, M60 just in case I, you know, everything breaks and I need a backup gun or something like that. And um, are we good here? Probably should take like, um, I don't know, a painkiller or something. Yes. Okay, just a whoops. Oh, geez. A little bit of a ladder there so that we can get back in if we fall out today at some point. And we have about 45 minutes left and we have about 300 concrete and some cobblestone as well so what we'll do is we'll try to dress up the side here with some of the v2 triangular plates the wedge plates or whatever they're called just on face them just like so and we'll have to worry a little bit less about zombies trying to cut the corner there and carving into the staircase and now just upgrade as much as we possibly can all right, that's gonna just about have to do it. It's time to get into position. All right, everyone, the day 21 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. I'm ready to move out. Just give the order. My friends, the horde is almost upon us.
All right, things are getting pretty crazy up here already. We've got Garrett Wilson, a seeker. We've got another seeker here somewhere, at least two, if not more. Oh my God, I've opened up two lanes so far, so we get a you know more volume of people up here to shoot at, I guess. Kind of spread the, uh, the the destruction love a little bit over more of the fighting position. Okay, I think it's about time though that we set down some warriors to help us out. So go down there and help us out. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, while we can do it, uh, mercenaries. Oh crap, the mercenaries pushed me off the base. Okay, it's fine, I put this ladder in so I can make my way back up, no problem. Okay, our friends appear to be doing a relatively good job of kind of preoccupying everybody. There's Beneficial, the Seeker Beneficial is here, getting random bits of sneak damage, which is always nice. Oh, all of our guys are actually right, right up here in the front, not where we want them. All right, holy crap, man. Garrett Wilson's back, pretty much all healed up from the first round. That's the thing, they heal up so fast, you gotta kill them as fast as you can. Come on, I can get pretty good headshots into him. Is he dead? He's almost dead. I'm pretty much on fire right now. Why are there zombies in the base? Stop opening the hatches! I think we've got super zombies here that can open doors, and I'm- Ah, I'm on fire! Okay, I'm not on fire anymore, but I've gotta lock these damn doors. The evolved zombies are running through. Or that, or these guys are opening them, I'm not sure. Weapon needs repairs, nice, perfect timing. Okay, I don't even know what's going on. Ah, there's a hole in the base! What the hell happened? Ah, God. back in again! This is just not doing very well. Did, did you make a hole in the base? Okay, patch that freaking hole. Get me back up here, I need, I need all the help I can get right now. Warriors, skeletons, um, I'll do the horror panther when the other skeleton dies. Here we go, beneficial. Take him out, I'm on fire again. Try not to get diarrhea, please. First aid kit in, holy crap. Uh, Vex Devlin is here, a seeker, another one. And uh, there's another one down there, Daniel Jones, another one here, that's beneficial. Finally killed him. Whoops, people are blowing up. <laughs> as far as I can tell, things are going okay right now. I think uh, the ramp down there looks like it's taking quite a beating. I can see a lot of broken blocks down there. Here, if I can, just... Why am I on fire again? Splash the beer on me. Okay, people are dying. Not people, but skeletons. Um, skeleton warrior, gliding turtle, I don't know which one you are. You're the one, I can't put the horror panther down until gliding turtle dies. Okay, I'm officially not seeing zombies. Um, coming up the gate, and, or coming up the stairs anymore. It might be that things are broken down here. Crap. No, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. Okay. Um, we need emergency staircase. <laughs> Not that this would last very long, even if I got it down. Um, how is everything else looking? We've lost the pillar over there. Ow, who's that? Go away, please. I'm on freaking fire again. These fire immune zombies, man. They are terrible. Okay, the collapse of the base is imminent. We've got to get out of here. I'm calling it right now. Broken arrow. Broken arrow. Let's get out of here. Into the police car. And turn the lights on. Draw them away from our friends and from the base. I'd rather conduct repairs than complete, complete, you know, rebuild. So we're going back to the regular base. Come on, come on. Just get some speed up here. I can't break through these stupid cinder blocks. Oh, okay, we've spawned in the super vultures. They are officially here. Oh, great. Come on, man. Yes, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, yeah, too many super birds are here. Okay, get me the Red Bull. Ha! We've got gliding turtles still here with us, interestingly. Holy crap, birds! Yeah, and, and the zombies are starting to spawn in over here as well. Quickly now, get into the base. Oh, I can already tell this is... This base is, like, not gonna work very well. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Just get inside. Here. Distract him with a with a, another skeleton warrior out there. Here we go. We are in. In and relatively safe. No, oh, except for the birds. We have no bird coverage. Holy crap! Okay, that takes care of that. Now we just gotta take care of the zombies in front of us. We do have some help out there. 
Gliding Tur Turtle and uh, Oli Anthony are out there helping us. Lay into him the best we can. Hope for the best here, I guess. We are halfway through the Horde Knight, so that's good. I'm going to switch over to the 9 mil. And we'll save the 7.62 for if there are, like, really big, powerful zombies getting here. And uh, Gliding Turtle has just passed away. So out you go there. Who is that? Koopa Kid Ultra. Uh, wait, Copper Kid Ultra. Okay, he's got one turned to our side already. And burning. Here, have a first aid kit. Is that going to work? I... I Yes, I do think that that did work. Here, can you come out here, everybody? And there we go. Just throw down another skeleton warrior while I'm out here. And back inside, and they can all just kind of hang out on the ground level. Perfect. Nice. They're distracting everyone very well for me down there. Just keeping an eye on Copper when Copper is about to die, which Copper is about to die. Come back up here. Get yourself a first aid kit. Oh, um, did I heal up? Who did I heal up? I don't really know. Here, come back here. And get a first aid kit into you. Oh my god. I don't know if it's working. I think we're just barely able to stave them off this way. Whoa! Cooper's about to die again. Come back here, Cooper. And get first aid bandages onto you. Is it... Is it... I think it's working. Yes. Can you have a painkiller, maybe? That would really help. Oh, no. Cooper's gonna die. Just do the best you can, Cooper. I don't expect very much more out of you. You've done well so far. Oh, look at him turning zombies over. Nice. In fact, what I can do is I can get my crossbow out and I can load in my mind control bolts and I don't know really who I can mind control. Probably nobody, but I'm going to try anyway. Yeah, my mind control powers are not strong enough for any of these people here. Yep, Copper has just died and I don't think there's any more zombies that are coming up to this position here. Ooh, I'm almost out of 762. That's bad. Got plenty of 9 mil though. Ooh, parts of the base are collapsing. That is not good. Oh, I don't know why either, but um, yeah, it's definitely not looking good up here. Die. Yep, they can't get up here anymore. This base is totally blown. Although we have no seekers here. That is a positive. Oh my God, look at this mess here. This is just terrible. Can I, are, is fire gonna work at all here? Fire and explosives. I get the sense that no, but I'm doing it anyway. Ah! Looks like the horde fight is gonna be taken to the streets now. There's a seeker there. Oh, there's two of them, I think. I think they're stuck down here. Ooh, I do, I do. I think that several of them are stuck in the waterworks thing down here. Okay. Well, I need some wings. Let's fly. Skeleton warrior down. Another skeleton warrior down. And, whoa! <laughs> Open fire. Yeah, two seekers are here now. Ah! I'm basically just mag dumping into a whole pile of zombies and bears and I'm not getting any XP which means I don't have the firepower to kill any of them really. I guess we can just go back to the fire and see if that's gonna help us at all. Fire and explosives. That's the key here. At least I'm hoping that's the key because I don't have any more keys. Oh, I've never felt so helpless in my entire life. I can't do anything even though i have good guns and ammo i'm just not getting any kills here there's just too many tanky high hit point things and they're probably all regenerating as well well it's about the best aoe type of weapon that i have so i will continue attempting to kill some zombies with molotovs could try the shotgun briefly try to get some close range damage on them more skeletons please Oh, it's now morning, just as I'm throwing some of my last bombs here. I'm just going to continue with it. In fact, at this point, now that it's morning, we have um, Screamer Heat to worry about. So I'm going to just backpedal and work our way down the street here in hopes that we can spread the heat out and not get ourselves into a Screamer Spiral. All right, I think we're, we're getting somewhere here. We're making some progress. The frame rate's improving, at least. That's, you know, I couldn't ask for much more than that. Yeah, see, this kind of, these explosions and stuff are just going to rack up some heat points for us. Oh, I, I saw a bandit run into the, the battle here. There goes a demon. Extra skeleton warrior. I hear screamers screaming. I'm not sure if they're regular screamers or, um, like, horde screamers. By the looks of it, regular screamers. Because I got zombies running in from all directions now. And uh, the, the frame rate's getting much worse now. Oh, I've just broken a leg! No, 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 no! 
Drop the backpack. Can I move any faster than this? No, no, no. Skeleton warrior down. Cover me. First aid kit into me. Painkiller. Uh, crap. Just bomb behind me. Oh, I'm on, I'm electrocuted. No, no. I'm running. I'm running as fast as I can run. I got no bullets left for that gun. Ah. Just pump the first aid into me. Leave a present for whoever's behind me. No, no, dying. Painkiller. Holy crap, good thing I'm a witch doctor and I got some friggin' black magic to bring myself back to life. But my goodness, yeah, I, 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 I feel like there was a jump there from uh, day 14 to day 21. That was, um, that was dramatic. And there's a screamer there who is immediately screaming. Here, I've got an M60, I think, in here. No, I left that on my inventory, didn't I? I don't have any weapons. Frick this, I'm just leaving. I'm leaving, I'm going back to my backpack. Guys, get the get the hell out of here. Despawn already. <laughs> that is, if I can outrun them, I don't know. It's not looking too good right now. There's another screamer over here. That was half of the friggin' problem before. So wait, this is my, what is that? Where is, um, where's my other backpack is the question. Oh, it's way over there. Here, give me some Red Bull to my regular backpack, grab that stuff, and I'm just leaving. I'm not fussing around with all these screamers and stuff. They'll despawn eventually. Okay, don't want to miss these random loot bags that are around here. I don't know that there's going to be a lot of loot bags. I don't feel like I killed very many zombies. There were just, um... There were, uh, so many high hit point zombies that I don't think we were able to really kill any of them. Damn it, Arlene! Get out of here! Take my aggression out on someone. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Skeleton Warrior, you guys picked the wrong time because I am in the mood for some frickin' zombie killing right now. Some revenge killing, you might say. And if you think that you are any tougher than what we just went through, you are mistaken. Oh, they're, they're pretty damn tough though, if I'm being honest. That's right, cluster them all up like that so I can just pour lead into them and hopefully get a few hits there. Okay, take out the big boy. Ooh, event bonus loot. Forgot that was a thing. Hopefully that doesn't despawn. Try to get some headshots here. Headshots for the win. All right, last couple here. One more mag. Yeah, we're good now. Oh, I'm electrocuted. That's great. Okay, are we good? We're good. What do we get for the event loot here? Ooh, what is this? Oh, a spike hammer. Wow, I'm gonna take a look at that. And we've got the generic perk book. A nail gun schematic. Whoa, that's nice. Otherwise, are you kidding me? Killer! Oh my god, we gotta do this again? Okay, that's it for the Screamer Horde. My goodness. Okay, give me a second here to loot up. And I'll meet you back at the police car. We'll go check on the, uh, the other soldiers and the uh, trainers and stuff back at the base. Don't worry, guys. I've come back to rescue you. Oh my god, man. Look at this place over here. Okay, I need to, um, I don't know, jeez, put, put, put the stuff away and, uh, we'll check and see what happened here. All right, all right. Yes, so, I think the, um, the Seekers, mostly, oh my god, look how close they were to, <gasps> there's just one block holding this whole thing up, oh my god, okay, quickly now. Get an extra support in there. Yeah, the Seekers, I think, when they fall down, they start blowing stuff up, and these are, you know... 200 hit points, so they could probably take like two or three explosions and then they're done. So if we just replaced this with um, concrete and then eventually steel, I think we'd probably do a little bit better here. Ooh, actually, uh, this is a fair amount of loot. I actually like this. This is nice. I was thinking we didn't kill very many people, but apparently we were killing more than I thought. Oh, and then um, I think, yes, we lost one whole support pillar. It just fell down. Wow. What's up, Raw Gage? You need to you need to leave me alone, buddy. Get out of here. All right, let me finish looting up, and then we'll uh, check on the soldiers. I don't think anybody died, but I'm not 100% sure either. Okay, nothing particularly crazy in the loot. A couple sellable items, a little bit of cash, I think. Wait, 
Is that- where's my cash? Have I lost my cash? Surely I had more- Oh no, I put it- <laughs> I put it in the police car. Thank goodness, I got a little bit scared there. What are we up to for cash then? Really not that much, $2,800. Gonna have to work on that. This is a look at the spiked hammer here, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna give it a try on Don Martin Porter, or I think. I'm having a hard time locking onto the name. Oh man, I'm gonna get infected here. Okay, enough of that. Get out of here. Leave. Ooh, loot bag. Ah, who's behind me? Jeez, another one. There we go. That's it right there. Oh my god, really? Thank you so much. What is that? Whoa, no! My leg's broken. <laughs> my leg's broken and I, um, I'm dying of radiation now. I definitely asked for it though. Okay, but uh, let's see the rest of it here because the rest of it looks like it's relatively intact. If, if this was all steel, which it will be someday, I think it would hold up pretty well. All of the soldiers look like they're alive. Okay, everything was working well over here. Check the hit points on this. Actually, this held up super well. Even, even blocks like that didn't do too bad. I'm pretty pleased with this overall and, and, ooh. Well, the hatches are actually really good too. These, um, these blocks right here, those will be upgraded to steel for the next horde, I think. All right. Ooh, got a random loot bag in here as well. Nothing good, though. All right, is everybody alive and well here? Wow, everyone actually survived. That's crazy. Okay, well, this was pretty much a disaster. I don't even know what to do now. What do I do now? Oh, Briston's gonna give me some kind of a re reward here. Oh, that's just a uh, opening trade routes thing, I think. Special missions. Cybernetics for the silencer schematic. Ooh, I get two diamonds as well. We need those anyway. Uh, this may prove to be quite difficult. If you fail the mission, come back and give it a another go. The Trader Network has pushed their experimentation even further. They've been using zombies as a way to get rid of their competition and are now using cybernetics to fight alongside the undead. Ever wonder why their traders never get attacked? Suspicious, isn't it? Oh boy. We've gotta go investigate the new prototypes. Okay, deal. Okay, what are we doing today anyway? I need to take a break. We need to go back to the base and um, splint up and everything else. All right, that's that's the task. What? <laughs> Look at the damage out here. This is devastating. I think half of the battle here is just going to be like, Replacing all the divots and stuff in the dirt. Okay, that's a task for another time for for now. What are you doing? Jesus. Stop breaking stuff, man. You're gonna make stuff collapse. All right, let's go back to the base and refit and maybe we'll just do a mission or something today. Gotta start raising money again and or maybe instead of a mission, we should just focus on resources because we're gonna need so much concrete and steel. Oh, look at this. More loot bags at home. Forgot about that part. What? Oh, no, no, no. Screamers at home, too. Crap. Guys, I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this right now. I'm leaving. I'm leaving? Oh, that's the cybernetics mission up ahead there. Is there anything else I can do right now? <laughs> I can't do much because I got a broken leg. What I can do is just leave the area and hope that those zombies are not there when I circle back around. I've even got a pig chasing me. Well, I can't get a break around here. All right, I've returned home. We still have zombies in here, but I think perhaps, maybe, I've lured off the screamers, so I... That hopefully won't be much of a problem in a second here. Oh, just broke my rifle too. Can I repair that? I don't have the repair kits. Crap. The title of this episode should be Murphy's Law, because anything that could possibly have gone wrong has gone wrong. Okay, first stop here is for the Prussian Blue. That'll fix the radiation or toxic poisoning. We also need a plaster cast. And I think we're like regular infected, so we'll take some antibiotics. Then I just need to get rid of stuff in the inventory, get things sorted out, and uh, we'll go mining probably. Oh my god, look at that! A whole horde of zombies. They're just kind of like walking on through though. So I'm, I may be kind of okay with that. Uh, but then again, they're just going to be loafing around over there all day. Look at them. Yep, that's right where they want to stop. Try and pick them off the sneaky, stealthy way. There we go. Okay, that's all but a couple. I think I can hear a couple inside the house here. Gonna risk it. I think I've softened them up just a little bit. Whoa, fast mover. Where's your friend? Trying to beat on my windows. Come out here. Get what's coming to you. Oh, there's the robotic drone right there. And I think he's probably 
full of stuff as well. Yes. Either Take that. Way, Just continue stashing stuff in the police car for today. We'll sort it all out later. Gotta get these loot bags up before they despawn. Okay, we got this generic perk book, and I'm gonna go with Better Barter. We've always been saying that we're gonna go for the more expensive things, and so that's what I'll keep doing. Okay, we've got a little bit of 762. Pretty happy about that. I don't think we have any repair kits, though. Not happy about that. Doing okay on the drinks. Um, I think probably mining is the thing to do for today. I will take a steroid because we have 17 minutes to go on that uh, broken leg there. And other than that, we need to focus on uh, things that are used to make basically cobblestone and concrete mix. Yeah, so we're gonna need large rocks, small stone. We got a little bit of cement there. We're going to need iron, probably coal. So today it's all about getting iron and coal, small stone and large stone. All right, there's my weapon repair kit. Repair my M16 and let's get out of here. In a perfect world, I'd have soldiers to protect me, but I feel like they need a break and uh, I could probably hold my own at this point. Probably. Okay, there should be an iron mine right there. Perfect. All right, I do have my mother load glasses on. Oh, there's lead in here too, which we need. We're all out of lead for bullet tips. So we'll take the golden rod and we'll just mine here. Well, we'll take the coffee as well. And then we'll just mine here for a good solid 10 minutes. A seeker is here. Are you friggin' kidding me? Oh, oh geez. Here we go. Okay, what's gonna be the game plan here? I think it's just, it has to be 762. I don't really have any other way of doing this be really good for the heat production in addition to all the mining we're about to do whoa my goodness that's really close on the bright side oh, here we go this is our chance should be able to get some money off of this guy how much 1100 not even that good <laughs> all right it's time i feel like it, what could go wrong now we, we've had a wandering horde we've had screamer hordes we've got seeker hordes we had uh We've had every kind of horde we could possibly have in one day, so if the game is going to throw another horde at me, I think things are broken. Okay, we've got a screamer just topside. I thought she'd drop down in here, but I don't think that she wants to because the ladder doesn't come all the way down here. And I just, I can't get a good look at her. Here, I'm just going to sneakily, stealthily snake this ladder down here. Then I'm gonna poke my head up at the top and- Oh! Kill her, kill, 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 kill. Did I get her? Are we good? Yeah, I don't hear anything. I think we're good. And I think I'm done with iron anyway. We got, whoa, more than 20,000 in the 2,500 lead as well. Oh, a couple of like diamonds and stuff too. I think we're at that stage where we're so good at mining that we're just pulling random stuff out. Okay, on to the coal mine then. All right, slap another goldenrod tea into me. Give me some coffee. Get the pickaxe back out. We're gonna probably run until the pickaxe is broken. Another seeker is here! No! Oh, bad, 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 bad. Get that ladder down, and up we go! To fight the seeker! Hold your ground! Zombies too, damn it! Oh, why is it? Always with you stupid zombies. Down. Nice. Actually not too bad. I had just like, you know, three good mag dumps right into the forehead. Usually does the trick. And uh, funny, I get a loot bag off this stupid janitor, but no loot bag off of the big boy. I think that they should drop a loot bag, honestly. I'm not satisfied with just the, the cash dump. I want some... Some RNG loot as well. All right, well, back to work then. Got a little bit left here on the goldenrod tea and everything. Oh, uh, we got a lot of activity here. What is this? Ah! No, 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 no! It's a bandit raid. Crap! Get out of here! Ah! Go, 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 go! Emergency! Fucking man, bandit raid! Whoa! Kamikaze zombie! This is ridiculous! You sons of bitches! I'll run y'all down! There's a screamer here too, that's just perfect! Oh boy, yeah, we're stuck now. Oh man! What? A full-on bandit raid! Oh jeez, get the lights on! 
You're under arrest, you bastards! Okay, get some space. Woo! Broken leg is healed, although I'm definitely gonna need me some Red Bull for this fight. And I think the, uh, the bandits there respond well to fire, or, you know, well for me, not very well for them, so... We'll work on that for a little bit, and some bombs right behind it. Oh! Did you see that? That was cool. Oh, jeez, getting shot! Ow! Oh, I just, I got the breathy noise there. I think that was supposed to happen like two minutes ago. Thanks, game. All right, safe distance now, and we'll just take them down from afar. I think they're trying to blow my vehicle up or something. Screamer, why are you guys running all wacky like crap? Okay, that guy floating right there is our chief target. He must have some, like, fancy shoes or something. Whoop, whoop! I've run into a bad part of the map. Get away from that part of the map. My leg is sprained. All friggin' ready. Quickly, you gotta get to the car. My leg is now broken. Here we go again. Just pump the first aid kit into me and get to the damn car. Ah, I can feel the zombies right behind me. It's not good. Here, suck on that, you bastards. Get in the car. I am not leaving without killing the boss, though. And another! I think I burned the bandit to death, which is uh, both good and bad. Where's his body? Is that is that the guy right there with the white on? Okay, perfect. Just draw them over a little bit here. He's got to have something good on his body, right? I don't know. Remember, we get out on the passenger side, so if I get over here and try not to crash into that and then... Search the bandit leader for... I don't know what that was, but I'm getting the fuck out of here! I think that was a strength injection boost, which is cool. And now, like, a whole horde of zombies lives at my gunpowder mine. Lovely. Actually, kind of glad I didn't bring soldiers with me because they probably... Maybe would have all just... Died there. Okay, here we go again. We're infected, so we'll take the antibiotics. We will take the plaster cast and for our broken leg that we just healed up. Damn it! And we're like fresh out of pipe bombs and molotovs. We gotta do some more quests. Seems like quests are a good way to get that kind of stuff. Well, what did we get there? We got a DNA boost for strength, which doesn't even really matter at this point because I'm already level eight in strength because all I do is mine for resources. I got a crowbar, which, um,. Wait a minute, block damage 16.3. Uh, compare that to the steel pickaxe, not really that good. I don't know, maybe that's good for opening boxes and stuff? I don't know, we'll have to try it out. Anyway, do up the DNA injection. This might actually level me up. Jam that, it'd be not quite. And for glasses to wear, probably I'm just gonna slap on the Daring Adventure glasses for tomorrow. Oh, here we go. That zombie has the fancy hands. A couple of these zombies do, it looks like, which means that they, they carry special abilities, basically. I don't know exactly what they are. I think this is, um, this zombie here could do fire damage. And this one over here is just a regular. Ooh, I like the uh, the loot bags I'm getting lately, though. Almost out of ammo. More zombies coming. Why is this happening right now? Is this some kind of a horde? Or is this, these are just the regular zombies that we have to contend with in the wild now. Yep, I think it's just regular old zombies. I feel like I've gained a couple of... I still haven't leveled up in the Witch Doctor? Are you kidding me? Why is that taking so long? Oh, because I'm supposed to be using the sickle to do that and not... Oh my god. Get out of here! Where did you all come from? Right, we've got to be using the sickle because we're not high enough level in the tactical rifles yet. I'm just a hot mess right now. My goodness. I've never been... I've never struggled so hard. I've never wanted to give up so much in my life. I feel like it's two steps forward, four steps back. Okay, what did we get? So, like, yes, 20, a little over 20,000 iron. We got 2,000 coal. We got, oh my god, it's only 653 large rocks and 2,700 lead. All right, well, gotta get all that rolling. I'll probably move this over sometime later in the week, but yes, we need bullet tips. We need cobblestone rocks. That'll be good for 2,600. It's not too bad, actually. I'll also just take the limestone fragments and all the lead and crap that I can get off of trophies and... I'm gonna need some crushed sand and then brass. Get all the brass I can get for now. Oh my god, that's like 14,000 from all those trophies I had. All right, so I'm gonna get the inventory cleaned up and the uh, last thing I gotta do here is probably get the furnace rolling on some molten steel. A thousand of that, it's not too, too bad. 
and we will start coming up with a plan, a contingency plan, because this is like 9-1-1 mode right now. With with hordes like this, we have got to get that horde base uh, up and running sooner than later. We can't wait like we have been uh, the last couple of weeks here. And what I also think that I'll do, you know, given how devastating these hordes are, I don't want to just spend the entire time in the coming days and weeks just mining basically for resources. So I think I will change the next horde to be every 10 days. So our next horde will be on day 30 instead of day 28. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Things are a little bit out of hand right now. The additional Horde Knight difficulty settings for Rebirth are no joke, and we're not just using Horde Knight Plus, we're also running Horde Knight Turbo. But I'm not backing down yet, instead, I'm moving Horde Knight frequency to every 10 days, so the next Horde will be on day 30. And I've bumped the XP modifier back to normal, and for today, I'd like to hammer out some POI clears and quests to raise some capital and find some loot. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you, but now, it's go time. All right, so a couple of things right off the bat here. We need to start crafting. We need to get ammo rolling because I'm down to like uh, 60 bullets basically with 762. So grab up the gunpowder. I'm also making some seeds because I've been working on the garden, uh, trying to get that skill up so we can harvest more. But yeah, we need to get ammo cranking because um, I basically I can't do anything without ammo because <laughs> when a seeker comes, I can't just melee him. So we've, we got a thousand bullets rolling in there for the next couple of days. I'm gonna go grab all of the soldiers and we're just gonna roll heavy today with all three soldiers. I still need to level up in the Witch Doctor class. We're at 90% and we'll have to use the sickle for that. And I have just a couple of tasks to do that. Look at the mess over here. This is ridiculous. Okay, so speaking of that, I have changed difficulty settings around a little bit. We're doing hordes every 10 days now. I don't really give a damn. <laughs> What if, if I'm chickening out or not? I am chickening out. That was crazy. That's what I did in the Darkness Falls series anyway. We did Horde every 10 days just because they're insane and I don't want to focus like, you know, three quarters of my time just basically just preparing for Hordes. That's uh, Reverend Andy out there wasting a zombie. Nice. All right, so we got the soldiers with us. The other thing I did is I decreased the XP gain back down to 100%. We were at 150. Um, I think... When, I'm, when we were setting up the mod for the series, I think we did um, 150% XP for like class specific stuff, which is why I think I'm leveling up so quickly in like strength and charisma and stuff like that. Uh, that is that is not changing. I'm just doing the regular like the level up stuff, you know, because I don't want to level up as quickly because all that's going to mean is just more seekers, raids, like corpulence, more events, uh, more chaos at Horde Knight. I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit, back to normal, right? Okay, so this is what we're doing today. We're gonna do the police station here. I think it's a police station, yeah. This is where we spawned in at the very beginning. I also might harvest up these cars on the way back out. But um, I've heard there's a lot of desks here, and I've also heard that desks are a really good way to get the fountain pen. So that's what we're gonna put to the test here today. All right, that's it for the parking lot. We'll stash the stuff and get in there. All right, in we go. What was that? Treasure hunter glasses. Wearing the daring adventurer glasses right now. I should be wearing probably the sexy T-Rex glasses. If only I could find a pair of better barter glasses. We really need to level up better barter as soon as possible because that's going to unlock the next level of the trader secret stash. And from what I've heard, that will give us some access to... The auger, which is definitely, that would be a worthwhile investment. As much mining as we're having to do here. I feel like this place was half cleared on day one. We should have just finished it off back then. Oh, people are on fire. Put them out, please. Also, we, we just have a fire here. Put that out. All right, here's a couple more starting fires. Is this wood? It is. It's all, or no, that's some kind of a stone. Either way, I don't want fire in here really at all. Snitty's on fire. Oh boy! Everybody's on fire. My god, this is terrible. Alright, just gonna keep an eye on their health there and make sure that... Ooh! Catch me on fire here. I'm not careful. There we go. Yeah, just pay attention to their health there. Make sure that they don't burn to death. Like, uh, poor old creamy ghost did. Basically, anything I can get mechanical parts off of, I have to get it off because I used, like, 75 mechanical parts to create those vault doors, which fortunately, none of them broke. There's a lot more in here. Oh, geez, now I'm on fire. Great. 
Whoa, crap. I'm stuck here. Get in there, Dank. Take care of him. There we go. Man, we got like an assault brigade here. <laughs> Dank's loving it. Oh, man, we're starting fires everywhere here. Oh, look at the cloth in there. Not that I really need it. All right, let's get everyone in the same spot here. There we go. That would be a working cement mixer. We might need another one, so I'll take it with me. Ooh, building resources, too. Definitely going to have every drop of this stuff. Ooh, a blade trap schematic. What's that? Pack mule glasses. That's interesting. I'll slap that on right now. And that gave me an extra four slots in the inventory. Probably at this rate, we need to invest a little bit into pack mule. All kinds of company back there. Ooh, including police officers. That's nice. Being very, whoa, very conservative with my ammo use here. Going for the headshots. The headshots help you level up a lot faster in your respective class. So by getting these headshots and preferably headshot kills, I can level up my uh, assault rifle skill a lot faster. There we go. I think we're on to the second level, at least temporarily. Oh, great. I'm all alone up here. Uh, I got to work on my sickle skills. Ooh, no, I'm stuck now. Ah, and I'm on fire. Great. It's just story of my life now. Oh, Dank's on fire. Everyone's on fire now. Great. Okay, this is a bad spot. We need to get out of this area here. Everyone's going to burn to death. Pixie's on fire. Dank's on fire. Y'all can just stay out of the fire. That'd be nice. Oh, there we go. Level 5 in Witch Doctor class. And this is just a massacre up here. Oh my god, a rad! What is this guy doing here? Okay, guys, try not to be on fire for a second. We're gonna run out of water at this rate. We're down to four friggin' water. Pixie, you can have a bandage. Oh, I like that there's an effect there, so I know that it's working. That's good. There's another pair of glasses there. Ooh, lucky looter glasses. Oh, nice. Just kind of realizing this is a huge, huge POI. Wait, do these give you anything? Let's give you iron. Mechanical parts off of that. That's good. Okay, we're... Ooh. Scaling the side of the building now. I don't know exactly where to. I'm gonna guess... Oh, goodbye, Tank. You okay down there? Yeah, I'm gonna guess around the corner here. Oh, yes. Here we go. All right, and a breach. If we can't now, I'm on fire. Great. I'm just gonna let it burn, man. Let it burn! No, I'm stuck! Ah! I fell! Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Holy crap, maybe a good thing I did fall. This is a little crazy over here. Here, take all that. Okay, guys, don't get stuck there, please. We can fight them here at the, um, whatever you call these things, little barrier. Holy Toledo, is this like the main loot zombies or what? Whoa, I'm gonna be needing some painkillers for this. Holy crap. Okay, we're working our way through them. Not doing too bad here. Here we go. And just, ow, ow. Jesus Christ, man. This mod is insane. Wait, what happened there? Oh, oh, when I leveled up my Witch Doctor class, it gave me a generic perk book which I'm going to use, I think, to get, um, oh wait, no, if I, if I do better barter, I think I need to have charisma at a certain level, and I don't know if we're there yet. Yeah, better barter level three is gonna require charisma level six, so probably we're better off spending that point somewhere else. Charismatic nature also requiring charisma level six, and we're only just now level five, really not even making any progress toward level six. We'd have to do a whole bunch of questing today to, to level that up, I think. Okay, I don't know quite where I wanna put that just yet, so we'll think about that a little bit more later on. I also get this note here that just talks about uh, tier two mind control arrows and bolts, which is good because then I can turn feral zombies. I did get this potion vial for a tier 3 skeleton warrior, and I can make the tier 3 skeleton warrior potions. Okay, fair enough. Maybe, just maybe, those um, tier 3 skeleton warriors will be a little bit better than the tier 2s <laughs> that we, like, we killed off, like, probably a dozen of them during the horde. Hopefully we are at least partially clear up here now. I'm not seeing any of these metal desks that I was told about. Not that we're really close to getting the trade aura. We need more diamonds, we need gold. In fact, we might go dig up that treasure map that we have, uh, or the treasure from the map that we have. Then we also need the cigar, which we're no closer to getting that either. Oh man, we, we need so many things. We haven't had good luck on looting so far. Maybe I should be wearing the lucky looter glasses Bloody that I put stop. in the car. Well, if you look at that, we're down to 23 bullets. Hopefully some of the ones that we're crafting back home are gonna be done by the time we get there. Okay, these are just all broken wooden desks. I'm not liking this so far. Oh, I'm liking that. These are unlocked. Look at that. 
and empty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't like that anymore. <laughs> Look, the wall safes are poking through the back of the wall. Oh my goodness! No wonder they're empty. Ooh, weapons back. Come on, give me something good. Ah, Dubsy with some weapon parts. And otherwise, I think we're heading into. What is this? Like a gym area? Yeah! Oh my god, that jumped me so bad. <laughs> oh man. Uh, that's the biggest jump I've had in a long time right there. <laughs> oh man, we gotta we gotta do an instant replay of how hard I jumped on that one. Yeah. Oh my god, that jumped me so bad. <laughs> I might just say to hell with it, with the uh the, the proper pathing. Here, guys, soldiers, come in here and assault. Oh, I Took radiation damage. No, man. Ah, crap. You gotta take another Prussian blue remedy. I've only got like three left, I think. Oh, here's the metal desks. Come on, fountain pen. That's what we're here for. That's oh, the only reason that we're here is for the freaking fountain pen. Someone was telling me they got like seven out of this place, and I'm gonna call baloney on that here in a second. Ah, uh, here we go. A couple more back here. Come on, fountain pen. Doesn't help that half of them are broken. All right, I'm gonna have to start using soldiers as mules here. Show me your inventory. How are we looking on ammo? We got a full mag at least. All right, here we go. Everybody, come with me. Let's just roll right through here. No mucking around. Okay, that gives me, oh boy. There's another way up. Holy crap, this place is really involved. Is this like a tier five POI? I just waltzed into. Oh boy, everyone's running out onto the rooftop area. Okay, everybody out here, please. It'd be nice if cops had a little bit more ammo on them. Five bullets, five nine mil. How about this guy here? How much? How many bullets did he have? Ooh, 43, much better, and some weapon parts, perfect. Here we go, back in, up the, I don't know what this is, the elevator shaft maybe? Okay, everybody come up here. Okay, I accidentally dropped my backpack there. Get that back. Whoops, ow. Whoa, there's a whole bunch of people up here. Okay, everybody come with me. Oh, this is like the prisoner area. Oh, and there's reds everywhere. That's nice. Oh boy, come on guys. Lay down some freaking suppressing fire. I gotta do everything myself around here. Oh, out of ammo. Here we go. This is when it gets real tricky. Go crap, I'm on fire. I need a first aid kit. I need a painkiller. Here we go. That was close. That was really, really close. Ooh, soldiers are taking a beating too. I, we can't kill this biker. This biker's killing us. It's bad player. What a surprise. Okay, well that was a fast and furious kind of floor clear here. Not bad, but I'm kind of scared to see what the main loot area is gonna be like because we've had two vicious waves now. Jeez, I'm really disappointed in this place so far. If I could just get a damn pen. All right, I gotta stock up another person's inventory. Okay, this elevator shaft goes down of all places and I have not seen the elevator shaft before, so. Okay, here we go, another chance here. No good. I guess we can try the filing cabinets as well. Good for recipes sometimes. Okay, I do think that we're just heading down though from here. I feel like we're, we're back down to the ground level where we've been before. That is a deep cuts pair of glasses. I will toss those on for just a second since we're not encumbered right now. Oh, that goes down again. Okay, I see. Oh, there's a little, uh, little thing that goes out here. Might as well stash the inventory then. You know what's, I'm very pleased that we haven't seen a seeker. And I, you know, some would say, you know, don't speak too soon. I'd be okay with handling a seeker at this point, but uh, just to have had like a full day basically to clear a POI without an event, without a horde, without a seeker, pretty much uninterrupted. I just heard a tree fall down somewhere and there's no way up from this ladder once you go down. I don't like that. I'm gonna fix that right there. And I don't have any bullets. That's, that stinks. <laughs> All I've got's the sickle. And we're going down into the parking area below. Another tree fell down. Who's knocking down trees outside? Okay, I see bubbles down there. Take care of him. I'm just gonna pick this open so I can remain relatively quiet. I'm gonna guess, uh, uh, 375. So, 687. Well, that's very good. I like that. 
Oh, and that, that did wake everybody up. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, yes. This is it. Is this it? Is this the boss fight? Oh, jeez. It's feeling like a boss fight. Oh, boy. They're all in the ceiling. Holy crap. There's a lot of them. Guys, please don't catch on fire when I do this. Oh, I just set myself on fire. Why not? All right. Just uh, keep running. Keep running. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what I can do here. I certainly can't fight these guys with the freaking sickle. Um, where are my soldiers? Get down here and freaking shoot. All right, gonna need, um, gonna need coffee and just keep running circles. I'm just gonna kite them around and let the soldiers do all the work. Except Dank is on fire and Pixie maybe as well. Pixie! No, 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 no. Here, run this way, run this way and we are retreating. Pixie, don't you dare. Here, out, out, out. I can't get out. No, Pixie died. Damn it. Snitty is probably on his way out as well if I can't get us out of here. Oh my god. This is terrible. Put a friggin' ladder down. It's nightfall now. There we go. Bring the soldiers back up here. Oh, Pixie, no. All right, let's get the, the guys bandaged back up a little bit here. Are you guys, you're able to shoot through the security gate. Why weren't you able to shoot through the security gate the last time we tested this out? That's ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know. But that's good to know because I'd like to use that shape. Oh, is everybody dead down here now? Okay, guys. Come on down here. And we'll see what's going on. It looks clear now. This is... Oh, that's um, Pixie's backpack there. Crap. Pixie, we hardly knew ya. Pixie should be... Where did I even hire Pixie? I don't even remember. Somewhere in the wasteland. Uh, there's a possibility that Pixie is going to be at the location where we hired her and then we'll have to rehire her but we'll have to pay a higher price to do it so that's a possibility but also sometimes when they die they ju they're just gone forever there's a bit of like a, a i don't know uncertainty there i guess what do we got in here we actually have a really massive main loot wow Th i feel like this is definitely worth it too and you know what i'm gonna do just to benefit What's that go to? Oh, that opened up the garage door out here. Oh, nice. That's really cool. So I'm going to go stash my stuff. I think I have a pair of Lucky Looter glasses now. So I'm going to toss them on for this main loot. There we go. We're in. Mm. Okay, we got the gold nuggets we were looking for there. Blade trap bundle. That's pretty cool. That should be good for 10 blade traps. And really not, not great. Ooh, look at that, a compound crossbow, robotic sledge, another spiked hammer, which just be selling that, quite honestly. Compound Don't bow, double barrel shotgun, this. actually getting decent loot here. Just not the one thing we came for, which was the fountain pen. I'm going to go back upstairs, though. I think we're good. I'm not encumbered. I've spread out the inventory a little bit over the companions. I've got the run speed bonus from the uh, red tea, the red bull, if you will. And um, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty spicy right now. So I think we can kind of reverse engineer this place and see what we can find. So I definitely think there was stuff that I missed. I think predominantly on like the second and third floors. Ah, like this. I missed this room here. How do I get in there? <laughs> or probably through this way. Not bad. Okay, at this point, I've made my way back through the entire POI. Oh, I didn't search this one room here. This is pretty much our last gasp here. Oh, a cigar! Which is not too bad. We do need that, but we need the fountain pen first. Oops, that's it for that. Try the crowbar again. Yeah, that's doing way worse. Try the ratchet on this. This is pretty, this is good. Not bad. Pick up these last blueberries just to increase our farming skill. Take the mechanical parts off of these chairs and man, oh, I'm totally just wasted again here. Get rid of all this crap again. Don't need this crap. Definitely just ready to get out of here and go home. We have a ton of loot to go through. 
And we don't have very far to go, so I can't even be bothered to turn around. We'll just back it right into the house. Okay, that was a really massive loot haul, so I'm just gonna try to throw all of it into my storage from here if I can. There we go. More, and it's morning. All right, let me get this all organized, and we will probably have to go do some quests or something. I don't know. We'll think about what to do later on today. All right, I just crafted a Charisma Injection, which gave us, like, maybe 10% of that skill. Take a Prussian Blue, which will help reduce our radiation poisoning. Start getting some replacement first aid bandages. Oh, check this out. The cigar actually gives you bartering plus 10% and loot stage bonus plus 10%. That's going to be hard to get rid of <laughs> using... Uh, as part of the recipe to make the trade aura. See, we need the cigar. We've got, we've almost got the gold. We've almost, we just need a couple more gold nuggets, one more diamond. We've got the steel. We need the fountain pen to make the blueprint and we have the cigar. Oh, it's also worth mentioning that I tried to repair the robotic drone this morning or yesterday morning. I was using the electrical repair kit, which says it's good for drones, but it didn't work and I couldn't figure out how, how else to do it. So, you know. I guess we don't have a drone anymore. All right, just check it all the workstations here. I think we're good now. We're up to oh, over a thousand rounds now of 762, so I'm feeling a lot better about that. Get the lucky looter glasses on for now. It's probably good to just keep those with me. I'm gonna bring the mother load glasses with me as well because I'd like to do uh, the treasure map. So I'll also need the treasure hunter glasses and then maybe also bring the daring adventure glasses. We, we're bringing too many glasses with us. We need to like pick and choose probably. No, that's probably good for now. Let's, um, probably we should do a mission for Wrecked today to work on our charisma skill. All right, I got a set of off-road headlights here, and I did craft up... That was all my fuel. Holy crap. That used a lot of gas. Yeah, I, I, I used all the oil shell to make gas, and then I just filled up the tank, so... <laughs> we gotta do more oil shell mining. Nice. All right, just stopping by Wrecked here, see if he's selling anything that I need, and we'll pick up a quest from him. Then we're gonna go dig treasure and then do the quest. I'll take the fetch and clear at the rural church. That's a super easy one. It won't take but a couple of minutes to blow through there. All right, for now, though, we're heading to Raphael's treasure map. Oh, wow, I'm just seeing that there's an airdrop kind of over in that direction there. You can check that out on the way through. Can I see that from here? I can, and I never marked it. You guys are doing great. Just continue covering me. Make sure I have my mother load glasses on for the digging portion, and then for the treasure opening portion, we'll have the treasure hunter glasses on. And I'll take some coffee. Should have brought a yucca juice with me so that I could get more damage to topsoil and stuff like that, but it is what it is. We need the clay soil anyway. We just ran out making bullet casings. All right, here we go. Took my time on purpose so we could get all the extra resources. Ooh, and then I don't have uh, a repair kit yet for the pickaxe, so... Well, we could just pick into it. Good old-fashioned way. There we go, we're in. And before I jump into it, I'm gonna throw on my treasure hunter glasses, which will give me treasure hunter plus one, which will give me 10% more items in the treasure. And see what we get out of this. Ooh, we got the gold, and that's it, basically. Otherwise, complete waste of time. Whatever, we're off to that airdrop. I'll meet you there. Okay, here we are. We've been here recently, digging up farm plots and doing quests and things like that. Where is it? Oh, I... Always throws me off that I exit on the passenger side there. Okay, so for this one, though, lucky looter glasses on. And see what we can pull out of it. Oh, 500 cobblestone cubes. That is a really good find. Really, really good. Okay, so now we are off to the tier three fetch and clear at the church. I will meet you there. All right, here we go. We're at the spot. Nothing fancy about this place. In fact, I might not even bring the soldiers with me. I'll just post them up out here. Stay where I'm standing. And Dank, stay where I'm standing, and I'll do this solo. Here we go. There we go, look at that. I got the war drums and it said I was on a rampage. That was so cool. All right, super easy mission there. I've got the supplies. We just gotta grab the loot and we're done. Good old fashioned vanilla POIs. 
pretty easy when you compare him to like the compo pack POI that we did yesterday. But I won't complain because we got very well rewarded for the mission that we did yesterday. There we go. We're in. What did we get? Oh, did I have? Oh, I, yes, I still had the right glasses on. That is good. Otherwise, got some 7.62s. Timed charges. I won't say no to that as much as I hate doing the lock picking minigame. There we go. That's it. All right. Well, we'll see how much. Well, our charisma is actually like halfway increased at this point. Maybe it might be worth like just cranking out a few more quests. Yeah, let's make that our goal. Instead of, I was thinking about doing the Apex code, but we'll maybe make that a, a mission for next time. For today, let's just focus on questing. And uh, what I'll take today, I guess, is the steel spear and the ratchet. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up a couple of like clear jobs then. Yep, we'll take this house here. Ooh, we gotta fetch and clear at the gun store. And then I'll take this restore power at this farm here, just in case we run into nighttime. All right, boys, let's do this. Ooh, they're all in the same part of town too, perfect. Let's go. All right, shouldn't have any issues at all in here. In fact, I'm still gonna leave the soldiers outside to guard me or to just at least notify me if we're under attack. And I will put my extra glasses that I don't need away in here. I think I'll just, uh, I'll take the mother load glasses or the um, lucky looter glasses, put everything else away and let's do this. So far, not much. I did get a robotic drone, which might be helpful on like Horde Knight and things like that. Ooh, a Samurai Club. I think we found that once before. And that's it. The quest is done and we're out of here. Up to, ooh, the gun store. Yes, fetch and clear. All right. Oh, whoop, oh, oh. we need soldiers with us. Oh, the stupid vehicle. Oh, got some freeloaders out here. You know what I might do for this one? is double loot. I'm gonna double loot this place. We need the loot. Right, so before we activate the quest, we're just gonna poke into the gunsmith portion, loot that, and then we'll circle back around and do it all over again. I don't typically do this, but I'm in desperation mode right now, basically. Desperate for guns, desperate for ammo, desperate for money from selling all this stuff. Ooh, what is this? A Yanyue Dao Spear. What does that look like? Oh, that looks super cool. Nice. We're not specced into it though, so it's gonna be basically useless for us. Another compound crossbow. Making out pretty good in the loot today, actually. Oh, we're still pulling the rusty sickles. Man, I'm pulling out like high tier weapons for other classes, other like uh, the spear class and things like that, not for my own. Really wouldn't mind getting uh, like a, a upgraded, I don't know, whatever we get for an upgraded sickle. All right, boys, inside here, please. And let's do battle. Whoops, oh my God, these fast running zombies always get me pinned. And these guys can catch me on fire and I'm already not doing well on the hit points. So be careful and take a first aid kit. That should have that cured my uh, deep laceration there anyway, so I needed that. Okay, we're in. Man, it's such a dirty trick. That's a, a reserve fuel tank to put a loot chest on top of a cobblestone pallet like that. I've made that mistake before, you know. Desert Vulture schematic. Punch turret. Pump shotgun. And another compound bow. If anything, we're gonna make good money selling all this stuff. All right, I won't bother you with the uh, the whole do-over, so we're just gonna blow through this place and I'll catch up with you at the loot. Ooh, another cigar, nice. Another iron mace. I'm definitely feeling the cigar and the lucky looter glasses that we have on making a big difference here. Look at this. A Marine Force Sawback Bowie Knife. Wow. Finally making a bit of a jump in loot. There's been a jump in difficulty and a jump in the loot. Loving it. Okay, don't forget while you're here to jump up here and get yourself this uh, weapon bag over here. Nothing good today, but sometimes you never know. 
Oh, you know what? We should have probably um, gotten the hidden stash out of here. The last time we were here. Watch out, there's a zombie. There's one of these things here somewhere. Where are you? There he is. Oops! I missed! Oh, I missed again! I'm on fire! What's new? I've been on fire a lot today. Not in a good way either. Laser sight! Go! Oh. Hello there! That was easy. Oh, one more pounding in from outside. In the nuts. Slight fire here. Let's get a move on. Increased my intelligence a little bit. Otherwise, I think that was it for here. Oh, dank. You need to get out of there, buddy. I'm gonna burn to death. Also, I did not find the supplies. They are still this way. Holy crap, holy crap, super fire. Ow. Man, what's wrong with you guys? Your one task is to protect me while I'm distracted looting. Wow, we are pulling out some serious loot today. Oh my god, a titanium long dark blade. I will have a little bit of a look at that. Whoa, man, did I choose the wrong class or what? These are cool weapons. And a regular old steel spear. Good for selling. Don't need the garbage down there. One more zombie to kill, I think, and it's the guy in here. I got it, don't worry. That was it, we can return to Trader. However, that did not level up our charisma skill, so we've gotta still do... Crap, we're full. We've gotta still do the restore power quest. Well, we're not gonna be able to fully loot this place. I might just grab the main loot once we're done with the fight. Also, I'm gonna have to get uh, you guys to hold on to some stuff for me. All right, we're good to go. Let's hit it. This is a pretty serious mission here. Ow! Where did you all come from? Holy crap! I'm on fire! Crap, I feel like, is this a freaking horde? Because there's a lot of lag right now. It's a damn horde and I'm bleeding! Okay, just pump a first aid kit into me. We're gonna have to pull out the, the big guns here and just wait. Oh, it's a wandering horde for sure. Look at this. Keep an eye on the soldiers here. Make sure they're not burning to death. Holy crap, man! Friggin' surprise! Okay. Yes! I need Red Bull maybe here in a second. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Now! On fire again. That's okay. Let it burn. I've got hit points rolling in still. 68 of them. Okay. Dank's getting beat up. Dank's super tough though. He should be fine. Snitty is a little bit worse for the wear as well. Burning through way too much ammo here. Time to switch over to melee. Mo, there. I no idea what he's doing. Nope. She could catch me on fire, so look out. Got her in the back. Oh, Screamer, of course. Nice. This is just a great night. And we've already hit the quest, too, so we can't leave the perimeter. Okay, less noise, more melee. Unfortunately, I do think that um, the soldiers are generating heat as well. Okay, are we good here? We're looking better, at least. I imagine we're probably going to call in another Screamer, because we still got to clear out the whole damn POI. Oh my goodness. This just never ends here, especially at night. Nighttime is the worst. Okay, beer maybe helps. Not sure. Probably. Gives me some extra armor, at least. Red tea. I'm just going to take that so we can move through here more quickly. And another red tea. I'll hold on to that one and an extra steroid, which is nice, because the one I have might be... About to wear off, I'm not sure. All right, I'm not uh, not really keen on fussing around here. Nope, that's a repairable one. I was kind of hoping that would be a real one, a working one. Okay, just run through here. If you're a zombie and you're alive, or, you know, alive-ish, come out and play with me, please. In here, we got zombies? Hello? Yep, whoop. Oh, I might, might have pinned myself in there a little bit. Oh, <laughs> just bounced off of someone's head to get out. Snitty is about... Snitty died. Oh my god, this is a disaster. Snitty! Dank's not looking too good either, honestly. Alright, just try to pull Dank away from the massive crowds of zombies. Take him out. Doing good work, Dank. Keep it up. Try not to catch on fire. That would be... That would be bad. You're on fire now. Here. Don't be on fire. Good job, Dank. <laughs> He's having a great time. Don't worry about him. Okay, we haven't cleared the area. We haven't restored the power. 
We're not doing great. We've lost one soldier already. Where is the generator? It's over, it's in the barn here, isn't it? The barn is on fire. Nope, the generator is right here. Cover me, Dank, while I uh, fix this thing. There we go, that part of the mission's over. We just gotta find the rest of the zombies. Which, um, ooh, the whole chicken coop is on fire. So am I now. Great. Just, uh, slap a first aid kit into me. Dank's on fire now. Come on, Dank. Don't do this to me. Wow, I'm, like, burning really fast. That's, um, that's a different kind of fire. Oh my god, Dank, you're, you're also burning really fast. And Dank is... Dank is... Dead! Oh, jeez. I can also see that Dank is, like, 700 meters in this direction, which is... Home. So, I think Dank... Returned home. Yeah, so like the fire from a zombie is way different than the fire from a building and that's what killed him. Oh my god. So, okay, zombies are upstairs from here. Okay, the way to get there actually is through this tower and then up and in. Holy crap, though. Last one. Oh, not the last one. Get out of here. That was it. And it increased my charisma. So... There's something. We had some win today. Dank is definitely alive. He's just back home right now. I can see his health is regenerating now. So he just basically teleported. I'm into the main loot as the fire is raging right now. Okay, out, 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 out. Ow, I'm on fire again. Here, put that out with some uh, coffee or something. And I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm done. And we'll see. At least we get some money. Because we're going to need it to rehire our companions. If they're even hireable again. Yeah, 2,000 there. Not too bad. And I'm going to have to go with... Basically, whatever we can sell for the most. Serrated blade and crossbow. For the next one, we'll take... Uh, military boots. Because I'm wearing... Um, I'm wearing leather boots right now. And yes, robotic sledge. And for the next one, hand grenades with lever action rifle. And a bundle reward bonus. Oh, unfortunately, I was hoping he might have um, more block shapes for us, but no cigar. I should be able to pick two of these though, right? So I can get old cash, really the only one that I want. And uh, I think probably the iron armor bundle because it's gonna give me five armor pieces that I can sell. So yes, I'll take that. Special jobs hey, you need some work. Oh, to boy. the south. That might be the desert trader. All right, we're done here. So I'm going to head back to the base, get all the loot organized. I think Dank is full of loot as well. And then in, in the morning, I'm going to make an excursion into the wasteland, see if we can find Snitty and Pixie, because I know roughly where I hired them. And then we'll do the Apaxco building material quest. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. Yesterday was a very productive day of looting and nearly three cell chests are completely full. So this morning we'll be focusing on organization and figuring out our next moves. But later on, we'll start a major construction project over at the Sanctuary of Steel. Well, more like Sanctuary of Cobblestone, but we'll get there. I'm also going to spend around a full 24 hour period exclusively mining to set us up on resources for the week. Once everything is moved to the new base and organized, We'll recruit a new squad and assault the Apaxco for more building materials. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you, but now it's go time. All right, here we go. What's up, Dank? Dank is all better. He suffered some very critical injuries, but we were able to successfully Kazavec him back to the base here. The other two were KIA, unfortunately. Snitty and uh, Pixie, uh, lost forever. They could not be revived. I myself have suffered a severe infection, so. We go to the ever-depleting stock of medicine to stock uh, to take some antibiotics there. And otherwise, I'm looking pretty good. Look at the money, though. We've got $19,000. Okay, I used my blank, uh, whatever this was, training book, I guess it was, to make a better barter training book. So I'm going to read that. And if we check our skills, that gives me better barter level three, which says it unlocks the, the better st secret stash at the trader. Also, now that I'm charisma level six down here, we can go to charismatic nature and um, we could probably buy one of these from Briston 
and we can get a motivational speaker, which will allow us to hire three survivors. But remember, we have the glasses for charismatic nature as well, so that should pump us up to level four. So by the end of the day today, we should have a full squad of four soldiers. We just have to go out into the wasteland and find them. And it is sort of looking like uh, a lot of the parts of the garden are ready, so I can harvest some of this stuff up. I'm not sure if I should use my hands or not, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my hands. And just a couple of extra seeds to slap down here. Really anything. I, I'm not too concerned about what crop we're growing at this point. I just want to, like, level up our skill in it as quickly as possible. There we go. Okay, so I had a little bit of a busy morning, so we can see here, you've probably seen this already, but um, massive amount of stuff in these cell chests to get rid of. I'm getting rid of all these extra mods. I've actually tested to see, and I'll show you this. So here we have Titanium Long Dark Blade, value 303, with a mod uh, value of 112. So individually, these would sell for... Four hundred and fifteen dollars. If I modify and I put the blade onto the item, it's only selling for three hundred sixty-four. So I guess it's best to just sell your mods individually. That's why I'm doing that. I figured I had to point that out, or someone would try calling me out on it. <laughs> so there's a ton of money to be made, and unfortunately, I don't have any traders over here with me. So we're going direct. It's gonna take a bunch of trips to the car to fill it up in the process of getting all my stuff over there. All right, hop in, Dank. Let's get out of here. Yeah, probably what we should do is instead of going to Wrecked, let's just go over to our trainers because I have duplicates of so many items that it'd just be easier to sell everything to them and then switch over to the next one. Yeah, here we are. I do hear some M60 fire, which, quite honestly, I know I've changed my mind a hundred times on this, but if I found another soldier with an M60, that person is hired. Okay, just uh, cautiously approach here. It's, uh, it's Logan Weaver with an M60. Show me your qualifications. Yo, you're so hired. You are on the team. Welcome. Nice. Logan Weaver and Dank Jeans. The squad is halfway assembled again. Nice. We could do Reverend Andy here, but he's got the Desert Vulture. It's just, it's doesn't have the fire. Is that another person with an M60 out here? It totally is. Oh my God. <laughs> Am I gonna hire you as well? Who is it? Who is it? It's the old Razzle Dazzle. Razzle. You, can I hire you? Well, I'm not even going to check specifications. You're just hired outright. We have three M60 soldiers. Hey, we need it. I'm not complaining. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to get Razzle Dazzle a new outfit because you got the same outfit as Dank. So I will do that in just two seconds. I want to do the sell off here first. All right, Briston, get your pocketbook out. Whoops. Oh, is that the mercenary thing? It is. Nice. Nerdy Nat. Show me your inventory and give me that mercenary protection tier three. And we can read this. And uh, that should give me the ability to hire. I'm just going to take a look at them right now. They'll uh, they'll be available again in a couple minutes. So, okay, we've got um, Nerd How here. Whoa, the mercenaries are getting very weird looking. Holy crap, they look pretty cool too. We got three of them now. That is pretty cool. Wow. Look at our squad now. We're gonna be fully stacked, man, when we go over to the Apaxco here in a day or two. Okay, now I've spent like half of my money today. Let's try to make some more. Okay, that's it for selling. Let's see how much we got there. I've a whole bunch of money. 25,000 there and another three grand here. My goodness, we're up to like 28 grand. All right, there we go. We're rich. We've got a new, I nicknamed him Razzle Dazzle, but this is the old Razzle Dazzle. And so we got Dank, and then we've got Logan back here. Oh, everyone's got an excellent outfit now. I can tell you all apart. It's perfect. And everyone's got a good weapon. I don't have to worry so much about you guys holding your own. Okay, let's uh, go on a spending spree now. We've got to get some skills once and for all here. Make oh, sure uh, wait a minute. The first thing I need to buy here... Oh, we got new names for these guys too. And they'll have new names again when I move them to their final position. But Carrie Haley here. Let's buy the Aura Reference Book. And read that, or no, you know, recipes first. And um, I think that the, the one I'm going to go for first is the trade aura. But probably a close second is going to be armor penetration. Because I think that'll help against, like, seekers and demons and whatnot, maybe. I don't know. Uh, so we want to craft the trade aura book. Basically, uh, Ramsey came out with a video on his channel to explain this. And I, I thought that I had a good grasp of it, but I didn't. So I've got to use the trade aura book. Hang on, that didn't work. Oh crap, we've got to be level 6 in our class. Okay, we'll put a pin in that one. So basically, how it works is you've got to read the trade aura book, which will activate this trade aura 
thing over here and that will give us objectives to kill skateboarder zombies once we kill enough skateboarder zombies it will unlock levels in this um this sort of quest line here and uh, we can get up to 40 percent increased buying and selling power by doing this we also will need the trade or a thing that we're trying to craft with the cigar and the gold nuggets and the diamonds in order to activate that ability. It's complicated, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, I've, I'm done with vanilla. I've learned vanilla through and through. It's nice to have some new stuff to learn, to do, to understand. I'm not complaining one bit. I actually really like this. The more complicated, the better. Okay, so that's at least done. I have that. Let's now get some, okay, yes, some mother load. That's good. How about um, a couple of points into Pack Mule? That would be nice as well. Really can't go wrong with a, another point into Parkour. He does have the Charismatic Nature one. Okay, let's buy that. And with the money that's left over, let's hang on to it because I kind of want to see if I can buy an Augur, although I'm going to just assume that it's going to be out of my price range even with this much money. All right. That's two books into Pack Mule, which should have opened up eight slots in the inventory that's a huge help charismatic nature now if we put the charismatic nature glasses on we might even already have them on do i no i have the lucky looter glasses on right now but let's go we'll go put those on and that will allow us to craft another survivor today and we should have enough money to do that okay yeah that's a good plan couple points into mother load i think these are like 10 percent a piece let me double check on that though that would be yeah, that's 10% more resources flat out every time I do it. And now we also have an increased chance to find silver, gold, and diamonds with each block that we mine. And an extra point into parkour, which um, just gives me jump 30% higher. And the next one will increase our fall distance. I feel like we've hit a turning point where like I can finally actually make money and I can actually buy the skill points from Briston. And I'm feeling like uh, having a new Dalmatian, quite honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. New dog, please. Thank you. It is Stone Wyvern. Go ahead and follow me, Stone Wyvern, along with the whole crew today. I'm not going to do this all alone. Let's all hop in the vehicle here. And I want to first head over to the Wasteland Trader. There's two of them. I think it's Jenna and Joel, maybe, or Jenna and Hugh, maybe. And then uh, if they don't have what we're looking for, we'll go check on Wrecked. And then after that, basically, we're going to be starting the mining project. Oh my god, Trader Hugh has the fountain pen. Whoa, <laughs> sorry, that just... uh completely took me by surprise there we go that's done at least nope oh, these guys don't have what we're soon? looking for oh and i wanted to check while we're here these firearm repair kits okay so it's definitely it's still just not worth it i guess to to buy repair kits repair items and then sell them i just don't think that the value is there especially with the resources too because it's using like steel and mechanical parts and all kinds of weird stuff uh, how about all right wrecked what do you have okay he doesn't have an auger either i guess that i i was under the impression that that was more or less like you know, high percentage, but, you know, with three traders now, no auger, so... Oh well, I guess we're gonna be mining the old-fashioned way. Okay, so now we need to come up with a plan for what to do. Is there an airdrop over there? Oh yeah, that's the one from earlier today. Let me just go mark that, and we'll pick it up here soon. Right, so, okay, so the agenda here is to... We gotta do lots and lots of mining, we've gotta build the base, we gotta move everything over. That's really the only couple of things that I want to get accomplished. We also have to get onto... And uh, an odd, actually, I have the Lucky Looter glasses on me right now, so let's just go pick this up on our way through. The plan here is we have to get onto an odd day cycle so that um, when Horde Night happens on day 30, it's going to be in the middle of the episode because I don't want to be in a position where, because, you know, the Horde Nights just drag on and on and on, right? So I don't want to be in a position where I'm trying to wrap up an episode, but the, <laughs> the Horde is just continuing to attack, you know what I mean? So we have to do, it's, anyway, it's going to be a three-day episode, and we'll try to, like, expedite things along with uh, time-lapse montages. What do we get here? Food bundle. Ooh, fish tacos, nice. And a first aid kit. I'd rather get 500 cobblestone cubes if you've got a couple to spare, but uh, anyway. Right, what did we say we're going to do? We're going to do some mining. I have to go back to the base, though, before we do that, and um, grab up the proper eyewear and all that stuff. All right, definitely gonna take the mother load glasses. I saved this pistol here because isn't the pistol used to make an SMG auto turret? Thought that I saw that somewhere. It is, right. So if we wanted to make a few of those, which I do here eventually, then uh, that's what we'll need. Ooh, extra 7.62. Well, look at that. We're all, we're just like that. We're up to 1,500 rounds of 7.62. Nice. Right, and fountain pen can go in here and I can get the... 
uh, what was it called again? The Trade Aura Blueprint. We have the ink, we have the dye, we got the paper, we're good. Oh, the other thing that I got was, um, I boiled a whole bunch of water, didn't I? It's in here. Yeah, oh, look, I made like <laughs> hundreds of boiled water because um, I don't want my guys to be on fire. I, I didn't have water to put them out before. That's why we lost our old crew there. Right, I think, okay, so we've got the, We've got the golden rod, that'll help with mining. I'm gonna grab up the yucca juice as well because that'll be good for some clay digging because we're gonna be doing some clay digging today. I am already dehydrated, so we'll pump some beer into us. Beer is good for drinking, you know. And fish tacos are good for eating, but also will increase my damage with melee weapons by 50%. Wait a minute. Oh, and the sous chef class actually gets bonus modifiers to that, I just saw. Uh, where did- I made some gumbo stew as well. What is this doing for me? Immune to fire! Whoa, that is a good one, especially because if we're going to the desert or something, uh, only a minute and 30 seconds per level of iron gut. Okay. Yeah, because the desert is full of those fire immune zombies. Also, it would be good to eat on Horde Night a little bit. So Iron Gut has five levels. We have zero, of course, because we're, we're just so good at, you know, leveling stuff up right now. <laughs> also, uh, the, yeah, those are some good benefits, I feel like. Chance of dysentery is reduced. Buffs from the consumables last longer. Food and water loss. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we should probably focus on that a little bit at someday. So I suppose if I'm just trying to fill my hunger bar, probably bacon and eggs will be fine. Speaking of eggs, though, isn't there a chicken coop? Chicken coop is locked. There must be a schematic for it somewhere, somehow. Easy to make, though. I do want chickens. We have IV. We've just been holding IV in, in the in the bathroom prison for <laughs> 25 days now. I think I caught him, like, very, very early on there. All right, just making sure that everything is crafting away here. And uh, let me grab some lighting, and then we'll be off to do some mining. Okay, so that will do it for mining and shoveling because I just broke my shovel and my yucca juice ran out anyway. And I earlier I heard like target acquired like robotic voice. I'm thinking it might be that guy up there. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Nothing, no one ever came by. So is this the guy over here? Oh my God, it is. And he's totally messed up, man. <laughs> wow, this is this cyborg. Must be a traitor network experiment for sure. It's another variant of the ND22Z0 variety of monster. <laughs> this one obviously has some, well, and also our dog seems to be affected by it as well. It might have some sort of like aura hovering ability, but definitely malfunctioning. So let's just see, it's a rogue cyborg. See what he had on him. Yep, just the typical stuff that you'd expect to see on a cyborg there. Loot bag here, nothing good in it. Okay, so we're basically, we're done mining. The daylight, we got the daylight again. So what I'm gonna do is probably, I'm gonna head over to the base there, get stuff rolling in terms of smelting and crafting and cement and all that stuff. And then um, we will probably start base construction. And then I think we'll return here tomorrow night for some more mining. Uh, but also I'm gonna have to look around and see if there's any nitrate around here. Yeah, I don't see any. We could just keep digging down there until we find it, but actually there is a nitrate mine right over there. I might start a fresh mine over there. We need the nitrate for the gunpowder. Uh, I think pretty much everything else we can pull out of this mine here. There's lead, iron, small stone, large stone, sand, and uh, coal I think is all down there. And we'll pick up the soldiers in just a second. I'm just gonna be stopping here for a moment. We had a whole bunch of screamers show up and then just get promptly wasted by our crew. <laughs> It's that's the way to go. I mean, you could build a fort around your um, uh, your mine, or you could just have a bunch of soldiers. And yeah, look at that, making that cement there will be all we can do. We're out of oil shale now. Although I think last night I did craft, I I started crafting a whole bunch more gasoline. Right. Otherwise, we made 
it looks like about almost 30,000 iron, 8,000 lead, 6,000 coal, 3,000 clay soil. All right, let's get it all rolling then. 1,400 bullet casings, 4,000 bullet tips. We're gonna start making the AP 762 ammo and I'll roll with regular 762 for the day to day and probably on Horde night, I'll just use seven, uh, the armor piercing variety. Oh, the nail gun, wow, good thing I saw that because I've been planning on making it for days now. We found the schematic for it a while back. That's gonna take five minutes, but that's fine because we're just gonna be building here for the foreseeable future. Ooh, and finally, wow, look at that. We can get rolling on 2,400 concrete mix. Still held back by crushed sand. And you know, we're about to get a whole bunch more cement out of the Apaxco, hopefully in case, you know, unless everyone dies, I guess. But yeah, so sand is really what holds us back the most on that. And to get more sand, you gotta crush up the small stone, which even 9,000 of it only makes me 1,800. Well, I guess I don't really need the small stone for much else. Actually, I do need that to make uh, more concrete mix. And it's okay. We'll get more mining tomorrow night. And for now, I should be, I should have like 700 or something or 642 cobblestone cube shapes. We'll bring over some more cobblestone. We'll bring over some cement, some concrete mix, I should say. And uh, I'll bring some wood planks just in case. And let's go do some base construction. All right, everyone's posted up into position here and I wanna go over the trick here. So the feedback has been mostly good, but during the Horde Night episode, a lot of people voiced their opinion that um, I've bit off more than I can chew here. And you know, basically all I have to say to that is I want this to be a challenge. Basically, I've played Rebirth on like regular Horde Night settings and it's an absolute cakewalk. Like a, a base like this with three or four companions, there's no threat, no threat whatsoever. The, the zombies don't even make it up to the wall, basically. It's no contest. And so we could play on Horde Night Plus and we could turn off Horde Night Turbo or we could proceed how it is right now and see how it goes. And that's gonna be the plan. We're gonna see how the day 30 Horde goes. And we'll take it from there. I'm flexible, but for now, I'm not giving up on this. This is a game and games are meant to be beaten. And that's what we're gonna do here. We are going to beat this game. We're gonna figure it out and whoops. Oh, no, 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 no. We got a bear coming in for Logan over here. Toxic bear, no, 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 get out of here. All right, give me that stuff. Um, how are you doing? Did that hurt you at all? Nah, you're pretty, pretty tough. Some people were very observant that topsoil blocks or soil blocks, all of these blocks right here are essentially undamaged. No damage taken to soil. And I talked to Ramsey, the author of the mod, and he said that the reason for that is because seekers would basically just bury themselves in the ground every time they appeared. And so as a way of preventing that, he has made their damage to topsoil. Basically, they don't do any damage at all to soil or to topsoil. And so that's what I'm gonna build my base out of. I mean, I'm not gonna build the whole base out of it, but I'm gonna build the foundation out of it <laughs> so that they can stop collapsing everything over here. So if they do happen to dig down here, they can, you know, zombies can dig, right? The zombies will be able to dig through it, but at least we'll have some explosion resistance underneath the important parts of the base. Just gonna do some patchwork here real quick. They did knock out one entire support, so we'll have to wait until we get some topsoil in to repair that. In fact, I actually need to get some topsoil right now. I'm gonna come down here to the lake side. They've been <laughs> doing a lot of damage over here. Grab a little bit of topsoil because we need to set up a good foundation for the one of the support columns that they knocked out during the horde. So that way we can get on top of the base and build out the main structure. I'm really hoping that Ramsey doesn't come up with some kind of a patch that nerfs this idea of using topsoil to prevent block damage, explosion damage to the foundation. Ramsey, don't you dare. Don't you dare fix this. I gotta have something to fall back on here. All right, so with that support column dressed up, it's time to hop on top of the base and start laying out the final form of the base, which is gonna be big garage uh, on one side and crafting area on one side, basically fighting area on the whole other side. Alright guys, how about that? That was pretty fun to put that together. Uh, like I said before, I design all of my bases on paper, but to see it 
in its final form is really, really satisfying. So my plan is, let's just do this now and get it over with. I want to have my soldiers down here on this line with me holding the gateways here, and I'm gonna have the trainers all, I think we'll have five of them in total at the end. We'll have them all up here. And I did have to do some testing to make sure that they can actually like shoot off of a ledge like this, and it did work. So I'm gonna post them up here, and we will see how it performs on Horde Knight. Just gonna cost me a little bit of money, 250 each. At this point, it's yeah, pretty much pocket change. So everybody come upstairs with me. The, uh, the tricky thing is here, I wanted to put bars on the top, but look at this. In order to place these guys down, I have to be able to like set them on top of this little ledge here. So let's uh, center these guys up. We'll put Briston in the middle. Briston is like the commander here, right? Commander in chief, oh, Briston. No, and then uh, this guy over here, that'll be Zedinator now. And the witch doctor guy, Zoe Carter Brown over here. And uh, if um, if all goes to plan, that should be your final locations. And then we'll do handy woman over here and then black shield dude over here. And then like soldiers, you know, one, two, three, four right here with me and uh, Yep, the dog will just kind of hang out in here. He's like, he's a pep dog. This is not like, we'll put him away <laughs> um, if I can anyway. Can I actually pick you up? Yes, come with me. Okay, so I can just pick him up and put him away. He is just the base pet. He is not for fighting. Here, come up here and hang out with the guys. And stay where you're standing. Okay, look at that. Yeah, out of gas there. We're going to need more engines too because we did actually get um, a blade trap bundle. So we have 10 blade traps. And I think I'm going to set them up out here. I don't want to put them down there because, you know, obvious reasons, but up here they might have some more function to us. And, man, especially if I could figure out a way to, like, be able to repair them at the same time. How would that, how would that work? Could I maybe put, um, blade traps, like, out here somewhere? And then maybe be able to repair them from up there? It's, um, not, maybe not a bad idea. Like if we had a blade trap there, there, and there and even potentially like five of them going across like that and put a blade trap on each one of those do you think i could repair that because my plan on horde night really is um is basically going to be uh mind control brew because we're getting really close to the point where our black magic if we can get level seven we can turn radiated undead which is pretty much you know what we were facing during horde night so um, if I get the mind control brew and I just kind of selectively turn zombies to our side, that'll like distract them so bad. We've seen that with the mercenaries, with the skeleton warriors, and with the horror panther. It's really good to have uh, zombies turned onto your side during horde night. So I'll be sitting here trying to turn them over, let my allies do all the shooting for me. I will try to conserve my ammunition as much as possible, only selectively kind of shooting at seekers and things like that, trying to get the kills. And yeah, that, that's looking like it's going to be way too far away from up here. Maybe, maybe from down here. Like if I had this door over here activated, can't do it because we're out of gas. But maybe I could reach it from here. Oh, I don't know. That's also still just looking too far away. So maybe we just set them up there and let them blow up. I don't know. Right. Well, that's pretty much it. So let me just guide you through it. So we're going to put a ramp out there and we'll have a drawbridge here that folds down this way to the other end of the ramp so that we can drive up and drive out and head right into town. This will be a big, like tall ceiling garage. I kind of like that idea. I was thinking when I was building... I didn't have this in the plan, but I might just make a balcony here that kind of juts out over this way a little bit, just because I think it would look cool. Uh, this here is going to be a 3x3 three three rolling door, and I'm also thinking to make a little window here to put uh, shotgun turrets in. So we'll have two shotgun turrets helping to cover this area. I sold a whole bunch of shotgun ammo, so I think we have plenty. We need to figure out how to start using it, quite honestly. Up here, we'll of course have our trainers shooting down on enemies coming up the ramp and all the enemies that are going to be out in the field there. And then I was also thinking that, because uh, this is going to be our main crafting level up here, what if we put some SMG turrets in this window, kind of like the, the shotgun turrets that will be down below, and that will help cover birds, and then in the future, the, um, the wraiths that are kind of flying around. I don't think it'll do much for them, but, um, you know, give us a way to use our 9 mil ammo as well. Okay, so I think from here, it's 2050. I think I'll just pull the soldiers up here just for safety reasons, and um, probably I will set down some storages in here somewhere, just kind of as a temporary thing. Get all of our stuff moved over here, get all the workstations set up up here, 
and then we'll move the land claim block over here and that should be that i'll have to leave the garden over in the the regular forest biome because um from what i've heard vegetables and things do not grow in the wasteland all right do you guys think are you guys gonna be okay I, i'm really nervous about leaving you guys down here but i also need you to cover the supports for now until we get the supports figured out because i was getting some uh yellow boxes when i was building stuff up there it should be fine so this counts as three support pillars here but they're not connected to bedrock just yet it is over here i think it's fine for now it will be fine so like basically i know a lot of you guys are typing comments right now Tim, the base is gonna collapse it's not gonna collapse guys if we come under heavy attack i'll just leave the area i'll, I'll pull them off uh, they would have to do quite a lot to collapse this base at this point and we will make sure of that oh look at this a wandering horde coming in right now anyway whoop <laughs> just evaporate him all right i guess i'm gonna i'm gonna hold the area i would like to level up my 762 so let's try to just get some um good headshot kills in if we can just like that this is the fastest way to level up the witch doctor class Ooh, i'm on a rampage too the game loves it when i get headshots i don't even know what a rampage is you have to have to ask ramsey about that or you know let me know because i haven't read anything that told me what a rampage was there we go i'll have to take a look and see that should have increased my tactical rifles quite a bit but i wasn't paying attention i'll, I'll show that to you in editing probably nice yeah we want to get to the point where um our tactical rifle skill is what's leveling up our witch doctor kill oh do you think maybe that little 10 there to the left of my crosshair holy crap lag spike there um do you think you, you can see it pretty well there is that my uh, kill streak maybe and i i get some kind of a bonus oh geez i should put rampage cooldown okay so rampage must be here so next time i'm on a rampage i gotta check and see what that's doing so much to learn on this mod my goodness it's really it's just so nice to like have a bunch of new things to figure out I think I already said that once before, but, you know, it bears repeating. Oh, I was just taking uh, Riston's inventory here. I was selling off some of the clothes from that horde there. And, uh, yeah, he has restocked, I think, so get a couple of extra mother load uh, things. My strength is level 10 now, so I shouldn't have any limitation to how much I can level up there. Okay, lots of gunfire going on here. I mean, wasteland at night, yes, but um, just make sure that this is nothing crazy. Oh, yeah, totally good. Just a... <laughs> Laying some suppressing fire out into the wasteland. Right, okay, mother load training. Use that. We need all the mother load we can get. How are we looking on money? 5,400. That should be enough to hire another person. We'll work on that more tomorrow. For now, it's all about... I'm going to move everything over here, move all the workstations over here, and then we'll do mining if there's any time left over after that. All right, guys, that just about does it. I'm just grabbing up the soldiers now to come with me because we're about to strike off into the wasteland. I've got most of everything moved over here. Uh, there's a little bit more stuff here, so I gotta grab all this stuff and move it up. I'm using the steroids so I can move everything around, but I'll show you what it looks like up top. So here's what we're looking at. We've got uh, plenty of room for all the crafting stations, at least I hope. Uh, there's probably going to be, it's probably gonna be a little bit cramped here eventually. This is not the final configuration for the storage. We will continue working on that later. Uh, I need more blocks to build with. And um, yeah, I just need more resources and things like that. We'll work on that in the coming days. Not really worried about that. Uh, we can poke around and do that at night. Uh, the big new next project is gonna be getting all this filled in and getting everything fortified and upgraded. All right, just a couple more things to put away here. And then uh, we'll head back to the house to get the Daring Adventurer glasses. There's still a couple of things I haven't quite brought over here yet, but nothing important. All the crafting stations are over here. Once I have everything ready to go, I will meet you off in the wasteland. We're going to go do the Apex Co. building material quest. Whoa, that was a far jump and sprained my leg. Great. Yep, here we go. The last thing here was just this shelf full of stuff here and a little bit of extra food and... Uh, nope. Whoops accidentally locked my fridge uh take the fridge 
And everything else I think can stay here. That's just some sellable stuff we can grab when, on our way through here someday. All right, what do we got here? I need, oh, what do we need anyway? I, oh, we need the charismatic nature glasses. Hopefully we'll find someone right off. I don't want to be searching all day. Everything else can probably just be stashed in here. Put all that away. Oh, I'm super thirsty. That's okay, I can probably just uh, take some boiled water and hope I don't get diarrhea, I guess. That's five, I made it without getting diarrhea. <laughs> that is a win in my book. All right, to the wasteland. All right, just crush that guy and check on who this is. Hello there. Johnny Randolph with the AK-47, not the worst. The good news is he will be here. I do hear M60 fire off in that direction though. So if, if things don't pan out and I don't find uh, a good soldier that I like the looks of, that has good stats, that has a good weapon, we can come back for Johnny over there. Oh, and this is just a bandit, unfortunately. I will kill you for the M60 because it's quite valuable, actually. To the tune of $282, not to mention he had some money on him. Very nice, and so did that guy. Okay, whoop, some uh, explosion, just mild explosions, no big deal, typical wasteland stuff. All right, I guess we're just driving around through town. I mean, once we get the proper crew, we're gonna head over to the Apaxco. It's pretty close by, less than a click away. We'll try not to venture too far here. Okay, I hear M60 fire again. Right over there, another bandit. I'm gonna kill him. Ow, whoa, take cover. There we go, down. This M60 worth a hundred bucks, kind of damaged. Another M60 there. Ooh, that is a regular old soldier. Survivor, whatever we're calling him. Come on guys, let's help him out. All right, it's Hobie. <laughs> oh, what's up Hobie? Okay, Hobie and Razzle look an awful lot alike. I am interested in hiring you 3,700. What, what's your armor rating, by the way? 25, okay, not too bad. Who is this guy over here? No! I'm trying to break my car, get away from here. Another, another rogue cyborg. There's also someone with an SMG nearby. That's another bandit though. I haven't hired Hobie because it's a bit complicated in order to get them to like the right appearance. All right, there we go. Hired, we've got Hobie. Hobie's got a brand new outfit. Very nice, we're looking good now. Four soldiers with M60s. Hey, that's what it takes around here. All right, I think this is it. Let's head over to Apaxco. Jeez, guys, we just bailed out and immediately got ambushed by a bandit over there who had a desert vulture that I'll check on. $119. Ooh, that's a kamikaze. Can you just blow up out there, please? Nope. Got him. Who is that? Is that a bandit? Uh, I can't tell from here, and I think I'm out of range. I need all of you to just stay put out here. Stay where I'm standing. Oh, yes, we are taking contact now. Okay, I got everyone staying put out here because what I need to do... I want to station all of my soldiers up on top of that wall, but there's a ton of friggin' mutants up there, or, or mutated zombies up there, that we need to take care of first. Just taking my time out here with the sprained leg, gotta let that heal. We don't want that to kind of last into this whole ordeal. This is gonna be quite a significant undertaking for us. Attack assault rifle worth $208, also doing a lot more damage than the one that I've been using. Lower magazine size, Increased uh, effective range and lower rounds per minute. What about mod slots? Four mod slots to the five that I currently have, but I think yeah, the, the just the base damage increase is significant enough for me. Friendly survivor over there. Okay, three, two, one. The sprain is healed. Put a first aid kit in so we can roll, reel all those hit points back in. And what are you shooting at? You guys need to stop shooting. Don't shoot. Well, you can shoot the birds. That's okay with me. Just preferably leave the zombies to me. I'm gonna prop myself up a ladder to get to the top here. Why is there electric zombies? What? What is this? No, man, I'm trying to do something. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, you guys focus on the little zombies. I'll focus on the big zombie. 
it was Dr. Hensforth. I've destroyed Dr. Hensforth. Oh, I think these are the POI zombies that I was trying to sneak up on. Great. Yep, yep. I think they're all bailing over the side of the wall. Yeah, here they come. Okay, well, I'd rather deal with them here than inside the POI, I guess. Okay, also, zombies are waking up from inside, which is okay. Dr. Hensforth, did you have any good loot on you? Um, we got a strength injection, which is useless to us. Can I sell it? Oh, I can sell it for a lot of money, actually. And a sensor schematic. Okay, a little bit of loot there. And more of these, um, mutated zombies here. Okay, I need to get my ass to the top here, because if I recall correctly, I don't think there's a staircase that goes up here, but there's a ladder that goes up here from the other side. Yeah, right here. Gotta knock this out, for sure. Oop, and that, uh, that woke some people up. No, no, no. Go away. That woke a lot of people up. Um, oh, jeez, did I, did I get it? Oh, I just drank something. Ow, oh, oh, bailing over the side here. Ow. All right, a couple good headshots there. The question is, did that work? Okay, this time, sneaky, stealthy, and don't use guns. Use crossbows. Right, because what I need to do is make sure that this ladder is just non-existent, if I can. Can I just, can I hit the ladder, please? Yeah, I don't think it's working. Okay, I'm gonna grab the crew, and the plan will be to post them up here. I can do my fighting down here somewhere, and they can cover me from up here. And, uh, Alaria out here can just, um, clear this area. It's, it's already quite the massacre, isn't it? And I can just whistle them up here, right here. And I can start posting them up over here. All right, let's see if that works. They are shooting at things now because they're no longer under my direct control. So stay where I'm standing. That should be the last one. Everyone should get up there into position to cover me. And now I just got to spawn in all the zombies in here. All right, if this is going to be anything like it was the last time I was here, it's going to be absolute madness here. That should definitely help. Get rid of that. Okay, that's all just going to burn out. Okay. Here we go. They're spawning in now. Maybe get a couple of sneak attacks in if I can. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Waking them all up, which is fine. I don't think they can get to me or anything. Starting to blow stuff up already. Getting as many sneak attacks in on these sleepy zombies as I can. Sneak attack headshots should be good. Okay, now I'm at least slightly suspicious that I might have actually left the ladder going up on the other side. So let's just make sure that that's not a thing. Yeah, it was a thing. It's less of a thing now, though. All right, everybody, wake up. I'm done doing the stealth thing. Just just start attacking me. Whoa, birds. I've got like a corridor set up here. If they can come up onto... Ooh, this is a good spot for grenades. Scratch what I was about to say there. There are zombies everywhere down here. And I've got just the thing for them. Here we go. Cluster right up for me. That's perfect. Do not change a thing. Look at that. Except they're all like rads, basically. There's like regular bears and zombie bears in here interesting here while we're at it let's just get mercenary protection we've got three mercs now nice the bears are helping kill zombies i'm gonna take myself a red tea and start stirring up more zombies because there's like there's like hundreds in here hundreds and hundreds of zombies and i'm gonna find them and bring them all over wake up okay that stirred up a few of them they're very confused there's too many right now for the for the game to know what like to have any semblance of AI, so we gotta just start wasting them now. There's now a bandit in here, and the bandit has an auto shotty, and he's uh, he's killing my mercenaries, but he's also killing zombies. So I guess I'll leave him to it. All right, it's getting to the point where they're starting to cluster up underneath that building, and I'm kind of worried about collapse. I'm gonna make another lap around here and wake up some more. They don't. They, it's like impossible for them to even all spawn in at the same time. That's how many there are in here. Yeah, I'm over here, and there's like. There's like 150 Moes that just spawned in. So bring them on over. And I'm just gonna kinda kite them around here. Make sure I have uh, plenty of stamina to take a coffee. Yep, just make sure that they're in the soldier's field of fire. Look at the Moes, it's crazy. Ah! If I could, just get a good Molotov in on them. That should help a little bit. Soften them up anyway. A couple of really good strategic grenades should also help soften them up a little bit. Soldiers are doing such a good job. I can just see the XP rolling in. Man, could you imagine clearing this place out all by yourself? I've done it before in Undead Legacy. It was crazy. It took, I think, two days, two tries. I had to run away and go home for for a night to lick my wounds. Hey, I just got the achievement. I now have access to the Handy Woman Trader. In fact, 
No, I don't think she's not in my inventory right now, but I must have killed enough of the fire immune zombies in order to unlock her. I'm like 95% sure that there's also just a regular old wandering horde that's trundling their way in here too. All right, I think we're just about wrapping things up here. They did quite a number on the building, but not enough. I had a great time. What about you guys? You all good up there? Nobody died, did they? Nah, I can see all four of them. They're good. Okay, now is the the looting stage. We start looting. There's also, I've learned, a tier five, I think, loot chest in there. And then we gotta do all the digging, but looting first. Oh my god, I just got a Type 56 assault rifle. Is that... It's a tier three assault rifle? Is that, like, my kind of assault rifle, right? It doesn't say that my tactical assault rifle is like a tier one. It does say tier three, five mod slots doing 58 damage. And so it's doing only slightly more damage with slightly lower attack speed, but slightly higher magazine size than the one that I have, the tack assault rifle. I'll at least, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start using it, but need to have a look at, at a bare minimum. Oh man, that looks freaking slick. Oh, it's got a good sound, too. Ooh, nice. Instant upgrade. Must be that 140 loot stage. Okay, we're gonna need steroids. Go ahead and shove those into me. A lot of people giving me crap about going to the wasteland to live here, thinking that I can't handle myself, but hey, it might be a struggle, but it pays off in the end. All right, I think that's it for the loot bags. We got a new ratchet. Okay, whatever. We'll have to go through that some other time. For now, we you know, time is ticking. I really don't want to be here into nighttime so let me just blaze through here and get the rest of the loot the main loot chest is um, really easily accessible shouldn't take us any time to get to it fish taco recipe i think yes there is a uh, a couple of these in here oh my god a titanium spiked mace let's have a look at that see this is what really drew me to the mod is the awesome looking things almost just broke that desk which might have had a fountain pen or something in it not that i need one anymore wouldn't mind having a spare, though, honestly. Okay, was that it? I, I Yeah, oh, there's another one over here. I was gonna say, I could have sworn there were more than one. I should have brought the lucky looter goggles with me. In fact, they're in the freaking car. Right around here somewhere. There we go. Lucky looter glasses. Slap those on. So, okay, important note. I've reached the global achievement for the Handywoman Trader. Check the inventory of one of your traders to receive it as a reward. Okay, so I'll go to Briston later on and we'll get the handy woman. Okay, a bunch of junk out there. Yeah, there's just there's so much to go through in here. I've already gone through a couple of these things, but this is where the main loot chest is over here. And then there should be um, loot boxes kind of hidden away behind some of these things. Yeah, there it is right there. There we go, we're in. Oh, come on, good stuff. Hunt loot stage 147, two treasure maps. Excellent, another blade trap bundle, a plasma baton. Steel helmet, cash, ammo, and impact bracing mod for my boots, which I already have one. And if I recall, I, do, I don't think that there's anything else in here. I, I don't think there's anything else in this one over here. I don't remember, though. Let me just double check. Actually, I think this one collapsed the last time I was here, but nah, this one looks pretty empty. Here we go. Oh, you... Of course it's Arlene. It's always Arlene, isn't it? Damn it. Arlene's got the head bob, you know? Whoa! Holy crap! Hello there! Why are you so yellow? Yeah, these skateboarder zombies, these are the ones we're gonna have to kill, you know, for that, um, for the trade aura quest. Although, it's not counting yet until we get that unlocked. Okay, getting late. Let's start shoveling. Yeah, this right here is the real prize, and there should be a weapons bag up top here. Yep, nothing good in it, though. All right, here we go. Dig, dig, dig. I'm just kind of looking at this, and I'm getting, like, actually, I think it's a randomized amount off of these. I did a couple of tests there, and I got, like, 30 off of one hit, 33 off the next, and 20 off of another. I think I am getting, like, just a variable amount of cement off of these pallets. And I know in, like, vanilla in the base game, yeah, your mother load stat uh, is not going to help you here. So I'm, I'm just kind of assuming right now that that's the same. It would be difficult to test if I'm getting a variable amount anyway. Okay, wow, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Going to. Check, take a look at this working stiff tool box here. A good steel axe. I do want to focus a little bit on doing a working stiff tool store here in the near future to see if we can get the, uh, you know, impact driver, auger, things like that. Okay, and now we're on to the cobblestone pallets. 
These ones here, I am getting a solid 35 cobblestone off of each one. No variability here. It might it might be that Ramsey has made it so that the different cement pallets, that the different sizes, like the variable shapes and quantities of bags, maybe that's influencing how much you get out of it. Not sure. Basically, all of this cobblestone here is going to go right directly into cobblestone blocks so we can finish building the base. And then all of the concrete, well, well cement, will go into concrete to upgrade said cobblestone shapes. And it just ticked nightfall there. I can hear everybody shooting more now. <laughs> Not surprising. I just made a pit stop over there at the car, dropped off some stuff in the inventory, and now it's time to work on all the small stone over here. The small stone will just go into concrete production, basically. Maybe some of it will go into sand production. We need to make a trip out to the desert probably anyway, though, to do more oil shale mining. Maybe we can work on some sand when we get out there. Okay, we're more than two-thirds of the way through, I would say. There's a whole bunch of zombies trying to beat their way in through here. I'll work on my sickle skill a little bit, I guess. Not my sickle skill, it's my scythe skill. Gotta get the terminology correct here. We had a sickle, now we have a scythe. It's a very small scythe, but it's still a scythe. Oh, he's standing on a crawler. That's why he's all tall like that. Go away. Use our new gun for this. Although he's, he's wearing basically bulletproof armor and I can't see the other guy over there. These are repairable and I want both of them. We might need to fix those up and bring them home and set them up so we can increase our resource output. Oh, and there's another workbench right there. Nah, I'll take it. Okay, I left a couple of things over here to do. Pass and gas box with gas and a ratchet. We get a whole bunch of ratchets to go through. We're gonna have a really, really good ratchet soon here. And another turret. Working stiff tools box with three steel pickaxes. Wow, okay, whatever. And uh, hit this and I'm starting to get encumbered so go ahead and just juice me up with some Red Bull. And then I don't want to go through, we could go through every one of these boxes. Ah, oh, man, maybe someday. But really what I want to do is get back here because I found some loot crates in here last time I was here. And I think they should still be back here, I hope anyway. <laughs> just destroying so much good loot. It's just this one back here, actually. With uh, basically nothing in it. So, oh, is it going to be worth it to go through all this? Like, probably, yes. Maybe someday. I don't know. All right, last little bit. There should also be loot back here. If I remember, I think there were like three boxes in this one. Oh, make, make that zero because now there's nothing. Is it random, maybe? Or is my memory just bad? I don't know. I don't know. Keep chopping. I'm not giving up yet. There's got to be something back here. Why would you put all this paper here? Why? No, this is a disaster. Now I've got a thousand paper in my inventory. And at this point, I'm just, I'm probably too encumbered to function. Do I have, a, I have steroids. Nice. Just take the steroids. That's much, much better for us. Oh, what's this? Tell me this is a hidden stash. Yes. Nice. A ball cap mod? Are you kidding me? That's amazing! <laughs> We're gonna be looking good now, look at that! Yeah, being a little bit sarcastic there, of course. Alright, let's um, see what I, I can pull out of this, and I think I'd just like to call it after that. Get enough loot. Alright, everyone is following. Let's get them on resume. Hunting. Resume hunting, I guess. I think. I think hunting means they'll go to greater lengths to kill zombies, and hunting means they'll kind of just like basically protect me, and that's it. Raised roof here. Pretty tough one. Okay, that's it. I think we... That's That's gotta be it right there. We gotta go home. We're out of here. That is it, my friends. The Apaxco uh, Building Material POI. One of my favorites. Absolutely. It is a huge challenge to get through all the zombies. Unless you have, you know, a whole squad covering you with M60s. But it's worth it in the end. So I think with that, we got most of my goals accomplished for the day. What is that big? Oh, it's a big radiated bear out there. Yeah, we got most of my goals accomplished for today. We've got the base moved over. Oh, this freaking vehicle. I can't wait till I can find a new vehicle. That's why I'm stopping here to see if I can get this Cobra because I would really much rather have this as long as... Oh, that's a steel shovel there. That's a good find using an iron shovel. Um, yeah, so... We got the base built, we got moved over, we got a whole bunch of materials, we did a whole bunch of mining, we should be good on iron for a long time, and hopefully good on things like bullets, and uh, we'll have to continue doing some oil shell mining and some nitrate mining in the next couple of days. Alright, so it is, I think I live over here somewhere, I'm kind of just cutting through the wasteland, hoping for the best. Yeah, there we go, my turrets have spawned in. There it is. Yes, so we have day 28, 29, and then the day of the horde, day 30 to continue preparation. Look at this disaster over here. 
probably the big focus is gonna have to be on, oops, oh geez, gunpowder production maybe, and um, clay soil, basically topsoil production so that we can fill in all these gaps over here. So anyway, I'm gonna get my stuff put away and organized and I'll catch up with you guys first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. There's still a few days left before the Horde, but we're in need of two critical resources before it arrives. Clay soil so that we can patch the foundation of the base and gunpowder to craft more ammo. Of course, we could always use some extra cash too. So the plan today is to do a quest or two for Wrecked, and while we're out, we should do some digging and mining for more materials. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, let's get right to work then. So let me give you the quick base tour here. So we've got uh, traders upstairs, everyone else is downstairs. This, this is just like my temporary cell chest situation right now. And I spent a couple of extra hours this morning trying to get everything organized up here. So all the workstations are down, all the boxes are down and relatively well organized. The one thing I wanted to do real quick this morning was to just grab up anything that I can sell. We'll do a quick sell off, make some money, buy some skills and we'll take it from there. Also got a steel shovel there that I forgot to change over. I'll do that real quick. All right, I got a good chunk of sellables here. We'll start off with Briston. See your inventory. Whoops, uh, something, what happened? Oh, I got the handy woman, right, that's a thing. Okay, nice, we can see what she's even selling. And you are going to stand right there. Angel Flores, here we go. Ah, okay, just selling like a lot of handy woman type of things, right? Like um, building materials. Oh, there's our helicopter right there. We're, we can't buy that probably until we get the trade aura though. And just as a reminder, we're waiting for level six in our class before we can start that whole chain of things. Couldn't help but notice that he's selling the auger schematic, which you need to be level 50. I'm level 49 right now, so. I don't know if I'd rather craft that myself and, and spend my money on the schematic. I don't know how difficult it is to craft. Let me see if I can just check on that. As far as I've seen, there's no like motor tool parts anymore. Yeah, that's actually not that bad to make. Hmm. I like that idea. Gotta be level 50 though. I'm almost level 50. I could probably get level 50 by doing the sell off. Are you kidding me? That didn't work. Oh, because I only got like 327 XP. Okay, so XP is a little bit different. All right, I got to kill like three zombies or something. So for today, anyway, I want to I wanna get the auger before we head out because um, we're going to be doing clay mining and we're going to be doing like um, gunpowder mining. Those are the two big mining projects for today. And then we can get that stuff rolling and kind of see what we need to do from there. I also, okay, what we can do right now is just kind of head out a little bit and do cars. I need to break down cars. They have to be the vanilla cars though, like, because if you break down these broken cars right here, you don't get gas and you also don't get like batteries or engines from what I've seen. So uh, we need like vanilla stuff to get engines out of, to fill up all the generators. Maybe like this bus here, this bus and this ambulance. And then this POI is probably full of zombies. So we can probably level up right after this. Speaking of that, hello there. Ooh, hi there. I would like to level up my uh, assault rifle here. There we go, good headshot for the kill. Whatever levels me up the fastest. Couple more here, ooh. Oh man, this gun is really good. Did I level up yet? Nope, not quite. Give him the old double tap. Nice, nice loot bag there too. Come on with the level up. I can't be that far off. It's literally the whole bar is full. Probably salvaging this bus will do it for me. Oh, there's an engine right there, by the way. And we'll try the ambulance as well. I'd like to get like, um, whoops, gotta search this first. Uh, I'd like to get at least, I only have one, so I'd like to get five more. In addition to that, we're gonna have to put a generator back at the old house. There's another engine right there too. Because it's uh, it's been brought to my attention that the the farm over there, we can put grow lights out. I forgot all about that. I learned that like before I started playing the mod and then probably forgot. There we go, level 50. We can read the auger schematic now. I can't help but notice that this assault rifle is really good. Hey, look, another steel shovel. I just got the one. It's not as good as the one I have though. Unless it has an extra mod slot, in which case it would be better, which it doesn't. 
Okay, a little bit of extra loot there, and we're going back home. We'll get some more engines when we're out and about. I'm not gonna make a whole dedicated trip just for that. Whoops, landmine. So the mod was updated, I think, twice since I recorded last. So there's a whole bunch of new changes to kind of be excited about. Ooh, loot bag. Very nice. Love to see that. Excellent. So among the, the most important changes, one is that if you use the mind control brew, oh, this is um, quite the minefield over here, uh, your regular attack when you're high on the mind control brew or, you know, high uh, under the influence, <laughs> however you want to say it, uh, your regular attack, so this attack, does double damage, and so that makes the mind control brew, like, viable, in my opinion. So I'm gonna, I think I crafted a few of those last night for Horde Night. Just make sure that I have those on the inventory, though. Yes, grab those, and we'll just put the mind control bolts away for a little while. Okay, fill up that generator. At a minimum, that should be good for, you know, the doors as well as, oh, we gotta actually fuel it up, too. Refuel, and um, also probably a couple of blade traps, hopefully. Airdrop just came in. Don't you dare drop stuff in the lake. Hey, I was just over there, damn it. Oh, I just noticed, noticed too, I had a couple of treasure maps. One of them is out there, and it looks like probably in the snow biome. And the other one is uh, over here in the wasteland, probably underneath like a skyscraper or at a bare minimum, a, a parking lot. That's nice. Auger schematic. Okay, gotta be level 50. Hopefully I'm not missing something here. Read that and I should be able to workbench it. Auger. Oh, we need, oh, we need one of those engines anyway and a bicycle handlebar. So get the bicycle handlebar, I'll grab the engine. We're gonna do some digging here in a little bit. So well, I wonder if, you know what, I, I bet, if I had to say, probably the Yucca Juice and the Goldenrod Tea doesn't work if you're using the Auger, but I'll give it a try anyway. Oh crap, right, that's gonna take like five minutes to do. All right, well, I think I'm rolling on pretty much everything else here. We're rolling on bullet stuff over there, but we don't have gunpowder. We need to do the mining for gunpowder stuff. There's uh, cement concrete mix going in over there. And uh, what else was I working on? I was working on steel, how's that looking? Also, 200 more cobblestone cube shapes, and we've got the steel rolling in. Um, speaking of steel, though, can't I make the trade aura now? Just need to grab up my blueprint out of here and trade aura mod. I can craft it, but remember, we have to be uh, level 6 in our class before we can start that whole chain. So at least that's a start. And then I should be making tons and tons of steel, so we'll just start on that too. Okay, well I have like five minutes to wait, and I don't want to waste any time, so I'm just gonna jump on over here, drink up my... What's it called? Oh, actually, we need sand as well as clay, don't we? Ah, oh, crap. Well, yeah, I don't want to really wait all day. Let's go grab a quest then from Trader Wrecked, and then I, I... What I was wanting to do was go out to the desert, to do some digging because we can dig the topsoil out there for sand and clay. So a little like two for one there. But I will also just snag up a job for today as well. Today or tomorrow, I'm not sure. Looking more like tomorrow actually. Fetch and clear, which usually gives you the best reward. If you want work from Let's me, do this, this is at the bank? Okay, work. oh uh, yes, that's the bank that's right down the road. Okay, well, you know, we could just do that today, right now. Go get the auger and then do our mining tonight. I think that's probably a better a better idea. In the in the in the safety of daylight, we'll do our questing. Then the cover of darkness, we'll do our mining. I think we were through here. Well, we, we didn't like go through here, but um, we had a little bit of a fight out here. Remember there was a bus here and we fought our first boss. Our first boss like spawned in right down the street over there. <laughs> and there was some naked survivor that like cleared this POI out while we were in the espresso yourself over there. Ah, good times. All right, let's hit this, respawn in the zombies. And I still got to level up my assault rifles. Ooh, actually we're almost, we're very close to leveling up, so. Let's just try... I'm just gonna like immediately wake up every zombie here. Hold on in one second though, I gotta check this before I forget. Can't I make... Didn't I... Did I... I got the silencer quest. There's a silencer quest out here. Yes, cybernetics, silencer schematic up there. We gotta do that so that we can do better like sniping. Oh, but then again, that uh, didn't work too bad there. 
Oh man, this is the way to go. Alright, outer perimeter I think is clear now. Right, these are locked. Are they supposed to be locked? Was there another way in that I missed? Oh, here we go. Key box. Question is, yep, there we go. That opened that door right there. Whoa, holy crap, hi there. Just going for the headshots. Really trying to train myself on this. Nice. Honestly, I can't really be bothered these days to go through zombie bodies. It's just, it's tedious. Uh, I'm not into it anymore. Oh, look at the ATMs. Oh, wow. Did I? I brought the time charges with me. Uh, what do you think the chances are that one has Ramsey maybe modded this so that one will work? Yep, that works really well. Scratch that plan. All right, we're in. Oh my God, $1,900. Wow. Yeah, I read $1,800 there. I read in the patch notes that uh, ATM loot has been buffed. Another $1,900 there. <laughs> wow. That is really, really good news. Is there another? Yep, another key box right there. Good. Okay, back to stealth mode. Well, you know, stealth with a fully automatic assault rifle. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> stealth mode, not going very well. Whoa! Holy crap! Not well at all. Holy crap, <laughs> get me out of here. Whoa. A little bit of panic spray and pray here. Still gonna go for the headshots if I can. It's working. Whoop, knocking down trees. Big yellow boy here. Why are you so yellow again? Never really did figure that out. You're late. Okay, I just checked. The sell price on these computers is 64, so I'll have every single one of these. Get a good stack of them and sell them to Briston tonight. Oh, you can get the cigars out of the wooden desks, too. Nice. Another key box, which goes... Maybe something upstairs, I'm not sure. Maybe that went to this door that was back here? No, that one's still locked. There must be a box for it somewhere. Oh, hello there. Holy crap, I just noticed that- Oh, jeez! We're under attack! What the hell, man? Yeah, I just noticed that there was, um, some clanking around outside, and it's these guys for sure. Oh my god, they're coming inside. This is my bank. No. Oh, luckily, a lot of them are just melee, and they're not wearing any armor. Good chance to, uh, work on my skill here. Not complaining at all. At least until the boss shows up. Oh, the boss showed up. Ah, whoa! Oh my god, he shoots a lot! <laughs> he shoots, uh... Very, very painful. <laughs> for, for lack of any better way of saying it, I guess. Here, whoop! Okay, he can't fit through the door, it, it looks like. See if that helps. That did help a little bit. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ow! Take cover. It's Max Corner. Max Corner, you're going down! There we go. Holy crap. Oh, we got a whole bunch more over there. Hang on one second, let me just loot this guy up. And he had the modern Wakasashi and a strength boost, which is useless to me, so I'll sell it. I'm gonna just take a first aid kit. And the rest of them are clustered up right over there. There we go, all done. Right, where was I anyway? We're trying to clear out these guys. Damn, I'm like, I thought I was progressing pretty quickly in the strength department. Whoa, hello. Uh, not the strength, the um, the assault rifle department, but uh, now it seems like it's going really slowly. Focusing on those headshots. I just heard a, there he is. Okay, was this it? Am I, oh, there's one more zombie over there, it says. Okay, wait a minute. There they are. Couldn't see that um, false plate right there. Oh, there's two sets of zombies. One's over there. How do I get over there again? Yeah, here we go. I never did see a key box, so we might have to just break into this place over here the good old-fashioned way, I would say. Eh, that's fine with me. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. 20, 21,000 hit points. Let's try the concrete wall on the side. Whoa! Jeez! Scared the crap out of me. Greg Forrest? Aha, here we go, this is gonna work. Okay, and it said there's zombies in here. Get 
you guys just want to come outside or are you good just hanging out in here There we go, and that was it for the mission. We're good. Oh, I did see in the patch notes that crowbars will now work well on safes, and only safes. However, I put mine away. Oh, we got three of these things in here. And this one at 10,000 hit points, I'll just pick this one. Ah, too easy. So there's no looting candy, but there is, however, there's some kind of a, a meal that you can like cook and then eat that will give you a loot stage bonus. I don't know what that is just yet. Not only that, but it, I think all of the special meals require super corn, which I also don't have yet. And the grand finale here... Wow. Not, not great. But we're in the forest biome, so honestly, what do you expect, I guess? Alright, that's good enough for this place. I'm sure there's a little bit of loot here and there that I missed, but I'm happy with what I got, so let's get out of here. Alright, swinging by Rex here to get our quick reward. I did pick up, I think it was one extra engine to wrench down a couple cars on the way here. What do we get here? Hmm... Not good. Although a good amount of cash, I guess, and the compound crossbow will sell for quite a bit. And we can pick up a job for maybe tomorrow. There's this uh, political party HQ we can do. I'll accept that one. And that one had the vehicle that I wrenched for the engine. So if we're lucky, that'll respawn it in and I can wrench it again. All right, I'm just back at the base here and I got the auger. Look at this. I think it's like the highest tier too because I got five mod slots and I filled it right up. Uh, okay, so I did a sell off. I sold everything that we got there. Uh, on looting on our looting excursion today and I did make a whole bunch of money so what I'd like to do now is just get a couple of skills here uh, probably want to focus on mother load so give me three of those what do we have now six thousand and with the money that's left over let's just pump a couple into pack mule all right I'm gonna read those up and I'll meet you over in the desert for some mining all right, this will do for our first spot right here. This is a little nitrate area, so we gotta dig all the dirt out from this area and then dig up a whole bunch of nitrate after that. Oh, geez. And I'm on fire. Oh, geez. Wow, I got caught on super fire. I'm also bleeding, just bleeding to death in my cop car. Okay. Let's try and kill this guy without dying. Ooh, there we go. Yes, that's the problem with the auger. You can't hear a damn thing. Pump a first aid kit into me and um, let's try that again, shall we? Oh boy, oh boy, here we go. Yes, can I get out of here? I certainly can, because there's a huge ass horde wandering their way in here. All right, I can use my pit to my advantage here. Either kite them into it or kite them around it for some sweet headshots. Either way works for me. Oh, I'm on a rampage, quickly now. Uh, hang on, kill this dog. Oh crap, <laughs> where did you come from? Yeah, first of all, I, I need to figure out what a rampage does, that does. 100% increased damage in each kill uh, increases my rampage time. Well, that's nice. Man, I need to be on a rampage more often then. Well, rampages are fun, but I've still got a lot of work to do here. We're doing really well though, making good progress. Okay, so far I've dug up a total of 18,000 clay and 18,000 sand. I'd say we're probably pretty good on those things for now. We do need the nitrate though, so I'm gonna just plow my way through all this regular sand and Whoop, we got zombies here. Look out. Kill, 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 and a loot bag with basically nothing in it. Yes, yeah, so we need to get as much nitrate as we can and then either tonight or sometime today we also need to stop by and do some more coal. I don't think it's critical that we get ammo, more ammo for this upcoming horde because I'm going to be leaning a lot on the mind control stuff, but the more the better, right? So my strategy now is I've switched over to the Goldenrod T plus the pickaxe. I don't know that it's any faster. I'd have to do some testing on that, but it does save us durability on the auger, which is running low and gas. There's also an interesting new feature in the mod where you can take regular ammo and you can upgrade it to either hollow point or, uh, or they call it high power now, but basically it used to be hollow point anyway, or armor piercing ammo. And all you have to do is just add a little bit of like bullet tips or gunpowder. And I, I don't know if you need to replace the bullet casing or not, but either way, it's just a, a way to convert like your regular 762 and upgrade it to AP for Horde Knight. All right, I'd say with that, I'm feeling pretty good about the amount of resources we pulled out of here. Whoa, look at the crater we've made here. And a fancy loot bag over here with some good stuff in it. Sure, anyway, 
Let's get out of here. My tools are almost broken anyway, so we'll have to stop by the base and do some repairs before we end up doing the coal mining a little bit later on. For now, though, probably we can just do that quest. I can't really think of anything else pressing that needs to be done today, at least. Oh, look at that chili dog recipe. I wonder what that does. Can I even check from here? Chili dog, yes. This is, oh, this is the lucky looter thing. Chili increases loot, actually, not really lucky looter, but loot quantity by 25%. Really interesting there. And yes, we need the super corn. And the super corn is sold by the trader, the farmer trader. But of course, you have to go down, you probably have to buy five of those. Or, excuse me. I have to buy five, make the seed, if I can even make the seed right now. I'm not even entirely sure that I can. Oh, um, watch out, because they could probably shoot me in the face and kill me. Anyway, I'll focus more on farming later on, because we're going to have to get a generator, bring it back over to the old base, set up lights and all that stuff, because the, the crops will grow at night if you just set the light up, but I haven't gotten that set up yet, so probably things are not growing very efficiently. That's why the timer hasn't been working efficiently, like I, I thought it was a bug, like maybe I updated the mod and broke it, but nope, it's just me being stupid and uh, the plants not growing at night. All right, so from here, we're heading to the Democratic Party headquarters. I'll meet you there. All right, this looks like it's the spot right here. All right, let's hit it. Not afraid to use the 7.62, we gotta level this up. It feels like it's stalled, honestly. I'm really disappointed with how slowly this is moving right now. Ah, see, do I wanna really search all these? This is like always the question. Do I wanna take the time to search all the stupid little boxes? The answer is no, I don't want to, but sometimes you do what you have to, not what you want to. Ow, holy crap. Get me out of there, holy crap. Feral, kicking my ass. Please get a first aid kit into me. Get out of here, Bo. I wonder if these laptops give you any money. Let's just double check that. Eh, 38 dukes. Really not worth it. Or is it worth it? Probably it is worth it. <laughs> See, like, what about a microwave? What's this gonna sell for? 76! Ooh, that's a different story altogether. What about a stove? Have I just been passing up, like, super valuable items? 39. And I don't suppose that these stack, so... Maybe be a little bit careful about that. What about the fridge? 49. I Wow, I feel like things are a lot more valuable than they used to be. Is it because I've leveled up my better barter and now things are valuable? Like, what about this chair? Like, I don't know the answer to... Is it... That's not worth anything. Is, um... Is my better barter... Whoa! Hello there, yellow woman. Yeah, so does my better barter skill automatically apply, like, the bonus that I'm getting here? These are, TVs are not worth anything. No one's watching TV in the post-apocalypse, I guess. Oh, I can see some people down there. No other way to go either, unless you want to go up. That's an option, I guess. Now nah, I'll squeak in here if I can. Oh, they want you to squeak in and fall down? That seems very unwise. Yeah, look at the compass. It's just rife with zombies and they're all awake. Oh, they're awake above me too. Oh, great. Ha! Where'd you come from? I don't know what to make of all this here. I'm gonna just throw a grenade in there and hope for the best. Here, hang on to that for me. Oh, boy. Are there like a lot of zombies in there or what? Did that do anything? Probably just made things worse. Here, let's just put the fire out temporarily. I think the zombies are what are on fire now mostly. Holy crap, she just went flying out the window. Here we go. Line up some headshots for me. Okay, that seems to have mostly done it. I'm confident in jumping down here now. We can maneuver around pretty well. And we've got the red bolt if we need it. Just watch those toxic zombies. Oh, jeez. Hit the map button by mistake. I'm gonna have up every one of these computers. Okay, you know what? I'm just like kind of working my way through here. And I'm wondering to myself, it, is this not a tactical rifle that I'm using right now? This like AK thing? Um, because... I'm going to have to pay very close attention to my tactical rifle skill now and see if this is even increasing it. I might be in like a completely different class of weapons. What's this called again? This is called a Type 56 Assault Rifle. If I go into the Witch Doctor Tactical Rifles... Okay, we've got Scar L MK2. It doesn't say that um, this is something that I can craft. Oh no, HK416. And the Scar L MK2. Oh my god, I might have the wrong rifle. Wait, who gets like submachine guns? It's not in submachine guns. Is it a machine gun? Oh, it belongs to the soldier class. 
doesn't it? Does it? XM214 micro gun G36C. Uh, and then wait, the butcher gets assault rifles too. Oh my god, it's it's AK-47 type 56 assault rifle, AK-74. Oh, this tactical rifle. It's not a tactical rifle, it's an assault rifle, isn't it? Oh crap, I've been using the wrong rifle all friggin' day. I do really like this thing though. Well, I guess we're going back over to the scythe. Crap, go delete your comment, please. <laughs> Cause I know a lot of people are trying to, to correct me on that one. Whoops. Well, at least I did have some fun using it. I'm okay with it. Just, you know, one day of progress. I think we'll survive. Whoa! Ow, my stamina sucks really bad. Here, put a coffee into me since we've got to go with the sickle now, the scythe. Here we go. Whoop. Give me some distance. And that's a feral. Yikes. Oh my god, they run so fast. Good to go. So the good news is, I when I was looking at that, it said that the, the what was it, the HK416 is something that I can craft. So medium grade handle part. Oh, okay, here's how the, the weapon crafting goes. Okay, tier three tactical assault rifle. Yes, this is what we need to craft when we go back home. Yeah, yeah, we need to craft that and then we need to try to level up our skill. Weapons bag right here might have some of those medium grade. It does have the medium grade parts. Hopefully I have the medium grade parts that I need. I'm pleased I found a couple of extra fountain pens. There's an extra cigar there. I can start selling those now. I have a whole bunch of extras. But yeah, I think the, uh, the looting table was adjusted in one of these recent updates so you can get that stuff a little bit more easily because I was having a little bit of trouble there a couple of days ago when we cleared out the entire police station and we got the cigar, so we did win in the end. All right, this is still my backup weapon, so... Oh. Hello there, everyone. I don't have any explosives anymore, unfortunately, so... Eh, uh, crap. I guess we're just doing this with a rifle. And then maybe get some kills in at the end. Perfect. It's working. Ow, let me out here. I'm, like, really infected, too. 9%. <laughs> when did that happen? And was that maybe it? This is just a clear area, so... We're just looking for the last zombies here. Hello? No, oh, is there a basement? Did I, um... Did I miss something here? Nothing in there. I didn't come across the main loot yet, so I've missed something. Oh, here we go. Basement. There we go. They're all in here, I think. I might be able to... Wow, well, I was going to try to sneak, but that did not work at all. Look out. Ow. Ooh, I'm on fire. That's okay. I can hit the... Um, what is it? The end key. That puts me out. I got to bind that to my mouse. I keep forgetting to do that. Oh, hello there, everyone. Hi. Get back, please. Yeah, lots of loot to go through if you wanted to down here, but uh, like I said before, not really my thing, I guess. I'm here for the high value stuff. Oh, there's a screamer outside. Oh boy. Whoa, a lot of loot back here. Yeah, maybe there's just a uh, another way out from down here? Not that I can see though, nope. Oh, there's a lot of zombies though. Oh, in the knee, nice. Oh, they're all having a pretty hard time, too. He- No, don't- don't destroy loot. That's not good. All right. Need the gun. Oh, just like straight ferals down here, too. Great. So that's what we have to look forward to in the tier fours now. Oh! Okay, we're good. Let's loot up real fast. Oh, another one of these wakasashi. That's like I found three or four of those now. Multiple screamers outside. I can hear two, at least two of them. Okay, um, not not great again. Ugh, these loots are terrible. Into the gun safe now. Okay, I think there might be three screamers outside <laughs> now. It's getting a little crazy. That fire is just reeling them in. Okay, that'll have to do it, I think. And I'm encumbered, so it's time for some Red Bull. Especially since we were gonna have to run from screamers and screamer horde zombies. All right, let's get a move on here. Check this last little shelf here. Anything else good here? Probably not. Let's go. And I believe the way to go is just straight upstairs. And then we can kind of leap out over the balcony. Ooh, yes, the fire is going. <laughs> it's not not as bad as I kind of thought it was going to be, though. Whoop, there we go. Into the car. And, yep, goodbye, screamers. They're screaming now, though. Oh, they, they've screamed in some pretty nasty zombies. Whoa, don't get stuck here. Yep, there's a, a, a big corpulent there. Okay, no thanks. I'm leaving. I'd kill you if I had the proper assault rifle, but I don't. All right, let's just run in and grab the quest reward here real fast and hope that we're out of range 
No, the screamer zombies are still down there, but I'm okay with that. Oh, on second thought, I don't have my daring adventurer glasses, do I? What am I wearing for glasses? I haven't been keeping track of that. The lucky looter glasses, okay. We gotta go back to the base then. How do I make the dirt? Yes, either dirt or topsoil is fine. I'm gonna go with whatever's cheaper. <laughs> I guess it's the same. And I can make, ooh, a thousand. Ooh, I don't know if we need that many. Let's go with, um, let's go with 400 to start off with. It'll take 20 minutes and that'll help us fill in all the gaps everywhere. We are done with the concrete mix, but ooh, I can make 10,000 more because I got all that crushed sand. What a boon that is right there, nice. And really, we're only held back by the cement there. That's using all the cement that we got from the Apex Co. Let's just check here with the class box and, or the, I call it the class and genetics box. It's got all of our good stuff in here. So we need the Daring Adventurer glasses and then we need the Mother Load glasses. For now, we're gonna go Daring Adventurer because we're gonna go pick up that quest reward and then we're gonna do some, uh, some, what's it called? Uh, oh no, we have to craft the new assault rifle. We're going to do some coal mining right after that. What was that called again? Uh, HK416. We can craft. And then soon, when we level up a couple more times, we'll get the Scar L, the Light Scar Mark II. Okay, so HK416, we can craft it. We have plenty, plenty of materials and only 30 seconds to do it. Ah, oh, what a bummer. I really like this Type 56 assault rifle. Is that the, the Chinese-made... Um, like version of the AK. Is that what that is? It's pretty cool. I like it, at least in this game. I suppose that's just gonna get popped right into the cell chest, unfortunately. All right, what are we looking at here? What do we got? Okay, it looks uh, a lot like the tactical assault rifle, but like a lot cooler. And we've got four mod slots, same as the last one. And yep, it definitely looks cool. Ah, oh, finally we can level up our, uh, <laughs> our assault rifle skill again. Oh, hey, look at this, a blade baton. Otherwise it's like, Steel sledgehammer, basically, for selling purposes. Really terrible. Good amount of cash, though. And we'll get another job for maybe tomorrow. Ooh, we got to fetch and clear at the CDC. Well, that sounds fun. Okay, we'll do that. Not right now, though. We have to go uh, do a quest. We're done with questing for now. I would like to level up my assault rifles. Probably a wandering horde will come by and do that for us. But for now, we need to find... I think I need to find a new coal mine. No, wait a minute. We've got a whole bunch of coal down here. Let's go grab some coal. Oh, I can see like four or five loot bags over here too from the last time when I think there was like 30 zombies or something that drove us off the mine. All right, that's four loot bags. Let's get to digging. I have quite the sprawling mining complex down here. I'm just gonna go like good old fashioned manual digging. I didn't even actually get the repair kit for the auger, which is fine. Put the mother load glasses on and we'll get to work here. Whoop, screamer topside. Yeah, I like the sound of this too. I didn't realize it had such a cool sound. Just gonna double check though that that didn't call anybody else in. I do have a couple of guys I can clear out while I'm right here. And where's that bear? I'd like to, oh, there he is right there. I'd like to kill the bear because I'm getting the sense that um, it's per headshot. So if I get like, you know, 10 headshots in on this bear, I might be able to level up our skill. There we go, did that do anything? I don't know if that did anything. You get, there's a heat generation per hit on a block and also whenever you destroy the block. So the fewer hits it takes to destroy a block, the better in terms of heat. So that means use your power attack wisely and using the auger, especially against metal, where the attack rate is so high and the damage is so low. You actually, that's like the, the worst way to generate heat really is just using the auger on iron. Not that I think really dealing with a screamer warrants like a complete change in your playstyle. And we've got an event right now. Let me out of here. Oh geez, there it is right there. Ooh, wow, toxic zombies. Oh boy. Uh, give me some Red Bull. And that way I can fly. Oh boy, it's a big radiated mama. Big mama the way, it's Wayward Echo. Wayward Echo is the big mama. Oh geez, that's terrifying. Please level up my skill in tactical assault rifles now. Ooh, that reload speed is sweet. There we go. Wayward Echo's down. Did all of those zombies fall down in the freaking in the, uh, in the mine? Yeah, I can hear them thrashing around in there. Where did they go? They must have been, like, locked on to... Where is my entrance anyways? Ah, here they are. Oh, they've set my freaking ladder on fire. You bastards. Oh, I... Oh, did I? I still have the fire extinguisher with me. 
Okay, we can do this. Don't worry. Is that working? Oh, I just... Are you kidding me? I broke the fire extinguisher. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a first aid kit. Nice bolus of health into me. And we'll just jump down here. Do the best we can. I'm taking radiation damage and I'm on fire. Hit the end button. Just kite him through the mines. Ah. There's one dwarf getting Moria that still draws breath. Die. Holy shit. Yes, and I'm on a rampage. Really at the worst possible time, although there's a lot of zombies dropping in from upstairs. Get me a reload. This is a regular wandering horde. Great. Oh, good thing I'm on a rampage though. Wow, that's helpful. And I leveled up with tactical assault rifles finally. Wow, that's it. And my, my rampage is still going for 20 seconds, man. Well, that was awesome. A couple of stragglers rolling in there. Pretty sweet mining complex down here. I just struck iron, so that means I'm pretty sure we have every resource down here now. Miner screamer fight about to happen. Hopefully it doesn't get too out of control. I'm on fire. It's out of control. <laughs> Jeez, crap. End key. Okay, the fire zombie's down. Cop, look out. Oh my god, the stupid construction worker. What the hell, man? I I, I really think it's the uh, the evolved zombies that get the speed boost. They literally, they, they run so close to you that they're pushing you. And um, they kind of like phase through you. It's super annoying. Holy crap. Having a mild temper tantrum <laughs> right now. Uh, I'm okay. All right, back to mining. We've got uh, six more minutes on the the um, goldenrod tea there. Oh no! Not again! It's another bandit raid! Ow! Oh crap! 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 Oh jeez! Run into the mine! Into the mine! I sprained something, I think. Ah! No! 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 I don't want to die in here! Crap! Oh my God! I'm dying! That's what I get for not having people with me. No! Oh, quickly! Ah! Well, that one's that was a definitely an event for my cameraman. We didn't get the alert at all. All I got was a bunch of zombies digging down after me. Oh boy. Okay. Well, oh crap. I don't have a vehicle over here. I actually I should have a vehicle, like an ambulance or something I can take over there. All right, gotta go get my stuff now. Okay. Seeing as how this is like developing into our our primary mining site over here, probably gonna be worth it next week to build some sort of um like an entrance. Yep. Yep, there's still a whole bunch of bandits over here. Wow, like tons of them. Holy crap. You know, presumably I could just draw them off, you know, circumvent them, maybe drag them into a bunch of these zombies over here, uh, and then like we'll go around them, go get our stuff, and then we'll kind of be able to fight them off after that. Does that make any sense? Is that going to work? Or am I just going to go into a death loop right now? Well, we will soon find out. Come on, guys, it's an emergency. Oh, there's, um, was that from the leader there? Or what was this? I don't know. I'm grabbing it, though. Still, uh, there's a screamer down here. Where's the, where's the entrance? I've missed the entrance. Whoop, hello there. Don't leave me alone, please. Screamers. Oh, no, this is where they were digging down for the cameraman, I think. Here we go. Into here. Grab my stuff and jump out. No, come on, man. Get off of the frickin' ladder! Here we go. I'm up, I'm up, and I'm out. Oh, 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 ow, oh, crap! First aid kit! Red bullet up! Oh my god, why can't I run right now? Oh, I'm out of stamina, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. Put a coffee into me. Okay, I'm just running into more bandits over here. <sighs> here we go again. We've got another screamer-infested bandit fighting nightmare to go through. Look at this crap! It'll run y'all down! You can't shoot me in the ambulance. How do you like me now? Take him out. Yeah, here we go. Oh, if only this was doing more damage. Can y'all kill the screamer, please? Can we just focus on her, all of us together? Okay, there's the screamer. Bail out. And, yep, make sure she's dead. Oop, that helped. Ah, that stupid cop. <laughs> just plow through him. Okay, I am relatively confident in my ability to evade and kill these zombies right now. Just 
is going to kind of, you know, take the outskirts of the, the massive group here. What is this, man? Why don't you all fight each other? Stop it. I'm not hearing any gunshots, so hopefully all of the ranged bandits are dead now. Almost out of 7.62. Oh, man. After all this work today, all we're going to be able to do is basically get the same amount of 7.62 that we had before. Oh, ow. Oh, man. Those, those flaming electrical zombies. It's just a little bit too much for my eyes. <laughs> Jeez. You need to kind of need to like... I wish there was like a light... Whoa. Wow. There should be like a light version of the uh, the particle effects because they're, they're a little bit crazy, honestly. Oh, that, see that nurse? How she just runs right straight through you? It's freaking ridiculous. All right, I'm about to just fucking bail out of here at this point. And I'm just on fire because of my proximity to these zombies. Great. There's another screamer coming. Okay, we need to kill, kill her. Why are you just running into the vehicle? It's crazy. And can I just take my vehicle? There we go. And probably just need to get the hell out of here at this point. Was there any, like, bandit loot that I need to have? Okay, that's it. Four bullets left. Not backing down yet. Mostly just because I want to find out if there's any loot here that I should have. There we go. One couple more. Oh, big boy's lost a leg over here. Ooh, nice. Worth it to stay, if only just for that loot bag, probably. Yeah, I definitely would be in favor of, like, a, a variant of the mod where they just had the fancy hands and they didn't have, like, the whole body kind of thing like that. I think there is actually a setting for that, isn't there? I, I'd have to talk to Ramsey about that. All right, I'm friggin' done with this day and this place right now. I am heading home. We're, we're done. <laughs> We're calling it a day. Uh, let's see, day 30, today is Horde Day. So basically, over the next uh, 12 to 16 hours or so, we're gonna just be exclusively building and upgrading at the base. We've gotta lay down the topsoil foundation for the base. We've gotta do upgrades to steel for the support columns. And we have to do like extra shielding around the support columns uh, as well. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. The Horde is finally bearing down on us, but after a good week of preparation, I think we're up to the task. The base might not look good, but with a little TLC, it'll be up and running in no time. So the plan today is to do as much construction and upgrades as we can, crank out some new bullets, and face our fate underneath the Blood Moon sky. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. Okay, so first things first, let's check on production here. We're still working on tons of concrete mix. That'll be rolling for a good long time, days in fact. And what I was thinking is probably turn most of that into cubes for the regular construction. We'll be rolling on steel here all day. We're not gonna get all of it out in time unless maybe I uh, have another forge over here. So I'm just gonna split that between the two now so we'll have even more ready for tonight. Cranked out a bunch of cobblestone there. We can use that for repairs. And the last thing I probably need is just to gather up everything into my inventory. So let me get everything together and I'll meet you downstairs. All right, here we go. Also worth mentioning, I did craft up some grenades and molotovs last night. Probably not for the horde, but uh, more so just for like our day-to-day -day stuff. You know, when we face um, <laughs> whatever monstrosities are waiting for us outside. All right, now we just have to fill this whole thing in with topsoil. Okay, that's it for that little chunk right there. Uh, it looks like destroyed stone, but it's actually topsoil. Topsoil takes the appearance of whatever biome you're in, so it's fine. And now basically just anything that can be upgraded in here needs to be fully upgraded, especially, how much steel are we sitting on right now? 1,400, we're rolling on like a thousand or two more. And so yes, everything needs to be steel that can be. This is probably the weakest link in the base right here. All right, currently just getting these pillars fortified. What I'm thinking for now is to just do a three by three block under each pillar. And then, you know, we'll just upgrade those to like concrete or steel or something like that. And that should really, really help us with solidifying the 
sort of supports of the base. We also need to put in more supports in the middles here. I don't want to put one right here because it's just, it's right in the pathway. It'll just get destroyed. It'll be kind of a resource sink, but this one right here should be helpful. All right, just taking a quick break here. All of the support pillars are in and the foundations are set. I just need to make sure the ammo production is rolling. I have two mortar and pestles working on gunpowder, but it's not going to be enough to get it all done by today, let alone the ammo production aspect of it. But there's a thousand there. There should be another thousand here. And we'll just immediately turn that into AP 762. 454 of it in 30 minutes. Oh boy. Did I make another workbench? I did. Putting all those uh, old workstations that I found to good use along the way. So 30 minutes. Yeah, that'll be enough for the horde. However, if I get any more bullets, it'll have to go into the second workbench. All right, the work continues down here. However, there's going to be a little bit of a problem right here because... The Seekers are four blocks tall. I do think that they do crawl, but um, this little two block gap here is just, uh, it's not good. Not gonna work here. So we need to fill this in with just regular shapes, I think. Who's loafing around here? Livid. Livid with the pipe pistol. How in the world did a pipe pistol soldier get in here? Did you wander in from the friggin' pine biome? You're gonna be in for a rough night, let me tell you that. The other advantage this is gonna give us is just more stability, because this was the, the weak link last time, I've already said that, but uh, this is what's gonna collapse first, basically. This is where all the seekers will be. Their little uh, explosion, their big explosions, I should say, uh, will will be affecting this area here the most. Okay, so that's what it looks like all basically repaired and we'll do the final upgrades later. I just want to kind of get everything built for now. Some patchwork here. Okay, how are we doing on power anyway? Because I don't think we're doing good enough to have any large volume of blade traps. Okay, we have three. Uh, I think it's 20 per, so if we have 150, uh, what's that going to give us? It's going to give us like... Well, we could probably get the five here at least, I would think. Here, pick these up out of the way and let's um, commit to this. I think it's actually pulling the wood out of my storages, which is very convenient. Okay, yeah, actually up to up to concrete, I guess. And can I, can I just check from here? Yes, 20. So we should have plenty of power for tonight, I think. These are just all gonna blow up though, but that's, you know, I have 20 of them. So what the hell, just let's get rid of them. And that will come off of a switch right about here, maybe. No, is that one too far away? I thought that the, the wire distance was a lot further. Who are we shooting at? A wandering horde, great. Well, we gotta work on I guess we're working on sickle scythe skill today because I don't have any 762. So here we go. Hey, don't get any wise ideas. I'm trying to collapse my base, buddy. Whoops, I'm out of stamina. It's kind of bad right now. Ow! Whoa, boy! And the gun's not loaded. Well, this is turning into an eventful morning. Quickly, take a first aid kit. I've broken my leg. That's nice. And I'm on fire again, and that was my last bullet right there. Okay, come on! Am I getting too cocky or what? Yeah, we really need to get some points into Sexy T-Rex because uh, it's getting to the point right now where I'm about to probably upgrade my scythe again to something that uses even more stamina. Oof, not gonna be good. All right, where was I? I was trying to fix everything out here. I think we're just gonna have to daisy chain that one because the, the switch is not reaching. And let's just do a quick uh, power confirmation here. Yeah, we're up to 130 and that includes the lights and the doors and switches and everything that's connected. So we should be fine tonight. Okay, the work continues down here. We just need to, I think at this point, I'm confident that um, all the blocks are into the, embedded into the ground that need to be. We just gotta fill it all in with the topsoil. Okay, that's all the topsoil. I should have the capacity to make more. I, I might have underestimated a little bit how much we were gonna go through there. So we've got a four block. Actually, that's only three and a half, crap. Uh, so hopefully, anyway, the Seekers will be able to pass through here. Ah, uh, do you think? My original design called for a staircase on this side as well. I, uh, man. <laughs> do I really wanna go through this right now? I think we should, maybe get uh, an alternative staircase on the back side here. I'm gonna be a little bit careful on the steel. Oh, we've got so much steel though. I think we're doing fine. I say that and then of course you run out like almost instantaneously. <laughs> it certainly doesn't last very long, does it? Grab up the rest of the gunpowder that we have and whoops. 
Uh, what do we need? Hammer and pliers. Hammer and pliers in. Okay, more AP762. We're gonna have less than a thousand rounds for tonight, though. Okay, was there anything up here that needed to be built? Did anything get destroyed the last time around? All of these look like they're in good shape. Okay, we, we only lost this one block here, which really gives me a lot of confidence. And if we just get this upgraded and we get the pathing situation figured out, I think we'll be golden. Okay, I was gonna do some more construction, but I've run out of cobblestone cubes. 128 gonna take seven minutes. I'll take 100 for five minutes. So what I'm envisioning here is like, as the hordes come and go, hopefully go, and there's more and more destruction out here, we'll just continue filling everything in with topsoil until hopefully at some stage, basically, you know, most of this area here will be topsoil and we won't have to worry so much about all the damage and degradation to the ground. Clay soil is cheap and easy to come by these days with the auger, so it's not too much of a tall ask to kind of, you know, craft up 500 topsoil blocks and, and just lay them down out here somewhere. With that said though, this is always going to be quite a devastated area. There's not much I can do about that. Like, look at the just big crater sitting over there. Hey, it's the wasteland though, and it looks like it. Okay, here's what I wanted to do though, just, um, patch this up a little bit and see what happens is like this is going to be guarding the block behind so the block behind i won't be able to repair it upgrade it and then zombies won't be able to damage it either then eventually this like spike system will go all the way to the top on all four sides this is the pillar here that actually collapsed and completely fell down last time i'm not even sure i think what they must they must have just dug out the ground underneath it and it was so heavy it just kind of fell off See if I can use some wood frames from here or if I'm too far away from my storage. Nope, we're good. Okay, so while I'm waiting on more shapes and more topsoil and things like that, I'm just gonna do as many upgrades as I possibly can out here. Ow, who's that? You bastard. Oh, I don't have any ammo either. Great, uh-oh. Run away. Guys, help me. I'm trying to take cover. Damn it, thank you cover me. Oh, there we go. Someone just blasted him with a shotgun. <laughs> got any ammo for me? He's just got a regular pistol and some 9 mil. Not what I'm looking for. All right, here it is. The last of the cobblestone cube shapes. The topsoil blocks. A little bit more concrete mix. A little bit more steel. And let's finally pick up some ammo so that uh, if like a bear attacks me, I have something to fight back with. There we go. 500 rounds even. Oh, look at that. There's an enemy in the lake. Are you stuck down there? Oh, he's like, are you like underground or are you, oh, there they are. Oh, here we go. Yes, I hear death's whisper. Ooh, that's new. Are you guys okay? You know, I can't really swim that well. So if you could just make your way up to me, that would be great. I'll be over here waiting with my crew. You guys can come attack if you want to. Oh, is this one of them here? Let him have it, guys. Nice. Yeah, another one sneaking up on me here. Come on, guys, let him have it. Nice. Oh, this is gonna work great tonight, hopefully. Okay, last little bits of upgrading, I think, will just be to get these positions. Okay, first of all, yeah, this whole belt on the bottom is very important. Upgrade that all to steel, please. Here we go. There's gonna be a lot that goes into repair on this base, but luckily we can make the companions do it for us. And once everything gets upgraded to steel, we won't have to focus as much on like gathering all types of resources. We can just focus on iron and, and coal in order to make the steel and get steel production up and running at full swing. And we should be pretty much okay after that. All right, how are we looking on steel now? We got 340 left. I think these probably are the most important to me right now. I think all the stairs are good, but we could do a little bit more work. Whoop, these stairs here just at least need to be repaired. Yeah, go ahead and just focus on the stairs. And then I was thinking like, do we need to do any more down here? I don't know, I think it's looking it's looking pretty good. All these guys are still wandering up here. I'm not using my ammo just yet. <laughs> Save every bullet for the Seekers. Jeez, that guy was tough. He's like the, the armored type of zombie anyway. So yeah, these couple of blocks right here. How much do I have left? 190. Yep, that's it for the steel. Little bit of extra topsoil I can lay out here. Not that this is gonna be doing really any good out here at all, but uh, I've got it, so might as well use it. And I think that's probably pretty much good. I do wanna use the rest of my cobblestone blocks to finish up some of these pieces here. 
Just gonna cover up the ones that are steel though, honestly, because I need to be able to get in behind and upgrade like that one right there. I can't cover that up just yet because it's still concrete. And this just gives a little bit of a buffer zone so that zombies are not uh, directly breaking into the actual support pillar. And that's gonna have to do it. Now just get as much upgraded to concrete as possible. All right, that's everything that I have time to do down here. Let's uh, get all the buffs and power-ups and things that we'll need. I'm gonna just go ahead and spin this up for now, just to get it going so I don't forget about it. Put the building and construction materials away and get prepared for the horde. Let's set these punch turrets back up out here somewhere. Maybe, maybe in these corners right here to help, whoops, punch them into the blade trap or something. I don't know, try it out. All right, make sure these are locked because zombies can unlock them and also like our skeleton warriors and stuff can unlock them too. I don't want any of that. And with that, I think we're pretty much good. Let's just make sure, okay, we got the mind control brew. That's gonna be critical for tonight. We've got the skeleton warriors here. Some extra 762, in fact, is there, can I get any more? Nope, we need the gunpowder up out of here. Okay, that's good. So we'll have more 762 rolling throughout the night. 250 there and 250 here. A little bit of extra steel in here if we need to do some repairs. And wow, we don't have much nine mil, do we? I thought we would have maybe had more than that. I will probably just bring the auto shotgun with me just so I have something else to shoot with and make sure I have a fire extinguisher on me as well just in case, you know, stuff happens. Oh, more skeleton warriors here. Holy cow, I've got a whole bunch of skeleton warriors. We are gonna be throwing those guys left and right. And we don't have a, a horror panther, but I think I'm okay with that. All right, that's all I can think of to get there or to do, so it's time to get in position. All right, well the day 30 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. All right, things are getting pretty heavy here already. Let's get a skeleton warrior outside. Let's take up the mind control brew. We got Catlow out there defending for us. And if I could just get uh, one of you guys close enough here, I could probably get some zombies turned over to our side, using my ammo very sparingly. Although, I don't know how long that's gonna last. The ammo's not gonna last, so I don't have much of a choice. All right, Senji here is about to die. I'm gonna see if I can snag the money off of him. Yee! Oh, no, I I had a zombie, I think. Damn it, I missed the money. All right, it's unfortunate. We're holding them off really well here. I, they're not getting close enough for me to use the mind control brew. Come on, give me a zombie. Just one. There, I got one. Just be careful not to hit him again because um, he'll turn back over to the, the zombie side. All right, so he can just stay there and be a little bit of a buffer for us. And Catlo has been killed, so off with another one. All right, there's another one. I got a nurse over to our side. Ooh, geez, things are getting crazy here now. Let's see if I can, I turned a dog over. Okay, what about you? Nice, this is working good. And then I get double damage with the regular attack. So if there's a zombie I can't kill, maybe just try and kill him with a uh, regular melee. Okay, Hobie's down. I should get the money off. There's no money on him. Oh crap, no, oh, they got nerfed, no. I get nothing for killing the Seekers now. Holy crap, they're everywhere though. Yep, multiple Seekers up here now. At least three are alive right now that I've seen. Okay, we, we definitely need more allies on our side right now. Come on, come on, find someone that I can turn. I can't turn the Rads, unfortunately. All right, can I turn any of you? I've turned a couple over there, that's good. Oh, we need more skeletons. I need like a, an auto skeleton thrower. I got a big mama, I've got some rads. Man, this is working good, not rads, but a uh, feral whites. Whoop! Hey, take something to put, take a take a murky water to put me out, take a bandage to patch me up, and uh, take a skeleton and throw him outside. Scratch that on the skeleton. Charb is still outside fighting for me. Excellent. Doing great work, guys. Everyone's doing great. Hold the line.
hear the natural selection uh, drums, the war drums right now. Oh, uh, Charb is dead now, so I can send him. I'm going to send in the level three skeleton warrior this time and see what he can do. Oh, look at this seeker. He's trying to crawl through winter steel. There we go. And then just double checking that there's no money inside. Oh, what a bummer. All right. Need more zombie friends on my side, please. Boba Tat is back. Boba Tat the Seeker, and I've been trying to go for headshots, but with the AP rounds, I think probably best to just go for, you know, groin shots so that I can maybe headshot a another zombie if he were behind. Uh, surprisingly, many of the blade traps are still spinning right now. I'm very shocked at that. I wonder if they're even doing any damage or if they're too far behind, because uh, if they're not broken by now, I feel like they're not doing much, but you never know. They might be. Got two Seekers, right? Nut to butt right there. Gonna get two for one on my bullets, probably, so good opportunity here to get two kills. Come on. Oh my god, it's just chaos. Here we go. He's trying to squeak his way in. I disapprove. Come on, guys. Get the headshots if we can. Oh, there was a boss loot bag on that one, which I accidentally searched. Oh, there's my loot. Oh, okay, so it's just gone to a random chance now, probably. And uh, you can get some good stuff off of them, too, not just the money. I approve, but I'm down to my last mag, and we're only halfway through the horde right now. Okay, there should be some more ammo crafting for me upstairs. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, guys. Hold down the fort. Huck a level three skeleton warrior out into the void. And right, okay, we've got the mind control brew active again. Kind of forgot about that part. Got to have to rehydrate on that front every once in a while. And see if I can get a couple more turned over. There we go, got a nurse. Oh, that was a feral white that was already mine. Let's get him back. Okay, looking good. We've got a couple zombies on our side. I'm just trying to see if I can in any way, like, piece out which zombie is which. There, I got a stripper. I can just sit here and kind of pick my battles, you know. Let the soldiers do the killing, and I will do the directing from here. Oh, look, our skeleton warrior's out there. Um, Zedinator, what are you doing up there? You need to come with me, buddy. Holy crap. Oh my god, he's fallen through. We need to deactivate that line right there. Deactivate that one. Open up that one. How are we looking on this side? We actually have two lanes open on this side. Yeah, we lost um, a block right there, unfortunately. So you go head back down. I will fix this. Fix, 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 fix. All the way up. There we go. Skeleton warrior's dead. Replacement out the window. Okay, soldier. Biker. I'm not sure if that skeleton is mine or, or is an enemy, actually. Are you mine? I don't know. No, I just I just killed it, so obviously not mine. Okay, biker onto my side. How about that feral white? Yes, here we go. Getting an army. Okay, traffic up front is not bad, but we can attribute that to all of the, the, war, the zombies that I've turned over. They do a really good job of distracting everyone. So everyone's probably just lurking around downstairs, fighting each other. It is 3 a.m. We're still holding strong here. I don't think the base is going to fall. Not today. Oh my god, Sushi with 7,000 hit points. Come on, guys. Okay, I'm not sure how dangerous this is going to be, but I'm going to try some contact grenades to try to throw them in such a way that it's not going to hurt our friends. At least, well, are you okay? Uh, at least not too bad, at least. Oh, no, it's definitely hurting our friends. Oh, boy. Hobie, are you okay? Okay, 342. We have 15 minutes to go. Unfortunately, I have one mag left here. Ooh, almost just died from a cop spit blast there. Wow. Go ahead with the first aid kit. I think I'm going to probably go top side and uh, a fight from up here from now on so I can do um, grenades and things like that. It is officially morning. Okay, now is the time that we lean into skeleton warriors, into molotovs, things that don't generate as much heat as do the... Uh, guns and grenades, right? The frame rate is returning, so I feel like we are making slow progress here. Yeah, just making up some extra ammo there, and uh, things are remarkably quiet now. Could it be that we have successfully defended against the horde? It's looking really good, actually. All right, really quickly, though, let's jump out here and survey the damage. We've still got... Oh my god, the lake is going to be, like, over here very shortly. Yeah, so I don't know what to do about the zombie that's down there. Maybe we can try and kind of pull them out in some other direction. Got one more guy right there. Oh, we got a screamer here. Oh, come on, come on. Directional audio, don't let me down. There we go. Holy, look at the loot bags. Also, lots of devastation over here. I think these were places where we hadn't necessarily um, 
covered with topsoil yet. So we'll fix that. It won't be much of a problem next time. All right, let's loot up and see what we get here. Look at all these boss loot bags. Ooh, tuna fish gravy toast recipe. And before I forget, I'm gonna just look and see what that does. Tuna fish toast increases entity damage with ranged weapons by 50%. Oh my God, that's like definitely the Horde Knight food right there. Yeah, look at these boss loot bags. Man, these have the good stuff. These are from killing all the Seekers. Nice. I'm doing the Seeker bags first because they're guaranteed to have much better stuff than the regular old loot bags. Oh my God, like three more over here. I'm so excited. Wow, look at the money. I think we started off with like two grand before the Horde and we're already up to 12,000. Wow, wow, good, good stuff there. I think that was a fuel saver mod for our vehicle, which is nice. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of grab up everything, toss all the stackable items, get rid of them, and basically anything that's left over will be like the special stuff. Oh my God, three more over here. Wow, <laughs> so good. We're gonna get so many new skills tonight. We're up to 21,000, let alone all the stuff that we're gonna sell here in a couple of minutes. Okay, that I think was it. And I've got the benefit of coffee and steroids and maybe a couple of other things I drank, like uh, beer. There we go, Death's Whisper again. Here you go. Oh, Big Mama just, I was too far away from her. She's got a couple of zombies left down there. But maybe if we kill Big Mama, another ND22Z0. That's supposed to be some kind of a weird faction, like a, a brand name, like a company name that made all these friggin' monsters. Try not to get toxic poisoning. <laughs> Look at me, just destroying some of the topsoil myself. It's fine. We've got to replace it with, um... We've got to replace the destroyed stone with topsoil anyway. And look at that. Some extra loot for me. Nice. Okay, quick survey of the devastation. A lot of this was already here, but now it's, um, uh, it's far worse. I don't know if I'll ever go through the, the process of filling all of this in. I might just to get it looking nicer. But then again, there's this whole area over here, which is just a complete mess anyway. Whatever, over here, most importantly, uh, okay, this is very precariously perched on like one block there. And, uh, but I think it's probably solid enough where it's not gonna like fall apart, even if we lost both support columns on one side. See, they, um, they, they dug into the teeth here a little bit on this side, but didn't do any significant damage to the steel behind. Yeah, when we get this all filled in with topsoil, we'll be A-OK. -okay. And as far as the rest of the stuff, no damage whatsoever. They're not focused on anything back here. This is all just redundancy back here. So in terms of construction for the next week, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some grenade chutes or otherwise some ways for us to like open up a hatch and see what's going on down here, just in case, you know, and give us some better visibility of what's going on on the steps over here, which by the way, actually held up really well. Oh, and one more quick look here. Again, we only lost two of these ramp filler plates. That is it. Everything else is completely intact. Oh, other than that's almost broken. We lost the railing that was on the outside and we lost the railing that was on the outside of that in a block right there. And of course we did lose the one block that was underneath uh, Sarah there. And it looks like we lost a couple of the ramp filler plate, uh, ramp filler shapes that were on the top there. No big deal. Considering what we got for loot there, my goodness, it's uh, well worth the price. Here, let me just put all the stackable items away and we'll see what we got there. Okay, robotic, headlamp mod, useless. Read the schematics we've already read. The Tai Chi spear, along with a heavy Morningstar mace. We'll check those out. And in here, we've got the four x four truck chassis, beer recipe, goldenrod tea recipe, rad remover recipe. We did get that fuel saver. We're up to almost $30,000 in cash. Treasure map, we'll read that. Oh my God, I got the Darkeen Scythe. I don't even have to level up my class in it. That's an immediate changeover. However, we'll have to definitely get, what's the stamina cost on this? 21 compared to what we're used to, 16. And that's modified too. Man, it looks cool. It's got a good attack speed too, not bad. Yep, yep, okay, sexy T-Rex, we need that for sure. What else did we get there? Anything important? Uh, we got some military armor and ooh, we got a two-headed eagle. 
hammer that we can check out. Again, just a, maybe a few too many ratchets, pickaxes, and shovels. No impact driver, auger, or chainsaw though. Oh, and look at the 762 we got. Holy Toledo, we got like a thousand of it. Excellent, we'll change that over and we'll save the AP again for next Horde Night. Okay, so here's the other three specialty weapons that I found. There's this uh, Morningstar mace or hammer or something. I'm not really sure what class this is. Club, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, then we got this, um, what was this called? The Tai Chi Spear. It's pretty cool. Heavy power attack there. And then we got this, um, ooh, nice. This, uh, what was it called? The Twin Eagle Hammer or something? Very cool. There's definitely no shortage of toys with this mod. Let me get everything organized here. We'll put everything away. We'll get the inventory squared away, and then we'll do a sell-off, and we'll buy some uh, perks from Briston there. Okay, here we go. I think I'm ready. I did craft up a Daring Adventurer training book so that we can uh, get better quest rewards. I don't have to remember my glasses. And if I do bring my glasses, I get an even better bonus. And, uh, yep, I think we're just ready to do sell off now. There's nothing in here that I want to keep except for those diamonds. Grab up everything and start selling to Briston. All right, there we go. We're now up to 38,000 dukes, or dollars, I guess. And there was a uh, supply plane that just flew over. Where did you I'm drop really your supplies? Started. He went right really directly over jam. overhead. Why don't I see your uh, supply drop? Oh, there it is, which is good. So we've got airdrop, airdrop, treasure map, treasure map, treasure map. That might be a good activity for today. Do some digging, do some treasury, treasuring, treasure, treasure hunting, maybe. But for now, let's talk to Briston and get some skills. We need sexual Tyrannosaurus. I'll just get four of those right off the top. I would also take minor 69er because that's gonna help us more with the auger now. And I think I need, what was it? Do I need one more mother load to max? I do because I have the glasses and I'll just have to remember to have the glasses with us. So mother load, what's that put me to? 21, oh my god, we got so much money left. Okay, well there's the iron gut. We'll take one of those, we'll take one deep cut. There's lucky looter, I'll take two of those. And we're about to go do some treasure stuff, so ah, why not, we'll take a treasure hunter. We get so many treasure maps that I feel like we could actually benefit from that. And that will have to do it. Wow, we're gonna like super level up today. Okay, that's it for level ups. Just have a look now. Things are looking a lot better. We've definitely focused a lot on strength at, you know, any playthrough in Seven Days to Die. If you're, at least if you're gonna do base building, you have to focus on strength. Okay, so I've got the mother load glasses with me. I don't need those. I need the treasure hunter glasses and the lucky looter glasses. We'll start with the airdrops. We'll put the lucky looter glasses on, put the mother load crap away. Treasure hunter, you're coming with me. And let's go get some treasure. We are low on gas. We do need more engines. So if I see vanilla cars, I'll be wrenching them down. And otherwise, I think everything today either takes place in the wasteland, which is nice, or there's uh, one, I think, treasure map that's in the snow biome. So, you know, second best. All right, let's cut cross country here. Ah, uh, you know what we need to do this week is we need to get the mechanics workstation and then see if we can get a repair kit made for some sort of a good off-road vehicle, like the monster truck or, I don't know, like a Humvee or something like that. Just something, it really, it, could you not destroy the supply crate? Grab that, holy cow, what is wrong with you? Oh, ow. Hey, I like this. This uh, seems to swing very fast. I'm not sure if it's faster or if it's just me, but I do like it. All right, who's next? Looks like Raphael's treasure map. Oh, and by the way, what did we even get off of that? Oh, and I had the... No, I did have the correct glasses on, fortunately. For the next one, we're gonna need the uh, the daring... Uh, the What was it called again? Treasure hunter glasses. We did get a farming bundle. Melee mods bundle. Yeah, not much, really. And how are we doing on the class leveling up front? Ooh. Uh, we're level four with sights and with tactical rifles. This is right under this road. That's nice. Ooh, some vanilla cars, though. We'll hit these up first. Oh, wait a minute. That's not giving me, uh, the, the vanilla stuff. I was expecting to get, um, you know, gas and things. What is, what is the case here? I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be finding engines. Certainly not in any of those things or that. There was a battery in that one, though. All right. I, I, I don't know. Okay, what was in that farming bundle again? Oh, there's a super corn seed. That's nice. And a uh, hop and pumpkin. And the farm plot blocks. I don't know if I need those. I can get those pretty much anywhere. All right, should just be a real quick dig here to get this stuff up. Nope, oh, there we are. And we're in. And I just gotta double check I got the right glasses on. I'm very bad at the whole glasses situation. I do, I have the treasure hunter glasses in. 
We got a dragon spear. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a 1911. Silver and gold. Otherwise, not much. Really, not a great treasure there, unless you're a pistol spear user. So, uh, by the way, this is your 1911, which looks cool, sounds cool. And here's your dragon spear. That looks super cool. Is it? Was this the same as the one we found? No, because we've had the Tai Chi spear this morning. Ah, it's really, really nice feeling too. Gotta love all the additions in this mod. I do at least. Very, very cool stuff. Okay, beer. Beer is good for drinking. Let's check the map. We're off to the next airdrop, which is gonna mean lucky looter glasses for this one. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, are you kidding me? How did I possibly do that? Damn it. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh yeah, and there's a zombie here too. That's nice. No! Oh. No, get away from my stuff. I don't know why you want to attack the uh, the box there so bad. I disapprove. Deep laceration, are you kidding me? How do you just straight up deep lacerate me? Am I like not wearing armor or something? All right, what did we get out of this one? Also, really not bad. Iron armor bundle, good for selling. Some corn on the cob, I can top off my... What was that? Oh, it's a mercenary. He just wrecking through here, killing people. Random loot bag here. What are, who are you and why are you here? Christy M. Hold still for a second and talk to me. Oh my god, this is a... What is this? This is a mercenary and they're selling all of the mercenary protections. But I don't have any money right now. So you have to have tier 4 unlocked to get to tier 5. I think I'm at tier 3 right now. Player level 45. Tier 5 unlocks... No, four unlocks at player level 60. Ugh, I don't know if I want to spend five grand on the mercenaries. I don't use them that much. I forgot entirely about using them during the Horde night, so... Oh, it's just very interesting. I guess there's he's like a wandering trader that sells... Oh, you know what? Maybe you can't even activate those unless you're that level. So probably I'll just wait. I'll wait until he appears when I actually level up. And we'll just do it from there. Ooh, how about that? I could take out three zombies with my new... What is it called? The Darkeen Scythe? Love that name. Very cool. Okay, where are we off to next now? We're heading downtown for Jennifer's treasure, which... Let me just get this switched over now before I forget. Treasure Hunter glasses. Alright, I'll meet you there. Okay, here we are. I think we're rolling up on the spot. Yep, it's kind of right in the backyard here. Not as bad as I was expecting, for sure. Oh, one-shot kill on these radiated zombies. Not radiated, but... I don't know. Toxic radiated. Oh, jeez, and I gotta listen to someone with a pistol shooting over here? Yes, that appears to be the case. Oh, also, this truck right here, that's one that I can get a, an engine out of, I think. Oh, there we go, got my engine. And, oh my god, this guy is gonna drive me absolutely crazy. Are you serious, man? You're so annoying. Take that! Etienne Paquin, oh boy! There we go, I've, uh, I've silenced this mess over here. All right, let's dig in here and see what we can get. One second. Of course, we've got more zombies rolling in. Yeah, this scythe feels good. I like it. It's looking more and more like the treasure chest is going to be underneath this building here. Lovely. Look, this is like definitely underneath a POI. Okay, that was easy. Double check. I got the right glasses on. I do. Let's check this out. Oh my god, a Spaz 12 shotgun. That'll be great for using up our shotgun supplies. Our uh, 12 gauge ammunition supplies. Okay, quickly now, switch this over. Got some extra bullets with me. Boom! Oh yeah, this is good. I like it. Oh boy, we've got a, a real mess going on over here. It's not doing really any damage. Oh boy. And that would be because probably I'm not specced into it at all, like I am this. Oh, also, he's just a really tough cop. Also, I, I do think that I kind of woke up, like, that entire POI worth of zombies, maybe. Very, very active. Oh, boy. Ow. Okay, I finally did get that bound over to my mouse so that I can, um, uh, put myself out if I'm on fire or use first aid. Where are all these cops coming from? Okay, actually, mm, kind of out of stamina. Holy crap, I don't think this is getting any better, too. I can hear more zombies rolling in. Let's maybe just get the hell out of here. Holy crap, yep, radiated wolf thing. Goodbye. All right, real quickly then, check the map. We've got the airdrop that was local to us. There should be one more treasure map up there in the snow biome. And it's kind of tricky to get to from here, but eh, I'll meet you over there. 
Okay, here we go. We've got a couple of survivors on this side. Hey, what's up? We've got Cloud Z over here. And who is that over there? Alaria over there. Nice. I want to check that school bus there real quick and see if I can get an engine off of it. Just hopefully I don't run into too many problems here. Ooh, nice shot. I'll go in for the kill. Don't worry about that. Jeez, all I'm trying to do is get an engine here. But I'm just a nice guy helping out my fellow survivors out here. <laughs> we won't mention the one that I burned to death earlier. Okay, there we go. Engine out of this. So maybe you just get the engines out of, like, big vehicles. Like, um, you know, working stiff tool truck, ambulance, school bus, things like that. But like I said, it's a difficult process to get over here onto this road. But here, finally, I think I got a straight shot to it. Right through all this stuff. Whoop, taking some fire there. How dare you? By the way, we have got to do some, um reconnaissance and see if we can find a friggin bandit base because I'm tired of them rolling up onto me when I'm trying to do some mining and killing me. I mean, luckily I've got the dark magic to kind of come back to life, but these bastards, oh, they need to be taught a lesson. Okay, here's another one right here. Come here, buddy. You're not getting away that easily. Ooh. Oh, got a one-shot kill on him with a dark keen scythe. Whew. Man, these guys are dangerous though. Here. Give me a first aid kit. Ooh, check this out over here. Look at this, look at this. Hang on. Uh, kill. And ooh, how would that be? A repairable warthog. Okay, we need to mark this on the map because that's definitely something I would be willing to repair. Are you beating on the warthog? No, no, none of that. See if there's anything good in it. A freaking sham sandwich, yeah. Real nice. Okay, put everything away. Do I have the correct pair of glasses on? Okay, lucky looter glasses in the inventory. I think we're all set. Let's kill this guy. There we go. And I have a little bit of fuel left for this, so might as well use it up while we're out here and dig this treasure up. It actually, I guess it could possibly be in the wasteland. If it's underneath me now, I'm at loot stage 127. So this is the border, like right here. Okay, what way is the... Ah, it's moving this way. Then again, I might get lucky here. I think I'm gonna get lucky. It's gonna be a wasteland treasure. Yep, there it is right there. My loot stage is 127. We did it, and we have one fuel left, so perfect. Nice, we're in, we got the right glasses on, and it's our last loot of the day. We got another dragon spear, and this time a heavy titanium flanged mace, which I'll check out. Otherwise, some ammo. How does this look? Oh my god, that looks so good. I love the melee weapons in this mod, it's just so cool. All right, I won't pass up a little bit of extra free XP for my tactical rifles. And uh, some extra bones for, well, I was gonna say making skeleton warriors, but honestly, I've got so many skeleton warriors right now and it just ticked nightfall there. Oh, Bubbles, hello there. What are you doing here? Wandering in from the wasteland? Look out, oh, oh, Bubbles, you made babies. Oh, and then, Oh my god, we got baby mutants everywhere! Holy crap! Look at so many of them! They're so fast! Oh my god. Also, where did you all come from? Why is there a soldier here now? Ow! Oh, my gun broke. That's not good. We do have the shotgun. Doesn't do much, but I'll take it for what it's worth. Especially against these, ow, armored soldiers. Not good, I'm weakened because I, um, I'm fatigued or something. Yep, time to leave. I give up. Ah, I really do want that loot bag that's over there, though. Oh, jeez. Come on, let's go, let's go. I don't think I really have the capacity. Oh, another, no, no, no. If you made babies, I'm leaving. Oh, I just, I can't do enough damage. The shotgun is absolutely garbage. Here, quickly now, go over here. Grab, no, not that. Oh, that was actually the loot bag. Nice, okay, we're good, we're out of here. Holy crap, man, what a day. Lots of loot today, we had lots of loot last night. Today was just the day of loot. This will forever be remembered as loot day. Okay, just taking a look at the map. We haven't actually explored this road, but it just links up with the road that we kind of live off of. I think it's just time to head home now and get organized and get a plan going for tomorrow. I think tomorrow we'll do the cybernetics mission to get the silencer schematic and we'll get one of those crafted for our tactical assault rifle. Excuse me, tactical rifle, not an assault rifle. And maybe what I'll even do tonight is I'll just like slowly drive around. I have like, ah, I'm really low on fuel, but I'm gonna just drive around a little bit and see if I can harvest up at least a couple more engines. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night.
Welcome back to the Rebirth. Now that the Horde is behind us, we can focus on some of the less important things that often get overshadowed by the threat of the Blood Moon. So today I'd like to work on converting our old house into a farm. Not only do we need to improve our farming skill, but we also need to get cranking on super corn production, which is an ingredient for higher tiered foods. After that, I'd like to do the cybernetics mission and finish things off by getting a sweet new off-road vehicle. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you, but now it's go time. Okay, so on the way home last night, I was able to get a couple more engines, and I think, uh, I think I filled up the generator down there, so we're up to six, and we'll need one of them, along with this generator right here, to bring over to the other house, the modern house back there, so that we can set up the garden. But first things first, I just noticed that I'm fatigued and infected, and I don't think I treated those last night, so we'll slap an antibiotic and a vitamin into us. Should be good there. I'm also just dirt poor. Oh, speaking of poor, we should actually check on Mr. Hamilton here to see if we can get uh, some super corn. May I see your inventory? So he sells all kinds of garbage in here, just decoration stuff, but secret stash, yes, has all the goods, including super corn. Holy cow, <laughs> that's expensive. I can buy, what, five of these? Which would be good for one super corn seed? Oh boy. I suppose. We're gonna need the super corn to make all the fancy re recipes anyway. Wait a minute, what was the farming seeds? Wait a minute, what, what, which one is this? Because there are three types of th farming seed bundles and the third one actually has a super corn in it. I need to check on that when, when we get some more money at least. Okay, so for the big project, we're gonna need the generator. Whoops, oh, I need a land claim block here. Where do, where do I make that? It would appear that is made in the forge over here, or the anvil, if you will. Land claim block, that'll replace the one that we have at the modern house anyway. And I was also noticing here the bucket. We're gonna need a lot of stuff to bring with us today. Let me get kitted up and I'll probably just meet you over there. All right, here we are, home sweet home. Oh, our old home at least. Whoa, look out, wolf. Oh God. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Jeez. Parkour saving my life as usual. Here, turn these lights off, they're a little bit annoying. All right, let's get up there and check on the garden. All right, what are we looking at here? How much water do we have left? 14 water left. It looks like most of the plants, all the plants in fact, are done growing. So first things first, let's harvest up. Okay, that looks pretty good. I also crafted a brand new mortar and pestle. So we can set that down in here somewhere and start grinding on some new seeds. Basically, my priority is gonna be on just making as many seeds as we possibly can. Make a big, big garden out here. Okay, there's a whole bunch more seeds. We can probably fill this in, and I think eventually, maybe today in fact, it, it, right now even, uh, we should probably expand the garden. Now, I was thinking we could like tear all of these up and put them up on the roofs. So they're all kind of in one spot, but that would be kind of a big chore to pull seeds and put them back. So that's this is fine down here. We'll just fill this in and then we'll put even more up there. And I'm just realizing now, I think I did forget my regular seeds back at the base. We'll have to swing by there again. And there's the super corn right there. And I do believe that is it. We've uh, filled up this garden here. I gotta go run back real quick and get some, uh, I think I have like two more farm plots. Uh, so I got some more seeds and then actually we'll probably, I'll meet you over, let's check the map real quick. I will meet you over at the farm plots. Let's go dig some more of those up. Okay, here we go, we're rolling up onto the spot. Oh my goodness, there's a demon here. Wow, um, <laughs> looks like a demon and a couple of zombies. Who is this, Pascal? Going for those headshots if I can get them. Trying to level up the tactical rifle. There we go, nice. Good kill there. Good one there too. And who's left? Step away from the vehicle, sir. Wow, a nice loot bag, too. Beer is good for drinking. Got three loot bags. Three zombies and three loot bags. Very, very good. <laughs> More beer. <laughs> I, th I think one for this time of day is good enough. Okay, there should be like, I don't know, a couple dozen of these farm plots here. So I'm gonna dig them all up. Oh, geez, wait a minute. No, I'm not. I'm going to fight an army of women with short skirts. And the pig is gonna help me. Oh, excellent. What is all this anyway? Uh, here, I'm gonna need some boosts, except, uh, oh, they're not on my hot bar anymore. Uh, where'd they go? There we go, there's a coffee. All right, who's the boss anyway? Oh, there she is right there. Mia Divinity, oh my God. Oh, the pig is down. The pig did not do any good at all. All right, gonna try and get some uh, melee skill action in. We can't just burn through all of the 762 all the time, although I am crafting a ton of it. I've definitely done pretty well on the the whole ammo chain. 
Here we go. Soften him up a little bit with this. Mia is just letting her minions do all the work. Wolf! Oh boy, no, no, now she's, uh, she's unleashed. <laughs> they were like waiting for the wolf to ambush me there, maybe. Okay, easy, easy, easy on the 7-6-2 there. Oh my goodness, she's big. Ow! Getting roughed up here a little bit. Here, just get a preemptive first aid kit into me. I've got pumpkin seeds instead of painkillers. That's nice. Okay, that's good. They are, they're all scatterbrained now. Here, time for the 762. Oh, of course, it's gotta be a crawling zombie. The worst ones to try and shoot in the head. There we go. I think that was it. What did we get here? We've got the Shinji Katana. I have been finding so many Hello? Oh, <laughs> fire burned the tree down. So many katanas I've found in this playthrough, none of them are any good to me. Except for harvesting boar, maybe, and wolves. Alright, anything on her person? No. And I just realized that I had 1500 rounds of 762, but I accidentally put some of it away when I was back at the base, getting seeds and things like that. So, okay, <laughs> without further ado, we're gonna get what we came for and grab up some of this uh, these farm plots. There's actually 25 of these in each little square here, and I think that there's two more squares on the other side, and we've got the three on this side. Okay, and that should be it for this place. I know there's some that I missed in the modern house there. That's one of the advantages of editing, is that you can see all the mistakes that you've made, and how many things you've passed by and missed. But anyway, I think that we're good. I just pulled like 125, I think I have. Uh, yeah, but I'm up to 127 now. That will be fine. From here, though, I did realize when I was doing that, that I probably am going to need another one of those, um, like, blue buckets. Is this a blue bucket right here? My goodness, speak of the devil. Can I grab this? Excellent. That's a good benefit there. And there's this truck here, which I should be able to get an engine out of. Oh, and the shotgun turret schematic! Whoa, what a good find! I made four motion sensors last night, and just before I left today, I crafted two of those into SMG auto turrets. So those should be done by the time we get home. We'll have two SMG turrets, and then I'll try to get two shotgun turrets crafted as well. And I, did I get it? I did get an engine off that, excellent. Okay, I think we have everything we need. Let's head back to the farm and start getting that uh, set up once and for all. Okay, we're back. Okay, first things first, get this generator down, slap the engine in it, refuel it, and yep, just turn it on for now. I did bring some lights with me along with the electric timer relay. Uh, where did the lights go? Right there, four light bulbs. We also have the lights in here that we can pull out maybe if we need them. But let's just get this all filled in with the plots and then get the seeds in. Okay, I think that's completely filled up with crops now, and they should all be growing, basically, I think. They should all have water. Wait. Growth halted, nearby water source is empty. Oh, right, because that's there. Okay, then I need to knock this out very quickly. Okay, there we go. That might not look too good right now, but we'll see if we can do anything to dress that up in the future. I just wanted to, like, replace this with a stair, just like that, and I brought some wood with me so that we can do that. And, um, I wonder... Could I maybe... Okay, the tank is empty, so this is a good opportunity to test this. Let's uh, pull that up. And for now, I will just replace it with a farm plot. And I'm gonna go downstairs and I'd see if I can just line this up properly. So something on the order of right here. So right on top of the counter, basically. I'm gonna put that barrel down right there. I think that, uh, that's reasonably good right there. Before we solidify it though, we need to test this out. So I need my bucket, and I think there's a sink down here that I can use to fill it up with water. There, 200 rain water. Now we gotta check upstairs and see if that's actually pulling through the floor. My, uh, my thought is that it, it is, but we have to make sure. And, uh, oh no, growth halted, water, s wait a minute. Some of these are, Growing and others are not. It might be that the thing ran out of water. Crap. Okay, that did not work. I am many things, but a good plumber? I am not, I guess. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And the rest of these, yet yeah, water source required. Okay, some of these had rainwater in them. Some of them did not. Some of the new ones that we put down. Okay, bust. We gotta start over. Hmm, What? what's the trick then? Should I just put like a water thing 
right uh, here. Is this gonna work, maybe? I just didn't like how it looked kind of in the middle there. Okay, yes, it is depleting now. This one says it got some water out of that. I don't know the the length, like the distance that that carries though. I think I'll probably need to put another one on this side here. The more the better really, because uh, I don't wanna have to be over here daily, like refilling things with water. Although I should be over here daily anyway, harvesting the crops, so. <laughs> Maybe scratch that. This is kind of a high maintenance activity, as it should be. Okay, this one is depleting, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, see, growth halted, water source required. It's not, it's not able to push that far. It's just this one, this one thing right here. Maybe, maybe we gotta get some more buckets and put them inside here somewhere. Or maybe if I put one on the roof up there, it'll, it'll pull down. Oh, I, geez, I don't know. Let me run to the house real quick and get some more buckets. All right, I brought 14 extra buckets. I've been collecting them because I knew that they would come in handy someday. We can put a bucket over there, I would imagine. And uh, we'll just have to periodically come over here and fill up, you know, three or four things with water. And that should, yes, that has now pulled into this one. This crop now has water. And yes, that's down to 196. So actually, if four water got taken out of that, it must have filled up a couple more that I didn't see uh, were without water. Maybe these couple over here? Maybe this is just not reaching the center? Oh, geez, look at this one. This one needs water too. Okay, I am just freaking done. I'm just putting buckets everywhere. Buckets all over the place. The more buckets we have, the less often we have to fill them up anyway. Okay, <laughs> bucket in there. That should cover this whole section of the garden. It doesn't look half bad either, if you ask me. And now we have to figure out the lighting for it. So I've got four lights. Uh, we did some testing before to figure out uh, like the, the, the span of a light, and I think it was five blocks. So, and this is an eight by nine thing. So I think I'll need four lights. So we need to figure out how to like symmetrically space out uh, four lights over this garden. And I don't know, but probably the best way to go about this is to just make like a track light kind of thing. So like this here, corn is three blocks tall. So the light would have to go onto the fourth block. And while I'm at it, just in anticipation of also having a huge farming system up here, I'm gonna go ahead and start with putting like a little catwalk around the edge. Okay, now the trick up here is that we've got to figure out the water thing again. So, let's see here. The, down here, it looked like we were getting, it looks like it's about a five uh, block radius for this, but then it's probably rounded over on the edge. So what if we actually, oops, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get up and down here. It's some sort of a permanent solution for that. But if we cut this right in half here, we could have this as like a sort of like a utility row right here where we just put some uh, rain collectors in here. Oh crap, I'm just realizing my mistake. This is not centered. <laughs> no, crap, I gotta fix it. Okay, I can hear footsteps. Who's here? Oh, it's a wandering horde out there. Okay, we're heading to ground level. Out into the streets for a fight. Ow, whoa, jeez, okay, fast mover there. Come on, bring it on. Gotta work on my scythe skills. Uh, on second thought, I also need to conserve my stamina a little bit. There we go. Whoop. Oh boy. There we go. I'm working on tactical tanking there a little bit. I'm working on my constitution. Even got a cop here. Holy crap. Kill streak. Am I on a rampage? I am. Nice. There we go, done. Right, so I learned a little bit about the, the rampage there. Oh, I sprained my leg, oh my god, and I'm hungry, jeez. So the kill streak is, you get it by getting headshots, or I think it's headshot kills though. So like, like two or three in a row in like a very short period of time, but then kills, just regular kills, maintain it. So for every kill, it like, you know, adds on more seconds to your rampage, and then you get a plus 100% uh, damage bonus when you're on a rampage. Okay, I just have a few more seeds to plant up here. Just gonna get them in. I'm not gonna set up the lighting up here just yet because I don't have any lights and I'm also running low on frames, but we'll get to it eventually. Just get them up here so that we have some extra volume of seeds to harvest to work on our farming skill and of course get the crops and expand the garden and stuff. Okay, let's just confirm that these are getting water over here on the far edge and it does look like everything's getting water just fine. All good there. Are these, 
These are not getting pulled for water though, because they did like rain for three seconds because now all of these have rain water in them. <laughs> so, okay, to be determined if that's gonna work. I think it should work, you know, five blocks. Maybe we have to move one back here so it's like an even five from the side. Okay, we'll see. Let's just solidify this piece here and see about getting those lights set up here. So we need an electrical timer relay. We'll uh, set that up right there. And, uh, oh, it should be dark out here really soon too. So we'll get to test and see if this is even gonna work. Okay, so to evenly space this, I think I'll put them like one, two, three, right there. One, two, three, right there. There we go, all hooked up. We'll see if it works. And in the meantime, I'll work on a sort of permanent solution for getting up and down here. Yo, oh, there we go, it's nightfall. Is everything growing? Did everything, is everything being reached by the light? Everything looks like it's growing. Oh, there's nothing growing in there. There's no plant at all in there. Yep, I think everything's good. I think we got good light coverage. We got good water coverage. Everything is hunky-dory. Right, because up here it says growth halted, light required. Okay, I'd say that's good enough. All we have to do now is just build some sort of a lighting system just like this over all of these. In fact, it should be pretty easy. We'll have one going straight over this way and another going straight over this way, right through the middle. And we'll just put lights up along the way and um, hope for the best, I guess. I might just use my 15 shapes to kind of frame out one of them at least. Just replace this one with an L shape. Then I should be able to go straight up. I'm out of shapes now, but that'll go straight up and over, connect with that one. And then this one over here will not do the same thing because this is all off-centered. So we'll have to have another one coming up and over and should be fine. I think that'll work. And this is the little ladder system to get back down. And I think I need to head home now and work on this sprained leg. And what are we doing for tonight? Maybe we'll do some uh, mining or something. All right, let's get the heck out of here and head home. Okay, so here are my two SMG auto turrets. Let's check on the other thing over here. Okay, this one's just working on AP762 and lots of it too. But we got the recipe for the shotgun auto turrets. Let's see if we can craft any. Oh, we need to have the double barrel shotgun for this. It does, it, I do find it interesting that you, you only need a pistol to craft the SMG auto turret and need a dubsy to craft the shotgun auto turret, even though this is a pump shotgun and this is a submachine gun. I won't ask any more questions though. So we'll just, um, do you think we could craft that? Oh, it's, it, yeah, it's craftable, just not by us. Uh, that's gonna pro probably require the shotgun class, whatever one that is. Right, ground charcoal. I did uh, do a lot of sort of digging and, and figuring out how the whole distilled water thing works. You have to get wood and you turn it into charcoal in the campfire. Then you grind the charcoal into ground charcoal. Then you come over here and you turn it into activated charcoal using calcium chloride. The calcium chloride uses hydrochloric acid, boiled water, limestone fragments. So I've made a whole bunch of all of that stuff. And now I should have all the things I need to make distilled water. Yes. Oh, look at that. I could make like 90 plus of it, only really being held back by boiled water of all things, which reminds me, I don't have any of that. We need to have distilled uh, boiled water on us or even murky water for that matter, so that we can put out fires. Anyway, start working on that and we can like really stock up on red tea. We could just drink red tea all day long. Oh, you know what happened? See, I get really mixed up here because you've got the one AP762, which is just the regular like crafting a bullet from scratch. And then you have the other one, actually I think it's this one, where it converts your regular 762. That's why I ran out of 762. I was like, I had like 1500 of this. But no, I don't actually want to convert that because I want to have regular 7.62 for the day to day. And I will just, whatever I have for crafting materials, I'll turn it into AP 7.62. That's just using a lot more bullet tips, double the amount of bullet tips. And look at that though, 1,500 waiting for us for Horde Night, uh, in addition to the couple hundred we already had there. So we'll have something like 2,000 for Horde Night coming up. All right, I would say of all the materials, we're looking okay on coal. We're not looking very good on iron. We're not looking terribly good on steel, although I do think I am crafting a whole bunch of it over here somewhere. Yeah, really only like a couple hundred extra steel though. Let's go work on some iron for tonight and just kind of like replenish our stock on that for the next horde cycle. All right, for this trip, I'm bringing Hobie with me. Hobie, 
Follow me. You're just going to basically clue me in on if anyone's trying to ambush me. Here, I'm going to take Logan with me too. Come with me. Let's head to the mining site, which is really just right here. Whoops. <laughs> Hit the brakes there. Yeah. So, okay. One of you on one side, one of you on the other. Stay where I'm standing. Shoot at people and let me know if there's a giant group of bandits coming after me. This, this mine is not too bad. In fact, I might even make like an alternative exit so that I don't get like... <laughs> A bunch of people standing on top of my head, but I'm trying to crawl out of the ladder. Yeah, it's never a bad idea to have uh, multiple exits, right? All right, they're just shooting at random zombies. I've got the goldenrod tea into me. Let's get to work here. I did, now that I'm thinking about it, forget to bring my mother load glasses with me. But my mother load level is level 9 anyway, so it's not like we're missing out on too, too much. All right, it's officially morning, and I think it's time to get out of here grab up the crew in fact the crew can just stay with me because we're gonna go do that cybernetics mission next i think it's okay to just take the two if i bring all four you know we have better chances of being successful but we also have higher chances of losing everybody <laughs> so divide and conquer i guess can we just do this right now do we actually need to go home and get anything i mean we could go grab like skeleton warriors but i got the mercenaries with me anyway i've got bullets um I've had some drinks to, to kind of juice me up, and I've also had the steroids, which are going to wear off shortly. All right, where is that mission anyway? It's just to the north. We've got to actually loop all the way up and around. And look, there's a tier 4 fetch and clear there at the CDC as well. If we do well here at the Cybernetics mission, maybe we'll hit up the CDC on the way home. Oh, look at that. I'm almost here, and I just picked up... Who did I pick up anyway? Did I pick up old mercenaries from the last time I was here? Is this still a bug? Wow, okay, we have extra mercenaries quickly then, because they're only gonna be here for like a minute or two, and I should be able to spawn in three more on top of it. Here we are at the cybernetics mission. Everybody get ready, lock and load, and let's hit it. All right, Anarch and Jill Jugs are with us. Where? Oh, here it is, right here. Okay, insert, get the extra, extra mercenaries. Oh, we got so many. Oh, he's got mercenaries too. Oh, ow. Here, just get a first aid kit into me preemptively. Oh my God, he's got a whole bunch of friends. Oh, yes, even more. Can we maybe focus on that guy before he spawns even more in? There we go. Oh, jeez, I can't see what's going on here. There we go. Was that it right there? Let's check on this. This should have the silencer schematic. Some diamonds, some shotgun rounds. <laughs> Look at the crew here. Holy crap. Nice. All right, well, quickly then, to the CDC. Alright, here we go. Bail out and hit the quest and let's just charge in here while we've got everyone with us. Everybody inside. Oh, don't catch on fire because I never did bring any water with me. My bad. Also, we're going to have to take all these cars and stuff with us on the way out. And, uh, oh yeah, we got to get the, um, the mechanics workstation and all that stuff. But look how fast Bo is moving. Jeez, man, these evolved zombies are getting crazy. Oh, my mercenaries all just left, and yep, Logan's on fire. Try not to be on fire, please. At least zombie fire, like, if, if a zombie catches you on fire, it's not nearly as bad as if you actually, like, walked into a burning block fire. That is the, the bad one. Okay, what are we doing here? Clear the area and fetch the supplies. Okay, the old double whammy. Mandatory test station. Are we just going in through the front door here? It, it does look like that. Everything is unlocked. I do wish I had the silencer with me already. Big yellow boy in there. Okay, not very crowded down here, though. I mean, yeah, there's a, there's a couple people. Test group number two locked in the bathroom. Whoop! Oh, no. Don't set stuff on fire. Is this really seriously all wood? Oh, great. This is just bad. Oh, hello, everyone. What is this going to go to? Oh man, my fire extinguisher is like really, really low quality, so it's not gonna have very many uses in it before it breaks. That is a working chemistry station. Coming home with me. There's a somebody out here. Oh, it's a bandit. Yeah, no big deal. Oh wow, that's a really good first aid kit there. Are, do these have anything in them? Just iron, I think, right? Oh my god, a whole smattering of weird things. Here, I'll have all these then. Also, I think there's a bear outside. 
Come get some uh, bullets to the face to help my assault rifle skill. Tactical rifle skill. And some free bones. Oh, another working chemistry station. Well, why not? Ooh, a nice compound bow in there. Just picked up a pair of pack mule glasses. I'm wearing treasure hunter glasses, which is completely useless, so I guess I'll switch them over. Another <laughs> working chemistry station. I think I'm all set, really. Oh, here we go. Can I get a sneak attack on this guy? Yeah, there we go. Oh, crap. Oh, it got a sneak attack on me, too. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it scared. Jumped me there a little bit. Here we go. Let me uh, wrench that door open for you. Okay. Try not to burn too much. Okay. Oh, beer. Beer is good. And also murky water. Nice. So I can put people out. Yes, there's two more. Nice. Okay, so we have some emergency mur murky water to put people out if they catch on fire. Anything in there? Nah. Nah, that's good. Second level. Level two personnel only. Here we go. Look at all the chemistry stations here. I didn't realize there were so many. <laughs> that's a little, little excessive. That's ah, combo pack POI though. Man, we are a badass crew, aren't we? Oh, spotlight. I could take that home with me. That's helpful. There we go. Fountain pen. These are like all working desks. To this. I guess I could just go, go around. That was not difficult. Although probably I've missed a button somewhere. There was that box down there. That didn't do anything up here though. Oh, good job, Logan. Logan pulled like a T-9000 or whatever from Terminator and just meshed through the bars. Yes, I want to be in there. What's the trick here? Aha, there it is. Open this box. That must have done it. Here we go. Okay, we got to break into this though. Give me two seconds. We are in. Okay, we got the Tai Chi spear again. And otherwise, not much. It's good though. We're getting like, you know, uh, you know, Tai Chi spear, some of the, the better weapons just in the forest biome now. Previously, we were only getting stuff like that when we were in the wasteland or something. Whoa, wow, Ooh, that's a lot of soldiers. Guys, could you maybe be up here to help me? Thank you. Okay, I'm on fire. It's the mild type of fire though. Holy crap, zombies teleporting through me again. I've also broken a leg. Wow, bad luck. And um, somebody's down there. There we go. Indian doll. Okay, that's a bummer. We've got a broken leg now. That also happened really quickly, man. These soldiers are rugged. Probably should just start carrying casts or at least splints with me. Was this it here? Are we done? Nope. Oh, there's another like level up there. I don't, I just passed through there. I didn't see a way to get up there though. Wouldn't mind having these red lights here. Also really wouldn't mind having this light here. And uh, for our run speed penalty that we have now, we could probably just take a red T, which uh, actually didn't help at all. Oh, I see. There's a ladder here. I didn't see that part before. Hello? Nobody's up here. Oh, they're, they're trickling in, I guess. All these first aid shelves here and nothing to help my leg. Aha, key box. Oh, and supply satchel. That's helpful. Oh, I see. Oh, there's another level on top. Okay. Don't mind me. Just gonna scrounge up all the loot that I can here. One more little thing to check for maybe a cast or splint or damn it. And what are we looking at here? We're looking at, let's just get a little bit of a, a spy mission going on here. See what's going on in here. Eh, not much. There's a mo. Yeah, not much for a tier four, really, if you ask me. Unless there's just something absolutely crazy waiting for me up here. Oh, a soldier over there. Here, just do this the easy way. Soldiers are freaking tough, so whatever I can do to loosen them up is probably good. And mo, good morning, friend. Is that it? Nope, clear area is not complete. We've missed someone. Oh, they're they're all downstairs. Is there a basement? Now we'll figure it out later. Let's just get into this for now. There we go. Let's grab this stuff. Nothing much really. And I'll take this. I've been forgetting to do this. People have been trying to uh, clue me in on that and I haven't been paying too much attention. Oh, there's a box over here. Maybe that goes to where they are. Oh wait, right here. Underground fuel storage. Blow gas barrels in center of helipad. Send this place to hell. Oh my. Where's the helipad? Maybe that's how we finish this place off, I guess. I don't know, we'll figure it out in just a second. We're gonna have to probably make a trip to the vehicle because I'm all stocked up on loot now. 
Yes, uh, we're all set up here then. Where's the helipad anyway? My assumption right now is that they had this place rigged to blow, but uh, something happened. They were unable to finish it. Wait, it said blow gas barrels at the center of the helipad, right? Oh, there's zombies underground outside. Oh, geez, Logan, you didn't have to do that. Oh, my leg's broken too anyway, so how much worse could it get, really? All right, before we clear that out, stash the stuff in the inventory here. Oh, looks like Logan's gonna take care of things on her own. Okay, the only zombies showing up on the compass are the ones that are in here. Oh my god. Oh, that's funny. There we go. Quest is over. Bandit down. So what was all this business about the helipad? Did I did I miss something here? Is this what my my thought was is that yeah, maybe there's something underneath this. Like, nope. No. Wait a minute. Is there something below this? Jeez, man, I don't friggin' know. Okay, no, I dug down there. There's nothing down there. I'm gonna send one grenade in there, and then I'll blow it up and see what happens. Nothing. I had a sneaking suspicion that maybe there were, like, gas barrels that had been, like, planted underneath and uh, th that the whole place was gonna blow up, but I don't think that's the case. All right, that's fair enough. So, 1137, what we need to do today, we need to stock up on vehicle parts. Have I gotten any yet? Yeah, things like car engine, damaged car chassis, car batteries, all that kind of stuff, so that we can get our own vehicle crafted, hopefully, by the end of the day today. So let's get started on car wrenching, then. Oh my god, has this just been a working taxi here this entire time right outside of my house? I don't know what to say right now. I guess I'm just gonna take it with me. Okay, so that was like 35 or something cars. If I don't have all the parts we need, we can do another salvage thing in the future, but uh, that should get us started here. I don't know if I want to make a repair kit for a vehicle or if I could maybe just make the vehicle myself outright, but um, we gotta get the mechanics workstation crafted first. So that's step number one. All right, we're put away and organized, and let's see what's what with the mechanics thing. Auto workbench, right. Claw hammer, ratchet set, compressor tool, car lift, and a an extra workbench. Wow, okay, so that's a pretty involved process. Can I even make any of this? I feel like I, I, there's so much stuff to craft. I, I would really like to have like a pin recipes mod, uh, like OCB makes one, and I think Undead Legacy has a, a function where you can pin the recipe, because there's just a lot going on here. And oh man, I don't think that a claw hammer is craftable. No, 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 that can't be. Oh, it doesn't appear to be the case. Wow. Well, we might have uh, hit a snag here right at the very beginning. The handy woman is the person who would be selling that, although... Yes, right there, claw hammer. Ooh, expensive. We're gonna have to do a little bit of a sell-off. Fortunately, I've been collecting. Okay, that's an extra 14 grand right there. I might just take a couple points into pack mule. But first, let's let's uh, let's just focus on the car thing, because I might have to buy other things as well. That's what we need, claw hammer, at least to get started. There was also like a ratchet set, and we might need a ratchet to do that. So yeah, okay, stand by. Ratchet set does not require a ratchet, which I find very interesting. It only takes 15 seconds, so that's a plus. The compressor tool takes some very basic materials. We'll get one of those. And the car lift was the last one. Oh wait, the car lift also needs a compressor tool. So, okay, we're gonna have to sacrifice that workbench right there. Can I maybe make another? Because having two workbenches is really, really convenient. I could make... Wait, I have extra repairable workbenches? That is convenient. So, but I'm short on forged iron now. It's gonna make a little bit of that. All right, auto workbench, two minutes. Holy distilled water, 94 distilled water. So, 
we should be good on that for a long time. And we've got plenty of drinks anyway, because we get a lot out of the loot bags. But it sure is good to have that sort of part of the crafting chain solved. Okay, I did get the extra workbench, slap that down, and the auto workbench should be good. And I think we'll just slap that down in the corner over here. Ooh, that's, um, that's pretty fancy. I like that. Slap it right there. Okay, what can we do here? Oh, here's all your vehicles. Wow, okay, so there's just a ton of cars to go through. Armored Cobra. No, the one I wanted was the um, the Halo car, the monster van. <laughs> that would be so fun to make. Oh, you need an old van to make it though, wow. Striker APC, ooh. Yeah, I need something that's good at off-roading though. Look, an RV, a quad bike. Whoa, there's so many cool things. We're gonna have a good selection of vehicles. Yes, the Warthog, that was the one. Okay, we need engine, body, electrical, and wheels and, and we have some of the wheels can we make all that stuff though low on oil do i don't I, I probably can't even make any oil because um i think i've used all the oil shale for other things oh in fact yes we don't have oil shale oh geez well it, it's gonna start somewhere let's go get some oil shale might as well do it now while it's daylight and that way we can do the crafting tonight and hopefully have our new vehicle ready by morning okay here we are at the mine. That is a survivor. Okay, you can cover us. I'm heading down into the mine. Okay, got a screamer here. That's my cue to just get out of here. Not even gonna fight, just leaving. Yep, bye-bye. I'll leave this guy to do it. He can handle himself. All right, we can get the car electrical assembly. For the body assembly, we need a chassis and a body kit. So as I'm kind of working my way through this, hold up a second, did that? Did that make more than I thought it was going to make? Car doors, yeah, so I was lo looking here. Look, you need like an impact driver. It's a whole different set of items that you need to make a repair tool. So we could have repaired the Warthog that's out there. However, I wouldn't have been able to make the impact driver anyway. So making it from scratch, I think, is the best way to go. All I have left to get is the body kit, and then we have to wait for some of the oil to, to finish crafting, and I think we've got it. I just set up some lights here, some of these spotlights. Ooh, I can't actually aim this. I can only take it or cancel, so that's... I can't even switch it on or off. Maybe that's because this is like a POI one and not one that I crafted myself, so... Huh, well that's something to look into a little bit more. Some kind of a loot bag there. Sure nice. All right, thanks, Dank. I appreciate it. I am locked and loaded, in fact. All right, we'll probably work more on base construction. What day is it? 34? Yeah, we have plenty of time for the horde. So really, I think the focus is going to be on questing probably for the next round. And let's see here. We've got the car body kit. That should be good for the body assembly. And then we can get the warthog crafted as soon as that's done. So while we're waiting, I've got 14 grand and it's burning a hole in my pocket. So let's see what we can get from this guy. I will take your pack mule. I'll take your sexy T-Rex and I'll take your minor 69er. Two into lucky looter. Nope, I'm broke. I do have 2600. That means I could get one of the cheaper ones. Run and gun it is. Oh, five skill points, not bad for a day's work. How are we looking over here? Got everything we need. Just get the car assembly body thing there. Car body assembly. And yes, the Warthog. 10 minutes. We should have it by morning. So we've gotten a lot accomplished today and we will continue working on things first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. We're painfully close to leveling up tactical rifles and thus our Witch Doctor class, but we're also painfully broke. So the best way to start the day off is with some questing. We're also gonna need to get ready for this week's construction project, so we'll have to do some generalized mining to stock up on materials. And with a little luck, we'll find enough to do to get the XP we need. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, guys, literally no time to waste because just as I started things up today, a seeker spawned out there. So we got to take care of this guy. Who is that? Roger Harrett. I think it's best. What are you doing out there, Angel? That's, you're on the completely wrong side. That's ridiculous. All right, ready to go. Oh, yep, he's down here. Hello there. No, no, no. Not supposed to be doing that. I'm lucky here. Okay, watch my back. Um, I might be able to level up my tactical assault rifle skill. Whoa, yes. I forgot about that happening. Also, Screamer's coming in. There we go, got him. Good. Nope, not enough for my assault rifle skill. Oh crap! Well, <laughs> maybe it will be. Whoa, by the end of the day today, I think 
hopefully we should be able to level up our class. Wow, that was a fast spider right there. Another screamer over there. Take her out. Oh, thanks guys. We good down here? Where was the Seeker when he died? Did he not? Oh, there it is right there. The Seeker loot bag. Oh, so good. And some explosive or shock immune remains. We got to check though and see what am I trying to kill now? Right, the shock immune zombies like that spider we just killed. So we're making some progress there. 40% and then we can unlock the black shield trader. Not sure. It, no, he's... Right here, he sells special armor and parts to build vehicles. Oh, and that reminds me that I need to actually, well, let's check on this first and, nope, got it like a minute and a half left. Uh, I need to craft silencers, at least for me, and if possible, maybe a couple for our soldiers as well. There we go. And we've got the materials, plenty of them. So let's get like three of those for now. And um, do you think Angel will just be fixed when we come back? <laughs> do you think uh, she will just teleport onto the other side of the fence? Or do we got to pick you up and set you back down? I don't have the answer to that. I'm also very, very poor. So the plan today is first going to be to turn in our quest. I've got the Daring Adventure glasses right here for that. And then uh, we will get a quest and do the quest to raise some funds and get some loot. What are you guys shooting at? Is this a bandit raid? Oh yes, yes, I can see multiple bandits. Are they all around the front then? Oh, here we go. Oh, you stupid bandits. What is wrong with you guys? This is terrible. Suicide mission. All right, we got a uh, Steppy Pooks number three with an absolute suicide charge on the base. Yeah, that was never gonna work. Wow, we're surrounded too. They were attacking from all sides, it looks like. Damn, I'm so close to leveling up my tactical rifle skill. <laughs> I'm really itching because if I level it up, even once, I can get the um, the Scar Light crafted. Man, if there was only like another horde of zombies that was coming in. Uh, anyway, we'll get there eventually. Let me grab the silencer and slap that on. In fact, who am I bringing with me today? Dank, it's just you and me today, I think. Follow me. And everybody else, I just wanna make sure that uh, you all have your regroup point here so that if anybody dies in the future, you're all gonna respawn somewhere around here where I need you to. Okay, there's the Warthog. And eventually, uh, the reason I need to go mining today is so that we can get the materials to build the backside of the ramp. In fact, before I leave, let me just get the automatic drawbridge crafting. There we go. Reinforced, powered, automatic drawbridge takes 20 minutes. So get going on that. All right, there it is. Nice. Oh, that's a two-seater too. It's perfect. I think I have a couple mods in here. Yes, particularly that fuel saver because I'm sure this is not going to be very easy on the fuel. So yes, refuel. Okay, it takes, takes 10,000. That's quite a lot. That's fair enough though. Let's go, buddy. Oh, oh, it's so good. The question is, is it going to be good in the wasteland at like going over these blocks and stuff? Oh yeah. Yep. Way better than the cop car. Oh, we should probably stop by the farm today too and see how that's going. All right, here we go. Ooh, a generic DNA boost for a quest reward. I don't think I could turn that down. I can choose another as well. Probably going to be, I'm going to say herbal antibiotics of all things actually, because... I eat lots of antibiotics and a new quest for today. Well, I just found this one right here. Tier four clear at the, what was this called? The shelter? I've never been there before, so sure. All right, I'll meet you over at the shelter. All right, here we go, this is the place. All right, dang, you don't, you don't really need to clear the whole area. Can you come back here, please? Here, you stay by the car. Stay where I'm standing. Let me know if anyone's coming up behind me like a gang of bandits or, you know, seekers or anything like that. All right, is this uh, is this a front door kind of place or is there like a secret entrance here somewhere? Oh, it looks like a basement here, locked. Fire escape here, also locked and then broken. Nothing around back. Oh, the quest marker's right here. <laughs> That's probably nice if we find that first, huh? No honey there. And hit it. So yeah, this has got to be the area they want you to start in back here. Here are lots of zombies in here. Oh, geez, there we go. All right, I've got the silencer, so I might well, I might be able to just sneak some kills in here. Hey, it's working good. I like it. Oh, there we go. Increased my skill with tactical rifles with that headshot there. And I think we're all clear here. Man, if you ever needed springs, this would be the place to go. And at this point, we just need to increase our... Well, actually, I think... I don't think it matters now. Here, I'm at... Oh, no, you do... You do have to use the tactical rifle now to increase the witch doctor's skill, okay. Unless 
I can level this up, and then I think I could probably use both. I'm gonna try and focus on leveling up my scythe now, and hopefully that will allow me to level up my Witch Doctor class. Oh man, look, big open spaces. This is my kind of place here. I can just run around. Here, give me some Red Bull. I can fly around and gather up all the zombies together. And then if I can get, you know, five or ten kills in a row, and see if I'm leveling up the scythe skill. Okay, yes, I did pay attention that time, and I'm definitely leveling up my scythe skill still. So theoretically, if I can have my scythe skill and my tactical rifle skill at the same level, I can use both of them to upgrade my Witch Doctor class. All right, this level was clear. There must be some, like, offices or something. Whoa, cop. Hello there. Nice loot there, too. Wow. Oh, main loot. Just like that. This place is super easy. Got some rooftop access here. Probably some birds up here, I would imagine. Birds and a few zombies. Oh, fire. Not really the bad kind of fire, though. We should be fine. All right, got the rooftop all cleared up. I think there's a couple more zombies that are downstairs. Here we go. A little bit of extra loot down here, too. Intelligence level nine. Oh, fire extinguisher, nice. Oh, well, we're gonna have to do another tier four because it's uh, it's not even lunchtime yet and we're basically done here. We got, what do we got here? One more zombie? Who's in here? There's a whole other like side rooftop section just as an airdrop is coming into. Oh, I didn't even see this part back here. I see. Where'd that go anyway? Just straight to the west. We'll drop by and get that on our way back. Although I don't have the lucky looter glasses. I forgot them. I just brought the daring adventurer glasses with me. And that was it. Charisma level 7 too. Nice. Have a couple of beers to celebrate. Alright, let's get this loot. Nothing too terribly special there. We did get a spiked hammer, which is one of those specialty hammer weapons. I believe we've found one of those before. Oh, weapons bag here. Almost missed it. Regular sledgehammer. Take the extra radiators for the brass to make more bullets. And yeah, we're good here. I'll take the easy way out, please. All right, Tank. Come with me. Let's go. I'm just going to grab that uh, airdrop. I was thinking, you know, go home, get the glasses, head back out here, but I can't really be bothered. We're talking about a difference of 5% to the loot stage and out here in the pine biome that's like okay loot stage is 73 right now so we'd get like a whopping three or four points extra loot stage not exactly you know critical stuff who's that oh a bandit getting eaten by a wolf yeah i don't regret this pick for a vehicle at all this thing is nice it's fast it's smooth it, it's good off-road capability it sounds good Awesome. All right, what's in here? Holy crap, that's actually a lot of stuff. A farming bundle. Farming bundle number two. That's not the one with super corn in it. And the scrap armor bonus bundle will be good for selling. There's an interesting lump of dirt here. Is this anything uh, interesting? I was thinking a POI maybe, but uh, that's a POI. Is this a POI? There's a road going up to it. What's going on here? Dang, look out. All right, I got to stash my stuff. I'm really encumbered right now. We got a survivor out here somewhere? Oh yeah, and he's getting ambushed by a whole bunch of zombies. Oh, I got you, buddy. Don't worry. All right. Whoa. Looks like you can handle yourself, I guess. Or maybe that was Dang covering us. <laughs> he's having a great time. ND22Z0. Are you the one making all these freaking seekers and robots? Holy crap. Oh my god, a wandering horde of all times. All right, Dang, cover us. Okay, that was my... Not my sight skill. Oh crap, I'm really... Oh, these zombies in there, <laughs> they're running up on you. Oh, it's terrible. Okay, yes, first aid kit in and run, please. Yes, trying to level up. I'm so close to leveling up my sight skill. I've leveled up my sight skill, Never mind. we're good. Now we can just focus on whatever to level up the witch doctor class. I My suspicion is that this is all a POI. It could be, anyway. I don't know. It might just be like a little tiny mine shaft, but I'm going down here to figure it all out. Wow. Okay, it's a, um, it's a mine. It's relatively big, it looks like. Oh, yes. Free mushrooms. Dang, we're, we're trying to do this quietly. Do you mind just maybe staying here for a second? Wow, there's mushrooms everywhere down here. Okay, we've entered. Oh, a facility of some sort here. Oh, crap. Another one. Get out of here. Yes, this might be less of a mine and more of like a secret facility. This will probably tell the tale right here. What is this going up to? 
Hang on, lock and load. Oh, okay, just back up to another level up here. I'm rather close to the surface still, still, because I can hear uh, the ND22Z0 man upstairs shooting with the pipe rifle. Oh, this just goes to the loot. Okay, just a tier one loot then. Hopefully this doesn't collapse. All right, well, that was an interesting little find out here. Here's the reward this time. It's just gonna be the Magnum and the Steel Helmet for selling. Take a new job. Oh, I think there's a Seeker outside. Great. Let's do... Oh, Lame Mart. Is Lame Mart the one in the wasteland? I think it is. Sounds good to me. Dank is trying to kill the Seeker all by himself. Let me down here. Yeah, yeah, no, not, not next to the Warthog. The thing is brand new. I wonder if the best way to, like, level up my skill is just, like, headshot, like, every single time. Just take my time and get the headshot. It's Dr. Henceforth again. There we go. And a Seeker loot bag. Love it. Is there anything on his body? No, no, no. Yeah, we already knew that anyway. Okay, I think there's plenty of time today to do that mission. And then we'll drop our loot off after. And then we'll go do some mining throughout the night. I like to do my mining at night anyway. Oh, this is not the Lame Mart that I thought. I thought that was Lame Mart over there in the wasteland. There must be another Lame Mart over there. Either way, I'll meet you there. All right, here's the spot. I guess... <laughs> Dank wants to just roll straight in. Hang on, Dank. We gotta find, like, the front of the building and stuff. Then again, we've gotta kill zombies to level up, so... I'm... I'm game. Let's do this. The good old-fashioned double clear. For no reason, other than XP. Alright, we're mostly clear outside. I think the quest marker must be around the front there. It's, like, way, way over here in the corner. Dank, come with me. You kill a couple of these guys if you'd like. Not sure if you can shoot through the fence or not. He thinks he can. All right, anyway, let's hit it. We gotta do this all over again. All right, for this, we're gonna need some uh, express run speed. So, Red Bull and Cop- Whoa, come on. <laughs> Get out of the inventory, holy crap. I'm having two button issues lately because I've been playing friggin' Small Land <laughs> and uh, Sons of the Forest too much and everything's different. All right, these are just bathrooms. Wow, that's a really, really small bathroom. These are unlocked, locked, and locked. Maybe this is the way in. So these are parts here, car parts, that you can just pick up. Like, I had to craft some of these in order to make the Warthog. Uh, okay, this is just like a big mechanic. Why didn't we clear, clear this place out, like, yesterday before we made the Warthog? It would have made life a lot easier. We're at 26% on the Witch Doctor leveling up thing. That's a hidden stash. Wow. Nice. Okay, I'm heading upstairs to, I guess, the office level. Whoa, jeez, dang, you scared me. I thought you were a zombie. Oh, boy. Just found this, like, other area back here. Just gonna get a couple sneak attacks in on these guys. Woo! Oh, yes, I was gonna say, that's gotta be a rampage. That was four kill shots, headshots in a row. Here, let me out here. I'm on a rampage, and I'm gonna try to continue it as long as I possibly can. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, hang on. Also, try not to die. There we go. That's good, and oop, just run a little bit, and first aid get me. I have broken my arm. Okay, so at this point, we've got to just go with the gun. Infected as well. Good thing I got those herbal antibiotics from Wrecked. Okay, yep, just continue pumping the first aid kit into me. Still on the rampage. Oh, oh, radiation damage. I did get a, oh, I have a Prussian glue, I think, in the car. And now it's giving us the indication that the zombies are underground somewhere. Yeah, that <laughs> got a little bit ahead of myself there. All right, it's telling me, is this where the zombies are? Somewhere down here. Oh yeah, I can hear them spawning in. Here we go. Rampage is over though. All right, was that it? Not it. There's still a zombie here somewhere. I can hear him. He's right behind this door. That's it, done. Where was the loot though? I don't think I ever found a main loot. I mean, there's sort of a main loot here. It's all just garage storage loot boxes. Just checking down below here and I don't see anything. And just tick nightfall, I don't know. There might be like a secret door in here somewhere. Stallion's Den made, um, uh, what's it called? Bob's Burgers and, 
it, at Bob's Burgers, the loot is behind a wall. I'm sure it's here somewhere now that I think about it, but um, I don't know. I don't have all day to look for it, so that's fine. I guess it's just a bust. Not gonna get the loot. Whoa, kamikaze. Oh, nice job, buddy. Holy shit. <laughs> I just went on a casual rampage here. Oh my god, it's another working taxi. Give me that. I wish I could siphon the fuel out of it. <laughs> That'd be kind of nice. What's the horn on this anyway? Oh, it's pretty good. All right, let's see what Rekt has for us this time. Probably nothing. Now, he does have a double pocket mod and uh, otherwise it would just be compound crossbow and steel shovel. So hold on a second, let me check my armor. I could definitely in fact use a double pocket mod for my gloves. So yeah, sure, I'll take that. And that compound crossbow is an upgrade for me and a job for later on. Got this Faber's Cafe by Z-Bark. That's definitely gonna be a good one. Before we head home, let's take a quick peek at the garden and see what's going on here. Okay, everything's growing. It's got another 10 minutes, so we'll have to check on it early, early in the morning to do the harvest. Everything up here probably not growing quite as well because we don't have the light system set up here yet, but uh, we'll get there. All right, this will be the first real test of going through some parts of the wasteland and see how well we do. Oh, so well. This is such an upgrade over the cop car. Love it. Okay, I just used the generic DNA boost to craft up a charisma boost. Inject that, that gave us, uh, I'd say, I don't know, about 20% into that skill. And I think I'll just use these rugged hardened chests here just for like sellable storage. All right, everything's put away. Let's grab up these couple of silencers and dang, give you a silencer, except he's got a silencer on the M60 now. By the way, Angel is stuck out there. So gonna have to spend the money to bring you back inside. Okay, stop shooting the pistol, please. Oh, Legion's lost now. All right, secondary companion will be Razzle Dazzle today. So you can have a silencer. And then follow me, we're gonna go mining. All right, we have the auger. I think I'm just gonna use the auger tonight. We have plenty of fuel. Uh, the, the, the tools are repaired enough if we have to use them. We're fed, hydrated, the infection's treated, the fracture is treated. I think we're good to go for the night. Let's go, guys. I think our first stop is gonna be to make a new coal mine. All right, I had a look at the map and this is what I came up with here. Let's just spin this around and get good visibility here because I'm gonna do like a big strip mine. I don't want to do the mine shaft because it's just been a death trap for me up until this point. So I'm just going to rip up. We need the clay anyway. So I'm going to rip up a huge strip of dirt here. Just get my soldiers posted up and let's get to work here. So my plan is to just rip off this humongous chunk of topsoil and expose the regular soil underneath it, which is a little bit easier to destroy. And then I'm just going to take a couple of smaller strips down to the stone layer. And then I'm going to additionally just start taking like stone and the sand right here and um, there's also a whole bunch of coal here. We'll just start ripping down into all this. Oh, and lucky me, this is nitrate and coal down here. Ha, <laughs> nice, I need both of these. Goodness, there's also iron. All right, that's it for the auger, and I think I'm pretty much good here. I just wanted like a, a you know, a jack of all trades mine down here where I can get stone, Everything's nice and open, so I can get in and out without much issue. I can see who's coming. I think it'll work out better for us in the long run, and we'll just continue opening this up. And how much did I get? I don't think I got very much, because I was kind of focusing not on one thing, but on everything. So I think that'll do for now. The large rock is really what I was looking for there, because we need to make cobblestone to make cobblestone cubes to get started on construction. Let's grab up the guys and head back. All right, everyone's put away, and I just remembered I have that um, radiation poisoning, so we're gonna need to take one of these Prussian blue remedies to fix that. Hopefully that'll be enough. All right, let's get cranking on resources then. All right, let's start off today by coming out here and doing a little bit of patchwork with all of the topsoil. I gathered enough soil today to make like, I don't know, 2,000 <laughs> topsoil blocks, so I th I'm making 500 right now. Hopefully that's enough. Oh boy. And just as I'm doing this, we've got a cyborg coming after us. Oh, this is a cool looking cyborg. This is Alta Bullet Gamer <laughs> fighting against... I don't know who that was. Are you, um... Are you not hostile? Are you friendly? Ah! No! Oh, also, I'm hurting bad. Painkiller. You just got your bare hands, no weapon. <laughs> Too easy. Oh, this was a... It said a Black Shield Cyborg. Wow. So the black shields, they've been messing with things too. Typical humans just mucking around with everything. Yeah, I need to i need to try to patch this in. Not gonna be able to do it today. I've only got 70 of these topsoil blocks left, but um, eventually, eventually we'll do it and then we won't have to worry about it happening again after that. I think this is just where all the seekers spawn. 
All right, that's the best I can do for now. I do have 62. Oh crap, I missed a whole bunch over here. Oh geez, maybe I'm gonna jump up there. I'll have to jump up and grab the rest of them. But for now, while those are cooking, let's uh, patch up some of the blocks that were broken last time, like this one right here. And I should actually, at this point, be able to pull resources still from the storages. Oh man, yeah, that's not looking good. Oh, okay, this this uh, this floor piece here definitely needs to be upgraded to concrete. And I'll leave that section there because I think what I'm going to do is run up there and see if I can get a grenade chute made. Okay, these are also important. Needs to go up to steel so that we can then put these back on. All right, that's everything pretty much pretty well upgraded. We're just going to need more and more resources. So every week, every couple of days even, we're going to have to run down there and do some more work. And I'm pretty sure the blocks that are breaking up there are just from our people shooting at it. But I can't really think of a better block shape because... Eh, yeah, I mean, ideally, I would have selected something that's that, that can be shot through, but um, as far as maintaining the design aesthetic, we've got to roll with what we have here. If you could, Logan, could you maybe just go ahead out now. and uh, see just if you could you help repair the blocks in the area? That would be helpful. And then uh, let's try to send some of these guys out Ready mining. I haven't done that yet, just so I'm order. eager to see how much they can get for me. It's going to be a little bit expensive, but um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes and see if it's worth it. Let's send... Uh, Hobie for potassium nitrate. That'll cost me $1,800 for 10 minutes. I'll send Razzle Dazzle out for some coal for 10 minutes, $1,800. And Dank, I'll send him out for some lead. And we'll just see how much we get out of that, see if it's going to be even worth it. Because if they come back with like 2000 and I'm having to pay like a dollar per lead, I don't think that's going to be worth it. That means I'm really poor again. <laughs> Maybe we should do a quick sell-off. I don't, I don't know. I really have enough stuff to sell off. Um, however, I should probably buy some extra skills if I could. Yeah, let's do it. Let's sell all this crap off. Right, what I really want... Oh, he's got better barter. And um, do I have the, the skill to learn that? I seemingly do not because we need level 8 in charisma. Crap. Honestly, we could get pretty close to it, though, if we just went out and did a couple more quests today. I wonder... If, am I getting more Charisma XP for doing the level 4s, or should we just go into the Wasteland and do some level 1s? Do like a lightning round of missions. It's like 1500. I could probably crank out like at least 2, maybe 3 missions over there. I don't really have much else to do around here. Yeah, let's do that. Have a quick snack here. Some gumbo stew. Extra beer. And the soldiers are gone anyway. That should be fine. If I'm just doing level 1 quests, I shouldn't have to worry too, too much. Let's head over to Trader Jen, maybe. And get some jobs from her. All right, Trader Jen. Give me a couple of just like regular old clear jobs. Downtown strip number two. Oh, wait. She's giving me tier fours. Are, Hugh, are you also... Is everyone on the same page in terms of job tier? Oh, it looks like they are. I was expecting to get level... Tier level one quests off of these guys. Oh, I that's um that's super interesting. Because I, I didn't think that that was possible. I could just ask for previous tier jobs maybe do like let me just grab like two tier ones and see how much that increases our charisma skill all right i got three jobs okay looks like our first job they're all down to the south perfect all right in a nice cluster like that oh i'm one shotting the blocks now nice i've got the minor 69er for it okay let's hit this i'm just kind of thinking too um we also we need to get level six in our class, so if we could finish that off today, I don't think we will. Oh, hello there. Nice rifle. Manny 21 Axe. Yeah, kind of a pipe dream to, to level up the class today, but once we do, we can start working toward the trade aura. And hopefully with our sweet 144 loot stage, even going through a tier one, we should get some good stuff. There we go, Spaz 12. I think loot bags are the best chance for good loot. Uh, here we go, main loot here. We still haven't cleared the area though? Who'd we miss? Somebody upstairs. Somebody with a pump shotgun outside. Nothing good in here. All right, just pay attention to the charisma bar. We'll see how much that increases. That would increase a fair amount. Not too bad, anyway. I don't get the impression that we'll be able to completely level up our charisma, though, by the end of the day. Not gonna stop me from trying, though. Bandit! Kill! Wow, I just plowed him over like into the next block. Come on, again, again. And I'll have that pump shotgun please to sell for $125. Ah, uh, here we go, we're here to do the bakery. I just heard a rather strange noise and yeah, 
Now I know why. Is it a werewolf? Holy Toledo, it's a werewolf. Oh my goodness, and a whole bunch of wolves to boot. Okay. Yes, catch them on fire. Their fur is probably flammable, maybe. Oh boy. Wow, man. Was not expecting massive werewolves today. Kenny D. I really don't know if this is helping. Seemingly it is. I that's is that a wayward echo? Kenny D is the big one. Oh boy. Really wishing I had some soldiers with me today. Okay, you cannot destroy my vehicle, please. Oh, he's fighting zombies. Never mind. Ow! There's at least another couple of werewolves over there. All right, he's at 50%. Ah, burnt boy. Get out of here, Cole. All right, he's distracted with the zombies now. Ow, crap. Cole, damn it. Cole. Oh, that's a feral white. Sorry, I thought that was Cole again. <laughs> yep. Come on, guys. Get out of here. Jeez, trying to fight freaking werewolves. Here we go. Got a whole cluster over there. Take that. And that. Come on, maybe two more. Oh, no, the grenades don't really do much at all. Oh, it hurts me, that's for sure. And something sprained. Here, give me a freaking Red Bull. All right, there we go, down. Oh, tell me you had something good on you. Nope, not really. Just a couple more stuck on the fence in there. Screamer here too. Oh, she's screaming. Well, maybe I am gonna level up my class today. It's going well at this rate. Armagus, the last werewolf. Oh, huge lag spike there. Sorry about that. Okay, there's a... Massive bear over there, too. Crap, on fire. Help. Here we go, toxic bear. We've got to take this guy out. Crap. <laughs> Can't see through him now. Oh, boy. Got a good body block from Yellow Woman there. That's a feral cop, too, with like a billion hit points. Okay, I, mean, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make my way through here. We're, we are going to level up the Witch Doctor, though. So tomorrow, we can start working on the skateboarder zombies to... Oh, my goodness. Wow. To uh, get the trade aura, you know? Yeah. There we go. Level six witch doctor. What is this? What is this? Oh. You can now craft and train in two auras. Yeah, that, that, I was just talking about that. Oh, man. This place is just filled with zombies for a tier one. This is my payback for the easy tier four we had earlier. Yeah, got zombies outside. I don't want to get pinned in there. This is the wandering horde of all times. Or just a random six zombies walking up from behind. Nope, that would be a wandering horde. Perfect timing, friends. Crap. The huge wandering horde, my god. I'm gonna run out of ammo at this rate. Holy cow, man. This is the hardest tier one I've ever done. All right, well. Oh, jeez. Nope, we're not done yet. Ah! Stop hurting me! Half the problem is just these... They, they respawn and then they walk in. Oh, they've got such good hearing, too. Like, even though I'm using... Uh, melee and silencers, it's not good enough. Look at this massacre over here. Holy crap. I think there might also be... Oh, no, 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 no. Not Mama Bubbles. Oh, fortunately, that was not the... Uh, Bubbles has like a special attack where they can spawn in more. Like a Feral can spawn in regulars. Regulars will spawn in the minis. It's uh, It can get out of hand real quick. But no, what I'm trying to do here is um, this. Because I know there's a bunch of people in there. And I know that this thing here collapses. I think anyway. Here, let's just throw a grenade right straight in their face. Did that do anything? I don't think so. Open, open. There we go, that did it. Bring him outside, don't wanna get pinned in there. Just spend more time in the wasteland. It's really easy to level up here. All right, that, that was the quest, I think. Did we even start, I was thinking for a second, maybe we didn't even start the quest, but no. No, we did, and we're done. Got a little bit of time left. We can try the last one. The last one is a compo pack POI, so. You know, who knows what we're getting into there. All right, this is the spot. Whoa, look at that parking job. Sweet. Right, let's try to be quick about this place. See if I can snag an engine off this bus real fast. That cop seriously tried to spit at me from way over there. Holy crap. 
Oh, geez, I've just woken up half the POI already. Ow, look out. Who's that? Bo, look out. Don't start a fire, please. Woo, ow, nope. I tried to get fancy on that one and I paid for it. All right, I'm pressing on here. Ooh, fire extinguishers. Good thing to find, because they're, oh, I can't pick them up because they've been damaged. Nope, 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 no oh, bubbles. Okay, got him before he spawned any more in. Officially nightfall. Should be okay here just to kill these last couple of zombies. Just go ahead and use all the 762. Not too concerned about it right now. Yellow boy. There's Creamy Ghost. Creamy Ghost has returned from the dead. Is that the last one? That was. That was it. Where's the loot? I gotta have something for my troubles here. Oh, maybe I don't get to have something for my travels. Some steel boots. It's not too bad. Maybe I should go through all this stuff. I'll go through this stuff until I get forced off by um, a zombie. Nope, not strong enough. Oh, and I, when I leveled up in my class, I got the tier four skeleton warrior thing. So I have one of those in my inventory right now. Nope, oh, <laughs> snake finding a zombie. And who, did, who started that fire? Was that you? How totally rude. Okay, we need red tea for the uh, carrying capacity bonus. Steel chest armor, steel helmet. Wow. Whoa. Okay, yep. I think this is probably my cue. We need to get out of here. There's a whole bunch of cops now. Yes. Is this like a cop ward? Oh my god. The, whoever had the shotgun was definitely not friendly. I am out of here. We'll let the survivor handle this mess here. All right, I'm here for quest rewards. Can't possibly be anything too good. Basically just taking ammo and stuff to sell. All right, so here's the loot haul. Got a, almost a full set of steel armor and some military armor. I got the Spaz 12 again. Important note, so, oh, this gives us information about the two auras. So not, not only do we have the one, we gotta, please guys, really? Jeez, lay down some accurate fire for once. So yeah, we'll have to choose another one. I think I'm gonna go with the armor penetration aura. Oh, and of course, yes, we got the generic DNA boost. So I will take charisma with that. Craft the compound Z injection. Jam that into me and oh, we just gotta do like one more little tiny quest to get charisma level eight and then we can get the higher level of better barter. And for the perk book, I think I'll just take that better barter right now and get it out of the way. And we'll be able to read that probably tomorrow. And I guess might as well just do a really quick sell-off then because briston might have some good skills for us to buy yeah i'll take the minor 69er lucky looter and you know what i'm just gonna take the mother load even though we have the glasses for it just because it's so much more convenient to not have to remember the glasses there we go that puts us up to 10 in mother load six in minor 69er we do have seven in sexy t-rex we need to work more on dexterity probably Pack Beal's doing pretty well. Healing Factor Iron Gut, helpful, but not exactly necessary. And we're doing pretty good on Charisma too. Probably need to focus a little bit more on Deep Cuts. That'll help us out with the Scythes. So now we've got the Trade Aura book and I've got the Trade Aura mod. I think I just have to read this and that unlocked the Trade Aura quest. Now we just have to start killing skateboarder zombies. And the more skateboarder zombies we kill, the better buying and selling power we will get. As long as I believe we need to be wearing this mod. Maybe we need to wear the mod when we're done, but I'll just slap it on something now so I don't forget it. All right, so for the rest of the night tonight, I'm gonna make sure that we're cranking away on resources. I'm gonna get some cobblestone cubes crafted and maybe even get some concrete shapes crafted. And we'll do a whole bunch of base construction first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. Now that we have sufficient resources, the attention again returns to the base. So over the next day or two, we'll be focusing on base construction. I put the automated drawbridge door in last night, but we'll need to get an access ramp and some electrical work in order to actually get it automated. We also have one more quest to do to level up our charisma skill. And now that we know that the whole trader network is on the same page in terms of quest tier, we can at long last tell Rekt to go himself. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you, but now it's go time. All right, there's a couple, three, four things that we've got to take care of before we head out. And number one among those is to see if we can get that scar crafted. There it is right there, Scarlight Mark II using the high grade weapons parts, which by the way, only using one of those each. And I've got like more than a dozen, two dozen almost in, in the case of the barrel and some screws. So I don't know if I should 
craft more than one. I'll, I'll have to see what the sell price is on that and compare it to the sell price of the parts, because maybe it's worth it to just assemble 12 or so of those and then sell them off. So individually, these are worth 156 a piece. So it's like, I don't know, something like $450 for the three of them. 468, is that, am I doing the math right on that? The scar itself is worth 780. Wow, okay, so <laughs> let's start, let's just crank out as many of these as we can. Okay, so what can I do then with the medium grade weapon parts? Cause I've got a whole bunch of those as well. Let's see, those are 31 a piece. So those are not nearly as valuable, but I should maybe be able to make some of these HK 416s with those, I think. I think there we go oh no because that actually uses the high grade magazine part potentially we should just probably sell all of the medium grade parts and then the low grade parts for sure can just go away okay here's a look at the scar with all the mods onto it oh nice and it's making i want to just hear the regular sound though oh that's pretty cool i like that Okay, we've got 195 cobblestone cube shapes there for construction today, along with 250 concrete cubes in there. I think that'll be enough to get the door, not the door, the door is down. I put the door in last night, but uh, to get the ramp up to the door, and then we'll have to set up like an automated system with some motion sensors to get that opening and closing all by itself. Just need two motion sensors. Unfortunately, yesterday I sent out all of the helpers here to go like help repair the base, which I think that was done or at least you know some some degree of it was done oh boy that's in rough shape but then again if i look up here i don't know that all of the resources were taken out of here to do all of the repairs yeah i don't know because i i'm sitting on a whole bunch of steel there's a whole bunch of steel out here that never got repaired logan did you do the repairs go repair the blocks in the air oh wait report on missing resources here we go Okay, wait, here's a list of all the missing resources. Missing a bunch of cobblestone, missing a bunch of steel. Oh, I did not have access to all of the necessary materials from your broadcast containers. Okay, so maybe I made that steel that's up there after she was sent out or something. Okay, so the rest of you, I sent to go gather resources. Help me gather resources. I, but then I logged out. So perhaps I'm not able to get the resources from them because uh, I logged out after they got back. I don't know. Show me your inventory. Oh, here it is. It's all in his inventory. Look at that. So I, I spent, what was it? Um, I think it was like 1800 dukes in order to get those materials. And I didn't expect it, but he actually gave me a little bit of everything. How about this guy? I sent him out for nitrate powder and he's bringing me back a whole bunch of weird stuff. And this guy I sent out for coal. So it looks like they're returning with, uh, I don't know, about 27, 8, 900, uh, of the material you ask for plus a whole bunch of other things. Okay, so now there's more steel Logan upstairs Can you please help repair the blocks now go out there and uh, fix up all those steel blocks? So oh that's crap a seeker has pinpointed my location. All right I probably will have to help out with this one. Oh look at the reticle on this. That's pretty cool I guess I like it. That is wags wags with a Z. There we go I see my good loot bag down there. I'm gonna save it, I'll get it later. In fact, let's just make sure I get the right glasses on now, because if I don't, I will forget it. Yeah, put the pack mule glasses away for a second. Right, so uh, before I was interrupted there, I was gonna talk about the structural integrity goggles, which are made in the workbench. This is a new addition to the mod that was just added in the latest iteration, as far as I know. This is something that you start off with if you're in the builder class, but everyone can craft it if you have the right materials later on. Oh, there you go. That is super cool. Oh, look, it even works for my cameraman too. I can turn it on and off and we can see the structural integrity of the base. <laughs> what a cool addition, I love it. Now I think I'm ready to get started on some construction. Was there anything else up here? Nope. We're fed, we're hydrated well enough. I think we're ready. For now, let's get started on construction. Just, you know, pull a line off the generator, snap it to that so it opens up, and let's get building here. Get the cars out of the way. And now that I'm looking at it, this whole thing right here is gonna be in the way, but um, yeah, we'll work on that eventually. All right, just starting off by laying in a nice solid foundation for the first support pillar. And then I'm basically just gonna use wedge 60s. Wedge 60s and wedge 60 tips the whole way up. I'm off to a bad start, messing things up already. Setting in the second support column now. I think we'll just have two support pillars and I will make them so that they match the support columns of the main base. Hey, there you go. Nice, 
even looking fancy ramp all the way up to the drawbridge. And we definitely need some kind of a lip here. Would it do just to do this here? Is this gonna look okay? Not sure yet. Let's roll with it for now. That's why I'm kind of making the whole thing out of cobble because there's gonna be some blocks that need to be replaced. Like, I think I, I think there's a special block that I can slide in here that will uh, mesh these up. I gotta look for it though. Yes, I think that's what I wanted. And after some consideration, I don't think I'm gonna make every single core out of steel, at least not all the way up. I just don't think it's really quite necessary. Ah, this just doesn't look that great, does it? We might have to just put some uh, spikes on the edge here just to kind of, just for uniformity's sake. Let's just try that. Ugh, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's not too bad. It, I mean, it, it can't get much worse, can it? <laughs> there, it's not done because what we still have to do on all of these here, I'll show you, is we have to put the ramp incline fillers in. And so what that's gonna look like is just like this, all the way, all the way to the top. All right, we're getting there. We just have to do a lot more mining, which speaking of that, maybe that's what we should do next. Let's do a little bit of a test drive, set up the electronics, and then we'll go do some mining. All right, yeah, oh, I forgot about this part here. So yeah, I'll dress that up later on, maybe tonight or something, once we get some more blocks. So yeah, should be able to crawl it right up in here and it's a little bit tight. By the way, I did make some three by three roll up doors to put in here and another one for the top up there. But for now, I also got the motion sensors. So let me plug all these in. Okay, switch for the door. Generator to switch. Switch to interior motion sensor to the exterior motion sensor to the door, I think is how, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, there we go. Should be all set up. It's set to target self. It's set to aim for the middle. It's set for a 10 second duration. And so when we're ready to roll out of here, a uh, little, little bit tight here, but basically we'll just kind of <laughs> do the Austin Powers shuffle here, pull up, and I'll probably have to make some adjustments there, and then we'll roll out, and then when we return, the motion sensor is aimed right down the ramp, so yep, should be able to just come right up, and we've got 10 seconds to get inside and park it. That's a done deal. All right, the other thing I wanted to do today was, um, do some work up here to maybe get the storages. I need to do that out of cobblestone though. We don't need to waste all the concrete blocks and stuff. The concrete blocks are basically just for the face out here, even though there's really not a whole lot left to build out here. I don't know. Oh, and I, I gotta get that seeker loot bag before it despawns, because I think there was a yellow loot bag down there before, and that one did despawn. All right, let me get the kit together and we'll go do some mining. Oh geez, I totally got ragdolled, but I got out of the vehicle and I flipped it. Oh no, oh th this could be bad, <laughs> crap. All sense. right, well, I'll just leave it for a second. We'll figure that out later. Just wanted to swing by and check on the farm because uh, this was done the day before yesterday morning and I totally forgot all about it. So this needs to be a part of like the morning routine from now on. Let's just get everything, oh, level one in green hands, just like that. Just get everything harvested up and then we'll check on how everything's growing. All right, all the new seeds are down. Stuff upstairs is not growing very well. We've got to come over here sometime here in the next, well, I don't know, very, very soon, and make sure that we get the lights set up up here so that everything's growing, because I can't even harvest the crops that are up there. In terms of everything growing down here, it's looking good. However, there's rainwater that's in these things, so I, I, you know, I can't completely confirm that, that it's pulling water from everything. I think that's fine, though. I think the real problem was gonna be up here. Is this going to, yeah, these are all saturated with rainwater as well. So I don't know, it hasn't even pulled any water out of these barrels. Man, when I <laughs> when we built this, I kept saying buckets instead of barrels. Buckets, 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 and more buckets. Bucket, buckets, bucket in there. Buckets everywhere, buckets all over the place. A little bit embarrassing, but uh, you'll have to forgive me sometimes. My head's all over the place. <laughs> all right, I think we're all set here. We will check back in in approximately 86 minutes. That'll be... Uh, what'll that be? That'll be like first thing in the morning for the next, for like day 38. Yeah, or thereabouts, I guess. All right, anyways, let's see if we can fix the warthog. Everybody lift. Oh, nope, we got a, oh, jeez, wow, we got a huge horde of toxic zombies. Yeah, we're rolling with the new mod now, the new version where uh, the particle effects have been turned down considerably. Whoa, big mama. Okay, need allies. Help with the mercenaries. Oh, jeez. If I can get some melee action in here. Yeah, that's working pretty well. 
All right, everyone seems to be thoroughly distracted. I'm thoroughly out of stamina too. Here, give me some coffee. Whoa, this is chaos here. All right, everyone's down except for Big Mama. This is uh, Steve Wittick, the Big Mama zombie. There, we can we can risk some bullets. There we go. Good job, everyone. Wow, I got a quite a solid crew with me. Six people. And that's going to give me an, an intelligence DNA boost. Which I guess I can slap that into me a little bit later. And yeah, I'm not interested in uh, zombie clothing anymore. All right, gentlemen. A tuna fish gravy toast and a beer. Beer is good for drinking. We'll celebrate our success. And uh, let's see if the warthog is functional or if we sustain any permanent damage there. Looks good. All right. Everyone, let's go do some mining. All right, we'll just park it right here for easy egress if we need it. And I've got about 4,000 fuel and a fully repaired auger. Take some goldenrod tea, I'm thirsty anyway. And come on guys, take care of the wolf, would you please? There you go. Okay, harvest him up and let's get to work here. Kind of going to be another one of those days where I'm here for everything. So I don't know. This is a new way of mining for me. Usually I just do like the tunnel and then a, like a big subterranean network. But that is just not the way to go here. So I'm going to do the strip mining approach. Might be able to shed a little bit more light on the situation here with the Warthog. First Screamer. Down. Ah, she left me a loot bag too. All right, at this point, I've successfully widened the mine. And I think at this point, we can just start deepening the mine. I'm about halfway through my fuel and about halfway through the durability on the auger. And we're only halfway through the night. Oh, and it should absolutely make sure that I'm extending the ladder down. And that's it. Man, look how perfect this mine is though. It's like, it's like 50% coal, which is important because we need the coal to make gunpowder. And here's the nitrate here to make the gunpowder. And then there's a bunch of iron over here. So that'll help us with the steel. And then there's a whole bunch of stone, which helps with the cobblestone and a whole bunch of sand, which helps with the concrete fix. And yes, it's just awesome. Man, I'm just gushing about what a good site this is for mining and, uh, you guys good down there? All right, see ya. <laughs> just kidding, all right, they'll come with me. Oh, we got that Screamer loot bag over here. Yeah, just careful not to like, you know, drive your vehicle in there because it's gonna get to the point eventually where the fall damage alone would be enough to probably nearly kill you. What do you got here? Nothing. All right, guys, let's head back to the base, stash our stuff, and probably we'll have to roll out and do some quests. And the other thing I have to do is I gotta come out here at some point and chop down all these trees and see if we can just dedicate some time to smashing some of the blocks and crap that are in our way. Hey, Logan's back, but, um, oh, there's no report for me because probably she was capable of repairing everything. Well, maybe not everything. Can we repair that or, you know, yep, there we go. Yeah, there's still some steel left over. I think there was like 500 steel upstairs. All right, let me get the guys set up first. Yeah, let's see here. There is, oh, there's still like 500 steel left. So maybe it didn't require as much steel as I was thinking to get everything repaired. All right, let me just take a peek and see what we got for resources there. Wow, we got like 20 something thousand coal, about 6,000 nitrate, almost 20,000 iron, and pretty much almost 6,000 large rock to make cobblestone, which will be good for 23,000 cobble. Oh my God, and I'll just turn that into shapes and we'll, we should have pretty much everything that we need. That was a really good, mining adventure because I finally realized that the goldenrod tea does work on the auger, at least it does now. I'm not sure if that's a new thing or not, but also I've got all the points into minor 69 ers so we can just shred through it with the auger. Just make sure everything else is rolling. Oh, look at that 6,700, almost 6,800 gunpowder, molten steel, cement, and I guess that'll just about do it. I've got a whole bunch of cobbles, or um, not cobble, but topsoil blocks. I've got 500 there and 500 here, and that should allow us to finally fix everything out here. And uh, I have been informed that Seekers now also don't do damage to the crushed stone on top of the wasteland. So we're not gonna have to fix this anymore after we fix it this one final time. Just saves me on the chores, basically. I like it. All right, let's get the DNA booster for intelligence. Jam that into me. Almost maxed out on intelligence. I made up some regular 762, that helps. We're gonna make so much money off of this stuff here. It's gonna be so nice. Yes. All right, we gotta go do at least one quest in order to level up our charisma. And then we can read the better barter, get that leveled up, and then we can do the sell off. So off we go. And now that I know that we're gonna get tier, whatever tier job that we're on from any trader, I'm partial to just getting one from the wasteland traders, like Trader Jen. And that way we can benefit from the loot stage bonus way out here in the wasteland. 
All right, Jed, what do you got for jobs? It looks like a lot of these jobs are downtown. There is this one survivor site urban by ZZ Tong. We can try that one. All right, we're heading out to the survivor site. I'll meet you there. All right, looks like this is the spot right here. Somebody shooting a desert vulture out there. That place looks kind of scary. I don't know about that. Oh, there's a cop spitting at him way off there. I wish I could see what's going on. Oh, massive fire going on. Oh, I don't want to walk straight in there though. Yeah, here we go. Just woke up a zombie. Right, leave him to it. Ooh, nice shot there. All right, let's hit it. Wow, seriously, this is just a big caved in building? What? And this is a clear area, so I've got to hunt down every little zombie in here. And I'm hungry. Fish tacos it is. Doesn't that uh, increase my... Oh, my uh, damage with melee weapons. Okay. Well, I can roll with that. Oh my god, I just walked right into the main loot. Also, probably the main boss fight here. Right, so this guy here with the um, the orbs in his hands, that's uh, the explosive immune zombie. Of course, we've got the fire immune, shock immune and the toxic immune zombies. They just look a little bit different now, a little bit less busy, a little bit less hectic, especially on Horde Night, I think. There's my rampage. All right, just run as fast as we can. No, my rampage is gonna run out. I can't find the zombies fast enough. Here we go. Oh. All right, I found a few. I'm also really hurt and really out of stamina. Whoop. I jumped over here to kill zombies, but they uh, were one step ahead of me there. Is this all the same POI? This place is friggin' huge. Also, I can get two potatoes apiece out of those now. Are you guys in there? Is this a different... Oh, this is the bakery. Oh my god, I almost ran out of the POI. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be right now. Alright, this should... Yeah, there's some zombies in here. Here we go. Ah, I took radiation damage. Damn it. Ah, crap. I can't move. Look at my looting speed. Oh, that's because I leveled up my, um, what was it called? Lucky looter there uh, a couple nights ago. I think I took a couple points into it. All right, here's something that we'll have to experiment with, and that is... Are we going to get more money by getting the electrical parts off of these? That's nine electrical parts. What's that worth? 74. Okay, so I was thinking that simply taking these and selling them was more like profitable but uh, it might be that just salvaging them is more profitable now let's just salvage everything while we're at it we're on to the rooftop a couple of guys up here getting the impression this might take a little while to get through this whole place this place is huge i thought it was just that building over there this is only a tier four too kind of just taking apart everything at this point since i think uh since i found out that electrical parts are so profitable so valuable Oh, going for a little elevator ride. I've aggroed a bear somewhere, so keep an eye out for that guy. Ah, oh, there he is! Oh, boy! Ah! Wow, scared the crap out of me. That's a freaking pucker moment right there. Oh, impact driver schematic. That is a really good find. Okay, I think we're back down to where the main loot was. At least we can just grab this while we're right here. And we're in. Oh, that's the fourth time I've found a tuna fish gravy toast recipe today. Oh, and that was intelligence up to level 10. Excellent. Don't have to worry about that anymore. I guess, theoretically now, we could just sell all the schematics that we find. You have to see how valuable they are first before I decide to do that. Okay, I think these two buildings, that one right there and the one that we're in right now, are clear, I think. I think, because this is where the loot was. Oh, I'll just take this with me. And that with me. Grab this, and are we going down? Did I already clear out the bottom level? I think I did. These are just regular old zombies, and someone dropped a loot bag for me. Very nice. Aha, here we go, more zombies to kill. Oh, jeez, totally got ambushed by someone. Oh, boy. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, just get the buttons right, and put me out, and die. Yeah, I, oh, broken arm, man. Man, things can change. go from zero to 60 real quick. Oh boy. Is that a, is that a kamikaze? 
Yep. Oh, there was my first schematic there. 52. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I guess I'll hang on to it. Make every penny we can. All right, I think this is the last building over here. Can I just... Nope. It's also very difficult for me to fight with melee weapons now because of my broken arm. Let's try to get the headshots with this then. It's gonna be fun to see how many electrical parts I wind up with at the end of the day today. Oh, of course, airdrop coming in. Dropped right over there. That's kind of on the way back to the trader anyway. Oh, here we go. All right, where's the last one? Over here? Aha, I don't think I ever made my way into this room. Oh, where are you going, Steve? Get back here. Here we go. That's it. Oh, and I just went on. Oh, no, that's that's the natural selection drum right there. And that was it for Charisma. We've leveled up to level eight. Okay, I'm pretty much done with this place. Very much um, a labyrinth here. And I'm hungry still. Here, have some more food. And let's get a move on. Let's go get that airdrop. I never did hear that person with the desert vulture again, so <laughs> moment of silence for whoever that was. Okay, we got the airdrop right here. Wow, pretty good actually. Iron armor bundle, two of them in fact, for selling. Man, still at this loot stage, I'm finding ratchets and not the impact driver. We can craft one hopefully though when we get home. Oh, and while I'm rolling through here, I think there's boar. Yeah, there's boar here. Just carefully take him down. But yeah, I want all the potatoes in there and I want all the corn from in here. I can get two apiece now. Ooh, and pumpkins. Just don't want to fight the boar. Now that I'm here at the vet, picking up all the potatoes, I don't think I can resist a good old-fashioned loot gank. I mean, it's as simple as this right here. <laughs> and uh, probably gotta kill a couple of zombies and that's it. Yep, gotta kill one. One zombie and get all this stuff up here. Oh, look there! There's the scar! We got an extra one to sell. Also, I gotta go through all those and see if there's maybe one that we made that's better than the one that we have. Whoops, I'm supposed to be selling those. There we go. That's it, a little bit of extra loot today. There's also this place here that I just kind of stopped next to, and this place is filled with crops. Uh, maybe not this portion of it. I see like one mushroom over there. Yep, now everyone's awake. Gotta work on my tactical rifle skill anyway. It's a shame to burn through all the ammo, but you know, that's what it's made for, shooting zombies. Oh, skateboarder zombie. We're trying to kill him anyway for our, um, what is it? The trade aura. Another one. Make sure you double tap him. Oh crap! I'm on fire! Ow! How'd that happen? Oh, the freaking fire immune zombie thing. Just set the whole building on fire. Okay. Gotta go around then and find out where the loot is. Yes, yes, yes. This is where the loot is. That's not the main loot, but there's... Oh crap, I keep... I'm in the habit of reading these things. Yes, take them with me. We'll sell them later. I thought there was like a... Oh, geez. Um, oh, it's a weapons bag. I thought that was like a, a bunch of good stuff up here. Oh my god, a powered modern wakasashi. I hope that I'm saying that right, because it doesn't sound right, but <laughs> just trying to sound it out, you know. All right, we're thirsty. Beer. Beer is good for drinking. Let's have a look at this powered sword. This is the sword that the mercenaries use. At least some of them. Oh, I can't even use it. I can't even use it because it's, um, it's like a tier, it's a, a class-specific weapon. It, like, belongs to the butcher class or something, so I just can't even have it. I can only sell it. Which, by the way, that's worth, like, 400 coin. Not too bad. Alright, this is, like, half the reason I came here. I want to get in here and harvest up the crops. Oh, that's a friggin' straight-up rad there. No. There's, like, nothing in here, man. I totally thought there was more stuff in here. Two potatoes. Oh, crap. Another rad. I guess we can try the underground portion. I think this over here has a lot of mushrooms in it. It's supposed to. Don't oh, just Yeah, quite a fire we started there. I didn't do it. Okay, let me in here. At a bare minimum, I'm gonna get the loot and whatever else is down here. Okay, where are the dogs though? There's the dogs and coal over there. That didn't do much, did it? Yeah, not too bad actually. One more. All right, I'll take the dog meat and the bones, if anything, just to increase my animal harvesting butchering skill. And, oh, there you go, AK-74. Literally the first try on that. Um, treasure map, nice. Oh, who did that? Stupid crawler. Yes, okay, mushrooms. That's ex on the only thing I really stopped here for was these things. Oh my goodness, just found a cast. 
Excellent. Oh, these are like $211 each. Wow, okay, definitely taking those with me. All right, portions of the main building are collapsing, which means screamers will be here any second if they're not here somewhere already. I think it's time to call it a day, head back to the trader, get our reward, and then go home. Got completely sidetracked here, looking for vegetables. <laughs> All right, I'll meet you at the trader. Never mind, we're, we're basically at the trader. <laughs> Just on the other side of the building. All right, Jen, tell me you got something good for me. Well, Can't really complain anyway. I've made out pretty eyes. good today. Crippling sledgehammer. You? That's not worth very much. Steel pickaxe, also not very good. This is terrible, Jen. I don't even think I have the glasses. Oh, no, I, I do. I have the daring adventurer enough to at least take two rewards here. And we got some cash as well. Fair enough. Good stuff for selling later on. And I'll take a job for tomorrow. What about this fetch and clear at the courthouse? We could do that in the morning. All right, we're home, but there's a bandit behind me. Ow! Go! Get away from me! Holy crap. Did some damage there, didn't he? All right, how's that for a loot haul for the day? Not too shabby. Uh, to me, this is just the, the best feature ever, just to like auto put away everything into the storages. Saves so much time. I love that. Oh, we just got a bandit raid. They seem a little bit disorganized right now because they uh, ran into a whole bunch of zombies. <laughs> just hilarious. They're just running up on us with fire axes as if that's going to do anything at all. So I'm taking a look here at all the scars that we made. And the one that we have actually is the one that does the most damage. We good here? Yep, I think that was probably the last one. Okay, so now that we're level 8 in Charisma, we should be able to read the Better Barter training book. We were able to kill five skateboarder zombies today. That's terrible. We need to find out where all the skateboarders are hanging out and focus on that. But anyway, let's grab up everything and sell off. We're gonna make a friggin' fortune today. We are currently sitting on 5,600. Let's see how we make out. I got an extra 21,000 and I'm sitting on three extra scars that I can't sell today. We'll sell those tomorrow. All right, Briston, we gotta get some skills. Okay, we're still looking for some minor 69er. I'm gonna take this cardio training, run and gun, and then I'm gonna get probably all four. How many How many levels is Iron Gut? I think I think that was only five levels. Right, it is. So that will max me out on Iron Gut. And for the rest of the money, I'll just sit on it for a second. Oh, my bad, I've gotta get Constitution leveled up in order to get the next level of Iron Gut. So I'll just put that away, we'll get that later. How about this stack of 44 Magnum? I don't need any of that. Here, Briston, take that crap. Give me another five grand. Oh, we should see if we can get the, um, what was it, the oven or the stovetop? Right, the farming mission, which will give us the schematic for the iron oven. We have not done that yet. Now that we have iron gut and the farm, we should do this. It just says we need to gather a certain amount of fruits and vegetables, like 10 yucca, 10 potatoes, 10 pumpkins. Okay, pretty jam? easy stuff. I'm sure we'll get to that just by harvesting the garden up a couple of times. And um, with my extra money, perhaps we could just buy some seeds oh you know what i want to do i want to figure out what bundles these farming seeds are it doesn't tell me what it is is this some kind of a, a custom farming seed bundle um i i think so because farming bundles usually give you three farm plot blocks and three seeds and this is giving you more than that well and you know something different at least i mean as, apart from the rng it's a lot more cost efficient because look five pumpkins is almost just as expensive and that's only enough to make one pumpkin seed so you can just roll the dice on the farming plots and or the the farming bundles you'll get that we got a pumpkin seed right there yeah the farming seed boxes seem to be the way to go okay so with the time that's left over today and tonight i want to go finally focus on the garden one last time Let's see if this works can i just back up and back right straight out of here that does work and slip it around nice free loot bag on the side i made up all the seeds that i possibly could i used all the vegetables uh just cranking them out we're gonna fill up the garden i've got light bulbs made i've got wood frames wood planks got the nail gun we're gonna get this thing all built up once and for all all right zombies are gonna be beating downstairs and i'm not gonna do a damn thing about it the first thing we need to do is get a get the the frame set up Oh, I just increased my dexterity up to level 10, so that's done. Slowly but surely, we are maxing out the character. Okay, now we just need to settle on some sort of a convention for the lighting. All right, I got all the lights up, just gotta put all the extra plants in now. There were like four zombies here, and then a wolf came by and killed them all. All right, that will just about do it. We obviously are running into some power issues, and I'm short one light bulb. 
I just wanted to double check that uh, everything is growing though. Let's see, blueberry plant, does it just not tell me? Okay, these are not growing because temperatures, oh, these are, these need to be harvested. Okay, now are you good? Okay, they're watered, but it's raining right now and it's too cold. So they don't want to grow. However, it doesn't say anything about the light and, and really the only one I was worried about would be this one. Crops temperature is too low. So I think the light is good. Just need to run back and get another engine and one more light bulb. All right, I got the light hooked up upstairs. Turn this off, slap the other engine in and tell me we've got enough power now. We got enough power now. Eureka, <laughs> let there be light. Finally, got this all set up. We just gotta keep working on seeds and just get this all filled in, basically. I'm not even really concerned about numbers or organization of the crops at this point. I just wanna get it filled up and then start cooking. All right, it's getting super late. I just noticed also that I'm 10% infected and almost 10% radiated. So I need to go back and get some Prussian blue and some antibiotics and then get a plan going for tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. We've secured a ton of resources this week and the furnaces have been running day and night. So now it's time to put it all to good use by beefing up the support columns, building up the crafting area, revamping the trainer area, patching up the ground and cleaning up the debris. It'll be a long couple days and nights of base construction, but we'll be one step closer to completion. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now it's go time. Okay, so since the focus today is going to be mostly on base construction, we gotta check on a couple of things here first. The first is gonna be, how are we looking on cobblestone? We're looking so good on cobblestone. We've gotta find another propane tank to get the other shredder up and running though. Oh, and did I just see that, um, oh, <laughs> Zoe is outside. You need to come with me. Somehow fell out, out of the base. Seems to be, be kind of a bad habit for these guys, despite the fact that I put up a railing for them. Uh, makes me think, um, is there, there's gotta be a, can I go out here? There's gotta be a better system that we can come up with here. Uh, just for the moment though, let me get some cobblestone cube shapes crafted. Okay, what are we looking at here? Oh, by the way, I think I should be able to, cause I'm not, I'm not able to um, aim this at all, but I think if I pick them back up and put them back down again, that that's been fixed. We'll check on that in a little bit. For now, oh geez, what are we gonna do here? I think, so I've selected a better block for this section right here. And that block is, if we just go into the shapes menu and search for arrow, it's this uh, arrow slit half ramp tip. I don't know what the intended use is for some of these blocks, but um, oh no, no, no. Are you gonna be in the way? Anyway, so I think this will both look good and uh, and, and it's like, it's shoot through. We'll, we'll try to demonstrate that in a second. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be really finicky here, isn't it? Okay, everyone did well except for you, Sarah. Sarah, you need to definitely just back up a little bit. Oh, you're just gonna make me do this. Oh boy, there we go. Okay, so that way they can see through better and they can shoot through better. And if I just demonstrate here, that is, you heard the ting, hopefully, that was the bullet going straight through this block. This is bulletproof, because I think before, these guys were just shooting the blocks and that's bad because it damages the base and it obstructs their field of fire. So we do not want that. The other problem appears to be the railing. And the railing is a problem because I can't place the trader down on that specific block because there's technically a block occupying that space that's messing us up because they are somehow they like when they spawn in when i either load the game up or when i'm driving back they just they're on the other side they're somewhere else they fall through the floor it's just it's glitchy so that means we got to come up with some kind of an alternative here oh man i i just don't know there's no way i can do this without actually occupying these two block spaces because the we can't use either one of those spaces all the way across. The only thing I can think of is um, to just maybe come down here and see if it's gonna work. Is to put some sort of like a, like a pole that goes all the way across. That's not gonna work either because this is occupying a half block space coming out. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that either. That's really exposed up there. Oh, it does look a little bit better though. I mean, it doesn't look perfect, but uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get perfect <laughs> out of this configuration here. You know what? I'm just thinking about it here, and I I was just using a block yesterday when I was playing on the multiplayer server that uh, might work for this. It is a trim block. It's one of these door frames, which 
I believe occupies a one block space, but it kind of like is longer than one block. See, so like this is what we need. It's just like a railing that goes across, but that actually flushes up over here. Uh, okay, I did find the block. It's the door trim top and it does, it only goes an eighth of a block into the, the adjacent space there. Oh, what about that? Because we're not gonna put anyone over here and that actually like connects to the front rail. That just might be the trick. I just, I can't, I can't stand the thought of there being like a hovering block here. Okay, and uh, this is probably, of course, of course it's gonna not, um, yeah, I'm gonna need to get uh, some other extra block to flush this up here. Of course, you know, actually we could just do the one meters all the way across, maybe? Okay, the question now is, is this block bulletproof? My assumption is going to be a big no. Yeah, it's not. Which means it's gonna be right in their field of fire. Man, this just keeps getting more and more complicated by the minute. Yeah, and, and where I'm standing, that's gonna be an issue. Oh boy, I can say we're, we're gonna be here for a minute looking for the right block shape. Okay, hear me out on this. <laughs> what about the security gate? When all else fails, just go back to the security gate. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be shoot proof. Oh wait, what if, what if we did the uh, dynamic grate here instead? Right, because then that would kind of angle down. I don't know, maybe this is gonna work. And then I was also looking, what if we knocked these top shapes out and replaced them with these ones just for symmetry's sake. I mean, I don't know if anything has to be in this space. I'm just imagining that spiders are gonna be able to jump up here and I that would just be an issue, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, that looks so bad. All right, I'm just gonna like put a pin in this one. I'll come back and revisit it when, I, when I'm a little bit fresher. I think uh, it, it, it does you some good to kind of just take a little bit of a mental break from something when you're stuck and come back and look at it later. And also just get a look from the outside. I mean, from the outside, it doesn't look too, too bad, especially if I put these like spiky tips here on the top. Let's maybe just do that and then see what it looks like. That might give me the inspiration I'm looking for. Okay, that looks, that looks moderately better. Now I'm thinking like, what if we just took out that middle block right there and just ran the uh, security vent thing over to the side. Okay, that's what that looks like. Okay, uh, this is the best looking that I've seen it so far. It's still, it's still a we little weird though, and I'm not gonna commit to this just yet. Okay, <laughs> let me go get uh, some of the shapes I've been making and we'll get started on stuff that I actually know what I'm doing on. All right, so first up, I'm gonna just replace all of the broken top destroyed blocks with top soil so that we don't have to worry about uh, any sort of foundation problems and then we can kind of dress up the aesthetics out here in the front too this is an extremely monotonous task but i at least i can rest assured that we don't have to do this anymore because uh, like i said in the last episode the seekers are not doing a as much damage to destroyed stone anymore kind of a one and done sort of area beautification project and by one and done, I mean probably two and done because I'm about to run out of topsoil. Okay, that is 100% of my topsoil blocks and uh, I would say that's good enough. Certainly things could look a lot better down there by the lakeside, but eh, not by much. Okay, time to move on to something else then. All right, since we're on the topic of area beautification, it's time to clean this mess up here in the front yard. We gotta get rid of all of this crap out here. We've got trees obstructing my vision, we've got cinder blocks blocking my vehicles, we've got vehicles that are blocking my vehicles and that should be just be salvaged. I did chop a couple of these trees down last night because I was looking for resin, but then I learned that you can't get resin out of the burned trees, you gotta get them out of the regular trees. Whoop, a little bit of a screamer battle there, whoopsie. Making a little bit too much noise with the auger and breaking apart all these pieces of metal and crap. All right, I think I've done enough cleaning for one day. I've got another screamer horde chasing me around. All right, it's more like a mini project here, but I'm gonna just knock out all this rubble that's around the end of the ramp and fix this. Get this all finished off. There's all kinds of these just like rubble lumps everywhere <laughs> making my life difficult. Oh boy, and I uh, almost just died there. So, Red Bull! Oh geez, Death's Whisper! Oh, it's another freaking horde of werewolves. Great. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kite them over in front of the soldiers. I need their help. Yep, come on over this way, buddy. Who is this? Alan Giorgi. And uh, the rest of them are going for my vehicle. That's not good. It is just a police car. I guess that's fine. All right, Alan, it's you and me. 
step. There we go. Down. Now it's gonna kill all your friends. Zombies are rolling up as well, although I can see one fighting a zombie off in the distance there. Oh, I took radiation damage again. All right, here we go. We got Moogie. Moogie is a werewolf as well now, and Cookie44 going head to head here. I'll chip in a little bit because it look, looks like Moogie is outclassing Cookie by, by quite a bit. All right, at this point, it's about 50-50. There we go. Okay, good job, Cookie. My goodness, this is just the project that never ends down here. Now that I'm kind of looking at it, this uh, this should definitely have uh, some sort of a foundation going around it on the bottom. Oh, it's a wandering horse. I just can't get a break around here. All right, let's fight then. Are you kidding me? This is not a rampage. That's like five in a row. There we go. There's my rampage. Okay, are we done here? Wow. Hey, when it rains, it pours in rebirth, doesn't it? Yeah, this is just my last, like, six blocks I had to do for that project. Just wanted to, like, kind of sink it into the ground, you know? So, just in case, just in case something bad happens, we should be all set. We shouldn't suffer any kind of a collapse, because there's, like, a lot of blocks going into this thing here. All right, our werewolf left us, uh, Alan over here left us a loot box with, uh, ooh, that's some really good stuff, actually. That's enough to make another... Uh, Scar Light, which, oops, supposed to sell those, my bad. Which we can sell for like, uh, seven or eight hundred dukes, or, uh, dollars. Okay, well, it is almost nightfall, and I've got no plans to go out and do any raiding tonight. I just want to use all the block shapes that we have, and so what I'm going to do first is just kind of dress up the support pillars all the way to the top, and then we'll probably do some, uh, interior construction after I'm done with that. So I'm going to start with these, like, ramp incline fillers. Is that what this is called? Yeah, ramp incline filler, uh, at the sort of corners of all of these support legs. So it begins the really perilous task of just pulling my way up to put all of these on the side of the building. Whoops, I uh, psh, sprayed my leg. What a surprise. Go ahead and just slap some steroids into me. All right, so we're slowly making some progress. It's kind of a tedious project, that's for sure. We gotta like position the lighting so that we can see something, both you and I. Gonna contend with all the random zombies flying up on you like this guy. Oh, a whole bunch of them, oh boy. Okay, working on my tactical rifle skill and my tactical tanking skill too. Spray my leg again. More steroids, please. All right, so with the, the three sides, basically, or four sides, I guess, the exterior, I, you could say, I'm just gonna start working on filling in the support pillars down here on the bottom, or in the middle, I should say. Nothing like a half dozen beers to top off your hydration at 4.42 in the morning. So I think now you're probably gonna be getting the sense of why I was saying the base is not going to collapse. This is a total of, I think it's 11, 9, 10, 11 support columns. Each of these are three by three, meaning that's nine blocks that you would have to chew through to get through one. Uh, nine times 11 is 99, so basically you'd have to take out a full 99 blocks here in order to completely collapse the base. Plus it's like partially held up by the front part over there, so there's like, sort of accessory stability. Whoops, I missed one little piece here. All right, yep, one more little just cursory. Whoops, missed another piece right here. Doing a real good job today, very thorough. There we go, I think that's it. Let me just take one more glance around. Yeah, th these are really, really beefy support legs. I typically don't do uh, bases on support legs because this is kind of what you have to do if you really wanna do it th the right way, but um, it really does pay off in the end. Okay, so the next thing to do then is to work on construction up here in the crafting room. I like these beveled shapes for windows. I think this is my favorite way to go about it, and we're gonna have lots of windows in here for natural light. And I not only like them on the bottom, but I like them on the top as well. And then I made three of these three by three roll-up doors, and probably the best way to go about them is to put them right here. Hang on, let's just change the color to... Oh, do we want to go with the red? Because I always do red bases. Maybe we should try to change it up a little bit here. We'll go with uh, we'll go with purple actually, because purple is kind of in theme with the uh, the colors of the mod and and the witch doctor class for that matter. And the second door will go in the same configuration here in the garage that kind of will separate us in, in the fighting area from the rest of the base. All right, let's see what I can come up with here for storage solution. We gotta get it up off the ground. I think eventually we're gonna have to put workbenches here in the middle. We'll have to have like middle lanes. And uh, that means that these storages have to go up onto shelves. But we're getting into the territory now where um, I've I've gone pretty far past the, the drawn design. So I'm just winging it at this point. The clock is ticking a little bit. And so I can't be here all day testing shapes and experimenting. I've gotta kinda come up with a plan and roll with it. 
Okay, and I'm starting to see my first problem here, and that's that I can't put the support brackets where I want them. I can put them, like, here. We can do, like, three storages there, three there, and three here. That puts us up to nine, which is how many we have right now, and honestly, I don't think we need much more than that. Yep, yep, I'm, I'm rolling with it. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> I gotta pick something out and commit. Jeez, I'm thirsty again. Those uh, four beers I slugged down earlier were not enough. Here, have another four. We get a real good buzz going here at 8.30 in the morning. Okay, so originally when I designed this base, uh, it, uh, it called for a greenhouse on the top. It was gonna be the whole ceiling of the base was gonna be one big long greenhouse and it was gonna be pretty cool, but uh, then I figured out that, um, you know, plants don't grow in the wasteland here, so I had to kind of pivot a little bit. And so basically the whole top of the base is going to be different than, uh, than how I anticipated. And I'm not sure uh, how exactly different that's going to be. All right, I think the first step is just bring the wall up another block shape. That way we can just put some, like, dummy boxes down to simulate uh, what the storages are going to look like over here. And I don't know, I usually, wedge 60s are probably my favorite block for kind of like a gradual slope of a rooftop. I'm committing to it, I ran out of uh, plywood shapes and so I can't test anything more out. <laughs> just roll with it. Okay, and then for the interior we could just repeat what we did with the wedge 60s, uh, but then again I don't like the gap on top of the storage box. Alright, whatever, I've spent enough time <laughs> trying to brainstorm on this. Okay, that's what I got for you for now, and we'll put some glass up here in the top eventually. Uh, to be determined if that's also going to be the helipad. I'm not sure yet. Haven't really gotten that far. I guess it could be. I could put a stair out here. This out here is gonna be, it, it has to be like a fighting balcony because with all of the trainers down here, and the soldiers in the floor below, along with us during Horde Night, if a Wraith comes by, I'm hoping that they won't focus on the back of the base, because why would they? They're gonna target the player. And so this is going to be the battleground against those guys. And so I think my plan was to, um, like, make a window here where we can put in some SMG turrets. Just need some slight renovation here. And we just need to make like, um, like a, I don't know, like a firing cone, or I'm not sure how you would explain this and that'll just give the uh the turrets a little bit more flexibility in terms of like their firing lane speaking of firing lane let's get these set in here and just make sure that uh, everything looks okay that should be fine now we'll be able to access it from the back but probably want to cover it up from the front if we could ah uh, yeah it's gonna look weird if i do that we'll hold off on that part because i kind of i thought about putting like a security gate on the front but then I selected this half beveled shape and that's uh, that's just not good that's probably not the block I want there eventually uh this I I had thought to leave this open not like completely open but like put some bars in here or something so that wraiths can't get down in and wraiths can spawn skeletons too so you don't want skeletons in there either but um the everyone could like sh turn around and shoot upward here if they wanted to whole bunch of extra cobblestone cubes we, we're probably good on those now we can probably just cancel the rest i don't think there's a whole lot left for construction left to do at this point it's kind of just about like just uh dressing everything up with catwalks and decorating and filling in all the empty spaces yeah like that don't like this gap here uh, i should try to figure something out for that at some point I have no idea what we're doing here yet. Probably can just kind of fill this all in, at least for now. Oh right, and down here. Down here we were gonna do the same thing except with the shotgun turrets, but I still haven't found any double barrel shotguns. I really want to get those up and running for the horde though. Maybe we could um, buy some- oh great, a freaking horde out there. Let's go fight. First aid kit, <laughs> fix all those uh, scorching burns and the sprained leg that I got from a zombie punching me in the mouth. Okay, let me get these cars out of the way and we'll do like one final look at the base. I wouldn't say it's done now, but it's it's like, you know, 80% done, I guess. Oh yeah, a bunch of big craters over here that I forgot about. I'll have to fix those. So there it is. 
for better or for worse. I, I got some plans to make like some spikes there on the top, so I'll get around to that eventually. Sir, no, no, hold, hold on, no. Look out. Man, it feels good to have everything basically fully functional though. We can roll right up into the base, park it. Everything's dressed up in here for the most part. Maybe what I do now is just some electrical work. Get all this crap up off the ground. Gotta find some more of these nice fluorescent lights too. Okay, so this gives me an opportunity to try something different for like the turrets that are embedded in the wall. Right, the block I should have chosen is the wedge 60. Basically, when in doubt, get a wedge 60 out. Right, because then I can come in and get a security gate plate and set that in just like so and kind of like create, um, you know, just create like a little bit of a, a barrier for it, I guess. And then I'm sure there's some kind of a trim frame I can put on the bottom. Yeah, how about this door trim two-sided like this and that. Regular door trim, security gates on this side. And I think that'll do it. Then we can just put the shotgun turrets in here when they're ready. And we'll just basically, it'll be like having two extra soldiers in here with shotguns for the nice close range fighting here at the front. Yep, I think that's gonna work a treat. Okay, let's just take a moment to fix myself again. Steroids, crush and blue, honeycomb, hungry anyway, so bacon and eggs. And we're on quite the bender, so have a couple extra beers. I got a generic perk book I can read. I think I'll take that into Daring Adventurer. That should max us out on that, and I don't have to worry about the glasses thing anymore. I can instead just wear like my lucky looter or pack mule glasses. Speaking of glasses, let's take a look at the structural stability here. Yeah, looking real good. I think the worst part of the base is probably the front walkway. But we've known that all along. I just got all the doors reconnected out here and I wanted to take a look at the blade trap situation because I've learned that blade traps can actually activate your rampage and so we definitely want those to be hitting the heads of zombies in order to help out with you know rampage initiation. I still don't know if these blade traps here are doing much but I think that the they're doing something. I mean we could just put blade traps like like right here. I think this one's great because that's when they're cutting the corner around here. So definite yes on this one. Okay, we could put blade traps up here. I just feel like if you put the blade traps up here, they're gonna, they're just gonna blow up. Put them back here. They're just gonna get shot and and all the zombies are gonna be pushing this way. So maybe these, I don't, I don't like where these ones are. We'll put it that way. And it's not like we're trying to repair the blade traps really at all because they're gonna be too far away from us unless we did put them right here. But honestly, there's just so much chaos going on over here that I don't think that's the best idea either. All right, well, I'm committed against these ones at least. Just as I was doing that, I was thinking to myself, is it possible to catch zombies in the head? It would be really unreliable, wouldn't it? To have um, like two blade traps on either side of the, the um, stairway here it's like you could put one on top of this and like as oh <laughs> that, that cube shape is broken forgot to nail down one of the sides to it there we go okay so as they're rolling up yeah i mean their head has to go right straight through a blade trap in that scenario so that might work okay first of all set that down so that i don't so that i know what i'm dealing with here Okay, so we can do it there then, and that's it. That would be there. Bring it up by two on each side, and then the blade trap goes right there, and that's gonna work on both sides. Okay, I'm gonna commit to that on both sides. Right, and this should this should definitely help with getting some headshots on zombies and getting that rampage started. Let's just, yep, whoop, 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 yep, that works. Doesn't work unless you try it on yourself though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and how does that put us with uh, power? Really good, still fine. <sighs> and I still haven't come to a conclusion on what to do about this. <sighs> do we need this? Should I put something else here? It has to be something that's bulletproof. It has to be something that's kind of, that's flush, that will sit in there nicely and look okay. It just, it's obstructive. Maybe I should just do bars. Do you think bars would just look better overall? We're, oh, wait, we were having issues before with people being able to shoot through. I thought that was security gates. So yeah, maybe it's a good idea that I'm changing this. Although I think I did see in a patch note that that had been fixed. I don't think I want to take any chances though. I remember how painful it was breaking those out the last time. I That looks 
considerably better, if you ask me. Uh, geez, okay, what are some alternative shapes we can use? Things that are bulletproof. Okay, we could use the catwalk railings. Security gates and dynamic grates are a possibility. You could also use things like, uh, you could use these uh, scaffolding ladders. That might look okay. Just something that keeps uh, zombies, jumping zombies and also flying zombies out. Oh, that I think looks the best so far. And I think when you put the scaffolding ladder on its side like this, it's no, it's no longer a ladder. I don't know that for sure though. Let's test that out. Uh, yeah, no, I can't. I can't use that as a ladder anymore. Okay, I d I like this. I think this is something I can I can work with. I was right all along. I just had to come back to it later on with a fresh set of eyes and find something that worked a little bit better for me. Yeah, yeah, not too shabby. I, I, I don't mind that a bit. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, I'm the boss here, so <laughs> what I say is what goes. And now I should be able to put the trainers down, and I don't think that they'll have as many issues like falling out of the base and being ridiculous, basically. Ugh. And I will save one spot yeah, there for the black, uh, black shield trainer there that we should get access to here in the next few days. So we got Pascal now. Tyler, Barnett, we got Briston, and Raven Dawn, and Belzy Rob here. Man, we have made some significant progress. All I really need to do now is sort out what I'm doing up here. I wanna take a look at, see, we just use this as a ladder now, I think. There we go, I need to sort out what the heck is going on up here. Is this gonna be a helipad? Am I gonna build a staircase down there? I think that makes the most logical sense. I'm gonna have to bring these up and make some like, um, I guess you'd call them spires or Basically some spikes on the support columns. And then, um, yeah, we need to figure out a floor situation here. But for now, I'm itching to get out of here. What do you say we do like a night raid somewhere? All right, man, everything's looking so much better around here. It's really, really good. Okay, I need a, I want a railing on this for sure. You need to start making a list. I've got to figure something else out here because that, that does not look good there. And I, I need to sort out how to fix that. I don't really know off the top of my head. Also, we need to look into bulletproof glass production. Kind of forgot about that whole thing. Okay, this is the switch for lights and blade traps. And these are the switches here for doors. We'll just leave two open at a time. Shut these guys in. Actually, you know, if we're going out for the night, somebody needs to come with me. Hobie, you're coming with me. You and me tonight. Come to think of it, we need to kill... Um, the, those shock immune run, zombies. Let's Just bring uh, Logan with us too. Follow me. Do I have enough money to send somebody out mining? Dang, go mining. Go get me some lead because uh, I need more bullet tips. There you go, thanks bud. The rest of y'all are coming with me and we are going to hopefully be able to open that door. There we go. Uh, we're gonna go to the snow biome. And I, who was it up there? Is it Trader Joel or Trader Bob or something? Let's see if he has a night mission for us. And if he doesn't, we'll just go slaughtering some shock immune zombies for the rest of the night. Man, it is going to be a long drive to get over to the snow biome. And it's straight through this nasty part of the wasteland. When I said nasty part, I meant underwater part. It's okay, we've got the best vehicle in town for this kind of stuff. I think, anyway. <laughs> We're making some progress. Just a little bit slow, that's all. Yep, we made it. All right, I'll meet you over at the trader in the snow biome. All right, we're here at the Red Rocket. Now between us and the soldiers, uh, we should be able, we shouldn't have any problems basically uh, just murdering zombies kind of randomly as we go. Here we go, we got Trader Joel. Joel, you don't have freaking jobs? What is wrong with you? I don't understand why you don't have jobs. He's got an inventory. Oh, he's got a double barrel shotgun. Oh crap, I can't afford it. Oh, I could sell him. I can't sell him anything, crap. Uh, what, what do you have that I haven't? stolen yet that I can sell back to you. I managed to find a couple of schematics and stuff in order to get what we needed to purchase this double barrel shotgun. Absolutely need that so we can make our first shotgun turret. Oh, there's another one there. Oh boy. You better not restock tonight. Restock day is day 40. Crap, he's gonna restock in 30 minutes. He might have another one though. What is going on out here? Oh my goodness, it's a seeker. He'll have a whole bunch of money. We just gotta kill him before the night's over with. Did he just jump his way in here? Ra it's Raven Dawn. Raven Dawn's a double agent, it would appear. Ow. Oh man, Hobie took that one like a champ. Okay, grab everything. Money is most important. We'll worry about the zombies later. Joel, give me that extra double barrel shotgun, please. There it is. Got enough for it. Awesome. Look at that. What are you all doing in there? Anyway, that's definitely not what I wanted. Did you all flip the friggin' vehicle again? 
This vehicle is uh, very rollover prone. All right, well, it looks like we're not doing a mission. We're just hunting, hunting for shock immune zombies. Okay, honestly, I was expecting to see more of the shock immune zombies out here, but these are mostly, I think, fire immune. It's a little bit more difficult to tell these days because uh, all you can see is the particle effect on the hands, which I, I, is my preferred way of, uh, of having the mod anyway. Toxic zombie. Another regular fire immune. This is an explosive immune right here. Okay, so far, no luck. I thought we'd find a dozen or more at this point, but no, that doesn't seem to be the case. So this is just a dinky little town here. I guess we could explore the second half of it. It looks like there's another one over there. A couple of guys over here that all look like normies. Do you think we're more likely to find them inside of a POI? Should we just do like a quick raid here? Loot stage 132, not too bad. If we could just find like a tier three or something, something we could blow through in two or three hours, that would be preferred. Right now we're at 61 at 41%. Just start rolling through here and seeing if we can spawn any in in the, in the POIs. Nope. The fire boy. By the sound of it, there uh, we've got a lot of company here. Here we go. Oh, there's our first right there. Shock immune zombie. Although something blew up and killed it, I don't think that that counted as ours. I think it was a landmine kill. That's nice. Off to a great start here tonight. Oh boy. Okay, grab that fire extinguisher off the wall and put this crap out. I don't have to deal with all this nonsense tonight. Quick little main loot, I guess. We're in, ooh, oh, HK416. Yeah, we've already surpassed that MP5A2. I'll have a quick peek at that, thank you very much. Oh, this is a nine millimeter weapon. Where did, what, what is, what the heck is going on with all of you guys? Oh, there, hello. Oh, what is this? The G36C. Got a whole bunch of new weapons to try out here. And then the ST2011 schematic, some kind of a pistol. I'm very fortunate, I'm very uh, grateful that I didn't select, holy crap, this looks cool. Uh, that I didn't select some sort of a, a pistol <laughs> class because I don't think things would be going over very well with like seeker fights. Oh my goodness, what are you all doing in here? This gun is awesome, holy crap. Ooh, there's like a certain percussion to it that I really like. Okay, can we not have this fire here? And also, uh, where's my backup fire extinguisher? There we go. And is everybody not on fire? Looks like we're good, except for me. Get away from me. I, I took radiation damage. I am just in rough shape here. I've broken an arm. Great. Okay, just get the guns back out. And I think this was good. We, we got zero, I think, out of this whole place. Oh, wow, that fire rate on this is nice. Even that place caught on fire. Okay, we need to find a different part of the neighborhood. Going on like a, I, I've gone through probably a full 12 pack today of beer and I'm not stopping now. All right, let's pick one more house here or two to blow through and just see if we can get any shock immune zombies at all. Man, this is like my favorite gun ever. Holy crap. Oh, and the uh, big fire here. Look out, Hobie, get out of there. Oh, this guy's, this place has a big underground portion here with a little bit of loot. This is gonna have to do it for us, I think. Oh, wow. Another Darkeen Scythe. Is it better than the one I'm using? It is not. Spaz 12 schematic. Ooh, auto shotgun and crowbar. Hobo stew for breakfast and... What is this, anyway? It's just a bunch of dirt. Isn't it? Oh, whoa, hello there. That was a shock immune zombie. Finally, got, got our first one of the night, I think. Yeah, and speaking of night, it's over. It is now morning. Tomorrow, or, or today, actually, later today, is the horde. There's another shock immune zombie right there we can kill, nice. Right, we're up to uh, 64, we got three tonight I think it was. I think we started off at 61, right? <laughs> Jeez. Well, why don't we put a pin in this mission, we'll pick things up here in a couple of hours and we'll continue hunting for shock immune zombies throughout the day and then we'll head back to the horde base and make final preparations for the horde later on tonight. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. Welcome back to the Rebirth. Our expedition to the snow biome in search of shock immune zombies was unsuccessful, but we shall return soon. For now though, there's more pressing matters at hand. Horde night, and we still have a lot of work to do to prepare. 
like carving out grenade chutes, setting up shotgun turrets, and steel upgrades, among many others. So we're gonna head back to the base to get things ready, then fend off the horde the best we can. And if we survive, I'm sure we'll be picking up the pieces for the next day or two. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, I know I said that we were gonna hunt shock immune zombies out here, but then I realized in between episodes that there is a ton of work yet to do back at the base. So right now we're just gonna fly home. Is this the right road? It is the right road. We're gonna fly home. We've got uh, building to do, crafting to do, construction, electrical work. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I've neglected that has to be done. But first, get that loot bag over there. Oh, nice steel helmet and some good beer for drinking. Ow, whoa, geez, getting shot. Come on, guys, help me out here. There you go. Off to a rough start, not to mention the fact that I'm infected and radiated and I've got a broken arm. <laughs> yeah, it's time to go home. I'll meet you there. All right, back home, Prussian blue, honeycomb, and plaster cast. Funny, we're kind of running out of those things. What a surprise, right? <laughs> not really. Okay, first thing to get out of the way is... Crafting these shotgun turrets. Yes, shotgun auto turrets. Tell me I've got enough to make two of these. I don't, what am I missing? Uh, nothing. I think it's just one of those weird things where you can't craft them in chunks. You have to craft them individually. Oh yeah, look at that AP762 right there. By the way, I've learned a lot about um, the high power ammo. Apparently high power ammo increases your uh, like dismemberment chance and so if you're doing headshots you can get um you know insta kills basically with those so it might be worth looking into some of that stuff maybe you use the uh, ap for the horde night but the high power for like day to day oh by the way this here has got to go because guess what it's not bulletproof i was completely wrong oh jeez why do i do this to myself okay so it after all that We've just got to use the bars, I think. It could be bars or railings, but I think bars are probably the least obstructive block that we could put here that is also symmetrical. Oh, uh, there's one more shape potentially that we could use. This one, the pillar 0.025 meter double. Okay, is this bulletproof? I don't think it is. Nope, no it's not. So that's junk. The bars, however, are bulletproof. No bullets are gonna hit that, so it's not gonna obstruct any field of fire from the trainers. And hopefully, are you gonna be in the way again? Oh, come on, come on. Give it, give it, give it to me right now. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay, I've, I've got some ideas on how to kind of fix this up a little bit. We will get to that eventually. That's just not, we, we're, we're only doing like critical functions here uh, before the horde. The, the, the next thing here was like uh, structural integrity goggles because when I did that, the last time I showed you guys a view and there was a real big problem. One of the support columns is not connected to bedrock right now. And I think it's this one right here. Yeah, look at that. We've got yellow on the main support column, which means uh, one of the blocks underneath it has been destroyed. So I've got to dig down there and figure out what's going on and fix it. Ah, there it is right there. Yeah, there's just a missing shape there. That was actually probably a concrete or steel block at some point, and it just got totally destroyed. Let's see if I can fix that up to steel, and then we'll just embed in another steel block underneath it, since this is just a high volume area, and that should be good now. Let's just double check. Yeah, now this one's broken, but we're gonna fix that in two seconds. I'm going to use a concrete block there. And then I'll probably just put some topsoil blocks in down there. Can I just get a couple of those? Yeah, topsoil, just give me, uh, can I just get like three of those offhand? One, two, three, that should be good now, double check. Yes, we are A-OK -okay down here now. Man, good thing for those goggles. <laughs> what a, just an amazing idea that was. I love that so much. Okay, we're gonna plug the shotgun turrets in here and we're gonna put, uh, well, we have the SMG turrets up there. However, these are not properly protected, so I need to rip out these edges. We're gonna just repeat what we did downstairs. Are you kidding me? No, no. Stupid bandit raid. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm just gonna let him run up to the front and die. That didn't take long. Oh crap, I fell off the base and sprained my leg. Oh, do you have any good stuff on you? Oh, nice. Yep, scope and some parts. Plenty of steroids. 
Okay, so these are done out here. The next project is, yeah, we gotta just sort, sort something out real quickly here just to make a rooftop for this. I think naturally we'll just knock that out and do I wanna maybe knock this strip out here as well? Okay, that should provide maximum visibility down here. I would even maybe argue that we've gotta go one further. Just rip out one more layer on each side. And that's it for that. Do I maybe want to knock out this last piece here? Uh, I think it's going to look weird if I don't, so... Okay, hopefully nothing collapses here. One more layer on each side. Okay, and the reason we're doing that is because I want to put some sort of a... Like a beveled block in there. Kind of like this right here. I, I don't know if I like this as like the best option though. It's like alternatively we can do wedge 60s yeah, again. Just like this, like, cause I just think that this would look better than it, cause like those um, the ramp blocks they have such a, like a pointy edge that I don't know it just doesn't look realistic to me. All right, I'm gonna go with these. It's the same system that we did up there basically. So if anything, at least it'll match. Okay, there it is. And then the last step here is going to be see I don't like necessarily how that looks there, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna live with it. Right, the last step is just to put in like a security gate or anything here for a rooftop so that uh, the trainers can shoot up toward wraiths uh, together with the SMG turrets up here, like the hammer and the anvil, basically. There we go, that's it. They are better protected and we've got a barrier between us and skeletons and whatever else rains down on us from the wraiths. Okay, next step is I want to make grenade shoots. And um, I think I want to try something different. Usually I do like a hatch and you open the hatch, but I think I just want to have like open, I don't know what you call them. Let me just show you what I have in mind. Okay, so now after we have these massive holes dug into the base, there was also an airdrop there a second ago. Where did that go? It dropped in the POI next door to the one that completely burned down the last time we were over there. Not important right now. So what I wanna do here is, okay, there's a specific shape, this one. <laughs> wedge 60 slope corners, man, I mean, this, this is just like the wedge 60 base. We could just name it that. Whoops, pay attention here. That's more like it. So this is gonna be a grenade shoot. We can just toss grenades right down there. I think the threat of zombies that can shoot is relatively low in this mod. Like if I was playing vanilla late game, I'd be worried about radiated cops, but you don't see so many of those because they've been replaced by demons and seekers and whatever else. So what we can do on the top here to make sure that I don't fall down there is grab a diagonal rail and just make sure that I orient it correctly so that the corners kind of line up just like that and then um when the time comes i've actually crafted 50 regular grenades upstairs you could just um huck grenades right down there they'll fall right down and they should land pretty much like right here so if anyone's beating on the supports we can kind of blow them up if it doesn't work that's fine we can just tear them out and re replace them next time i don't think it's going to be any sort of a major malfunction for today. What's next? Of course, okay, let's put the shotgun turrets in and set those up and then we'll get everything loaded and connected to power. Okay, we've got, <laughs> we're getting a, quite a mess now of electrical. I mean, at least it looks okay. This goes to blade traps, right? So this can go to uh, turrets, I guess. Okay, and then shotgun turrets, sneak them right in here. And I've done testing before where I tested to see like how long a shotgun turret can last on Horde Knight. And with like the default 900 rounds, it's basically all night. 900 rounds is enough, even if they're firing all night long. They, it's very close, but they'll pretty much, they'll last. So with the, you know, 1500 plus another 400 there, it should be fine. Should That should last us. And we'll have ammo left over for the next Horde Knight. And just turn those on and double check. Yep, this is the view that they're gonna get. We'll just aim them right to the middle. All right, that's the look right there. Hopefully this works. I've never actually put a security gate in front of a turret, but I've seen other people do stuff like that, so I'm just assuming that it's going to work. All right, the last step is to just do base upgrades and repairs and make sure that we're using all the steel that we can. I'm just gonna go grab the resources, even though I can use them from out here, just so I can see like how much I have left. So we should have plenty of that stuff. We should have plenty of cobble 
And where is the steel? We don't have very much steel, but I think the rest of it's just hanging out over here. Oh yeah, 1,200 there and another 300 there. Puts us up to 1,873 steel. All right, that's the last couple pieces, just replacing some of the railing pieces that are on the front here. I don't think that there's much left to do. Of course, we could do this right here. I don't think that would hurt anything. I'm gonna slide these in here just in case and um, upgrade them. I, I'm gonna leap, nah. What do you think? Yeah, let's we'll, we'll just take them right up to steel. How much steel do I have left? 67. On second thought, I'm gonna save that 67 for repair, and that'll just go up to concrete for now, just as a little trial run. And I think what I'll also do is I'll take this, um, whatever this is called here, and uh, just string that all the way across, and same deal for now. Ooh, that one there should be steel. The rest of them could just be concrete for today. I burned through all of that. Right, who is this? Ah! Bandit! Oh crap. Oh jeez! He fucking killed me! He totally one-shotted me! Oh my god. You bastard, man. Are you guys- Can you guys handle that for me? Holy crap, I gotta get my stuff before the horde gets here. Is he dead? Oh my god, if I jump down there and die again, <laughs> I'm just gonna Alt F4 for real. Alright, where was he? Oh, there's his bag right there. Holy crap, yeah. I was not expecting that. I had like a hundred hit points left. He must have just point blank headshotted me. Off to a tremendous start this evening, my friends. Thank you for all your support. <laughs> all right. Well, buttoned up back here in safety. I got the whole floor done, or at least most of it. See, this is actually an important piece right here. That's a support pillar. Yep, fix that. And um, we'll do the rest of the upgrades later. I think I'm looking really good. Actually, I used a lot of concrete mix. Wow. Okay. So we're just going to have to... Focus more on resource collection ne next week. What's new, right? Is there another bandit raid here? Are you guys kidding me? These guys are relentless. Oh, whatever. Leave them to it. I'm gonna get these lights hooked up. Okay, that sounds like it was it. Somebody shot me from somewhere, so I'm like getting my ass kicked here today. I was hearing them get sliced up a little bit on the blade traps too, so I think that's working out well. All right, let's get down here into position and close the door behind us. I've brought with me today over 3,000 rounds of AP 762. I've got all of my skeleton warriors. We got one tier four. I got a whole 36 tier threes and 17 tier twos. I don't even think we'll get through half of those. I have two mind control brews to help out with the, uh, you know, converting zombies. However, we still can't convert the radiateds. We're stuck with only the ferals and who knows how many ferals we're gonna see tonight. Probably not very many. But anyway, the... Oh my God, there's a seeker here already. Yep, definitely a seeker here already. Take him out. And his loot bag is probably out there. I'm gonna go grab it just, just for now, just so I know it doesn't despawn. Here we go. Give me the goods. And, uh, how do I get back in the base without chopping myself? I gotta go around. Anyway, my friends, the day 40 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Let me out of here because I'm hearing some real nasty noises up here. Oh my god, here we go. We've got wraiths on the rooftop and I lost him. Does that mean he's dead? I might just have to fight from up here tonight. I'm not sure. Let's head back downstairs though. It's getting really heavy over here. Oh boy! Got a seeker in the base! Seeker in the base! Not good! Take him out! Oh, he's gonna blow. He's gonna blow. Look out! Nope, we got him down. Oh, that would help if I closed the doors. Okay, so far, no rampage, just seekers. Holy crap, there's a lot of seekers here. Um, why are there so many seekers? Just lay into them with the AP rounds. Hopefully that will do the trick. I think we've lost all of the blade traps already. Nope, the ones on the stairs, 
A few of them, anyway, are intact. I do get the impression that the AP rounds are working pretty well, though. Let me get some, um, support outside real fast. Also, I want my mercenaries down, but I'm, I'm not exactly sure where to put them, where they can get out of the base. Here, let's try out here and just maybe survey the damage a little bit as well. Here, insert- Whoa, what happened there? Oh my god! What was that? Some kind of a bird attacked me and like really hurt me. Holy crap, man. I am infected. Here, throw, close that door. I'm not going out there again. Oh look, spiders do jump their way up here. It's a good thing we put that fence in. Wow, wow. Okay, it's just nothing but seekers on this freaking battle. I hear another wraith though. I hear him, but I don't see him. Oh, you hear that? Tell me. Are you in the base? He's in the frickin' base! And then, he, and then he vanished. Oh, it would definitely help if I put a ceiling in here, wouldn't it? Oh, jeez. Mistakes are being made here. I'm gonna just plug this rooftop here real fast. Okay, that's done. I think our skeleton warrior is dead. So I'm gonna huck another one out the window. Or into the window. <laughs> Either way. All right, we're back downstairs with the crew here. Things are looking okay so far. I can see that a, a couple of these hatches are degraded a little bit. Just keep firing into the mass here. The, the bullets are bound to hurt somebody and they're armor piercing too, so they'll hurt somebody behind them as well. Ah, crap, I'm not able to get the headshots that we need in order to get the rampage going. I've, I'm too busy dealing with the Seekers and uh, we're only two hours through the night. So hopefully these two positions we're currently fighting in the two middle positions. We'll move to the two lateral positions if we have to. Oh, I like the skeletons. They're purple now. Nice. That, that looks really cool, actually. Yep, all of the blade traps are just completely disappeared now. They're gone for good. <laughs> that, it was a nice thought, I guess, but it's not going to work. Not going to do very much. Holy crap. Okay, we got to try out the grenade shoot and see if there's any... I don't even think there's any people down there. I'll just throw a couple of grenades and... Yeah, I can see some zombies down there. There you go. Have that. Try a couple over here on this side. Just chuck a couple down. Oh my god, my face! Oh, and all my mercenaries got hurt too. That was super bad. <laughs> I think that was just a chain reaction of uh, grenades that just blew up in my face there. Wow, things are looking pretty good here. And I think we're about halfway through. Let's um, transfer them to the lateral doorways. There we go. Are these turrets working at all? Have I miscalculated and these uh, these things are being blocked? I'm going to rip this off here real quick and see if these will start shooting. They're not shooting right now. Does that help? No, no, they're, they're not shooting at all. Why aren't, why aren't these shooting? Oh, I had to turn it on target strangers. I guess maybe these are not zombies. They are, um, I don't know. There we go. It's working now, though. Yeah, you gotta target strangers, not just target zombies. Which makes me think probably the SMG turrets have to have the same thing done. I turned them off target strangers. Uh, this is about as good of a chance as any to get some headshots in because it's just regular zombies all over the place here. I think we got regular demos here now too. I Yep, I can definitely see regular demos out there. Really, the least of my concerns right now, although they can do a lot of damage. All right, I gotta take a little bit of a break and see what all this growling is about upstairs because it can't be good. Yeah, here we go. Here he is. He's, um, is he dead? Did I kill him? There's a guy. Oh, got another one here. Yep, it's working. Here, while I'm up here, I just gotta turn these on to target strangers because I don't think that they're doing anything. Nope, they're not, they haven't fired around all night. Oh, jeez. Exploding cop somewhere. 
Oh, and that was dank just getting rocked. Hobie! Ho Hobie's gone! Hobie! Oh no! I I lost Hobie. I think they someone must have reached in here and grabbed him or something. Maybe he maybe he ran out. I'm not sure, but Hobie is gone. Oh, there's Hobie right there! Hobie! Get back in here! Come on, man! Grab him! Grab him! Are you dead? Follow me! Bring him back in here! Oh my god, Hobie! Uh stay where I'm standing! Holy crap, man! He was just on a heroic mission outside. Wow. All right, we're in the home stretch now, the final hour. Yeah, corpulent in the base, kill. Ah, something happened to me. I'm getting electrocuted, help. Oh my God, it's Fisher Girl in the base. Die, dead, dead, we're good. I'm still sitting on about a thousand rounds of AP ammunition, so really what I want to do is, oh no, my gun's broken. Never mind. Um, I was going to say get as many kills as I possibly can, but I think it's all up to my allies at this point. I have to just drop a few grenades out of here, nice and carefully. I'm not even going to, like, pre-charge. Just, you know, pull the pin, toss it. Only one at a time. Just keep dropping them down there. Bound to do something, eventually. Honestly, we're not really getting any traffic up here anymore, which is potentially very bad news. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a weapon repair kit because it's about to crack dawn and I'm gonna have to run down there and sort out whatever the heck's going on. Okay, nope, we've got we've got zombies coming up here now. Uh, they're just all acting weird, I guess. What's new, really? Who is that guy? Did you see that guy? That guy had some super muscles. There's another seeker down there. Holy crap, man. Okay, it is morning, so at this point... Be careful, because, you know, screamers are coming, basically. All right, pieces of the base are collapsing. I am starting to see little chunks falling down. It, I don't know if it's too bad yet, though. I can hear screamers screaming. We've, we're definitely in the loop now. Some of these Seekers have, like, 7k hit points. A little bit crazy. Let's get a distraction zombie out there. Or in here, either way. All right, I guess he teleported somewhere. And they're all... Oh my god, we've lost all the doors up here. That's the problem we have right now. Okay, so I need to... Um... Oh my god, look at the damage they did out here. Wow. Oh my god. They are carving through the, the, the pillars, which is not good. Um, yeah, this is holy crap bad. That horde absolutely could tear down the base. Probably. No problem. I, and the, the cop car is, has been flipped over. The corpulents are going to destroy it. Okay. Um, I'm going to string them out as best I can and just try to Molotov the screamers to death. Get me some Red Bull. And we got to fly, man. We got to get out of here. We got to string these zombies out. Hope that some of them despawn and hope that the rest of them die or follow me away from the base before it collapses. Okay, all the Seekers, many of them at least, are over there. I don't see any more zombies back at the base. I don't hear gunfire there anymore. Oh, crap. All right, I'm just gonna backpedal and shoot. If I can get them lined up, I can use the armor-piercing ammunition to my advantage. If I could just get a rampage right now, I could take care of all of these zombies. Nope, it won't let me have it. Ow! Got a seeker over here. I'll just take that loot bag while I'm right here. Thank you. Okay, yes. I can still hear a whole bunch of seekers. I think they're inside the movie theater. Let's start thinking about, uh, whoa, birds. Ah, get out of here. Jeez, use more bullets on the birds than I do see. Oh my God, the fires. Yeah, I think all the seekers are in here now. Okay, I can, uh, I can work with that potentially. Any snacks in here? Sure, some coffee. Oh, screamer. Yep, here we go again. Screamers screaming everywhere. All right, get rid of Sergeant Five Ton there. Grab up the money. Who's this? Anthony Garcia, take him out. I've leveled up in tactical rifles. That's something at least. Okay, that one's down. Take this loot bag. One more, maybe, and that would be it, hopefully. Focusing on the headshots. <laughs> no more bullets. Take that! 
Holy crap, what a way to close things out. I do think that that's probably it. However, wow, there's just a massive, massive fire going on over there. Oh, that's where all the screamers were coming from, is the fire. Okay, so I'm gonna make a wide loop around the, uh, the, the movie theater there to get back home. In fact, let's just go check on the garden. I, it, why is there a seeker over here now? What the heck? He's fighting a wolf. Here. Fight a skeleton warrior as well. And while I'm at it, oh, I was gonna say send in the mercenaries, but I cannot. Yeah, just fight the skeleton. And why are my things not grown? It's actually been a long time since I was here. It was supposed to be ready on day 38. And uh, everything is still growing. Oh man, I wonder if this is like a chunk loading issue. Yeah, nothing up here is done. Oh boy, that is um, very discouraging. All the work we put into the garden here, everything is set up properly, and it appears as though if you're not on the chunk, it just doesn't work. All right, I do have some ammo. I have some regular 762, but I'm kind of keen. Uh, that's Z-Bark. Z-Bark, can you please come down here? I'm kind of keen with uh, only 4,400 hit points here. Let's just see if I can melee this one down, limit the amount of heat that we're generating. There we go. Wait for the attack, and then, oh! It's, oh, it's hard for me to get the headshots. Maybe not, maybe I can reach, I didn't think I could reach up there. It's kind of working. I don't feel like the uh, AOE is very severe on their, um, on their attack. I don't think that, ow, ooh, that hurts. There we go, got him. Okay, grab that final bit of loot there, and let's get out of here. Let's go home and start picking up loot bags. Okay, the good news is, the base is still standing. Oh, the ramp, it took so much damage. Oh boy, yes, we need to get that fixed and uh, upgraded. Um, support pillars looking relatively good. I'm gonna go grab the glasses here after I pick up all this loot and we're gonna check the structural integrity. But for now, focus on the, the best loot bags. Get all the good loot out. We'll go through it and uh, hopefully none of it will despawn. Okay, so <laughs> duh, some bad things happened for sure during that horde night. Whoop, one more loot bag here. More money. Wow, I'm really eager to see how much money we have now. How much? How much? Uh, let's just start st quick stacking stuff away and we'll start going through uh, what we got for money. Oh, look at the money right now. Oh my god, we're up to $44,000. All right, anyway, here's a look at the cell chest and it's just completely stacked with stuff. I'm gonna just have to slowly go through some of this stuff and make sure that uh, if there's anything better than what we're using that it's replaced. Get a new fire axe. Got a new pickaxe, and in terms of schematics, the drone armor plating mod, the gyrocopter chassis, the full auto mod, dynamite, and we can sell the rest. We did get another 1911, we did get a plasma baton, which I think looks a lot like the one in Darkness Falls. No, it doesn't, it looks a lot different. That is pretty cool though. Definitely not up my alley in terms of this playthrough, but uh, I can sell it for a couple hundred dollars. Got a significantly better military vest. And otherwise, I think we're all clear for a massive sell-off. All right, last little thing here, BDU top. That puts us up to a grand total of $60,000. Wow. Right, well, I've got a whole bunch of money. We've got two options with it. We can, number one, wait and save it for the helicopter, which, by the way, I think we're gonna need the trade aura for in order to, to even afford it. Yeah, there it is right there, 135,000. So we could probably make enough that much money by the end of next Horde Night if we saved all of our money, or we could wait for the trade aura and then it wouldn't be too much of an issue at all. I think that would bring it down to like 90,000. Um, what we do need to do, I think, is, um, yeah, see, I've got a, there's a problem with this guy here. He is not selling the, the blank aura book. Okay, I did recently look this up. This is the guy, he is supposed to sell blank aura books. No, he doesn't have one. He does not have an aura book and he hasn't for a long time. I've been checking on this and I, I thought that I had it wrong, but I had looked it up. I made sure that I knew what I was talking about. He's just simply not selling it. So uh, what I'm gonna have to do is uh, give it to myself. You're supposed to be able to have two of these aura reference books. That's what it's called right there, aura reference book. I'm in, I'm in the creative menu right now. I'm totally cheating, but uh, I think that there's a little bit of a bug in my game because this guy's not selling it. He is supposed to sell this thing. Okay, just triple, quadruple checking. He's not selling this. So what I'm going to do 
is I just gave this to myself. I don't know what the value is. I don't know. Let's just like, you know, make it fair. I'll toss out $1,300 and we'll call it even on that one. Turn the creative menu back off and uh, we're right as rain, right? Okay, so this is used to make, okay, so we've got fire rate. I don't want that because it's just gonna mean burning through more ammunition. We've got the pierce. This is learning how to pierce through multiple targets with armor piercing rounds and assist others through the power of the pierce aura. Or there's armor penetration, learning how to penetrate armor and assist others in penetrating armor. I think that's probably the best one for us. Assuming that the seekers are armored, which I am assuming that. I don't know if that's correct or not though. Otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty much all set on the rest of these. So I'm gonna go with the armor penetration book, craft that, boom, and we can use that. And so now, just give what order. happens right now i need to i've already made the blueprint i made that a couple of days ago along with the bottle of ink so i should be able to make a an armor penetration or a blueprint and i have everything i need for that so craft it and oh boy while we're at it we're gonna need some more doors some of these um automated vault doors which we're short on steel Crap. So start working on what we can for steel. And if there's any molten steel left, which I, I don't think that there is, uh, there's one left. Okay, so we're screwed on steel. We need to do some serious iron mining in the very near future. In fact, I might just go do that right now. Yeah, and we've got zombies here and they don't know how to get up, which is an issue because uh, we need them to come up here to get killed. So just get, get some temporary stuff in here so that people can make their way over. And um, I don't even know if they can make their way up. Let's just make sure that there's something for them to stand on and I'm out of shapes. Okay, let me go get the cobblestone and we'll do that. Oh, what is this? A rage capsule? It's just sitting on that guy's body. Uh, oh, does that start a rampage? Wait, the rage capsule will momentarily increase stamina regen, attack speed, mobility, and jump strength, and resistance to ailments. Huh, that's new. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just come out here with the cobblestone cubes and start filling in some of the gaps and making sure that this is at least pathable for the zombies so that they can come up and get shot until we can get some more iron and steel and craft up some of these um, automated vault doors that we need. Okay, that's everything dressed up and at least functional for now. We still have to put in the whole back staircase. Yeah, this area over here just gets completely pummeled. Oh, I promised that we would get the uh, integrity glasses and take a peek. All right, let's run out here and take a look at how things are doing. Okay, main building, not terrible. So in case you're not familiar, black is the color that you get when things are really not looking good. Like this right here is still not terribly bad. It's it's the, the blacker it gets though, the worse off it is. Yellow is basically uh, the, the step down from green. So all pillars except for that one pillar are still connected and pretty well connected if I'm being honest. However, most of them did take some damage. And so potentially having like the bottom three blocks, you know, 360 degrees up to steel would be nice. Although I am pleased to see that they didn't do a lot of digging down here. These are just like you know, honestly, this area here would be better off to have as topsoil than it would be to have as steel because the topsoil is more resistant than the steel is to blast. So I don't know. I, I do like having these like feet in, but uh, functionally, it would be better off as clay. How's the police car looking anyway? Pretty rough. Let's just slap that back down. Yeah. So, all right, let's just get these shapes fixed up down here then. There's a lot of work to do and it ain't going to do itself. You know, briefly after the last horde there, I was thinking, oh, you know what? I've got this all figured out. These hordes are going to be super easy from now on. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't say that out loud because uh, <laughs> that was a brutal horde. And um, I'm not sure how the next one's going to go. We really need to come up with a better plan for the Seekers. The good news is I could just have Dank or any of the other allies come down here and do all the repairs. And I'm pretty sure that they can repair things that are just covered up with other blocks as well. I don't think they have like the, the line of sight restriction that I have, for example. You know what this mod really needs though? Is it, it, it needs what these other mods have, like, you know, Undead Legacy and Darkness Falls. It needs something like Titanium. And what titanium would do, it doesn't even have to be titanium, it could just be like stainless steel, you know, because these blocks have, what, 10,000 hit points? Yeah, ooh, I almost just broke that block by accident. Um, 
Yeah, so maybe the stainless steel block has 15 or 20,000 and it's just, you know, a whole bunch more steel. So it doesn't have to be some new resource, just um, a further upgrade beyond regular steel. Because with Horde Knight Plus and Turbo, uh, it's just too destructive. You've got to have something that can withstand this a little bit better. I mean, we're only on uh, day 40. We've got like two, maybe three more Horde Knights to go in this. It's gonna be rough. However, I'm pretty happy with the money that we got, so let's go spend a bunch of it on some skill points. Speaking of skill points, I should be able to max out Iron Gut right there because we've we've maxed out basically everything except for Charisma right now. So whatever we want, we can buy. There's my Minor 69er, my Sexy T-Rex. There's one into Healing Factor. I'll take a couple into Deep Cuts and Cardio. Take a couple into Parkour. And uh, with money left over, let's go a couple more into Healing Factor. A couple more into, oh, one more into cardio and then I'll spend I think now actually I will hold off we're gonna start saving money so tuck some of that away for the helicopter a little bit later all right pretty good up to level 9 minor 69 or 8 sexy t-rex doing pretty good on the dexterity stuff and almost maxed now on constitution couple more to go in deep cuts and one more to go in lucky looter there although I can just pop my glasses on and that maxes me out on lucky looter I think yep level 5 Nice. So I'll just wear the Lucky Looter glasses basically by default from now on. And now, let's just make sure that I have a repair kit with me and I'm gonna go do some extensive mining. We've got to stock back up on resources. We need everything basically. Who's coming with me? Or did you guys all seriously survive after all of the, the, the just horrible things that happened last night? I mean, Hobie went outside by himself. Dank got blown across the room and slammed into the wall. I think you guys had it pretty good over here. Jeez, man. Well, well, in that case, okay. Razzle, you come with me. Logan, you can come with me. You guys take a break. Holy crap. Let's hop into this and see if um, the ramp works at all and we can get out of here. All right, here we go. Oh, we got a wolf coming back up. Whoop, just crush him a little bit. And let's head to, I think we're just gonna do the iron mine right over here. Yep, nothing fancy here. Just park it and hold on. Get the lights situated here. Kill that wolf. Take the bones. And let's get to work here. Yeah, I've managed to successfully open the mine. And by open, I mean collapse a massive portion of it. Pretty sure at this point, multiple screamers have stopped by and then been promptly assassinated by our allies up there. No crap. No, this I heard of. Gunfire. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Run, run, run. We got a backup ladder right over here. Just get up here and move out. Logan, cover me. I got you back. Good. We got a screamer screaming. Hmm. Um, yep, I think it's time to leave this mine. Oh, watch out, Razzle. Kill, kill, kill. Razzle, you okay? Got you back. All right. Oh my God, I'm getting hurt real bad. Get in the vehicle. Oh, there's a corpulent there. All right, don't worry guys, I'm not leaving you behind. I'm just doing a little tactical retreat here. Gotta get some hit points back and... Oh crap, oh no. This is a Screamer Horde. This is definitely a Screamer Horde. Okay, I've got to get the allies and we're getting the hell out of here. I can't move because I don't really know why right now. I'm just very heavy, maybe. Let's go, let's go. Razzle's almost dead. Here, put him out. You okay, Razzle? Okay, we got to get out of here. Everybody come with me. Make sure they're not on fire. Where's the vehicle? It's over here. Okay, into the vehicle, let's go, everybody. Goodbye, that mine is toast. Ooh, look, seeker loot bag over here. Ooh, a couple of them. Oh, I forgot there was all these loot bags that we passed by over here. Yep, just leave the bandits to it. Extra money, nice. Okay, then. I think I've wore out my welcome at that mine for a couple of days. Uh, it's, that's okay, we, get, we gotta move over and get some more coal anyway, so we're gonna hit up this mine over here. Uh, did I hear... Ah, yes, this guy. Make sure that guy's taken out. He drops pretty good loot too, if I recall. Yeah, not too bad. Should be pretty close to the mine over here. Yes, it's straight ahead. This time I'll keep the soldiers on me in case we need to run away. I won't have to grab them. And uh, here, have another bandage or two there, Razzle. There you go. Do you need one? Nope, Logan's good. Fix up that auger. Yeah, we're looking at uh, 40k iron right now. That's really good. We just need the coal, and this is a primarily a coal mine. So come on down here. Also, <laughs> geez, I'm a little bit low on frames. We're gonna have to start doing the uh, 
the alternating trick here. All right, let's get to work. One screamer so far, no big deal there. Yet, another screamer incoming, cross your fingers. Yeah, we're so deep into the mine now that they don't even like jumping in. All right, so I'm gonna just go for one final tank of gas around here, getting all the resources I can, and I'm gonna head back to the base and put it all to good use. All right, that will do it right there. Oh, look at this, it's raining loot. Yeah, I think we've got the official all clear. So, okay, I'm gonna take all these resources back to the base. I will get them sorted and organized and turned into the resources that we need, like steel, cobblestone, and cement. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. Welcome back to the Rebirth. We may have survived the Horde, but I'd be lying if I said it wasn't close. And even though we've done some repairs, it'd be foolish to think that this base could hold up against the next Horde without significant change. So over the next week, I have a plan to overhaul this design. We'll be adding extra fighting positions, and we'll also look into the newly added crafting recipe, Explosion Resistant Concrete, which should help with the Seeker problem. And in between, we'll finish off the Tier 4 quests so we can get into the really juicy ones, the Tier 5s. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time! All right, my friends, welcome back. Now, there's a whole bunch that's happened in between episodes. We have a new update to the mod, which includes, among many other things, a new workstation, and it's called the Ammo Workstation. Ah, there it is, Ammo Assembly Station. This is unlocked by, there's a genetics point and there's a schematic. I don't exactly know how you would unlock it by genetics. Maybe it's in here somewhere. I, I think uh, one of the traders over here sells it. And I think it's Raven Dawn. Let's check here. Do you have also, I just thought of what might be an issue here. He might not be selling it because he hasn't restocked yet. So day 43, that's tomorrow. So maybe gonna have to wait until these guys restock and then it'll be in their um, inventory. Oh, there's the aura reference book right there. Huh, and he didn't have that like the last couple times I checked. Well, whatever, I mean, I paid money for it, so I don't feel too bad about it. He's got a whole bunch of them now. But yeah, I don't see the ammo book in here. Is anybody selling the ammo workstation book thing? Uh, no, but uh, we do have minor 69er and some sexy T-Rex. I actually need two more sexy T-Rex and the one minor 69er, and that maxes us out on strength. There we go, all done. You know, if I was thinking about it, and uh, I, I'm always a strength player. It doesn't matter what game I play. It could be Skyrim, it could be Neverwinter Nights. I'm always like the bruiser fighter melee guy. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, what do we got here? We've got a whole bunch of oil crafting. Right, we needed that oil to make a crucible so that we can craft uh, steel a little bit more quickly because it's been taken forever. All right, we're also making all kinds of gunpowder. We are making, what else are we doing here? Oh, oh, that, that, I'll get to that in just a second. So yeah, we're making steel over here, I think. Yeah, just make as much steel as we can uh, over here. There should be some molten steel, there we go. And just start rolling on the forged steel. Okay, so there's two more things we gotta go over real quick before we move out and do some quests. One is that um, I would like to get a screamer thing. Yes, the screamer signal thing. I'm gonna need some more duct tape and some more steel. Okay, so craft the duct tape. We'll craft that up later, no rush on this. We gotta rebuild the base before we can do a big screamer battle. But I was thinking that might be a really good way of getting the kills that we need to unlock some of these, uh, these new things. So for the armor penetration aura, We've got to kill bikers. For the trade aura, we've got to kill skateboarder zombies. And for the black shield trader, we've got to kill the shock immune zombies. And I think we might be able to lure them in with screamer hordes using the screamer signal bench over here somewhere at the base and just reel them in and kill them off with the crew here. So that was the one thing. We'll work on that here probably in a day or two. And the second thing was there's a new type of concrete and it's called explosion resistant concrete. And we're gonna need explosion immune zombie bone powder, which is made in the mortar and pestle out of body bags of explosive immune zombies, which is made using body bags and samples of explosive immune zombies, which we have 80 of, we have no body bags, but we cleared out the CDC there a couple of weeks ago and that place was loaded with body bags. So that would be the place to go to get that. If we ever drive by there, we're gonna have to swing by and get some of that. In fact, probably do that before the next horde because the explosive immune concrete I think is the thing that you'll want to build sure stairs to and walkways out of. So whenever we lose blocks down here for now and in the future, 
we'll replace them with explosive resistant blocks. It wouldn't probably be a good block choice up here at the front because uh, not only does this have to withstand explosions, it also has to withstand, you know, zombies clawing at it, you know? So I was talking to Ramsey about that and my suggestion to him was, you know, we need something that's explosive resistant, but not like melee resistant as well. Because if you just had a steel block with 20,000 hit points, it would kind of imbalance things because then this position would just never fail at that at that point. I mean, it's already do doing good enough just as regular steel. But what we do need is something down there that withstands the Seeker Blast, you know, because all the Seekers, they fall down there, they blow up, and then everything just gets destroyed. So hopefully that will help. All right, so that's, that's about it for that. We'll come back here and do some more crafting later. Oh, there was one more thing. Just really quickly now, can I just get an impact driver? Thank you. I'll grab that later. Okay, I'm going to grab a bite to eat, and we have a Tier 4 job to do over at the Faber's Cafe. I'll just meet you over there. All right, here we are at the Faber's Cafe. I brought Hobie with me to just kind of watch the door for me. If you could just maybe uh, come over here and uh, stay where I'm standing. I'll take care of these guys. There we go. Right, so Faber's Cafe. We should probably take apart this vehicle. We'll search it and then we'll take it apart because I should be able to hit the quest and do it all over again. All right, how we looking here? We are looking good. We've got uh, guns, ammo. We've got birds, unfortunately. There we go. Do I need bird material? We need rotten flesh, that's for sure. In fact, I'm not even getting any rotten flesh out of them because we're going to need the rotten flesh to make the screamer thing. Ah, whatever. All right, let's get in here. Oh, the doors are locked. Am I supposed to go around the back? I'm really not too keen on that. I'm going in the front door whether they like it or not. Ooh. Ooh, co company here. Ooh, in fact, a biker. We need that guy to get the armor penetration aura. There we go. Yeah, that was a rampage. Here we go. Let me in here. Dog. Okay. Before we get ahead of ourselves, I really want to keep this rampage going. Um, yeah, because rampages actually last a little bit longer now. I, I think that's how it's working anyway. Oh, look out. Hobie, let me get the kills, man. I'm trying to keep my kill streak going. My rampage streak. There we go. All right, go, 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 go. Fast as we can. We got to clear this place out. Arlene's sneaking in the bathroom with me. That's gross. All right, who's in the back? Bo and Steve. Ooh, I'm one shot in the ferals with the headshots. Oh, my rampage is... 13 right now. Okay, so first floor is clear. I think anybody yep people back here as well Oh, I was immune to fire as well. Oh, that's because I had gumbo stew before I left home, right? The gumbo stew gives you uh, fire. It makes you fireproof. Which is really cool Except now I'm definitely not fireproof. Look out. Okay. Nope, that's um, that's not a <laughs> assault rifle. Here we go. Oh my god. I got pounded into the floor. Oh my god, I'm dying! Hobie, help me! Eat painkillers! Holy crap, that was close. I'm still on a rampage though. Here we go. Just need a little bit of backup. Man, that that uh, that happened fast. I think that soldier was an explosive immune zombie, and they can just straight up ragdoll ya. Oh my god, I got it happened again! <laughs> just get punched across the room. Oh my god, okay. Where did he go anyway? I lost him. The rampage is running out though, so I need to figure out where these zombies are and get a couple more kills. And uh, I, something is sprained already. I thought about bringing steroids with me, I decided against it, and I now deeply regret it. Hello. Capo. Jawoodle. Games for kicks. Oh man. Nag. Genosis. Oh, this must be cool. Oh, it's a Fabers Cafe. Well, ah, uh, wait, wait, like pre Fabers is what I thought, but maybe Fabers Cafe is like uh, a creator's cafe, or this is the creator's floor or something. Awesome. The Legends of Seven Days. Definitely respect to all the people listed on these walls. These were the people that were here before me and the people that I looked up to as I came up. Oh, there's the loot right there. Okay, uh, just my rampage just wore off. Are we? We're not clear here, though. I do still hear a dog somewhere. I just don't know. I think he's stuck somewhere, probably. Okay, the map, I can see him on the map. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's totally stuck. And that was also not the quest. Is there some? Is there a rooftop, maybe? Uh, yes, yes, there it is right there. How do I get up there, though? Oh, right there. All right, where are the birds? Well, birds among others, it looks like. There we go, pretty much done here. Just one, two, three, four hits and we're good. 
That was it. That was the quest. Ooh, and I can pick up two yucca fruit a piece off of this because my green thumb skill is doing pretty good. Not sure what my animal harvesting is up to at this point. But at this point, uh, we've got the lucky looter glasses on, so we've got maximum loot stage. Oh, what's that? A viking axe. Check this out. Oh, it's a one-hander too. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, we're short on a lot of different types of resources. We're gonna need a ton of mechanical parts to make more doors and things like that. So I'm gonna rip this whole place to shreds. There's your main loot right there. We got a treasure map at least, not too bad. Otherwise, not much so far, just taking apart couches and everything. You can one shot these blocks at this point. Always good, helps save on the editing too. Ooh, look at this, an L-115A3. Uh, That's like a, I think it's a British sniper rifle. We got the Tai Chi spear there again. Spiked hammer again. Oh geez, I can see we're under attack. Oh boy. Probably best if I try to hold him here if, if possible. Oh no, Hobie's outside and Hobie's gonna get wrecked if I leave him out there. Leave him alone! Okay, clear so far. Oh geez, they're inside already. Gotta run, gotta run. Hobie, hold him off for me. I'll be back for you, buddy. Oh my God, man, they do so much damage. Okay, we got mostly just melee people here now. That's good. Oh my God, doing a bunch of damage to my vehicle there probably. Um, yep, Hobie is like holding down the boss there. Mano a mano. Oh, somebody shot me. That guy. Also got a screamer screaming. Okay, take that guy out. He's the alpha threat here. And Hobie, holy crap, man. Have a... Okay, I'm stuck in the freaking inventories. Have a bandage if you can. Oh my god, Hobie's in rough shape. Get in the vehicle with me, Hobie. Let's just take a little bit of a breather here and gather ourselves. I'm not done looting this POI, so... Okay, we've got like, what, like five zombies here? Not too bad. Hobie is actually recovering hit points in the vehicle with me. So I'm content to just kind of allow that to happen, you know? All right, a little bit too much gunfire probably is what generated all that heat. There we go, we're looking good now. Are we good? Good. Okay, not a bad loot bag on him either. And uh, a little bit of loot on this guy, crippling sledgehammer. Here, put my stuff away and we will continue looting. Hobie, yeah, you stay with me. Holy crap, we got a big streamer room here. Yeah, maybe if Z-Bark uh, updates this some someday, I can have my own little office somewhere. You can just put me under the staircase. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Leave the good rooms to the pros upstairs. Welcome to the Fabbers Lounge. Rules, have fun and make fun. There you go. Oh, is this where they broke in in the back here? Whoa, okay. They must have been here for a little while if that happened. Oh, these are the lights that I want. Perfect. Give me these. There's another Viking axe there. Okay, I think that's probably gonna do it for us here. I think I've, I've pretty much searched everything in here. Grab these up. Oh, man, I missed a whole bunch. Never mind. Okay, with that, I'm pretty I'm pretty good with this place now. I've scrapped the the vast majority of the stuff out of here. All right, let's get out of here. All right, this will probably be the last job for him. Military vest, not very good. Not very valuable either. This is awfully bad loot here. I'll take the turret, the vest, and uh, I, I think because I'm maxed out, I get to pick a third one, and so... Yeah, I'll take the ratchet, I guess, just for selling. And uh, yeah, are we still? Yeah, we're still in the tier fours, unfortunately. We will finish off the tier fours, though, over in the wasteland with Jen or Hugh or anybody else, basically. Anybody but him. All right, we're good here. Let's go check on the garden now. All right, here we are. It's looking good from down here. Fingers crossed that everything's finally growing up there. What are we looking at here? Oh, everything down here is fully grown. That is a whole bunch of crops. Everything up here says still growing with a lot of time left. Ooh, look at the variability too. Like the coffee is gonna grow in 13 minutes and the corn, which I think I planted at the same exact time, is gonna be 70 minutes. Did I plant all this at the same time? I don't know what's going on up here. The The gardening system is, um, is I don't know if it's just more nuanced than I give it credit for. Am I doing something wrong or... Is it glitched? I don't know, but we gotta harvest these up anyway. All right, that's all the crops harvested. Now we gotta make more seeds. And for what good it'll do me, now I get to lay in the seeds upstairs. All right, let's get out of here and go bring our stuff home, put it all away. Man, this ramp here is just an absolute mess. Oh boy. 
Okay, then everything should be organized again. So I wanted to check here. Yes, we have everything we need now to make the tier five Screamer Horde signal. Not that I'm going to do that anytime soon, but I want to get that all set up at least. And um, yeah, we need to kind of decide on what we're doing out here. So I've done some brainstorming and in order to counteract the threat out here, the threat basically that we're going to lose the entire pathway like we did before, and then the zombies will immediately start going for the support blocks. Uh, to counteract that, I think we need to make two more redundant fighting positions, one on each side here. So when I originally drew up the design, I kind of thought that this could be like an accessory kind of fighting position, and I think I would like to move in that direction. The only trouble is if we put the walkway too close, it'll just suffer the same consequence that the rest of it suffers, right? So it needs to be something that's kind of further out here, something that's kind of out of the way that's not so susceptible to being broken as everything else is. I got some cube shapes being crafted and that will go into repairing that and building these probably in the next day or two. Okay, well things are looking pretty good up here. I do need to at some point take up all of the workstations and put them back down again in their final configuration. I'm gonna wait until we get the oven and the ammo workstation, because I've gotta figure out a way to cram all of that in here and anything that won't fit, I gotta put all the way downstairs down here somewhere. Oh, there's we already have a tier four job over there. What was that? Oh yeah, that was the fetch and clear at the courthouse. Okay, forgot all about that one. Yeah, we also got Claude's treasure right here. I think that that's a pretty fair plan for the night. Let's go hit up Claude's treasure, then Nicole's treasure, then the airdrop, then the tier four fetch. We'll wrap it around back to get our quest reward, and that should put us well into the morning. Who's coming with me? Razzle Dazzle, follow me, and Dank Jeans, you as well. Let's roll. All right, here we go. First step, Claude's treasure, just as it ticked nightfall, and we are just on the border of the desert. And got a zombie here somewhere. Can't see him, is he behind the tree? Where is he? Oh, right behind me. I can hear him now. Oh, great, on fire. Speaking of that, I brought, didn't I bring jars with me? I did, because we were supposed to be filling those up at the nearest sink. All right, I think we need some clay anyway, so let's just dig in. All right, we're in. And pretty bad. I mean, you get the ammo and stuff, but really, really not worth it uh, in this biome, at least. Let's try that biome over there. All right, here we go. Rolling up on the spot, of course, under the road. <laughs> Great. All right, well, we should get a little bit of a head start if we go in through the ditch here. Let's just make sure the area is clear or clear-ish first. We're in, and we should have the best loot stage possible. There's the Savage. And there is the R8 Magnum. Oh my god, look at the money. Stark contrast to the last one that we picked up. And we didn't get trapped in the ditch. That is excellent. Loot bag over here. Grab that. And then I want to take a look at the Savage, because I've never even heard of that before. Here it is. Oh man, that looks cool. I can't use it though because it's the class specific weapon. It's like, I think there's one called the Reaper for me or like whatever the like the, the Apex Scythe is, I think is like my special tier specific weapon that no one else can use. But we also got the R8 Savage, which I can, I think, use. I can reload it at least. Oh, there we go. Oh man, that feels good. I mean, it's still, it's a six shooter, so you know, how good is it really? And I'm not specced into it, so yeah, probably not the best thing for me to be carrying around. There we go. Okay, well, that was fun. Let's go now. Where are we headed next? Oh, we're going over to... Well, we'll do the fetch and clear. We'll hit the airdrop on the way back. Fetch and clear at the courthouse. How bad could it be in the wasteland at night with no oh, bubbles? No, 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 not you of all people. Oh, Dank just got totally knocked out. Yeah, th when we do the Screamer battle with the tier five uh, Screamer thingy that I made, I think we're gonna get a ton of ammo that way. So if we just sit there for half a day killing zombies in the wasteland and we collect up all the loot bags that they leave, I think it'll be like, it'll be yellow loot bags and yellow loot bags always have ammo in them. So I think that's gonna be a great way to stock up on bullets a little bit. All right, I'll meet you over at the courthouse. All right, we're rolling up on the place right here. We gotta pull around the back, enter in through the police station here. 
And yeah, just get this in a position where I can get out of here, please, because this is like not not a very fluid parking lot situation. All right, boys, secure the area. Oop, on fire a little bit. We should be using the assault rifle as much as we can. Oh boy, not good. Oh, this guy, I couldn't see him. I'm taking radiation damage and I broke a leg already. Yep, here we go. We're in the freaking loop now, aren't we? Ah, stop it! Stupid zombies! How's everyone else doing? Razzle, you okay? Oh my god. And I didn't bring anything to fix it. I am not going home now though, just... Can I go a little bit faster? Yeah, if I take the um, red, red bull, I can move a little bit. No! No spawning for you, please. I haven't seen a... Uh, Radiated or um, a mutated zombie do that spawny thing ever since that one night out there in the snow biome. Maybe it's um, maybe only some some of them can do that. Not all of them. I'm not sure how that works. I'm kind of glad it doesn't happen every single time though. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's get some bandages and get started here. Broken leg, be damned. And if possible, try not to make quite so much noise. I've got the impact driver, and uh, we'll start using that but I'm not going to be harvesting every single thing up while I'm here today. This is more of just like a complete the mission and go home type of deal, especially now that I've broken a leg. Can't do it, buddy. Got the bulletproof glass. Go ahead and try though. Oh, the shocker. Oh, that's like the, the, the max tier um, stun baton. And then we've got the modern wakazashi. I think someone tried to correct me on that and I'm hopefully I'm saying it right now, wakazashi. Holy crap, got a whole bunch of cops down here. Just look out, holy crap. Trying to get the headshots for the kill, nice. Ooh, this impact driver is sweet. Three shots to get that uh, vending machine there. Dank is one step ahead of me, clearing this place out. Oh boy, oh, there we go, oh boy, wow. Where did you all come from? Yeah, I'm pretty encumbered already because even though I said I wasn't going to take apart everything that I saw, I'm taking apart pretty much everything that I see. I should maybe try and make a splint. Could I maybe do that? Yes, if I don't get one out of these couple of loot bags here, I'm going to look and see while they're occupying the zombies. Split, it's rope and tree branch. And I've got the tree branch. There we go, got the splint. <laughs> Meanwhile, my uh, guys over there are not looking too good. You guys are just dropping loot bags for me left and right. Got another treasure map there. We can read that. Maybe hit that up today sometime. That took me. Claude's treasure way over there. That's kind of where we were a couple of hours ago. Nice weapons bag there with the ST2011. Oh, by the way, I never took a look at that baton. Here's a look at the baton. This looks a lot like the Darkness Falls one. I can't use that one though, because it's like the apex weapon for that class. And this might be as well. Nope. Nope, but that really sounds cool. Ah, there's our supply satchel. Finally, forgot all about that, so it's a good thing I stumbled onto it. Should be able to test this out on some businessmen here in a minute. Or bikers. Wow, didn't the courthouse, yeah, actually, now that I think about it, does seem like kind of the place for bikers. Right, onto the rooftop and around into this place, and yeah. Shouldn't be too much of a big deal here. In fact, I was gonna use some explosives, but I put them in the car and I don't wanna catch everything on fire anyway, so just uh, drop them in here for me. Should be soldiers, usually. <laughs> They're having a pretty hard time getting down here. Ah, he caught me on fire. Yep, that was it. We are done with the quest. Nothing good there. Oh, what is that? The Mark 12J Raptor? Check that out in just a second. Put that down here so I can look at it. Okay, is this a shotgun? It is. Look how cool this is. Whoa! That's got a certain, you know, feel to it that I really like as well. All right, let's just dive down here and see what it can do. Probably not much because I'm not specced into it, but I'm gonna try anyway. Screamer! Oh, nope, it doesn't do jack, does it? It's terrible. I bet if you stepped into it a little bit, it would be a lot better. Oh boy. Ah, 
Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, go away. And I'm hurting bad. Help. Yep, infected. I've got the uh, the radiation damage. Ah, typical day in the wasteland, really. Yeah, we could just sit here all day and kill zombies. So we've got what we came for. Oh my god, a bandit. We've got what we came for. Let's get out of here before a, band a whole horde of bandits arrives, right? All right, I'll meet you over at the airdrop next to the trader. Okay, there's our airdrop right over there. In fact, I'm gonna cut through here. Okay, but if we go in here, I think this is the vet by the look of it, and I've already grabbed the main loot. So let me just jump in here until I find a sink, and we'll fill up on water, and we'll also pick up the airdrop on our way through. Hello there, vet tech here, or perhaps the uh, the veterinarian herself. Don't sink? Worry, ah, friend, yes. Sink that I can use, yes. There we go, 136 mur murky water right there. Just rip into this. There we go. That has the Savage again. I might actually just go ahead and repair that before I sell it, because it looks like it'll be valuable if I do that. And this is where the dogs are, right? Dogs here. One dog. Oh, geez, two dogs. There we go. Yep, oh, there it is right there. Okay, jump over here. What did we get? Um, melee mods bundle. Otherwise, not a whole lot. All right, let's see what Jen has for us. Looks like... Pump shotgun, sellable. Herbal antibiotics, I can't say no to that. All right, here we go. Just give me these three things and we're good. Oh, finally, we're into the tier fives and we should be able to pick at least two, maybe three of these. Okay, blade trap bundle. Uh, blade trap, we're pretty good on blade traps. I'll take the steel, the military armor bundle just in case I get something that's uh, better than what I have. Plus we can sell everything that's in it. Plus the steel armor bundle and Oh, th these are terrible. I can make all the mods basically and I don't need them. So I'll take the blade trap bundle after all. There's the extra extra treasure map that's down there. Let's go check that out. It's literally, okay, it should probably be like right here then. We're in, what do we get here? We've got the, oh, the jackal assassin knife. Uh, we're really getting into the good weapons now. These are like the end game final tier of weapons and Oh boy, yeah, we're just gonna have a casual fire that burns this entire place down. That's nice. Ah, the striker, you know what? I'd like to look into either repairing or making one of those. From what people have told me, it's a really good off-roading vehicle. Now, this is not the worst off-roading vehicle. It's, it's off-road capable, but I wouldn't exactly say it's like the best choice for rolling through just like the wild wasteland over here. Cause I still get hung up on a lot of things and I bounce around a lot. I mean, you can kind of see it's, it's not great. But anyway, as we're rolling back up on the base here, you see that, that's pretty bad. Uh, I just wanna say a real quick thank you. I'm filming this on Easter Sunday. So if you celebrate Easter, or even if you don't, hope you had a great weekend. And I also wanted to say I'm filming this on a new computer. This is my first recording on it. So hopefully it comes out good. If not, uh, there might be a few hiccups along the way whenever you kind of transfer and try to do all your settings and move those over. But yeah, this ramp is really quite bad, isn't it? Come on. Oh no. Yep, I think we're just gonna have to park it there. Where did my vehicle go? Hello? Oh, I, oh my God, what is happening? <laughs> I saw the shadow over there. I had no idea it went that high up. Oh my God. Luckily, it didn't take too much damage. Oh uh, yeah, but anyway, so if you're watching to this point in the video, like more than halfway through it, uh, you're definitely the reason why uh, this channel is where it is right now and I, that I was in a position where I could upgrade my computer. And so, yeah, hopefully I can provide to you all with the highest quality, best content possible. And yeah, so I just, I don't know what else to say other than just, you know, thank you. Hope you guys continue watching and liking the videos and uh, I will continue making them for you. Okay, everybody back into position and grab up everything and start throwing them through the floor up into the storages. All right, it's gonna take me a few minutes to get everything organized. So I'll catch up with you in a little bit. All right, here we go. All the ailments are treated and now I think I'm ready to do a bit of a sell off along with a bit of a repair off. If I've got the repair kits here to repair the the Wakazashi, the Jackal, which looks like this here. It's like a high-tech knife kind of thing, but of course I cannot use it. So I just want to see what the value changes to when I repair all of these items. Okay, these are up to like 600, 800 dukes a piece. Only 187 for the Wakazashi. I just wanted to experiment with that one. 800 here, 800. So it looks like it's 800 for the max tier, these like really high tier weapons. And uh, for some reason, it's not letting me repair the jackal so i'll just sell it all right but look at the cell chest here it's just loaded i opened up all the armor bundles there was no new armor for us i've got to sell off these intelligence boosters because i can't use them i'm pretty much maxed out 
So grab up everything. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here as well. And let's make some money, man, I'm heavy. All right, there we go. We are up to 53,000 now. And I'm just gonna start stashing away some of the money here to save up for the helicopter. And let's see now if uh, Raven down here is selling the quest that we're looking for. Okay, he has definitely restocked, but I'm not seeing a quest in here. Special stash? No. Is it maybe this guy after all, Pascal, my, my class trainer? No, crap, he's not selling it either. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. It, are you selling it? The handy woman. No, ooh, she's got a propane tank. I do need that. And Briston, you're not selling it, are you? No, but I got a little bit of money at least, and uh, I'd like to spend it. All right, I'll take deep cuts twice. Three into pack mule. That might have been too much. I'm not sure. I'm on steroids right now, so I can't see how many slots I'm supposed to be opening up. Two into healing factor. And yeah, that'll do it for today. I actually, that might have been too many for healing factor. Yep, I bought one extra. Whoops. I can sell it back though for... <laughs> for like a 90% less. Okay, and there's not a lot of commotion out here. Was there, it's just, oh, it does look like there was kind of a horde of zombies over there. All right, let's go fight them. Get away from the ramp, you assholes. You are the half the reason it's broken in the first place. Yeah, they're doing a number over here. It's getting worse and worse. We gotta get over here and do some construction. All right, as I was getting together the cobblestone cube shapes, of which we have just over a hundred, I was thinking to myself, you know, we, we also were talking about using the explosion resistant concrete. Oh, there we go, natural selection, that's nice. Zombies are even harder now. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know, that's gonna take a, a couple days to get produced, so I just at least wanna get this dressed up a little bit for now, and get the ramp repaired so that we can make it in and out of the base, and then, oh, hello there, ah, get the heck out of here. All right, we just gotta make this functional, so I'm gonna clean this stuff up and get the blocks replaced and get some sort of a wall going underneath it so that the zombies don't get stuck underneath it anymore. Plus, this gives me a little bit of extra time to heal up my broken leg. All right, there we go. Made a mistake here. Should have probably... We'll, we'll fill this in with some topsoil eventually, but um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's a bit of an eyesore right now, but it's what we had to do with all these big zombies, the big tall zombies getting stuck there. It's just a recipe for disaster, so... It is what it is, and uh, perhaps there's something we can do to dress this up in the future. Let's maybe see if there's... Um, if we can like basically prototype what a fighting position would look like going up to that to position right up there. Just what my thought was was to do like a ladder system that moves up to a long sort of skinny causeway. And then of course uh, at the at the front of the fighting position we put an automated vault door to prevent the zombies from just, you know, running up there when we don't want them to. Okay, so here's what I got so far. We got a central column going up. If you ever watched the Undead Legacy series, you'll recognize this here, except we're not gonna be doing any sort of a drop system because the point is to not <laughs> confuse the zombies and mess them up. The point is to just get them up off the ground into a position where we can shoot them and out of a position where they're just wanting to beat on support. So this would be the automated drawbridge door here. Zombies, except for bears probably, would be the only zombies and wolves and things that will not go up this ladder. But I'm not so much worried about them as I am like the corpulence and the grudges and the seekers. I would want them to come straight up here. And then what we can do is we can do the thing where we put like a pillar on the top like so. Which gives just yet another block for the zombies to walk across. And then do the same thing on the bottom, kind of like that, and then and then just run that all the way over to where the door is. And then, so that means that this block here is the biggest problem. So what we can do is just kind of shield it with a security gate on the top, and then that's about as good as you can do. And then what we'll also do is uh, get something like a pole block and just kind of run that all the way to the top on the four corners, just like this. And I ran out of shapes, but you can kind of get the idea. What's going on here? Hello? They're all white. So it would be another like three by three column like this in terms of strength. So it should hold up reasonably well. There would be three ladders for the zombies to get up from, and it would be repeated on both sides, and we would just have to carve this out and make a regular fighting position. And we would only activate these if the main causeway fails again, which might be kind of a long shot once we get the explosive resistant concrete. All right, so speaking of the explosion resistance concrete, the thing we need to get that is body bags. So let's head out to the CDC and grab up some of those. All right, rolling up on the spot here and just aggro to bear slightly. So this is good for headshots, good for leveling up our class a little bit. Hopefully, okay, whoop. 
we've got respawns here. Crap, I didn't think it had been that long since I was here last time, but well, here we go. Right, so I guess the idea is that I just have to walk up here and take the body bag. That gave me two body bags there. So it looks like visually, whatever you see for body bags is what you get for body bags when you pick it up. Oh yeah, I got like five off of these big ones over here. I can hear you sneaking up on me, big guy. None of that. Okay, now the issue is I gotta get through all of this coal, which I guess is fine, because I don't want to catch on fire. I'm pretty sure I'll just burn to death if I try to walk in here to get all these body bags that are in the coals. All right, the second spot was over here, but I don't see any body bags in there, just a couple crawlers. There was also, I think, a lot of those hospital beds that are inside here. I'm gonna poke my head in real quick and see if maybe it's gonna be worth... Oh no, I, I, I salvaged all of them, didn't I? That's fine. Um, there is some more, there are some more body bags over here, so I will probably kill all the zombies that are here and grab them up anyway. But I've been informed that hospital beds are pretty valuable, so much so that the hospital beds had to be nerfed. But I, th I think they're still pretty good. Okay, I think that pretty much does it for this place then. We got what we came for at least, so let's get out of here and head home and see if we can get a batch of that concrete made. Quick pit stop here at the garden, just because why not? I'm gonna double check on everything, so... Oh, wait a minute, this says next cycle in four minutes. Does that mean that the blueberry is gonna grow up in four minutes? I just harvested these. Everything says four minutes. I'm gonna have to wait here for four minutes and see what happens. Is it... Wait a minute, next cycle... Does that mean it's going to be fully grown, or is that is that like a grow cycle, like it's going to be in the intermediate phase at that point? Man, I gotta pay more attention to what's going on here. These, at least some of them, are all done. Okay, that's it for the plant punching, now we gotta make seeds. Oh, look at this, we're almost at the end. No, oh, we need one more seed to put in. Wait a minute, we got potatoes here. And I just got level 2 in green hand, so I'm harvesting double off of these now. Okay, one more potato seed. Slap that in there, the, the garden. Oh, you know what? Wasn't there one spot over here in the corner? No, I put something in there at some point. So I think the garden is now 100% full. Now it's saying everything has about a minute to go. 55 seconds, so we just gotta wait and see what happens at the end of this cycle. All right, here we go, everything has grown, and yes, I feel like such an idiot now. I thought that the cycle was like a growth cycle. Like that's, you know, a cycle, you go from one end and you go all the way around to the next end. That is one cycle, one rotation. But yeah, a cycle just, it should say stage, next stage. And then it should say how many stages there are. So if, if it said like, instead of next cycle in 88 minutes, it should say, you know, next growth stage out of three in 88 minutes. Or some, something that just clarifies that a little bit. Uh, just a slightly more specific terminology would be would be helpful for me at least because it took me a long time to figure this out and I'm sure there were some comments that I just missed along the way that were telling me about that but I missed them so yeah sorry about that anyway yes we should be good now I understand what's going on so there just must be a couple of growth cycles and so wow growing crops takes a lot longer than I thought so these went from seed stage to this stage and it looks like there's probably one more stage to go maybe there's two growth stages which would mean three days for a crop but actually that's not too bad is it because you know van vanilla is two days and vanilla used to be three days for corn i think but anyway i think we're all set here i'm gonna go home and put all of our stuff away and who started a fire in the kitchen you you did it i know you get back here oh did someone just die and leave me a loot bag in the bushes over here? I'm, I'm having a hard time getting it out. Come on, kick it out of the bush there. There you go. All right, oh, there you are. Scared me a little bit. Ooh, left me a loot bag, thank you. Not a fire extinguisher, which is really what I need right now. Holy crap. Put this out, wrecking my kitchen table. Did you guys hear the news that they're gonna be starting up the Alpha 20 streamer weekend or the Alpha 20 developer live streams, which will lead up to and culminate in the the streamer weekend event and so i will be covering that i'm thinking of doing like a live watch party and then that night the night of the stream i'll be staying up all night to produce a a series of developer live stream recaps for you so you can expect those every morning the morning after the live stream so that you can get all caught up on the new changes coming in Alpha 21. And then, like I said, we'll also be doing the streamer weekend event, and I'm probably gonna be streaming with other people during that, and then I'll also be producing content as well that weekend. And then, of course, you know, you guys will get access to it as well. I wish that everyone got access to it at the same time, but that's not how the fun pimps like to operate. Um, 
it benefits me, but it doesn't benefit you guys. And that's kind of a bummer. It's a shame, but it's the way it is. And so we'll make the best of it. I'll try to make some fun content for you guys on that weekend. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. We're almost midway through the week and things are looking pretty good. We have the ingredients for the explosive resistant concrete, so it's time for another massive construction project. We'll need to replace the blocks that are most susceptible to seeker explosions, and the two new fighting positions will need to be made from the new concrete. And there's also a lot of rearranging, decoration, lighting, and trim work that needs to get done. But first, we have a dangerous job to do for Briston. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, let's do this. So I learned that if you go down here and you go to Briston, the, there's a special mission for the <laughs> ammo assembly station schematic. So I thought it was something you had to buy from him. So he's got a special mission for me. There is a white zombie that we just can't seem to be able to get rid of. We've lost way too many people to this beast. And I seem to know what I'm doing, you know, seeing how he lives in my base. So get rid of that monstrosity and he'll give me the schematic. You think I'd be able to get it for free, you know, since I'm not charging you guys rent or anything. <laughs> a bunch of freeloaders. Okay, here is the Screamer works. Well, Screamer, what's it called? Signal, horde signal thing. So you put a bunch of fuel in it and you fire it up. And I, I don't dare to do that right now because uh, we don't have uh, doors. We have plywood planks down there freaking holding the, uh, the base to the ramp. So what I want to do then today is, oh, you know what? I really want to reorganize the base today. And in order to do that, I'm going to need to get the, uh, what was it? The iron oven, I think it is. And in order to do that, I have to have all of these pumpkins and things in my inventory at once. And to be honest with you, my cameraman just spawned over in the garden and none of the garden stuff is ready. So instead, what we'll do is we'll grab up the money and I'll just buy everything from Raven Dawn here. Pumpkins, blueberries, corn, haters, mushrooms, yucca fruit, not to be confused with yucca fruit. One, two, three, four, five. Was that it? Did I get the right ones? Yes, it's done. Okay, talk to Trader and get the schematic. Oh, and I get a reward for that, too. Well, I could just make some of my money back by selling some of this, although it's all junk. I'll take that Prussian blue, though, actually, and the Molotovs, and probably that crossbow for selling. And uh, we're good, and I can just toss those vegetables away. We can do some cooking with them later. Okay, here we go. Iron oven schematic. Okay, put those away, and um, I don't... I don't know. I think I prefer probably regular grenades on Horde Night, Molotovs with me, contact grenades with me. That should be good. Regular grenades don't work so well when the zombies are, you know, like walking around and running after you. Okay, so the iron oven then, made in the toolbox. Whoa, that's easy, super easy. Okay, fire that up, check the map. Where is the quest taking me for, the oh, right there. That's the, isn't that the chicken coop farm thing? That must be an actual quest mission, kind of like the kamikaze mission, which also explains why I had to get it from like the special mission tab because it's actually like a regular quest mission it's not like you know the old ones where you had to like kill the chickens with a nail gun kind of missions i'm sure there's some distinction there okay are we good here no i'm like starving to death and also running quite low on food sham chowder i guess <laughs> follow that up with some charred meat and a meat stew <laughs> eating a very hearty breakfast today Gotta get a variety of vitamins, you know? Alright, I've got like 90 some odd dis distilled waters here, so just pound a couple of these into me. And let's go do that quest first and foremost so we can get the ammo workstation crafted. And then we'll come back here and we'll, uh, we'll do construction basically all day. We'll get this all reorganized up here and uh, we'll kind of take it from there. Just make sure everything is crafted. Yeah, there's like uh, concrete mix rolling. You know what though? What we should do is probably cancel some of this, grab up whatever I have, and um, yeah, let's just see if I can get some of that explosion resistant. Oh no, I, didn't, I don't have the bone powder yet. Here it is right here. I ground all of those body bags that we got at the CDC up with the, um, the, the explosive immune zombie remains, and now we can make some of this. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio, I've learned. So look, if I do one, that's gonna make me 500. Let's start off with like 5,000 then, uh, or so, and then we'll also have to convert that into, I think over here we convert it into a 
Yes, explosion resistant concrete shape. Oh, that's using 20 per. Okay, okay, hang on. I might need a little bit more of this than I thought. Here, yeah, just get all of it. Get all of it and, and we'll find a good use for it, I'm sure. So basically what the ammo workstation does is uh, it bypasses the need to make bullet tips and bullet casings. You just use the raw materials and it goes straight into a bullet and it, it goes a lot faster in the ammo workstation. So, okay, uh, do I need someone to come with me here? I think today it's uh, Logan and I. Come with me. Let's roll out of here and kill that friggin' white. Ah, uh, here we are coming up on the spot. I thought this was uh, the chicken coop, but the chicken coop place is right next door. The cluck off poultry. And yeah, oh, we're in the trailer park then. Interesting. Logan, come over here, please. Don't get stuck in the warthog. All right, be on your guard because I have no idea what to expect here. Okay, presumably in here somewhere. There might be multiple actually. When we did the kamikaze thing. There was multiple! Oh, jeez, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, really not here for loot. I just need to, like, search door to door. Oh, and, uh, get the, uh, find the white. It's gonna be here somewhere. Okay, we're, we're two are clear. Got a fire in that one there. Oh, this is just a, a regular old clear area mission. Look at that. <laughs> They're both on fire. It's your fault. Here, got a backup fire extinguisher there, and... Go ahead and try to put this out if I can. I don't know if that worked or not. Sometimes the fire kind of lags behind the extinguisher. All right, we're locked out of this one. Could just rip through it with the impact driver. Ooh, whoa, nice shot, Logan. You're doing great. No, oh my gosh, you got like half the kills there. Okay, all clear here. Four down and I think, I don't know, six to go. How many buildings are here? Ten? Oh, hello there. Oh, look, a gas stove top. That's interesting. Oh, it's working. Well, I can't. I'm gonna take it with me, but uh, it's gonna be broken. But we can repair it if we have to. <laughs> if we have to, you know, stat make like 250 boiled waters, we've got the, the the equipment to do it with. Oh, speaking of equipment, there's some supplies here. I have all of this, please. Did I hear a feral white? Logan, could you come over here, please, where you're more useful to me? Here we go. Oh, straight up rad in there. Okay, easy does it here. Oh, <laughs> Logan's trying to run away. Didn't work out well, there we go. Oh wow, look at the high grade weapon parts sitting on Big Mama there. Big Mama was packing in the trailer park. I gotta start searching the bodies again because they're suddenly containing like good things that uh, I wasn't expecting like uh, money and ammo and stuff. I mean, they always had that stuff but it was usually like s such a low amount. I think it's determined by loot stage probably. So now that I'm like, you know, really high level I'm getting better stuff out of it. Oh boy. Yeah. Hmm. That might be where the white is down there. Well, let's try it out. Yep. Nothing in there. Nothing up here. Maybe a splint or something would be nice. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's just check this out. Just be careful here. Oh, okay. We got a door here, which is helpful. Gas barrels, zombies. Oh my. Kind of a lot of zombies and kind of a lot of barrels. Although I don't think that the barrels are. Ex oh, Logan, can you just? Oh my God, she's sitting on my face. <laughs> Some people would be kind of into that stuff, right? Here we go. Okay, close that door. Logan, Logan, you're 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 messing everything up. Come up here, please. She probably opened that door, didn't she? Nope, she did not. But I want to do that. Maybe that's gonna help. I'm just gonna toss some grenades down there too. And then when they break through, which... Oh no, no, no. Oh yes, okay. So I, I primed the grenade. As soon as they break through, I'm gonna blow them all to hell. There we go. Yes! Oh my god, 6,250 XP for that. <laughs> Look at the massacre down here. Oh, that was great. I blasted some of them straight out of the doorway. That's eh, a wolf upstairs. Oh, main loot here. Just a tier three over here. Oh! What happened there? <laughs> Invisible boxes, man. These whites have some special powers. <laughs> All right, let me just check out what's in this. You know, honestly, the impact driver is doing more damage than anything else right now. Get here. Oh, treasure map. Not bad. I'll wait to read that when we get home so that we can probably get it in the wasteland, hopefully. Table saws. Yeah, I don't know if I need that, really, honestly. What is back here? It's probably just going back up into some other POI, or some other building in this POI. Okay, careful with the dog, or the wolf, either way. Oh, there's the dog. Oh yeah, that, uh, that little ventilation shaft just goes up into this, I think. Okay, we just woke up some zombies too. Let it rip! Nice. 
Nice. Okay, I'm surprised. Still no feral white. You'd think just by random chance I would have happened into one by now. But, yeah, no. A couple guys in here. Let them have it. There we go. In the camper, maybe? Nope. Just dirty old Arlene. Alright, open her up. Ooh, nothing but soldiers in this one. Oh, crap. I'm on fire. Put that out. Oh, jeez. Yeah, now that my healing factor is maxed out, when I hit the the heal button, which is like the end key, um, or it's on my mouse too, but uh, it should select automatically the best thing. There's like a, you know, like a progression, like an order of operation to what first aid it'll give me. So like if I'm on fire, it'll put the fire out. If I have a broken leg, it'll fix my broken leg. If I am infected, it'll use antibiotics, but it'll, it'll go for the most important one first. Oh, there we go. Okay, no feral whites, I guess. This is it right here. I think that's the last zombie. No oh, crap! Wait, wait, wait! Ah, whoa, crap! No, oh, jeez! What is going on here? Holy crap! Get out of here, Logan! Whoa, man! This is terrifying! No oh, crap, I'm on fire! Ah, help, help, help! Just keep calling Logan to me, and until we can figure something out here. Okay, Logan! Up here, please. Can you just up here and then stay here? Okay, yes, uh, stay where I'm standing. Oh, thank goodness, that is it. Okay, we can just sit here and evaluate what happened. Oh, no, nope, they're coming up. Get out of here. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Okay, fire and grenades. Come on, just blast them back a little bit if I can. There we go, get back. There we go. Killed a couple of them. There's the special white right there with 6,000 hit points. Come on. Come on. There we go. Get the knockdown. Get the knockdown and just light them up. Are you shooting? Logan! Okay, got Kisaki down. Kisaki the white. And holy crap, I think that's it. Wow, okay, this is gonna be a screamer city here in just a second. Uh, fix that, please. Logan, what is this? Okay, I'll figure that out in a second. Follow me. Did you die? Nope, you're not dead. I don't know what's going on there, but... Okay, careful with the fire then. Get the loot. Ooh, there's the ammo assembly station schematic. And just search up all these zombies. Oh, okay. Sample of remains of fire shock and explosive immune zombies. That was like a, a triple threat there. Okay, just quickly grab all the stuff here before the screamers arrive. I mean, I'm sure they're on their way by now anyway. Okay, good stuff there. Zombie bully. Yeah, look at these guys. I saw these guys on Horde Night. I hadn't seen them in the wild yet. Look how freaking big and strong they are. Holy crap. That's sick. Yeah, I can hear the screamers. They are trying to work their way in. Okay, we got some like confused accessory zombies over here. These guys seem to do that a lot. They don't really know what they're doing as much. They're, they're these are like a stupid <laughs> variant. They're like your classic zombies, right? They just have no idea, completely brainless. And, oh, what is this um, backpack here? What was that? Oh, did I accidentally drop my backpack? Oh my God, I did. Is that what that was over here? It was because I was running here that happened again. So when I was running around I hit the backspace button because I was trying to get Logan with me and that dropped my backpack. Okay, I need to pay attention here. This is a screamer horde Yes, look at the, the loot bags you get from these screamer hordes man This is gonna be so good when we set that station up in the wasteland We're just gonna reel in all these loot bags. Look you're guaranteed um, Ammo in the first slot and then you get some like random things in the next couple all right. Yep. Yep. So that's what that was. I was just running around all willy-nilly because if you hold shift you run But you hold shift and you hit backspace You drop your backpack, but if you just hit regular backspace, it's it teleports your person to you. So That's what that was all about And okay, we could just be here all day doing this honestly. Let's get out of here before Logan dies All right, the man the fires as well. That's that's the problem right now. There's too many fires, we'll never put them all out. There will be screamers there for the rest of the day. Okay, we're safe and sound now. Let's look into getting the ammo assembly station crafted. That's gonna be using, 
yeah, nothing much really. Basic stuff. And while that's going, I'll get the loot sorted out here. So I didn't really see much of what we got, but um, yeah, like DNA boost for strength, we can sell that. Schematics, we've already read, sell those. Generic perk book, that's pretty cool. I think I also have another one of those hanging out up there. And the treasure map, we'll read that right now and see where that's taking me. Oh, damn it, down into the friggin' pine biome. I should be reading those when I'm in the middle of the downtown over here. All right, everything's put away. The ammo workstation is done. It looks really big on the preview icon there, and so does the iron oven, but I haven't seen them in person yet, so let's take a look and see where we can squeeze these in. Holy crap, this is big. Oh my, it's like a five by two or a six by two or something. Oh my God, that is, that's gotta go downstairs, I think. Yep, I want, it looks like it'll fit right here. It doesn't wanna go in there. I could slap it against the wall up there, maybe. Uh, is maybe the vehicle blocking it right now? I noticed that the Warthog has a very interesting, um, like a hitbox, I guess you'd call it. Here, just park this out on the ramp. And did that, was that, was that what was going on? Yes, that was what was going on there. So, hmm. Let's, oh boy, this is, um... <laughs> I guess for now, go ahead and... Put it there. Whoa, it's so big. It's, this is like a factory assembly line for bullets. This is crazy. And I think, I think I'll move I the generator to up it. to here somewhere where it's kind of less in the way. Here, what if I put like a little scaffolding plank here, supported Where's scaffolding plank and put the generator right on top. That way I can kind of have more room down here. And hopefully when I get everything moved around, oh wait. Yeah, because there might be something up here that I have to move downstairs. No, it it should be good, I think. I don't know. I don't know. We can put that there. I'm not going to do it now, though. I got to pull everything up because I got to rearrange everything. But yeah, we'll sort that out in just a second. For now, generator. Oops. Generator here. Everything back in. Refuel it. And yes, that's a good spot for it. Much better. Symmetrical. I like it. Solidify it. And, oh, jeez, now I just gotta come up here and pick everything up. Pick up the bedroll. No, bedroll's broken. Just go ahead and smash that then. Pick everything up. Kind of just a minor annoyance, but some of these things are taking like 15, anywhere from 5 to 15 seconds to pick up. Uh, I think that could be more like, you know, one second, honestly. Massive firefight going on outside, but um, I'm in the middle of recording this time lapse, so I'm not gonna check it out just yet. All right, what the hell happened down here anyway, guys? Oh, just a wandering horde rolled up right in the field of fire out front. Yeah, they didn't stand a chance. Good job, guys. All right, Logan, I know we had a little bit of an intimate moment there earlier with the face sitting thing, but I need you to just hang out here, okay? Okay, now we just gotta figure out some sort of a system here. I'm gonna actually try to decorate a little bit. Although to be quite honest, I am not known for my decoration skills, so <laughs> how this is about to turn out is anyone's guess. All right, well that's what I got for you so far. A little living area over here, and uh, I'm just stacking these because why not? And this is a little kitchen cooking area over here. We can store all of our prepared meals in here and all of our like paintbrushes and regular tools and stuff in here maybe. Uh, yes, little cooking area here. Chemistry station over here. I'm gonna put probably some of this stuff downstairs and this extra workbench, now that we have the ammo crafting workstation, I think we can just kind of put this into storage and only take it out when and if we need it. And I also, okay, this toolbox here. Is there a place I can put the toolbox that's not like just absolutely ridiculous? <laughs> Let's try this. Let's scoot you over by one because you're not really obstructing the bed in my opinion. Grab a table. And slap it down right there. How's that look? Pretty good. I like it. Now we just need a place for the table saw, which I think, could we just slip that in here somewhere? Um, that works for me. <laughs> just cram it in the corner there. Okay, yes, we're all rearranged. We can finally think about getting started on painting. And trust me, I got a plan for that. You guys are gonna love it. Okay, before I forget, we need to grab the wire tool and reconnect everything off the generator here. Have I seriously not unlocked the electric timer relay schematic? That's a little silly. All right, I've been doing some work down here in the garage. I've got a couple of new lights set up over here. These are nice for the garage lights, I think, because uh, otherwise they'll be way up there. Yeah, I think it looks fine. And um, so what we need to do now is probably... See, I've got the turrets wired up. These are the SMG turrets upstairs, shotgun turrets downstairs. This will be for blade traps once I get those set back up. 
and these will be for all the doors. What I need to do is get one for lights though. We also need to get some lights up here and then we'll see if the lamps over here are enough for lights up here. I don't know, that's um, that's kind of not enough, is it? We're gonna need to figure out some more lights up here. There we go, and now that I just did that, I also was thinking earlier that we should probably carve this floor out and do the exact same thing that we did up here so that on Horde Night, when the wraiths are up there, I, did, I don't have to come up here and shoot them like I did before. I can probably, in that scenario, just stay down here and shoot straight up. So yeah, these need to come down. Pick you up. Right, okay, so uh, th hmm, some bad things might happen here because I've got to rip out the entire floor, which means all of you will need to be picked up as well. Okay, and uh, hopefully these will all just be attached to the walls. I don't think anything here will collapse. I will just pick this up because I'm not sure if that has horizontal support like everything else does. All right, everyone, you're coming with me. Now we're just going to rip out this entire floor. I'm going to hope that I can just rip out the edges and collapse the center down on <laughs> everybody standing down below. They won't mind. They'll be fine. Look out below! Sorry guys. Yeah, I think everyone's fine anyway. Didn't even take any damage. Right, so the mistake I made is that we didn't actually have to pick up all the traitors because they were standing on this rung right here. I wish I could stand on their heads. That'd be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Whoops! Alright, shouldn't be too difficult from here. Just gonna throw in the same blocks that we were using before. The wedge 60 slopes all the way around and then put the security gates in the middle. All right, that's as good as it gets right there. Uh, I think we'll be able to see the glow of the wraiths up top, especially during Horde Night. And then we just kind of light them up from down here, hopefully. All right, just for fun, I did get a couple of signs made for the tops of these switches here. <laughs> How do you like that? A little ridiculous, but yeah, I can tell which is which now. All right, let's get everyone placed back in here. I was kind of wanting to pick them all up again because I didn't rotate them properly before. I want them all to be by default facing like the outside of the base. There we go. All right, so up here, I think I've crafted some cobblestone cube shapes. I'm also starting to craft those explosion resistant cube shapes, but we don't need to use those just yet. And uh, how are we looking on mix? Not good, I think I used all the concrete mix to make the explosion resistant blocks. And I can't make any cement because we're low on sand. Okay, we've got a bit of a problem then. Because we need more concrete mix to do up all the blocks that we've just like replaced. Like all these things down here probably need to be upgraded at some point. It's only day 45, so we've got uh, half a week to go basically before the horde arrives. What I'm gonna do now is, uh, it's a, bit, a little bit of a perilous task. I'm going to put frames around the windows on like all three sides of the base. And I'm also going to finish off once and for all, we're gonna finish up with these, uh, the support pillars. And I'm gonna get ready for the helipad that'll go on the rooftop over here. We gotta start somewhere. So let's start right here and get a staircase going up to what will eventually become the helipad upstairs. Just gonna grind out a couple pieces. Uh oh, <laughs> another bandit raid. Oh, they're just all gonna die. Oh, that's interesting. They're actually using the side thing that we made already. I'm trying to settle on like a staircase railing sort of system because this all has to be railed in so that, you know, fall off the edge. It's kind of like a OSHA liability type of thing. And I'm just gonna dress up all of these like side, I don't know what we're called, just basically just decorations at this point <laughs> all the way up here. Yeah, I gotta dress all of these up. And yeah, there's like a huge horde wandering their way in, but that's okay. Just a bunch of regular zombies. I trust in our allies to take care of them for us. Yep, all quiet down there. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor zombies. Ah, who am I joking? They can go to hell. Yeah, last couple down here. I think I'll just shave the top off of these. Okay, looks like we're all good up here now. The next question is gonna be, what do we wanna do for railings, honestly? So we could just string a railing straight across here. I think that would look good. Just a classic railing going straight across. Let's see. Yeah, that looks fine. Yeah, okay, I'm looking at it now. And I think just um, in keeping with what we've been doing in the past, I should copy this shape and move it straight across like this out here. Okay, and then what we could also do is, uh, at this point we could just put a railing right directly behind it. I don't think that would look terrible. Let's just do it out of this uh, plywood here, particle board. Yeah, actually, really that's, that's good. That's as good as it's gonna get, I think. I like that. All right, yes, make it so. Good deal, wow. Okay, it's really coming together now. Hmm, well, we could do a sign out here. <laughs> I've got three spots to put a sign. That's all I need. And then we should probably put a big H in here as well. There, there, there. We're gonna cover up a little bit of this uh, natural lighting. 
Ooh, that's, uh, it's not too, too bad. I can live with that. And so this will just get upgraded to regular old wood. And then eventually it'll get painted like yellow or just, you know, any color basically to differentiate it from the regular ground. Anything that contrasts well. Okay, yep, these are good to go. These can go just straight to cobble. Hopefully I've got the wood planks to do this. I don't have very many wood planks, but I, I've made as many as I could make. And then this is just decoration, so that can just sit like that for now and uh, until it gets painted at least. And I'm thirsty. Yeah, well, it's 11 o'clock. Good time for beer, I'd say. All right, we're making some serious progress here. I'm really liking how things are coming out. Just make sure, I don't want anything that's basically flammable now that I'm starting to think about it. None of this stuff should be wood. Can I make bulletproof glass at this point? No, because that requires a ton of lead. Lead, geez, iron, sand. Okay, so we need to go. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get lead out of the desert because lead gets, uh, no wait, I think you can get lead. It's coal, I think, that gets replaced with oil shale. So maybe we should go to the desert get some sand and lead maybe i'll save that for tonight for now i still have quite a good number of cobblestone cube shapes and i thought i saw didn't i have some more in here no i've already grabbed those right so uh we should probably see at this point oh no we gotta make i was gonna say um get a little bit ahead of myself i was gonna say that we should uh start making the fighting positions and we will that's what we're gonna do now but we, uh, we have to make these out of the explosion resistant material. Also, we gotta build all of this stuff up again. And I was looking out here, this is mostly severely damaged and the amount of steel that's gonna go into fixing this is ridiculous. So I'm basically gonna grind all of this out and replace all of it with the explosion resistant material. Got some zombies rolling up on us. I'm not sure if this is a screamer horde or regular horde or a mixture of both i have no idea seemed like it was about five zombies i'm gonna go with screamer horde all right and while i'm at it here i'm also just gonna do some cleanup here on the ground level and start replacing some of these pillar blocks and make this new staircase out of the explosive resistant concrete okay that project is done and the automated vault doors are on the craft so hopefully by tomorrow we should be able to do the massive screamer battle we will do it at dawn, but okay, you know, we've proven that this functions well because all day long screamer zombies have been wandering up this thing. I'm gonna rip off these frames because um, we can't actually build this out of like cobblestone or anything. It has because we can't like upgrade um, like a regular cobblestone block to the explosive resistant concrete. We have to build it out of explosive resistant concrete from the start. Oh geez, yeah, whatever. Just rip it all down. Jeez, let it collapse. <laughs> trying to pick the blocks off one by one. Yep, but now I, I lost my measurement crap. And I've decided instead of using a very skinny block for them to traverse across, I'm just gonna use a regular trussing block. And that's because I don't want them to fall down because if they fall down, they go into rage mode. I want them to stay up in line on top so that I can use the armor piercing rounds to kill them myself. All right, that's your final product right there. We've got ladder, 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 support columns times four and the central pillar there out of the trussing blocks leading up to, uh, these are security gates on top and you can see security gates on bottom with the trussing in the middle. So I don't think this is ever gonna blow up. The, the weakest link up here will be the vault door over there. And then we'll have to grind this out a little bit later. But for now, I wanna jump on the other side and get the other sister side crafted. And I will do my best to, to just replicate it one for one on this side. Okay, that is it for that side, although it's a little bit off-centered over here. We'll just put some topsoil in here to fill it in, and it'll be just fine. Okay, we're making such good progress today. It's really nice to just dedicate a whole day or two to getting all this stuff done. So, the automated vault doors should be okay by now. Let's get those set up. So that's one, two, three, four of those. One over on this side, and then one on the other side. And then we gotta come up with some sort of a connection solution here. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, I know it's it's kind of a lot. It's a complex system. I tend to overcomplicate things from time to time. And by from time to time, I mean all the time. Okay, so during Horde Night, I'm just noticing that these blocks here are, are in kind of rough shape. During Horde Night, because we could replace these with the explosion resistant concrete. And I think that we should, although I think it's too late now. I think the door would collapse if I knocked this out. See, I don't, I don't know if it actually connects to the backside or not. Maybe we should pay attention to that. But anyway, um, I'll just have to really pay attention to doing some repairs on Horde Night. Like every 
few minutes or hour. What I was thinking is like, could I set up some sort of like an alarm? Like if I got, if I got a timer relay or even better, if I got like a, um, like a, a switch on the floor, maybe like a, a trigger plate. If I jump on the trigger plate, it activates a light for like, I don't know, a minute or five minutes. And then uh, when that light turns off after that trigger has run out, I'll know that it's time to do a repair. So I don't know if that's going to work. I've really never worked with trigger plates before. Let me just see if I even have one. I don't think that I do. Maybe I could craft one though real quick. There might be one in there. I can't see it. But uh, yeah, trigger one by one trigger plate. Let's just get one of those crafted. Stop the 762. I'm just making the 762 up here because... Uh, I've got all the bullet tips in the bullet casings already, and I'm not even sure if I can do anything with all those extra bullet casings, because, like, ideally, we'd want to be using the bullet manufacturing station downstairs, but, yeah, I, there's no option to scrap that that I could see. And if I go to the shredder, can I, can I shred some of it? No, no, it doesn't give me the option to shred it, unfortunately. Uh, right, anyway, so uh, there's two more things that I wanna do. One is we're gonna knock all this stuff out here. Then we gotta knock out the same six blocks on this end over here. And then we've gotta turn these into just classic fighting positions. Although I would like to like replicate what we did on this side over here, which would mean, okay, we got the little angle block going across. Okay, we're using these uh, trussing blocks. Okay, okay, so it's gonna look something like trussing blocks in the corners, you know, although this really does open us up to being shot at from the flanks, so I'm not gonna solidify this just yet. I need to kind of think this over a little bit because, yeah, okay, that... If I'm standing here or if the, the guys are here, okay, yes, they're definitely gonna get shot at by cops out there. And that's just no fun. Uh, it would be just regular scaffolding planks here on the top, just like so. There would be a hatch there, and then just the regular railing pieces. Uh, well, one would be back there, one would be right here, so like that. And then I believe just for explosive resistance, I was actually putting some railings on the outside of these, like so. Did I ever do that over here? I think I did, except they all blew up because I only upgraded them to concrete. Right, and for the top, it was like, uh, I did the, well, I did those corners. Oh, here we go, just overcomplicating things. <laughs> it's gonna match though, right? So it was something like this here. Who's shooting? Is there a freaking horde here? What's new? Aha, here we go. Oh, geez, fast movers, look out. Gotta work on my sight skill a little bit. It's falling behind the assault rifle skill. Not that that's really a bad thing, but um, I'd like to continue leveling this up so that we can access the the super sight, whatever that is. I do want it to look at. I might just have to uh, stop this because you know I'm in a position now where I've been building for about an hour and a half straight, and uh, my mind's a little bit frazzled. So. If I come back and visit this again uh, tomorrow, maybe I'll have some better ideas for how to do this fighting position. But this is basically it here. This is the, the, the concept, at least. It's kind of also in the way of this, but um, honestly, if, if, if it gets to this point, I'm basically just gonna be standing here, just dumping ammo down that way. So I think it'll be okay. But I do want it to kind of match all the way around. So yeah, let's just do a quick test. Oh, that's not even hooked up. That would uh, definitely help if I hook things up here. <laughs> Except like I am max connections, I think. Here, we'll just pull one off the light switch up here. That's fine. I think everything's just gonna be powered 24 seven unless I somehow stumble across the timer relay schematic somewhere. Right, so set that up. And okay, yeah, that's gonna work really good. Although don't do that right now because uh, zombies could just roll right straight in, pound through those plywood planks. Uh, the one thing I wanted to do before we cut things off here is just test out this switch here. So if I put that there, what are my options here? Dire Ooh, okay, so one minute or five minutes. We could do like a one minute timer. So if we had a red light, uh, let's just, just put it here for now because I think the lights will actually kind of, interestingly, they'll shine through. Yeah, like, can I see that from in here? I, I kind of can, it's kind of coming through the window there. Reconnect that, right, so okay, it's off right now, now just give the but during horde night, let's just turn this to like, you know, five seconds for now. Uh, during Horde Night, if I say, okay, step on this, turn the light on, and then we're just fighting, 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 and then uh, a minute later, those lights turn off, that'll be my indication that, hey, it's time to do some repairs, because otherwise, I guarantee you I'll forget. That might be 
something worth kind of looking into a little bit more. Just a, a, like a setting a little bit of a re reminder for me to do the repairs down here. To be determined, that's just a little experiment for me. So what I am going to do tonight, I think, is just there's a little monotonous project that I need to do, and that is to come out here and get my regular frame shapes. And basically, I just need to stand right here and nerd pull my way up and get the cobblestone cube shapes out and set up a little bit of a window frame all around all of the windows, all the way around on all three sides of the house. It's gonna be quite a project. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. The base is nearly ready to go, and with a little TLC, we'll be ready to fire up the Screamer signal in no time. And then, it'll be all hands on deck as we kill as many zombies as possible, both to advance our trainer and aura quests, and to gather as many loot bags as possible. Once that concludes, we'll need to do some mining to stock back up on resources, then do a tier 5 job for Trader Gen. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time! All right, let's get started then. I got a busy day planned. There's a couple of critical things that we need though. The first is more gas. And unfortunately, we're like almost out of oil shale. So we'll have to go to the desert today to do some mining. The only catch to that is, is we don't have a lot of gas to do the mining with. So we might actually have to do a considerable amount of the mining with the pickaxe, which is kind of, you know, slow. Got a whole bunch of breakfast items stored up in here. So I'll stock up on boiled meat. And let me grab up the shapes so that we can do some construction at those new fighting positions. And uh, Hyper, want to just uh, stay over here and sleep in the bed or something? I don't want you getting hurt outside. Oh right, I got the window frames in last night. So yeah, I think I, I put these like square frames in on a few of these because I thought I had to stick them to that until we get the bulletproof glass. But they're actually sticking to like those blocks right there, those ramp pieces. You can see where like this block space is actually the ramp and so Whoa, uh oh, <laughs> don't sprain a leg, please. Uh, while I'm out here anyway, yeah, let's put the warthog away. All right, it did me a lot of good to sort of sleep this project off a little bit, and I, I've decided on what we're gonna do. And I think that uh, the issue that I was talking about before where the cops might be able to spit up at us, that will be ameliorated by putting hatches in front of where the railings are. So it might be crowded, it might be messy, but it will be functional. And otherwise, we're like really low on concrete mix too, so while we're out in the desert mining, we'll be looking for lead to make the bulletproof glass, we'll be looking for sand and rocks, and you know, basically, we, we just gotta start all over again. We're basically out of resources, we're even almost out of iron. Alright, there you go, that's a done deal. Just gonna get it upgraded, whoops! Uh, you know what, it's actually not a done deal. I forgot a couple of blocks here. So what I've been doing around. is... Thank you need to shut your friggin' mouth. What I've been doing is putting these... What is this? A stairs spiller pot <laughs> Spiller pyrrole. <laughs> there you go. Uh, pillar spiral or something like that. So that goes in there. Just an extra little bumper block on the outside. And like I was saying there a second ago. Whoops, okay. So that's difficult to get into. Seemingly more difficult than it is on this side. <laughs> Here I am having an extremely difficult... Uh, ah, there we go. Yeah, right. So there's gonna, just going to be hatches like... Uh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, jeez. I'm having a hard time today. All right. Slow down. Slow down. I'm nervous, right? Because the Screamer Horde. We're going to do the Screamer Horde thing here in a second. Right. So... Oh no, not again! Come on! I keep bouncing my head off of this thing right here, and it just launches me sideways. That's what the issue is. Okay, so careful with that on Horde Night. No jumping is allowed on Horde Night. So anyway, hatches will go... Actually, I could probably pick a block that'll be a better representation of this. Right, let's just put this block in here for now. You can kind of see where the hatch would fold up and kind of block off this window here so that no one could spit up at us. Probably much more important on this end because we'll have zombies spawning in at sort of like at sea level at ground height whereas over there you know that's just like a big hill going into the ocean okay we'll get around to that eventually i think i probably should get those hatches crafted we're gonna need well i'll just use iron hatches honestly on the bottom so we'll get a few of those made and then i'll put the i'll put vault hatches on the top if i can oh yes by the way rolling on some more 762 just trying to use up all the old ammunition supplies uh we'll need We'll need two doors. We'll put the middle doors up. Whoops. Like that. We'll get uh, shotguns because I need to make sure that these are working, hopefully, before the next horde. Because they were not working during the last horde. So we got that. We don't have the blade traps. We don't really need the SMGs on right now. But I suppose having them 
activated is not really a bad thing. It's just going to use a little bit of extra power. And these ones on the side are not open. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good now. Let's just seal those up so no one crawls inside here. Now, the, the trouble is, is that if the allies here, I looked this up, if they get the kills, then I won't get credit for them as it pertains to, like, getting the Black Shield Trainer and uh, getting our auras. We have to get these kills ourselves. So... I might have to do some running around out there on the ground level while this is going on. Oh, and then the last thing I wanted to do today was actually check and see if we can get anything cooked, and we certainly could. I'm just checking, um, oh, reduce health loss by 50%. Wow, that is good. We just need some super corn. Okay, oh, entity damage with ranged weapons, 50%, tuna fish gravy toast. Can I make that? Okay, corn meal, give me... A little bit of that. We'll go downstairs and I'm gonna buy some super corn from Legion's Lost. Oop, airdrop coming in. Yeah, honestly, I'll just take all of it. However much you got. 6,000 dukes or dollars, whatever. That's fine. Toss that away and right. We need corn meal to make corn bread. Do up a little bit of that and then, ooh, what else can we make here? Pumpkin cheesecake. That's probably good for Ooh, experience gain. Okay. The pumpkin pie is good for, oh, for like uh, harvesting, you get 20% more from your harvest with tools. Does that include the auger? Because I know there was some distinction with um, with one of the, the, the vanilla mining books. What about this shepherd's pie here? Yeah, that was the health loss. The chili dog is, oh, loot quantity. Holy crap, man, this stuff is good. And it's uh, actually benefited by iron gut, uh, plus one minute per level of iron gut. And I've got like five levels in that. Pumpkin bread is bartering, oh boy. Okay, so give me the corn bread and we'll start on the tuna fish gravy toast. We have uh, somebody wandering in here or is this just like uh, some nobody out there? Oh, it's a huge horde out there, here. Just yeet this out as far as I can, see if I can hit anyone with it. And, oh, that was a good hit. Right, so we know that um, we've got to get the kills ourselves. Uh, in case any of these are shock immune zombies, probably want to kill them ourselves. And I don't see any skateboarders or bikers, but yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to be very liberal with the ammo use because look at the loot bags. And they all have ammo in them. Maybe not the type of ammo that we're looking for, 762, but... You know, law of averages, we should get a little bit of it. All right, here's our tuna fish gravy toast. I'm just gonna use one for this affair just because I don't think we need to really stock up that much on, uh, or stack our damage up that much against just a regular horde. We'll save, we'll do a whole bunch of tuna fish gravy toast for horde night because, it, it, man, if we got this plus a rampage on horde night, we could really, I need to come up with some kind of a strategy to initiate the rampage, don't I? That would help so much on Horde Night. We'd get so many more kills. Okay, anyway, I think we're just about ready. Let's do this. Fire it up. See what happens. Oh, I saw some screamers out there. There's two of them out there. And uh, any more? Not exactly sure how this works. Like, should I just run it for a second or two and then turn it off or... Did I just leave it running? Okay, they're screaming already. I can hear them screaming way, way off in the distance. Okay, let's uh, shut that door off for a second. Oh, we're getting rads out there now. Okay, it's looking pretty heavy. All right, let's get out there and fight. All right, real quickly then. Oh crap, tuna fish gravy toast. And I'll start hitting the power ups here. Beer, Red Bull, coffee. All right, let the massacre begin. Oh my God, there's like a million zombies here already. It's crazy. Oh my god, there's a lot. I'm not gonna stop until I get at least one of the uh, the missions that we're trying to accomplish here. Unlocking the Black Shield Trader and the two aura missions that we're trying to do. Man, I am just hosing these zombies though with the plus 50% damage. If I could just get a rampage now, we would be golden. Oh, I just leveled up Witch Doctor to level seven. That's something, I guess. Still no rampage. Unfortunately, I don't I don't know what's going on here right now. I'm getting tons of headshots. Yeah, there's there's my rampage right there. Ooh, we are on a roll now. Let them come.
it's like I'm one-shotting every one of them. It's crazy. The bodies, there's so many bodies. Yeah, I wish I could turn down the uh, Screamer Zombie body timer a little bit. Because there's like probably 50 or 100 corpses just littering the ground out here. All right. Well, I've got 700 rounds left and I'm not stopping until they're all gone. I said before I was going to not stop until I got the quest, but you know, bullets are important too, maybe. I do have some fish tacos. We could transfer over to melee if we had to. Or my new strategy is just going to be let them cluster up a little bit more because I'm kind of fighting them in onesies and twosies right now. And uh, get them all in one big pile. <laughs> we'll start killing them that way. I wonder if like Molotov and explosive kills count for for my stuff, my counters, my my auras and stuff. I mean, presumably they do. Ah, let's light a few of them up. That's gonna help the frame rate, I bet. <laughs> Burn, baby. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's not helping the frames at all, is it? It's not bad though. I mean, honestly, I'm running. A, I'm running like the best graphics card you can buy right now. It's the best graphics card on the market. So, if this can't do it, nothing can. Uh, while I'm out of here, a lot of people have been asking. Oh, trade aura level one. Look at that. A lot of people have been asking about my my new computer. I revealed in the last episode that I got a new rig. And so, you know, long story short, I got 64 gigs of RAM. I got 24 gigabyte, 4090 uh, graphics card. And my processor is Intel i9-13900KS. I'm not sure how you say that in English, but uh, that's, that's what it is. Oh my God, look at the zombies. We're gonna have to turn this off here pretty soon before I short circuit my house or something. Look at this! Oh my god! It's just insane! My god, I need to get um, a drum mag for this. Wow. Okay, so we got the trade aura. That was the skateboarder zombies. Unfortunately, I haven't seen any bikers. Maybe biker zombies don't spawn in this. We're still looking for the um, black shield trader. That's um, shock immune zombies. I'm sure there's got to be a few of those in here somewhere. I haven't necessarily seen one yet. Um, do I hear something special? Oh my god, it's a wraith! I was gonna say, I heard something crazy there. Oh, there's a shock immune zombie! Yeah, uh, wraith man, you need to come down here and get what's coming to ya, buddy. There we go, got him down. And if we search him, we can get his uh, protective shield aura thing off of him and use that. Okay, we're starting to run real low on ammunition. I'm okay with that. We will get plenty more out of all these loot bags in a couple of hours, hopefully. My rampage is at 187. My um, 190, my kill streak, that is. We've got uh, kamikazes somewhere now. Man, the, the screamers calling in some interesting zombies here. I haven't seen anything like, um, like the bosses, you know? The grudges, the corpulence, nothing like that yet. <laughs> it's a little choppy right now. All right, let's fix that. Turn this off and let's just kill off the rest of them. Now we have access to the Black Shield Trader. Okay, so in order to actually get him, do I talk to Briston? Check the inventory. There we go. Okay, we've got the Black Shield Trader. Also, I think I've got a mercenary here with me. Hello there, Moogie. Pleasure to see you. Oh, he just dove right out of here. So I can get the tier four mercenaries from him. Activate that. And we're heading back out for a melee fight. All right, here we go. I'm out. Get the mercenaries down. Oh my God. It's a little crazy here right now. Let's do this. Yeah, honestly, I think things are getting laggier by the second here. Well, the mercenaries are down at least. Here, let's light these guys up. Although it looks like they're already lit up. I think that, uh, whoops, no ammo there. I think that um, the mercenaries have Molotovs, honestly. Yep, I'm on fire. I'm shocked. Ooh, look out. Don't break something, please. Still got the kill streak. I might be able to just, you know, do the regular attack. Oh, you know what we need? Here, give me some space. And I think the fish tacos gives me a melee bonus. So for the rest of these zombies, I guess we'll just do the melee. Except I'm, I, yeah, I need to juice back up again. We need beer. We need Red Bull. We need everything. Oh, look, the mercenaries are tanking them for me. Lovely. Okay, things are getting quieter by the minute here. Mercenaries are really making a big difference. Look at these guys. They got yellow eyes. Feral mercenaries here. Yeah, things are really cooling off now. Look, all the mercenaries even survived. Sardalkarul, Michael. Oh, there they go. They're gone. Sorry, I missed all the names. Oh, and there's Moogie out here helping out as well. Oh my god, look at the loot bags here. All right, that was really fun. We'll have to do it again sometime. <laughs>
<laughs> when we have more ammo, honestly. We'll see how much ammo we can get out of these loot bags, at least. Holy crap, I found a micro gun. I'll show it to you in just a second. All right, I think that was it for the loot bags. Taking just one more glance around the base here. Looking good. What happened here? Why did they do... Oh, you stupid zombies. All right, any more up here? Oh, one more. There we go. Okay, good. Let's uh, see what we got there. I, we got some really good stuff, I'll tell you that. Okay, so I've already filled up the cell chest with so some of this stuff is stuff that I found. I also just tossed all the stackable items up there somewhere, out of the inventory at least. Okay, important note, that was the tier five skeleton warriors. We'll have to work on getting that. That is the max. So we are maxed out on skeleton warriors now. This was the note about getting the black shield guy, which is this person right here. Let's just toss him in there. It's dang. Jeans. No, 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 no. Come with me. It is Rakas. There we go. He's got the desert vulture. Man, you got some very broad shoulders. What do you sell anyway? Is it just like a mixture of everything? Okay, he's got the car supplies. Oh, shock resistant armor. Oh, explosion resistant armor. Fire and shock resistant chest armor. Wow. Okay, some interesting stuff here. Let's see what we got here. Couple of AK 74s. We've got the goth titanium mace. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. I can use it. It's not the uh, the top of the tier there. We've got another one of these plasma batons. There's my potion to summon the tier five skeleton warrior. We got the R8 Magnum. I think we were playing with that the other day when we were in the wasteland though. We have the titanium long dark blade. I think I found one of these before as well. Where is that minigun? Oh, there's the spike knuckles here. Holy crap, those look cool. You know, if I had this playthrough to do all over again, maybe the next time I play Rebirth mod, I'll be using the Berserker class. They get a bunch of bonuses to, to melee. Okay, just give me, how much uh, 762 did we pull there? Only 700, so I got about a 50% return on investment there. It's um, less than I was hoping for, but I can live with it, considering all the other stuff that we got. Okay. Ooh, that is good. Look at that. That is awesome. Okay, I don't want to burn any more ammo. In fact, just, uh, can I get the bullets back out of that? There we go. Did get a treasure map for Taylor's treasure. Of course, up into the pine biome, so it's basically worthless up there. Reflex sight mod, generic DNA injection boost. Ooh, we can actually turn that into a charisma boost. Okay, jam that into me. Nice. Just boosted our charisma just a little bit. There's the shield, the protection shield. Uh, I was thinking while we were doing that, that we probably need, I wish there was a fully automatic 44 Magnum weapon because really there's no use for the 44 Magnum. We can get some use out of the nine mil and the shotgun rounds, but 44 is worthless to us. That or I, it would be nice if there was a way to deconstruct it for the component materials. Anyway. Yeah, let's probably do a big sell-off now, make a little bit of our money back. All right, so I took a little bit of a break there to just go through all of the chests and pull out everything that we don't need, like um, basically extra mods, uh, things that were just hanging out in chests, like a whole bunch of extra batteries and military fiber and extra mechanical parts, and look at all these electrical parts, gonna sell for seven grand. I also did get the pumpkin bread, and I stashed that uh, somewhere. Still there it is right there. Just make sure I can see that because that's going to give us 10% and the trade ore is going to give us 20%. So we'll have 30% better selling power here pretty soon. And then, so we got the black shield trader. We got the kills we needed for the shock immune zombie. For the trade aura for the skateboarder zombies, we are at 58% right now. We need a total of 90. <laughs> If we do a couple more big screamer battles, that should put us over the top. The armor penetration aura, man, I, I guess the bikers just don't spawn with the screamers. That's unfortunate. We'll have to get those the good old fashioned way, but I'm just kind of stocking up on stuff here. The thing we need to do now is go mining and let's bring with us, wasn't it the, uh, the pumpkin pie here? Yeah, extra 20% off of our harvest. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of gas. We don't have a whole lot of oil shield. If I would have thought about it, I should have probably sent one of our mercenaries to go do a quick mining session just to get us a little bit of extra, but it is what it is. And I've got to, you know, live with the consequences now. Right, so Hobie, come with me. Dank, come with me. Let's go do some mining. All right, looks like the spot here, right between these two trees. Clear the area a little bit, secure the loot. Get out of here. There we go. We good? Pretty much. <laughs> Took her arm off, her explosive immune arm. Oh, it's still got the effect at the stub. <laughs> That's funny. 
All right, we gotta do this the the manual way, unfortunately. And I oh, I didn't bring any yucca with me. Well, I guess let's we'll see what I can do for block damage here. Okay, not too bad. Just dig up this treasure real fast, and then we'll head into the desert, get some oil shale, some lead, and whatever else we can find, and then we'll head back home, craft up some fuel, and then hopefully be able to use the auger after that to get the iron out of our big iron mine. Okay, we're in. Oh, not too bad actually for the pine biome. I'll take that. Seven thousand. Uh, dollars. <laughs> I always want to say dukes, but we're not dealing with dukes anymore. Okay, we proceed with the plan to mine some oil shale and hopefully a little bit of lead while we're at it. Either that or we could just do the oil... Is this guy still down here? Bro, I am so sorry. I gotta get this guy out of here, man. He's been here since... Uh, he's been here for weeks. He probably hasn't eaten in... or anything. He's probably been pooping in one of these holes down here. Yes, he's out. You are free, brother. Just watch your step, because I'm not filling that thing in. Okay, so we should have an oil shale mine right down there. All right, here we go. Just kind of arc in a position where I'm casting some light down there. I think for the purposes of this mission here, I will reserve the pumpkin pie because we want to use that when we have full control of the auger. Instead, I'll just go with the goldenrod tea, and we'll just do the best we can with the gas that we have. Hey, there's lead down here. Nice. Whoa, I'm getting collapsed on a lot. It's hurting. Ow. Oh, there's also iron down here. Wow, spring glory hole. We might need to just go get some more gas and come straight back here. Okay, that's it for the gas. While I still have the goldenrod tea active, I'll do some manual mining down here, just for the heck of it, really. Oh my goodness, they're pouring over the edge. Massive horde of zombies. It's just a regular horde. I'm really not worried about these guys. You're just target practice for Dank and Hobie and myself. Dank got some brain in his mouth. Not surprising. Okay, yeah, things are getting a little bit um, electric, you could say. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> let's get out of here. All right, from here, let's go home, get some stuff on the craft. I've. Ooh, 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 wait a minute. We got a whole bunch of loot bags over here. That'll do. Right, so let's go home and get everything crafting. I think I'm going to send some of our allies out mining for nitrate because that's the one thing we didn't really get today and it's the one thing we need to make more ammunition then after that we'll go pick up a job from jen and get that done oh my god my uh my drawbridge door just catapulted me up onto this ledge <laughs> i don't know what to do now try not to sprite anything i guess all right boys come over here and get back into position please all right while i'm here i wanted to see what it would take to get a striker apc repair tool Car foot pump, car battery charger unit, ratchet set, hot wire kit, and an extra impact driver. Seems a lot easier than the actual recipe to make it because it, it requires like a bunch of wheels and, and tires and oh, it's just crazy. So um, let's look into getting the repair tool instead. Oh my goodness, look at the scars that just popped out of here. Yes, I forgot. I had made a whole bunch of these. That's... I was just trying to think because I was looking at the cell chest. I was like, what was I waiting on to do the big sell-off? Yeah, that's what I was waiting on. <laughs> the the 38 scars that I crafted. Don't here, just put these in here. I will just do this all later. I'm kind of... I'm trying not to do two things at once right now. So yeah, put those away. And just a brief check to see if I can... Uh, if any of these are better than the one I have in terms of ranged damage. Nope, there was one that was a tie right here, but I do think that I have the best possible scar. There's even like eight more that are crafting, so we'll double check it again later. But uh, yes, we needed an impact driver, a hot wire kit. It's pretty easy. We needed the car foot pump, and that's made in the inventory, I guess. We need a ratchet set and the car battery charger unit. Okay, that's actually not gonna... That's not a lot, is it? Is that it? Break a repair tool, that will do it. And we're heading in that direction anyway, so I'm keen on just probably waiting. On second thought, we've gotta wait for the impact driver. That's gonna take a little while. Let's go do the tier five quest and we'll pick up this a little bit later and get ourselves the striker. Right, I'm just gonna run outside here real quick. We've got a, an issue with the ramp yet again. Take care of that before I get slingshotted back up into the sky again. Ah, let's see if I can grab just a handful of gas before we leave. Yeah, 640, that'll do. Just get this filled back up again. All right, Trader Jen, here I come. Oh, the ramp, it, it's kind of bad. <laughs> All right, meet you there. Shelby, is that Shelby? Shelby's got the shotgun. Nope, nope, it's Natalie Kramer. I thought you were Shelby. I'm so disappointed. Shelby Pope, I will always remember you. The one that got away. Okay, uh, look out, guy's got an auto shotgun. And the last time I faced a guy with a shotgun, I got shot in the face and killed. I was just kind of stopping by here to grab this airdrop. Take care of that guy. Oh my god, these are really not that bad these days. Leather armor bundle could be better. 
Not bad. What is that place anyway? Is that the side tech? I need to go stop by there and see what's going on. Oh, there's another airdrop over there. Let's swing by and get that before we go see Trader Jen. And yeah, I think this is side tech. And if this is a tier five, this is the one that I want to do here in the very near future. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's a very cool looking place. Oh, there's our uh, mercenary guy. He likes to hang out around here, I guess. I'm, I'm good, though. I've already got the tier four mercenaries. Can't wait until I get the tier fives, though. And then you get five, five tier five mercs. Okay, wow. Did this really just like by chance not land on the roof? That's excellent because this POI is... Although it looks great, it's uh, it's very much empty and <laughs> very much glitchy by the looks of it. Ha! Oh, geez, scared. Who is that? Ah! Oh, it's one of these zombies that run straight through you. Stupid. Get out of here. What was in there anyway? A hundred steel and uh, melee mods bundle. All right, let's go see Jen. Whoa, she just got lit up by some bandits out there. All right, here we are, Trader Jens. Hello, hello. Hey, special jobs somewhere to Trader Ugg, Southwest. I think that's in the desert. Yes, tra Trader in the desert there. You're welcome. Let me just check your jobs here. You got the tier fives. Oh, okay, Psy Labs, it's right there. It's a fetch and clear. Also got the power plant, also got the Hellmart. Ooh, these are all the good ones that I've been wanting to do for, for ages. I'm gonna start things off with Helmar. I think Scilabs, I have a, I've never been in there before, but I'm, I just have a sneaky suspicion that that would be like a very good standalone for a, for an episode. So let's go to Helmart and see what's rocking over there. Your friendly neighborhood store. Now, we've been here before. When we first met Shelby, this is where we were. Shelby was close. Look out. Excuse me. Oh, boy. So we've cleared the parking lot. The parking lot has respawned. That's fine. In fact, I don't know why I'm doing this right now. I should activate the quest. Where is the quest? Oh, there's a oh, cameraman. Get out of there. Oh, geez. All right. Starting over then. Oh, boy. Ah, get the gun! Off to a bad start here. Just don't break anything, for goodness sake. Oh, bikers. We gotta kill bikers. We like that. No, 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 no. And yes. Hey, my sight skill's not looking too bad after that big shindig with the screamer horde. Oh, boy. Stop hitting me. Still just a bunch of zombies out here. Whoop. Yeah, don't even bother trying to sneak. Sneaking's just... Not only is it not my style, it's really not that effective either. I don't know, there's no like sneaking skill with Rebirth that I've seen, is there? Okay, I'm thinking a uh, quick perimeter sweep first because I'm sure there's spawns all around here. I know that there are because I drive through here almost every day and I run these guys over. <laughs> now I get to kill them for real once and for all. At least, you know, once for the week and they'll probably respawn later on. Whoa, how'd that happen? Was there a motion sensor or something that did, did that? That was weird or, or oh no. We have evolved zombies now that can open doors. Wow, that was cool. Natural selection is producing some smart zombies that can work garage doors. Oh, there we go, it happened again. Look at that. Oh, geez. Yep, 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 look out. Oh boy, abrasion and infection. Oh, great, I've did, done it again. Here, hit the right button this time. There we go. Could get a rampage here if I paid attention long enough. Oh no, that was that was four. I probably lost the streak at this point. No, no, get back. Ah. Oh man, all those zombies, no rampage. Oh, massive fire though. Hey, 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 hey. Get away from my loot there. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, a car blew up in here is what that was. So look, I, oh, I probably can't take these. Can I not take these? I can take these. I was thinking they might be damaged. Yeah, there's three wheels right there. Yeah, I can't, yeah, I gotta repair those. Yeah, the rest are broken. Well, ah, whatever. There's our impact driver and another wheel right there. Not as good as the one I'm using though. Okay, everything in here is broken, so don't even try it. And there's another confused zombie here, Buna. Buna is about the opposite of an evolved zombie, a, a de-evolved zombie, if you will. Oh, there's our supply satchel. Oh, big yellow man. 
another skateboarder. We're working on the skateboarder still. Trying to get that uh, trade aura leveled up again. And the biker. Working on that for the armor penetration aura. Ooh. Hey, got a couple of these guys here today. You know, from what I hear, the crowbar has been buffed a lot. So we need to try to get our hands on one. Oh, look at that. The doomsday hammer. What does that look like? Oh, I can't use it, but damn, it looks good. A whole bunch of, it's like a whole base here. You got storage, you got working cement mixer, workbench, and table saw. Probably, oh, there's a forge right there. And I take it safe with me. I wouldn't mind having one for the base. There we go. Not sure why I never thought of that before. How's this for lightning looting with Lucky Looter maxed out? Just rip everything off these shelves. What was that show again? Where in the, in the 90s where they would like give someone a shopping cart and let them run through a store and just take whatever they want, but they only have like 90 seconds to do it. That's me right now, uh, except I have unlimited time. I'm just stealing everything in a hurry anyway. Oh, there's some honey there. That's a good find for the infection. I'm trying to snipe a couple of these zombies. No big deal, but the headshots do help with the tactical rifle skill. Oh, did I just one-shot a toxic, um, biker zombie? That's nice. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, while I'm at it, might as well take it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I need to go stash the vehicle. Where did I park? Getting a good smattering of things out of here. Just a little bit of everything. And that doomsday hammer. Wow, what a cool find. Oh, and just like that, radiation damage. I didn't get a Prussian blue, did I? One of those zombies that just doesn't make a sound until they're right on top of you. Oh man, these are giving me electrical parts. Not that I need them, but I've learned that they're really good for selling. Man, and the shopping carts are good for mechanical parts too, man. I might have to just go through and take everything out of this store. Hey, free basketball hoop. I'll find a place for that. Leveled up, level 62 now, man. I'm getting so much just garbage out of this place. I love it. All right, I think at this point, I've basically ripped apart everything that I'm willing to rip apart out of this place here. Yep, not much left here of any real value. Just a couple more things. I'm just gonna leave these workstations here. Don't need those. I think now we're probably heading up to the rooftop. At least that's the, uh, the indication. There it is. Yes, and there's the zombie heads up top. All right, lock and load. The strategy here will be run around and stir them all up and hopefully kill them all in one fell swoop. How many are there up here? Uh, by the feel of it, quite a lot. Also, there's tons of landmines. We could just use that to our advantage. All right, keep running, keep drumming. Get them all out of here. <laughs> uh, I got landmines going off already. Here we go, I got birds chasing me as well. Maybe just get some Red Bull here. And, oh, there we go some fireworks. Oh, I got level three in Smells Like Bacon. That means I can harvest more out of animals, I think. Okay, one more trip through the landmines with you, please. Oh, crap, I got ragdolled. Ow. Oh, crap. Dude, just dive off the edge. All right, back up here. Oh, ow, ow, yes, there's landmines back here. Fix me up, please. Oh, biker, I need to kill him myself. Also, skateboarder boy. Bird, nah. All right, just a little bit of cleanup here now, I think. Nothing serious. Just trickling in here and there. I think some of them might have fallen down to the bottom too. Yeah, okay, let's jump down there and kill the rest of these guys. Oh, that was a very far fall. Luckily, I didn't break anything or sprain anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, jeez. Bad. Ah, fix whatever that is, please. Healing factor. Nice. Okay, okay, I think, yep, we're pretty much good now. Couple more. You the last one, no? Nope, still got more upstairs here. Oh, maybe there's like a sub-level here. I'm just gonna rip through and find out. Oh yeah. Oh my god, look at the compass. It's just filled with zombies. There must have been an area in here then. Oh, there is, oh, I didn't even see that spot up there. Here we go. Oh, crap. Yep, they made it down. Oh God, get out of here. We got a screamer here somewhere too, which is, um, could be bad, could turn bad quickly. We know that. We have seen that before. And she's screaming too. Okay, um, nope. Oh, let me out, let me out. Oh, that could have been bad. I could have just walked myself right into a freaking closet there. I need to be more careful about that kind of stuff. Screamer is screaming. I think we have a kamikaze here somewhere. Just make sure he's not behind me, please. I could really do with the rampage right about now. Arlene, you crafty bitch. Okay, I am totally dying now. And 
tank and stuff. Too much tactical tanking. <laughs> yeah, put some... Oh, no, I can't take the painkillers yet. I gotta wait for the first aid kit to, to roll into me. Okay, here we go. We got another kamikaze somewhere. There he is. Kinda would prefer you... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I'm kind of thinking uh, that might be generating heat. I'm not really sure. Okay, all quiet. However, we still have to kill zombies. This might be the last guy here. Yeah, this is, um, that's it. We are done. Oh, Charisma now level nine. Okay, now, unfortunately, we are faced with the problem of, uh, well, oh, geez. Oh, God, look out. Yes, uh, let me just juice back up. We are really dehydrated and hurting bad. Yeah, the problem we're facing now is this fire, which is going to engulf the entire ceiling. That's all like um, plywood blocks there. I really did kind of want to get some of these resources up here. I'm going to try to do it. Just careful not to step on any landmines. And I don't quite know where the loot is either. Probably the loot is in the fire downstairs. By the, I was thinking it might be in here, but it does not appear to be the case. Okay, here we go. Whoa, that is not somewhere I can go anymore. Um, okay, I'm just gonna try to poke my head down here. There's a lot of zombies here now too. We've got collapsing. I don't know if these are screamer zombies. There's the loot though, right over there. It's impossible for me to get to it. I'm gonna have to kill the zombies that are downstairs. Pull my way up to that and see if that does it. Oh my god, the fire. All right, everybody, you're gonna have to come outside. And I guess we're just gonna have to wait for the fire to burn out. It's almost nightfall, too, which is... Oh, man. I might have to come back tomorrow for the loot, honestly. All right, uh, could I... Very quickly, then, could I maybe get up there and get to the main loot? Um, the way fire works is, is kind of weird, so I think... I might be able to just jump up here if there's no... Oh, no, nope, that didn't work. I'm on fire. Um, trying to just... It's right there. It's like right... Right under this. Get the fire extinguisher and... Briefly put out a fire. We're just gonna be a fireman today. Oh, there's the chest right there! Screamer screaming. Oh, this is not good. It's not good, but I think I'm elevated off the ground so she can't get me. There we go, I'm in. Grab whatever's in this. Okay, not terrible. Not great either, though. Yep. Okay, this is gonna be a mess. I'm good now. I'm good someday, maybe. There's one more loot bag there. Okay, that had a, a plasma baton. Okay, okay, it's time to go. It is time to get out of here. Not worth my life. Okay, we're going home. No, we're going back to get our reward. Scratch that. All right, Chen, what do you got for me? Ooh. Oh, look at this, van repair tool. We got the schematic for that sniper rifle. Ammo crafting bundle. Okay, gunpowder, tips, casings, weapons parts, high grade parts, medium grade parts, genetics bundle, generic DNA boosts, and a perk book. Okay, well that's one. I'll take number two, this, and then number three, the weapon parts bundle, I guess. Cool, man. Wow, the tier five job rewards are crazy good. Okay, job for tomorrow, that'll be the Psylabs. All right, let's lug all this loot home, grab up the repair kit for the striker, and come back and get this. Okay, I've got everything organized again, and I think we're ready for the big sell-off here. Look at this, I've got three full hardened chests full of sellable loot, and we're gonna drink or eat the pumpkin bread and see how much money we can make here. Man, we are about to get filthy, stinking rich. All right, continue selling. I had to put away all the extra scars that I couldn't sell there. All right, that was the last of it. Look, we're up to 94,000. Not for the helicopter. The hell 85,000, oh my God, we've got it. We're gonna grab the helicopter while we've got the pumpkin bread thing going on. And then we're gonna go grab up the repair tool. Should be ready by now. There it is. And um, I don't actually even know how to use this. I'm not sure. Let's go head over to the striker and see if we can figure it out. Look out, Steve. Oh, just crushed him. Okay, here we are. Give me some light. Get rid of the old crone that's doing her pirouette. Oh, Steve dropped me a loot bag over there. Okay, so. Um, how does this work here? Okay, I gotta look it up. Okay, I just watched the video on Ramsey's YouTube channel that goes over a tutorial on how this works. It's actually a tool itself, okay? So I put the impact driver into it, and the primary action should... Oh, yes. There we go. 
All right, drop it down. We will just pick up the Warthog. This is officially semi-retired, I guess. We'll see how this drives here. Let's go. Oh, no, I'm out of fuel. Okay, I got a little bit of fuel on my body here. See how far 300 fuel gets me. 2%. Okay, it's better than nothing. Okay, it's rolling pretty good here. Speed a little bit slower. Uh, we will see. Oh, it just plows through everything. Whoa, <laughs> this is cool. Okay, this is like a legitimate tank. Look at this. We can just clear a path right through the wasteland. Yep, I would say this is right up my alley. Good choice that was. All right, we're gonna have to get some mods onto this and get it fueled up for tomorrow. And I'll put the helicopter down when we get the good light. Ooh, this is a big boy too. Look at this. All right, that'll have to do it. Oh, I like how you just jump right out on the top. That's uh, just for safety. I mean, you would get in and out on the top anyway, or in through the back. Okay, serious progress today. We've got to do the side core tomorrow, and I don't know what else we're trying to do. We'll, we'll take the helicopter for a test drive first thing in the morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. There's just two days left before the Horde and the base is all but complete. The only thing standing between us and full completion are simple things like base lighting and upgrades to concrete and steel. The workstations are cranking day and night, but it's barely enough to keep up with demand, so we'll need to do a massive combination mining run. And there's also the SciTech mission to do nearby, and we have a new helicopter to try out. The team has been deployed, We've just been waiting on you, but now it's go time. All right, to start things off today, I think I wanted to check and see what it's gonna take to get uh, Skeleton Warriors. So we have access to the tier five Skeleton Warrior now, but um, you know, we can do the ones where we throw them out the window, these guys right here, I think. We have to have ingredients, Skeleton Warrior tier five. All right, let me just look through this and figure out, oh, look at this, Skeleton Army. <laughs> All right, I need to piece together what we need here. Okay, so as far as I can see, we have a couple of options here. We have skeleton warriors, which you set down, they follow you. I don't think there's an expiration to them as there is for the ones that you throw, like the potion ones. But um, alternatively, we have this zombie skeleton companion, and it looks like there's some kind of like difficult to get stuff that goes into this, so... I'm gonna try this and see uh, what this is all about. This says that I can, uh, it's part of the witch doctor thing and it's affected by my black magic level. And if I look into my skills here, I think I can make two of them. I can craft the tier five skeleton warrior potions, but I can't, I can only make the tier four. Okay, skeleton army is next. Oh, look, at this level, my zombies are immune to explosives. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, I'll take a couple of each, I guess. Oh no, wait a minute. I, I, what? How do I only have th four remains of fire immune zombies? I've been killing them for ages. I've got the shock immune zombies. Okay, so I guess, we're not doing the skeleton zombie just yet. We need to really focus on getting those fire immune remains. I should be able to get the tier four skeleton warrior though. Holy crap, <laughs> looking pretty sick, Snitty. Okay, there's my second one right there. Can I make a second one? <gasps> no, I cannot. You can only have one at a time. Okay, so I'll save you for Horde Night then. You just kind of live in here for now. Okay, so it's me and Snitty today. Hopefully Snitty survives until Horde Night because then I'll just dispatch him out into the, the, the wild here. That's my plan anyway. I'm going to start the Horde down here until I get my Rampage. I'll kill a few more zombies to get it kind of amped up a little bit and then I'm going to head back inside because we have got to get that 100% damage boost. There is just no way around it. Look at my hot bar. I've got like 50 some odd beers. I've just got a casual four 12 packs sitting in my backpack. Okay, so we got the mind control potions. We'll use those during Horde Night. We've got the skeleton warriors for use during Horde Night. I think I just have so many of these um, skeleton warrior vials, including that one there, which is a tier five. Oh, the generic perk books. I forgot all about those guys. So I guess it's uh, between cardio and run and gun. So how about two into each? Okay, so enough with that crafting crap there. I think we're good up here. I wanted to send out... Do I have any money anyway? I have a little bit of money. I should have enough money to send all four of y'all out to do some mining for me. Nitrate. 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 Sand. Okay, that's it for that. They'll be back in a few minutes. Holy crap, you're big. So, uh, we're just heading close by over there. 
So, but we got to test drive the helicopter, which is sitting in my inventory right now. So let's slap that down, hopefully up on the helipad. I was thinking the, the tail might clip here a little bit. So, okay, helipad, uh, helicopter, and uh, how are we looking here? Yeah, hmm. Bit of an issue with clipping on stuff. Okay, so we're gonna throw it down out here somewhere. There we go. Oh, nice. I've got a little bit of fuel. I would like to probably not use all of it. I've got a fuel saver mod I can throw into it. Oops, I used all my fuel. Crap, I just said I was not gonna do that. I mean, it's okay. I've got plenty of fuel up here. Not really plenty, but I'm working on some more. We're gonna need to go mining tonight in the desert to get some more oil shale again. Hopefully we'll have enough fuel and we'll be able to use, uh, what was it, the, one of the cooking recipes that we have. Okay, so, uh, interestingly guys, this is the Fun Pimps helicopter. This is in the game files. You can see it says, uh, Navisgain Special Forces, but it's never been implemented into the game. Although, I'm gonna pull up a couple screenshots here for you about, uh, for Alpha 21, there's a renovation to Bob's compound. So there's the concept art that was released months ago, and then there's the actual screenshots, and it has a helipad. And so there's a very good chance, I think, that we get this in Alpha 21. All right, let's uh, give it a test drive here. So the controls are kind of different. Yeah, so here we go. It's the same controls, basically, that we had um, in War of the Walkers for the Hind helicopter. I, I was calling it the Hind helicopter, but yeah, it's the Hind. Uh, you have to forgive me, I'm not an expert on Russian technology. Okay, yeah, it's got some serious maneuverability and speed. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to use the striker after this. Okay, well, here we are. Oh, it's got a helipad here, too. Uh, looks a little bit obstructed, though. All right, here we go. SciTech. Try and bring it down nice and easy right here and swing it around a little bit. All right, there we go. Just you and me today, Snitty, so stay close. All right, I'm taking all the lights I can. We need to do lighting a little bit later on, so just want to have a little bit of a stockpile so we have some selection. And we can hit the quest. It's fetching clear. So, ooh, watch the landmines, especially you, Snitty. Look at you. You're probably just going to get me killed after all. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm bleeding already. Yep, landmine's going off a little bit. All right, you're doing a good job tanking for me. Ow, man, I'm not doing well today. Okay, who who's the fire immune zombie? I need fire immune zombie remains, of all things. Oh, geez, Snitty, you can't just walk. Oh, wow, one shot kill on that one. Wow, man, this thing's got some power now. Okay, I can tell. Having Snitty with me is kind of just as bad as having Dank or any of the others with me. They're just gonna run around and do their own thing. Oh, we got a survivor out here. Is that Natalie? Natalie's out here in this area somewhere. Here we go. Who is this? Ow, 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 ow. Whoa! I went too far! Oh boy. Yep, now I'm stuck over here. Um, yep. Oh no, I just dropped my backpack by accident. Crap. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. Get back! Yeah, I was trying to do the uh, the whistle thing. There we go. Oh, we got a cyborg out there. Oh yeah, that's definitely Natalie. Natalie Kramer's out here helping out. That's nice, covering the uh, the the rear end of the POI for us. Great, I've sprained something. That's nice. What are you doing? Yeah, hostile insight. The uh, the cyborg guy has made his way over. Natalie's going to try to take him one-on-one. -on -one. We'll see who comes out on top. This is Mudman out here. Here, go get him, Snitty. Oh! <laughs> onto the landmine. Ow! Ooh, who's that? Die! Damn, that was close. I'm in rough shape, again, as usual. You'd think one of these days I would learn my lesson and bring some splints and steroids with me. I'm too greedy about my backpack slots. <laughs> I gotta have all the room I can for loot. Okay, so there's your fire immune zombie right there with no fire immune zombie remains. Maybe that's why I'm having trouble, because they're kind of difficult to find. Yeah, in fact, I'm not getting any remains off of these POI zombies, really. Some steel boots, but just rotten flesh. Whoa, look out. 
nothing. I got electrocuted, but I'm gonna bet. Yeah, no, no shock immune remains on her at least. Who's in here? Get out of here. Fire immune zombie there. No remains. Hmm. What am I? Where, where do I get the remains from then? I don't really remember where I've gotten them in the past. I thought they were just on like these random zombies. We definitely need the explosive immune remains because uh, we need that to make the concrete, the new good concrete. Okay, another fire immune zombie. Nothing on him, okay. Explosive immune zombie. There's some explosive re immune remains. It must be just like a low drop rate, I guess. Oh, geez. What is going on? <laughs> Yellow man got the knockdown on Snitty, and then Snitty pulled some kind of maneuver to knock down Yellow man. Oh, I'm shocked, and I'm on fire. Oh, boy. Ow. Get away from me. Oh god. Do something to me. Holy crap, that was close. Oh, and now my leg is broken. Oh jeez. Oh, it's always something, isn't it? Okay, I, I need tree branches and rope to make a splint. That's not happening in here right now, at least. There's my satchel. And how about a Red Bull just to give me some more run speed? Aha, can I jump up this way? Ah, yes, here we go. Ooh, lots of hazmat guys. I'm surprised I'm not infected with all these guys, or maybe I am. No, I'm not infected. I was infected this morning when I woke up. Hidden stash back there, nice. Aha, uh -huh. whoa, main loot. Just like that. Oh, hello. <laughs> Spawn right in front of me, why don't you? That's nice. Okay, seemingly not as exciting as I was expecting it to be. Oh, great, more natural selection evolution. A whole bunch more here, I think. Um, Steady, help me over over here, please. Things are getting a little crazy. Ah, rampage. Ha <laughs> ha nice. If only this could happen on Horde Night. And still not good. I can hear zombies, though. Oh, they're still just kind of lurking around all over the place here, aren't they? Yeah, there's one. Oh, there's our last zombie right there. <laughs> it's wedged behind the air conditioner. All right, we're getting into the main loot down here now. Not much for a main loot. Weapons bag here with another... That's the shocker again. A couple of these cardboard boxes. Splint? Nope. There we go, in. Okay. Oh, blade trap bundle. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, yes, so just we need is more blade traps. Treasure map and uh, otherwise basically junk. All right, gotta clear some of this stuff out here. Pretty sure a screamer just walked into a landmine. All right, I've got all the loot. Let's get out of here and go get our reward from Jen then. This place is not as exciting as I thought it was gonna be, which is fine. Uh, I Sometimes you set your expectations a little bit too high for these compo pack POIs. It was nice, well done, I like the layout here, but a tier five? No, 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 this should be like a tier three. Oh look, is this a wandering horde that's just wandering on by and I'm completely encumbered? That's probably not a good thing. Yep, yep, there's a lot of zombies over there and uh, they're all going for Natalie. Oh, hang on a second, Natalie, I'll help you out. Holy, look at the storage on this thing. Whoa, wow. Okay, I still can't move very fast. Here, give me some Red Bull here. Snitty, go get him. Yep, still gotta kill these uh, skateboarder zombies. Decapitation. You good, Natalie? You know what we need to do? We need to get our next mission. I was kind of thinking about it when we were looting up there. We gotta go to the desert. We haven't really spent much time in the desert and that's where the fire immune zombies are. I mean, y y you find them here and there out here somewhere, but uh, I think the highest density of them is gonna be in the desert. All right, let's go get a reward. <laughs> it's funny, the, the rotor doesn't spin in multiplayer, so <laughs> all of these camera shots are just garbage. I will take... Oh, muscle turbo repair tool. She's really trying to pedal this sniper rifle schematic. Okay, we got the the uh, ammo crafting bundle again, weapons parts bundle again, genetics bundle again. Yep, I'll just take the same three as we had the last time, I guess, and a new job. Okay, what was that one that was in the desert that I recognized? Yes, Jaden Enterprises I've got a bit of a to, problem. in the desert. I, re I recognize the name of that POI, okay. so I'll Be take careful. that for tomorrow or the next day. We gotta go to the desert tonight for mining, but I, I don't think I particularly want to clear out a skyscraper in the middle of the night, especially with the broken leg. Oh, here we go. Well, at least now we get our first test at landing this. Look how fast this is. Maybe that's why the fun pimps didn't put it in yet, because it's just, they gotta like, they gotta do some tinkering. I mean, I don't really know why they wouldn't put it in. If they just, um, change the handling to be a little bit less sensitive. I mean, look at this, look how, <laughs> that is not normal. Okay, um, I'm thinking tail rotor this way because 
we've got the kind of the, the support pillars on the other side. So how about this right here? This looks like it's going to work. There we go. Oh, goodbye, Snitty. Okay, interestingly, I got my first auger out of loot um, today, which is actually slightly better by 0.6 block damage. So honestly, I'm not even gonna bother switching it because I'd have to switch off the five mods. Nah, I'm good. All right, let's get organized and we'll go out for a mining expedition. And, and um, oh, it looks like everybody's back downstairs too. So we can check on the mining resources. All right, what'd you get there? He got 2,800. I think their skill increases with mining over time. And so they're gonna get a little bit more and more every time you send them out. Yep, 2,900 there and a whole bunch of like just accessory resources. And you, I sent for sand. Razzle, 2,400 sand, I'm disappointed in you. Okay, treasure map here, sending me, ooh, way up there. Okay, well, that's kind of out of the way, but with a helicopter, pretty much everything is on the way, I guess you could say. And the bundles, okay, blade trap bundle, of course, weapons parts bundle, ammo crafting bundle, and genetics bundle gives me another genetic, Genetics perk book, I'll take cardio. Read that. We've got the generic DNA boosters. I'll take charisma. Inject, inject. Oh, we're almost maxed out. And I'm suddenly getting quite limited on the 762. So for the first time, let's fire this up. Oh wow, it's moving. I didn't realize that was gonna happen. Holy, whoa, <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, it just shakes and um, it's pressing and oh geez. Okay, what can we do here? We need just regular 760 right now, mostly. Uh, let's just get like a thousand of that, because I just like to roll with that for the day to day. So I could make almost 3,000 of it, or I could go with half that amount in the AP. Yeah, I think just regular 762 for just out and about stuff. And then I'm gonna start with the, the high power for a horde night. In fact, I'm gonna get another like 250 of that. I've already made about 250 or 300 upstairs out of like the pre-made materials. And then the rest just roll into AP. That means we're short on lead. Lead and we're gonna be short on everything else here real soon. So y'all need to get to work. No, wait, I need to get to work. I need to go mining. Okay, let me go get the uh, stuff ready and I'll bring a crew with me and I'll meet you over in the desert somewhere to do a big mining montage. All right, here we are. Look out, got a bandit. Not anymore. Little loot bag here. Okay, so what we need to do is take the goldenrod tea. I'll take some Red Bull just for the fun of it. And we need to slug down this pumpkin pie because this is gonna give us, let's see, five, six, seven minutes, it seems, of 20% um, more material with, you know, wood or stone that you harvest with tools. So I don't know if that counts necessarily with the auger. I'm just assuming that it does. We could do a, a little experiment someday, but for now, I'm in a hurry. We've got to get as much as we can in terms of all materials. We are on the clock here. Okay, so far we've made out pretty good on iron and oil shale and probably stone as well. I think there's some lead down here too. I might try to get a handful of that before we leave. Then we need to get coal and nitrate. All right, that'll do it for this place. I've got enough of this stuff. We need to go find lead now and we need to find nitrate. Let's head over to the bullet mine and take our chances there. All right, we're in. There's zombies everywhere. That's fine, clear them out. Ah, all right, unfortunately, we're only sitting on like 30 seconds left in the pumpkin pie, but that's fine. We'll just continue on and continue mining. This one so far has lots of coal and nitrate. I haven't found the lead. I thought there was lead down here. I found iron down here. There we go, I finally did it. I made it into a pit mine. Look out, everybody. This is hurting me really bad. It's kind of a bummer, actually, because just basically filled up my mind with soil. All right, I think I'm good here, though, because pretty much all I'm finding right now is coal. Coal and iron, and we're pretty good on that stuff. And so it is off to the nitrate mine. All right, here we go. Plenty of nitrate in here. Let's get digging. Nope, oh, that is it. The auger is kaput, so we are done. Let's get out of here. I'll meet you back home. That is the old home, because I want to check on the garden. It should be all grown up, if I did the math right, which I've not been doing right, historically, so <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if nothing's grown up here. In fact, oh no, oh, the generator's out of friggin' gas, so it didn't, it hasn't been growing at night. Whoops. Uh, no, wait, the generator does have gas. Okay, what's, what happened here? What's going wrong? Uh, I don't know, um, the relay? is good did something get disconnected i don't really know i um oh, i have a sprained leg 
Yeah, I, I don't really know what happened over here. Things were going fine, and now things are not fine. I gotta go home and get a friggin' wire tool and figure out why these aren't lit up. Alright, I'm back, and I got the wire tool, so what is going on here? Is just, is nothing hooked up anymore? I don't see any wires coming to these things. No, it's hooked up. Okay, so now it's actually, the timer relay is off. Oh, and now everything is back on. It was like 3 a.m. when I was checking it before, and it was saying light not required. Well, I'm just losing my mind here. This freaking garden is like the death of me. If only this place was at the base and I could check on it more regularly. Okay, these tanks are empty. That might be an issue. Oh, that's nice. Just uh, pour the water on my face. Oh, and that destroyed the crops that were sitting in there. Okay, these other ones, these are at 150, 160. The one was empty. I don't know, maybe it's pulling a little bit weirdly. Are these all, these are all still full. These are all finally growing with 30 minutes left in the cycle. Okay, so everything up here, well, some of the stuff is fully grown. I'm gonna just wait. I want everything here to be on the same timer so I don't have to like have half of it grown, half of it's not grown. Okay, a couple things do need to be filled in if possible with some seeds though. And I will wait to do that after the harvest. All right, let's go back to the base and do some building. Oh geez, this thing's just dangerously fast. Nice and carefully here and just pop it down. Did you break the helipad sign? Oh no, <laughs> crap. All right, you need to stay in the inventory for a minute so I can fix that. I mean, these things do have like five hit points, so it's not surprising to me. Okay, so probably just need to take a minute now to get everything rolling into the furnaces and such. Make sure we have plenty of resources for building. Okay, I just had a big mishap <laughs> with the striker. I was trying to back it out and um, I could hear the grinding and you know how it's just so good at, at driving through trees and stuff? Well, apparently it's good at driving through workstations too. So yeah, that thing needs to be parked outside forever and not in here, lest we lose the ammo workstation or something. By the way, is that still working? No, I uh, didn't put enough fuel into it. Okay, that was a close call. We would have lost all the materials we put into that for bullet crafting. And yeah, let's just see if I can get this fixed up again. There we go. Oh, it, I did actually break something. I heard something break. It was the motion sensor. I totally just knocked that off the wall somehow. Now I'll have to craft one. It's just another one of those bandit raids. Oh, here we go. Here he is. It is Rakas. Oh, jeez, Rakas, you got a twin brother on the other side. And yeah, no chance. Especially since half of you all are... Oh, look, <laughs> they're doing <laughs> ring around the rosy out there. What the hell are you guys doing? It's not that. Okay, motion sensor back in then. And should be able to connect that back up and we should be good now. Yep, everything's working again. Okay, so with that, I need to do a little bit of just busy work around here. I need to replace a couple of blocks that have been broken. I need to fill in all the potholes with topsoil. Have we got another horde here? Oh, great. All right, that's looking a lot better. So it would be a little bit of a painstaking process, I think, to carve out more of these blocks, especially the ones like all over here. I would really like to upgrade them to, or, or replace them with the explosion resistant concrete, but um, you know, we also have to manage our time a little bit. So I think I'll upgrade them to concrete. I have a whole bunch of it crafting because sure I ran out. Loaded. And then the ones that get broken next time around, I'll replace with the explosive resistant type. Hopefully my plan of initiating a rampage and then killing more zombies before they fall down there and go into rage mode, will work out. Plus, we'll also have the tuna fish gravy toast, which gives us plus 50% damage with ranged weapons. Uh, I think I just want to do the same system with the blade traps as we did before, for what it's worth, which is not much. But we've got the blade traps, so, you know, might as well use them. All right, so here we go with the blade traps, all six of them, and get them all wired up. They're not going to last very long, but, you know, for what it's worth, they'll be there. Unfortunately, these last two have to be daisy chained. That's... There's no way around it. I can't reach the wire over. Lots of upgrades to do out here. We'll just do the upgrades like later on tonight. Couple of renovations that I thought of doing in here. So we need to put lights in here. Did I get the lights with me? I do have some lights. I need basically all the lights. I need the red lights. I need the fluorescent lights. I need the spotlights. Because my plan was, let's see if we can just put down a couple of spotlights like right here and i'm thinking that if i point these straight down it'll illuminate like this whole half of the base all right um 
I think my wire mod is being weird because I should be able to see the wires that are going to this, but I cannot. Kinda can't wait for that to be the vanilla feature in Alpha 21. They're, they're removing the wires unless you have the wire tool because I should be able to see that. Okay, so just point these down in some configuration here. That should be fine. And might have to do the same thing. Let's just turn our light off and see what this looks like down here. Looks good down here, very well illuminated. These lights should be good for outside. And I was thinking we might need another one. It might, yeah, it's going through two security gates at this point, so it's not looking too hot down here. We need one more maybe, and we'll have to center it up. So give me the screamer signal. Maybe I can pop that on top of the gun safe over here. Oh crap, no, it's gonna hover there. I hate hovering blocks. Okay. Are you gonna fall if I do that? Okay, good, no, it does have horizontal support. Right, so just do that, and um, we'll solidify this. We'll just have a couple of shelves here. I'll find something else someday to put on the other side there. There we go, so that I can put the spotlight here, and I don't really care at this point, just daisy chain it off of something, and point it uh, like straight down or, or right there. We'll see what that looks like. That looks, I think that'll be good. What's that look like down here? That's looking bright. Very good, I like it. It kind of leaves us with what to do in here because um, the light is not like uniformly casting in here. So I did make some industrial lights and I thought maybe we could put these in kind of like this. Is that gonna work? Like one, two, and three. Looking a little bit better here, I think. We need some light over here. Can I get another light on this side? Do I need, ah, crap, no, it's gotta be centered. How about up there? It might be too far away up there. These are seven watts? Holy cow, we're gonna run out of power. <laughs> Speaking of that, how are we looking now? Uh, we're, we're pretty good, I think we're good. Let's just turn everything on and see what that puts us at. Every switch is gonna go on. Yes, we, uh, we lost power on something when I did that. We la- oh yes, yeah, we're, we're way, way high on the power right now. <sighs> Okay, that shelf will be just be for another generator then. We got a repairable one, so we can just repair that. In a couple minutes, we'll have that all sorted out. I'll just put one generator into like one of these relays that has all the lights on it or something, and we should be fine. Is this another bandit raid? Oh, we can see how the blade traps do, I guess. Okay, boss is down. I'll let the blade traps do the work on the rest. Oh, are they? Are they coming up to the side? Oh my, you guys are not supposed to be able to, oh, I've turned all the switches on. That's why they were able to do that. Nope, nope, nope. You guys get to fall down now. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, they should be coming around the front imminently. Okay, do we need more light up here or are we good? I think we're not doing too bad up here. I was thinking though, let's get some lights up here for the helipad. I've got three more of these industrial lights. I can just pop right in here, just like that. See, I can see the wires coming off of these. If I switch off and go back, yeah, huh. I don't know why I can see them sometimes and sometimes I can't. Okay, this is what we've been waiting for here, the concrete mix. We've been waiting on that stuff all night long. So I just wanted to do this up so I don't have to ever worry about this breaking again. I know it's, oh, it's not even a waste of resources. It's literally requiring one concrete to upgrade these plates. That's a bonus. There we go. Oh, right, and then I had an idea here because what we have to do here is we have to get these stairs spiral pillars and I need to make these little ends for the staircases just like that just because I don't know it adds a little bit of something a little bit of detail I guess and I was thinking I could probably do the same thing on the top here and then I was kind of hoping I could do something like this where I could I want because I want to carve these out honestly on the top and the bottom more importantly down there on the bottom it has to be uniform so Let's carve these out. We'll do something different here. Go ahead and upgrade this sign before I forget. Right, so can I now... Oh, no, no. Oh, wait. Can I do this? I, I could... Wait. <laughs> I'm confusing myself now. Right, what I wanted to do was this. I can't do it on the bottom. I can do that. And then I can do the same thing on the side here. And that'll look cool, you know, because when it's painted, it'll just have like an extra color to kind of contrast that side. There we go. Right, okay. Uh, how about a block there too? Wait, no, does that look weird? It 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 looks weird without it because that, that rail is not connected to anything. Yeah, there we go. 
It looks a little bit better. So yeah, that actually gave me some block spaces back where I could put uh, lights up here, perhaps. I think I'm just gonna keep rolling with those um, industrial lights. New generator in. Jeez, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and figure it out. Here, just put the, put the blade traps on that, I think. And uh, everything else should be good. All right, exterior lights going in. Not for any reason other than just plain old aesthetics. And I think all we're left with now is setting up this system here. It starts with ripping this out because we'll just have this being like side supported now. Not that it's not supported to begin with, but I think that'll look pretty nice. And that gives me some real estate down here to work with. We also have real estate up here on the sides to work with. Uh, it's just, um, hmm. It's gotta be something I'm gonna see during Horde Night. Okay, so trigger plate would need to go, I think right there is fine. I'll probably be stepping on it by accident, but um, I think if I set it to like a five minute timer, it would be two in-game hours. And so every two hours, so at like midnight and 2 a.m., I would get the reminder to do repairs. At least that's what I'm gonna roll with. This just an experiment. I mean, hopefully I'll remember, but um, you know, I just wanna try something out new here. Okay, so we're just gonna have four red lights in here. We'll call this the red light district. Super original, right? And, um, okay, so we don't want that to just go off all the time when we're not using it. So I'll take it off the blade trap line so that when I've got the blade traps running on Horde Knight and I step on this, oh, hang on. That needs to be a five minute duration. I wish I could do increments of one minute up to five because then i would i would select probably three minutes but um five will do i think so we hit that the red lights will turn on and then after five minutes the red lights will turn off and hopefully i'll recognize sure that and i'll low. say oh okay time to check on repairs which by the way i had logan do repairs so everything should be all done up in here in fact i sent everyone out mining so let's check on all that uh did you have a report for me no i don't think she had a report because perhaps um, oh no, report on missing resources. Uh, oh, okay, so she was just missing some concrete mix because, you know, we ran out of it. So I'll have to send her out again uh, tonight or tomorrow to complete the task. We had some nitrate from him, some lead from him, and some more lead from him. Does that mean I can get some more bullets? Oh, look at that. Yes, it does. Short on lead. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep sending our, our allies out there to continue mining lead. I haven't even really found a lead mine yet. All right, we're looking pretty good in here. I haven't even had the helmet light on all day today because I want it to look nice without the helmet light. Whoops, what happened? Did we run out of fuel? Yep, we did. Refuel, there we go. It'd be nice if you could get powered versions of these workstations. Maybe there's two versions, one that requires, you know, the propane tank and one that just requires like el electrical connection. I think that's how it is done in Undead Legacy. There was a whole bunch more lead there. Let's see what we can do. Extra 700, now being held back by the coal. All right, who wants to go coal mining? Got nothing else to spend my money on these days. Coal and you for scrap lead. Whoops, I'm broke. And I, I really don't have a whole lot to sell off. Oh, I could sell all these. There we go. There's an extra 10 grand or so. And more lead. Good. Oh, yes. One more thing I wanted to do is come out here. Whoops. What was that all about? Oh, I haven't set the timer again. Whoops. Okay, maybe I can jump back in there and do that. All right, I'm just going to rip this off because it's it's got to have enough stability coming off of this here, I think. It should. Maybe I should get the glasses to double check. Um, in fact, it's not even gonna show me until I knock it out. Okay, we're just gonna be very cautious about this. And if it does all collapse, I'll just replace it with um, explosive resistant concrete. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's disconnected. We're good. Just collapse out the rest here. Yep, totally worked. And just replace this crater with topsoil and it's like it was never even there. I was wanting to see, can I make sham chowder, hobo stew, or is that sous chef specific because if i look here i don't have any options for those food items and if i look here i don't either and also i don't have um you know like meat stew vegetable stew things like that okay is there like okay some other kind of food workstation that i just haven't found yet oh oh no those are made in the gas stove top okay that's what it is so yeah right here 
There we go. Spaghetti, steak and potatoes, gumbo, and then everything else is kind of locked right now. I haven't found the recipes. I found the tuna fish gravy toast recipe at least a dozen times, but I haven't found sham chowder, meat stew, or hobo stew. Look at this. Steak and potato does jump strength and immune to fall damage. Basically, this like food is like the new candy now. The covert cats is the spaghetti. <laughs> you can walk over landmines. Walking over trash doesn't make a sound. Gumbo stew is the immune to fire one. We've been doing that before vegetable stew berry find your buried loot faster and buried loot quantity is increased i'm not sure if that includes treasure or just the buried supply mission hobo stew is immune to radiation meat stew is oh increases your ranged weapons magazine size and reload speed wow we need to get some of that and sham chowder is immune to shock oh man we need meat stew yeah between the meat stew and the tuna fish gravy toast man we would just be rocking it on horde night all right i think the last thing to work on today is just final upgrades okay so for the next couple of hours here i'm gonna focus on some upgrades to the fighting positions get these all done up to steel if we can i don't know how much steel we have I think probably Logan used a lot of it when we were, uh, when I asked her to do all the repairs because there was a lot of stuff to be repaired. So uh, we'll see how far we can make it then. Oh, right, I gotta put the hatches in. No, damn it, I fell down again. Right, where were the hatches that I made? Were they in one of these? Oh, there's some more steel. That's helpful. There's my hatches. Okay. <laughs> Which way does it go again? I used to have a way of remembering this. Uh,. It's the small square, right? The small, it opens toward the small square. Is that what it is? Or it opens away from it? Okay, I've got one shot at this. Otherwise, I gotta make a whole nother one. Is it this way? Yes, I did it. Okay, oh, the shotgun turrets are working. That's good to hear. I hadn't really been paying any attention to that. And vault hatches for the top. Just like so. I always like fighting positions where I can jump outside. Like, you could just seal this all off completely, but you'd have low visibility and you wouldn't be able to jump out there to do spot repairs, you know? Because, like, on Horde Night, you know, what if we lose that uh, door there? Excuse me. Can I get up here? There we go. Oh, a Seeker's here. Crap. Oh, get outside. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Uh, but, yeah, you could just replace a couple of steel blocks there or concrete or whatever. Uh, where is he? He should be on my map, right? Oh, there he is. Holy crap, Kev James. You got nothing, buddy. Almost down, almost down, got him. A little bit of loot here, just money, basically. Uh, yeah, so we're good down here. Okay, we just need to do upgrades. Upgrades to concrete down here. Actually, man, those should be steel. Those should be explosive resistant concrete. So for now, I'll make it concrete. And when inevitably they all get destroyed on Horde Night, I'll replace it with the explosion resistant concrete. Yeah, speaking of, just like this, uh, replace that. I mean, we've proven that the base can stand anyway without even having these support columns, so it's not like they are critical. I mean, but if we lose these and we lose these, I think then the base would start collapsing a little bit. Yeah, I think this is the last few random bits and pieces for the front. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I don't think anything else like up there necessarily needs to be upgraded. I think this fighting position over here, yeah, we gotta do some work over here. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Not sure if I'm gonna have enough steel to do this side over here. On second thought, it did pretty well. That's fully upgraded. Just get the hatch upgraded and we are good over here. Ah, uh, wait a minute, those are super important blocks right there. Yep, fix those up. Ooh, same thing over here, we never actually Made these into steel? Wow, close calls. They are pretty damaged too. Oh, that is it for the mix. We are done. Okay, so what we gotta do now is uh, we gotta get out of here because I've hired a painter and there's gonna be like, you know, paint fumes while the paint is drying. Today is horde day. So we're gonna spend the day out in the desert looking for fire immune zombie remains. And maybe we could even do this tier five quest. That's in the desert. I think the desert kinda loops around like this over here and uh, we'll maybe do the opening trade routes there's nothing left to do really around here anyway the base is ready to go and the ammo is rolling in so we should be fine so let me get the inventory organized and get a crew together and i will meet you guys first thing in the morning down in the desert but anyway my friends and fellow survivors i think we can call it a night
Welcome back to the Rebirth. While the professional painter is working back at the base, we'll be tackling this massive tier 5 POI out in the desert. We need fire immune zombie remains to conjure up a skeleton zombie companion, so we'll keep an eye out for those along the way. But tonight is Horde Night, and if all goes to plan, we'll be back before nightfall, and all of our hard work on the base this last week will pay off. Hopefully. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time! Alright, there's a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it in. And right off the bat here, there's a cyborg that's after me. Cyborg Bojo. Let's just try to take him out. Oh, try to save some ammo. That is, uh, Goldenrod T. I did not want that. Okay, just die. And, uh, where- did you get Bojo already? Oh, what a badass snitty. Okay, just a bunch of junk in there. I- I don't actually want any of that, but I'll take it anyway. Here we go, fire immune zombies with the fire immune zombie remains off the bat. Yes, two, nice, okay. I don't know if we're gonna get uh, more of them inside or what, but I'm hoping. I don't know if it's like a you have to be outside type of thing or what. Oh, what is this? Uh, question mark, vanilla entity loading mask. It's supposed to be on my fire extinguisher, but I updated the mod, so that might have uh, might have changed. I'm not sure what's going on there. All right, here we go. We have just about 12 hours or so. Ooh, is that a demon? Who's that? Jerry Garner. Oh my god, look at the muscles on this guy. I can't really see the sun glare is a little bit crazy. All right, Snitty, get him. Ow, who's that? Okay, no fire immune zombie remains in him. Oh my god, Snitty is just taking care of business here. Here, I need to get the kill though, if, if that's possible. Here we go. Ooh, nice loot bag, good. I heard, oh my god, look at the zombies over there. Somebody's got a uh, shotgun over here. Are you, yep, bandit. Get out of here. Okay, that was actually a fire immune zombie. I need to see if that zombie had the remains on him. Indeed, whoop, that was worth it. Hey, now, get out of here. Okay, lots of zombies, lots and lots of zombies. Let's maybe, Oh yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say let's try to stir them up a little bit. Oh my god, there's so many over here. Okay, I want to just cluster them all up, and we'll uh, we'll do some work with the grenades here. Everybody, want to wake up, please? Let's check this corner over here. Stiddy, could you please be with me because you're not only on fire, but you are uh, also half health right now. Okay, in a second here, I think I read in the patch notes that you can now use painkillers for uh, yes for um, for allies. That's good. Except he's in rough shape here. I need to give him a first aid kit too. There you go, buddy. Are you explosive immune yet? Or was that, that was some kind of a buff that I was, oh my God, look how many there are. Snitty's gonna die. Yeah, it's inevitable. Goodbye, Snitty. Thank you for your service. Ah, look out for the cop. Ooh, here we go. Okay. Oh, we definitely can get a rampage going right now. This is the plan on Horde Night anyway, so this would be decent practice. We're just gonna line them up for the headshots. There we go. Piece of cake, baby. Take this. I also need first aid myself here. Hang on. Whoa, dodge that. Stand no chance. Oh, and I got the body block off of him at the end there. Love it. Okay, my kill streak is 18. My rampage is gonna probably, hopefully, last this entire trip here. Uh oh. There we go, okay, good, and dead. We've still gotta move quickly though, we have no time for looting today. Try and conserve the ammo a little bit, I have plenty more at home, but we gotta have enough for this place here today. Okay, they're already coming from inside, no rest for the weary. Okay, so I'm noticing I did update the mod and so um, the particle effects are back to their vanilla state. Um, of course, some of them, have the regular hands and then some of them don't. I'll have to um, log out here before Horde Night and fix that so that everybody has the, the hands and that's it. It helps when they're all on a, uh, what they call like an attack trigger. So as soon as you walk into the area, they just swarm you no matter what. All right, here we go again. The spawns are like, uh, you know, you have to walk right up on them and they spawn in your face. That's always fun, keeps things exciting. Here we got businessmen, lots of them too. Let's take them downstairs with these guys here and just line up in the hallway for me here. Yep, perfect. Doing great work here. Okay, compass is clear on this end. I think we're free to move on to this half of the, this is like the skyscraper half anyway. We're all clear up there though, unless there's more on the roof, in which case I should check that out. Rooftop, yeah, there's definitely people up here. 
Fire zombie? Yes, but I don't know if he's the right kind of fire zombie. Like, the ones that have the hands by default... Oh, can I take this? I don't think that they're true fire zombies. No, I can't take the flag. Damn it, I wanted that. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to, to level one, because we're at, like, level five right now. So we need to just clear this from the ground up. Are we good down here? Is there... Hello there. Nope, nope, no shooting, because I'm not sure what's made out of wood here and what's not. Okay, one way of doing this is to just continue kind of running it. Oh boy, that, oh geez, it's hurting a lot. Ah, run away. Oh, I don't know where I'm going now. I'm gonna, go. Oh, oh, this is not good. Help, help, oh geez. Yes, um, okay. While the door is blocked, we gotta heal up. Oh geez, uh, what have I done? Okay, I don't know that there's very many zombies out there and we've got the rampage, so hopefully we're good. Okay. That was close. Wow. I'm kind of glad I came down here. There's like a sub-level I didn't even know about. Good. Hello, big boy. Oh, right. This just, uh, there was a door here for that. Right, okay. Let's check this. I'll also check the lockers, because, yeah, you, you pull tier 6 stuff out of here sometimes. I was thinking for a second to run it, to run the whole POI, and then I almost died. So, probably that's just a, a sign that I should not do that. Let's just go floor by floor then. Okay, cop spit. I think this is like, these are steel walls basically, so don't have to worry about massive fires. That's always good. Okay, this level's clear. On to the next one. The red level, level three. Oh, did my rampage run out? It did. How did that happen? I had like a million kill streak. Now I gotta get another one. All right, I'm switching over to melee at least a little bit, if I can. Okay, we need healing. Oh crap, I took radiation damage. Here, I'll take the fish tacos. That'll help with the uh, melee damage. I, Yeah, 50%, I think. At times, I find it a little bit easier to initiate the rampage when you're using melee. Look out! No, none of that. Okay, still no rampage. Man, this is uh, not going well. We're only at level five. Maybe we're halfway there though. That would be nice. All right, this level six is the rampage level, right? Lots of regular soft zombies here. Okay, so in that case, line up for some headshots. No way, there we go. Okay, I broke something though. I broke an arm. Good, so we're not using melee anymore. And I still am not bringing splints with me. I'm such an idiot sometimes. I'm gonna make like 50... Oh no, my it's my leg. My leg is broken. Crap. No, my leg is sprained. My arm is broken. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, we gotta get a move on then. Don't want the, oh, the rampage gonna run out anyway. No! I... Ah, crap. Made a mistake there. I guess we're gonna try it again on this level. No, no rampage on this level, unfortunately. The good news is there's only so many debuffs left I can get. Like, I could still get a concussion and fatigued, but otherwise I pretty much have everything. <laughs> Gotta try to look at the glasses half, half full, right? Oh, hey, text message from my painter. Hey, Tem, the base is finished. What do you think? By the way, I accidentally triggered your shotgun turret and Dank got shot. Rip dank jeans, lol, K okay, thanks, bye. That's ridiculous, okay, but the base is looking pretty hot. I can't wait to actually get home and check that out. Holy crap, okay, bigger things to worry about right now. This level here is freaking stacked. I'm doing my best to get these headshots, but I'm either not good at it or, yeah, it's probably that. I'm probably just not good at it. Cop's gonna blow though. That helps. No, no, get out of here, radiation damage. Goodbye. Okay, real quick while I get a chance here. Painkiller in. Man, I do not even want to know what's going to be waiting for me at the main loot. Probably lots of cool stuff to look at here. This seems like a really cool POI. I was worried it might be one of those uh, cookie cutter POIs. Hey! Oh, I thought that was Prussian blue. My bad. Yeah, but uh, it's this is not one of those cookie cutter ones. This uh, Every floor is different and decorated and themed. And um, this level should be clear because I... Uh, just pull them all down. This is like the electronics area. <laughs> all right, down to 352 bullets. Let's hope we have enough to finish things off here. The, oh, geez, that rampage would really help. Oh my God, man. Is my armor broken and that's why I'm taking so much damage? That might be something that's worth looking into. 
I thought I just repaired it a couple of days ago. Honestly, it's probably getting toward the time to um, upgrade to heavy armor. I should start collecting some heavy armor and uh, we'll make that switch over. Like the mobility is nice with the light armor, but whenever I'm fighting anyway, I use the red T, so. No, I think we can we can get away with the switch. See, I think my uh, my red T is run out because I'm moving slow again. I mean, <laughs> I'm moving slow for more reasons than running out of red T, but. All right, level 10. Tell me this is the last level, please. Please, I just want to be done with this place. Nope, there's a level 11. And if I had to guess, they if they were like me, they would have made it an even 12 at least. All right, we could actually pull some heavy armor out of here. There's some steel legs. Oh God, almost died. Yeah, look, I almost got two-shotted by a rad big mama. And despite the fact that I've, I've I've gone through, I think I had, what, 57 or 58 first aid kits on me when I started out today. Can't use the painkillers. I just gotta wait this one out, I think. Here, take some more beer for the armor bonus. And also, while I'm at it, check the armor. The armor is all completely broken. Ugh, that's the problem. I might maybe be able to pull off a little trick here. Can I scrap armor, like military gloves? No, I was thinking I could scrap it into military fiber and then repair my stuff here. Since nothing's working, put on whatever I have for the steel armor, put on those military gloves. That should help me a little bit. I swear, I just repaired my armor very recently, maybe like four or five days ago. I'll have to pay some more attention to that. Yeah, we're good here, we've searched those. Okay, moving on. I've got three pieces of armor now. Okay, yeah, things are going better. I just got hit by a, like a rat biker and it didn't kill me, so. I think we've partially fixed the problem there. Oh, armor penetration aura, hell yeah, man. That'll help killing the bikers and stuff at least. Okay, oh geez, I'm down to like two more mags. Um, bad. Very bad news. Uh, here, at this point, get me the mercenaries. Here, they're gonna have to do a lot of the work for me because I just, I can't do anything else. Oh, geez, cops are blowing up. I'm dying. Mercs, help. Ah, look out. Oh, geez, no, 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 no. Okay, run, 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 run. I think something's broken. Just make sure I got plenty of red tea into me and I'm getting the fuck out of here now. Leaving. Okay, the mercenaries are just kind of fighting on their own. Got a slight trickle of zombies down here. Oh, that's a Merc, sorry there, but sprained leg almost healed actually, which would be great. Okay, you guys are doing great. Tell me this was the last level, please. Hey, come on guys, take him out, take him out, take him out. Oh my God, he's got a thousand hit points just for a feral cop. Okay, we can't let him blow, He'll kill all of us. And I'm down to 13 bullets. Uh, okay, level 12 is up there and that's the one we just cleared out. This is this. These are the level 12 zombies. Okay, everybody up here then, with me. Oh no, 13, 13's an unlucky number. 13's an unlucky number. Okay, well, we gotta push it right now. Oh my God, there's a 14 too? Damn. I can't, I can't do melee because um, my broken arm. Okay, all I got left basically for this are contact grenades. Here we go. Oh, that was an interesting noise. Did you hear that? Okay, mercs are doing some some work, I guess. Okay, no bullets. Melee's just bad with the broken arm. I guess I could do something with it. Ow! Okay. Is that the is that the level? Are we clear now? The mercs are gone. The mercs have left me. I'm all alone. Oh my god, I can't believe I brought like over a thousand rounds with me and it wasn't enough. If only I had brought uh, or been able to maintain the man the rampage. I think we would have been fine. Okay, cops. So sometimes that's big mama There's some fire immune remains or maybe that was explosive, but uh, yeah, okay cops have bullets on them sometimes now Ah, oh, Crap and I I seriously okay. I found the AK-74. That's gonna be 762. I I have some shotgun rounds. I have some nine mil, but I haven't found any guns. Okay, well, man, I can't turn back now. I've got to just pump some Red Bull into me and uh, get a preemptive first aid kit going and uh, just check out the next level. Okay, it's level 14 here. Try to cluster them up the best I can for contact grenades and then just hope that 
They're not like explosive immune, at least not all of them. Hey, I, I just saw a vault door. That could be it right there. And I've, I think I've woken up the zombies on the upper level. The one that's above us. That might be the rooftop, hopefully. Oh boy, here we go. Rad cops. Here, come on down here. Take those guys out. Oh boy. Yeah, just gonna string them out throughout the building, if I can. I got 50 grenades, and I'm not afraid to use every one of them. It's working. It's working good. Here, eat that. Loot bag there. Not what I need. That's good. Keep him going. Oh, the stairs actually are working good to my advantage. Take that! Oh, it's 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 happening. We're clearing out the POI. Another cop blew up. Here, kill him. Oh, look out! I'm risking the melee. It's it's not bad if they're just you know strung out like this. It's pretty good actually. Ow! Holy crap. Okay, I need to take a break because I'm shaking a little bit. You don't want shaky hands when you're trying to get headshots. It's uh, sounding really quiet upstairs. I mean, granted, I'm halfway down the building. I'm on level 9 out of 15. But yeah, okay, good. Can I please get some 7.62? Okay, military helmet, boot bag, shotgun rounds. Man, if I could find a shotgun, we'd probably be okay here. Still haven't cleared the area, though. I'm sure there's there's got to be a rooftop that's just full of zombies, maybe, that we haven't seen yet. I'm not getting any indicator that I can see on the compass, so maybe there's even a lot of zombies left. Still got 25 grenades, though. Here we go. Found some more. Oh, a whole bunch of janitors. Wow. Oh. Um, something happened and I can't run anymore. Yep, I broke a leg. Look out. Hold. No, 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 no. We can't die here. Crap, this is definitely not good. Red T. No, no, run, 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 run faster. Screamer! No! Oh my god! This is bad. This is really bad. Grab that. Okay. Move around the zombies. Oh boy. The building is full of zombies. Why can't I run? Oh shit! I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. We're done. We're done. It's over. Ah! Well, if I'm being honest, that was probably the best case scenario. Oh, look at the base. Wow, this is so cool. All right, oh man, we've got to go back and get our stuff and uh, come back and check this place out. Wow, look at this. What is up, crew? Look at the base, it looks so tight. Oh, we gotta get some decorations down here. Now, more than ever, this place is looking a little bit barren. And hey, look at this, oh, dank. Bro, man, oh, the shotgun turrets, yeah. All right, well, it's um, it's getting late. Uh, what do we need here? I'm gonna go all the way to the desert and all the way back to get my stuff. Yeah. Oh, and I got no fuel in that. Okay, this is just, this is get going from bad to worse. And also probably the faster vehicle is the Warthog. All right, vehicle box. Ooh, oh, and we've also got uh, rusty taxis. I know that's filled with fuel. So we're taking the taxi. Okay, out we go, out we go. And then we can just fly back basically because my helicopter is on the inventory. Okay, let's go. All right, there it is. I will return probably tomorrow to claim my reward at the top floor there, but for now, Oh, look, it's a screamer horde hanging out here. Why didn't you guys despawn, man? Leave me alone. Here, grab everything. Ow, okay. And red bullet up. Okay, screamer has screamed and we're getting crazy zombies in here. Yep, oh, they're right behind me. Okay, I'm just gonna run up to this right here. Just jump on the roof so I can get my helicopter onto the hot bar. Set that down, hop in, and let's go, let's go, let's go. We're on the clock now. 
<laughs> this is bad. I have like 10 things on my list of things to do before the horde to get the base ready, things I need to have in the inventory. And if I get to one of them, that would probably be a win at this rate. All right, we're not far from the base though. We should be there in just a second. Oh man, look at it from up here though. That looks so good. Okay, just bring it in nice and easy here. Good. Okay, quickly now. Okay, I need to get my old armor on and get it repaired. Get the bullets. I feel like I don't have enough bullets. Oh, that's just so bad. Okay, extra bullets there. Oh, the ammo workstation had bullets. Oh, there we go. That's a lot of bullets too. And it's out of fuel here. Start cranking on the rest. Okay, I need my witch doctor stuff. That was like the skeleton, skeleton potion, skeleton warrior. Okay, we just gotta get him down now. Hello, Brandon. Yes, more class stuff. We've got a uh, tier five skeleton warrior. We've got a bunch of tier three skeleton warriors. Okay, extra grenades just in case. Oh yeah, fire extinguishers are, I guess, not a thing for me anymore. Get rid of all of them. Extra bombs. Right, military fiber and repair my armor. Done. Okay, next thing was, we gotta make sure that we've got the nine mil and the shotgun ammo so that we can load up the turrets as much as possible. Speaking of that, we gotta get everything turned on. Okay, let's start with the right side first and we'll transfer to the left side. I think right side is better. And oh yes, make sure that, yep, that's on five minutes. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I think we're good now. Okay, uh, Brandon's opening and closing doors now. Make sure these are locked and locked, but I'm gonna leave one open so that I think maybe Brandon could get out. Maybe just leave them both open. Yeah, because I want Brandon to run out. In fact, I'm starting outside anyway. So load in the HP ammo and let me out of here if I can get out, okay? The striker is, uh, it's fine out there, really. I'll, I'll move it out just a little bit to get it out of the way. And yeah, that should be fine. Yep, I'm starting out here because I want to get a rampage. That's the only reason. All right, my friends, the day 50 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. All right, here we go. Let the battle begin. We've got wraiths. I'm just gonna get a couple of power-ups into me so that I don't die out here. Hopefully, beer, a couple of beers, maybe. And then I've got uh, I got the tuna fish gravy toast. I had to run back inside to get it, but it's right there. Ooh, ow, okay. And now it's time. We've got to get the we've got to get the rampage. Okay, so historically, if I can just get them to cluster up a little bit, I should be able to line up some headshots hopefully yep kind of like this only a little bit closer range okay here we go just pray for the headshots brandon died skeleton warrior i've sprained an arm already that's great just wonderful okay nothing yet and honestly i'm, I'm having trouble staying alive a little bit so <laughs> that might actually be the biggest issue here just keep pumping ammo down range though i'm bound to get a couple of headshots Get some. Yes! Rampage! Rampage is ready! Okay, well now we just gotta actually get some kills here to give me a timer. Okay, and um, there we go. It's, go. it's gonna work, I think. Just gotta rack up the kills. Get my timer up a little bit. And just don't die. Don't die out here. And get me the uh, AP ammo. I think that'll probably be a little bit better at this point. Okay, once I can rack up a, a, just a few more kills here, I'm heading inside. In fact, get me allies. Potion. Skeleton warriors. Nope. Mercenaries. Yes. Okay, that's my X fill right there. Oh my God, I've broken something. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Okay, I still gotta get kills now. We gotta get kills to maintain the rampage. Okay, the mercenaries are holding them off for me while I can kind of get my bearings in here a little bit. 
Okay, painkiller. I'm fatigued. I've got all kinds of problems right now, but I can't forfeit the rampage. Not at this point. I haven't seen any seekers yet. Where are all my seekers? Oh, and I'm just now realizing I forgot to change the particle effect, so we're back to the vanilla particle effects here. It's a little bit busy, but uh, at this point, <laughs> it's too late to go back. Oh my god, I've just come upstairs, and uh, my storages are on fire. Whoa, how did... Oh no, birds from outside burned all my storages, and I don't have any fire extinguisher anymore. There, grab all of that before it burns out. Have we lost workstations? No, but we've lost all the first aid, all the food. Oh man, not good. There, close that door. I'm not sure if that's what contributed to it. It could have been whoever's up here. Get out of here. Oh, there's skeleton warriors up there. Wow. Okay, let's go back downstairs. I was trying to go up to get a, a cast or a split, but yeah, we don't got any of those anymore. Yeah, okay, the cop situation um, is a lot worse right now. I haven't seen a single seeker. However, the cops are ridiculous now. Oh, and look at the hatches. Oh, I didn't put the hatches up. I was gonna say, oh, one of them got destroyed there, which is interesting. Oh, Razzle Dazzle getting messed up a little bit. You need first aid, buddy. Everybody needs first aid. Logan, get some first aid. Okay, okay, things are crazy now. Rampage still going strong. Oh my god. Okay, this is a little crazy right now. It's it's really bad. How how's the walkway looking out there? Because it's not looking good to the naked eye. Okay, let's um let's switch him over to this side. We're halfway through the horde night anyway. So close down that side. I've somehow lost a block right there. I've lost a couple of blocks down here. Watch your feet. Frazzle! No! Frazzle's down there! Crap! Oh god, Hobie! Get some first aid, buddy. And Logan, you're looking a lot better. Here you go. Have a painkiller. There you go. Okay, that's good. Um, I know that the timer hasn't gone off. I think I've, I've, that's my fault. Do some repairs if possible. Oh! Ow! Okay, I need to do Hobie. Okay, you gotta stay back, buddy. I know you want to be the hero and save Razzle, but I think it's too late, honestly. Yep, we've lost one of the hatches that's guarding that side. Razzle! Go! Oh, follow me! Bring him inside! Bring him inside! Bring him inside! Oh my god, buddy, just stay where you're standing. Stay where you're standing there. Don't stand on the, the marker. Okay, Razzle is back. Get a first aid kit into him. Have a painkiller. Have a painkiller, Hobie. Ah, I got spit on. Kobe disappeared. Oh, oh, there he is right there. Watch your feet, guys. Watch your steps. I would go up and get some blocks to fix everything, but it burned, and I don't have any more resources. That was the other chest that got destroyed. It was my vehicles. All of my vehicles that were in the vehicle box are destroyed. All of my resources and blocks are gone, and all of my first aid and food are gone. That was a really important set of boxes there. Along with all the ones on the other side, which were like weapons and ammo and... Oh my god, it's just a complete disaster. I'm gonna have to seal up the rooftop in there. I was thinking, oh, let's let in some natural light and let in the friggin' rates while we're at it. Okay, I still think we can survive. We have the, uh, the accessory fighting positions. Logan, how you doing over there? Everybody good? Yep, continue watching your step, in fact. Uh, just lock these in, just in case uh, people can see us through those. Rampage still going strong. I'm up to like 300 plus kills tonight. Still no seekers, and I'm friggin' glad because this is bad enough as it is. Okay, they are no longer really coming up here. Yep, because we everything's broken over there. So we're gonna have to turn on left side accessory fighting position, which is this side here. And uh, they should start walking over this way eventually. You have to make sure we're covering the birds. That's the uh, the trader responsibility there. Here we go. This is what you want for the AP rounds anyway. Long, narrow, straight corridor. Come on, boys. Let's let them have it here. I'm getting into low ammo territory, down to 1,200 rounds. So I'm doing controlled three to five round bursts. Okay, how's everyone doing? Oh my god, what happened? Whoa, whoa, this is bad. Hobie's gone. Hobie, crap. Crap, Hobie. Um, uh, cover. Is Hobie down there? Okay, usually Hobie 
tries to come, the allies, if they survive, they try to come back up this way. There he is, there he is, I see him. Cover, homie. Homie, gotta come a little bit closer, man. I can't, I can't reach ya. There, I got him. Follow me. Bring him out of here and plant him here and then stay where I'm standing. Stay where you're standing either way, fine. Okay, <laughs> watch your step here. We're in the last hour. As long as I, I could, technically I could probably conduct the rest of the horde on foot. No, probably not, because my leg is broken. I would just die. Don't fall. Don't fall. In fact, put that down so I can stand on it. I'm weak. I'm infected. I'm, my limbs are broken. I'm very proficient with tactical assault rifles, though. Dying, dying, dying. Oh, shit! Oh my god, is it over yet or what? What is going on up here? Chunks of the floor are missing. Hobie's still with us. Razzle's still with us. I think it's over, actually. I think that, um, we're done. Man, I don't even know what to think about this. Um... <laughs> oh, let's just, um, survey the damage on the base. Oh my god, look at the spit from the cops has just devastated the base. Look at this. You know what this is probably from? Those grenade shoots. They could see up at us and they were just com continuously firing up. I wasn't even using them anyway, so we gotta get rid of those. Okay, I... This one was like half steel, half explosive resistant concrete, but again, I think it was just the cops shooting in this direction here that destroyed that. Of course, this side over here is destroyed, so now we have to make a big decision because now there's no more seekers in the horde, I guess. Uh, we gotta make a decision of do we go with the explosive resistant concrete or do we do steel now okay the the structural supports held up way better because there were no seekers so that is good to see this side over here pristine i think a lot of this was yeah it's it was just concrete so if we can get that upgraded to steel that would help out a lot and uh this position here held up really really well too Oh my god, it's almost a question of like, do we want to just rip this whole thing down and make like six more or four more of these so we'd have six total? Oh my god, a wandering horde's rolling in now. Well, I've got the rampage, so might as well proceed with killing them. Well, it's almost for the best that we died anyway because um, we don't have any first aid. Not one bit of it. In fact, we've lost... We lost... Um, six out of our nine storage chests so we have really nothing fortunately we didn't lose anybody even though it was super close so i mean i guess i i feel like we can recover from this we're gonna get oh my god look at this the whole base has just been shattered that basically means that every block that was destroyed needs to be replaced because this was mostly cobblestone it needs to be replaced with um concrete and then this base is going to need a massive paint touch up <laughs> oh man finished painting just in time for it to get completely destroyed okay what happened over here everything appears to be working we lost probably a ton of electricity did we run out of fuel or something no, I I don't know quite what happened. Uh, we've lost something in like the chain, I think, because um, yeah, spotlights are not working, and oh, we've lost the trigger plate, so the red lights weren't working. That was a nice idea, honestly, but um, it's it's just not practical in the chaos of Horde Night. I'm just not paying enough attention, and and, and really, <laughs> it's too crazy to even do repairs. All right, what happened out here? Looks pretty good. Okay, lost some blocks here. How's the helicopter looking? Helicopter's in pretty rough shape. That took some damage there. Okay, we can bounce back from this, I promise. It's not that bad. Oh, I even forgot to eat my tuna fish gravy toast, my second one there. What is this? Quick heal? That's some kind of a glitch, probably. <laughs> Storages. Okay, that's the worst thing to happen. Workstations? Okay, lost the chemistry station. That was right here. Fortunately, we have our decoration box. <laughs> we got the parts and mods box, which is basically all useless stuff. But uh, this is good. We've got the general box, which just has like a lot of our uh, basic crafting supplies and electronics and stuff. So there's that. But man, that was a catastrophic loss of resources up here. Yeah. So, hmm. I don't even know where to begin now. I guess we got to begin by just getting the loot. So yeah, let me just find a box to put stuff away in. <laughs> We'll just use the decor box for now, and uh, let's go loot up. In fact, 
is the what was the loot quantity recipe ah uh, crap not not that i can cook anymore anyway because i've lost all the cooking ingredients that were in the food box all right so we're on our own now let's go get some loot honestly it looks like i'm getting a lot of like slugs and armor piercing rounds a lot more than usual I don't think I ever really found any of that before. Oh, finding some good weapons though. And if anything, we're gonna get a lot of money today, so we'll be able to buy back some of the things that we've lost. But yeah, I see like basically the next several days being spent mining. Okay, I think that was the last little bit of loot there. A wolf of all things is here. There we go. Yeah, so I should have gotten a good smattering of ammo. Look, the front here is just pristine without all the seekers well not pristine but uh it held up a lot better than normal the real problem was just cops and the way to fight cops is just like vanilla you just gotta enclose yourself in so they can't see you which basically means a fighting position like this here is uh no bueno and uh, all these open visit portions of visibility here this big massive opening here it's all just not good for cops. And then this is really not good for birds or wraiths, apparently. I think this side here is fine, but the one that we have here above the crafting area, this will have to be... Um, I'll have to put some bulletproof glass in here, which is unfortunate. Oh, I didn't I... Did I make some? I did. I made um, like 48 blocks because that's what we were going to need to fill in the windows. Is there a seeker here? I can hear booms going off somewhere. Hello? He's over here, I think. There he is. Oh, no, no, no. Not on the cobblestone, please. Untamed. There we go. <laughs> the one seeker tonight. And yep, he's got the good loot. I definitely think it's it's better balanced to not have the seekers, but now we've, we're, we're on the other end of the spectrum right now. We're just overwhelmed by cops. All right, let's go look at all the loot we got. Okay, I was putting it all... Okay, we do have some extra guns in there, but yeah, all the loot is in here. I'm not able to put it into storage because we don't have any storage anymore. But let's see here. Okay, we've got the steel armor we were talking about. We'll maybe have to make that switch. We've got the gusher here. We've got the Mark 14 rifle. The titanium spike mace, I do believe we've seen that before. But we've got the heavy titanium flanged mace. The Colt Anaconda. And that looks like it's it for special stuff. We've got a couple of schematics. Blueberry pie, banded armor plating mod. Right, okay, let's have a look at this here. I've got a thousand rounds of magnum ammo on me. Did I pull that much magnum ammo out of the horde? Yeah, a thousand nine mil. Got uh, a whole bunch of 762 AP. Because I only had like, you know, th uh, one or two clips left at the end there. All right. Let's just... Oh, the sound. That sounds like Goldeneye, like the, the revolver in Goldeneye. I love it. Okay, here's your flanged mace, man. That has got to be my, one of my favorite weapons in this mod. I love the look of that. Yep, we've seen this before. Mark 14, one of my favorite guns. Let's have a look at this. Really cool, although the uh, the aim down sight is going to drive me crazy. That would, that's just not how it's supposed to be. Wicked cool looking model though. And then, yeah, the, oh my goodness, you've got two different sets of nuts. I can't use them. They're the special ones. It'll all have to be for selling because uh, I, I've got to use the tactical rifles, especially on Horde Night. I did pull out a good amount of regular 7.62. Okay, so now we rebuild. I do have a whole bunch of money, so we could do some shopping if we have to. What a mess here. Oh, geez. I thought we were done with base building. Not even close. It starts with new storages, which also starts with, oh my god, I gotta get I lost my dye chest that had all the black dye in it. I have no wood. I have no iron. I have no nails. I do have nails, but uh, yeah, I don't have much else. So in that case, yeah, I guess we're not making storages. We've got a few here, so this is helpful. Just uh, start broadcasting these because there are some like regular resources in there. And uh, we'll just have to work out of these for a day or two until we get more resources. I lost the chem station and so I lost the fuel, but I did have a, a full 10,000 stack on me. Okay, we're hurting on food. Let's make that our first activity then. Let's go get the garden and um, empty that out, get all the food, and that way we don't starve to death. And I've got like, I I've got plenty of drinks, so we're not gonna dehydrate either. Oh, there's a Prussian blue hanging out here. Probably not a bad idea to have that on me. In fact, I'm gonna make a hot bar slot for splints and casts. But yeah, let's hop in the chopper here and head over to the garden. And this place basically came with a built-in helipad here, a nice flat rooftop. Okay, now time for the big harvest. 
Oh, and look, it's, um... What's different here? Next growth stage to... Oh, Ramsey changed it. Nice. So it's actually... I can actually tell what's going on here. So, growth stage two of three. Okay, so level one is just skipped, I guess. And... Right. Okay, so it's just the same thing. So there's two growth cycles then. All right, good to know. Here we go. So while I'm doing the harvesting here, I just wanted to make an announcement to you guys. So we all have probably heard that the um, Alpha 21 live streams are going on right now. So I've been making the recap videos. Hopefully you've seen those. If not, they're on the channel. You can go find them. Um, that means that Alpha 21 is supposed to come out in May. Uh, Possibly, I guess. That's what they're aiming for right now. So it, the, the the Rebirth series will be going to episode 70. And uh, tentatively, I don't have any plans for a series after that. So if we go to 70 and Alpha 21 comes out, great. If not, that's it. I'm not going to start a whole new series as we wait for Alpha 21. And that means we have two more hordes to go through. And I don't know about you guys. I'm up for the challenge. Okay, just double checking all the water. The water seems to be good up here. Let's check the water up here because so far there has been no depletion of water up here. These have been just filled with rainwater all along, I, I guess, is how that's working. Now, I need, what did I need? Three seeds, one, two, three. No, there was another one, four. Let's get four seeds. And there's a pile of crops that are just sitting in here as well. For the seeds, let's go with, um, can we do super corn? We can do one super corn. Okay, and these should be on the same timer as everything else, so that will be good. One more right there. Okay, wait, did I do the math wrong? God, I suck at math. Okay, from here, Razzle and Homie, why are you guys in such bad shape? Do you guys need me to help you heal or something? Because they're at like 50% each. Can you guys not stand inside each other? Okay. Heal you and heal you. Yeah, I think I was reading in the patch notes that uh, allies will only heal themselves if they're below 50%. So if they're at 51%, you have to start healing them. Also, I heard that, let's try this. Show me your inventory. Oh my God, you've been mining. Thank goodness. What about you, Hobie? I mean, Razzle. Yes, he's been mining too for lead. So we've got, oh, a whole bunch of coal and lead. Anyway, show me your inventory, and I'm going to stash in here a handful of first aid kits and painkillers, because I think they can use their own now. And I also think that um, they can use their own murky water as well. So here, have some of that to put themselves out from when they're on fire. Oh, right, I leveled up my tactical rifles at some point today, and so we're working on Witch Doctor level 7. That will be, I think, the one where I can finally turn rads onto my side. Okay, no, 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 we're working on level eight. Yes, wait. <laughs> my scythe can turn radiated zombies. Okay, we already had that then. And we could do the tier five skeleton warrior potions. Now we're going on to level eight and that'll be the skeleton army. So same deal for next horde. I will start outside, get the rampage, and then in order to escape the horde and get back into the base, I will deploy the mercenaries, deploy the skeleton army, we'll get back inside, we'll call it good, and then hope maybe like by the end of the horde, if I need the mercenaries again, they'll be ready for me. Okay, really the only thing we have to do today is mine. I'm gonna mine until midnight, and then we'll call it a day. In fact, let's um let's just swing by the base because now that we have food, I'll see if I if I can even go one further and craft um Oh, I was gonna say I could... Wasn't it, uh, pumpkin... Pumpkin pie? Ah, crap, I don't have any pumpkins because I made the seeds. But yeah, let's just check here anyway and see if I can craft anything that'll help us. Right, come over here and... Turn this on. Wasn't it the pumpkin pie that's for mining? Yes. And, okay, we don't have eggs, we don't have cooking fat. Oh my god. Oh man, cooking fat's kinda... or fat is kinda hard to get. We need the distilled water, which I lost like all 90 something of that that I had crafted. Yeah, we don't have the pumpkins. We're so screwed. Um, actually I saw in the patch notes too that, uh, the quest to get the chicken coop has been fixed. So, chicken coop. Okay, it just says we gotta capture a few chickens, which is fine. I, I think Ivif is still in the bathroom back at the farm base. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. And we'll have to also use cornmeal to feed them. So I'll accept the mission from Billy Bob. What exactly 
are the specifics here. Gather chickens, gather sticks, gather cornmeal. Okay. We can do the cornmeal pretty easily. We can, uh, and we'll just have to find some chickens while we're out and about at some point. That'll help with the eggs, which will help with uh, cooking. Okay, uh, Razzle and Hobie are still with me. We're going mining. Let's go. I can't really think of a better place to start than the, the mine that has a little bit of everything in it, so we'll do that. All right, here we go. Massive, massive mining trip here. That's just a bunch of screamers and bears. Actually, oh, bear, good, because I can get the fat off of them. There, there we go, we're off to a good start then. Oh, we got pizza here. He's usually got some fat on them. Nice. All right, so resources down here seem to be about 50% uh, coal, 25% nitrate, 25% iron, but then I think I dug up all the iron. There's lots of stone as well, which would be good. We'll turn the large stone into cobblestone and that'll just help us, I don't know, fill in a couple of shapes here and there, but for the most part, we're gonna be needing sand and limestone, and we'll have to turn that into cement. Yeah, we got a screamer screaming too, and at this point, yeah, it's basically mostly coal here at the bottom. Okay, let's call it here, and let's go to the iron mine and just spend the rest of our time mining iron. Gotta stop that. Oh my god, the huge horde of zombies here. Okay, need to run fast. Wow, what happened here? Oh, give me some mercenaries, please. Help. Movie. Got my rampage. Although I'm completely out of stamina, so not really helpful. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, thanks for the help, guys. Appreciate that. Oh, black dye off of the clothing. Yes, we definitely will be needing that. Okay, so we gotta search clothing again. Stock back up on dye. In fact, we're also gonna need green dye because that is what's used to make paint. Red dye, and we we'll also need some blue. There's some blue right there. Okay, good. Oh, oh, we're gonna need wood. Okay. It's best if I get the wood when I have the yucca with me though, which I don't know, even know if I have any of that. Okay, uh, back to the base then for a very quick pit stop. Just gonna get some resources rolling, going to uh, get some ammo because I don't have any ammo with me. All right, I was unable to find any yucca juice, which is fine. Let's head over to the iron mine just next door. We gotta chop all these trees down and we've gotta harvest up all the iron we can get so we can get started on steel production. Let's just start off with clear cutting the area. I don't think we need a whole lot of wood. We just need to get some uh, wooden planks going so that we can just, you know, craft things like, you know, a replacement drawbridge door or whatever else we might need. All right, that is all I need for wood. Let's jump in here and start getting some iron. Of course, there's a lot of soil down here as well from the major collapse. I'm not opposed to getting a little bit of that as well. We're gonna need it. All right, it's been a pretty productive day here. We're almost up to 60,000. I think that will do it. Let's head to the desert now. We're gonna have to do oil shale, sand, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, here we go. We got a fire immune zombie down here. Can I squish him? Yes. No, it didn't work. There, that worked. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, yes, let's get to mining. We need, so oh, there's iron down here too. I forgot about that. Yeah, we're, let's start at the top. We're gonna need to get some regular old sand. Yeah, if we don't rip it off anyway, it's just gonna collapse. So let's get as much of this as we can. It helps out with the clay as well. It's kind of funny, I can see a mutated out of the corner of my eye fighting with Hobie and Razzle. And <laughs> he just spawned a bunch of mini ones. Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at this over here. <laughs> Speaking of mutated babies. Yeah, my crew is about to die. Okay, can we just get some space, guys? And let me handle this. Holy crap, guys, come, you don't have to run up into them. Just freaking stand still and shoot. Why do you guys insist on doing that? Jeez, man. Is it, do I have you on the, the wrong setting or something? All right, yes, that's enough sand. Let's head down here now and get a whole bunch of, well, there's iron down here and oil shale, so we'll get a little bit of both. There's like a, there's like 30 zombies down here and I'm like shocked on fire and half dead. Help. Oh, I got ragdolled. Help, guys. Oh, crap. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm gonna at least survive. <laughs> oh my god, Hobi. Hobi, what did you get for running straight up into him? You are a ranged soldier. Oh, another screamer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a screamer horde here. There's a lot of zombies in it, though. Yeah, more screamer horde zombies coming. And quite honestly, I'm pretty much topped off on the inventory, so I'm gonna gather up what I can here for loot and zombie stuff, because there might be some fire... Oh my god, is there a cyborg here now? Yeah, on second thought, let's get the heck out of here. Where's the cyborg? Up here, please, guys. No, you don't need to run down there. Unless that's where he is. Is he down there? There he is. There, yeah, he's dead. All right, my friends, that is it. This has got to be, like, you know, top three most brutal episode fights of my life and man we are gonna have so much work to do we really got our work cut out for us i think our only hope is the apaxco we've got to get another tier 5 mission for the apaxco 
take it out, get the building materials, and uh, that will definitely help with the rebuilding process at the base. It's probably fully respawned by now, if I had to guess. Let me just um, pull in here a little bit. Yep, 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 we've got lots of zombies in here. We're gonna have to do it all over again, too. Oh, I'm getting shot at as well by a person with a sniper rifle, and that reminds me, we are almost at Charisma level 10, so if we do another tier 5 job or 2, maybe we can do the Apaxco, and that will level us up to level 10, and then we can get Daring Adventurer level 4, which will let us uh, hire another soldier. The reason I can't do it now, and I could before, is because I had the glasses and I sold them thinking that I wouldn't need them anymore, and so unless we find the glasses, we're gonna have to wait until the missions are done. So I'm gonna get back to the base, I'm gonna start getting things organized, I'll probably craft a couple of loot boxes and we'll pick things back up in a couple of hours, but anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. And one last thing before we go, I just have to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporter, Andy and Dahl, who did the paint job on the base today. Dahl was my very first Patreon supporter. She has been a fan of the channel for as long as I can remember, probably since I was in the low hundreds in subscribers. And I couldn't think of anyone better to do the job than her. So thank you so much, Dahl, for your unwavering support over these past couple of years. You are the best, and I love the base. Thank you so much. I was defeated, and now I have been reborn. The last horde was unexpectedly destructive, with the loss of two-thirds of our resources and large portions of the base, so today we'll start the rebuild. We're all set on resources after extensive mining last night, but we still have a lot of building to do to get this base operational, and because of my failure to defend the crafting room, we'll also need to head out for a loot run to stock back up on the essentials. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you, but now... It's go time. All right, we have quite a lot going on today. There is a lot of stuff, man. I talked to Ramsey, and basically the horde that we got last night, uh, yesterday, the night before last, day 50 anyway, uh, was a normal horde. Nothing has been done to change the horde. So basically what we think happened is that just by chance, it was just a heavily cop-weighted horde, and we didn't get any seekers, which was kind of weird. But uh, he and I have both done some testing, and nothing's wrong, it's just... Basically, we gotta prepare for everything. We could get cops, we could get wraiths, we could get seekers, we could get any damn thing during the horde. So a couple of things we gotta do to prepare for the next one is we gotta make all the storages out of stuff like this, hardened chests, stuff that's fireproof, and if not, then I'll have to do something where I like encase them in, you know, like put put blocks on all sides and put a hatch on the front to kind of guard them. But for now, we should be safe. I, I had to use, I made up the boxes last night. I had to use like half of the black dye that I actually had on my clothing. So we've got one more black dye <laughs> to our name on our helmet, but at least everything is up and stored and relatively well organized here. And I went through and we actually have a good amount of resources again, we're, we're doing okay. We're making sand, we're making cobblestone downstairs. I had made a whole bunch of cement, so there's just a whole bunch sitting in here. Well, there was. I actually, I think I turned it over here into mix, and that'll be working for the next several days. But for the most part, I wanna build all of the important parts of the base out of steel, and we'll do the best we can with the explosive resistant concrete, but my, my hopes are not very high here. I've already made a couple of hundred blocks this morning. Activity out front, what's going on out here? Oh, just a mild wandering horde. I need to work on my scythe skill anyway. Don't spray the leg, please. Thank you. Because we're about to level up in this. Is that it? I, I got like three or four hits in. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate the help. Let me just uh, get up the animal fat or, you know, fat. The zombie brains, we need that. We lost all that. Any little bits of ammo here. Red dye, that's good. Red dye and blue dye along with green dye are used to make paint, and so that's what we'll need to do the paint touch-ups. And we're looking for a little bit more black dye, perhaps. Oh, and that reminds me, probably we don't need the blueprint workstation. Maybe I'll just yank that up. Okay, I've got a plan for what to do out here. We'll get to that later. This, um, for now... Okay, just to give the zombies a pathway up here. Oh, oh, they've got this pathway up here. So, as long as that's closed, we should be somewhat safe. And uh, we'll just make it a high priority here in the next day or two to get this floor filled in so that it's at least functional. Right, we lost the ammo workstation and I built a new one last night so that should be ready by now. And we also must have lost probably the six or seven hundred rounds worth of uh, bullets that were in there. And the cell chests are full. 
I've got to pull all the dye off of this clothing, so I'm going to yank that up. I'll do that right now. We'll do a sell-off a little bit later. And that reminds me, we also have to take a look at the steel armor, the heavy armor, and make sure that we're wearing that from now on. I'm ready to make the switch to full heavy armor. My current armor rating is 84.5 with explosion resistance of 55. Also, my stamina per second, 11.6. The last stat is crit resistance, 27%. I think that's for like broken arms and stuff. We're aiming to get that a little bit higher. Okay, new set of heavy armor is on. Let's check on the stats. Armor rating up to 120 from 84. That's pretty good. Explosive resistance up to 66. That's up from 54, I think it was. Crit resist is up to 33 from, I think, 27. And the stamina per second down to 9.8. I think that was 11 point something before. Okay, well... Big improvement, either way. We'll just have to remember to, to drink the red tea if we're getting into melee combat. Okay, let's look into some new workstations. By the way, we don't need this. Put you away, and that should free up some more room for more forges, or furnaces, I should say. I can get just two of them, it looks like. So start working on that. Give me the ammo workstation and the chem station I made last night and this morning. When I was putting the mods on my armor, I noticed that we have a drum magazine mod, which Somehow I don't remember getting that, but I do remember getting the schematic to make it in the Horde Knight loot out of the loot bags. And so, well, I guess we don't really need it now because we only have the one gun that we carry these days. <laughs> it's funny whenever, you know, typically when we do Horde Knight, I've got like at least two, three, four guns and I've got the, you know, the crossbow with the explosive bolts and whatnot. And so that when we do the lock and load sequence, it's usually a little bit more dramatic. But now it's just like, let's lock and load. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, it's kind of funny, but I can't give it up now. I've been doing that literally since the very first horde I ever recorded. Okay, down on the hot bar, I'm now... Well, we're carrying repair kits with us. We're also gonna carry casts and Prussian blue and steroids with us. Got the heavy armor. Okay, so we're good. We need to get the drone. And I think the drone I read, it uses... Is it V? Because we tried the electrical repair kit and that didn't work. But do I have? I do. I have a vehicle repair kit. I think that's what it takes to fix that. I might just fly over there real fast and see if I can get it. And we'll check on the garden while we're there and we'll snag up the chicken. <laughs> Speaking of vehicle repair kits, this one is going to need one here pretty soon. Ooh, do you mind like getting some elevation there? There we go. Okay, set her right down. Whoa! Just, yep, fall right off the edge. No problem. Here we go. Robotic drone repair. There we go, it did take the vehicle repair kit. Okay, so... Enemies, prepare for conflict. That's nice, go into quiet mode please. And can I just... Wait, I gotta take it, don't I? And then I gotta modify it? Right, because I need to see if I can get a, uh, a medic mod for it. That would be good. Oh, look at all the storage chests we have over here. I didn't even... No, no. Oh, look at the die that I left over here. Okay. Anything else <laughs> sneaky hiding over here? Yeah, I forgot all about that stuff. I wish I could take this with me. Nope. <laughs> Ivy, are you in here? He's still here. Uh, I gotta use my bare hands. I see, okay. Give me my bare hands and then take. And we've got the chicken back. We need two more of those, actually. Okay, uh, what else we got going on over here? We got the generator. That is fueled and good. Mortar and pestle. We need that to make seeds occasionally. And we're good. Just check on all the water situations over here. Looks good, 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 and good. And these ones up here have never depleted as of yet. So I think we're good here. Man, the base from up here just looks so nice, man. It is so beautiful. Yeah, we're just gonna get it fixed up. It's gonna be a bit of a process, but uh, I got, you know, we got 10 days. Well, we got like eight days now before the next horde. So plenty of time to get everything fixed up. And I've got some plans on how to kind of make it a little bit more cop resistant. There's no such thing as cop proof or demo proof for that matter, but we'll do the best we can. All right, tell me I could make the drone medic mod. Yes, we do. Oh crap, we don't have any polymer. Of all things, scrap polymer. Can, can I make scrap polymer? Oh, hang on. Gotta get the chem station down. I think in some mods you can make it, but um, no, not in this one. That's okay. Polymer is easy to come by. You just have to pay attention for 10 minutes and clear out a POI and harvest stuff. And we'll slap this back in. Are we having problems here? No? No, we're good? Okay, was it? Yeah, right there. Oh, and I also got the saw table put in last night. I had an extra one just sitting in storage, so I repaired it. And I've been making some planks. Just kind of put a little bit more fuel in here. Should not be burning the frames right now, but whatever. Sometimes you just can't be bothered. Oh, right, yes. We need to start shredding everything because I all the brass was lost, luckily. 
I was saving some doorknobs and stuff and radiators so we can get some more brass rolling. This truly is the rebirth. The rebirth of the series. The rebirth of the base. The rebirth of our strategy. Speaking of strategy, we should probably get these guys to go out mining for us. I've got plenty of money, don't I? I've got like 25k on me. Oh yeah, we're so good. Can you go catch some chickens for me? That would be nice. Okay, I need nitrate probably more than anything. We got to start rolling on ammo production again. So that'll be step number one. And we'll check over here because maybe Logan has been mining too. I'm not sure. Yes, Logan was lead mining last. Let's just get them all going on the same thing at a time so that I can kind of keep track of what we're doing. So we're, we're currently mining nitrate with them. And I think today I want to do at least one or two tier fours. We're trying to level up our charisma. In fact, let's maybe talk to Briston and see if he's got any of these. Okay, he's got some, he's got a running gun. Oh, he's got five running guns. Wait a minute, how many do I need? Do I only need five? I need five? I need five parkour and three cardio. Two, three, four, five. That's two cardio and one parkour. There's a treasure hunter. I need one of those. I think otherwise I'm pretty much maxed out. Oh, um... Charismatic nature. Yeah, we will need one of those, I think, right? Yeah, we need charismatic nature and we need better barter. So charismatic nature and I'll just sit on that for a little bit. I'd say the die chest is looking a lot better. <laughs> better than it was originally anyway. All right, juice me up with these bonuses here. Okay, should be good on the furnaces now. I think these will just have to take the spot that was uh, occupied by the blueprint station before. And we should have a couple of crucibles to put into them. Fortunately, no bellows, but we can at least get things started and we'll just keep an eye out for bellows at the traders. Okay, just one last thing on the agenda today. Turn this on and make as much, not as much, but like, you know, 1,200 or so, uh, or 12,500 or so gasoline. That should get things topped back off. And um, let's see, we got the striker, we got the helicopter. I'm definitely partial to the helicopter. And the striker is not even fueled up right now. Oh, speaking of fuel, I think the generator just ran out. <laughs> just dive down here and refuel it up, turn it on. How's this one? This one's way better, because this is like the uh, the blade trap one. Okay, let's just top back off on money, because I just went on a huge spending spree. I'm not even sure. Oh, geez, I like, I don't really have any money. <laughs> okay, in that case, we gotta do a little bit of a sell-off, and then we're gonna go do a job. We'll start off with Rakas here, the Black Shield trader, and we'll transfer over to Boona. Boona's the Handy Woman trader. Then we're over to Briston for the final stretch. And with a couple of leftovers here to Legion's Lost. And then Casey Douglas here, all I got for you is a nasty white tank top. <laughs> and we're good. We're up to 43 grand now. Nice. Good. So with that, uh, we're relatively well fed. We're hydrated. I think I'll just take a little bit of bacon and eggs for the road here. Oh, did I have... Oh my god, I had a pumpkin bread the whole time. Oh crap, I could have made an extra 10% off of that. Whoops. So oh well. It's not like we really are, you know saving up for anything or anything like that. So, okay, I'll meet you over at the trader now. Look out, bandit coming in. Oh, he's got the auto shotgun, look out. Yes, don't get too close, we could get one shot in again. Yeah, let's get a quick tier four job and see if we can knock that out here before nightfall. Oh, and while I'm here looking for bellows. There's a bellows right there. Oh, look at this, a vegetable stew. We can find buried loot faster and quantity increased by 25%. Oh, so maybe we should use that when we're digging up all these treasures that are just everywhere around here. Okay, I will take a job. These are the tier fives. I'm kind of more interested in a tier four because I want to get the loot chest at the end of the tier four anyway. Okay, what is easy and close by? Downtown Strip Church. Church is not too bad. I think we could do the church. That's like right downtown. Fair enough, let's do that. Just want this uh, treasure here briefly. Not treasure, but um, airdrop. Okay. Um, melee mods bundle, what's in there? Nothing good. Stash it and let's go to the church. Okay, the downtown area is really not where you want to park a helicopter. <laughs> I'll do my best to find an opening though. Yep, right about there should be fine. Somebody with a tack assault rifle and somebody with a pistol nearby. Oh, here we go. It's bandits. Good, so I can kill him and don't have to listen to the pistol anymore. Sure, yep, take all that stuff. Any good stuff in here? All right, this is gonna have to be a midnight mass because it's really close to nightfall right now. Oh, hello. Goodbye and start the quest. Pretty much here for everything. Of course, Polymer is kind of on the top of the list right now. Right, yep, watch your step right there. Oh, by the way, nope. Oh, yeah, watch your step and then backpedal right into the freaking hole trap. Oh, geez. 
See, okay, these zombies, they drive me absolutely crazy. How they just run circles around you like that. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, there we go. Deep laceration. Heavy armor really coming in handy here. Oh, just throw a contact grenade on the ground. Like, like... <laughs> okay, slow down. Okay, pick up the grenade. I'm fine. I'm good. Uh, what was I saying? Okay, so I wanted to say I did fix, uh, number one, the fire extinguisher mod. That was my fault. I did something wrong there, so that's fixed. But we don't have any fire extinguishers, so... <laughs> I threw them all out, frustrated, thinking that they were all broken. And, um, the other thing that's fixed is the particle effects. We're, we're back to the, the, the good... Whoop, frames are broken, though, apparently. Uh, we're, we're down to the, um, regular hand effects instead of the, like, the full body effects. Hidden stash right here. A little bit of money. And the sham chowder schematic. Nice. I forgot what that one does, but we'll sort that out someday. All right, we're good here. On to the next room. Really, there's no danger here until you get to the big room. Oh, and there's also a fetch here, so we're looking for that. We're also trying to level up the sickle scythe skill. We're almost there. A couple more hits and I think we'll have it. A couple more, I mean like maybe like 50. <laughs> oh yeah, just pin myself in the freaking crypt room here. See that? See how he pushes you like that? I don't know what that's all about. Whoop! Oh, hello, big boy. So, assault rifle guy is uh, upstairs doing some good work, I think. Are these harvestable? Nah, not really. Oh, hello. Oh, you're gonna do that thing, aren't you? Where you're gonna try to run behind me? Nope. Isn't there another hidden stash here? I'm trying to remember back. Y'all probably know Genosis, formerly from Not A Gamer Gaming, now kind of on his own, doing great work as well. Big fan of his stuff. But he did a video once where he did, he showcased every hidden stash in the game. And I remember watching that, but of course I didn't memorize all, you know, <laughs> 60 or so, however many there are, in the vanilla POIs, that is. But I do remember, um, myself being called out a couple of times, because, you know, whenever you miss a hidden stash and you're a content creator and you're recording everything you're doing, you're gonna get called out on it. You get, oh, you gotta go back, you gotta get that hidden stash. It's like, ah, you know, I'm not gonna make a whole trip out of it, you know? Okay, getting late, but also getting toward the big fight, and then after the big fight, there's not much left to do after that, except cr crawl up on the roof, kill a couple birds, look for the hidden stash, right. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, zombies up and zombies down. Oh, look at you, clever bastard, running all your way over that. <laughs> this is an explosive immune uh, crawler, and that means that he can probably like ragdoll you when he hits you, that's one of his powers. <laughs> Can you imagine being ragdolled by a crawler? That would be kind of hilarious. Yeah, this is the big fight. I think I feel like I've missed some zombies that were downstairs, but... Alright. Uh, yes, get the Prussian blue into me. Or, I mean, the red tea. I'm also infected, that's great. And, uh, maybe a beer as well. Oh, we're kind of dehydrated anyway, so... Yeah, take a couple of these. There we go, so we got three minutes of extra armor. Fifteen more armor. And, yeah, let's just, like, run through here, get them all together. We're oh, there's a fire. If we're lucky, maybe get a rampage going. Hello, hello! Arlene, wake your ass up! Oh, Arlene, are you... Is this a, a new Arlene? We got two rad Arlenes. Lucky me. Whoa, we got all kinds of rads down here, actually. And the fire's getting big, isn't it? And this whole place is wood, if I recall. So, not where you want to be when there's a fire. Nice loot bag. Oh, look out! Okay, quick little bit of loot there, and I think we're heading up. Yeah, this is gonna be Screamer City here very shortly. Oh, bird? Oh boy, here we go, yes. Um, uh, I feel like I've missed zombies. We're gonna have to go back downstairs to track them down. Also, I've missed the supply satchel. Man, I'm doing a real good job today, aren't I? Okay, um, uh, yep, I've definitely missed a couple of things, but let's at least loot up. Oh, look at that, that was my timer relay schematic. I finally found it. We're in. For our efforts, we get basically nothing. But I get the chest. That's pretty important. We need like five more of those. Oh yeah. Hmm, lovely. Uh, zombies are on the compass. I just need to figure out where they are. Looks like, feels like downstairs probably. And yeah, that fire is gonna crawl right across this rooftop. Oh jeez. Can I just get back down in here? Oh, here we go. Yeah, massive 
massive collapsing is going on. Okay, we do need to get the satchel. It's downstairs and really far away from where I am right now, though. Okay, we're gonna need Red Bull, that's for sure. Let's take two. That gives us 12 minutes of good run speed. Oops, that would be fire. Go ahead and put myself out. That actually gives me some fire immunity for a few seconds at least. Yeah, oh, geez. Zombies everywhere down here. And they're screaming. Not in there, not in there, not in there. That's a dead end. Dead end and, um... Everything kind of seems like a dead end right now. Can I just... Oh, boy. Um, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of this building right now before I die. Here, open that window for me and out we go. Oh, I've got all kinds of zombies in the compass. Did I not clear the outside entirely? Might have been the problem. Okay. Jeez. I can't forfeit the area, but it's only gonna get worse the longer I'm here. And I've gotta go back into the catacombs to get my supplies. This is great. Real nice, real nice stuff here. Okay, the good news is lots of wide open spaces down here. It's, I think, anyway. Yeah, here we go. Lots of flammable objects too, though. Okay, we're going this way. Close the door. Supply satchel is right there. Still got to clear the area, but it should be a little bit more straightforward now. Okay, we're coming out of the crypt now. Pretty crowded out here. Zombie is still on the compass. And, uh, is right there. Zombie is right in here somewhere. Hello? One of you is the zombie that I need to kill. Okay. <laughs> this is the, the most indiscriminate weapon that I have. If this doesn't do it, I'm screwed, basically. Watch, the one I'm supposed to kill is probably freaking explosive immune. Is it that cop there? Nope, the cop blew up. It's one of those zombies in that cluster down there. Just kill every one of them. I'll find them eventually. Nope, it's not working. My armor's holding up really well, though. Okay, where's my zombie? Is it you? No? Oh, crap. I don't know where my zombie is that I'm supposed to kill. This is getting a little weird. It, uh, is it upstairs, maybe? Oh, jeez. Okay. Just gonna brave the fire a little bit. There's, uh, there's no walkway up there, so yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, I guess one way to do this is to just, um, continue running around until everything burns. And then it, maybe the screamers will stop, and then it'll be morning, and then we'll be safe. Is it you? Oh no, but I've got multiple zombies on my compass now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. not good, not good. Let me out, let me out. Just trying to run the catacombs right now. Oh boy, dead end. These massive portions of the cathedral are collapsing right now, I can hear it. Oh, t -peel, that was the guy right there. We're done. t -peel, feral cop, hanging out in the freaking catacombs here. Okay, now I just gotta find my way out. Nothing is guaranteed right now, because anything that was wood, such as like, you know, stairs or floors, might not be there anymore. And this should lead to, yep, the stairwell, which is completely on fire. And I'm underground, so... Oh, I think I can just make it over to here. Oh, hello. And we're on the ground level. Get a little bit of loot before we go, maybe. And, yep. Can I just launch? Nope, that didn't work. Have, have you guys carved a hole here that I can... Nope, that I can just jump right out here. There we go. Okay. Feeling much better. I can actually move. I can go out in the streets here. Get away from the fire a little bit. And it's at this point. I will take a fish taco for the melee bonus. And I'm gonna get... I'm gonna level up my sights here, if I can. Might as well try, right? <laughs> Okay, well, I broke an arm, got fatigued, uh, had a deep laceration, I think, at some point, caught on fire a few times, got a little bit electrocuted, quite infected. However, I've survived. But unfortunately, I had the steroids in the cast on me now. Yep, let's go ahead and scream. Bring it on. I'll just be here checking loot bags, waiting for your friends to arrive. Oh, I, I have leveled up sights. I, I didn't notice it until just now. I think I'm actually good. Still got the rampage going. All right, it's morning anyway. Oh, and then the nighttime zombies just died off. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, 
Would it be cool if zombies could like jump onto the helicopter? Ah, uh, that'd be fun. A uh, bunch of crap here, man. We'll take the legs, the lever action, and the... Looks like the ratchet will sell for more. Okay, I think we're good All here. Right, Let's then. just get a job for... No, I won't get any job because I, I haven't really decided if I want to do tier 5s or tier 4s. Or if I want to do the... A Paxco building material place because really all that's gonna get us is cobblestone and cement which we have a ton of that what we really need is like steel and I guess like polymer did I even get any polymer <laughs> right, we will check here in a second all right there's a look at the loot hall here really nothing notable oh I um oh I forgot the vegetable stew right right okay let's actually before we call it a day here let's do the big looting run for all the buried supply or the buried treasures. Let's see, this is the the, the vegetable stew is gonna last for like a, a long time. So I should be able to dig up at least I would say two of these. And I think I only have two on the map. No, I have three, I have four actually. We'll prioritize the wasteland ones though. And then we'll work our way to this one, probably in the snow biome, could be. And then we'll do Taylor's treasure last if we get to it. And yeah, it said you'll find it faster, which means the radius reduction is a little bit quicker. Oh, there we go. Ripped right through it. What did we get here? Oh, not bad. The Savage. Cool. All right, on to the next one then. All right, we're into chest number two. Oh, look at that. Desert Eagle Peacemaker. Wow, that is super cool. Let's take a look at it. Oh, nice. Like that a lot. Okay, next. We're into this one. Not much, though. We're in the snow biome now, so what do you expect? Oh, what's going on here? Dude's wearing snow camo pants in the... Or is it desert camo? Either way, Stephen King, total badass with the crossbow. All right, we got one more, and I think we've got enough time to make it. Yes, we did make it with 22 seconds to spare. Look at that, a blade baton. M60, yep. Oh, lots of cash. That's good. All right, now that we're home, we can actually take a look at what we got here. Did I get any, like, vitamins or antibiotics? No, I think I'm screwed there. Here, start porting all that stuff to the inventories downstairs. I did get this important note. Okay, I can now craft the following weapons. The Darkeen Scythe. That's nice. I've already, I've already had it for weeks. What am I looking at here for the next couple of levels? Scythe, so... I can craft the Reaper here at level 8. Just doing more damage. More damage, attack faster, preserve my weapon longer. That's cool. We got a couple more levels to go and then we can get the Reaper. That would be nice. Is there anything I can do here? No. I have no medicine whatsoever. I am completely screwed. Uh, no, I do have uh, vitamins. That's helpful. Okay, it was fatigued there. Can I make... I can. Herbal antibiotics distilled water oh we gotta go down this whole chain again okay i'll work on that because it's, it's quite a process i've got to make charcoal activated charcoal watch it's yeah i'll catch up with you in a couple of hours when i've got that all sorted okay there's my herbal antibiotic only able to get one and that's only 10 percent of my 15 percent infection however should probably have another distilled water there i was just making a couple just to get rolling on it so that'll help the infection front there and I can get to work on other projects. The question is, where do we even begin? Okay, I suppose it begins down here and just getting this all dressed up so that at least we can stand here, put everyone back where they're supposed to be, and have zombies come up to the front fighting position as they are intended to. Additionally, I'm going to grind out the grenade chute. We don't want that anymore. And what I'll also eventually do is I will put some, like, armor plates on the bottom so that there's two layers of steel that cops have to spit through before the floor falls out. And what we could even do after that is put a layer of plates on the top so that there's a third layer. I think everyone's returned from mining, so I'm just going to continue sending them out mining for, like, this time I think we'll do, let's say, iron. All right, now for some work in the exterior. I think I still would like to do the explosive resistant concrete as a layer on top. A lot of this already is explosive resistant concrete, but the bottom layer will have to be steel. And even though I consider just going straight with the steel blocks, I think it's better to utilize what cement and concrete we do have and then upgrade it to steel. Because it's 20 steel to make a steel block, but it's only 10 to upgrade a... Uh, Concrete block to steel, and if we have the resources to spare, we might as well use them. All right, I've sent everyone out for another round of mining, and I've done a lot of patchwork to the interior of the base, because there's just like little random blocks everywhere that need to be fixed. Like, I don't even know how half of this stuff got destroyed. I mean, I was kind of speculating that 
if we get if we go up here and we get a better angle we can kind of see what might have happened to some of the storages like it could have been the birds it could have been stuff coming in through the sides here but it could have also been cops down there spitting up towards the traders and then that the, the spit just kind of like flying through these grates all the way into here and like the arc of fire i mean if i jump up here you can see the ground level where there would have been cops kind of spitting in this direction so it could have just been the, the mistake I made the whole time as I left that stupid door open. Okay, this place will be completely 100% sealed. Even this, potentially, I'll, I'll put some doors on the back of this so that uh, there's nothing that's going to fly through here. We will seal up the windows. In fact, I do have, somewhere, the bulletproof glass. There it is. I think at least for up here, like security up here is of the utmost importance. So at least get this done. Now there's this issue up here. And I think what my plan was to do is to just rip out the security gate up there and replace it with the bulletproof glass. That ought to do it. Yeah, I'm still kind of brainstorming what kind of a system we're gonna do for the main area up here. Cause we have to replace all of these trussing blocks they, uh, none of them can stay. And I was just looking at the recipe to make the body bags of stuff to make the ground powder of... Basically the recipe to get explosive immune concrete. And, uh, we're, like, way short on explosive immune zombie remains, so... I'm gonna continue focusing on harvesting these guys up when I kill them. And basically, until I get those explosive immune remains, I can do no more work down here because I want all of this to be the explosive immune concrete. Oh, are you guys back already? I literally just sent them out mining. And you've got the iron and you've got the coal that I just sent you out for. Oh my god, these... This is, um... They're... They're productive these days. Yeah, uh, I'm not... Do I have money still? Oh man, I'm still loaded. I'm just gonna continue sending them out. And this should also be leveling them up in their mining skill. Yeah, I'll probably be finding blocks that need to be replaced <laughs> for the next several days. I guess we could come out here. Oh, look at the potholes everywhere. Well, I made some topsoil. Oh, look at this. Not in good shape. Yeah, let me get the topsoil. We'll fill in all the blocks. We'll fix the ramp. Okay, the topsoil's not ready yet. So we'll start with the ramp then. While I'm at it down here, let's, um. Let's settle on something for a bottom layer here. Probably the block I'm gonna go with is the Catwalk V2 plate. And we'll just on-face those so that they're just like this. And then we'll just run it all along this way. And this will just give us a little bit more armor plating here on the bottom. And I'll eventually get this upgraded, hopefully to steel if we end up having enough of it. Okay, and that's about as far over as I think we need to go because, um, you know, we're not going to be standing over there, so they, the cops won't be aiming over there. Okay, big mess here. This has to be topsoil. Okay, I've got like 50 of it, at least enough to get us started here. Oh my god, the soldiers are back already. <laughs> this is, it feels like cheating. Okay, the last thing I wanted to look into today was... Uh, this there's a lot of sensitive stuff that's in here and a, a lot of it was damaged. Oh, look at that Oh my god that chest there almost got destroyed. Uh, what I think we could do though I'm gonna do this out of the, just the regular frames first is um, I think we can probably bring this over to like here maybe Because like uh, now that I'm not parking up here at least with the uh, the striker I feel like we have a lot more real estate to work with. The guys have probably gotten all the materials we need to make bullets. There we go, 3K AP762 rounds right off the bat, only 25 minutes, short on, like almost short on clay soil of all things, but uh, ultimately lead. And that's as much as we'll need for Horde Knight anyway though. Okay, so like I was saying, making some sort of like a shelf, I guess you could call it, over here. And then this would be like a back wall. And this could just be, I guess, um, here, let's rip this off. Easy, whoops, lost a sign. That's okay, I got a whole bunch of extras. And we could just take these off. This could be like a control panel room plus. It could be places where we put a little bit of storage, like the cell chest and put the generators in there, the screamer signal. And we could just put one of those roll up doors here instead, like we did up there and like we did down there. And then it would all be kind of homogenous, you know? So take that up. Okay, so this would look like this. This would be, uh, this this would be where the door is. So all of this would have to kind of get removed. Okay, there goes the land claim. Okay, what I'm thinking is, 
Oh, nice. I can use this block space. Okay, I'm going to have to put a railing on this, but it's going to be like a, an exterior railing, not a railing on this block plane, but on this one. Okay, so this is what that looks like, which should give me the freedom to... Oh, I've got tons of real estate here now to put uh, all kinds of cool stuff. Question kind of is, am I ready to commit to this? Because no, that, uh, that floor there looks just too thick. I need to do like a half block here or something else. All right, so it looks like there's just gonna be a little bit of back and forth here, going downstairs and killing zombies, coming back upstairs, sending my people out mining, <laughs> trying to figure out what blocks I'm gonna use to uh, do up that little catwalk there. Then I gotta set in all of the electronics and get them all hooked up again. So I'll work on that for the rest of the night and into tomorrow morning, and I'll catch up with the guys in a couple of hours. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. We're making progress on base repairs and upgrades, and with four forges running, we'll be swimming in steel in no time. So today, it's time to do some remodeling to the fighting area to prevent the failures that we observed during the last four night. We also need to do some looting, and we're just a hair away from maxing out charisma. So a mixture of questing, mining, and free loot delivery will be in the cards for tomorrow. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. Okay, so we left off last time downstairs when I was making this new little balcony portion to the garage section, and this is what I finally came up with. I think it looks okay, and once we get it painted, it'll look even better. It looks a little bit out of place right now, but if we go up here, it gives us plenty of room to put all of our switches on. I could do a total of six switches, and I believe there is also room up here to put relays if I wanted to do that, and then we'll put the 3x3 roll-up door right here, and then it's just a matter of like figuring out where to put that spotlight there. Nothing's hooked up right now, so that's one of the priorities for this morning. Also, I want to do some construction. And also, I need to get first aid going again because I need Prussian blue and I need casts to go on the hot bar. And I think I left off making some, yeah, empty water jars there because we need the murky water to make the cast. And then I don't know what we need to make the Prussian blue, but probably a bunch of stuff that we don't have a lot of. Scratch that, we've got a whole bunch of it. Here, let's try to just get... Oh man, well I feel like <laughs> Prussian blue is probably more useful to me than coffee, so let's just go ahead and get all of it. And I'm imagining that's created over here with, yes, distilled water of course. Now where did I leave off on that chain of things? Okay, boiled water, cooking fat, calcium chloride, activated charcoal, there's a lot that goes into it here. Now I'm short on ground charcoal. Okay, that's gonna be a while, we're gonna need some murky water to get rolling on some more stuff here. And I wanna check on the garden, I can't remember quite where we left off, oh the helicopter is in my inventory. So I guess we're heading down here. Let's just come over here, slap that down, and we'll take a quick trip over to the other base. Now I can tell from here that uh, nothing's grown up. In fact, actually, I'll fill up the jars while I'm here, but I've heard you can also buy a sink from one of the traders. Let's see, we have 56 minutes left. So if we came back this time tomorrow, we should be okay to do a quick harvest. Wait, can I just take the sink with me? And it'll work at home. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> I might have just skipped the step there. Yeah, because I have a land claim block down here. I'm not sure if that land claim is active though. I thought it would have been broken, but no, it does look like it's working. Do I get the bounding zone? Yeah, the bounding zone is working. Maybe I had just am allowed to have more than one land claim block and I, I didn't quite check on that setting. Whatever, we have a sink at hope now. All right, I'm gonna head back to the base. I'll do a little bit of cooking and crafting and get things organized for today and I'll catch up with you in an hour or two. Okay, so we're back and I'm rolling on a whole bunch of stuff here. I did put down the sink and it's not, it's not functioning as a sink like it used to. I had to run down there and get water out of the lake, but um, I just put down the land claim block. So I'm wondering if I like picked it up and put it back down again, is that gonna reset it or do I actually really have to buy one? Yeah, this is not functioning as a regular sink. Huh, okay, so wait a minute. I'll put that away for a second and we'll check with the trader. Maybe there's a special like player sink that I do need to purchase. <laughs> Here I am thinking I'm so smart. I thought it was the handy woman trader that would sell something like that. Oh, she's selling solar cells and I do have a solar bank. It might be time to start thinking about hooking up some better power. Uh, was it the farmer guy that does it though? Yeah, here we go. Here's some sinks. Okay, they're pretty cheap. Do I need a... Like, okay, we got old sink. We've got regular sink. I don't see where there would be any distinction there between the one I picked up and that one, but could be wrong, I guess. 
place that down and okay that one works well there we go well now we got water in the base that's handy and i've got plaster casts going love it gonna need a lot of those like you know 30 or 40 probably should do us over for a week or two okay <laughs> i got all four forges i think all of them are working on molten steel right now and some on bulletproof glass as well oh i did get this placed in last night so that's finally all set and i think i i had um 48 or 42 or something glass blocks and so i've uh tidied this place all up and then i think this place is all done and then i did a couple of windows down here but we still have quite a bit of work to go yeah and i'm pretty sold on this being the configuration that i want here this is like if you remember if you're a fan <laughs> Hey, if you've been here since the Frostbite series, man, thank you so much for being here for a couple of years. Anyway, uh, this is the <laughs> the first time that I used this configuration was on the Frostbite series, having these little poles for light switches. Man, what a base that was. I wonder how the Frostbite base would hold up to <laughs> the Rebirth Horde. Uh, probably not very well, if I recall, because it was just like a long, skinny corridor. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be good. Okay, I got the door in as well, so slap that down and yeah. The light's kind of in the way there. And this is our, yeah, the cell chest. So I'm saving the selling for a, a big sell-off. We can benefit from the pumpkin bread. Besides, we're really good on money right now. And speaking of money, I got all the, the mercenaries put back in here. They're not mercenaries. They're kind of mercenaries. They're, uh, you know, they're not really soldiers either. They're just companions, I guess. I've never really thought up a good name for these guys. But anyway, we need to send them out mining. Coal, coal. And before I send you out, Logan, I haven't checked anyone's qualifications in ages. Logan is now a level three. Her mining level is level one, even though I've been sending her out a lot. So that might be really slow. Like, I don't know if there's a cap or, you know, if, is it just like one, two, three, and like three is the max. So not sure. She's got 272 kills, man. I wish I would have checked Dank before he disappeared and or got shot or whatever the hell happened to him. It could be a total mystery. He might have just, it might have just been a big excuse. He might have just run off with Endy and Dahl and, and run off with her at the end. We may never know. Ooh, look at the 762 that's been rolling in here. I think uh, we'll just continue rolling on it uh, if anything just to get a stockpile man 40 millimeter oh that reminds me i do i do have uh we're gonna re renovate this place today but i think i'm gonna put everybody up here from now on because i was thinking during horde night it's just i'm babysitting those guys so much like i have to heal them they fall through the floor i gotta go find them you know they're getting blown around and ragdolled and I just need to be the only one down there from now on. Everybody else can hang out up here. And how are we looking on steel? We have 853 there with 900 there, 900 there, 235 there. I say we're doing pretty damn good on the steel front. Oh, right. I should have, holy crap. We're doing really good on the concrete as well and topsoil. Look at that. The real question is going to be the explosive resistant concrete. We need 10 samples of explosive immune zombies. So, oh, what we could do, we could do another screamer battle. That should get us some explosive immune remains and it should help us top off on just like ammo and stuff. Um, I'm tempted. I'm very tempted to do that. Something to think about for maybe tomorrow then. But for now, I got to get this place renovated. First thing we're going to do, we're going to knock out every one of these trussing blocks here. These have got to go. The reason being is because the cops can see through them and spit through them. So we need something that cannot be seen or shot through, basically. Okay, that's it for the trussing blocks. I think that's our third or fourth screamer coming in right there. <laughs> Doesn't stand a chance. Okay, so now... Here's what this is probably going to look like. Let's just grab a square block and go like this and this. This is just replacing the trussing blocks we had before. And then, uh, yeah, I still, I think this is just too open. Like this block here probably has to get knocked out. And then we've got to put hatches in front of all of the doors. And like, I think also we have to set up a system where, where we can hatch off this middle portion too, just to further decrease the visibility. Uh, there's just a lot to grind through here, and this was all upgraded to steel. But you gotta do what you gotta do, so get grinding. Okay, definitely helps when you, like, knock out the correct block here. <laughs> Let's put this one back. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to... Okay, I'm pretty much... I'm committed to this right here. Let's just solidify these. And then I think we also have to do block in the middle here. Yep, because that's gonna just reduce visibility a little bit. And with these down, that we're pretty shielded, but now we're super exposed on the bottom. And there's two things we can do. We can put a 
hatch in this block space here and kind of fold it forward. In fact, I'm kind of probably partial to that because what I also wanted to do is put, um, make the floor out basically out of security gates because um, what would happen is, okay, so we have the, the V2 plates are on the bottom, right? We put those in yesterday. I don't need to show you, you remember that. So, uh, and then there's the regular cubes on the top. Both of those will be steel. And then if we additionally put security gates on the top, if the bottom two blocks do get blown out by cop spit, we can still stand on this because the cops won't be able to destroy these blocks with their spit. So I think that's the, the most prudent move to not like fall through the floor here is to just line the whole bottom with something that's bulletproof. Okay, so we're doing the same configuration on this side now, just narrowing things down. Missed a couple over here. Oh, hello. Do we have a wraith here somewhere? Holy crap, what is happening? I can hear wraith business. Help me out. I can also hear walking. Oh crap! No, oh, there he is! Skeleton man snuck up on me on the ladder here. You dead? Here, nope, you need to die. Get the hell out of here. Oh, he had a tier one skeleton warrior? What kind of crap is that? Get him out of here. I don't even want that guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hello, Logan. Oh, man. I didn't realize that would work to just throw it out of my inventory like that. That's kind of funny. Speaking of Logan, I've been sending her and the other mercenaries out mining every time I see them come back. So we should have a big pile of resources here before nightfall. Okay, so these are set. Oh, hello there, Razzle. And Hobie should be coming in imminently along with Logan right behind. There he is. Okay, let's just check his inventory real fast. Yeah, lead, iron, coal, very good. And as long as I have the money, I'm gonna continue sending them out. So what does that put us short on anyway, in terms of ammo production? Cause that's mostly what I've been having them focus on. We are short on clay. Otherwise we're looking really good. Well, not so good on brass. And to get brass, we need to clear POIs. So that's probably on the to-do list. Okay, I'm not leaving though until I get this thing solidified in here. This is very, very important stuff. Okay, so I've decided against having these. And uh, right, so if we're gonna do a hatch, it's gonna be in this front plane here. And we could either fold it forward or fold it backward. It doesn't really matter. But I am gonna have to knock out that internal railing. Gonna need a few vault hatches. Okay, so just to simulate while those vault hatches are crafting, we'll have one there, although it's debatable whether I wanna have it like in this configuration here, okay? And then we're also going to need to seal off these portions here. Now, it could use a door for that. Yeah, could use a door or could use hatches. Let's try the door. Okay, and we'll need something to attach the door to. So it might look a little funny at first at least, but what if there was like that? Or or we don't even have to do that. Um, hang on, give me a second to kind of sort this out. Right, it would just be like this here, and technically that's attaching to the top there, but it would kind of look like it was hinged to the sidewall there. So if I just place that in there, and of course this is a hatch on the bottom, then we could just kind of <laughs> close the doors off and like limit the visibility on the sides that we're not fighting on. And so, during Horde Night, I think what I would like to do, I'll try and start on foot again to initiate the rampage, then we'll run back up in here. I think I'll use the side flank positions first. Um, I had a reason for that, and I forgot what it was, but um, but anyway, we'll, you know, we'll transfer from one side of the base to the other side of the base, and then we'll finish things off here in the middle. And then I also kind of had this thought of like, what if we cut this in half? So only one side was being like blasted by the Seekers at a time. I'm not sure if that would work or not. Oh, I think my reasoning for the starting on the flanks is that it, there's just such lower visibility than there is if we're fighting on the front here. So if we sealed all this off on the side and just had this little tunnel here, um, you know, I think we'd have pretty good chance of just not getting shot at too much by the cops. And then... Yeah, I can put like uh, security gates all along the floor here. Yep, this entire floor could be, oh, except for those stupid blocks right there. They're in the way. Those are gonna have to come off. No matter, it's just a little bit of cobblestone. Yeah, it's, um, it's gonna look a little funny there. It, it looks okay, it's fine. Okay, everybody, go back mining. What am I lowest on? Uh, soil of all things, clay freaking soil. But if I'm being honest, 
I have 36,000 coal, <laughs> holy crap. Yeah, so we need some nitrate to catch up with that, I think. I can do the soil myself, and I can do that a lot faster than they can. Okay, so yeah, first things first, we gotta get this upgraded to steel, because now it's, um, it's not gonna be visible to us anymore. Once it's sandwiched from the bottom and from the top, there's no more access to it. Uh, we've gotta paint this, actually, before we cover it up, because I wouldn't be able to paint it otherwise and splash there we go okay we can cover this all up now all right just security gate plates all the way around okay there we go it's kind of cute it saved me a spot for where the companions will spawn back in all right i have no idea if this is going to work or not just this is this is gonna be what i'm putting my money on for horde night though okay we still have a couple of block spaces here that are not being utilized like these couple these couple um, I'm gonna just put a pin in that one though, and we'll decide on what to do with that a little bit later. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good for now about defenses, and I'm working on the other things that we're gonna need, like, uh, vault hatches. But, um, for now, I think I do want to do the screamer battle here at night. We'll just spend the whole night killing screamers and screamer zombies. I think I'll do it in one of the side windows here. I'll just let them crawl up and get killed. We'll collect up all the loot bags in the morning, and, oh man, who's destroying the ramp again? Yeah, the ramp, jeez, I don't, I don't like the ramp thing. See, I got this idea from Wayward Echo, and, uh, <laughs> it's failing me. Okay, but in order to do that, I need to get everything connected back up with the wire tool. Okay, I'm just crafting up a timer relay, and while I'm at it, I'm just gonna come down here, make sure these are upgraded, and then I'm gonna put the vault doors back in. Hinges up, always. There we go. Okay, and if that went to plan, I should be able to draw off of this to the timer relay and set the timer yep there we go there is light and we'll just run the lights until say 5 a.m from 8 to 5. okay looking much better around here these days <laughs> it took it only took four days can you imagine fighting the horde in like two and a half days man what a disaster that would turn out to be. I mean, I, I would quite simply, I would have to reduce it down to like, you know, 16 zombies or 32 zombies at least. It's 64 on Horde Night Plus and Turbo. Man, it's uh, it's too much for an every seven day cycle, at least for me. Looking pretty good in here too. I like the, the new design, the new organization here. Okay, there's a couple more things to get hooked up though, like um, doors and vault hatches and SMG turrets and everything. So I'm gonna work on that for a little bit and then we'll do the big screamer fight. Okay, everything's hooked up, doors are working, lights are working, turrets are working, except we don't have shotgun turrets down here anymore, and it's kind of up for debate whether I even want to put them back in, um, because they're going to have a much more narrow and restricted field of fire. However, if, if zombies ever got in here, they might be a little bit helpful. I mean, we've carved out the holes for them, might as well probably put them back in eventually, and then um, probably just, uh, let me just check here and see if I have... Yeah, that block space behind them is is open, and so I should be able to squeak a hatch in over the top so that if anything did come flying through, it wouldn't, like, you know, hit the ammo workstation because we already lost that once already. Okay, a little bit of extra ammo there, and I think we're ready. Let's just get this place all buttoned up, best we can anyway. And we should be able to start them right here on this side. It shouldn't be too much of a to-do to fight the Screamer Horde. Um... And we'll just leave everyone up here to kind of kill zombies as they spawn and run around out there. All right, let's fire it up and <laughs> hope for the best, I guess. It's looking pretty good here. For once, I can actually have a, you know, something like a horde knight and use melee. Yep, just gonna try at this point to initiate a rampage. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I can see lots of heads popping, but nothing yet. There we go, got my rampage. See, this is just a perfect demonstration here of why I had to turn on Horde Knight Plus and Horde Knight Turbo, because this is just, um, I mean, even though they have special abilities, it's basically just a vanilla horde, and it's so easy. Give me five steel blocks and a steel vault hatch, and I can defeat pretty much any horde. Oh, goodness, there's a, definitely a Seeker here, though. I'm not sure, are Seekers part of uh, these hordes now, or what? Okay, give me the AP. We're gonna need to let it rip here for a second. Yeah, good little proof of concept here on the base. Although, you know, I'm noticing my allies are not really shooting at all. Ah, oh, whatever. I can handle this for now. You know, doing this is kind of making me think, like, what if we built some sort of a system down there on the causeway? Like, we put bars across it so that we could shoot through it, but it would kind of, like, hold up 
the hordes, even if it was like Seekers and stuff, if we built it out of explosive resistant concrete, they'd have to pound through just a, a couple of blocks before they get to us. That really might be something worth looking into and make it like three blocks high too, so that even when the bottom two are broken, the Seekers would still have to beat through the third one, or maybe they would just crouch down. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna brainstorm on that one for a little bit. Okay, just gonna do a quick proof of concept and switch them over to the other side, just, just to see what happens, basically. Watch him walk over here. Definitely a slow process. There's a lot of lag going on right now. Hey, level eight in my Witch Doctor class now. I forgot that I was working on that. Oh, good thing I did this anyway. So now I'm working on my attack assault rifle skill again. Always working on that. Ammo used to be damned. We'll get a little bit of ammo back from these uh, horde bags or loot bags. All right, looks like they're about to break through on this side. So I'm gonna switch them over back to the other side. Okay, switched them back over to this side. Starting to run low on ammo. So I'm just alternating like basically melee. Was that a secret that I just heard? Yeah, basically just melee until I run out of stamina and empty a mag, go back to melee, back and forth, back and forth. You know, interestingly, I think the last time we did the Screamer Horde, we weren't getting any bikers. I'm getting a ton of bikers now. Oh, look at that, my trade aura just went up. That's from skateboarder zombies though, but uh, we could still continue to get our armor penetration aura up to kill a couple more bikers here. All right, but I am officially out of ammo, so I'm gonna shut everything down. We're gonna call it quits here. All right, the screamer signal is off. I've got a big stack of AP ammo. I'm heading outside to just get them all into the front of the base where hopefully my allies can just murder them all. We're definitely not out of the woods yet though. There's a lot of zombies left and a lot of screamers yet to scream. So the last time I did this, uh, so there were some people I guess that were very surprised that the zombies can't really target you that well. Well, that's because for one, these zombies are regular zombies. On Horde Night, you get a dumbed down AI version of the zombie so that it's easier for your system to handle, you know, 50, 60 zombies at a time. Uh, so that's one thing. We have complex AI zombies right now, and they just cannot do the calculation fast enough on the current Seven Days to Die engine. The other thing is that all the bodies are here on Horde Night. The bodies despawn after like two seconds, and on regular, it's like two minutes. So all of these bodies are laying everywhere. So that's why you get this like simplified, goofy, <laughs> like AI that just cannot keep up with you no matter what you do. It's like a bullfight. You know, as soon as they get to you, you move to a different location and they have no idea what happened. And see now, I think we're starting to get into a spot where there's fewer zombies and they are definitely running a lot better. Oh boy, gun is broken. Just make sure I got plenty of Red Bull and plenty of beer into me and see if I can get a little bit more melee in. Oh, I got ragdolled. Crap! This is not good. Ow! Okay, that thing I said about melee, not happening. Back to the AP rounds. Okay, we're getting toward the end. I can kind of feel it. Here we go. We got one more bow. Are you it? Couple more zombies running in. Probably just remnants of screamers. There's one screamer way off there. Yep, she's down. Okay, couple more trickling in here, but I think that we're good. Okay, so... My priority is going to be looking for explosive immune zombie hands. Or really any zombie hands. I'm just going to check all the bodies here. There's some explosive immune remains there. There's a couple more there. Good. Okay, got good coverage from our friends upstairs. There's some fire shock and explosive immune remains. I don't even know if I can craft anything with those. Shock immune. Oh yeah, all kinds of good stuff in here. Death's Whisper. Who is that? Hello? Um, oh, just a grudge. Are you kidding me? I've killed like a hundred of you tonight. Go ahead and just die there. Give me the goodies. Oh, a titanium war axe and a generic perk book that will almost, uh, or no, the generic DNA boost will almost certainly give us our charisma skill maxed out. Okay, she brought some friends with her. Oh, here they are. Oh my goodness, yes. Shake it, baby. And I just got my rampage for the last zombie here. Okay. Yeah, that definitely disrupted my flow there. I was working on explosive immune zombie remains and uh, now I cannot do that. It's okay, I think uh, my, my primary purpose for all of that was mostly just uh, loot bags, just stocking back up on some of the essentials. Uh, real quick before we get started, I'm gonna cook up one chili dog, which will give us loot quantity increased by 25% and that should be plenty of time to get all the loot bags up. There it is, chili dog. Now we run and we loot up all these bags before they start to disappear. Oh, you know what I'm finding? 
a ton of brass doorknobs trophies things like that and we really need that we were almost out in terms of ammo production a couple of good weapons first aid items food yes this is exactly what we needed and a whole bunch more sellables which will lead to money and weapon parts which will lead to crafting new guns which will lead to you know more things to sell for money to send people out mining yep i think that was it right there just check the causeway up here okay one more Yep, that was it. Let's have a look at the loot haul then. Yep, like I said, sellables, brass objects, tons of food, recipes. Okay, impact bracing mod, we'll read that. And a couple of weapons. We've already found all those three weapons though. And that's it. And the experience. We got the Witch Doctor class up to level eight now, I think. Yeah, black magic is now level eight, which will mean my skeleton zombies are immune to explosives. Okay, so we still have not made the skeleton zombie yet and our steel um wait our, oh the like the the mind control arrows and stuff can turn radiated zombies to fight for us and oh that's big we can craft these skeleton army potions looking forward to seeing how that performs on horde night all right give me a few minutes to get organized again and we'll see what we're gonna do for today okay i've been i'm reorganized just in time for a seeker to arrive so i'm heading out to do the big fight there not hopefully on my ramp oh come on cajun Get out of here with that. Breaking all my stuff. Well, thanks for the loot though. Appreciate that. Aha, nice. Good stuff in there. Except for the magnum ammo. <laughs> Way too much magnum ammo. Whoops. Ah, oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah, it's like you get the same quantity, whether it's like magnum ammo or 7.62 ammo, even though all of the magnum weapons are like single fire <laughs> with like low magazine capacity. So it ends up being like super imbalanced. Look at the magnum ammo I have already, 1400. I just sold all of it yesterday. Okay, so we're looking pretty good on the sellables. There was this new ax that I found, so I will take a quick peek at this. This is, ooh, something I can use. What was this, titanium war ax? Yeah, man, this is probably from the soldier class. If I ever got to the point where I maxed out my class, I don't think that we'll get there in the next, um, what is it gonna be, 15 days? But uh, I would really like to go into the soldier class or maybe even the Builder, because the Builder has these awesome hammers. Ramsey's doing his playthrough right now on his channel. If you want to check that out, he's going to do the Techno Geek for his. So that's going to be batons, revolvers, turrets. Oh, it's going to be so bad because he's playing on worse settings than I am. So his hordes are going to be absolutely crazy. How did this happen? Who did that? Have you? Were, were you guys shooting down here and, and you killed that block? That is unacceptable. I'm gonna blame Legion's Lost, because I heard you shooting the most last night. Oh, and we've got an airdrop, uh, looks like across the lake there. Ho hopefully not in the lake. Oh man, I just ate some uh, steak and potatoes, I think it was. Look at my jump height. My jump height is crazy now. It gives you plus 25% jump height, and I think you're immune to fall damage too. I'm just gonna pop a faucet on the sink there, and speaking of faucets, I gotta get the shredders going downstairs. Turn all those doorknobs into brass. Oh yeah, but we're, we're actually mostly short on clay soil, so probably time to go out and do a little bit of a mining run. Got plenty of fuel. While I'm gone though, get the, the regular soldiers out, and um, wait a minute. Okay, I gotta take a step back here because uh, we actually need to go find another mercenary and we're just we're just so close to being able to do that. Do I have... I don't have the injector anymore. I lost that during the fire. So I think Briston sells these. Nope, trainer's not selling them. Handy woman, do you have any? Uh, I saw the drone in there actually. And speaking of drone, have I lost my drone? Where's my drone? Nope. Uh, drone is right there. Oh, that's right. I didn't get enough of the polymer to uh, to make the drone medic mod. Okay, I need to just like stop right real quick and make a shopping list because we need clay. We need the injector, which uh, he's currently not selling. So because I was thinking we should get charisma up, then we should take the point into charismatic nature, then we should get a mercenary. Uh, but that's, we're gonna have to do that the old fashioned way. We're gonna have to do that through a quick quest. And then after we do said quick quest, there's the charismatic nature book that we're going to need. We're also gonna need to get some polymer from whatever house we, we go to, to uh, do a quick like tier, we'll just do like a tier two mission, I think will be plenty to level up charismatic nature or charisma. And we'll stop by over here somewhere and just harvest up a bunch of clay. Okay, that's the plan then. Sorry, I got there's a lot going on right now. A lot of little tiny chores. What happened over here? That's interesting. Okay, let's just go to Trader Wrecked. We gotta go into the temperate biome anyway. All right, here we are. Hey, what's up, Wrecked? Let's just get a, let's get like a tier three job. Tier threes are real quick. He's gonna fetch at a gun store. I think we've done that before, but I'll take it. 
Oh, I just saw something blow up down there. What the heck was that? <laughs> Some zombies. Oh, they're, uh, it's a zombie fighting with a bandit down there. Oh, I totally just saw that bandit get ragdolled. Okay, yeah. Let's not park in the parking lot just in case a vehicle spawns where my helicopter is and then said helicopter gets blown up. Over here is fine. All right, let's hit the quest, and I'm pretty much here for everything. I'm just going to spend the rest of the day here. We'll do some clay mining on the way home, and that should be good. We'll be all stocked back up on resources. It is... Wow. You... This guy? It just put a flesh wound, right? <laughs> nice. Oh, yes, explosive immune zombie. Give me your remains, please. And uh, your friend over there was one, too. Let me out. Nice. I've got a hostile in sight. That means cyborg nearby. Here he is. Oh, it's Raven Dawn. Raven Dawn with the... Oh. Hostile in sight. He's got a different hostile in sight, I guess. Okay, I can't go too far away. You guys want to come inside? I'll help you out. Be happy to, in fact. Come on, get him down. There we go. Rogue cyborg. Take up all that junk. And Kane Eye Bright here. Good job. Okay, our expedition today starts with the vehicles. Give me all the vehicles. Oh my god, and a friggin' giant succulent, or what are these called? Corpulence? <laughs> succulent. Yeah, flower boy over here. <laughs> you know what I'm also short on, of all things? It's cloth. Stupid cloth. I gotta start scrapping clothes again. I just noticed that a couple of hours ago. Oh my god, the, the roof just collapsed on my head. I didn't realize that was a thing. <laughs> Interesting, I'm just back here in the trailer, uh, getting some of these boxes. Good source of polymer back here. And I won't say no to a little bit of extra free cement and cobblestone. So I'll grab this up and then we'll head inside. Alright, we'll just head in through the front. Nothing special here. We've not only done this before, but you've probably been here a hundred times before as well. So we'll just blaze right through here. No big deal. Okay, after all, this only was a fetch quest and that is done already. That did my charisma as well. So before I forget, I'm going to run out here and grab my... Uh, what was a charismatic nature book and read that here we go charismatic nature read and we are maxed out so tonight probably once we're done here we should run into the wasteland and recruit ourselves our fourth companion okay at this point do i even need an axe with me <laughs> and i probably don't need the shovel or the pickaxe it could just be me the auger and the impact driver and i'd probably be right as rain here and i'm gonna take this with me too Yep, we need all the fireproof storages we can get. Oh man, I'm, I'm loving my heavy armor so much. Oh, see, these, look at these guys. What, what is wrong with you? Why do you do that? Oh, I broke a leg. Look at that. Okay, we're in. Oh, we got a nice spear there. And yep, just take this with me. And can I just do that? Oh, yes, I can. Yeah, who needs other tools at this point? All right, tons of good loot out of here. Pretty much cleared the entire place out of all salvageable material. I think I'm definitely good on brass, so I, I really don't need to take things like radiators. Do I? I don't know. Every little bit helps. Okay, let's go back to the trader, get our reward. We'll head to the wasteland. We'll get a companion, hopefully. And then if there's any time left over in the night, we can just do a little bit of clay mining over here in the temperate area. I should have enough explosive immune zombie remains at this point to... Oh, hey. I didn't even know that was there. That's the uh, tier five pop and pills factory. Love that place. Should have enough to get at least a few blocks made up of the explosive resistant concrete. I say immune, it's definitely not immune, uh, but that'll help us finish off the base. What you got for me, Wrecked? Of course, nothing good. I will take first aid, 762, and the pistol. Thank you. And that's it for you. Okay, to the wasteland. Whoop, just. <laughs> Wow, the tail rotor just completely took out that telephone pole. Oh no, heavy fog rolled in. Okay, this is going to be difficult. It's much easier when you're in a ground-based vehicle. Oh, speaking of ground-based vehicle, we could just go fetch up the taxi. Okay, so how many floors is this place anyway? It's, it looks like one, two, three. It looks like 19. My goodness, we still had like four or five floors to go the last time we were here. Okay, search all of you. What I might just do is like just leave the helicopter here temporarily. Come back for it in a little bit. We can do our clay mining here anyway and get a little bit of sand on top of that. So that will be the plan. Helicopter, stay here. I will take the taxi. In fact, while I'm at it, just kind of ditch whatever I have there. Look at the stuff we got to go through later. <laughs> oh boy. All right, just listen carefully for TAC Assault Rifle Fire, SMG, M60, AK-47. Really not going to be too picky on this last soldier. 
SMG fire. I would definitely take someone with an SMG. Anything full auto, basically, is fair game. Looks like a survivor, too. Okay, we gotta help him out then. Yes, yes it is. Okay, this is the guy. This is Neuro. Neuro, you wanna hold still for a second, buddy? Here, show me your qualifications. He is good enough, I guess. All right, come here. I'm interested in hiring. 2300, yes. Okay, good. Gotcha. Okay, I think we're just in the loop now. I was trying to be cute and like clear the area, but I don't really think it's worth it. Yeah, because these guys don't have the remains that we're looking for anyway. So all I'd be doing is farming cloth and whoa, Neuro. Try not to die here, buddy. Come here. Take your painkillers and you should be on hunting mode, right? Hunting. Yeah, hunting mode. So don't go too far away. Where's my taxi? There it is. Yeah, buddy, stay over here. And here we go. That was close. <laughs> Almost lost the guy only moments after I hired him. Okay, I'm heading back to the desert now. I'll just do a little bit of topsoil mining to get some sand and clay and... Oh, that's nice. Get my taxi stuck in this ditch here. With zombies coming... Oh, a lot of them too. All right, come on. Push it, push it, push it, guys. Burnt boy, put your back into it. Right, what I was saying, I'll, you know, I'll get the helicopter, I'll do some mining, and I'll meet you back at the base first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. It might not look good on the outside, but we're making good progress on the base. But surviving the Horde goes beyond just having a strong base. So the plan today is to finish the chicken coop quest line and get ready for bulk food production. I'd also like to craft a new vehicle and see what kind of tier five quests are offered up north in the frozen snow biome. The team has been deployed. We've just been waiting on you, but now it's go time. All right, couple of things right off the bat here. What was I working on last night? I always forget what I was working on. I think I was working on getting like Prussian blue. Yeah, there's a couple of those right there. And we can just keep those on the hotbar from now on to help with radiation poisoning. Plenty more rolling in where that came from. Ah, right, I was working on the drone. Yes, and I've got all the mods making for it. There was um, a suggestion to try out the quad bike and I wanted to see if I have the materials to do this. No, we need an engine. I could pull one out of the generators downstairs. Otherwise, we're good. We just need wheels. Okay, we need two more rims. Okay, just a couple more things on the shopping list for this morning. Get started on those wheels. Purchase a couple of these shotgun turrets. Set these back in. Load them up. Lock ammo. Connect them up. Man, it's quite a mess already. <laughs> I can't help myself. There we go. So that's done. Give me that body bag of explosive immune zombies. Set you back down. Turn that body bag into explosive immune powder. Just drop a little bit of first aid into the drone. Okay, then we turn that powder into the explosion resistant concrete mix. And then we turn that mix into the explosion resistant concrete blocks. 75 of them. I think I'll start off with... 50 and we'll save the rest for repairs to the existing explosion explosion resistant concrete because there's quite a bit of it out there still waiting on selling basically until I either need the money or I don't have the storage anymore and then we can just benefit a lot from the pumpkin bread speaking of pumpkin bread anything I can cook here there's a few things to cook but probably what we should do is head over to the garden and while we're over at the garden today I want to see if I can capture a few chickens so let me see if I can get the quad bike crafted just needed those, I think. Oh, and one engine. There we go, quad bike, 10 minutes. All right, that'll be ready by the time we get home, probably. We'll just take the helicopter over. All right, so we're looking for food and chickens. <laughs> Let's go. All right, the garden's looking real good. I think it's ready for harvest. Nothing like a fully grown garden to restock the food chest after we lost everything there a couple of days ago. Just noticing here too that I have like an awkwardly large amount of both chrysanthemum and blueberries, which are both essentially useless. Really probably need more potatoes by the looks of it and mushrooms. Oh, and look at that with the last crop there, level three in green hands. Nice, so the next harvest I think we'll be getting three crops per hit and just double check all the water containers. And this is just still... Oh wait, I missed all these mushrooms. Yeah, these are still not pulling water from the center. I don't know what's going on with that. Like, I guess these were just, are doing fine just on rainwater alone, maybe? Now we need chickens. All right, let's just, um... <laughs> okay, you, you hang out the side with the tranquilizer gun and I'll, I'll fly around and try to keep it stable for you. We'll get a couple of tranquilizer shots off on a chicken. No, I don't really know where the best place is to find them. I guess I'll just uh, park it over here by the mine. I was over here mining uh, 
clay last night with um uh who's our new guy neuro so there should be whoa whoa look out for trees a little bit yep we're good yeah where is the mining hole that's the gunpowder mine we've had a lot of fun times over there uh the the other mine is right there i can see it yeah we'll just park it here at the mine kind of familiar territory for me and you can see all the clay that I ripped off there last night. I feel uh, pressured these days to kind of like, you know, show you what I've been doing off camera because there have been some cheating accusations in the comments. So, uh, you know, <laughs> go ahead, accuse away, man, because I've got all the footage for this series saved. So if you need me to upload a little short for you to, to show you the raw footage, I'd be more than happy to just to prove you wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me know if you see any chickens out here. Oh, you know, while we're out here, not a bad idea to get some honey, if I can. Nope. Hmm. Not a creature was stirring, not even a chicken. No zombies, no deer, no pigs, no wolves, nothing. I see one zombie over there. Oh, what, what, are we, what are you running your ass over here for? How could you possibly hear me from over there? Is Feral Sense on, or are you guys just... Maybe you guys are like evolved zombies. You can hear better. Yeah, you got the uh, explosive immune remains there. So I will be happy to kill you and yank those out of whatever part of your body they sit in. Tonight, we got to mine iron. I've used all the iron already. So yeah, if we want to get more steel, we got about 2000 steel and more crafting. So I think we're doing okay, but uh, the more the merrier, of course. How could there not be a single chicken? I've, I've, I've walked all the way over here and nothing. I suppose I should just pay more attention while I'm out here and get the eggs. The only reason I'm looking for chicken is to get eggs. So if I could just get the eggs, it kind of skips a step there for us. What is this? This is like one of the Wild West things. Okay, what do we got here? Some ammo, good. Some fat, maybe, no. Some crops up here. This is a, uh, it looks like a chicken coop POI type of thing. What is this? So I've got a, ooh, ooh, hello there, soldier. Did you literally, <laughs> he like pushed me through the wall. I'll take those remains. And while I'm here, what, what, what do I get out of this? Oh, that's super corn. Are you kidding me? Wow, that's crazy. Is this super corn? No, this is regular corn. Huh. Well, I've never seen super corn just growing in the wild. That's another three super corn and three regular corn. Yeah, this is, um, what the hell is this place anyway? I can't tell if it's this POI here or if it's this POI here or if it's this one or if these are all the same. I don't know. I recognize that house. That's the, that's a vanilla house. It's like a Victorian house, I think. Uh, but it's also the snake house. All right, here we go. I'm walking straight into a POI. It could be a terrible ambush waiting for me here. Oh, there's a wolf, so, you know, at least something's alive around here. And, um, I can't have the pumpkin. No! Wait, wait, wait. Maybe if I, like, uh, wrench it or something, that'll work? Oh, look out. I got caught on fire a little bit there. Whoops. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Drone. I'm good. You're not getting away. Come back here. Need that fat. Here we go. Give me those remains. You know, the first couple of times I played this game way back, like before I was making content and stuff, I suffered... Oh, there's some honey. Uh, two really, really bad base collapses. I think <laughs> we've all had base collapses before, right? So can I have that? I can. Nice. Is this super corn? No, that's just dead corn. Okay. Uh, oh, fire extinguisher. Nice. My first one since I fixed the mod. Right, so we've all had base collapses, right? I, I would imagine. Most of us, anyway. If you've ever built a tower base, <laughs> you've probably run into some stability problems. But, um, you know, those two times my base collapsed, it was really bad. Like, lost all of my materials, had to start all over again. And, like, one time, I just kind of rage quit. I remember I was doing a perception playthrough and trying out the spear. <laughs> That was about the last time I used the spear too. But um, after I restarted a, a world for a couple of days, I realized that I, I really wanted to go back to that original one where there was the collapse. And I wanted to do a rebuild and see if I could actually manage to get a base put together. And it was really like the most fun that I ever had. And these days where, you know, I, I've learned the game and I, I understand the ins and outs and the do's and don'ts. The amount of times that I've suffered like major defeats and I've lost materials and my crafting stations have been destroyed, those are few and far between, which only makes me like and appreciate this mod even more that it's it's still able to afford me the challenge that I had when I was just starting out. Right now, the challenge is finding chickens. I've spent half the day out here. <laughs> it's not the challenge I was talking about really. I wonder, you can buy the chickens though, I think, from the farmer trader. I just thought it would be easy. I only need two chickens. Ah! 
All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna work my way back. If anything, we can just um, get the quad bike and roll around and see if we can find one on that. Kind of covers some ground a little bit more quickly. But um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of like way off here. We're heading straight back. Oh, is this? I've never seen that stump before. Is that a honey stump? Oh, it is. Oh, I was just like rolling through here. Like, what the hell happened here? Yeah, it's one of the treasures I uh, dug up. <laughs> That I was probably accused of cheating on. Oh, here we go. Got a biker. Got to kill him still for the uh, armor penetration aura. Ooh, take that. You know, usually, you know, comments like that, I just turn the other way. But uh, these days, you know, this is my job. So if someone attacks my integrity, I got to defend myself. Oh, another biker. Hello there. A little bit tougher than the other one. Ooh, look out. All right, anyway, slight bust on this mission. Let's head back and see if we can at least buy the chickens and get a chicken coop crafted. I think it was the farmer trader that uh, sells that. We'll have to check it out. Okay, legions lost. Tell me, you got plenty of dogs. Do you have chickens though? Seeker says, oh, here we go. They're kind of pricey if I'm being honest, but I think I just needed two of these. And uh, is that it? Oh my goodness, I'm starving and thirsty. Wow, and slacking on my survival skills. Okay, I have a few things crafting away upstairs. We had that mission there to collect like cornmeal. So I'm making cornmeal. I've got the sticks, I've got the chickens. We'll complete that quest and we'll get the chicken coop schematic and then we'll craft at least one chicken coop. In the meantime, it's time to come down here and finish things off. I think we're all set with these. I am making some vault doors to put in here instead. And I've got the... Uh, vault hatches here. I think I made several extra because I want to also put vault doors like on the backs of these However, this one let's see if I plastered one right there That is actually borrowing stability from like the table saw or something which is just not what you want to see So what we could do is uh, ooh, uh, That would actually work pretty well I think but if we just got like uh, this corner piece right here and then one there then just kind of rotate it so it opens outward and that kind of looks like a hinge i don't really like that shape though something more like a uh, stairs spiller pyral or otherwise known as the spiral pillar yeah that might look a little bit better let's try that it's debatable i'm gonna do it anyway because i think it'll look better once it's painted okay and then can i just upgrade that to, yep, concrete, everything to concrete at least these days. Okay, and then that'll open right up, seal everything in. Okay, lights are on, it's eight o'clock, good. How are the lights looking? Lights are looking fair. You guys need to stop shooting things. This is definitely, definitely you guys' fault. Shooting down here towards zombies. Okay, fix that, and this time, going to steal. Along with like basically everything else around here. See, this was the only block that we lost there during the screamer battle the other night. So this, nope, this will go in that orientation and then the hatch will go in the flat orientation folding up toward us. I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it, but um, I'm gonna roll with it anyway. Okay, to steal fully upgrade this. Is this fully upgraded? That is, okay, steal. And then if I jump out here, what are we looking at for this side? Okay, I think, yeah, I'll have someone do the repairs. I don't need to kind of fuss around with all this stuff, but I think we're looking okay out here. This is all steel. This is the explosion resistant concrete, which didn't that have 5,000 hit points before? And now it has 7,500. That's cool, cool with me anyway. Yeah, fix the door. And uh, there's nothing else I can really do. These are all steel and these, um. The spiller pyrals, <laughs> Jeez, I can't even say it correctly now. Spiral pillars are uh, are occupying this block spot right here. It kind of looks like it wouldn't be, but it is. So there's nothing I can do about that. I would, if I could, if I really wanted to grind that off, I would put something else here that would better cover this block from spit. But that's the best I can do for now. I think it should hold up. And then if it gets too dicey, I'll just close the doors, shut it all down, and we'll move them over to a different side. Oh, and there was the other thing I wanted to do. I wanted to put like a fence up uh, on this. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Well, after I finish upgrading in here, I gotta get everything up to steel and then I'll meet you out there. Okay, steel upgrades are done. I've done a little bit of crafting upstairs and now it's time. I also, I put the structural integrity goggles on so we can see what's going on here because uh, we do have to figure out um, if what I'm about to do is going to do any, or like possibly cause this to collapse. Are we good here? Are we good? 
I think we're good. I've got 50 explosion resistant concrete cubes. That's more for like areas down there and over there. What we're about to build right now needs to be steel. Okay, so the idea is to build something here that will just slow down the zombies a little bit as they're trying to come down this causeway. So I think just going three high with these posts and then putting bars in the middle will be just what we need. Okay, I'm still green on the outliner, but just real quickly check on what's going on here. Looks good, we shall continue. All right, a little bit of action here, what's going on? It's hard to say because if one zombie shows up, We've got nine people shooting at him, so it's like, is this a massive horde? Oh my god. No, no, it's just one person. Okay. Uh, yeah, but it's kind of hard for you to see on the other camera angle, but this is what we're looking at here. So it's uh, double pillars going up, and then check the integrity again. Looks okay. Looks okay. The question is going to be, if I upgrade this to steel, is it going to be too heavy? So we'll just go slowly here with the upgrades and make sure that uh, we don't cause any sort of collapse here. Whoa, no, no, I was being so careful. How, what the hell? Oh crap. Oh my God, I gotta rebuild this whole thing now. Okay, and that that was like a lot of explosion resistant concrete too, like uh, probably like 40 blocks of it. I do have like plenty, We I've made a whole bunch of it. We were able to make two extra batches, but still. All right, quick as we can then. We gotta get a whole new causeway built over to the other side. And I, I still do want to do the plan, the original plan that I had, except now I'm just gonna have to like connect it to the ground, you know? There's gonna have to be another support pillar for this whole system here. Okay, I got the bottom portion built and I've got them set into the foundation. Now just a matter of rebuilding the framework, setting the bars back in and re-upgrading everything. <laughs> Weren't we just talking about base collapses and how it doesn't happen to me anymore? I totally jinxed myself. I even had the advantage of these stru structural integrity goggles and st it still happened. All right, final process here, upgrading the steel. All right, that there is a done deal. It, um, it doesn't look too bad actually. I kind of like it. And of course, everything looks better when it's painted. But yeah, so the zombies will come up here. I made it three tall so that the the seekers also will get stuck back here. And this just gives them like four layers of steel that they have to carve through while I'm sitting here with my tuna fish gravy toast and my armor piercing rounds with my armor penetration aura, just rinsing them right down this way. Hopefully with the drone not in my face, there we go. Yeah, just like this, just just pumping ammo downrange and uh, hopefully that will buy us enough time. And of course, you know, things might fail down there, but really I think the weakest link up here is the door. So if I can keep them away from the door for longer, I think that increases our survivability. Now we just gotta replicate that whole thing on this side over here. It's funny, I'm putting way more effort into these like afterthought side fighting positions than I am the main front fighting positions just because I feel like we've probably reached like pretty much max capacity on the front without doing a complete overhaul. All right, that's everything built up. Had to, I ran out of cobblestone cube shapes, so I'll have to make a few more of those, but uh, we have plenty of resources. Well, probably really low on wood, but I'll do the best I can out here anyway. Okay, surprisingly, I have just run out of steel. Uh, that whole project there was really, really costly. Uh, so I'm gonna go upstairs and see if I can make any more of it. Oh, before I head back in, let's just set down some of these blocks. Of course, we're gonna need more of these because I used a whole bunch for the foundation of these. But yeah, we're getting there. We're making some progress. It's a huge project getting this place buttoned up for what I'm expecting to be it's just a absolutely destructive and vicious horde coming up soon. But uh, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Oh, I, I forgot to mention, I put in some stools here. Just in case we ever get like a health and safety inspection, uh, I want to make sure that uh, they know that I'm taking good care of my employees. Okay, so since we're here, we should be fine now to... Oh yes, I have already got the chicken coop schematic because I got all this stuff in my inventory. So we can read that and... Chicken coop. Can I make a couple of these? Oh, oh, I can make actually, is it one chicken each? Well, either way, I'm gonna make like three of these. Uh, we've gotta get these these furnaces running again. It's getting uh, tight here with the steel situation. Where's all my steel? 
There it is. Okay, yeah, so we can make a couple thousand more. So I'll take maybe like 550 into each of these, please. And there's a whole bunch actually sitting in these forges. So, okay, wait, we're far better off than I thought I was. And right, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, this has gotta go, unfortunately. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing here that we did downstairs just to make sure that there's absolutely no way for spit or anything like that, any sort of projectile to come in here. Ah, yes. The, the old fashioned bandit raid. They can't even get to the friggin' steps anymore. Arno Stahl has made it to the stairs along with Thracen and Attack of the Dodo and Diana Kelly and Carrie Haley. <laughs> They're not getting much further than this. Christodoria, Cat, Cajun Thunder. ND22Z0, and that the cat was the last one there. Oh wait, nope, ND was the last one. Nice try. Oh yeah, see these are actually slightly damaged. Oh, how are we doing on ammo on these anyway? Out of ammo, and uh, loaded with ammo. Okay, I'm gonna just redo this then. Okay, so these ones are just going to open up like this, and downstairs here, I should be able to plaster in the six doors. They're gonna be all going in just like this. It it's it looks kind of weird but it's what we have to do i i think i don't know if this is gonna work at all but um this is it so as an example this is going to be our firing line only visible by this very very small area i'll step back here i'm a little bit elevated because of these security gates so i can just crouch down sometimes you get sneak attack damage anyway and just try to get as many headshots as i can and then when i'm ready i will okay Right, because we're going to be starting off in this configuration here with just this door open. When that one's done, hit that, hit that, close the door again, open this door, and that'll be down, and we'll fight here until this gets killed, and we'll be able to kind of open this up and check on the status of everything. And then when this side fails, come back out here, make sure that's closed. We'll just open them up on the left, close the door, and I could just open one or both of these doors. And uh, should be safe if I just kind of step back. There shouldn't be anyone that sees me too well. Right, and then rinse and repeat onto this side. So I think that's about as good as it's going to get for the next horde at least. Okay, just for now though, I want them open on the front because um, that's where the allies are going to be able to shoot them the best. All right, I forgot all about that quad bike. I can set that down and put some fuel into it. Hopefully it doesn't take like 10,000 fuel. Oh, that's pretty cool actually. I like that. Very small. Open it up and... Yeah, that takes a lot of fuel. That takes uh, 10,000 fuel. Okay. <laughs> well, we need more gas then. How are we doing on ammo? Ammo was short on brass, but there's 11,000 of it right there. How are we doing now? Okay, we can get a couple thousand. We are short on nitrate. Oh, I can hear a horde walking in. Okay. Quickly get these guys out of here. Nitrate and razzle dazzle. Nitrate, that should be good for about 10,000 nitrate. Okay, yeah, here they come. <laughs> they still just stand absolutely no chance. Now, for some reason, they're just trying to use the stupid drawbridge over here. Could you guys just not do that, please? What is wrong with you? Come on over here. Okay, good. These guys might have some remains on them. Then again, if they're just the regular evolved zombies, they're not gonna have them. All right, let's go set down those chicken coops over at the farm. This is just not a good place for chickens over here. It's bad enough to have a Dalmatian here. If I had to say so, probably the best place to put it is over here. Okay, I brought the, um, oh my goodness, they're small. I was expecting like uh, Undead Legacy style where they would be huge. Okay, so in that case, maybe I want them to live over here. Yeah, how about we just uh, put a couple just like this and uh, like that, and it's probably what, like one? Um, how do I put the chicken in? Is it like one each? Nothing to gather, occupant, none. Where, where do I just have to put the chicken down nearby? Is that is that the trick here? Z-Bark, the chicken. No, he's still, he, oh, go oh, there we go. Okay, so he does live here now. I see, oh, we've got free range chickens out here. I'm just, I'm hoping that they don't fall off the edge. That would be kind of tragic. I'll just hope that they have brains enough not to do that and they can kind of just, you know, peck around in the garden. And those should, every hour, produce eggs, I think. Yeah, we got Donnerbur, Flounder, and Z-Bark the chickens. At this point, um, I want to do something that we haven't done before, and that's go do a quest in the snow biome. So I'm gonna fly my way over there, see who's out there. I think it's Trader Joel. Get a job from him and see if we can do some kind of a new tier five mission out here. However, I gotta do a quick pit stop here for this airdrop. Yep, just uh, 
Nice and slowly here. Take the fat and bones and stuff off of him. We got a farming bundle and some other junk. Okay, up we go before we get shot. All right, to the trader. Okay, just at first glance, it didn't look like there was any sort of a tier five in this city here. But I could see several off in the distance that are like wilderness POIs. Joel, what do you got for me? Do you happen to have any um, shotgun turrets? Or double barrel shotguns. This is where I got them the last time. He does have a couple. Sure, I'll take those just in case I ever have to recraft the shotgun turrets. And a job. Tier 5. We don't want to go south. That's the wasteland. We have one 3.8 kilometers to the north of fetching clear at Armageddon by Stallion's Den. Jeez, I don't think I have the... <laughs> um... Oh, Le Cube by Z-Bark. That sounds far more up my alley. Yeah, I don't have the ammo on me right now for a Stallion's Den POI. Just not possible. If I do Stallion's Den POI, I gotta have the whole crew with me and like, you know, at least 2,000 rounds of AP 7.62. All right, wow, we get, we're get we going almost five clicks over there to the northwest. I'll meet you over there. Yeah, this whole part of the map here is uncharted. I, we kind of went through here before when we got lost, like if we check the map. I did go through this road. Oh my God, there's a whole wasteland up there. And then wrapped it back around through a temperate biome, through the snow into the temperate biome again. All right, here we go. We're doing the cube. All right, looks like a military installation but it looks big as well. There's definitely a lot more than meets the eye here. Oh, look, warthogs. Warthogs and a rad right by none of these are working. Oh boy, we have a, a person here with a um, attack assault rifle that can help me out. Nope, that's a, that's a bandit. Ooh, taking, taking fire from someone. I can't see where it's coming from. Oh, here it is. Take you down. This is your uh, skeleton zombie warrior right here, I think. Oh, geez, aiming to get at some point. Pistol user. You know how I feel about pistol users. Okay, well, at a bare minimum, we have some backup guns today in case anything goes wrong. All right, we'll go through here a little bit later. We don't have all day. Well, we, we have all day, but I don't want to take all day. Hey, rage capsule. That's a good find. So anyway, let's hit it and start poking our way through here. Fetch and... Nope, not fetch and clear. It's just a clear. Just a clear, and I need these body bags. Oh, look at that, a rampage. I didn't realize I could get a rampage going off of, um, whoops, uh, birds, but yeah, there you go. Where are all these stupid things coming from? Oh my god, we've got like evolved dogs now that run right straight through you. Okay, as much as I like having the rampage, I do kind of need to poke around here and salvage resources and pick up body bags. The rage is not meant to last forever, I guess. I do have the rage capsule, though. Not that it's the same thing. All right, I've cleared the first half of the outside. <laughs> Time to move into the probably significantly worse half of the outside. Man, this place looks cool, though. Oh, geez. <laughs> X marks the spot. Uh, what kind of a spot, though? Oh, rads. Oh, man, a whole bunch of them. Okay, locked. And uh, that said locked, too, I think. Yes. Can't unlock them. So I guess we're just, you know, trying to kill here. Oh, jeez! Totally trapped already! Yep, gonna be one of those types of places. Gotta at least try to be careful with the ammo use today. We don't have unlimited ammo. And we know what happened the last time I ran out of ammo, although I should be in a far better position to survive now that I have, like, splints and steroids and things like that. And I did repair my armor before I left to come here today. Just picked up some vitamins. That's always nice. Locked, unlocked. Okay. Z-Bark is a good POI maker, so I would imagine I don't have to do anything to get through that. There's probably another way. Yeah, like, this way. Oh! Hello? I heard ceiling tiles breaking. There we go. Uh, lots of activity behind this door here. Here, let's, um, let's just prime them for one big explosive ending for them. There we go. Oh, yes. Uh, okay, that's not real fire. That's like pseudo fire. It should go out in a second. 
Yeah, okay, I'm not on fire. I'm good. Oh, I've got the drone with me now, too, with the healing items in it. That's always helpful. Okay, I'm not, not here to salvage. I don't need electrical parts. I need, um, I need springs right now, I think, is the thing I'm short on the most. Should go back to that POI that had all the beds <laughs> to harvest some of those up. Whoop. Oh, okay. Well, same deal here, then. Nothing different than before. Oh, jeez. Yes, they are evolved, and they can do stuff like that. Ow! Holy crap, holy crap. Fire, fire, fire. Yes, put me out, please. Whoa, lots of zombies back there. Okay, close that door. Temporarily. Give me a little bit of reprieve here. Yes, uh, do something with stuff and make myself better. I don't know what I did. I, I ate pills, and it put me out from being on fire, so... All right. Okay, they can't open this door. I guess the uh, the evolved zombie has been killed. Okay, massive fire, though. I don't know what's catching on fire here, though. This is all... Oh, there's, there's little bits of <coughs> wood here and there. Okay, just be prepared for massive ambushes then, it seems. Oh, boy. What is this? Oh, I like these lights. Do I want to maybe take some of these with me? I think I do. These are good to, like, put over top of the workstations back home. It'll help light the area since I had to take down both of our little lamps that we had. Is this some kind of, like, a reactor? Or, like, uh, something like that? Huh, okay, nowhere to go, though, that I can see. Um, oh, this is, this is the other cube. So I've walked through. So I've, I've searched this cube. There might not even be an underground portion, but how do I get to the lower part of this cube. And I don't think there's anything going on here, really, that I can see. All right, I'm gonna go back outside. Oh, hello there, Stone Wyvern. Nice. Stone Wyvern with the the pistol, of all things. You better be quiet out here. I got Molotovs, you know. Yeah, how do I get in the bottom portion of this building, is the question. Hmm, now I don't see anything, though. I mean, I didn't see anything really on the rooftop when I flew over. I guess that's something of a possibility. I guess I gotta head back in and look around some more. Maybe there's a button that I missed. Okay, no, I don't... I don't see anything. I guess I gotta rip through here. Oh! Careful with the gas, too. I don't have very much of it. In fact, I think the impact driver is gonna be even faster than the auger. Okay, we're in. Oh, there is an underground portion. Yeah. Okay, getting a little bit late in the day, too. So there might be, like, um an underground tunnel that connects the two, and that's how we're gonna clear out the bottom portion of the next- Holy crap! Hello there. Oh, Z-Bark surprising me with the snakes a little bit there. Oh, I just jumped up here. Hidden stash, nice. Are you kidding me? Oh, steroid schematic. Into the other room here now. Yes, okay, that looks like it's going into the other, you know, area that's locked, okay. I might have to carve my way through that, who knows. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, I don't like that these doors are locked open. I'd really like to put a door between me and these zombies. There we go. Drum mag coming in handy there. Oh man. Oh, snakes. Snakes everywhere here. Oh, and there are zombies that are going to carve their way through that door someday. 21,000 hit points. It's gonna take a while. Oh. One zombie didn't wake up. Oh, maybe more. Oh my goodness, yes, many more. Okay. Get into the funnel, everybody. There we go. I'm shocked. Look out. No, I think I'm good here. Are we good? Yeah, still just got some <laughs> Look at the pile of zombies. There's so many. They're just filling up the corridor here. Where did you guys come from? I see. Sneaky hole in the wall. Okay, so far this place is dangerous, but not unmanageable alone. Um, oh, I see some zombies up there. Okay, so we're in the basement level of the second cube. That's the ground level of the second cube. How do I get there? Probably through here, I would say. We're just gonna have to do it. There's gotta be a button, right? See, oh, wait, there's a staircase. Oh, geez. Well, I guess I'll take the stairs. Okay, uh, for this one though, Rage Capsule. How long does this last for? It doesn't say. Oh! God, that scared me. Okay. I'm on a real rampage now. Yep, here we go. Die! Oh, here's the main loot as well. That's nice. There we go. Eat that. Take that. 
Yes! Holy crap, more zombies! Whoa! Just get into this hallway. Ah, that was not what I wanted. That is also not what I wanted. Help! Onto the stairs, please. And just let it rip. Whenever I had a rampage, now would be a good time. Radiation damage. I got Prussian blue. I've also I've got everything I need right now. I'm good. I'm infected a little bit, but I've brought herbal antibiotics with me. Hungry a little bit. I got some peas. Save the tuna though. That's good for tuna fish gravy toast. Holy crap! That was a total ambush there. Man, I spoke too soon about being uh, this POI being manageable. I guess I'm, I'm managing just fine. We do have a zombie. Stuck in the reactor area. Oh, they were hiding behind this thing here the whole time. There's more! Yeah, okay. We can handle them real quickly. <laughs> Sneak damage too. Love it. What do you got, Cookie? You got nothing. But we're not all clear. We do have a screamer. Yeah, let's just get the loot so we can get out of here if we have to. Oh my god, was that the Reaper? That's the Reaper. Oh my god, I've got it finally. Switching over immediately. I will um, compare the damage here in just a second. Oh, it's got five mod slots on it too, so it's like maxed out. We are doing, okay, 173, 139 compared to 41 and 81. Wow, the Reaper is just dramatically better. Here's a look at, oh my god, it's so cool. I can just use it as my axe as well. <laughs> Lovely. There we go. And the good loot is not much here. Okay, give me some Red Bull. We still gotta find a couple of zombies. I know where there's at least a couple. And checking on the compass. Oh yeah, we got the one guy that's still down here. So take care of him. I think a cop just blew up outside. And now on the compass, it's showing... I think the zombies that are down here behind this door. Okay, we're in. Get the Reaper out. Take this. Whoa. Oh, does it have area of effect? Oh, crap, the Screamer. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Look at this place here. This place is nice. We do have Screamer zombies that are inbound, though. Oh, crap. I've, I've, I'm all clogged up on the inventory, too. Okay, just uh, stackable and sellable items only, please. And it's, it's very quiet outside. Wow! What are you doing here? Okay. Oh, well, that, that uh, didn't last long. <laughs> Zombie grudge. Hey, let me in here. This is just the last bit of loot. We haven't cleared the area yet? Are you friggin' kidding me? Okay. Oh, there's an icon right there. That might be the rooftop, honestly. You know what? I don't have the patience for this. I'm gonna just carve through the ceiling. Come on. There we go. The night sky above me. Just what I was looking for. Okay. Lock and load. Are we good? Okay, more beer, please. Just in case. And a red tea. And a coffee. Because I, I should be able to do this with the Reaper nice and quietly. All right. Up we go. Oh, it's just birds. Yep, that was it. Quest is over. Yep. Oh, there's a, uh, a corpulent. <laughs> Called him a succulent before. I think I like that. <laughs> Cactus boy. All right, well, I'll take you out, just if anything, to uh, test out my new weapon. Yes, Mr. Paquin, can you please come out here? And kneecap you a little bit. Yeah, I can do like 500 damage per hit. Here, take that and die. Corpulent. Give, oh, jeez, Big Mama. Big Mama with a freaking big body push. Okay, I just wanna check your loot bag there. Anything, sham, military fiber, don't need that. Don't need empty cans. Okay, I think we're good here. Let's go home. Let's go get our quest reward first. Okay, yes, uh, right, because it's the tier four, so we get all kinds of good stuff here. So we can take the genetics bundle. That'll give us a an extra perk book. The DNA boosts we can just sell. Weapon parts bundle, ammo crafting bundle. These seem to be the quest rewards every single time. Is this, all, is this it? Is this all I get to choose from? And then uh, the Mad Max Hunter Repair Tool. Not really interested in that, honestly, and I don't know where to find one anyway. The R8 Magnum Schematic, we found a bunch of those anyway. So, yep, these three it is. And we're good here. Let's head home. There it is, man. I've never actually played the game with dynamic meshes on, and I'm finally able to with my new computer. It's so cool to see it from, like, from the trader back there. Okay, set her down. And have a look at the loot haul, because I wasn't paying too much attention. Okay, HK, the Desert Eagle. That's my old Darkeen Scythe, the Savage. I love that thing. The STI 2011. We've seen that, haven't we? I'll pull it out just in case we haven't. 
And otherwise, yeah, just start shoving all that stuff into the inventory. Definitely gonna have to do a sell-off here very shortly. Yep, yep, we've seen that before. All right, I'm gonna get everything put away and organized, and then if there's any time left over in the night, I'm just gonna head over there real quick and do a little bit of iron mining so that I can get the forges running again. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. Since the base is ready for the Horde and ammo production is going full steam ahead, it's time to strike off into the wilderness and see what's waiting to be discovered out there. I think it's finally time for a revenge mission to Jaden Enterprises, the site of my last near-death experience. And there's a whole town and trader out there to meet as well. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, I'm just down here getting started and there was a cyborg a second ago that came by trying to kill me. So I will take the scrap from him and then we gotta get started on repair here. We have a couple more days to get this all ship shape and ready to fight. And I learned something in the meantime, and that is that cops actually have a, I don't know if it's like a, a modifier that increases their damage to steel, or if it's a modifier that decreases their damage to concrete and stone. But either way, concrete is the way to go if you're trying to defend against cops. So. Uh, for a second there, I was like trying to maybe get away from the concrete and go more towards steel and now I'm going in the other direction. We got to go away from the steel and more towards this explosion resistant concrete that I've uh, made and I have, I think probably a couple thousand of it. It's kind of just sitting back home. I'm getting this weird bug lately where um, things are not making uh, sound at the right time. Yeah, you can see that. That didn't even make a sound at all. I don't know what's going on there, but if things are uh, sounding kind of weird, that is why. I don't I don't know if there's anything I can really do about it. It seems to happen sometimes, and then sometimes it doesn't, and it also seems to happen more so around the base. Anyway, I'm just going to take a minute here to get everything plugged back in. Now I'm going to do a little bit of work on the topsoil, and then we'll get started on our day. And it looks like I'm out of resources yet again, so I guess we're good for now. Let's get inside, and there's a little bit of work to be done in there. Namely, with these bulletproof glass blocks, we got to seal all of this in I think mostly because the threat would be the um the rates that kind of shoot their little I don't know what you call it it's like a little orb and it does a ton of block damage and it also spawns a skeleton warrior so we would like to minimize that happening inside the base here okay so I got all the bulletproof glass blocks in I hope and I just put a fuel saver on the quad bike there and um <laughs> Ramsey when he updated the mod last time he increased the crafting speed of gas by like I think it was 20 times faster which was very dramatic but it did allow me to get a whole bunch of extra fuel crafted so I will set a lock slot for that stuff and just toss everything else away and with that oh I have some ammo crafting over here a little bit more to go on that and I think everything over here is just working on steel let me get this converted over to steel ingots we're probably in a position where we can do some cooking now we're gonna need cornbread oh and that reminds me we need to make a feed bucket. That's the one thing I missed out on over at the garden. We need wood. Wood to make a feed bucket. Also uh, kind of low on iron right now, but that's just because it's all going into steel. And we're looking good on the tuna fish gravy toast right now. Uh, what was the pumpkin bread again? That was bartering. Oh, let's do that right now, though. Let's do a sell-off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm all, I'm kind of all over the place. I was just on vacation last week, so it's been a solid um, probably 10 days at this point since I recorded the last episode. So I basically, I recorded like five episodes ahead, went on vacation. Uh, all of those episodes have now uh, been watched, hopefully, by you. And um, so now I'm just kind of like figuring out where the heck I left off. Anyway, pumpkin bread in, and we'll start with Rackus. Okay, there we go. We're up to 47,000. I think we made a solid, you know, probably 35K off of that, I would say. And all of the cell chests are empty. Um, I don't I don't have a good spot for this right now, because this is empty here. I don't even know what was in there before. Class and genetics. What's the most important stuff that we don't want to lose, right? <laughs> um, nothing, really. Like, I put all the important stuff away in there, so... All right, well, whatever. Just take this out and we'll put it in here. Right there. Excellent. Okay, I don't know what to put in it yet, but we'll figure that out as we go along. That's fair. Okay. And um, was there anything we needed to buy from these guys? Oh, you know what we need to do is we need to uh, gather up everyone's resources. Show me your inventory. Because I've had these guys out mining a lot, and I don't think I've picked up their inventory for a while. Yeah, look at that. Almost 13,000 nitrate in there. Definitely need that. Oh, you're not a, you're not a miner. Sorry, who's the miner here? 
Uh, yeah, over here. Y'all are going mining again. <laughs> uh, let me just figure out what I'm going to be short on because basically bullet manufacturing is the most important thing and that is going to be held back by brass. Oh my god, they can't even help with brass. That's not good. That means I've got to go get the brass. Where do I get brass? I get brass from loot bags, mostly. All right, we, we got to go clear out POIs, I think. Here, I send everyone mining and I'm heading out. Right, I'm going to take the quad bike with me. Take that. And of course, we'll take the helicopter. I want to go back to the, the Jaden Enterprise Tower that we were at before and uh, finish that place off. Hopefully, the zombies have not respawned there. Uh, how many days has it been? It That was the day before the last horde. So it's been uh, eight days days i don't know what i have zombie respawn set to but we will soon find out so i can see a whole bunch of zombies down here oh they're fighting like wolves and coyotes or whatnot oh geez get away from the helicopter also kind of sounds like there's a um survivor here somewhere oh get away from me yikes no 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 we're not gonna get a broken arm here two seconds into this that's a bandit oh my god and old crone dead there we go brass doorknobs there now, if I recall, there should be all kinds of radiators in this place that I was just passing up before. So let's get in here and see if anyone has respawned. Holy crap, nope, 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 they respawned. Crap, man, that means we gotta kill all the zombies. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. That would be a lot of work. Ooh, this thing is fun. <laughs> just, just to like airlift all these zombies. Speaking of airlift. Okay, so if we just drop this on the roof, I'm just gonna assume that there's zombies up here. So we'll try to be a little bit cautious about it. Can I just like dive out here? Ooh, that was uh, kind of close there. And get a couple of contact grenades ready so I can take these guys out in one fell swoop. One or two or three, maybe. Ooh, look, look out for that cop there. Here we go. Um, I can't help but notice that I'm moving really, really slow, so let's get a uh, Red Bull into me, please. Thank you. Speaking of, there's just, a, there's so many of them. Ooh, I can see, um, air conditioners. That's probably gonna be good for brass. Ooh, got cop going up somewhere. Okay, these zombies are so confused, but man, the knockdown power on this thing is really nice. Oh, jeez. Close call there. Alright, it's time. I just have to be a little bit conservative on the ammo here. We ran out of ammo last time, and that was just... That was the end, basically. Oh my god, the cops. They're being ridiculous here. Here, um... Mercenaries, help! Woo! Yep, okay, I'm something. Oh, I have not broken anything. That's good news. Steel armor is coming in handy a little bit. Mercenaries are doing relatively good work. I'll leave them to it, and now I'll, I'll take everybody else that's following me over here. Here we go. Whoa, oh, the knockdown is just so good. Look out! Ow! Okay, good job, guys. No time to dwell, though. I need your help to kill everybody else. What's going on here? Get rid of all this. Okay, I probably need to put the steel axe away. I think I decided that the last time. Here we go. Come on, guys. Everybody down here, please. Yep, whistle them down. Let's do this. Oh, yes. Oh, did I see that before? I feel like I saw that before. Okay, just like ditch him over here with um, with the uh, the mercenaries. Um, yeah, just don't mind me, guys. All right, things are uh, getting a little bit heated up here. Not good. I mean, the Molotov didn't help, but... Okay, drone is definitely helping me out a lot here. Mercenaries are going to despawn. There's only two left anyway. And... Uh, Wow, these are just all straight rads. Yep, Fisher Girl's dead. Whoa! We're getting there. We're making some progress. Wow, these are all just like whites, mutated, rads, bikers, soldiers, spiders, and cops. It's literally the worst set of zombies you could expect to have. I did get an abrasion and I broke my arm. Okay, broken arm could be worse. Oh, jeez, look out. And I've burned through half my ammo already. This place is just absolutely... What happened to you? Oh! <laughs> nice job there. Yeah, I do hear zombies. Are they stuck up here? Where are the zombies stuck at? I think they're... They must be downstairs then. This looks like the main loot area, so I'm content to just kind of loot this place and then call it good. Oh, and I can't remember. Did we talk about what happened at the last Horde Night? Because if you remember back at the Horde Night there on... What was that? Day 50. Uh, there were no Seekers 
Oh, is this where the zombies are? Yeah, okay. Oh, and people keep telling me to get a crowbar. I, I just haven't found one yet. Like, I want to use a crowbar because I've heard they've been buffed, but um, I just haven't found one yet. I don't I don't know if I can craft one. Right, so anyway, yeah, I can't. Uh, the, the Horde Knight, th so there was a, a bug. I don't know if I've told you this yet or not, but there was a bug basically where the exact game stage that I was, I think it was like 109, uh, <laughs> Seekers could not spawn at that specific game stage. Ooh, I dodged one and I got nailed by the other, I think. So uh, that's been fixed. So we're gonna have a mixture of like Seekers and everything else at the next Horde Night. Uh, just, a, just a weird, weird bug only that very particular game stage are you broken crap i don't think i have vehicle repair kits on me i don't ah you're kind of useless oh and there's a screamer oh geez <laughs> not this again okay here's the loot ah! oh jeez it's not that scared the crap out of me but uh it, what i was saying there earlier <laughs> nine times out of ten when something is going wrong with this mod it's just me <laughs> it's not the mod steel flanged maze there nice wow all kinds of good stuff up here oh man i wish i was into shotguns because uh, i love the look of that shotgun that um what's it called again the mark 12 j raptor <laughs> it's even got a cool name yeah, if I could just like slow down a little bit and read patch notes and then remember the patch notes, I'd be doing a lot better. You know, it's just like basically Darkness Falls when the first time I played that, I, you know, was confused. I didn't know what was going on. There's so much that's different, so much that's changed, and there's only so much that you can do within the confines of the game and the game engine. So some of it is uh, a little bit counterintuitive and you gotta just kind of like experience it to learn how it works. Here we go. Yeah, I was thinking, I need to get some blueberry pie, because that is basically your looting candy option there. Shotgun turret bundle, not bad. Yeah, I'll take all that. Cool. Oh, maybe do I want to take this with me? <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, sure. Oh, what I really want is this, because these are good for, like, uh, cell chests, basically. Oh, another one. Very nice, Doomsday Hammer, and it's actually pretty well repaired. That was the problem with the last one I got, is that it only had a sliver of health left. Right, well, it was a good idea to come here, I think, but uh, I'm not gonna go down any further, because every step down you go, you have to kill another 35 zombies, and I'm only down to, well, I got a little bit of ammo out of some loot bags, I think, but yeah, not not really in a position where I can um, uh, <laughs> complete this, uh, this, this quest here. It's not even a quest anymore, just like an old, it was like for vengeance more or less, and uh, I, I'm, I'm willing to now concede that the zombies have got the better of me here. Just see if I can get any of the things that I came for. A little bit of brass out of that. Yep, got a couple of radiators there. There's a trader over here in this town somewhere. That's a cool little, like, uh, dirt bike track. Oh, <gasps> I've got the 4x4, four four, the, uh, the, what, what's it called? The, the, Oh, 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 wait, 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 there's some more radiators there. I've got the, the quad bike with me, so we can go on the, the racetrack there and see how that goes. All right, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm probably gonna die here at some point. All right, let's go. <laughs> see if the zombies can catch me in here. Oh my God, there's ramps and everything. <laughs> zombies just running around like ants trying to catch me here. What are the chances there's a landmine in here somewhere that I'm just gonna accidentally roll over and blow my leg off on? This is like the perfect multiplayer POI to come here with a friend and race. <laughs> oh man, if only I had some friends. Got somebody out here with a pipe machine gun and if I had to say, that's probably a bandit here in the desert. All right, I win the race. I think I'm done here. <laughs> it's uh pick this up and oh yeah let's get out of here okay right before i found this I, I had noticed that there was a there is a trader out here somewhere i have an opening trade routes right over there let's go check that out oh it's like a wild west town out here and there's a trader at it oh there's some new stuff here that i've never seen before well not probably not the place for there could be radiators i guess like a hot water radiator for brass what we really need also there's doors for doorknobs I don't know if I'm harvesting uh, doorknobs out of doors. I don't know if I ever got that book. Or, you know, there's no books in Rebirth, so I don't know where you'd get that benefit from. Got dogs. Oh my god, there's dogs in the trader? By the way, what the hell is this? Have I never seen this before? This is new. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Light Foo Foo. Why are there so many dogs in here? I mean, I'm not really gonna complain. This is a good source of bone for me. Bone and animal fat. Now, why there are dogs inside of a trader POI, I'm not sure. That would be an interesting kind of tactic to defend the trader. Or maybe the trader's like being held hostage or something. All right, whoop, hello. 
Whoa, spiral stairs really weird me out. Oh, it's like, <laughs> it's like a spiral, but it spirals back around. Oh, what's up, Bobby? Oh my God, you got a dog right behind you, bud. Look out, look out, look out, kill the dog. What the heck? Are there any more dogs? Holy crap, there's a whole bunch of traders down here. And a whole bunch of dogs too. Okay, who wants to uh, tell me what you got for jobs? Let's go over to Bobby here. I don't know if I've met Bob yet. Let's get a job. Oh man, he's giving us jobs all over the place. Oh, Terminus, whoa. Terminus from The Walking Dead. That sounds really cool. Also, we've got the prison from The Walking Dead. Herschel's farm from The Walking Dead. <laughs> I've seen that one before, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got the L4D Left for Dead baby tunnel, and this is by Crater Creator. That's um, a fun pimp staff member at this point. Wow, all kinds. Area 53. Whoa. Okay, that's um, that's sounding pretty cool. Let's check that out. Yeah. So that reminds me, Crater Creator. He's uh, he's kind of running the um, Alpha 21 streamer weekend event thing, and so I'm like signed up for that. I'll be doing that. Uh, to try to bring you guys a little bit of coverage there as we kick off the Alpha 21 weekend. Um, so as of right now, the... Okay, that's right over there. That's really quite close by. In fact, we must have seen that. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, in terms of the Alpha 21 streamer weekend, so I think creators will get access on Friday. And we'll have Friday, Saturday, Sunday to stream and make content for you guys. Uh, I know it's painful, it's unfortunate. I, I do wish that uh, everyone kind of just got it at the same time. Just, you know, I don't know. It feels, I feel privileged basically. And I don't like that kind of feeling. I like, I don't know. I don't, I just don't like feeling like I'm special or whatever. So anyways, I'll do my best to bring you guys some good comment, but leave me some comments if you have any suggestions. Basically my plan is that, um, uh, there's three options. I can stream alone. I'm going to at least do one stream with other people. And it's like nightfall, so <laughs> should I really be here right now? Um, so yeah, I can stream with others, I can stream alone, or I can stream on Twitch, because uh, that will be starting up soon. Uh, they're doing the new Twitch integration stuff, and I like it. I've been watching Wayward Echo streaming uh, for that stuff for a while now, and it's fun. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the VOD from all of my Twitch streams, and I'm going to post it to my new VOD channel. So there's like another... Uh, you know, I, I made another channel basically, Guns, Nerds, and Steel VODs, and uh, that's where I'll be posting long form content. And anything that I stream on Twitch will be posted over there. Just because it um, it kind of damages the channel if you're posting stuff that's not going to be as popular as the stuff that I traditionally post, which is which is what's going to happen if I start posting like really long streams. So. Uh, in order to protect my channel, I'm going to not do that. So I think we will return here at some point. Uh, nightfall, oh, just just really not a good idea, but I, I see pumpkins down there and honestly, I do like pumpkins. So, uh, but yeah, I think just for the sake of safety, let's just return here in the morning. Let's head back home. All right, bringing her in nice and easy here. <laughs> Um, I don't know when I'm gonna actually do the the renewed paint job. I'm really dreading that project. Uh, we just basically got like no brass today either. What a what a failure. Let's uh, let's try to max the character out. I I feel like at this point we should be able to do it. So parkour, better barter. Yeah, I'll take that one into lucky looter. Pack mule. That'll just let me take an, uh, a pocket mod off of one of my pieces of armor. And that's it, I guess, because uh, he doesn't have any cardio books. Yeah, I guess we're just at that stage right now where brass is like the most important thing. We need the brass to make the bullets. And we need the bullets to kill the zombies. The good news is I think I have more AP762 bullets now than I could even possibly shoot off on Horde Knight. Unless you had like the micro gun, which is like, you know, the Gatling gun minigun that has such a high fire rate. But yeah, with the gun that I have right now, I don't think we're gonna burn through all of it. So look how much we have right now. We have four full stacks. Holy crap, that's a lot. So yeah, things are looking really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna poke around tonight and do some repairing, get some stuff crafted. We need to work on some like, you know, skeleton warrior mind control potion stuff. I'll try to sort through all that. And uh, we'll pick things up here in a couple of hours at daylight. Okay, so just cracked morning there. I decorated downstairs last night, so we can take a quick peek at that. So it's just a little bit more filled in down here, and uh, the walls are kind of covered up a little bit. I think it looks okay, not too bad. Got some plants down. 
Don't forget to water them. And it looks like all the forges have run cold because uh, I'm basically running low on resources. I did have Neuro last night repair the base and he didn't say that he was missing any resources. So I'm going to assume that he was able to repair everything. They are currently out mining right now and we should be good on resources except for brass. So that's gonna be the goal for today. I was just coming over here to pick up my 10 mind control brews and try to decide what I'm gonna do with that because our options are uh, we could make the potion. Where's that? Yes, mind control potion. I do like these a lot better because the mind control brew, you have to be so close to the zombies. And um, I just feel like if you're going to hit a zombie, you might as well, you know, kill them while you're hitting them versus convert them. Whereas the mind control potion, that gives me like a ranged option. So I'm going to switch those over into potion form. And we do have the ability to perhaps make a couple of skeleton warriors. Skeleton warriors, not a bad... Oh, the skeleton army. I forgot about that one. Oh, boy. Yes, I do want to play around with this. Uh, okay. I still have difficulty wrapping... Uh, so what we want here are potions. Murky water. Right, because all of those were destroyed in the fire. All right, give me a minute to sort all this crap out then, because I need empty potion vials. Fill them up with water. And then for one skeleton army potion, it takes one ingredients for skeleton army. Well, I made 20, so we'll just make 20 of those. That'll take a couple minutes. I got the vehicles fixed up last night, and I think I wanted to do a little bit of cooking here, because we have enough to make a couple of blueberry pies. And uh, I think I said earlier that these are basically your... Uh, whoop, we're gonna need fuel for that. Yeah, these are basically your uh, eye candies now. This is plus 25% to your loot stage. Wow. I did make up some books last night. These were like the blank books that I've been kind of stockpiling for a while. So that should top us off on, um, not parkour. We need one more into parkour. That should be good on cardio and that's good on treasure hunter. And I believe all we have left now is one more point into parkour and we've completely maxed everything out here. So for the whole last week, it'll just be like, enjoying ourselves as a fully maxed out character. Okay, there's my potions and just turn those into... Oh geez, there's just um... <laughs> I always have difficulty in this menu here. There's just a lot of words. Right, we want the 20 uh, vials of potion skeleton armies. Something like that anyway, right? And um, yeah, I'm gonna wait for that because uh, on my hot bar now, I'm gonna start carrying the mind control brew and the... Um, the, what's it called the the skeleton army so that if we ever run into a situation like we did at the jaden enterprise again i'll have something you know i'll have a potion i can turn zombies onto my side i'll have an army that i can summon uh you know i won't always have to have allies with me i can just bring them in my tool belt and speaking of that i got rid of the axe and the pickaxe and i'll probably just kind of rearrange things here so that uh, i have easy access to the things i will really need okay so for now i think six skeleton armies will do let's hop in the helicopter I think I I put the four by I put, I put the quad bike in the robotic drone because that makes a lot of sense, right? He does have the expanded cargo mod, so you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's head over to uh, that was like an army base or something over there. Let's go check that out and see if we can harvest any brass out of it. So as we're rolling in here, I've been doing a lot of work. So I was on vacation, and in case you're not following like the community tab, I went to Sedona, Arizona. It's basically my favorite uh, vacation destination spot. Uh, me being from like, you know, temperate northeastern United States, it's really nice to go and see the desert. And, you know, of course, it, it, <laughs> I was deployed to the desert when I was in the army. And uh, yeah, that was not very fun. But being on vacation in the desert, <laughs> a completely different ball game. Oh my God, it's a baby fox cub. Wow, that is super cute. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Uh, where's your mom? Not sure, but uh, there's a whole bunch of survivors out here. And that's a bandit, actually. Max Corner running straight for me. Whoa. That was brutal. And then we got, uh, oh, look out. Cordell, I think, over here. What's your name? Cordell Batten. Help him out. Oops, sorry. Did I do that? Or did the, no, the zombie had shock hands, I think. Holy crap. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Good stuff. Anyway, so uh, while I was away, I got all kinds of inspiration for the next series. And so the only thing I'm ready to divulge right now is that the next series will be a desert playthrough. It's been, I don't know if I've ever done a series where I lived in the desert uh, maybe not since my very first series, which was the the Vanguard series. That was a couple years ago. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and hit it here. I guess we're as ready as we'll ever be. All right, let's do this. Start by getting that out of the way. All right, where's your radiators? Whoop, that's not a radiator. 
All right, Cordell, if you want to come in here and help, uh, I would appreciate it. Watch out for the fox cub. Protect that thing at all costs. Oh boy. I'm kind of on fire right now. It's not the serious kind of fire though, so I'm, I'm, I'm very stingy about my 42 murky waters. So if I'm just on kind of like a mini fire, I'm okay with that. And oh, those are landmines, look out. So this is called Area 53. All kinds of resources here too. Um, I, I don't know what I think about the airplane here. <laughs> uh, I've seen better, I'll put it that way. Not too bad though. Uh, a for effort. What was that noise? Did you hear that? I swear to God, I've never heard that noise before, and it's really freaking me out here. All right, all right, is there a special zombie here somewhere that's making fancy noises? Was it you, Cordell, that made that weird noise? You wanna come in here? I guess I could allow that. Come on in. Oh, was it the grudge over there? Is she the one that makes that weird noise? I'm gonna just listen here for a second. Get rid of you. Ow. Just wave here. Ow. Yeah, I, I don't really know. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a definitely super fire there. Nope. Or was it you, Cloud Z? Uh, one of these zombies is making weird noises, and I'm, I'm not gonna sleep easy until I figure out what the hell was going on there. Oh, hello there. Take care of these guys. Oh, he's fighting a snake. Oh, and in fact, everybody is far more interested in the snake than they are in me. I'll allow it. Ah, yes, the pumpkins and stuff. This is what I really want. Three pumpkins apiece. Nice, because there's so many things that, that are uh, good to make with pumpkins, like pumpkin bread and pumpkin cheesecake. Uh, of course, we got lurkers from outside, though. What's new? Ah! Crap! Sorry about that. <laughs> Didn't mean to kind of chew your face off there with the auger any worse than it already is. Hello there! Where'd you all come from? You're making me burn through all my ammo. Holy That's shit. more like it. Nice. And with my rage skills. There we go. Okay, well, since I'm enraged, I might just kind of run in here all willy-nilly, right? And try to get a couple of kills to keep it going. It's hard to beat that. What is it? Plus 50% or is it plus 100% damage? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've uh, been playing the game, right? Good to get a break, though, once in a while. Here we go, I got a radiator here. We'll get that in just a little bit, but uh, that's basically all that we're here for right now. Okay, I am abraded. Careful not to uh, get a fracture or anything. Oh, I don't have the lock picks anymore. Right, got rid of those. Don't need them anyway. The auger is more than enough. Whoa, look out. Ah, they're pushing me upstairs. Damn. Oh my god, I love this thing. I suffered through so much just using the regular old scythe for so long, and now I'm rewarded with this thing. Man, the Reaper. I don't know if the Reaper, how it compares to the other, like, top class weapons, but uh, I'm really, really liking this. Okay, beer's good for drinking, and coffee is good for stamina. Ah, this, this black dot glitch. I wish I knew what caused that, and I do hope that they fix that someday. They hopefully will because they're redoing how windows work. They said in the uh, live stream that windows will no longer be entities, they'll be blocks, basically. Uh, so I don't know what that means, but basically they said that uh, it's going to be a part of the world mesh and that it's going to help performance, so hopefully that will be the case. Come on, crowbar. Nope, but I got a new reaper, which is... Uh, I'll check it in just a second. Who's this? Don't forget I'm collecting these gun safes. There we go. I don't know where the rest of the zombies are at this point. Maybe it's time to loot up. Are we done? No, oh, we still have to clear the area. I don't see any zombies on the compass. Yes, I do. They're way, way off this way. Are you the ones over here? It looks like they are. I think the snake might even be one as well. Oh, jeez. Look out. Deep laceration. Okay, get me some safety and first aid kit. Still looking for more zombies. Was there like an under... Oh, wait, inside the plane. I bet that's where they are. Aha, uh -huh. oh, hello? Yeah, here they are. Arlene, you bitch. God damn it, I got another deep laceration. There we go. That was not it either. Okay, this is cool. It's like a little cargo net mesh kind of system there. I like that, it's good touch. 
And whoops, that's just not a zombie. Okay, the plane is clear, unless there's uh, somebody up on the top here, which no, there's not. All oh, right, I forgot I was harvesting <laughs> pumpkins there a second ago before I got sidetracked. And, uh, oh yes, yeah, I, I haven't even seen the main loot yet, so we're probably getting there. Oh yes, you know, Area 53 wouldn't be in Area 53 if there wasn't like a big underground portion, right? And we will circle back for the rest of the good stuff. Like, ooh, M92 pistol. Got to take a look at that. I don't think I've seen one of these before. This is just... Oh, oh the sound is so good. I really wish that um, there was a... I think I've, I've mentioned this before, but the thing that this mod needs is um, you need to be able to have a secondary weapon. So your primary weapon is like your long rifle here, and you get a secondary like a pistol class. Um, of course, this mod is still in development. I'm sure there's a long way to go. And and Ramsey needs stuff like this. Ramsey's the mod author, by the way, in case you didn't know that. Yeah, so um, he needs this kind of feedback. Uh, people that have played the mod for, you know, going on 60 days so that he can figure out what it needs and what it doesn't need, what needs to be fixed, what needs to be added, things like that. And uh, the mod is definitely increasing in popularity. If you look at like Ramsey's YouTube channel and Ramsey's Discord, like he's getting all kinds of people playing the mod. You know, definitely a lot of love for this mod right now. And so uh, I'm sure Ramsey will take that feedback to heart and uh, come up with some solutions there. And here we go. We're working into, oh my God, it's a UFO. And uh, wouldn't you know it, there's some rads as well. Yep, yep, I've woken them all up too. Okay, um, just maybe get some fire down there for those guys and uh, soften them up just a little bit and get me some Red Bulls so I can run. And uh, how about we test out the Skeleton Army? Oh my god, I got five of them. Fight! Okay, I, just, uh, I totally just ran by everybody to come back down here. Everyone's up here fighting. Look at them all! This is so cool! Okay, I'm gonna hide on top of the sandbags and just watch this happen. Here we go, this is the big fight right here. <laughs> Gil! Yeah, they're they're doing good work. I mean, they're slow because, you know, they're melee and they're not really, really badass like I am. But, um, hey, it works in a pinch just to have, like, uh, some, some distraction zombies, right? All right, guys, excellent work. And, and how long do you guys last for? Do you guys, are you with me until you die or? Yeah, I might wanna just, like, stir up some zombies if I can and not get pinned in here. <laughs> Ooh, that was super close. Okay. Yes, stir up the zombies and yes, don't uh, don't block me in there. I think I can actually just path right straight through them anyway. So, right. Everybody with me, there's our main loot. Come on over to the uh, skeleton uh, warriors here. I'll even actually do a potion if I can get these guys clustered up properly here and we'll turn them over to our side if it's if it's possible. I'm not sure, like, where the cutoff is. Like, can I get rads? Can I get ferals? I can get everybody. Look at that. <laughs> this is fun, man. I like this a lot. Uh, it's... I guess I, um... I didn't use this very much early on because if you let all your allies do the work for you, you can't level up, like, your class very well. But really, in a pinch, this is what you need. Anybody in there? Yeah, oh, she just completely clobbered that guy. Uh, so the bad news is I'm gonna have to actually kill all of these guys, so... Let's just start working on that. Actually, I think they get full health when they convert back. Maybe, though, I can kill them while they're turned. Oopsie is just done. He's he's retired for the night, I guess. Yeah, go ahead and, um, there's a cop that's gonna blow up there, and... Uh, oh, there we go! They've all converted back over. Yeah, and they're full health, too, so that's, that's how that works, I guess. No matter. Should be able to handle it myself and we're good where it's still not clear though huh okay there's got to be some more zombies here somewhere maybe here we go are you the last guy nope nope what about you not you i guess i'll take the main loot while i'm here got a good mark 14 there and who needs an axe when you got this thing there's the heavy titanium flanged mace Wow, here we go. Good stuff in here. Blade trap bundle. We're kind of running low on blade traps, so I'll take that. Not that they really do anything at all, but whatever. Okay, well, one thing I need to do is stash the inventory, and the other thing I need to do is find the last zombie. Uh, this could take a while. In fact, I might have actually parked too far away to go stash the inventory, which is kind of a bummer. 
What I could do is just uh, sacrifice this to stash my stuff inside. Oh, here we go. I've just been like looting through here for like the past several hours. Like, where is this last zombie? And yeah, I just checked the rooftop and there's a whole bunch of birds and crawlers up here. So I think hopefully this will do it. Oh, look out. Yep. Ah, oh my God. Total ambush here. One more crawler, please. One more. Oh, nope, there's more up here somewhere. Okay, so what, what was this anyway? Oh, oh, geez, I almost fell down there. No, I got max parkour, so I'd be fine anyway, right? <laughs> Look at this helicopter. Oh, it's so ridiculous. Okay, I can see markers over here. Oh, so in the tower is one. I did not check this tower, did I? Yep, yeah, here's, here's the guy right here, one of them. And another one. Is there a tower over here I missed? There's, what's going on here? I've, I've been over here before, certainly. Oh, maybe not. Hello there. All the good names are in use. And that was it. Good, I still gotta head downstairs and loot up though. There's a whole bunch of loot I left behind. Okay, anyway, at this point, I think I've, I've pretty much, you know, salvaged out anything that I really think that I need. And I think we can get out of here and head home. What are these zombies doing lurking around my helicopter? Well, whatever the reason is, stop hitting it. I just repaired this thing. A brand new fresh paint job on it. All right, and we are off. Pretty cool place. Oh, we gotta get our reward too, don't we? Yeah, all right, I'll meet you over there. It's the same stuff every time, isn't it? It's the genetics, the weapons parts, and the large ammo crafting bundle, as well as a couple of, you know, much less significant things. All right, well, that's it. I guess I'll save, I'll save uh, getting a job in, until we're ready to actually do another job, which is not tonight. I think tonight what I'd rather do is just kind of lurk around town here and continue gathering up some brass. Got a big old Wild West town. There must be all kinds of doorknobs and radiators around here. And uh, I wanted to start off in that place right there. And I could also probably get a little bit of free corn here while I'm at it. There we go. Get out of here. Okay, Duke Patrol. The Duke Patrol, okay. Still kind of a custom POI, I do like the looks of it. Let's head in here and see what's up. Oh, lots of zombies are up here. Is that gonna work? Yes, it worked. There we go, too easy. Give me that fire extinguisher if I can have it, please. I cannot have it, I guess. Little wall safe here with Stormbreaker. Oh, is that from like the Marvel comics? I just watched the, Aven <laughs> the Avengers on the airplane when I was on vacation. All right. <laughs> come on in here, guys, or I'll, I'll come on in here and take care of business here a little bit. There we go. And last one. Right, that's what we want right there. Bl brass radiators and brass doorknobs. Ow. Whoa. Hello there, everybody. Where did you all come from? Oh, crap. The, the evolved zombies are opening doors on me. <laughs> oh, that freaks me out, man. All right, I can get two of the lights out of these things, too. I forgot about that. Okay, give me those then. What is wrong with this guy? Ted Sheckler is like a freaking statue up there. Oh, we still gotta kill those types of zombies, too, anyway, for the trade aura. And then we're still killing bikers there for the, um... Uh, armor... Or is it... Uh, what is it? Armor penetration or... Yeah, something like that aura. Oh, look, stocking up on these guys. Bunch of skateboarders hanging out here in the Wild West. Kind of surprised the amount of radiators in here, given that, you know, this is the desert. You think we were in the friggin', you know, Rocky Mountains or something like that. Whoa, there's a whole bunch of good stuff in there. Look at all this stuff. Titanium long dark blade. There was the, the jackal assassin knife. Bunch of weapon parts. Cool. I feel like I'm getting to a point where I can craft a lot of other weapons too, so we might have to look around and see like, what's the most valuable weapon I can craft and start making a couple of those instead of just making, like, piles and piles of the Scar Light or whatever it is that I'm carrying here. Scar Light? Scar Heavy? Scar Light. I think it's, you know, technically if it's firing 7.62, though, it's the Scar Heavy, though, right? Ooh, that's gotta hurt. There we go. Rampage. Nice. I can start running through here now. Whoop, look out, and it's nightfall too. Not that, I don't think that makes uh, too much of a difference. Right, how are we looking on main loot here? Uh, oh, hello there, Thomas. Look out. Okay, I don't see a main loot yet. We got a ways to go though. How are we getting up there? There's a staircase. Check this, and then, yes. Oops, a couple more things to check here. Yep, nice, oh, look out. Yeah, so I'm just kind of running in from outside now. 
and not fire immune, unfortunately. Okay, ooh, what's that? Oh, the G36C mech. I think I have checked that out before. I don't mind checking it out again, though. Holy crap. Oh, yes, this is the one that was really cool. This is so nice. All right, I'm using this for the big boss fight up here, if there is one. Oh, love it. Okay, looks like that was the main loot, and there is a tier three loot stash. Maybe some more stuff up there, not sure. Okay, not much there. What do you expect though? Tier three in the desert, uh, not terribly exciting. Okay, it's pretty cool. It's just a kind of a tower up here. Um, are those, ooh, 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 ah, whoa, ow, whoa, crap. What happened? What the hell was that? The whole thing was held up by a satellite dish. <laughs> it's crazy. And wow, collapsed the whole rooftop. My goodness, Duke's patrol, huh? Well, the Duke needs to hire some better engineers, maybe. And now the place is on fire, so... Yep, that's our cue. We gotta get out of here. This place is doomed. It's probably your fault there, nerdy gnat. Whoa! Look out. Oh, another one. Yellow boy. All right, are we good here now? Can I freaking catch my breath here for two seconds? No. Ah! Okay, and that was it. I don't think I need sand. Let's get out of here. Okay, into the air. Yep, yeah, that place is toast, quite literally. Right, I think that we will be good on brass now, so let's just head home and see how we made out today. Yeah, so just flying around here, there's a Stallion's Den amusement park, there's the Eden Mall, there's um, a big mall here. I think I've been there before, like long, long ago in the past. There's like a military installation down here. So this map is called the Wilderness Project, and uh, the purpose of it is to basically put a lot of interesting stuff out in the wilderness instead of just having a bunch of like log cabins out in the wilderness. So it kind of gives you more incentive to get out and explore and cover more of the map. So I think from now on, uh, there's something down here. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, from now on, I'll probably try to get my quests from the traders that are really far away from us. And so we can get some quests to these really fun places like we did today. All right, man, let's have a look at the loot hall here. Just a ton, a ton of stuff to go through. And I just did the sell off too. So let me get all this stuff organized and I'll catch up with you. Holy crap. In uh, maybe more than a little bit. <laughs> it's going to be a while. All right. I think everything is put away and I should have the rest of my skeleton army potions right there. I did craft up, I think the last point and that's going to go into parkour. Yes. One more into parkour and we're done. The character is now fully, fully maxed out. Except for, you know, our class, which is actually lagging really, really far behind. We are currently eight, level eight now in the Witch Doctor. Or or are we level seven and we're progressing to level eight? It's uh it's not it's confusing. So I think I am level eight. We're progressing toward level nine. We just need to get tactical rifles up a little bit more. Should make some good progress toward that on Horde Knight. And at this point, I don't see that like our black magic, it's just all about like increasing percentage modifiers. Our tactical rifles, same thing, just firing faster, uh, penetrating more armor. And with the scythes, I can craft the Reaper at level 8, but, you know, we're, we're doing well on that. In fact, there was the other Reaper that I found, which is, just checking here, uh, wow, significantly worse than the one I have. Like, dramatically. It loses, uses less stamina, but, um... Holy crap, the damage is so much better on the one I'm using. Okay, so that should just about do it. I'll have to start coming up with a plan for tomorrow. We gotta send all these guys out mining, gather up the resources that they have. Uh, just another reminder about the streamer weekend. That's coming up in a, probably a couple of weeks, and so I'll be streaming with other people. I have a crew that I've invited to come stream with me, and uh, so it'll be just kind of similar. If you were here way back when we did the Alpha 21, uh, you'll you'll kind of be aware of what we're gonna do there. Basically, it'll be like a seven hour stream streaming the first seven days i will also be releasing episode one of my new series um the day that the live stream starts or the day that the streamer weekend starts so that'll be a released on friday will be like basically when the embargo is lifted there so definitely expect that i'm already working on the like the whole series concept the the base design i'm working on uh, hiring a voice actor to do 
the introduction to the series. So I'm excited to do that and to show you all what that's gonna look like. And I'm hoping to be able to do uh, some commissioned work for the Fun Pimps. I have extended an offer to them to, uh, to produce some content for them. So stay tuned for that. Fingers crossed that that uh, goes well and that they're receptive to that. They were very receptive in the past to me um, doing the interview with uh, Rick and Joel. So, you know, hopefully the I'm in their <laughs> good graces, so to speak. Well, anyways, it's almost morning. So I'm basically just going to figure out what we're going to do tomorrow. This this is Horde Day. So basically it's going to be making final preparations. Got to get everything hooked up and maybe start try to slap a little bit of paint on here before it all kicks off. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. We're pulling out all the stops in the upcoming horde. Extra armor plating, a secure floor for the fighting room, and two additional fighting positions that have been battle tested. Bulletproof glass blocks the windows, and the allies have been rearranged for their own safety. But there's no test like Horde Night. So we'll spend the day collecting brass for bullets before settling in for the fight of our lives. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. And good morning. Well, the base is being painted over there, so while that's going, I think uh, we should head out here somewhere in town and see if we can find a, just like a house. Just a simple house. I'm not gonna go into the wasteland today. I'm not gonna do a tier five today. I'm hopefully not gonna break a leg today, but I'll break Big Mama's legs right here. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, hopefully we can find some brass out here, some radiators, doorknobs. Uh, what I'm looking for is just simple residential. You know what? Quiet Pines is right over here. Yeah, I think this is going to have to be the place. Of course, this place is halfway in the wasteland. <laughs> you can see the wasteland over here. So that might present a challenge at some point, but hopefully we can just kind of poke through here nice and quietly yep 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 hush 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 don't make any noise please okay, i'm gonna circle straight around back oh boy but i have oh geez what's going on here friggin our lead is what's going on what's new get out of here right we're gonna circle around the back here to johnny's birthday party whoops hello there okay do you see any brass back here or probably got to go into the house and uh, start working on doorknobs and such is there like a whole bunch of zombies over here that I'm hearing? Yes, there is. Oh, jeez. Oh, and they're heading into the uh, the creepy house right there. That might be a good backup option. Big Mama's knocking trees down. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have to get some juice into us, followed by some coffee, and let's jump down here and work on our scythe skill. I wanna conserve the ammo as much as I possibly can. Come on, Rampage. I can feel it coming. Any second now. Come on. Are you kidding me? That whole thing, I, I swear those were all headshots. Okay, where'd the rest of you go? Because I saw a bunch of people trundling in here. There's a big bear there. I'm gonna just take him out. Yeah, they're, they're coming out now, I think. Come on! There we go. I can, like, three-shot a bear, basically. Love it. There we go. Extra explosive immune remains. Yeah, we need to, like, spend more time here in the, the regular pine forest biome so that we can uh, stock up on those explosive remains so that we can then uh, build some of that uh, explosive resistant concrete. All right, let's do the best we can here. How do I get in? How about right here? And yes, doorknob off of that door there. This is a tier five. So these, uh, I think these POIs oftentimes have rads and stuff in them. Yes, in fact they do, it looks like. Ah, trying not to die uh, like I did on the last Horde night. <laughs> that would be, that would be fantastic if I didn't have to like, you know, scramble to get my stuff and my vehicle and all that jazz that happened at like, you know, eight o'clock at night the last time. Yes, and this is exactly what we're here for. Brass radiators and brass doorknobs and brass faucets or lamps if I can find them. Are these like brass dome lights? They are. Okay, so we can take those and scrap them down. Holy crap, there's a whole ton of them. Oh, hello there. Not sure how much brass I'm gonna get off of these dome lights, but I guess we'll find out a little later. I'm trying to think of where the main loot is on this place. It's, um, it's underground. Oh, <laughs> hi there, Mo. Take care of him. Um, yeah, it, it's like in a bunker basement type of thing, I think. Okay, doing fine here. Ooh, Type 56 assault rifle. <laughs> Remember I was using that for like three days before I figured out it wasn't actually a tactical rifle? Ah, those were the days. 
The days when I had no idea what I was doing. Not that it's very much better at this point. Okay, I guess uh, I guess we're good here. We can move on to the next one. I got all the doors. Yep, we're clear. All right, what's going on in this house here? Not a whole lot. I am basically starving to death, though, so <laughs> whatever I can get my hands on, I'm going to chow it down. Yeah, just like the last house, this one is just loaded with the brass ceiling lights. And all the commotion seems to be drawing in zombies from outside. Oh, <laughs> she just opened the front door. Speaking of that, I'll take it. Here we go. Whoop, explosive immune boy. <laughs> oh, this thing is just hilarious. Oh, you can just get such um, such air on these zombies. Here we go. Oh, did I just get radiated? I did. I got radiation damage, but I've got 35 Prussian blues on me. I, it took a while, but I finally did get, like, all of the, the things that I need to fix myself on the hotbar and stuff. So, it really doesn't matter if we get infected or, you know, radiation damage, broken arm. We're good. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've salvaged everything out of here that's worth anything, so I'm thinking it's time to move on to the next one. We're going to clear half this POI out by the time the horde arrives. Anyway, we're moving on to this one over here. This one might actually poke into the wasteland. Holy crap, dog! Take that and stir up the zombies. Hello. Take that door out before someone else does. Hello there, soldier. Soldiers are still pretty tough, man. I got the I got the the uh, the drop on that one though. High performance running shoes. <laughs> I haven't seen a pair of those in ages. <laughs> I like it. Oh no 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 no. We don't need fires here at all. Oh, there's a fire boy back there. Get out of here and put that friggin' fire out. All right, clear down. Moving up. Taking the doors out, that's my number one priority. Get the doors before the zombies do. Gun store box here with some ammo. All right, next up here, just gonna fly in and murder every zombie that's in the backyard here. Couple of dogs. Otherwise, not much, so I'm heading inside. All right, wake up everyone. Oh geez, look at them push me. I hate that, it's so annoying. Are you dead? Yep, she's dead. Man, there's no shortage of lights in here, what the? Who designed this place? I mean, this place is awesome. Definitely one of the better combo pack POIs, but my goodness, a little overboard on the lights, don't you think? Not that I'm complaining, really, I'm just saying. All clear in this one, though. And it's only lunchtime, actually. Not making too bad a time here today. And there's really nothing to do back at the base except for some wiring. I might... Let's see, we got three houses left. I might, um... Try to pick out the main loot one. I, I think it's that center one right there. Uh, maybe do that and then head back. We just gotta do some wiring. Oh, jeez, hello there, Thomas. How dare you? And there's a fire in the backyard over there. Who did that? All right, all we really have to do is go back to the base and um, get uh, our ammo ready and stuff. And I think we're probably gonna be good after that. Oh, ow. Look at all these zombies just spawning in right in front of me. How dare you guys do that? Look at the hazmat people over here. Look out, if I get an infection. Yeah, hazmat people have a higher chance to infect you. Okay, conserve the ammo if I can. Don't need to be doing that. Ooh, doorknobs in there. Hello there. Okay, at this point, I'm starting to feel the pinch a little bit. Also, there was a comment a while back that said, um, back when I was kind of complaining about uh, 44 magnums <laughs> and uh, getting so much 44 ammo and not having a way to use it, other than like, you know, low magazine capacity. Uh, pistols and such. And yeah, someone suggested that, uh, what if there was a 44 Magnum turret? And I was like, holy crap, that's actually, that's the perfect solution. Because, like, you're never gonna be short on ways to use your 7.62. It's just, it, you know, that's your primary go-to weapon most of the time. All the full auto weapons, even if you're not specced into it, an M60 is still a deadly weapon. And then you got your shotgun turrets, your 9 mil turrets, and, uh, so yeah, there's no other way to use your 44 Magnum. I think that would be a great solution to have a turret or something. Or just, you know, at this point really being able to like smelt it or uh, scrap it or dismantle it or something to turn it into some sort of a useful ammo type for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think this is uh, this is not where I want to be, so I'll, I'll poke my head in here just to get these radiators. But uh, I think the main loot is elsewhere. Yeah, how did it go before? Is it... Is it this one over here? Mm, no, I don't... That doesn't, that doesn't look familiar to me. Let's try this one over here. See what Marlene's up to. Hello. Um, this one doesn't look familiar either. Okay. Uh, things changed or... 
Am I just doing this wrong or what? Where is, there's like an underground something something here somewhere. Yeah, at this rate, I, my goal was to go back home by like um, three o'clock, which gives me about an hour, which is about like, I don't know, a couple five in-game minutes maybe. Yeah, and I don't see, um, is it, there's a basement in that one. Okay, I'll dip in there and see if this is what I'm looking for. It. It could be, maybe. Holy crap. Oh, that guy's got a lot of hit points and he's about to blow. We don't want that. That would that would mean a lot of fire. Oh, I leveled up. Interesting. Holy crap. Who was that? Oh, I'm like filled up on loot anyway, which is, uh, you know, in a bit of an issue. I may need to run outside real quick and stash. I wonder what the storage is on this. Not great, but really better than nothing. Oh, who's that? Is this... Is this what I'm lo Oh, here it is. Okay, here's the um, the bunker thing. And this dude here is in the bunker thing, isn't he? Huh, okay. Well, there's um, I'm trying to remember here. There's a way to get in, I think, from here, if I recall. Nope, nope, uh, never mind. <laughs> that, that's not the way in. I think you just gotta go in. Can I have that, please? I think you just gotta go in the, the old fashioned way which is basically right down the hatch here, which is locked. There we go, made it in. And the zombie's awake somewhere, is that? I'll have that, please. Um, oh geez, another one? Crap, I, there's, I remember there's another way in here. There's a way to do this properly. I just, I don't know what it is. I thought there was like a secret, like, um, like a ventilation duct that you could jump down through, or is this it? That's not it. Jeez, oh well. Okay, let's just go in through the door then. All right, I'm in. Oh, jeez. Hello. Go away. Go away. Go away. All right. Yes, this is... <laughs> what are you doing down here? You've got Death's Whisper. Holy crap. Oh my god, she's strong. And I'm kind of stuck in here. Holy crap. Roxy John Taylor and her friend there. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh my god, they're all stuck in the floor. Ah! Kill, kill, kill. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's that. Usually she has, like, a lot more friends with her, though. Okay, was this not the main loot? Oh, boy. Um, crap. I don't, I don't know that it is. There's always the basement that we kind of passed up before. This just might be some sort of a, a hunker bunker thing down here. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was the, uh, ooh, the battle sledgehammer. Not sure if I saw that before. Okay, all that, uh... Breaking and beating and pounding on the walls was basically for nothing and we are definitely cutting it close So let's head over here. There's another um, Wasn't there like a basement here? Yeah, I can see it. It's right here. Okay. We'll try this then. All right What was is this? Oh, this uh, definitely looks more familiar to me. This is where the main loot is, right? Oh, hello Yes, kind of okay. There is loot back here. I'm not sure about main loot Got the heavy titanium flanged mace there. Some first aid. Otherwise, not much is going on back here. Those valves are actually made out of a little bit of brass. Okay, definitely feel like I'm missing something here. Where to frig is like the main loot chest, or is is there one or not? Maybe I don't know. But at this point, I really don't have the time to um, to continue exploring. I could just kind of like poke my head in this third house over here, the only one that we haven't been to yet and just see if anything looks familiar over there. Whoop, give me that. Yeah, this one over here. Was there anything in here that has like main loot vibes? Ah, there's a screamer here now too. Okay, I definitely really just don't want to be around for that. Okay, give me Red Bull and let's get out of here. Oh, a chicken. Give, give me, give me, give me. Oh crap, I have to have my bare hands. Ah, uh, <laughs> come on, where is it? Ah, where did you go? Oh man, I lost it. I lost it. Did it go in the house here? Hello? That's like the first chicken I've seen in weeks, so I really don't want to pass it up, but I don't have much of a choice right now. We gotta go home. Oh, there he is! I got him! Ha ha ha, yes. All right, we're heading home. We gotta get ready for the horde. The base should be finished by now. There wasn't a whole lot to paint, mostly just touch-up job. Oh my god, I got catapulted. Okay, we gotta adjust the timers on this a little bit. Which one was messed up? Oh, this one. Okay, trigger duration, 10 seconds, please. There we go. Yeah, stop catapulting me inside. Okay, it's 8 o'clock. Let's get ready, get all the ammo. Um, 
Okay, there's actually a lot of things to check here. Um, oh, I did want to uh, rearrange some of you guys. So let's do that right now. I'm going to pick up all of our trainers, except for Briston. I think he's in a good spot. So come with me. Yep, that's looking better. That way I can put the pistol users in the corners here. Because I feel like if I want anyone to be obstructed by the corner of the wall here, it's going to be a pistol user. I want my high capacity people to be kind of more uh, in the middle, you know what I mean? Like this. Okay, does that, is everyone like relatively evenly spaced? It's, uh, it's not looking too, too bad. I think we're good here. Genetics box. Okay, rage capsule. Wouldn't be bad to start off with that, maybe. Food. Yes, food is big. We want tuna fish gravy and, um, the meat stew, right? That's the one that does the magazine capacity and stuff. Okay, what's the steak and potato? That's jump strength. We don't need that. Immune to shock. Eh. Immune to radiation. Probably okay with that. What did I cook most recently? Some more boiled water? No, I'm good on that. And distilled water and uh, blueberry pies over here. That'll be good for when we loot up a little bit later on. Okay, just drop a couple things in here to finish that off. Everything is nice and see- oh, 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 yes. Hyper, you are going to come with me and you're just gonna hide in- <laughs> hide in the gun safe temporarily along with the helicopter because basically I don't want things that zombies might target. Sometimes the zombies will go for uh, the dog, perhaps, and that's why they're breaking in here, but yeah, this place is as buttoned up as it can be. I mean, granted, the walls are mostly cobblestone, but um, hopefully the focus will be on these guys down here and on me in the bottom. Okay, I just got outside to uh, start the battle, and I realized that, uh, number one, the... Oh, am I hungry? Oh, crap, I'm hungry. Well, I'll be eating here in just a second anyway, but um, the blade traps are not hooked up, which is bad news, so need to fix that. Got a wire tool here. Just gonna wire it directly off of uh, anything. It doesn't even matter. And the second thing I realized is that I can't actually jump inside anymore because um, stupid. Oh crap! How am I gonna do this? Uh, because my jump height is too high, so I can't friggin' do the maneuver to jump inside anymore, which is just a tragedy. It's not good at all. Okay, spin all of these up. I really don't care how they are oriented. They are just going to blow up in a matter of seconds anyway. Okay. All right, jumping out now. Well, the day 60 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. got a good group of zombies out here and I've eaten all of my power-ups. We've got, um, <laughs> oh, we got a lot of stuff going on there on the bottom and the seekers are definitely here. All right, let's do this. We got to get a rampage going. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but just try to line them up for headshots the best we can. Got a deep laceration already. That's great news. Focus on the headshots. So far, no luck. Um, I don't, it's kind of hard because the big bodied zombies are kind of in the way. I'm almost feeling like the uh, armor piercing ammo will probably serve us better for this. When it was just the regular sized zombies, it wasn't so bad because I could kind of like line them up in a row. But yeah, this is not working and I'm out. So let's go over to the AP. Oh crap, give me some first aid. Definitely need it. Holy crap, okay, here we go. Do the best we can to see if we can get the rampage going and if things get a little bit too dicey, which they, they, they are. Uh, my leg is sprained here already. Um, yep, low threshold to kind of call it at this point and uh, head back to the base without the rage. Uh, oh crap, now my leg's broken, yep. Okay, time to go. Put a cast on me, there we go. Okay, I can at least move and I should have some steroids here. There we go. Well, okay, no, I think I'm good. I can stay out here now. Yeah, watch out for those orbs. Those uh, those do a lot of damage. Yeah, it's just like Seeker and Cop City down here. It's really bad. All right, it's now or never. I've got a bunch of re regular, basically rad zombies in front of me. Come on with the headshots, please. Oh, now the Seekers are here blocking me. Crap. All right, I'm gonna give it one more mag dump and then I've got to go back inside. All right, here we go. Got them all lined up now. One final try. Nope, 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 not working, not working at all. Ah, oh, crap, I'm stuck. Okay, 
I have got to get back inside. I've got to use the drawbridge, though. I don't have a choice right now. I have to go in this way. Oh, look at the ramp. It's already half destroyed. Yep, we got to go in this way because um, I can't, with my freaking parkour skills, I can't make my way in through the regular, uh, the doors. Okay, just make sure that um, I'm watching for zombies. There we go. Shut that down. Okay. Man, there's already a ton of damage going on in that room over there. Um, zombies still in here. Hello, Steven. Get the frig out of here. There we go. Okay. Wait a minute. No. Now we gotta spin them up on this side. Alright, this is it. This is what we've trained for. Shut the door. Alright, let's do this. Oh crap, I'm taking shots from friggin' cops already. How did that even happen? Radiation damage. Okay, I can fix that easily enough. I think the, the friggin' cops bit just tel totally teleported through this friggin' door, or the floor here. Alright, this is it right here. Oh my god, I'm, d I'm getting shot through the floor. Here we go, yeah. This is the stage of the game where physics just don't even apply. Uh, the good news is the, the wall that we built there it seems to be functioning well enough. There's a lot of explosions going on out there, but it's all explosion-resistant concrete, so hopefully this all holds up for a little while. Uh, yeah, we've got a Wraith, and uh, it sounds like uh, our friends are, are doing some good work there. It's kind of looking like they've made their way through the first set of bars there. I'm not entirely sure. I can't quite see. Sometimes they might just be getting pushed through. It kind of looks like that's the case. <laughs> like I said, physics don't really apply. All right, take care of the wraiths. They're becoming a bit of a problem here. The zombies, however, are really not much of a problem. I think this is... Oh, crap. Need repairs. This is um, definitely a viable strategy here to kind of push them out away from your base and make them work through some disposable blocks and just kind of freaking hose them down while you're at it. All right, stocking back up on my tuna fish gravy toast and my meat stew. Those things have run out, but they're good for another six minutes. That should get us through to the end of the horde. Speaking of horde, we're halfway through it at this point. Granted, we've spent a good portion of it at this point outside on foot, but I'm really feeling confident about how this is holding up so far. Oh, you know who I think who's spinning at me is those stupid radiated vultures and the wraiths up there. Although, I haven't been shooting up there very much. I think that the, the companions and the traders are doing a good job holding them off for me. They're, they're very quiet because I don't think they have a good um, angle on any zombies because all, all their field of fire is out there toward the south. Holy crap. Okay, major, major collapse over here. We've got to transfer them over to the other side. In fact, I'm going to just transfer them to the front left side over here just because I want to see mostly how it will work. Okay, the door seemingly has held up pretty well here. Let's um, just open both of them up. Oh yeah, definitely make sure that's closed. Okay, I can hear blade traps chopping uh, over there on the right side, it looks like. Yep, yep, here they are. Um, oh god, I thought that was something collapsing. It was the drone. <laughs> oh, good news. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't do that. That's not good. Oh, crap. Um, yep. Lock that freaking hatch there. I must have replaced it and forgot to uh, relock it. Yeah, the allies are shooting now. I can hear them. They're all, all seven of them, I think there are. to me. The problem with this position here is going to be that they're going to be damaging the uh, the, the plate down there, the, the plate, the door. Look, it's almost destroyed, so I'm going to sit here for two seconds and just fix that if I can. Yeah, just a, just a couple of regular rabs over there. Not doing too much yet. This is, this is definitely the volume door here. Okay, I am getting roughed up. I don't know what keeps hurting me, but... Um, I'm doing the best I can here. It's not going too terribly bad. Yeah, we've, we've definitely got this. I'm gonna call it right now. It's almost 3 a.m. and we're still holding strong here at this fighting position. I still am getting spit on. I feel like it's coming through the floor. Oh yes, it definitely is. Okay, I'm going to uh, shut this side down then. 
Yeah, because my, my plan worked. I, I'm not gonna fall through the floor now, for sure. I've lost that door. Wow, okay. Holy crap, we've lost a huge portion of the back. The ammo container. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, close that so I don't fall through, baby. Ah, crap. I've gotta go back here to, uh, to turn on that side there. Hopefully they don't hit the electrical. Yeah, the armor plates that we put on the bottom here, that needs to be extended to the whole rest of the base, I think. Okay, just confirm for me, please, that this door is open. It is, uh, but so is this one still. I forgot to actually shut that one off. Here I am overcomplicating the system there a little bit. There we go. Okay. Ah, crap, the cops are just so brutal. All right, but they're starting to come up on the far side here. I'm very confident in this position. Just juice me up one last time on the tuna fish gravy toast and the meat stew, and I'll save the rampage, the rage capsule, in case I need to run on foot. All right, not too bad here so far. Just kind of lining up the regular zombies for some headshots and some, uh, you know, other type of headshot on the Seekers. All right, it's 3.56 in the morning. I've totaled 500, 480 kills, sorry, almost 500 for the Horde Knight with 89 headshots. I like how it kind of gives you your stats for the night. That's pretty cool. But uh, the Horde is now over. We just got to wrap up the ones that are here and then fight off the Screamers after that. But we know that this fighting position here works really good against the Screamers, and we should hopefully still have electrical enough to uh, power the front side of the base on the south side if we need to and i'm sitting on plenty of ammo here so I'm just gonna kind of continue shooting down the lane here i can't help but think about all the money we're gonna make off these seekers we're gonna be freaking filthy rich okay i think i've killed all the seekers i've been at it for about an hour and um we're just working on screamers the screamer zombies now i'm pretty sure i'm dying of dehydration oh boy Let's try to work on that too. Beer. Beer is good for drinking. All right, it's looking really quiet now. I think we've finished them off once and for all. Oh my God, the ramp. No, the garage. It's so bad. Oh God. My goodness, this is gonna be this is gonna be a lot of work to fix all this. Yeah, these are all just screamer zombies out here. Oh, and of all times, oh, it's a bandit raid. Crap. Ah, help. Here, just stand up front. Oh, this um. Took quite a bit of damage out here. Yeah, take care of the bandit leader. Take care of everybody else. We're just gonna end up calling in more screamers like this. Great, okay, how about skeleton army and mercenaries to help me out? I forgot to use them earlier, but here, take that. Is that the last one? Well, I'll let these guys take care of the rest of them. I wanna go see what happened over here because, yeah, oh, oh, what happened here, man? That, that, that's a, weird damage pattern there but uh yeah we lost the whole side on this end but it lasted for a solid two hours i would say uh damage out here not terrible uh armor plating so the armor plating was colored purple so we lost all armor plates uh that needs to be upgraded then to explosive resistant concrete the steel um pr held up pretty well actually not too bad it was this area over here that became the new weakness. This all probably should just be ground out and replaced with explosion resistant concrete. And yeah, for some reason, the the cops, they just love to friggin' spray and pray into the base from all directions, ruining all of our hard work. And supports, I would say, are in really good shape here. This one took a little bit of damage, but you know, you could knock that out and things would still stand up just fine. Okay then. It is time to just loot up, I think. Oh, wait a minute. There's a whole bunch of corpulence over here trying to beat up my, uh, my striker. You friggin' assholes. Why would you do that? There's a bandit over there, too. Here, bring them over here where the allies are. Oh, the allies are in the APC with me. Here we go. Kill the succulents, otherwise known as corpulence. There we go. Okay, I, is that it, then? That That's seemingly it. Oh my god, I don't even want to know what it's going to take to... Oh, that's probably what happened, is uh, these supports here got knocked out on this one over here, and it collapsed the same way it did when we were building it. Anyway, okay, there goes all of the skeleton... Well, except for Trevor here. Trevor wants to continue to hang out with me, I guess. But uh, yes, it's time for me to loot up a little bit. Let me go get the blueberry pie. Wait a minute, I don't even know if I can get back in the base, because here, here's the issue before, is that... Uh, oh, there we go. Actually, it worked. It's just, um, it's a little bit more 
free to do. Oh, and we've got to check upstairs too and just make sure, okay, everyone up here seems to be fine. Looks like they got thrashed around just a little bit, but no big deal. And everything in here looks, um, hmm. Uh, it's, it's all here at least. Um, this, I, I thought I could get away with the cobblestone, but you can't even get away with it over there. And up here, oh, everything looks, um, did we lose anything? No, we didn't lose anything. We, I mean, we lost the ammo workstation downstairs, but everything up here is A-OK. -okay. And the uh, top side here, yeah, looking really good. This actually did not take nearly as much damage as it did the last time. Anyway, blueberry pie in, please. <laughs> and we'll see what they left us out here. Oh, man, we're going to get so much loot here. Oh, hello there. Is this a wandering horde? Get out of here. Can't get a moment's peace around here. All right, was that the last one? Yeah, I think we're good here. Now we can loot up. Oh great, now we got a whole group of freaking monsters over here to fight with. And they're also trying to break my vehicle. Stop doing that. Here, just pick up the vehicle. You know, I'm loving all the loot, but it's getting to the point like it did in um, other series like, you know, Darkness Falls and War of the Walkers where the loot bags just become uh, a bit of a chore. I don't need most of this stuff, but I can't help but, you know, pick it up and take it. I think my inventory is reaching max capacity. I run out, I get three loot bags, I run back and stash it all away, and then I run back out and fill it back up again. Okay, there we go. That was the last of it there. I think there might be a couple of scattered loot bags that I've missed, but uh, I don't see any right now. All right, let's pop upstairs and see what we got then. Okay, so all of the stackable things I've just been porting into their respective storage containers, and I'll do that one more time here. What's left, uh, probably a lot of the sellables have also been ported up into the, some of these containers too. But at this point, I definitely feel like it's gotta be time for, oh, look at the money I have been pulling out. Wow, we're up to like almost 100K again. Uh, the real damage was just done down here. We lost the saw table. We lost a shotgun turret, both of them in fact. And I, uh, I don't even know if I'll replace them at this point because they're not doing a whole lot. Uh, we lost the ammo workstation and, oh, the vehicle workstation as well. Uh, a couple of decorations were lost, uh, the door, the drawbridge door, large chunks of the ramp down there. But uh, all things considered, I'd say we fared better this time than we did the last time. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to hold up to the last horde as well. This next go around, it's just going to be about getting a lot of the important stuff upgraded to like concrete and steel. We've got the steel now, so we might as well make the whole floor down here out of either explosion resistant concrete or steel. We'll put armor plates on the bottom. Maybe we'll even put like a, a network like this on the top so that we're not gonna fall through in some places. Oh no, I lost the shredder that had all the brass in it that we just collected. <sighs> Are you kidding me? There was like, there was like 25,000 brass that was going into that. Damn. Well, that's that's the, that's a big loss, and I, I do believe there was also like a big charge of ammunition that was going in the ammo workstation that I forgot to pull out. Well, you win some, you lose some, I guess. All right, I've got things more or less organized enough to do a sell-off, so start gathering up the materials here. Is there anything new that we collected that might be worth taking a peek at? I did at some point find this rifle here, which is pretty cool. I think it's a... Um, semi-automatic bolt action you know new fancy post-apocalyptic technology there and the goth mace i do believe we've seen that before we see the alliance spear yeah i think we've seen that one before a couple of new bits of armor to change over let's look at the battle sledgehammer wow that looks cool that looks like um some warhammer 40k stuff right there and this is the Oh, this is something I can't use, the Leonidas Spear. That must be like the Apex Spear. Wow, I found an auger that has uh, plus 10 to the block damage. Right, so overall some pretty significant armor upgrades there. No weapon upgrades. I got a really significant auger upgrade though. All right, it's time to sell off though. Okay, there we go. That's done with. Let's put the, I had 25K on me to begin with, so I'll put that away so I can easily count how much we made there. $93,000 off of that sell-off. That's incredible. So, okay, all told, we are sitting pretty on $188,000 right now. <laughs> I actually went, went ahead and sold some of the mechanical parts and stuff. We had a whole bunch of extra as well as, you know, extra ammo. Sold all the 44 because, you know, we can't find a use for it really. And okay, we can take the helicopter out now and set that down again. Have to set that down outside though. And I was thinking about going out for a quest, but honestly, there's just so much to do around here. Like, um, you know, crafting and, and getting things 
reoriented and repaired and stuff like that. So I think I would much rather, and it's just a better use of our time to kind of get started on all that. Okay, well, first things first, I think uh, we should work on explosion resistant concrete blocks and uh, also drawbridge door, ammo workstation, saw table, and uh, mechanics workbench. Oh, and look at that right there, a whole bunch of extra 762 that I was crafting. Unfortunately, that was to try to get rid of all of the um, bullet casings and bullet tips. I think we're good on that. Probably focus a little bit more just on the AP. Let's see, we burned through, I had I think like four or five full stacks and we still had plenty left over. So we'll aim to have another four stacks by the end or by the beginning of next Horde Night. Okay, ammo assembly workstation, explosion resistant concrete shapes. And in terms of making more of that mix, uh, we're short by one sample of explosive immune zombie. That requires 10. I thought that was less before, but... I probably am misremembering. Okay, drawbridge door. And it looks like we need both motion sensors as well. Mix some extra topsoil. And just for now, I think I will just immediately send out Neuro to start working on repairs. That way we can get a sense of what we're gonna be short on. And in fact, I don't have the materials to make a saw table. I don't have the table saw blade. I think actually that I had one and I got rid of it thinking, oh, I'll never need a table saw again. You know, I know just where to find a table saw. I saw one a couple of days ago. I'm pretty sure there's one in here somewhere. Uh oh, did I did I misremember? I swear there's one in here somewhere. Aha, there it is. Got it. And while I'm out today, I think I'll try to find that last explosion resistant zombie so I can get the remains so we can start cranking on a little bit more mix because I turned all the mix into blocks, which we will need, but we'll need the mix for repairs. Nice. That's all we need too. Give me those remains, wherever they are. Oh, and before we go, is the garden ready? Well, let's drop in and take a look. Uh, no, it's not quite ready yet. It's at growth stage three. Everything is growing. Y'all have water? Still haven't pulled any water out of these. I don't know what's going on with that. How about the chickens? Oh, right, I never made the feed bucket. Although it does have a little bit of stuff. Oh, occupant, did somebody kill my chickens? Ah, crap. I think they fell off the edge and wandered off. Okay, so... <laughs> um, well, I think we'll probably have to put them back in the bathroom next time. Okay, let's get a feed bucket for tomorrow. We'll go put that over at the garden when we go to harvest. Okay, I'm just getting all the stuff made so that we can get the auto workbench. We can go put the ammo workstation down and start cranking on ammo again. Oh, who's that? Is that a freaking wraith? Yep, got him. Who are you shooting at? That's very, very strange. Here, take him out. There's probably a skeleton warrior that's gonna spawn like 800 yards off in the distance like <laughs> Ready for battle and there's just nothing out there. Okay ammo workstation back in and you can start cranking Look at that's using all of our brass again <laughs> Jeez, we're gonna have to like make another big expedition out of going to get brass. I'm so disappointed it, Of course it took out the shredder that I was shredding everything in and not the one that was just, you know, the backup shredder over here. Right, well, at this point, I think it's just time to kind of like patch all the holes in the floor with some concrete blocks. Wait, no, 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 we don't want to do that. We want to do that with the explosion resistant concrete. In fact, it's arguable that uh, we should kind of tear some of this stuff out. Man, that would be just so time consuming. No, I don't want to do that. I would rather just go on the bottom and put the armor plates in like we did before. I think that's going to be just as effective. Well, not just as effective, but much more time efficient. Okay, at this point, I think most of the patchwork is done. The door is almost done. Whoop, missed a spot there. Let's slide that back in there. Did that need any sort of a tool? No, that's good. And I think I'll just do, you know, regular concrete block for this right here. There we go. Yep, the stairs are back in looking good. This platform here, it has been fixed. Everything out here looks fine. We do have to go out probably tomorrow or the next day and uh, rebuild this flank uh, fighting position thing over there. Ah, oh, geez, this is just an absolute mess out here, but um, I guess we gotta stick with it now. It's the only way into the base for the vehicles. I'm sure I'll be discovering missing blocks for the next week, like this thing right here. Like, how, did, how does that even get destroyed? Kinda noticing how dark it is up here because we took the lamps out. So I did get these lights a while back that I thought would look good in here. So I'm gonna set them in now and hook them up. Yeah, I'd say that looks uh, remarkably better. Actually, that looks great. Love that. Oh crap, we need a... Uh, oh crap, I only have one more. Oh geez, yeah. We'll have to uh, look for another one, I guess, to just make it symmetrical, because that's gonna help light up that corner over there. Yeah, 
pretty snazzy. I like it. Okay, there's my drawbridge door and my motion sensors. Make the car lift, and that's the last step to get the auto workbench. And the trick with the drawbridge door is usually something like this. And that should give me the placement point for the door, almost. Actually, just gotta come one more closer to me. And that should do it. Reconnect motion sensor here. What was this even hooked off of? I have no idea. Okay, everything's hooked up. Switch on, redirect camera, 10 seconds, down to this one, which will be 10 seconds, and redirect this camera, and we're good, apart from the fact that, you know, half of this friggin' bridge is missing. But at a minimum, I can kind of <laughs> activate the sensor and just jump. Right, I think we're gonna have to purchase ourselves a new claw hammer. There we go, which will allow us to make the auto workbench, repair up the drone, and just like that, I think we're pretty much right as rain. So fortunately, a lot of the electrical was intact. Of all the blocks that got destroyed here, if those switches were destroyed, that would have messed a lot of stuff up. I don't know, it's not, it's never gonna be perfect. What we really need to do is to take uh, these explosion resistant concrete blocks and just redo the system here where we put these uh, V2 plates all along the bottom. Oh, look at that. That actually worked out really, really well. Here, let's just seal those in with the explosion resistant blocks. Those are gonna do better at blocking the cop spit than the, uh, the steel will, or so I've learned. Okay, we'll line the whole bottom part there with um, uh, V2 plates, like basically all along the bottom. This will all just be V2 plates. And that should afford us a ton, a ton more protection versus the cops, like, basically just spitting up at us. And I guess it's also debatable if we want to, like, try to put some more armor cladding out here on the top. Uh, not, not the top, but on the side here. Here, let me just jump up there and see what that's going to look like. I'm at the jumping stage where I can do double blocks every time I jump. Right, so we need to put, like, this thing back on the outside. And then we'll put another bulletproof glass block in there. But see, there's also, there's more areas here. There's these three areas here and two down there that could use some form of protection. So I'm not ready to commit to anything just yet, but uh, hear me out on this. What if we just did like, you know, spike layer like this? You know, I don't think that's going to look great, but that's kind of the idea. Let's just get a look at that from the ground level. Yeah, uh, well, it doesn't look like, it's not the worst, especially if it was painted like purple to contrast against the wall, but that, um, that's what we need there to, to just afford us some more, uh, shielding against projectiles. Something that will look good like that and kind of fit the theme of the base. I'll have to think it over. Okay, so the sun is rising there in the east, and I think this is about as far as I can go for today. There's little bits and pieces like this that need to be repaired, but we can continue working on all this stuff first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. We may have survived the Horde, but the base has certainly seen better days. The good news is that our last series of modifications, such as the armor plates, security gate floor, door shields, companion repositioning, and the two new fighting wings all worked out resoundingly well. But now the rest of the base needs to be beefed up as well. And we still need to finish up at Quiet Pines, and I'd also like to see what's going on across the street. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. Okay, so first things first, before we leave today, I need to make sure that uh, I'm crafting the explosive resistant concrete if possible. Yeah, I have 10 remains right there. So then I need the body bags of explosive immune zombies, make one of those, and that'll let me make the powder over here, which should let me make the mix over here to then make the blocks over here. So that'll be good for 75 blocks. I feel like that's fine. We're gonna have to get another batch going before the next horde because we have to do repairs. Look at all these repair uh, blocks that are in need of Desperate need of repair before they get destroyed. Okay, so that's rolling. I'm pretty confident that uh, everything else can basically wait or should be good. Let's head back to the Quiet Pines um, housing development and see if we can get some more brass since, you know, we lost all of the brass that we got there last time. And also see if we can find the main loot over there. All right, here we are at the spot. Now we'll probably go check the garden on the way home, I think. All right, we're basically killing all the zombies that we see here because they might be explosion resistant, like janitor boy over here. That's exactly what we're looking for. 
Give me those remains. Okay, one down, nine to go. Oops, Spider Boy was uh, explosive immune as well, so that's two down, eight to go. But Arlene here. Arlene is just a regular. Right, this is what we're here for, though. These brass dome lights. They actually give you quite a bit of brass, so I'm gonna salvage all of them that I can see. And in one of these houses, there's a main loot, and I'm gonna find it before the end of the day today. Got another one right here, explosive immune. Okay, I just tried to remember, what houses did I completely search, and what houses did I not? I think I searched these four on this end over here. We need to go search these three houses on the back. Oh yeah, explosive immune guy right here. Nice. Okay, let's try this house. I don't think I did any salvaging in here, or killing regular zombies for that matter, it appears. All right, we're all clear downstairs. These guys must have had forced air because I don't see any radiators. Holy crap. <laughs> Gotta love it when that happens, right? Oh, geez. Yes, a perfect sequence of events here. Look out. Get back. Whoop. Nurse wants to go downstairs. Oh, and I just took some radiation damage. Great. Okay, Prussian blue then. How about in here? Springs. I'll take the springs. We need to make some grenades or something, I guess. Oh, brass right there. Good. Still no sign of the main loot. Was there a basement here? All right, take the doors, and yes, we're done here. There is a bird out here somewhere that's been bugging me. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, I've been finding a lot of these brass lights like along the side here. That's not one. What's this? Uh-oh. Is this a, an underground basement portion? Get out of here. The oh, crap. Oh, there is a basement to this place. Look at this. Okay, no more. Yo, these are the dome lights right here that I'm looking for. Give me that. Right, this could be the main loot right here. I think we've searched the other two basements. So this should be the one, I would hope. Okay, locked door, that's not gonna stop me for very long. Oh, we got sort of main loot vibe kind of zombies in here. Oh geez, oh, I got radiation damage again. Crap, oh, yellow boy. <laughs> Someone had a comment there that they called this guy Mr. P, so I'm gonna stick with that one. Another explosive immune zombie. Any brass down here? There is. I don't know why I'm wrenching stuff. I just, I think I like the, the sound of it. <laughs> I like being able to one-shot stuff, it makes me feel strong. Well, the good news is we'll come home with a little bit of brass today, if, if nothing else. I don't see any main loot down here. Oh, we got one more door. Nothing. Oh, this is a false door, though. Look at that, there's the main loot. Okay, we're in, we got the jackal knife. I was hoping more for like a crowbar. I will take this just in case. I don't think we need it, but it um, doesn't hurt to have some extras, I guess. Pile of food there. Ooh, blueberry pie. Let's just eat that right now because that will give me plus 25% to my loot stage. Okay, we're in and we got an auto turret bundle. Not too bad and some other cool stuff. All right, I think that will just about do it. We're gonna head directly across the street now where there's another POI that I'd like to take care of today. Gather up whatever else is in here. I think we're good now. Is that, is this the ventilation duct that I was thinking about? Um, maybe? Oh, it is. It's, uh, yes, this is exactly what I was thinking about before, I think. Yeah, so uh, let's not dwell here any longer. Let's head across the street and get that one done. This is the one right here. We killed the bear here yesterday, the day before? The day before yesterday, I guess. And I think we might have also killed a couple of the zombies in here, but for the most part, this place is untouched. I've been really excited. I actually hand placed this POI in this map here because I was excited to do it. Kind of debatable whether we want to go with the tactical rifle today or with the scythe, mostly, you know, because we want to level up our class a little bit more if we can. And probably the best way to do that is going to be with the tactical rifle, so... I might just put a scythe away for a little while. Whoa, what was that? Oh, jeez, people blowing cars up over here. That guy's explosive beam. Give me that. Oh, we got Mrs. P over here too. Oh boy, where'd you all come from? And finish thing, finishing things off with Mrs. P. Hey there, get out of here. Okay, we're around the back here. We've got this little house right here. We got this big tower over here. A little, it looks like a kennel to me over there, and then the main building. So we'll go like, you know, one, two, three, and then finish off here. Good morning. 
Not much going on in here. It looks like some kind of a little greenhouse. Very fancy one at that. Oh, a key box, too. Well, there you go. Okay, so there is a sort of sequence to things here. Oh, did that literally just open this door, though? <laughs> As if I needed that. Okay, hold on a second. We gotta go around the correct pathway here. Make sure we're covering all the little houses first. There's one right there. The rest of them are stuck in the kennels. That's the- Oh, a bear back there. All right, just got this Z-Bark bear back here. There we go. Okay, we're all clear back to the front again. We're heading into the tower now. Check out this tower though. That is so cool. Man, I could never build something that intricate. I mean, I guess you could probably in like creative mode, but when I'm in a series and there's always that like time crunch that's kind of weighing me down, I could never do this kind of thing. All right, let me in here. Oh boy. We're heading down already? Great. Okay, we'll go up first. There's probably a button for that somewhere, too. Might just go into the house and see if there's a key box there. And some birds by the sound of it. Yeah, here we go. Is that it up here? Just a bunch of birds. Okay. Birds and a little tiny bit of loot up here. Okay, well, at least I could say I've been here. Do you think I could parkour my way over to the other side there? Well, I mean, I've got max parkour. Was that a key box that I just missed right there? Okay, I'm back up, and yes, that's exactly what that was. And that probably went to the bottom there. Is this gonna hurt me very much? Uh, a little bit, not too bad. Nothing a quick uh, painkiller can't help with. There we go, okay, here we go. We're going into the, the, the bottom portion here, the crypt. I don't think there's anything down here. This is just a storage. There's gotta be more to this though. What else is here? Oh, oh, look at the- oh, wow, that's going way down there now. By the looks of it, there's no way back up? Could that be true? That you just- you jump down there and you're completely screwed, okay. Let's... just jump down here nice and quietly first. And then make sure that I can get out of here. Beer, Red Bull, coffee, and... Alright, let's stir them up. Who's down here? Oh, it is like a crypt down here. These are all little, like, coffin cubbies on the side. This has boss battle vibes written all over it. This is, uh, not much here. Okay, I can see the main loot, but... Okay, are all the zombies just, like, hiding in the wall here? Or are there just no zombies? Is this it? Well, how's that for an anti-climax? There's, like, nothing here. Or... Yes, I found them. Whoa! Jeez, okay, here, here we go. Alright, they're starting to kind of pour out of the walls now. It looks like mostly crawlers. Alright, start posting them down with the tactical rifle here. Yeah, mostly crawlers. Um, I would have put, like, dogs or wolves in here, personally. Something that's a little bit faster. These crawlers can't even get out. Alright, well, I guess that's it for this battle. Might as well see what we get here. Okay, food bundle. Otherwise, not much. Got the heavy titanium flanged mace yet again. I guess we're just at that stage right now. We're, we're just getting basically repeat loot. That is fine. Weapons back here. Let's go stash the bike then. And then we'll head into the main portion of the house. See if there's any like radiators and things like that in there. A little bit of loot there. Oh, come on now. All right, we're heading in right straight through the front door. I kind of do actually want this though. Because that's brass. And that one is... Oh, Mr. P. Hello there. brass here so far. There's this key box here, which I thought might go to this over here, but it did not. So I'm just gonna bounce up here and see what's going on. A couple of zombies up here. Ooh, look at all the cobwebs. That's really cool. Whoever made this place is definitely a pro. Uh, I'm just gonna actually check and see real quick if I can find that out. Just type in DMF3. This is by... Rukmanesh, House of the Forest by Rukmanesh. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Turn all this stuff off now. And hello there. All kinds of brass up here too. Okay, guys, be careful now. There's some valuable brass here that I need. There still might be like a basement portion to this place too. I haven't really, I just kind of went straight upstairs as soon as I got here. Holy crap, look at this junk everywhere up here. Um, oh, I see how it is. 
there's a total ambush waiting for you up here. But they didn't trigger properly. Oh, now they did. Oh, boy. Here we go. Ah! I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the chairs. Ah! Come on! Oh, crap! No, not like this! Crap, I'm in the map. Ah! Am I good? Put the freaking fire out. Ah, here they are again. Mr. P is here. Drone, help me. Crap, no, no, not like this, not like this, not like this. Ah, crap. My goodness, that place turned on me really, really fast. Okay, that's fair enough. I can just fly right over there and hopefully gather my stuff up. Oh, geez, what an embarrassing way to finish the day off there. Just as it ticked nightfall too, so they had like that little bit of extra run speed here. I'm just gonna, um, yeah, just park it here, I guess. No big deal. Put it in my inventory and uh, should hopefully be able to just go back up there and get my stuff, right? Or am I gonna get pinned and killed again? I think there's only like basically the cop was left and that was it. Okay, my helmet light's not working for some reason. I'll fix that in just a second. Oh, that rad cop, the Mr. P. He's the guys. That, that were the death of me there. And I leveled up there, okay. Put my regular helmet on. There we go. Wow, I even, I was expecting it. I should have just, um, ah, I should have just triggered him and like held him back here and then run away. The, re the real problem was I got stuck on all the junk up here. This is like strategic junk placement to get you stuck and pinned. All right, my inventory is pretty much full at this point here. I'll, um, oh, there's, oh, I thought that was a ladder. Never mind. All right, let's just open this. And oh my goodness, it's the grenade launcher. I finally have found it. That means we probably need to find some grenades somewhere. I think we can make them at least. All right, all right, someday, someday we'll get to test that out. So people have been asking me recently why I don't do explosives on Horde Knight, and that's because of my allies. Got another scar there. How's that comparing to mine? Uh, not as good. Yeah, I don't use explosives because it, it just, it thrashes my own allies around. I've tried it before. And um, it just, it hurts everybody. It's too close quarters at our base. Yeah, I'm really not surprised that I died here because um, there's just a lot of trigger rooms that are just absolutely filled with zombies. Oh, now it's filled with fire. Oh, ow. You guys remember that time when we were looking at the, the misery perks and I was saying like, oh, you know, die 50 times, that'll never happen. I'd be lucky if I died, you know, one time in this whole series. And then here we are sitting at I don't know, how many deaths do I have? I have six deaths, oh my god. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. I'll tell you what though, this was the place to go to to get the brass because I have, you know, every room has like five things that you can harvest up for brass. So I think probably after today, we'll pretty much be all set. I think there's just one more piece there. Yep, already searched back there. I think we're done here. Let's get the heck out of here before the screamers start showing up. Oh, I'm just <laughs> struggling to get inside. Yeah, I think I've probably run out of power for something, or something is off anyway. Uh, last night I did get this ramp rebuilt uh, so that we can get in and out, but yeah, something's not connected properly, I think. Hello? Whoa, hello. Yes, more explosive immune remains. We'll have to see how many we got today. Okay, what's the malfunction here? Everything has power. Yeah, something's not hooked up properly. I have to take a look at that a little later. For now, though, let's just get unpacked and organized. <coughs> ah, typical. I go out on vacation and immediately come home and get sick. <laughs> That's okay. I'm feeling... I was, yesterday was kind of a rough day. I filmed an episode of Small Land yesterday, and then today, still feeling a little bit down, but much better than yesterday. So hopefully I'm on the up and out. Oh my god, that, that food bundle that I had was 10 tuna fish gravy toast. Could it get any better than that? All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is just head outside, put the helicopter down, fly it back up to its original spot up on the rooftop, and then I'm going to take topsoil and fill in all of the little divots in the ground that I think are caused by basically cop spit and wraith orbs or whatever we're calling those. They're just making life difficult in terms of like, you know, falling into them. So I'm gonna go fix them all up. And in a second here, I'm gonna take a look at the map and see, we should be able to see very clearly what blocks are topsoil and which blocks are destroyed stone or just like, you know, whatever was here before. Because I would imagine that this place is like basically just pockmarked with craters that we've had to fill in over the past few weeks. All right, so there it is, pretty much all patched up. Let's take a look at the map then. And he, oh my God, look at it. It's exactly like I said, it's just like little bits of green everywhere. The green would be the topsoil, everything we've had to fill in from all the blasts over the past couple of weeks. Wow. 
That's super cool. Okay, let me go get the blocks. We're gonna have to do full repair on this, plus a couple of modifications perhaps, and then we'll have to rebuild this one over here entirely. And by the way, there's the old auto workbench back down. And in terms of shredding, yeah, here we go. Let's get all the shredding done before the horde gets here this time. Oh my God, 8,000 there. 8,000 off of the outdoor lights. 8,000 off of the indoor dome lights. 10,000 from trophies. And 19,000 from radiators. I think we'll be okay on brass for a while. All right, out we go. And just gonna basically do the same exact system that we had before. We're using the explosion resistant concrete on this stuff, at least for the stuff that I think is going to be closest to the blasts. Otherwise, I want to kind of save a little bit of it on some of these kind of accessory blocks. And in terms of the top over here, I'm going to go with the same system we had before, which was solid steel. Oh, hold up. We got a little bit of a horde over here before we get going on the repairs there. Ah, here we go. Let's see if we get a rampage here. We need more of these soft regular zombies on Horde Knight to help initiate the rampage. Any of you guys explosive immune, check all the hands. Okay, so back to this, you can kind of see like this right here. I think this can just go up to steel. These were like the new shapes that I put in and I don't think these are really in explosion range. And so that should be fine. The rest of it is explosive resistant concrete up here will be steel again because I think up here we're mostly dealing with, um, you know, zombies like, just, like beating on it with their hands. So we want something that's like melee resistant here. And uh, you can see here, they only knocked out this one block on this side, and otherwise, uh, they didn't really make it very far. Now, the other thing that we can do here to help this uh, get some more structural stability is I'm actually going to connect it on the bottom here, if I can. I'm going to try to connect it to the base. All right, so we're going to go catwalk V2 plate here, along with, you know, the whole bottom there eventually, if we can get enough explosive immune remains. And then uh, we need to do some sort of a connection point right here. Has to be a block that zombies will not path on, and I'm thinking this pillar, 0 0.05 meter, is gonna be just the thing if we put it right there. We could try a spiller pyro there. That, that would work, but I think this one's gonna work as well, so we're just gonna put this right on the bottom here just like so and that's going to give it an attachment point from here to the base now if we really really wanted to cheese this which i'm going to just for the sake of it i'm going to also put uh, see this block plane here that we're on right now if i put one there technically that block i just put in you can barely see it is actually physically connected to this right here this railing even though visually it's not connected so in terms of structural stability this piece here is now connected to the main base and if the zombies knock out these pillars now it should still be connected just fine from a, a connection point here and a connection point there because that is the issue that we ran into over here that's why this whole thing collapsed because as soon as they knocked out the pillars this here was not enough to hold up all of the weight especially it, it would be fine if it was just the causeway but when we added these um fences there in the middle that created it, it was too top heavy and it just collapsed so now i just have to recreate the system that we just did in its entirety over here on the other side okay that's about as far as i could make it i ran out of materials there so we'll have to go craft some more and oh man there's like blocks like that that are way way off and are going to be really difficult to replace but we've got to do it there's one right there too okay so what we really need to do is grab up okay concrete cubes but the explosion resistant concrete mix just put that into a box for now now and send someone out to do repairs neuro you are the guy repair the blocks in the area report on missing resources okay so he's gonna need 574 of this actually to do the repairs so i will take about you know 750 of it should be good for about 40 blocks so start repairing all right, since we've got a few minutes here to wait, let's uh, see if we can get some of those 40 mil grenades. You know, frag grenades are good and all if you're going to be using these around your base, but I'm much more interested in just the regular grenades and seeing what they can do. So let's get, um, I don't know, 25 of these. That's not even using that many resources. In fact, let's just get like uh, 50 of those then. May okay, not 250. And we should be able to get a handful of brass out of here to the tune of like 21,000 of it. And that should definitely not be the limiting factor here on bullets anymore. Now it's, well, it's going to be lead 
nitrate and coal all right guys that's your cue go mining nitrate lead coal the neuro's back neuro does not have any missing resources to report on so okay just go get some uh go get some nitrate i guess so everything should be fixed up out here the whole base is repaired the base is repaired and we should only be waiting on a few blocks like you know to just replace this stuff in here and to finish building this over here no significant rush on any of that stuff all right i said we were going to go check on the garden today and then i forgot about it let's get the feed bucket first i think i did make that so feed bucket right there i think you just need the one maybe maybe let's also get some more chicken stuff and there's my couple of extra feed buckets all right i'll meet you over at the garden okay so i also made a couple new chicken coops and i bought a whole bunch of chickens from the farmer guy so we'll start off with a nice big harvest here, and then we'll set up some sort of a chicken coop coop system. You know what I mean? Something that keeps the chickens in here, keeps them from wandering away, keeps the predators out, and uh, hopefully keeps them around their food so they don't starve to death. Okay, that's the whole garden. There's these couple over here that don't have enough water because probably that tank is empty. That one is good, good, and good. And those ones up there, they're still not pushing water anywhere. I don't know what's going on there. All right, let's start by filling things up though. Okay, all everything's watered now. What we really need to do is, oh no, I can't pick these up. Are you, you've got to be kidding me. Can I harvest them? Dude, I'm not feeling good about this, but um, oh, it worked. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, these guys need to go to their own little confined location over in here probably or maybe out here i guess just plug that up because i never go out there anyway and okay there's uh different types of chicken coops now there's the ones that i crafted and the ones that i just picked up so hopefully they're all the same in terms of functionality but we've had that issue before with spotlights so no guarantees here okay they do look different they all say the same thing though okay so if i start putting chickens down well let's put the feed buckets over here somewhere so they have plenty to eat and these okay so i've been i've been told um cornmeal goes into these and some sticks so i'll just i guess i'll split it evenly and put a little stack of each of them in here and then we'll see who gets drawn for chicken names we get terry 01 t peel uh tuda sorry i have struggling with this one uh tuda jomka Sorry if I butchered that. We got Suskins and Mudman. <laughs> well, do you all now have your all occupants now? Yeah, okay, everything seems to be working here. And they should hopefully be able to draw food. Oh, yeah, they've already actually drawn cornmeal out of this one. Okay, so let me go turn all the corn into cornmeal then. So that way we don't have to worry about them if i forget which i will <laughs> to come back here for a couple of weeks so i don't know what do you think maybe one cornmeal a day so that should be good for at least a couple days we'll try to come back in three days which should be when the crops are ready to harvest again so that'll be day well basically any time before the next horde we'll do like one more check on the garden so as i flew in there i was reminded that we were doing that project before of like what can we do for armor cladding on the side and i put those spikes down just as a demonstration but I don't think that's going to be the right one. What I think might work is just take these up for now. There's the the thing that I saw in the Deshong Tower once that I really liked. What the heck was that shape? Yeah, see, this is why I can't build such fancy structures just in a regular playthrough. Because I've already been here for probably five or ten real life minutes looking for the shape that I... Oh, there it is right there. Arch three meter middle. Look at that. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool shape. It, um, can, drone, why are you just perpetually in my way? Stay here. So what that's gonna look like is this. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do that on the whole wall here just to see what it looks like. Okay, that is done. I actually, I think this is the one, guys. This is gonna be a pretty good shape for this. So coming out here, okay. Yes. Yes, I think we found the one. It's, it's kind of... I don't know. It's not perfect. It can't be purple because it'll it'll clash against the the borders of the windows there, and uh, preferably it's not going to be something shiny just because of the way reflections are handled in terms of uh, killing your frame rate. So I'll have to kind of settle on some kind of matte 
finish for it. I do like how it's kind of like, it's a weird kind of texture breakup and it should serve its purpose, which is to, you know, just give us one more layer of protection before cop spit gets inside. I think it's worth a try. So what I'm gonna need is like, let me just count 30. It's 30 per face. So we'll do 30 there. It'll be 60, 90, 120, 150, and plus probably a couple there for that one and a couple there on this side for that face there and that one there. So we'll so we'll call it an even 150 concrete blocks to get that job done. Would you look at that? We're almost out of concrete mix doing all this. Can I make any more? Ugh, barely, holy crap. Yeah, I thought we had uh, more stuff than that. Okay, we gotta start making more cement then. Oh, that, that we're held back by oil shell on that, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oil shale, oil shale, oil shale. Okay, I can hear a horde walking in here. Where'd you, what are you all doing here? Get the heck out of here. Give me some Red Bull and get ready to fight. Ooh, lots of toxic people. Uh oh, yep, I'm, I'm already radiated, so I guess it doesn't matter now. We'll take a fresh and blue in a second. Look out, whoa, geez. Yep, whoop, look out. Give me that sweet tactical rifle skill. And we're done. All right, the big construction phase begins and it's nightfall here, so we're gonna have limited visibility for this, but we've gotta get these blocks replaced. Okay, I'd say that's just about it. Like I said there a couple of days ago, we'll be finding blocks that are missing for ages around here. See, this one right here, fix that. Hey, now, none of that, trying to break my leg or something? Who is this? Just a couple randos, I guess. Okay, so in terms of major construction, that is a huge step in the right direction. All we are really focused on now, oh, another missing block up there, damn it. Yeah, all we're really focused on now is getting these wing positions up into fighting condition again, and then uh, working on the ramp out here. We gotta replace all these bottom blocks here. I've got 33 more blocks. I'm mostly just gonna poke around tonight and finish off things like this. And then probably tomorrow we'll have to make another batch of explosive resistant concrete. Probably have to go out into the pine biome and get some more remains. And we'll do some questing. There's like two or three more POIs that I really, really wanna check out. One of them is Terminus. The other one is the Walking Dead Prison. And so we'll probably head down into the desert biome where the trader was offering that stuff and grab a couple of those for the next couple of days. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. It's time to put the finishing touches on the base, but to do that, we need more explosive immune zombie remains to craft the remaining concrete we will need. So a trip to the pine forest biome to hunt down a few dozen of those is in order. Then overnight, we'll get everything built and ready for paint before striking off to the infamous Terminus tomorrow. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, let's see what we can do here. First off, uh, we're already basically the apex person on this world, but um, we can make it even better if I go to, oh, it's Wayward Echo here, the Black Shield Trader. And okay, so he's selling shock resistant armor, but also fire resistant armor, although not the full set of the fire resistant stuff. So, and it's pretty pricey. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, so we got fire, shock, and explosion resistant armor. I think that's probably what I'm looking for the most right now. Fire and shock or just explosion. Yeah, so let's buy a full set of this armor. We should have plenty of money over here. Let's just grab up some because there's, um, there's a way to actually not... You don't even have to wear that armor. You can just um, turn it into a mod, I think. Yeah, because the armor itself is quite significantly worse than the stuff that I'm wearing. This one's not too bad and it has more mod slots in all scenarios. But anyway, let's buy this and see if I can craft the mod. Recipes, right. Fire, shock and explosion immunity mod. So I should be able to make that mod, just slap it into my armor and never have to worry about any of those debuffs again. Fire, shock and explosion immunity. Oh, in the forge, my bad, here we go. Craft that, and ideally, I would probably want to have one of those for each of my my um, companions as well, because you can actually put them in the inventory of your survivors. Logan, why are you like half dead? What what even happened last night? <laughs> Do you need a first aid kit or something? Is everybody else okay? Jeez. So, uh, yeah, I think I was expecting, I thought he sold 
full set. He's, he's just very, very, he's trying to pedal the shock resistance stuff like hardcore. The fire resistance stuff is flying off the racks, I guess. <laughs> but no, I think I'll probably, um, I guess we could just get a set of this and convert that into a mod just to give it to someone just so that we have something, right? We have plenty of money for it, so. <gasps> oh, I should be using the, um, what is it? The pumpkin something? Bread. Yes, that would be what we need. I can make a whole bunch of it, so, you know, no big deal. I should have used it earlier, but um, now I know I will use it for the next couple of days as we wait for his inventory to restock, and then we buy some more stuff, and we, you know, we're doing the whole friggin' chain now. All right, so while we're at it, just give me like five more of those. Eat up that pumpkin bread, and let's just buy the rest of it. That'll save me a little bit of money, and then I can run upstairs and craft another mod, and we'll give that to somebody, right? Yes, okay, so the fire and shock immunity mod. Okay, again, craft it over here. Craft that, I'll take this one. And I should be able to put that onto something. So there we go, that's on, and nothing happened. I don't think anything is supposed to happen, but um, over here we have, well, we we don't have anything over here. Did, so did that work? I'll have to do an experiment then. Uh, not inside <laughs> the crafting room. We'll do it down here. Actually, we'll do it outside. We'll, you know, don't light fires in the base. That's what I always say. Okay, so now, yeah, I can just run through the fire. No big deal. And more importantly, zombies cannot catch me on fire anymore, which is just gonna be so nice. Not that it really is like dangerous or does a whole lot of damage. It's just so annoying when it happens. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do here at the base. I guess I'll just kind of let the rest of it roll. And um, for now, I think we should probably head into the um, pine forest over here and collect up some explosive resistant zombie remains because we're gonna need more explosive resistant concrete to build the other wing on the other side of the base and to finish out the armor plates on the bottom of the base here. You see, I got a few of them in, but uh, not completely, and um, you know, if we have the material for the explosive resistance stuff, I'd, I'd rather use that. You know, all of this needs to be done over here. All the armor plates are done. I'll just have to hire the painter over here again and get that all painted up. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, it, I, ideally this should all be explosive resistant concrete, but you know, we didn't even get that until halfway through the playthrough. And then I didn't even realize how effective it was until like, you know, last week. So, you know, we're doing the best we can here. We only got to survive one more horde and then we're basically out of here. Okay, so one more thing before we go. I need to check the inventory of everyone here because they should have a ton of resources from all the mining I've been sending them out to do. And then get the shredder working on whatever I need to shred over here. I think I, would, I needed limestone fragments. And then we're into the furnace to make more cement. We can make a ton of that. I think that's crafted in like chunks of 10 too. So I'm gonna split this up. All right, we're rolling on the 762, but we're suddenly short on clay soil of all things. So I suppose what we can do is a little bit of mining while we're out. We've got the auger. It needs to be repaired. That's fine. And we've got plenty of fuel and uh, we're just gonna go on foot. We don't need the um, helicopter or anything today because uh, I wanna be on ground level so I can identify the correct type of zombie to kill. All right, let's roll out. Got our first candidate here. Yep, he's got the explosive resistant hands. Take that. There we go. One down and I don't know, probably like 25 to go. Here we go. We got our first one right here. I'd say that's enough. I, I got about 25 explosive immune remains. I figured I'd stop here and uh, <laughs> try to save these survivors, but I might be too late. Oh, jeez. Oh, I just got totally freaking knocked out. 
Go away. That would be an explosive immune zombie right there. And another one, maybe. Oh my god, a whole bunch of zombies here. Holy crap. Emptied out half the POI, I think. Get back. Yep, okay, I'm using uh, regular 7.62 right now. I need to... Oh, jeez, not good timing. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap. Ah, run. Ow. Red Bull. I was trying to switch over to the AP rounds. Luckily, I did get them in before I got knocked out right there. Yeah, I'm just going to roll with the AP from now on because I struggle uh, against the armored zombies like soldiers. You just saw it there. Yep, explosive immune. Even got a fire immune guy over here somewhere right there. Fire immune zombie, explosive immune zombie. Whole bunch of people in here. So, since the place is probably half cleared out at this point, I thought we might be able to clear this together with the survivors, but I'm pretty sure they are toast at this point. Do we see their bodies anywhere? No, they just vaporized in the landmines. But yeah, this place looks pretty cool. I think we can poke through here. It kind of reminds me of the new military POI that, uh oh, look out, that um, is coming to Alpha 21. I don't know if there's some kind of an underground portion here. I don't think that there should be because like who would build a massive underground facility and then just surround it with sandbags, right? This just looks like more of a temporary camp. It also looks like it has some um, explosive immune, fire immune, some special zombies in here. Whoop, look out. Yep, here we go. Oh, I got hung up on the barbed wire there a little bit. Yeah, we've got a survivor out here. At least I think it's a survivor. Right over here. Look out. I'm coming to help ya. Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry. You're still alive. It's Doll. Doll, where's Dank anyway? What did you do with him? I know he's not dead. I know it's some kind of a ploy to drag him away from me. I, you better send him back when you're done with them. All right, poking through here. What's going on? Th this can't be just hay, can it? What's hiding back here? <laughs> One little dinky ammo pile with some crossbow bolts. You know, I was thinking the other day, why are iron crossbow bolts so abundant in loot bags and such? And you never find the steel crossbow bolts. It's like the steel crossbow bolts are not even in the loot table. Ah, here you go. Just a little tier one POI. Nothing special here. And looks like good ammo. This is a tier one, actually. What is that? A steel spike mace. Take a look at that. Yeah, tier one POI, and it was like filled with really strong zombies. Wow, that is super cool. I can't wait to play this mod again someday and just get into some of the different weapon types. There's just so much replayability, I believe, with Rebirth mod because you're you're only exposed to such a small portion of it in any one class. Okay, I think we're good here. Whoa, look out for the landmines. I'm not sure if I'm setting those off these days or am I? Yes, I definitely am. All right, doll, tell Dank that I'm expecting him back by the end of the week, okay? I, I know you guys are having fun together, but uh, he needs to return to work. He's still under contract. Oh, look out for that guy. Okay, I guess we're gonna go into the desert then. I wanted to do, there's a couple POIs that I wanna do. Do I really need pipe shotguns? I don't really think that I do. Uh, there, yeah, but there's two things we're out to do today. I think uh, we wanna do a tier five POI, but we kinda don't wanna do that at this time of day. I think instead we need to get some clay for ammo production. And um, I'll just try and work on some more explosive immune remains as I head back home. And then once we get back home, we'll do some uh, crafting and base construction. And that way we'll be set to uh, head out again later on tomorrow. Oh, it's a demon. I don't think I've seen one of you in ages. I saw I used to see you guys like every day before. And now it's just like bandit raids is all I get, right? <laughs> all right. Take care of all his friends here. Whoop, I'm a little bit out of stamina. That's okay. Man, I remember back in the day, these guys used to be like the alpha threat. Oh, bandit. And now it's just um, just an afterthought, really. Where's the, uh, the big guy? Because he has... Doesn't he have, like, special loot on him? Is this his? Yeah, that was his, I think. Oh, look out. Explosive immune. Nice. Yeah, so um, I, I'm still friggin' sick. If you've been kind of watching some of the recent videos I've been putting out, I probably sound like crap, and that's because I've been feeling like crap. But actually, this is my first uh, sinus infection in my life, and it's actually the first time I've been sick in like the past three years. I usually uh, I do pretty well, but when I get sick, it's usually like I get really sick, right? So um kind of struggling to put the content out to be perfectly honest with you bear with me though i should be feeling better in no time I'm feeling better like bit by bit you know I, it's like i i feel better and then i feel worse and then i'm kind of going back and forth oh and look right there an airdrop yeah i suppose we can go grab that i've been kind of not marking them lately because it's arguable whether it's even worth it to get it at this point 
because like what's what's an airdrop really gonna have <laughs> that I need? I suppose I'll take the fire immune zombie remains too. I don't know how much we need those. Uh, we we need them to make the zombie companions. I I've been oh crap. I've been um meaning to to create those guys for so long, but honestly. What holds me back is the explosive immune remains because it takes three to make a zombie skeleton companion and I've just needed like every single one to make the concrete. But after today's little expedition, I think we'll be doing just fine on that front. Yep, nothing special there. All right, let's just collect up a few more of these guys and we'll head home. All right, we said we're gonna get some clay before we head back. So let me just do that right here, right now. Whoops, oh, uh, I guess that's my cue that uh, we're all set on clay now. I think I got like 20,000 anyway. Let's have a look here. Yeah, just over 20,000. And there's the uh, the crater that I made in case you wanna like check my homework. <laughs> all right, let's head to the base. I'm gonna just do some material crafting. We'll get a bunch of explosive resistant concrete blocks and some regular concrete blocks and we'll uh, do some construction here at the base and hopefully get it all tidied up and ready for painting by like tomorrow maybe. All right, we're just uh, having a slight scraper problem right now because I've got all the forges running, but uh, should be nothing. I think we'll have this handled in no time. Yep, I think that was it right there. I'll take whatever remains you got for me though. Shock immune right here and a couple of extra explosive immune. Look at that. Speaking of explosives, I've had this grenade launcher here for a day or two and we haven't really tested it out yet. So I've crafted a whole bunch of extra grenades for it. Oh, right here. Perfect. Let's knock this down. I got the ones that are specifically, you know, they have higher block damage. I just figured, you know, it'd be funner. Just don't use it around the base. There we go. Yeah, nothing dramatic. If we could find a wooden house, it'd probably be a lot more dramatic. All right, I'll save that for later though. Probably called in a screamer there, hang on. Yep, there she is. Take her out. <laughs> That's the thing, these grenades, they don't do a whole lot of damage because I think there's gotta be like um, a class in this mod that, um, yeah, there's another screamer now. There must be a class that has like, you know, the explosive perks because um, it doesn't do a whole lot for me. Yeah, see, it's difficult for me to get in here with parkour now. All right, well, I'll just let the companions take care of all that. I am going to go get my blocks that I've created and do some construction. Oh, we got sushi down as well. The other thing I was thinking about is we have four extra SMG auto turrets and a whole bunch of extra nine melt that we're not gonna be able to use otherwise. So we've got the two SMG turrets here, which I think do pretty well at covering us against um, wraiths. But I was thinking, we don't really have any support when we're fighting the zombies over on this side. So what if I rip this out, just cobblestone anyway, and I rip this one out right about here. And uh, let me guess, that's not gonna be like symmetrical, is it? Nope, <laughs> I gotta knock this one out instead. Okay, so we'll put that one back in and solidify it. And so we, I wanna put like a platform here for two SMG turrets so that they can help us shoot on this side if we're fighting on the flank. Oh, look at this, the friggin' bandit raid. Yeah, perfect timing. Look, some of them even swam from across the lake to get to us. These guys are crazy. Who's the leader? I eats beats is the leader. All right, well, let me get this all fashioned up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so there it is. I actually extended up these um, arch three meter things all the way to the top and I put down, let me jump up here. I put down three blocks here two for the SMG turrets and one for the spotlight. And I'd say it's about as good as it can look. I don't know what it really looks like from out here, but uh, it can't be great. Yeah, it's it's not terrific, but um, it's functional at least. Uh, this doesn't look good here, does it? Just like one little railing piece right there. Maybe I should just put like a half block there instead, just like that. I think that's gonna look better. Okay, let me just do that up. Yeah, I figured out, uh, you know that sound glitch that we were having before where sounds weren't registering? I think that's only when SMG turrets are on. I, that's what I've kind of narrowed it down to. Some people actually commented that, and I agree with that. So I've turned all the SMG turrets off. The generators are still on, but um, 
you know, except for on Horde Night, I think we'll just have all the turrets off. Okay, and then spotlights can just take light off like this. And we'll point these down and make sure that we load them up. I should have about 2,000 bullets I can put in each one. Okay, we'll just give these power off of one of the relays. And then I'll switch them on so that I can then point them down just a little bit. Just so that I know that they're going to be able to kind of shoot the zombies that are on the walkway down there. Which is what I want them to shoot at. Alright, so all of those should be good. I'm just going to turn these off for now. Actually, leave these on and I'm going to switch it so that um, this is like the master switch here. For all of the SMG turrets. So just plug those into that like that. And we should be fine. Okay, everyone's done a couple of rounds of mining. But I'm going to send them out yet again. Coal. Nitrate. Nitrate. And sure, some more nitrate. We were really low on that. And I've got the blocks on me. So we can do a little bit of construction outside. Kind of burned through half the night there. Just doing crafting and busy work. But um, so this fighting position here is 100% done. What I'm going to do is this one over here and just get this all dressed up and then whatever blocks are left over will go to the like the sub floor or like the armor shielding for the bottom of the base. So the other thing I want to do, I know it's kind of an awkward angle of me kind of like building straight up like this, but um, I'm not going to start outside on the next Horde Night because I think at this point it's just going to be, you know, 95% like rads and friggin' seekers and just crazy stuff that I'm not gonna be able to like kill fast enough to get the rampage so I'm not even gonna bother trying so I think that like starting off inside the base is probably going to help with um you know nobody's gonna see me really unless they come up on the ramps and so like half the problem we have is that I come outside and then everyone target locks me and then I go inside and I'm still target locked and the cops can basically, they have x-ray vision. They can see me through the walls, through the floor. And so they're still trying to shoot up at me. Um, so hopefully we can avoid that whole sequence by just starting off all nice and hidden inside. And then uh, once they just come up, I can start, you know, shooting them as normal. And hopefully that will spare most of this half of the base. Okay, so it's like a haphazard mixture of explosive resistant concrete and regular concrete but um i think for all intents and purposes that will probably hold and we won't have as many issues as we did the last time but look at this gonna be finding these blocks forever right but that um i think that's pretty much as that's everything that i can find that needs to be done so i'll give the painter a call and have them come over here probably tomorrow and uh, fix everything up and that'll basically just free us up to uh do some additional raiding and things so oh one more thing we gotta hook these blade traps up to something oh boy there's a seeker here now so those are all hooked up we're gonna have to do some power testing here um before the horde and just make sure that we're not over capacity where is he it's uh axel barfa what got two of them is it just two? No, 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 guys, guys, over here. I'm right here. Step away from the freshly repaired base, please. I also have Death's Whisper. What the hell? Oh my god, I got werewolves and seekers here right now. Um, I'm gonna need some uh, mercenaries, please, and some skeleton warriors. There we go. Surround them. Got Jill Jugs, Beneficial Gaming, Man 21 Axed. Just axe them all down. Alright. So, it looks like uh, the Skeleton Warriors had the other guy pinned. So, I'm free to take this guy down. And I think... Yeah, he's fighting with the mercenaries over there. The other Seeker. Wow, that worked out pretty well, didn't it? Alright. He's on to me now. Cordell Batten. Taking him out. One more person here, Donover, the uh, werewolf there, and we're good. What the hell was that all about? All right, whoops. Gonna basically call it here and say that the base is just about good to go. I'll need to get one more vault door crafted for that. Let me see if I can just do that, and then we'll hop in the chopper. Oh, you guys are all back again? Go mining. Lead, coal, lead, and... I don't know, nitrate. I've lost track of what I need, so just get a little bit of everything, I guess. Yep, get a vault door. That takes a while to do, so start working on that, and we'll jump in the chopper. And we're going to head over to the Desert Trader. Whoops. Because uh, the Desert Trader, they were giving me quests, like, all over the friggin' place, like, up to eight kilometers away. But when I went to the one in the Wasteland, I was only getting Tier 5 missions, like, in the Wasteland area, so... 
Um, yeah, I'm partial to just going back here and guaranteeing that we'll get a job far away somewhere. I'm looking for, I think, Terminus. All right, I'm heading inside. Train, Mira HQ. There's Terminus right there. 5.5 kilometers to the northeast. I'll do it. Here we are rolling up on the spot here. It's Terminus from The Walking Dead. I think I'll just park it right straight out front. Maybe just check and see where the marker is. All right, it's right here, right in the front. Let's hit it. I can see zombies already. Okay, we got an explosive immune zombie right there. Nice. All right, this is it though. Sanctuary for all, community for all. Those who arrive, survive. Pretty sure that's not how things worked out in the show. All right, one concession that I'll make on the whole friggin' cheating accusation front is that I oftentimes, when it's raining out, I turn the weather off because number one, weather doesn't do anything except make it dark. And number two, if I'm filming on two computers today, I'm actually not filming with two computers just because I'm friggin' tired and <laughs> I'm lazy and I really just wanna kinda do the playthrough and do have a, a more simplified editing process. But anyway, um, when there's like rain on my screen on this computer, there won't be rain on the other computer. Like that's just a bug that's been in seven days for ages and it's supposedly going to be fixed. Whoa, look out. In uh, Alpha 21. So if it's fixed in Alpha 21, that'll be really nice because I won't have to kind of... Because it, it just looks so weird what I'm doing like... You know, a POI shot, like, you know, a third person shot. Wow, I'm about to die. This is bad. Holy crap. Help me. What happened there, man? Did I run into spikes or something? Oh, also, I've got all the friggin' spotlights and wire tools and crap on me still. Whoa! Ooh, that would have been a probably a kill shot, wouldn't it? Okay, so anyway, I lost, uh, I lost what I was saying there. Basically, um, weather sucks, especially in multiplayer, and so I basically just I turn the weather effects off when I'm playing, so we can just have you know nice visibility and continuity between multiple camera angles. Oh my God, this place is loaded, isn't it? You turn a corner and there's five zombies that spawn in. It's all right, I'm still working on my tactical rifle skill. Yeah, so not gonna be a whole lot of fancy editing for you here. I'm gonna do a montage. You've already seen that by now. That's gonna be kind of fun. Love doing the montages. Oh, I did like, um, did you guys notice the, uh, the four-way montage I did there in a couple episodes ago where I was like, um, oh geez, what POI was that again? It was like the big mansion, the one that I died in, right? And, um, I split the whole montage into like quadrants on the screen. First time I tried that one, I don't know if that, like, it worked basically um i was watching better call saul if you're familiar with that show and um I, they did a cool montage sequence there on like the second to last episode and they they did like a montage where they split it on the screen kind of like what i did there and i was like oh man i gotta try that that's a really cool strategy so anyway this is my first time trying that so who knows how it came out and who knows if i'll ever do it again but you gotta try new things once in a while i really I, things get stale, even as a content creator. Look at all this here, my goodness. Okay, it's time for the good stuff here. Give me the friggin' grenade launcher. So yeah, you gotta try new things, you gotta keep it fresh. I gotta try to learn as well while I'm doing things here. Here we go. Wake up, everyone. <laughs> it's just doing way more harm than good, but I'm having a lot of fun anyway. Oh, the smoke is clogging up everywhere, the fire, everything's raging all around me. All right, let's see if I can get a rampage going here. Nope, got an abrasion going, that's all I could muster. And, oh, I don't know what that was. Was that like the natural selection thing? No, I leveled up to level 75. Did that... I've, I'll have to wait until I get home to see if that did the thing. Oh, my enemies have ascended for their thirst of blood. Okay, let's get out of here. The smoke is kind of clogging up my lungs here. Just hide in the bathroom for a second. And I want to see what the um, 
what are they called? The misery things? Yeah, ascension now is level five. Oh great, yeah, zombies can now jump two meters or no, at the next level, they'll be able to jump two meters. I never did level up the downfall perk after 20 deaths, 20, 40, 60, 80, up to 350 deaths. I feel like 350 should be 35 because I'm at, I think six deaths right now. So that would have, you know, if this was like every three deaths, you know, I, you know, that would put me at like level three or something. That would make them like 9% resistant to physical damage. Yeah, I feel like this should be kind of like um, uh, cut down a little bit. Anyway, let's get back out here. Oh crap, ah, ragdolled. Damn it, beating the crap out of me. I guess the explosive immune mod that I put on there doesn't count for just being like getting my ass knocked out. All right, got an extra fire extinguisher there. That's always good to have. The fire is mostly burned out at this point. Not much to worry about here. Whoop, look out. And radiation damage. What's new? Whoop, a whole bunch of zombies are up here. Hold up. There we go. Okay, moving right along here. Oh yes, this is where they like, so oh, jeez. So, Terminus, ah, no, not again. Where'd you all come from? I could have sworn this place was empty when I walked in here. You stupid ascended zombies, man. Just ragged all of me left and right. Hey, I'll take the remains though. It's worth it, if only just for that. Right, so if you're not familiar with the show The Walking Dead, Terminus was a location where um, the survivors in The Walking Dead, they went there, they were kind of like lured in and Terminus was actually a cannibal colony. So this is where they would like probably store all of the luggage and the clothing from the people that they ended up just eating. And eventually we'll make our way to like, I think it's like there's a butcher room probably here somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's just uh, stir y'all up here. Cause I know there's all kinds of you yeah, just lurking around here everywhere. Probably this thing is hollow and full of zombies indeed. Okay. Light them on fire, because I'm immune to fire, so I don't really have to worry about it very much, do I? All right, look at that whole pile of zombies there. We'll get some fire, and we'll get some explosions. Between the two, they can't be immune to all of them. I guess they probably could be, but... There we go. I can't see anything. Here, stop the bleeding. Oh, this is great. <laughs> the grenade launcher is awesome. And parkour, of course, is also awesome. Oh, geez, a bird, I think, just knocked me off of there. Okay, good enough. Everyone is probably sufficiently weakened. Let's just rinse him down with the 762, work on the tactical rifle skill. Almost about to level up there, too. We're also still trying to kill bikers and skateboarders for our auras. Preferably more so the bikers. Are you kidding me? Now what? More werewolves. Great. Well, I don't suppose you guys are immune to explosives, are you? Yeah, it doesn't do a whole lot to them, though. It doesn't seem like... And I could just lob these right over the edge, too. It doesn't even bother me in the slightest. I am in pretty rough shape, though. Let's get a first aid kit in. Logan Weaver! You're a popular one today. Also got JP Gaming over there. And Sushi over here. Sushi is a werewolf. Huh, who knew? Okay, so... I guess we're heading in here. Yes, this is the room where they would kill people. Like, these are the troths, and they would, like, set them down like this and just go... Lop. And then this is where they did the butchering up here. Oh yeah, don't forget the brass. Oh, I don't know what the heck is going on here. I guess this is just like, you know, cold storage where they'd hang people up. And a big room full of zombies in here. I wonder how good my stealth skills are. Not good. Ow. Oh yeah, deep laceration. Just friggin' wonderful. Ow. Here, put some fire. In oh, they just opened doors. I forgot about that. Here, open it up again. See what's waiting for you. Okay, so what's left? There must be a whole building here that I've missed. Okay, I think this place has been thoroughly searched. This big, big building here, you know, I think I've gone up as far as that goes. This building here is clear. Oh, there's like a rooftop section over there. That might be where we're heading. Parkour my way up here. Yep, okay, a couple more zombies here. What about up on the top? Yes, here we go. Okay, is it giving me an indicator now? I do have a skull over here. Oh, just you. No other indicators on my compass, though. Oh, I can go down. Okay, and that- Oh, hello, everyone! Here's the main loot! Well, if anything, I've got the main loot. Okay, yeah, same old stuff, I guess. Oh, you know, I brought the blueberry pie just specifically so I could open that chest with it, and then, of course, I forgot all about it. 
Not sure, are you guys... I don't think you're POI zombies. You guys lurked in from outside. Maybe screaming zombies. Not exactly sure. A whole bunch of them, wherever they came from. Yeah, there's a screamer outside too. And I'm still not sure what we haven't cleared out yet. Just have to head outside, I guess, and keep running around. Okay, yeah, just a whole bunch of zombies out here. Rads at that, so probably screamer zombies. No, screamer, damn it. There's another one here somewhere too. Screaming. Oh, look at them, there's just multiple screamers. Hello, oh, ah, get out of here. Sprained my arm, be careful. It's gonna turn into a fracture if I don't. Holy crap, now I've like concussed and radiated and are really about to die. Ah, crap, I got knocked out. No, not again. Jeez, man. Huh, having a rough time with these compo pack POIs. All right, this time around, I'm going to do the, what is it? Teleport to backpack feature. Craft that and use it, except, oh my God. Okay. Attempt number two! Yeah, that's the problem. We are just surrounded by radiated big mamas. And I, then I got knocked out. That was really the killer there. Jeez, man, get the hell out of here. Well, so much for that quest, but I pretty much, you know, I'm, I'm done with this place. We've searched everywhere. There's probably just some bird lurking around somewhere that I didn't quite aggro just yet. All right, made it home and no really good loot to actually go through. In fact, um, not wearing the proper armor right now because it's actually destroyed. Hmm, you think that's why I'm taking extra damage here today? <laughs> You know, two deaths in two tier five POIs. Is there anything in here? No. Uh, I'm gonna blame it on this cocktail of medicine that I'm on, like uh, dulling my wits and my reflexes. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna uh, just come up with a plan for the next couple of days here tonight. I'm gonna give a phone call to the painter and have her come over here and finish up painting the base so that we can enjoy a pristine looking base for the next couple of days. And tomorrow we'll probably head back over to the trader and see if we can find a quest for the Walking Dead prison. I don't even know where it is on the map, so if anything, Thing just to find out where it is. We'll head over there and check that one out. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the Rebirth. The base is finally fully painted and in pristine condition, but there's one more little project that I need to do. The base would really benefit from some exterior lighting, so I'm gonna get started on that this morning, and I'd also like to take some steps to set up our allies with some aura protections. And that means we need more money, so we'll do a Screamer Horde run overnight, and maybe a tier 5 quest tomorrow morning. The team has been deployed, just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time! Okay, so before I get started on construction, there's a couple of things I need to take care of first. The first one is that yesterday, or a couple days ago, we made this fire and shock immunity mod, which is good. We're gonna need more of those though, because uh, I want to be able to give all of my companions some immunity so that they're a little bit less susceptible to damage and whatnot. So let's check on Ethan here. See your inventory. Whoa, oh, this is the mercenary, Carrie Haley, hello there. I should be able to now also get the tier five mercenary protection, nice. So I'm gonna have a look at them here in a second. Let's do this. Yeah, because I think I get five of them now. Oh, and they're the good ones too. Nice. Okay, the awful crowded in here now, but Ethan, what I really wanted to do today is check and see if you had any fire resistant stuff. So you do, but not the full set. Over here you have the explosion resistance, fire shock and explosion, fire and shock. Well, if I'm being honest, probably explosion and fire are the, the two that I'm most concerned about, but honestly, if I have access to the, the all three and it's only a little bit extra money, I think I would prefer that one. So let's uh, see how much money we have. Probably not much, because what was that like? Probably 50,000 for the set. And uh, I've got nothing else to really spend my money on, but I will take the pumpkin bread to save a little bit. Look at these guys. Nice, I love that. All right, let me see your inventory and give me all of these ones. Yeah, they're nine grand a piece. Oh yeah, lovely. I don't even have a full stack of money. We should probably then do a screamer battle, and while I'm kind of looking at it, I want to put this downstairs, because speaking of screamer battle, there was a great suggestion that what we should do on Horde Night is uh, start a screamer battle, like at, you know, 8pm, and then by the time the, the regular Horde gets here, 
hopefully we will have already gotten the rampage from the screamer horde and we can just carry that over i'll just kind of you know just before the horde starts i'll come in here i'll turn that off i'll shut the door and we'll be all ready to go with the rampage okay and then we'll we'll just kind of test that out tonight the base is like 100 percent fully done the only thing we have to do is uh, i want to set up like two or three spotlights outside probably three and i think i have one there i'm doing things completely out of order so we'll need probably at least two more and then uh, i also will need more explosion resistant concrete which starts here with the body bags and there's the elemental immunity mod that i made before fire and shock so not explosive unfortunately someone's gonna be very unlucky and get that one <laughs> and we'll see how far we get hopefully i think the inventories restock daily so between today and tomorrow, we should aim to have another $45,000. I don't know if we're going to get there quite yet. Okay, so let's get some tools together and do a little bit of construction this morning. Okay, I think I have enough stuff to get started now. Just dive out of here. Shouldn't be any problem. And, okay, we want spotlights basically shining up on the base. I think probably we can create a little extension off of this. Okay, so probably going to be a little bit of a trial and error process here because we're going to have a, just at least three spotlights and they're all going to be like pointing straight up at the base. And I'm going to try and kind of tuck them in in an area where, you know, it kind of fits in with the foundations that we've already made. Just, you know, so it kind of looks a little bit better. Oh man, scratch that. We got a Death's Whisper. Oh, that's a lot of zombies over there. Hello. I'm just going to uh, hop up here and hope that my allies can help me out a little bit. It's I Eats Beats again. Well, I Eats Beats is going to eat some 762 right to the face. Okay, that was it. Now I got a whole bunch of friggin' zombies in my construction working area. Oh, now I got a screamer screaming at me. That's wonderful. Well, come on over here, I guess. Basically, what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of making a dugout with ramps. And I'm going to put explosive resistant railings on top. And then I'm kind of hoping I can just use kind of plate ramps to sort of dress everything up so that it's nice and flush and well protected. And now just begins the arduous task of trying to replicate this on two other sides. Not to mention the fact that the other two are kind of like kitty cornered diagonally. Another Death's Whisper with friggin' werewolves. Okay, back into position then. What do we got here? We got Roger Herrett, Kenny D, Silver Gats, 303, and who else? ND22C0, the ever present. Okay, that was it. Okay, back to work. Not sure how this is gonna turn out, honestly. This uh, this might have to be a, an entire scrap <laughs> after this. I don't know, I'll make it work. It's not for form, it's more for function, this one. Okay, so that's it. I've got these all dug in, and um, you know, they're I don't know if they're really well protected or not. I think probably they will get blown up during Horde Night, but it uh, should provide us some good illumination tonight when we do the Screamer Battle, at least. And I can't help it that there's these weird kind of gaps around here. I mean, I can kind of help it. On this side, I just used the regular frame to kind of pull up the terrain and level things off a little bit. And then I do have some topsoil that I can use to kind of dress this up, kind of the same fashion that we did here. And you could always take sheets and go around the edge, but with seekers around, uh, the sheets will just most certainly get blown up and it would just be a poor investment of resources, quite honestly. Okay, but the last thing we need to do here is, um, see, I can probably you know fix the terrain here just a little bit make it look a little nicer maybe also maybe not some of this terrain just might be damaged oh it is it's it's really really badly damaged and i need cobblestone to fix it yeah i can kind of if i stand close enough to the storages i can kind of pull from the storage but that does help considerably okay that's a good that's a better project to be done like at night time when i'm not kind of you know on the clock a little bit like i was saying before it's hard for me to do creative builds because i i'm under the pressure to you know do enough entertaining stuff within a two hour time frame um but um what we have to do now is we have to get a relay going down here somewhere and hope to god that um things are going to like uh extend far enough i guess i'm just gonna do a test here uh is this gonna be too far to hook these in it does look as though it's not letting me hook that one in I think that one is technically too far away. How about right in the middle here? That one's probably going to be good. Yeah, that one's good. What about to the sides, though? I mean, certainly, this is good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so that's... This is the one right here. 
it's a really heckin' bad spot to put a relay, because this is like where maximal seeker volume is right here. That should definitely be explosion resistant concrete, but it's not going to be. <laughs> We're hoping for the best here. No, it's not like this is any sort of a critical function. Just, you know, setting up some lights here. It's more for like non-Horde Knights anyway. Just kind of the day to day. If it gets destroyed on Horde Knight, you know, it's whatever. Just fix it. As long as it works for like the first five minutes of Horde Knights <laughs> so I can get some cool angles of the base. That's all I really care about. Okay, and then just like a line. Can I just bring it directly off of the timer relay? It seems like um, I'm asking too much. That's pretty far away. And this game tends to hate me in terms of electrical wires yep that is too far away i don't know why it's it's not red when it when it's too far away it's um kind of baffles me something's going on with the uh, rebirth mod and and wires or it could be maybe the 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 wire hiding mod that i'm using it could be messing everything up i don't really know yeah now that i think about it that's probably what's messing everything up i can't stand the wires though so i'm not going to turn that off here let's try this one see if that goes in nope Crap! Okay, how about if I put a relay there? That's gotta work. Okay, this is gonna work. There we go. Okay, well, it took a little bit of extra doing. So now I need to uh, power these up and reorient them. And to do that, I think all I really need to do is... What time is it? It's 15.32. So just turn this down to 15, and that'll turn everything on. And immediately lose, like, 40 FPS. Yeah, they say in um, Alpha 21 that uh, the lighting is gonna be better and reflections are going to be better so hopefully we won't get such a performance hit from that kind of stuff okay let's just try that oh that's looking pretty good already i don't even have to see it at nighttime i mean i think it'll look great at nighttime but um the difference is is detectable already okay aim that one up as well oh yeah yeah that's gonna look really good and last one okay i kind of aimed it like right there should be fine yeah that'll do and the fact that it's clipping up there a little bit through i think these are explosion proof so like bullets can pass through the railing but i think it will actually block explosions from passing through i think i've done the testing on that before i'd have to reference back the um the horde based design tips and tricks video i think i tested it in that video now i was kind of reflecting on whoops missed a paint spot there i was kind of reflecting on the complexity of seven days to die because i'm actually like writing out some scripts for uh new videos coming in alpha 21 and it's like there's just so much to it i have like a tips and tricks list and i'm in like i'm almost at 50 right now and each tip and trick is like it's not just one thing it's like hey here's a tip about how traders work and then like i go over everything that's that has to do with traders um the complexity of this game is just outrageous it's awesome i love it and uh, i was kind of just reflecting on like how that compares to a game like sons of the forest which i don't know maybe Maybe Sons of the Forest has complexity that I haven't yet really, like, uncovered, but um, I've, I've dug deep on Sons of the Forest looking for, like, content to make on it, and honestly, man, it's just not there, and um, I, I, I had to kind of step away from Sons of the Forest for a bit. I, I was, I was kind of committed for a while to make a whole bunch of content on it, but I just couldn't find a whole lot of stuff to make content on, quite honestly. Where was that other spot I missed? Right there. Uh, not not I missed, uh, the, the freaking painter, the professional painter missed it. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, we're, we're pretty much ready to go here now. Let's just fix this. We want lights on at 21. It gives us an hour buffer from dusk and dawn. Yeah, uh, quite honestly, paint is really hard to make in Rebirth. Paint, where's paint? Uh, do I just make it in the inventory or what? Paint, yeah, I do. Yeah, it just takes like dye and corn flour and murky water and I just um, I'm not feeling that uh, I, I feel like paint should be easy to make just like it is in vanilla like you can make batches of thousands and thousands of it and never have to worry about it again I mean the act of painting is bad enough you know the the, the crafting and gathering materials for the paint it just uh, sets it over the edge for me not gonna do that and uh, aside from that you know you all kind of saw that uh, my one of my patrons Andy and doll did the paint job here originally and I think that's probably something I'll keep doing I'll kind of offer that job up to select people that have demonstrated really good base building and designing skill and people who have supported the channel and kind of go from there i will have to actually manually paint those uh those things down there i'll probably just do that right now get it over with i've got like 113 paint that's uh that's not good can i make any 
I just need the corn flour. Okay, I'll make one batch of paint. Corn flour. Okay, make me like, um, I don't know, 10 of those. I got to paint underneath the bedroll anyway. Oh, geez, I can see a wandering horde coming in from the, uh, the alternate camera. The drone cam, I guess you could call it. Drone cam taking care of us over here. Okay, bring them to the front so we can all get... So we can all shoot at him. Stand no chance. I just leveled up too. Nice. Yeah, and we saw the other day that um, if I shoot them in the head, Holy I can get a rampage that way. Are you kidding me? Wow, what a cheese way of getting a rampage. Oh, how could I? How could I do that? How could I do that on Horde Night? <laughs> I love it. I could probably also level up my tactical rifle skill by doing this <laughs> that's so cool hmm i don't i don't know if i could do that on horde night i think our idea or the the commenter's idea whoever that was of just activating the screamer signal that's the way to go <coughs> look at that a batch of paint takes 43 seconds too that's insane man oh geez how much does that give me 200 it took 10 pieces of corn to make 200 paint wow so you'd have to have like a legitimate farm going by the time you decide to paint your base. Yeah, uh, no, no thanks on that front. You know, I'm tempted to just give myself the dev paintbrush for this little project here, but I won't do it. Not to mention the fact that just painting takes a long time and, you know, do you guys really want to watch me painting? I mean, I could like time lapse it, but it still takes like, when we did the War of the Walkers series, I painted the whole base and it took like days and days and days. Like I spent at least one full day painting and that just like takes away from what i can do for content so i don't know about that i think i'm, I'm kind of i'm settled into this the new system plus if i paint bases they have to be red because <laughs> i guess red's my favorite color and that gets kind of boring after a while people have actually commented and said like oh you need to just Tim, please pick something, something, anything other than red, please. Oh, I forgot the vault hatch that's supposed to go in there. Let me get that going real quick. I found a cool new way to get onto the base. Jump onto this and then jump right up here. Vault hatch. Then of course I just jump right down with my parkour skills. Look at this, I've already burned through like 200 paint. Yep, after all the paint that I got today, I got 200 paint. I've used the 200 and then some just to paint these three little or four little dinky recessed like light things huh that's a lot of paint well it's a done deal the base is 100 percent good to go won't be needing these anymore slap in the new bedroll and we're good let me kind of get the kit organized again because we're all messed up right now and then uh, i'll spin up a screamer horde for us for the night all right i just came out here briefly to double check on the spotlights it just did tick after nightfall and so it's looking good so far i mean in a perfect world i think maybe we'd also have another spotlight set up here to kind of cast up on the base right there maybe that's something we'll get to in another uh, in another day i don't want to spend any more time today but maybe we'll do that uh, tomorrow just to get that finally all set up but there it is one final look at the base before we trash it uh, just a little bit tonight with the horde i'm ready to move out wait what dank dank has returned i knew you were dead you asshole boss you won't believe what i've encountered what is it what did you see as i went awol i chanced upon this demonic beast demonic not like you've ever laid your eyes on describe it it bore claws as lengthy as me arms and eyes that pierced one's very soul so what'd you do i fought with all my might but it bested me with narrow your sweat but you're here now yet yeah, spare me life to bear a message to you what was it it spoke your name it did it's come to restore the balance of power, and it seeks to end you. Jeez, Dank. What do you think we should do? We must brace ourselves, gather our strength, and confront this vile creature. Time's running out. Oh man, this is bad news. I see that you brought Endia and Dahl with you. We're gonna need all the help that we can get here. Oh boy. Okay, well, the plan doesn't change. We're gonna need all the money we can get, so why don't you two follow me? We'll find some room for you in the base, no problem. Oh yeah, okay, it's getting dark out and it's looking very, very good out here, but I'm not really worried about that at the moment. All right, let's get these guys up into position. There's no room over here. We'll have to station them up on the rooftop for additional coverage up there. Why don't you stay where I'm standing here, Doll and Dank, come over here, my good friend, and stay where I'm standing. You know, I'm docking your pay for going AWOL for two weeks, asshole. All right, got a little bit of extra ammo there, and let's um, just button everything up. Just a good dry run for the base anyway. Just make sure that all of our ducks are in a row and we know what we're doing here. And looks good. 
Looks good here. Okay, fire it up. The SMG turrets are running, and that means that the sound is all out of whack right now, but um, ah, whatever. So what we're going to need for this battle is tuna fish gravy toast, and we'll also need, well, during the horde night, we'll have the, um, what's it called? Beet stew, which will also increase our magazine capacity. Okay, multiple screamers are coming up the western side here. It seems as though our allies have some sort of an angle to shoot at them, which is interesting. I didn't realize they could do that until just now. Okay, I just got the rampage going, and it was I, there was a dead body in front of me, and I just shot the dead body in the head. Got the rampage, so, you know, that's something we could maybe try if we have to. Seems to be a very slow trickle of zombies tonight. Not a whole lot going on here yet. I'd say it took a... I, I think we've been at this for about an hour now, so we should plan on uh, starting this uh, maybe two or three hours before the actual horde arrives, and then just running it right up until like 10 minutes before the horde actually starts, shut down the screamer horde, transition over to the regular horde night horde. Oh, you know what it is? It's the, uh, the SMG turrets. That's why we're not having such high volume up here like we're used to. I'm gonna go shut those off, because they're gonna be using ammo anyway. We should be able to replenish ammo pretty easily, but yeah, shutting that down. I think I was also noticing that um, the kills from the SMG turret was counting toward resetting my rampage. Good to know. I'm actually gonna run upstairs. I'm using my AP ammo right now, but I really don't think that I need it. I'm gonna run up and get my regular 762. We'll start grinding through that a little bit instead. All right, these are finally starting to get kind of heavy up here. Leveled up, level 77. Jeez, weren't we like level 75 to start the day out today? <laughs> Okay, I guess I just got a rampage on top of my rampage. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not seeing any of the bikers. We're trying to upgrade our armor penetration aura, which is requiring us to kill more bikers. And um, it seems like the first time we did this, there were no bikers. The second time we did it, it was full of bikers. Now I don't see any bikers again. I also don't see any skateboarders out there. I see like a lot of big mamas and Darlene. And uh, Mrs. P is out there. What the hazmat guys? I'm back over to the AP 762 rounds because they were really piling up down there. Not that, I mean, they've got to get through four layers of steel bars. It would take them hours. You know what would make this just a hundred times better? Oh, there, I just uh, leveled up my tactical rifle skill a little bit. So now I think. We should be working on the Witch Doctor skill again. Yep, we are. Oh, so good. So we could just run this until I level up the Witch Doctor class. That would be nice. Uh, what I was saying there, though, is what would make this 100 times better is if instead of using the 3D trussing block and the security gates flat as our causeway over to us, if we made it the security gate centered in a vertical orientation or something really skinny like a pole block or a pillar block, you know, centered, like something like a, you know, a beam, a, a, a tight walking beam. Because then only basically one zombie at a time would be able to beat on the steel bars that we've made. Because they have actually made their way through at least two of the steel bars. You know what it is though? 100%, it's our game stage. You know, when a screamer screams, it spawns in a horde, like, for your current game stage. And all of those game stage hordes are delineated in the game files, and they contain sort of a random smattering of zombies. But it's not going to select from all zombies, so... Whatever game stage I am right now, I'll check briefly. Game stage 154. So screamers, when you're level 154, they're gonna scream in, you know, six or eight different zombies. And so that's what we're stuck with right now. And so until we level up some more and like ascend into a different screamer horde, we're gonna be stuck with these zombies. And unfortunately this group right here, this entity group, is not going to contain the zombies that we're looking for to upgrade our auras. No skateboarders, no bikers. Tell you what, it sure is nice to have Dank's voice kind of ringing in the background, complaining about getting brains in his mouth and stuff. All right, I'm just going to run it into the morning for a little while. I'm in no hurry to leave today. We just have to head out today and see if we can find Walking Dead Prison, or there's maybe a couple of other POIs I would entertain going out to today. We do need to go out and just get some loot. I want the loot up here as well. But yeah, currently at 31% on the Witch Doctor. I don't know, I'd like to see that at least above 50% before we head out. I even took the silencer off my gun so I could make some more noise and hopefully attract some of these zombies over because a couple of them are just lurking around out there not doing anything. All right, I think half the problem is that I'm tucked in so deep into the base that the screamers can't really see me. So I'm gonna do an experiment here. I'm gonna come outside and uh, use melee for a second. 
Make sure I'm drinking beer, Red Bull, coffee, all that stuff. And that way they'll see me and they'll scream and spawn in a bunch more zombies. Because that, I mean, we're getting really poor volume up there now. And the second I step out here, there's just a billion zombies. Okay, I'd say it worked. Whatever, I'll fight out here. That's fine. I just leveled up to level 79. We'll see if that makes any difference on our whatever kind of entity stage we're at with these screamers. It is, because I'm seeing a whole bunch of bikers now. That's interesting. Now I'm keen on staying here until we upgrade our armor penetration aura, because that's going to help a lot. That's like an extra, I don't know, 10% armor penetration or something. All right, we're in the home stretch, I'd say. Let's just wrap this up a little bit. There's uh, so many zombies here now that definitely... We're, our visibility is so poor inside the base, which is the intent, you know, because we want to shield ourselves from cops if we can. But yeah, that was the problem. We were just like, the screamers weren't even activating before they were getting killed. Okay, I, I have very nearly died. Luckily, that worked first try to t jump my way back in here. Close that down. We're going to close things out just in the traditional manner here, right, right at the fighting position. Yeah, this is what we're used to, like massive volumes of zombies trying to crawl their way up that ladder. That's gone. I got another new rampage on top of my existing rampage. I'm on a triple rampage now. Leveled up to level 80, and then something else happened there, some kind of weird noise. Yes, the armor penetration aura is now level 2, and um, my witch doctor is at 80%. Let's just do it. Let's just push it to 100%. Why not? Okay, we're at 90%, almost there. I guess kamikazes are a part of this screamer horde. I've killed, I mean, I've seen a whole bunch of them go off. Seems like there's also grudges and corpulence. I'm not sure if they've just wandered in or if they're a part of this screamer wave or what. I like the screamer wave. It's an exciting one. 98% on the class. Couple more headshots should do it. There's 99%, 99.7. One more mag should do it. There we go. Level nine in the Witch Doctor class. Turn this freaking screamer signal off and let's just clean them up. It's no small task. I probably should have <laughs> turned that off a while ago, right? Here, let's do this. Let's uh, run outside and uh, we'll just, we'll, we'll initiate everything. Give me a skeleton army. Give me mercenaries. Give me a whole bunch of you guys onto my side. There we go. Oh, wow. Direct hit there. Give me some painkillers, too. And how about the grenade launcher? That should work. Probably going to hurt my own guys there a little bit, but ah, eh, whatever. All right, guys. Clean them up. Clean them up. Clean them up. Also, bring them over to the front so I can use my allies to help. Oh, my God. It just popped up on my screen that, oh, my God. Dank Jesus died. I'm pretty sure he was a mercenary or a skeleton. One or the other. The real Dank Jeans. Would you please stand up and make sure that you're alive, please? Yeah, he's up there. I can see him shooting. All right, according to the frame rate, we're on the last leg of it right here. Got a Mr. P, and was that it? Pretty much. Couple stragglers over there. Yes, we're done. Okay, let me shut down the base, and I'll get a blueberry pie, and we'll loot up. Hopefully, this is going to give us lots of sellables. Okay, I ate a meat stew instead of the uh, blueberry pie, but there's the blueberry pie into me. And start looting up, man. There's a lot of loot here. The frame rate is increasing by the second as the stupid zombies despawn. And I'm critically dehydrated, so as I'm running around here, I'm just gonna slug down a dozen beers or so. And look at this mess of loot bags over here. <laughs> this is like the main pile right here. Okay, last loot bag right there. I've ported up all of the stackable th items, which is basically like, you know, food and drinks and oh one more right here yeah look they got through they they broke three blocks i think is the uh, the damage assessment from all of that that's how much you can actually kind of cheese the zombies in this game you really you have to give them a chance or else it's just no fun or you have to add in you know seekers and wraiths and uh you know 500 radiated cops <laughs> yeah and like a whole bunch of brass stuff probably just put all of that away and oh my god like really not even that good for sellables a couple of treasure chests we can work on at some point and the rest of this just goes in here for selling a little bit later plasma baton nothing nothing new nothing exciting we made a little bit of money there really not that much you, you get those you get the money from the seeker loot bags really mostly okay so we've got a few treasure chests that's that's a good one in the wasteland we've got two in the temperate area i think i've done those airdrops quite honestly just remove those for me please but what i'm really interested in is doing a quest a tier 5 mission we'll head back down to the the desert trader this time are you kidding me more zombies now nah, they don't stand a chance all right i'm gonna gather up dank and uh, we'll bring india and doll with us we're not gonna go alone today and i'll meet you over at the trader in the desert 
Yeah, that's interesting. We got a little bit of a battle going on down there. A couple of survivors with some pipe shotguns just knocked out a bandit. And now they're fighting a zombie. Let's see if I can just bring in the crusher here. No, I'm too late. Whoop, we got we got a wraith attack though. Come on guys, take them out. There we go. You know. Oh! Oh, what is this? Oh, that's the skeleton warrior. Grandpa AJ that he spawned in. And my arm is sprained just like that. Broken, in fact. Great. Well, we got casts just for that occasion. I will just collect up that uh, protection shield just in case, you know, that might come in handy with, you know, whatever threat is looming and coming after us. We'll have to be on our guard for that. And we'll have to probably try to focus on getting as much ammo as we... Are there freaking dogs respawned in here? What is wrong with you guys? What is this ridiculousness in here? All right, we'll let the guys cover us and I'm looking for... The prison. Okay, nobody has the the prison that I want, so we'll hope to get that maybe tomorrow. But there is this bunker O one really in the wasteland. Um, jeez, I don't know about that. Okay, I guess I'll okay. take it. Just where I want to be, underground in the wasteland. It's getting kind of late in the day, actually. Probably not the best time to go start a tier five POI, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And, uh, where are we going anyway? That's like the other, other wasteland, and we've been through there before. We looped through there with that, that one day that we got lost, like, really, really early on. Okay, so I'm gonna actually head back to the base, and I'm gonna grab up a little bit of extra ammo, and, um, I don't know, maybe just make sure I'm t topped off on everything else. I don't think I checked before I left. And, um... Yeah, I'll meet you over there. All right, we're rolling up on the spot here. I did stop home. I grabbed up all the allies. I figured, why not today? We've already re leveled up our Witch Doctor class, so it's not like I'm trying to get all the kills myself. We have done this before, and um, not in this playthrough, but in War of the Walkers, and I'm not keen on doing that one again. I wasn't a big fan. That's the prison over there. That was the, uh, the rogue prison that we assaulted in War of the Walkers. There's this big POI over here, which I actually think is the one that we're looking for. Yes, wow, look how big that is. That is the Walking Dead prison right there. Quest or not, I think that's the one for today. What's this over here? This is definitely like the uh, the prison district over here. This one looks pretty cool. I think this is actually also a variant of the Walking Dead prison. I, I kind of think that because of the bus over here at the front gate. I like the looks of the other one a little bit better though. What else is over here? I think this is the Mira HQ here, and if I recall, that is from, um, Among Us is the game. There's a mansion over there, and, uh, what else is there? What's this? Another prison. Prison or maybe military, by the looks of things here. Just gonna bring it around to the front. Yeah. Steel axe pen. Okay, interesting. All right, here we go. We got protection from the mercenary guild, too, so let's just drop it straight in here and just assault it properly with the whole crew. Let's go. All right, wake them all up. Oh, I brought the dog too, I forgot. So Sush Sushi's here to help us. Careful, Sushi. Yeah, the screamers are gonna be knocking any minute here. We're making a ton of noise. Okay, looks like we're pretty much all clear out here, so everybody stay with me, stay close. In fact, go over to full control if you would. Okay, that room over there is Wow, totally full of zombies. Kind of okay, because they could just come out here and they can't really get to us. But I, I wouldn't mind having a kind of like a Molotov outlet right there. Watch your head, Razzle. I don't oh, know. I told you to watch your head. Okay, yep, they broke through. Whoa, yeah, they broke through fast. Okay, let them have it, guys. Wow, okay. Um, everybody get back here. Back here. And just let them have it with the grenades. There we go. Nice. Okay, moving right along here. Honestly, not much going on in this little corner over here. This is just a big supply area. Got a, uh... Oh, look at this! Excellent! Yeah, some ammo stuff and uh, some weapons bag stuff. Okay, getting late. So, this wing here is clear. How, how did you get up there? Are you explosive immune? You are. Not that I really need it at this stage. We've got like 40 explosive immune zombie remains. Whoa! Hi there! All right, next up into wing C, I think. Locked? Yep, not for long. Hello. Good morning. Whoops, I missed. That was uh, not as dramatic as I was hoping for. Oh, that was better. Not sure how many of you followed the show, but I watched it from beginning to end and I enjoyed it. There were there were some times where it was difficult to enjoy it, but uh, overall, I like the show. Okay, here we go. Somebody breaking in from the back. Just one of you. 
Oh, and I got radiation damage. You're kidding me. Ah. Oh, you know what? That's what's been killing me lately, is when you get the radiation damage, it slows you down. And that's killer. Like, not even getting a broken leg slows you down as much as getting radiated. All right, how's everyone looking? We're doing pretty good here. No one's dying. Everyone's not on fire. Yeah, we're just pulling in regulars from the surrounding area too. Oh, we've got a survivor from... Who's that? It's an M60 survivor. No, 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 no. Kill uh, Hunter Slouch there. And who is that? Can I have that bag? Give me that bag. Thank you. And who is this? Come back here. Oh, it's a uh, Aid the Paid. <laughs> Aid the Paid, man, what's up? Come into the POI with us. You'll be you'll be fine. We'll take care of you. You know what? In the interest of just um having as much firepower as possible, I'm going to hire you. In light of the 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 pending threat that's uh, coming to get us, whatever his name may be, uh, I'm going to need all the firepower and manpower that I can get. Aid the paid, welcome to the team. All right, guys, let's roll. We're only halfway through this place, and it's almost nightfall. Yeah, we're into some sort of, like, um... I don't know what you call it. Just like an industrial piping area. Like a maintenance area, maybe. Man, we're just going in... Are we going in circles, or... Is this, like, a new legit area that I haven't been to yet? Oh, boy. Okay, this guy's just been in here for a while. Trying to... Whoa! What the hell was that all about? Jeez, I don't even know. It, oh, jeez. Oh, boy. <laughs> Terry Brady, get away from me. Man, 2,000 hit points? No, thank you. Get the hell out. Holy crap, that's full of soldiers. And uh, I'm gonna need some AP ammo, please, for this. Holy crap. That's so bad. Wow. Doing the best I can here. Close that. And hopefully the allies are gonna be able to handle themselves out there. I don't know how many of them fell down. Okay. Uh, several. But, um... I think they're handling things pretty much just fine. Jeez, it's a massacre down here. These soldiers are still dropping down from wherever they came from. Oh my god, I, if you're an epileptic and you're triggered by lights, man, look away. Oh my god, got an abrasion. People are getting to low hit points. They're getting hurt pretty bad here. Yep, yep, yep. Um, if you're on fire, don't be on fire. If you are stuck in the floor tank, talking to you. Uh, don't be stuck in the floor. Kill the last zombie. Okay. Are we all okay? Definitely a screamer outside. Okay. Aid the paid. You get a first aid kit. Everyone else? I think... Where's Razzle Dazzle? Dank, do you need a first aid kit? No, you're good. There he is over there. Razzle gets a first aid kit. Neuro gets a first aid kit. Doll gets one. And that should be good. All right, what the hell were you guys guarding up here anyway? Everybody with me, please. It's gotta be the main loot, right? I mean, who just puts like 20 radiated feral whites in, a, in just like a random location, not guarding the main loot? There it is. Oh, one more. Not to mention they got 2,000 hit points apiece. Okay, annoying bird outside. Can't do anything about that. Let's get the loot. I got a couple of doomsday hammers, I think. Oh, okay, zombies are making their way in, guys. Hold the door. I'll get the loot chest. All right, I'm in. And, okay, not too bad. Couple of good pistols there. And another shotgun turret bundle. Which, I don't think I'll be setting those up anywhere. Wow, this place is kind of terrible after all. I mean, not terrible in a bad way, but like terrifyingly just dangerous. Yeah, I'm actually quite glad that we didn't get a quest for this place because it's so big and there's just probably zombies that are everywhere that we haven't even encountered yet. Look, I just woke up a bunch and they're in this building somewhere. In here? Yep, oh, found them. Here, shoot that guy in the head. Shoot that guy in the head. There's my rampage. <laughs> I've found the ultimate cheese mechanic. Okay, here we go. Everybody inside. Turn the lights on. Yeah, I'd say pretty much clear. I mean, we found the main loot at least, and we saw, I don't know, a good two-thirds of the place. I don't think I really did any clearing in this building over here, but maybe another day. I definitely would revisit this place. This is a very, very high quality POI. Once you do a POI like that, man, it's hard to go back to others. And in terms of this bunker right here, I'm never going to do it again, probably as long as I live, so remove quest. So as soon as we get home, I'm going to see what I can do in terms of getting some more auras crafted for our allies. I'm also going to look into ammo production. I guess at this point we kind of have to decide, do we want to spend our money on sending people out mining, 
or should we use our time mining ourselves and then use the money to buy the, the armor to get the ore mods. It's kind of a toss up to me. I'm also gonna have to look into first aid production, get as many first aid kits as possible. Probably also try to get a bunch of water boiled up. And in the coming days, it's gonna be mostly about getting the black shields and the trader network to join our cause. I think that we've done enough work for both factions at this point that they would be willing to help us, uh, given that the presence of a you know, demonic beast in the region is probably gonna hamper their efforts and kind of turn back all the progress that we've made here, taking out cybernetics and cloaked animals and werewolves and everything else that we've done. All right, so I'm gonna get everything put away and organized and I'll get the allies set back up into position and we'll pick things up tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Your causes length these me arms, and eyes that pierce one very soul. We must brace ourselves, gather our strength, and confront this vile creature. Time's running out. This can mean only one thing. The demon king of the undead, Leviathus, has entered the mortal realm. And with him, he brings an army that rivals the Blood Moon Horde. And so we must do everything in our power to prepare for both. It would start with gathering materials needed to conjure two powerful thralls to join our ranks, then mining and digging treasure for bullet manufacturing material and money respectively. And with that money, we'll aim to influence the two most powerful factions onto our side, the Black Shields and the Traitor Network, and hope that our army is strong enough to defeat his. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you, but now it's go time. All right, let's do this. We've got tons of preparations to make for the big event uh, in the next couple of days. Couple of big events. Okay, what are we looking like up here? We got all kinds of people up here, all kinds of people down below. However, we're not going to be able to send anyone out mining because uh, I'm going to have to start saving money to hire up help. So I've had a discussion over here with Ethan, who is the commander of the Black Shields, and he has agreed to supply us with a few mercenaries for the coming battle. So we'll go pick them up after we fight the Horde. And I've also had a discussion with the traders. I just wired over a message to them and they are willing to help as well, but all for a price. <laughs> Nothing comes cheaply around here. Also, I'm going to be studying in the Dark Magic Arcane Arts and seeing if I can find a book here. Uh, let's see, we got... Um, advanced potion making here we've got celestial dynamic and we've got uh, alchemy recipes and we'll have to go through the rest of the books and see if we can come up with some sort of a conjuration spell so that we can maybe bring in this demon demon king onto our grounds and fight him on our terms he's either going to ambush us or we're going to ambush him it's a kind of a, an arms race to see who can do it first speaking of arms race we do need to see if we can get these zombie skeleton companions i think that's going to be my focus for today so we're going to need powder for basically all of the zombie types and I've also crafted up a whole bunch of extra mind control potions last night and this potion for skeleton armies we're up to 30 or so of each of those so that'll be good and let's have a look here so actually let's just have a look in here because it's the body bags that we really need to make okay so fire immune we can get one we're gonna need two more to get the second one and I think we're gonna need two body bags it's one body bag to get three powder and so two body bags to get um you know six powder and we need six powder of each so we'll get two of those and we're gonna need more shock immune remains to the tune of 12 okay and let's just double check on those fire immune zombies that this is gonna give me three powder right yes three powder so that will be enough to come over there and get the um the thing that we need and what about okay we're doing okay on the auras well we're really doing bad we have two so we we can give basically dank uh this one here because he's he's probably the most important person to me and then we've got the fire and shock immunity mod that we can give to someone else oh and that reminds me last night i think it was in here yes i made a whole bunch of extra first aid so just get that on to me for now, and uh, we'll we'll dole that out to everyone before the big battle. I think I was making food last night, wasn't I? Yeah, I made some chili dogs because I forgot. This actually gives you loot quantity, so that paired with the blueberry pie is actually really nice. So we'll just hang on to a stack of those from now on. And I got this shepherd's pie, which reduces health loss by 50%. A great thing to have around for horde night or demon battles. Okay, so proceed with the rest of the powder. 
And I don't really think we need to bring a crew with us. I'm feeling pretty confident today. Oh my goodness, I'm almost out of beer. I'm down to four beer. I need to make some more beer. Distilled water. Okay, we'd have to go down that whole chain again. That's fine. Give me 20 more beer. I figured I would have had a whole bunch of beer. Do I really not have any? Or did I did I put it away? No, I don't have any beer. I think that means I have a problem. <laughs> okay, so maybe uh, cut down on the beer drinking a little bit. Uh, drink some more coffee or something. But anyway, yeah, we don't need to uh, have the whole crew with us. Just make sure... Yeah, I've got some gas. I've got the auger. Everything seems to be repaired up. Let's just check on the armor. Armor's in good condition. So, looking at the map, we need to do treasure, treasure 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 and also we need to go get some more fire samples from the desert and then a whole bunch of fire uh, shock samples up north here and probably the best place to go is just to, into the city here into like this downtown area and just harvest up a few of those shouldn't take too too long all right i think we're ready i will meet you i think uh, we'll do the treasure first i'll meet you over at that treasure right straight ahead all right first off here and i did hear some gunfire so yeah, we've got some company somewhere. Okay, fighting the bear up there. Okay, well, if that's a survivor, I am obligated to help, which it is. Stop, stop, stop. Whoa, kamikaze too. Oh, just <laughs> delete everything in that general direction. It's Hobie. Hobie number two. Got another gun going off. It's a pistol user, though. Pistol users can basically just fend for themselves, as far as I'm concerned. Did you seriously aggro another bear? Okay, I can only help you so much. All right. That's as much as I can do. So I did turn on, I maxed out the difficulty for rebirth options. So um, feral sense is on, like rebirth feral sense, whatever that means. I also turned up horde knight difficulty to, what is this? Oh boy. Was this some sort of a cybernetic? Yeah, oh boy, who's that? Jack, Jack the cybernetic and Magnus Carling and Benjamin, Mr. Mayor, a whole bunch of them. Oh boy, <laughs> Alex the Catman over here. Vamp clutch there. All right, get out of here, guys. Wow, you guys look skinnier than I remember. Are there like female variations? Wow, they they look cool now. I like that. Holy crap, who's this? Oh, he's hoarding more people in. Oh, geez, Daryl and Gia. Yep, bus driving. Holy crap, a whole bunch of people coming. Oh my god, a screamer too. Of course, just one of those days in the wasteland, right? Yeah, more screaming. That's because I, I friggin' took my silencer off and then I put it away. There we go, okay. That's done with. Take care of you. Get the bonus loot. And maybe convert over to melee for two seconds. Ah, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding, Mr. P. Okay, where's this freaking screamer? Oh, there she is. There, I got her. That guy's a little too tough for me, though. Wow. Ah, come on, man. No radiation damage. Okay, drone, where the hell are you? Put a bandage onto me when I'm bleeding, for goodness sake. Oh, someone's... Oh, Logan, helping me out over there. Thank you. Have I broken anything? Nope, thank goodness I have not. Yeah, I'm gonna dehydrate here in a second if I don't start drinking something. We're laying off the beer. It's too early for that kind of stuff. All right, where was I? This should be treasure right about here. Yep, no problem. Hoping for a fat stack of money in here or, you know, stuff that we can sell. Not too bad. Okay, did anyone leave any loot for me? It looks like a little bit. Yep, a little bit of money there. Otherwise... I think we're good here. Does this cybernetic guy have anything? Okay, one down, three to go. Okay, next up. Well, we gotta fight this bear here, which um, I'm gonna use a different strategy than just, you know, mag dumping, because that generates a ton of heat. So why don't you come over here, big guy? Radiated toxic bear. Take, take the tree out for you, but nope, now he's off to kill the survivor. The bandit! Not the survivor. Ooh, pistol bandit, too. My pleasure to kill you. Do a little bit of bear riding this morning. Oh, here we go. Just watch the stamina. Harvest them up. Take this stuff here. And yes, we're good to go. Steven, <laughs> don't even think about it. Regular old Steve here thinking he can take me down. I am the king of the land. Well, the true king of the land is, uh, is around here somewhere. I'm sure we'll encounter him eventually. Whoops, I just drank a beer. Reflexes, I guess. <laughs> okay, wash it down with some tea. Okay, much better that time. Much less heat. Okay, what do we got now? Do we want to do the, um, the chili dog blueberry pie? I mean, yeah, we probably should do that. That's why I brought the stuff. And then that's going to be good 
for six or so, I think it was seven minutes each on that. Where's my blueberry pie indicator? I think, oh, there it is way over there on the end. Man, got a lot of stuff going on right now. All right, let's see what we get here. Wow, 16 grand. Oh, that's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, but now we need to hurry over to the other two, which are in the temperate area. Oh, geez, and got an airdrop too here. Okay, let's just bring it down for this one real quick. Give me this. Oh, okay, interesting stuff there. Ranged mod bundle, tactical assault rifle bundle. Ah, really, it's not great. It's actually good sell price there. Not too bad. Couple of good mods there. Okay, and I looked on the map. This one appears to be in a lake, although it's just this little shallow pond here, so I think we'll manage. Yep, bring it right in. We need the clay anyway, so we'll just dig right into this with the auger. No big deal. Yeah, I can't help but look at the bottom right corner because I'm technically underwater right now, even though it's just my head. Um, it, it says I have... 2,433 seconds until I drowned. All right, in here we've got, wow, more money. Oh, the Scorpion Evo, I haven't seen that before. And then we've got that powered uh, Wakazashi, I believe was the cor correct pronunciation on that. Goodbye, okay, we need to hurry now. We've got one more to, to uh, dig up and then I'll see if maybe, like, it's just like the, the loot, the eye candy hustle now. <laughs> if I have any time left over, I'm gonna see if I can scrounge up a main loot somewhere. Whoop, the other one is kind of directly under this house. Okay, uh, interesting. That is a tier, are you kidding me? That's a tier five house though, isn't it? Or tier four, I mean, which uh, maybe we can get the loot out of there if we're kind of careful. Jeez, I think I'll just go in through the, uh, through the intended pathway right here. Not the intended, through the exit, I guess I'll say. Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference with Feral Sense on. Yeah, isn't it, um, it's right here somewhere, isn't it? Oh, hello, spider. Yeah, here we go. I think we're getting to the, um, the hatch here. Aren't we? Are we not? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I knew it was over here somewhere. Okay, let me in. Oh, look at this thing. This is cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're safe from zombies coming down from there, but we will have to do a big fight over here. Okay, shouldn't be too big of a deal, though. And how are we looking on the uh, stuff there? Two minutes left on all the power-ups. Yep. Okay, we gotta kill a lot of people in here. That's where we're gonna dig up the treasure, though, right there. Okay, I was kind of expecting that to be a lot worse than it was. Let's do this first. I don't know what that was. There's a lot of good stuff, though. Good. Oh, beer. Nice. Some sunglasses and some chest armor. What's in here? And... Yeah, there's a, uh, a wraith or something right above me. Let him growl, doesn't make any difference. Okay, a little bit of loot here and, whoa. I don't know what that was. Um, your guess is as good as mine. Is this fire immune here? Nope. Let's dig, we've, we're on the clock now. We've got a minute left. Wait a minute, is that this? What, are you kidding me? What? I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. It just literally spawned on the ground. There we go. Okay, the plan worked. Also, we're in a tier four POI, so we get the tier four loot bonus. Okay, not bad. And I'm full, eat the peas. All right, we're good to go. Let's get out of here. All right, get ready to fight, because we've got at least a wraith up here somewhere. Get the hell out What's going on here? Oh, jeez. Yeah, he's um like casting spells and summoning stuff, so I'm gonna get out of here. Leave him to it. Yep, I think my bonus has probably worn off by now, so no rush. Let's now, bit of a fire over there. Let's go, yeah, okay, we're pretty close to the uh, snow biome. Let's go gather up the shock immune remains that we need. All right, here we are. I'm gonna just park right in front of this motel here. All right, we're looking for shock immune zombies. You seen any? Here's one. There we go. Oh, another one right there. Oh my God, I've drawn in a whole freaking bunch of zombies and a bear. And I've got Death's Whisper, not good. Who is, who is this? What's going on here? Get out of here. All right, I need some uh, freaking hydration. Over here. Oh, it's just a giant toxic person. Uh, okay. Oh my God, these are all kamikazes. No, get away from the vehicle. They're not blowing up though for some reason. Wow, they're strong too. Wow. Oh, I've leveled up my sights. Look at that. Wow, are they resistant to like piercing and slashing? Whoops, I just totally <laughs> took out the uh, striker there. Okay, I don't know why these guys aren't blowing up, but I'm... Whoa, he's really big. Yeah, and really strong too. Okay, now's the time for the 7.62. Come on, there we go, got him. 
and boss event loot. Get the Roman spear and some other junk to sell. Oh, excuse me. Get out of here. Where were the shock immune zombies? I might have missed them in the commotion. We might have missed out on a few of those. There's one. Kamikaze zombie. Oh, guy has got a timed charge inside of him. Can I sell that? 13? Nah, that's not really worth it. All right, I'd say we have uh, maybe two or three down, maybe, and 10 to go. So I'm just going to run through town. I'll probably salvage vehicles as I go because you can get some sellables out of those and kill a whole bunch of zombies. Start with you, big boy. Okay, well, that's gonna have to do it for now. I'm, I need one more shock immune remain, but there's been an event. Yep, same event as before with all the friggin' cybernetics. Great. Oh, they're getting spawned in kind of all over the place. They're in the house back there. Oh, a snake. This is a snake house. It's the third snake I've seen out here in like the past minute. Whoop, look out. I love that just dog. Oh, look out for the shotgun guy. Yeah, we know what can happen from those guys. Instant kill. Okay, are you the last one? The last shock of mutant zombie that I need? Yes. Okay, that puts me up to, okay, five in the inventory. That's actually one extra. I have eight back in the helicopter, so I'm content now. Let's just finish these guys off just for the sake of it. I don't know why they're stuck. Oh, they're stuck back there maybe because there's like invisible zombies in the way. All right, well, let's just wrap it up here anyway. Feral. And are you anything special? No? Okay, yep, whoop, one more. Get out of here. Man, I have blown through so much first aid. It's been a really rough go out here. Just a mild fire. Who knows who friggin' started that one over there, but that whole fence is gonna burn down and anything connected to it as well. I actually, I did a playthrough once before I was a YouTuber where I kind of squatted in this little shack here, turned it into my base, and I dug out this massive pit underneath it, um, you know, correctly so that it didn't collapse or anything, but yeah, it was really cool. And then I made the floor out of bulletproof glass, so like the whole, you just like walk through the base and you can see all the way down this huge pit tunnel that I dug. Okay, I'll meet you back at the helicopter and we'll head down to the desert. We gotta do some mining after we get the uh, final two fire for immune zombie remains that we need. Okay, just stopping by the base briefly here, see if I can port anything into storage. And I wanted to see, don't I have something here? Steak and potatoes? Yes, yeah, something in here gives me like a mining bonus. Pumpkin pie? Yes, it's pumpkin pie. I need to make a couple of those. Okay, and that's gonna take a minute. So while I'm waiting, I need to get a little bit of a crew together to protect me while I'm mining. So Razzle Dazzle, you can come with me. Aid the Paid, you as well. And Neuro. Yep, we'll just roll with three today. Oh yeah, how about this thing right here? This is pretty cool. Oh, the sound, man. That's the, the one thing with um, a lot of the custom weapon mods in Seven Days is that the sound is terrible. Um, I, you know, I hate to talk bad, but in War of the Walkers, the sound was really bad for all the uh, custom weapons. And that's a huge turnoff. But uh, in this mod, man, it's it's really, really good. So credit to... Oh, where'd my grenade launcher go? Yeah, credit... Oh, look at that. A micro gun, too. Ah, man, this would be something really fun to use. Imagine this with some AP ammo and a whole host of zombies lined up in front of us just... just blasting right through them. I might even just do that with like all of our regular 762 during Horde Night. <laughs> we'll just have a little scene there where we just blast them with this Gatling gun. Yeah, that'll be fun. Let's put that away. And I can actually put, um, whoa, zero mod slots. That's a little insane. And only 51 on the ranged damage compared to the 107. Well, it'll be fun to try anyway. Good way to burn through the regular ammo. Anyway, let's get the pumpkin pie. And I need to uh, also find my grenade launcher. I don't want to misplace that. I've got the helicopter just full of crap right now. Make sure I got the pumpkin pie set aside and along with the goldenrod tea, 
fuel auger is in good condition. Okay, let's go mine and get those two fire explosive or fire immune remains that we need down in the desert. Okay, the first spot will be our good old nitrate mine. I'm actually going to do an experiment here to see if I can actually park on top of a cactus. <laughs> I totally can. That's awesome. That looks like one right there. Yep, fire immune. We only needed two of those. Oh, this is a couple more right here. Yep, that's two, three here, and we're done. Okay, so now we can just focus on mining. So, what I need you guys to do is kind of post up here. What's going on over there? Something's getting electrocuted. Stay where I'm standing, and uh, I gotta get to work down here, so cover me. Oh, we got zombies down here already, and he, <laughs> just heading out. No, get back here. He's explosive immune. Okay, goldenrod in, followed by pumpkin pie, and let's grind some of this stuff out. Okay, I'd say that's good. Uh, we had one guy fall down. There was a bit of a collapse here. No big deal, but yeah, come on up here. And I pulled out, uh, I don't know, 18,000 or so nitrate powder, which is fine. We only have a couple of days left to make bullets anyway, so I don't want to have too, too much left over. And in the interest of time, again? Is it you, Martin? Die! Just go down in the pit and burn. Oh, no, no, nope. I don't think that was it because now, oh, there's a whole bunch of zombies. Ah, no, I got dragged all crap. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. And, okay, you all need to be on my side for a second. Ah, crap, they're knocking me down again. And, uh, skeleton army. The hell? All right, whatever the heck is going on here, save me from it. I don't even know. Would you guys wake up? You got a job to do, don't you? Yeah, kill this guy. Kill this guy over here. Lacey Lou. Taking you down, and is that it? Can't even know. He's still alive. There we go. Bonus loot bag. Okay, now we've got to wait for these guys to despawn. Because I don't think I can turn them off, can I? Right click. Yep, that did turn them off, actually. Look at that. Turn you off and take you out. There we go. And, yeah. Oh, fire, shock, and explosive. Okay, that might be a... Ooh, there's a whole bunch of them, actually. Are these all that type of zombie? They are! Oh my god, look at that! A whole bunch of them! This, uh, fire, shock, and explosive immune zombie room, I mean, that might have some sort of an implication for, like, a summoning potion or something like that. What I would like to do is to, uh, to have some kind of a ritual, some kind of a, um, spell or an incantation or something that I can do to pull in the Demon King. Oh, my helicopter just uh, hovering here. Yeah, no, no big deal. It's on autopilot, just uh, hovering off the ground a little bit. We all know that the uh, the rotors don't really work anyway. Okay, so we are good on nitrate. We should uh, rack up some coal here somewhere. Let's see, was this a uh, coal node over here? Yes, it was. For some reason, Loremaster Will here. Shadow King Rex was with us for a minute, but uh, Loremaster Will's still here. Working on this zombie over here. All right, we're looking at 30 seconds left on the pumpkin pie. Excuse me. Get the hell out of here. Ow! Stop doing that! <laughs> Guys, shoot these zombies, please. Hunting. Yeah, they need to be put on hunting so that they'll shoot zombies at a greater distance away. All right, so with the power-ups back in, hopefully we can find some lead after this too, but I'm not too worried about that because I actually salvaged a whole bunch in the shredder, so we should be fine on lead, or at least good enough. Anyways, guys, cover me. I've already found a whole bunch of nitrate down here. Oh my god, Death's Whisper again. Okay, I gotta try to be quick about this and get out of the hole. Oh my god, look at this. Okay. Eat, skeleton army! Oh, it's more of these, like, fire shock and explosive immune types. Oh, oh look out for Ski. Ski is a tough one. Come on, come on, come on. Almost got it. Yes. Okay, the skeleton warriors look like they've taken care of the rest. All right, give me these remains. I've got to find a use for these. Oh my god, I can't get a break around here. Well, they made this mistake of spawning in the open ground with absolutely no cover whatsoever. Oh, see, these robots look different than the ones we were seeing earlier, the little tiny green ones out in the wasteland. There we go. Oh, good. Extra loot. Nice. Okay, quickly now. Go get the materials down here. Okay, I think that'll just about do it. Okay, these guys are with me. There was a collapse there. Uh, I don't know quite how we're getting out of here right now. Oh, another survivor over there. And another one over there as well. I want to meet these people. Joe the coffee guy over here with the fire axe. Oh, he must have killed this bandit. That's nice. Good for you. And who's this guy? The Deanna the banana with the pipe machine gun. Nice to meet you as well. Okay, that should be enough. Let's head back to the base and let's see, it's day 69. Okay, day before the horde. So we want to make sure that ammo production is ongoing for the next 24 hours or so. 
All right, we made it back. Let's just start boarding all of this stuff down into the storages. And then we'll put the rest of it into the cell chest. We'll do one final big sell off before the end. We're going to have to. We're going to need the money. Actually, we might even do it, you know, closer to like tonight. And so that we can get, see how much money we um, can get, see how much money we need. And then buy up some of the armor that we'll need to make auras uh, with whatever is left over. Uh, for you guys, though, uh, what you guys need to do, probably. Okay, I've got a whole bunch of first aid kits. I can probably give everyone, like, uh, 10 first aid kits so that they can, like, fix themselves. Because if they're at 50%, they're not going to heal anymore unless you give them stuff to heal with. See, look, he just put that first aid kit on when I did that. First aid kits? I can't... Oh, that's where all my beer went. Oh, my bad. I thought I drank it all. <laughs> no, it takes beer to make first aid. In fact, it takes a lot of beer. Okay, we're almost out of blood bags, so I think I am okay with just making as many first aid kits as we can. We need first aid more than we need beer. And kind of while I'm at it, look at the weapon parts we have. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of weapon parts. And by now, I think I can make like a, a good majority of weapons, you know? So to try and see if we can get a good um, variety so that then, then we can start selling them off. We don't want to have like a hundred of the same weapon because uh, at that point, you know, they're just, we're only going to be able to sell three at a time to the trader. Okay, there's the lead that I was talking about. Not actually as much as I kind of thought that we had. Might have to just, you know, sacrifice a little bit of money here and send everyone out for one lead expedition. Right, and uh, we'll just see what we can get here. Get things started. Yep, held back by the lead, of course. Looking pretty good on everything else. We might need to go get some more clay soil, but we have plenty of nitrate and coal. Get working. Okay, so the question is, are we good now to make the body bags? There's our fire immune one. We needed one more of those. There's body bags of these uh, fire shock and explosive immune zombies. We'll make those. We'll definitely find a use for it. We got to grind them into powder as well. We've got these shock zombies. We'll make those. Okay, while I'm waiting for some of this powder, one thing, do you have... No, you're out of first aid, so I need to... I need to give him, like, a lot of first aid. I just did make up an extra vehicle repair kit so that we can repair the drone. The drone is definitely going to be important moving forward, so... Make sure that you're all fixed up. And over here, we've got all kinds of powder. So, put the powder in the genetics box just to kind of keep it there. I made some extra aloe. Put that over there. And now, we should be able to make two... Zombie skeleton companions, exactly Nobody's two. Sure nice. Okay, I can only have two anyway, like that's the maximum. And and sushi, if I had sushi with me, that counts. So like, these are like companion animals, basically. Do you think we could set up some more turrets out here? We could put a turret there and there. Okay, there we go, all loaded up. That means we've got uh, those turrets there, two SMG turrets and a total of four shotgun turrets covering the rooftop against wraiths and uh, skeleton warriors that might land up here. Probably a good idea to go check on the garden, do one final harvest over there. All right, guys, come with me. We're heading over to the garden. Okay, ooh, things are not looking good over here. When was the last time I was over here? Was I just over here? I was, but then I, I, I remember saying to myself, we need to come back before the horde to finish things off, and uh, things are just bad. Some things are grown, chrysanthemums and corn over here. Other things are just completely messed up. Okay, so, and then everything down over here is, is is messed up too. Even these things, which were almost fully grown before. Okay, it is pulling water. <sighs> well, I don't know. I feel like the problem really is that the garden's not loaded in like 90% of the time because I'm over at the base and I think that affects its growth. I really do think that um, you need to have your garden where you live and if you live in the wasteland it's just going to be really difficult to garden because you can't grow crops in the wasteland yeah you know a lot of people they like split their horde base and their fighting base so like they build the, the horde base out there you can kind of see it through the trees but they would just spend like 90 percent of their time here this would be their regular living crafting and storage base that's just not my style i know that's probably the most efficient way of doing it especially with mods like rebirth and Things like Darkness Falls too, probably. Maybe other mods like Apocalypse Now. Things that just make the hordes like really significantly more difficult. But um, I just, I can't bring myself to do it. I did it during the Darkness Falls series and I didn't like the feel of it, of just having 
a horde base and, and just defending nothing. I, it's just, it goes against, um, I don't know, my, my preferences, I guess. I would rather have everything, all my eggs in one basket, so to speak, and defend for my life and my well-being every Horde night. What do you got? All your jobs are really close by, and I'm not sure if I want to do any of these. And Jen, I believe you just basically have the same jobs. Docks, Military Zone by Stallion's Den. I think I'm more content with just flying out into the wilderness and seeing what's out there. I know there's a bunch of cool stuff in the desert. Maybe we head back out here for a little bit. Ah, but you know what? There's also like completely unexplored oh look opening trade routes there's a whole city over there let's go check that out looks kind of like a western town to me i might go check it out it's got a helicopter landing pad on the rooftop but i do just want to take a little bit of a peek and see what this is over here oh this looks um this looks very big and weird Okay, yeah, I might want to come back here, but I do want to check on this trader. Aha, it's like a version of Trader Jen's with a helipad and like a, a well-fortified compound. It's really cool. All right, let's drop in here. Of course, it's Trader Jen. Hey, Jen, do you have any jobs slightly to the south? Okay, it, it would only be like a click or so away. Chernobyl, is that what that is? Whoa, okay. Yep, let's do that. Okay, and before we do it though, I gotta head back to the base and get my zombies that I made. Um, excuse me, how dare you lock the door to the helipad? I can't get up there now. Okay, tell me that there's some sort of a parkour trick I can do to get up there. All right, this is, this is my only bet here, would be to jump onto that little ledge there. And of course I can't put any blocks down anywhere. Jeez, you know what I need? I need the food that gives me extra jump height. Which one was that? Steak and potato meal. Oh, damn, I don't have any of that right now. Oh, and that's just, it's not gonna work. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, geez. And I'm so far away from home right now. I do have steak and potatoes back home. No, you know, I can't do that. I'm gonna just teleport up there because this is just a bunch of baloney right here. Okay, debug mode on. Zoom right into my helicopter and teleport me up there. No big deal. No shame in that, I don't think. Okay, I fetched up my skeleton warriors and I'll meet you over at Chernobyl. We've got three people as well as our zombie skeleton companions should be plenty. Chernobyl. Let's just hit it. No sense in dwelling around here because we are running low on time. All right, everyone. Let's do this. Get inside, please. We have the mercenaries if we need it. We got skeleton army if we need them. And I think it's time that we set down our skeleton warrior companion things. All right, here we go. Who did we get anyway? We got, um, was it Waif and Mac Sand Squid? All right, guys, this is me in editing, and I wanted you to pay very close attention to Aid the Paid right here and the tree that gets knocked over by some zombie, and the tree falls directly on Aid the Paid, killing him instantly. He didn't even have a chance, and I didn't even realize it until a couple minutes later. Okay, what do we got here? We're just trying to clear the air. Oh my god, that is a very big pool of water. And the same thing over here. Man, I can barely see the bottom down there. Did somebody just jump down in there? Neuro, <laughs> taking a swim, as well as Razzle Dazzle. Couldn't help themselves. Well, come back up here, guys. All right, man, these guys are doing good work. And from what I've heard, these um, warriors here, they, uh, they're even more powerful at night. I love the backwards E, so it, like, totally looks Russian. Um, have I lost someone? I def- Who did we lose? Was it, uh, Aid the Paid that was with us that we lost? Are you kidding me? Someone has died already? Oh, man, that is friggin' tragic, too, because I don't know that, um, that they had a spawn respawn location. I totally lost someone here already. Well, <laughs> rip, I guess that's just how it's gonna have to be. You wander off too far, and you're gonna get killed here. Just make sure that everyone stays close to me from now on. Oh, look at the dogs over there. Here. Take those guys out if we can. That works. <laughs> Alright, I made a sweep around back. I did not see anyone. So I think we're heading inside over here. This is the only door I've seen. Ooh, a whole bunch of zombies lurking around outside, though. 
All right, in we go. Kind of a massive room here. So I don't know, some sort of an electricity kind of thing here, I think. Otherwise, mostly empty. Oh, ooh, vault doors going into that room over there. And oh, this is like, is this like the reactor room or something? I mean, I watched the show Chernobyl on uh, HBO, but I still don't really know what's going on here. Yep, okay, maybe just focus on freaking zombies. Ah, radiation damage. Ow. Yep, this definitely looks like important stuff here, though. Die! Oh, poor Thomas there. Oh, there's a there's a downstairs portion, too. Ooh, nice. Yeah, because... Oh, there's some weird stuff going on outside. Yeah, there's the part that blew up, right? Like the reactor room? Or is that where I just was? Uh, not much here. Ooh, wait a minute. Ah, yes, this has got to be the reactor room. Oh, boy. Whoa, Ooh, that was definitely close. Can I have these? Uh, no. Is this all? Yep, it's all trap floor. Otherwise, I think we're good down here. Whoa, boy, look out. Yeah, there's a lot of zombies kind of upstairs. Oh, someone, Razzle! No, oh, no, 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 Razzle died. Damn it. Okay, but Razzle fortunately did make his way to, um, wait, is there something back here? He's back at the base, so he's just, um, you know, injured. We've, we've successfully evacuated him back to the base. All right, well, what's left of the crew, kind of stay close to me, please. Just Neuro, really. Well, I don't know. The place might not be as big as I thought. Is there, do I need to go up there for anything? I don't really see a way for me to get up there, so hopefully not. Oh, I see some people on the compass. Oh, they're in here. All right, let's head in here now. There is a screamer somewhere. All right, let's go. Take these guys out. Good. Yeah, massive control room here. I remember this from the show. Really no need to do all this though. So I think we're heading upstairs up there. There's a stairway right here that I skipped over. And a bunch of zombies did jump downstairs. Hopefully they're making their way back up the stairs. There they are. Definitely one of those like kind of bare bones POIs that really needs like an interior decoration pass, if you ask me. All right, here we go. Oh, look at the burned people. Oh, that, yes. Oh, I remember this part, the part on the rooftop where they had to go in and, uh, I don't know, do something, but they all kind of melted in the process. Aha, last bit of zombies down there. Presumably where the main loot is, I would hope. Okay, if you guys could join me down here, it'd be lovely. Take out the birds if you can. I still don't know who's making all these growly noises. I think there's a demon here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Demon and a whole bunch of zombies to boot. Sean McGee and friends. Aha, there's a, a room here that I haven't been to yet. This is probably where the main loot is then. And a whole slew of zombies. It stand absolutely, yep, that's the main loot I saw. And a screamer up here. Yep, it stand absolutely no chance against the AP bullets I have. Aha, wait. There's no chest? Is there a chest that's hidden back there? I'm hoping that there's a uh, tier five loot chest that's buried behind these boxes though. We'll find out in just a second. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, nothing too fancy here. Okay, we're in. Um, yeah, not, 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 not great. <laughs> not terrible, not great either. So, oh, more zombies, right. Gotta complete the quest if we can. Yep, I'm here, and oh, this guy right here is one guy. Okay, we finally cleared the area. Let's get the hell out of here. We lost one soldier. Razzle was critically injured, and I think, hopefully, he's back at the base awaiting our return. And we've got to pick up our quest reward on the way back. I'll meet you there. It cost me a lot more than I would like to admit to do that job for you. I guess I'll just take the same three bundles that I already, that I always take. Yeah, otherwise, I do think we're good here. Let's go home. The base is certainly looking really cool from up here. I'm kind of thinking we need more exterior lighting. I wish that we had just another couple of days to work on some base beautification projects. Should be fine though, so we'll park it here and uh, we'll go check on Razzle. Ah, uh, hey Razzle, sorry, whoa, geez. He's uh, having a seizure or something. <laughs> Report for duty. If I give you some money, will it make it better? Definitely. Okay, final thing to probably do for today is uh, check on the people that went mining and get the lead out of their inventories. What are we looking at now? 4,000. Very nice. Short now. 
on coal and clay, but I honestly, I think that'll probably do us over really well in terms of ammo for the remainder of the next couple of days. All right, so I need to get the inventory organized and get ready for a big sell-off tomorrow. So the agenda for tomorrow is to first, make sure that the base is ready. Second, fight the final horde. And then third, recruit the black shields and the traders, gather up all the trainers and our companions here and set up an ambush somewhere else, uh, somewhere probably far away from the base. I imagine the base is gonna be not in good enough fighting position to fight the Demon King. And tonight, my project is going to be sitting here at my alchemy table, reading through the literature and seeing if I can come up with some sort of a spell together with all of my genetic material to see if we can summon him to a battlefield of our choosing. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back one final time to the Rebirth. The essence of dark magic in the area is stronger than ever before. The Demon King Leviathus is near, and so is the Day 70 Horde. But alas, I have a plan. With my mastery of dark magic under the spell of the Blood Moon Sky, and in the midst of the blood spilled and scattered souls, I will bind Leviathus to a summoning potion. Come the ensuing dusk at midnight, I will summon him from the void. It will be the last stand of the living and the night parade of a thousand demons. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, let's do this. It's time to make final preparations. Last night, I did go through the alchemy stuff over here, all these satanic books and stuff that we've collected, and I did come up with a spell, but we're going to have to wait for there to be more magic and dark magic in the air. So that will have to be made tonight during the Horde Night, or just before it at least. And then the potion will be imbued with the souls and the blood of the undead as we slay them all night long. We'll also have to use some of these fire shock and explosive immune zombie remains, rotting flesh, souls of skeleton armies, all kinds of things. But for now, we need to make sure that we're fully prepared for the Horde Night. And that is primarily going to consist of making sure we have plenty and plenty of ammo which at four stacks that doesn't feel quite like it's enough okay let's check down here okay things are looking pretty good i accidentally made a little bit of regular seven suit six two but that's fine we're rolling on a whole bunch more what is holding us back though because at this point i think i'm ready to oh my god we're short on like everything i think i am going to just send some people out mining because we are going to collect quite a hefty sum of money tonight i mean we we made like over a hundred thousand last night and we should probably do one sell off this morning to see how much we can get because i don't even have very much room for more loot so okay let's do that right now for that i will need a pumpkin bread oh and before i forget because i have forgotten a couple of times already we need to see what we can make for guns because um selling guns is going to be a good way of making a little bit of extra money we want to make um like tier four w what would be a tier four like this sniper rifle right here high grade Yes, and that's taking like 30 seconds. That's not too bad, but wait a minute. Can I just make like, um, I don't know, like 12 of these? Yep, there's a tier four pistol here, this M92. Let's get like 12 of those. Oh, the Mark 12J Raptor, that's a tier four. We can get 12 of those maybe. Looks like we're gonna run out of these high grade magazine parts. I think we might be able to craft more of those. We gotta just let that roll for a little while at this point. Should be ready to go by the second sell-off, which will be after Horde Night. So we can bind Leviathus to the potion, which will prevent him from attacking us. He'll be bound inside Make the potion, sure but that's only lonely. temporary until midnight the next night. So that we'll have to basically make all of our preparations and get ready before then. Okay, so I think we're good to go at this point. Go ahead and take the pumpkin bread and let's start seeing how much money we can make. Okay, we made out really, really well there. We are up to $124,000, $5,000, and there's extra in here. So we're up to $137. First things first, then, we'll talk to Ethan, and we will get... Oh, look at this. Okay, fire-resistant stuff. I feel like that's the most important thing, but I don't know what Leviathus's powers are, so... If we're gonna bring people with us, I, I want to make sure that they're as well-protected as possible. So, you know, let's just go with the, the full immunity right here. And let's possibly also go with, okay, explosion, fire, and shock. Well, we could just buy this whole two sets of armor here. Okay, I'm gonna just go with fire and shock. I think that's what we did before anyway. 
So we'll have some sort of a combination of fire shock and explosive resistant auras and fire and shock resistant auras. And we'll see how much money we're left over with at the end. I think we're up to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've got six people that we've got to kit out here with auras. Plus, you know, we could consider even doing them for these guys. These guys are like our tanks, basically. Yes, fire and shock immunity mod and fire shock and explosion immunity, good. And we're still sitting pretty on a good hefty sum of money. So it's time to send some people out mining. Um, interestingly, nobody has the option to go mining right now. So in that case, Dank, would you mind just going and like repairing blocks in the area just in case there's something that's damaged? Thank you. Okay, all the auras should be done. Let's just put them into some people before we forget about it. I've got four, so we're just gonna stick with the four long-standing members here. That'll be Razzle Dazzle. You go ahead and get the fire and shock immunity mod. Very cool. Logan Weaver, you will also get a fire and shock immunity mod. And that leaves Hobie and Dank to get the fire, shock, and explosion immunity, which should look pretty cool. Yeah, very nice. There you go, Dank. Don't you dare die on me, okay? As far as Indian Doll and uh, Neuro up there, we will probably, we'll, we'll definitely get enough money to be able to buy them something. And we'll just hope that uh, Ethan can scrounge together some more supplies for us before the time comes. Um, hang on a second. There's a secret here. I just heard it blow up. Let me outside. I, I could use the money, honestly. He must be out front somewhere. Everyone's lighting him up. Oh my god, two Seekers. We get him in pairs now, I guess. Oh, they have like remarkably low hit points. We've got ginger and Robbie here. All right, take you out. Oh, not that one. Want the bag here. Good. Oh, wait, that was not nearly as much money as I was thinking. <laughs> Have I just like leveled up to a point where like a thousand dollars means nothing to me? There we go. Yeah, I think that's the case. This is the how much money they've always had. And it's just, it's nothing to me anymore. Oh, I did miss a whole bunch of paint spots out here. Let me fix that. I think I've, I hit a couple of them last night. I got a couple more to hit though, like that one. Oh, another one there too. I don't think I have any more paint left, so I'm gonna just do the dirty here and get myself a good old fashioned uh, fancy pink paintbrush here because <laughs> uh, it's the last day. I'm not gonna freaking scrounge up corn to make corn powder. I think Ramsey's gonna change that. Uh, he and I kind of talked about that a little bit. So hopefully uh, paint will be just a, a slightly easier to make. And by slightly, I mean like significantly. And oh dear, I can't reach that one, can I? Good, and yeah, because the thing is when you're painting, especially a base like this, is that it's so much easier to paint if you're using the paint all sides feature, which is basically automatically eight paint, and uh, you can really burn through a lot of paint like that. I'm sure if you guys paint your base, you'll, you'll know that. I don't think very many people do paint their base. I mean, let me know, do you guys paint your base very often? Because I feel like um, it's kind of more like a multiplayer thing to paint your base. I'm not sure. I always used to paint my base in single player. Yep. Looking pretty good out here. Yeah, there were a couple like out here, the stairs. That's good. The helipad's good. I think we're 100%. And if not, I'll just get a new paintbrush. We do have an airdrop coming in. Might be worth it to go check that out. Probably not. Especially since it looks like it's going to be in the lake. Nope, I think it's just just barely. It's uh, I think it's moving basically straight down, so it'll land on land. Oh, did that seriously land on top of a tree? And I'll never ever be able to get it because if I knock this tree down, it's not just going to fall down. It's going to stay where it was. No, okay, it just falls down. Good to know, I guess. Military armor bundle. That's nice. Could sell all that stuff. Another blood bag. Not too much. You know, while I'm flying around, I want to just go check on the garden one last time over here. And um, still, really nothing's growing over here. The, the garden is maybe broken. Hmm. While I'm here, though, do you think this would be a good spot for the battle tomorrow night? I mean, we could post up a couple of people over here for covering fire. It, it always was a really good base. It has very good, like, overlook positions. We could put some people maybe up here. We could put some people over here. We could kind of just basically take this up so that people could stand right on the edge. Take that out. Yeah, maybe like post some people up so they can overlook the area. We could maybe 
try to bring Leviathus in for a battle right here in the street. There's even a little platform over there. We could get a little hammer and anvil going on, get some people shooting from both directions. Okay, okay, so uh, we'll develop this plan further after the horde. By the way, are my chickens over here? Are they still, they're still alive. Look at all this. We have five chickens, right? T Peel, Mudman, Tari, Suskins, and who's the last one? Tutajamka, okay, good. And three eggs, five feathers a piece looks like and um how are you doing on food over here oh they got they got a little bit of food there they've got a bunch of food there and a bunch there okay so the chickens are working at least kind of i don't know what's going on with suskins over here well at least uh, it's not gonna be much utility but uh, at least i can say that i successfully farmed some chickens or you know isn't it like husbanded animal husbandry i don't know okay so we're back i think what i will do for this horde is just take all the vehicles with me. And I already did pick up the Dalmatian. We had to pick up the Dalmatian because there was a bit of an issue where I had the two skeletons and the Dalmatian at the same time. So we can only choose two of those at a time. Okay, one final look at the exterior before it all goes down. Because once I go in, I'm turning off the door and I'm staying inside. Goodbye, cruel world. I'll see you in the morning. All right, my friends, the sky is starting to turn, the blood moon is rising, and the thunder is starting to crack. Yes, the sun is finally setting on this final day, and it's time. It's time to make the potion to summon Leviathus. By the red moon's light and the final horde night, and the blood and souls to be spilled this night. From death's dominion, from endless rest, bind the Leviathus king at my behest. All right, we'll let that cook and fester all night long while we're slaying zombies and filling the air with dark magic in the souls of the undead that it will need to complete the spell. For now though, it is time to get into position. And all right, the day 70 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Alright, the zombies are up front in full force now, it would seem. Now it's just a matter of lining up the headshots, and I'm using just the regular ammo right now. I could change over to the AP if I need to, but I figure this is a good way to kind of burn through some of this instead. But, um, <laughs> I can't for the life of me figure out what they were doing all clustered up down there. That was kind of weird. Come upstairs, please. Well, good thing we have a couple of hours to spare, because so far... We're having to troubleshoot a lot more than I would like. Okay, I'm starting to get a little nervous here that nothing's happened yet. So I'm going to take a tuna fish gravy toast and I'm going to convert over to the AP ammo. Maybe I can get just kills a little bit faster here this way. Why are you guys having so much trouble getting up here? And what are you all clustered over there for? This is totally weird. This might also work, though. I mean, I, I also could just always go on foot for a minute here. Okay, yeah, if nothing happens with the rampage here in a second, I'm gonna have to go on foot. You have to just careful headshots here. Only going for headshots. Gotta get the rampage started. Yeah, okay, this is not working for some reason. I, I had a lot more confidence in this working. It's okay, though. I can come down here and just line them up properly, I think. Okay, just scoot around on foot. Give me some Red Bull. This <laughs> is just not where I want to be right now. On the eve of the most vicious blood moon we've ever faced before. Fear for good luck. Okay, this has got to work. Line up for me. There we go. I got it. We got the rampage. I'm just going to build it up a little bit with some kills. And then I'm going to get back into the base. Yep, I think we're good. Let's jump up here. Okay, fighting the frame right now. So probably a good idea to just turn this off. Hopefully that'll work. Usually, you know, there's a buffer of a couple of hours because, you know, we still have screamers. They're st still going to be screaming in zombies. I've just got to kind of kill a zombie every second or two to maintain this. Okay, and then real quickly before the blood moon actually begins, let's just spin everything up. That turned on the turrets. And this here should turn on the blade traps. And I'll have to make sure that all the doors are closed as well. Kinda cutting it close here a little bit. 
but we should be fine. All right, good luck, my friends. Hold your positions. Let them have it. One more door here. Seal it up. Seal that up. Seal that up. And let's let them have it. All right, the Horde Knight zombies are here. There's a Seeker up front. Here we go. The battle is in full swing now. They're definitely shooting at me from down below. Hopefully the armor cladding holds up, though, even though most of it is just regular concrete. The floor, I believe, is also mostly steel, but at least we'll always have something to stand on here with the security gate. It's worth noting that I have turned up Horde Knight difficulty to higher, which is the highest difficulty setting. So this is Horde Knight Plus with Horde Knight Turbo at the highest possible difficulty setting. How are we looking upstairs? We've got skeletons that are fighting our skeletons, I think. We've got wraiths in the base. I should help out a little bit with that, but overall I think that uh, we're fighting them off pretty, pretty good. How did you get in here? Okay, they've broken through the first set of bars out there. My tuna fish gravy toast is about to wear off. Let's plug another one in. And I'll also take a meat stew. I have the shepherd's pie on me, which is 50% less HP taken from damage. So I don't think we need that right now. We're doing pretty good. But if we, um, if the base starts getting opened up on the bottom, we might need to take some of that. Do we have holes in the floor yet? I saw spit come flying up through here. We definitely have a wraith problem. Are you guys opening doors? Can you stop doing that, please? Uh, lock. And yeah, I don't know how that happens. Oh, well. I think there's just a whole crap ton of wraiths above us. Might need to just pause and take care of this for a second yeah lots of rates oh we've got birds as well and cog okay yep there's a lot going on here now and we've got just slight damage here to the wings of the fighting door here just fix that up if we can oh yeah just top spits just teleporting through the base now that's cheating oh oh no we're definitely we have holes in the floor now the floor is failing okay I've been wanting to give this a try for a long time. Let's let this one rip. Oh, jeez. I don't know if that's working at all. Here, let's try it on this wing out here. Eat that! Is it working? I can't tell. I'm having a hard time even holding the freaking crosshair steady. Ah! <laughs> Come on! Die! Oh, this is such a cool gun. If only I could spec into this thing and put the AP rounds in it. Oh, it would be so nice. Come on. Oh, I'm deleting zombies left and right now. Just had to get through the first couple of big seekers there that were tanking everything. Okay, very fun, but we have to transfer back over to something that's more efficient here. Okay, we're about halfway through the night and they're having a hard time. I don't think that they're able to get up here anymore. So it is time to switch off that side. And oh boy, uh, lost the switch on this side somehow and teleporting cop spit, if I had to guess. I think that opened up this one here. It did. Okay, this is kind of bad, because that means we can't use this side at all, unless I go get the wire tool, and I can fix it up pretty quickly. That's okay. Let's we'll see what we can do here on this side. Blade traps are chopping a little bit. I'm getting spit in the face a little bit as well. On this side here, we should have maximal use of all of our allies. Everybody should have a clean shot on the zombies from where they are. The only problem is I don't have quite as clean of a shot as what I'm used to. I am the king now, baby. A little bit of radiation poisoning. That's okay. Whoop, another skeleton teleported in. None of that, please. Okay. Probably need to take a little mini break here and not that, not that. This and just make sure that everything's looking good here. How's that door looking out there? Awful. Okay, please fix the door. The walkway out there is looking pretty freaking awful and it's only 2 a.m. We still got two hours to go. Let's then see if I can just switch them 
do this side over here, and I'll turn that side off. Nope. I don't know what that goes to. That goes to, like, blade traps or something. Yeah, okay, a couple of holes in the floor, and by a couple, I mean, like, a half a dozen or so, probably. All right, open this side up. They should be coming to this side now. They indeed are. All right, there's a bit of a lull there. Let's just stack up the tuna fish gravy toast and the meat stew again. And while I'm at it, a shepherd's pie, which should last me until the end of the night. Yep, because um, I'm getting the sense that they've collapsed the walkway to some degree because they are not able to get up here anymore. Can I just... Ah, uh, parkour is killing me. Can I see what happened out here? The stairway. They've destroyed the stairway. Okay, so before they collapse the base, I need to run upstairs and get a wire tool. Let's try this switch here and hook that to this door there, which should allow us to bring them up to the final position over here. Just turn the switch on. And uh, visual confirmation here, please. Yes, this side is working. And this side will certainly last the remaining hours of the night. Just seal everything else back up so that nobody can see me. Okay, it's not looking too pretty over here now. I, they're still coming up, but not very cleanly. I don't know what the issue is. It could be some of the terrain that they've destroyed on the bottom, or they could be kind of glitching out like the Screamer Horde was. I don't really know. Okay, but there's 15 minutes left officially in the horde, and it's time to sally forth. Run, run, run! Sally forth! Come on out here where everybody can see you. And if I can get a couple of people onto my side, I don't think I've worked on really anyone. Get a skeleton army and give me the mercenary army. Ten of them. I get five extra on horde night. All right, boys, let's do this. Oh, it's an absolute chaotic war out here but the official horde is almost over and we'll just have to contend with screamers after that oh boy yep i'm getting radiated already my leg is broken okay quickly cast that up so i can move and that's it the horde is over but the battle is far from complete oh wow like my whole skeleton army is already dead and most of the mercenaries too okay we need reinforcements Ah, oh, I just see skeletons were like flying through the air there for a second. Okay, more skeletons. I can't use that yet. Can I maybe now get... Whoa! Can, can you guys be on my side and help me out? No, I can't get the cops. Man, that's a bummer. Ow. I got a couple of guys over there, though. I don't know. I see. I still see a whole bunch of mercenaries and a whole bunch of skeletons. They're just not popping up on my ally screen there. All right, if we could just take out these last couple of Seekers, I think we'd be in a lot better shape. Demetrius Ollie there. That was the second to last one. We got one more way over there. Down. Okay. Looking much better now. How about more skeleton warriors to help out? Okay, a bit chaotic over here. Here, let me get up on the platform so I can command the battle. Yeah, holy crap, there's a whole bunch of zombies over there. Here, turn them onto my side, please. Haha, <laughs> it worked. More skeletons. Okay, things are, I think, completely quiet. No gunfire, all the mercenaries have returned to me. We've got mercenaries still kind of everywhere. I do hear some zombie pounding on something. Oh, this guy right here. <laughs> Yeah, that <laughs> those didn't last very long at all, did they? Yeah, all the spotlights are toast. Which is why you make the top out of railings, so you can replace those. Yeah, and that one, yeah, didn't last very long at all. Oh boy, that's exciting. Cybernetic mission? Something? Here, come over here, and here we go. Right over in this direction. <laughs> you guys picked a bad time. Oh! Yeah, this one fully collapsed. Oh, because the blocks that we connected them to all got destroyed. All right, if we just take care of these guys, we can loot up. Look at the friggin' loot bags out here. This is absolutely crazy. Let's get some steroids. And let me go turn off everything because we're still getting the sound glitch from the SMG turrets. Oh, and we'll do a little interior damage assessment. So we lost turret there, block there. This fared way better than it had in the past. I don't think we... Oh, we lost the, um, oh, we lost the shredder again. No. Yeah, not too bad. I think we're, we're accustomed to losing more. A couple pieces of stair here, several pieces of wall. That was probably in partly due to the amount of wraiths that got stuck in here last time, because yeah, 
these bars and stuff all got knocked out so wraiths were just flying right straight in here i'd say that that was a resounding success and after that one if i was going to continue this playthrough i would just replicate that system there on all four lanes over here and i would just nix this whole system that we made originally all right anyway shut all that crap off and oh man we lost oh maybe that's why they weren't coming up here because we lost the switch that i connected it to pretty much immediately after i connected it because yeah this um this side here is still pretty much fully intact it was just an electrical problem right let's reorganize the inventory and I will take a chili dog and a blueberry pie and we'll loot up. I don't think I've really ever seen this many loot bags in my entire life. There's gotta be two, I would say at least 200 loot bags here. Okay, Death Whisper, who's next? Oh, it's just a bunch of corpulence over here. The only thing that, um, the problem that I have is we're still only level nine in the Witch Doctor class, so we never did fully max out our Witch Doctor abilities. So really, we'd have to probably play another 10 days to max out the Witch Doctor class, and only then are you able to pick a whole new class and start all over at square one with a new class. Okay, I think that was the last loot bag. Look at this, Scott Allen here just decided to stay here and hang out and kind of watch the beach for me. Thanks, Scott. If you get cold or lonely, you're welcome back inside, if you can manage to figure out a way to get inside, that is. Yep, the base has definitely seen better days, uh, but it's definitely seen worse days as well, I would say. All right, one final look at the loot here. We'll accept a couple of treasures, not that I'm really gonna go dig them up today. We have bigger fish to fry right now. Did we get anything cool worth checking out? We got the gusher, the fancy knuckles, the doomsday hammer. I've been working on porting some of the guns that we've been making down here into the storages so that uh, we can start selling those off here in just a second. And yep, looking good. I think we're just about ready to do a sell off. Just one final peek here. Yep. Oh, I was just making some of the, the high grade weapons parts there, but I think we're probably good here. Okay. Another pumpkin bread, please. Okay, let's grab the loot and sell off. Just give and that was the last three right there. Another $150,000. That puts us up to a whopping $283,000. Should be plenty to recruit the trader network and the black shields onto our side. But more importantly, it should be plenty to buy up all the armor that we're going to need here. Another set of fire shock and explosive resistant stuff and another set of fire and shock resistant stuff. That'll give us two more auras for our people. And, um, you know, the traders and the black shields, they could just kind of fend for themselves, I think. All right, the next thing to do is to just go ahead and try to pick up all of our new allies. Does this still work, I wonder? It does. Uh, look at that. Oh, and the ramp. The ramp for once is in pretty much pretty good shape. Not too shabby. All right. Let's get out of here. All right. First stop is going to be right over here at the old police station where it all started, where we first met Bob and Jen and the whole crew. I can see him down there right now. They're waiting for me. It's great to see you all. I've got your money. Don't worry. And there's uh, hopefully enough seating here for everyone. All right. We've got Dagnar, Ted Sheckler. Stefan, Maestra, and Old Sci-Fi. All right, how much do you guys want? Oh, dang, these guys are cheap. 2,200? All right, come with me. Half now, half later, as we agreed upon. All right, that's an extra five people added to our ranks, and they're all very well-equipped and experienced fighters. And they've got a lot to fight for, too. They're motivated. If Leviathus is left uncontrolled in this region, yeah, the Trader Network is basically going to be a thing of the past. All right, now we're on to recruit the Black Shields. Everyone, come with me. Hey, the Black Shield captain said that there's a base just at a little outpost here, far up into the eastern section of this wasteland here, and that there's a few soldiers there that are waiting for us. Yeah, he said it was right next to this kind of broken windmill, and I think I can see it right down there, so I'm gonna park it on the road. All right, this is the spot right here. Look out, they've got landmines set up around here. Okay, good evening, gentlemen. Are you guys ready for this? I appreciate you offering to help. Lucha here, 2200. Mark Prairie over here, followed by Justin Glasson. Awit Parasakanya82. And there was one more person that was kind of like, oh, munitions box. Thank you very much. Don't mind me, guys. You didn't see anything. One more guy up here. Who's this? Roxy John Taylor. Welcome to the crew, my friends. Let's go. No time to waste. This is the final crew right here. We just have to head back to the base, get all the trainers and our regular allies. 
And we should be good to go after that. All right, guys, it's going to be a tight fit, but hop in the chopper here. It's a good look at the devastation from way up here. Not looking too hot, is it? It was looking much better there a couple of days ago. Man, the whole area is just pockmarked and cratered. There's destroyed metal. Chunks of the base are missing. There's holes in the walls. But overall, you know, I think that the armor shielding actually held up pretty well. You can see the weak points, though. If I zoom in right there... Yeah, you can definitely see that was the weakest link. All that would require is just a better block selection from the get-go, and uh, we would have prevented stuff like that from happening. All right, anyway, let's park it. We're going to have to dole out some more money for the, the traders that we have, the witch doctor, the handy woman. They're all asking for a friggin' hazard pay increase. I don't really blame them, though. All right, everybody else just sort of hang out in here for a minute, and whoop, just drop straight down here. Should be fine. Right. Why am time? Interested in hiring you. Good. Another wine time. <laughs> okay. Wine time number two. Basic. You're hired. Another Stefan over here. Interested in hiring you. Good. And Kaz Fiend over here. Right. Everyone has joined the squad. All right. So now that we have everyone here, guys, can you just not like beat on parts of the base, please? I know it's confusing. It's a kind of a poor layout for this many people, but um, let's check on our spell and see if that worked. Yes. The Leviathus Summoning Vial. Bring that straight down here. In fact, I don't even know if I really need Molotovs. I guess I'll bring them with me. Definitely don't need that spear, empty jars, or shotgun bullets. And in terms of money, I think we're good. One more thing to check, and that is those auras. Those belong to Neuro. May I see your inventory? You get to have the Fire and Shock Immunity mod. Indian Doll, you may have the the Fire Shock and Explosive Immunity thing. Holy crap, what a, what a crew here. Okay, everybody come with me. I have no idea what's going on right now. Hopefully if we leave, it'll be fixed. All right, we're bringing it in over here at the garden. The game is not liking me right now for having this many people. And I'm going to start stationing them kind of up on the rooftops of some of these buildings. And so it begins basically just the arduous task of trying to get all these guys stationed in position while they're all basically clustered up together. I think I pretty much got everyone all separated out. Just gonna put the remaining four people that I need over on this side. Okay, I do believe that that is everyone in position. I'm going to just free the chickens because we can't have them in here during a massive demon battle. Come here, everyone. Okay, you guys have served me very well, but I'm going to set you free over here in the cornfield where you can just free range. Don't come back now. Get out of here. Be safe and free. Do not wander in this direction, please. Okay, Max, Sand, Squid, and Waif, you're with me. Jen and Joel, Hugh and Bob are up here for coverage top down. We have Billy Bob, the Witch Doctor, the Handy Woman, and Briston covering from that side. And I believe Wrecked is over here. The Captain of the Black Shields is in the window right there. All of the other Black Shields will be on ground level with me, along with all six of my mercenaries. So if you would all, please follow me. Dank Jeans, Hobie, Razzle Dazzle, the old crew, Neuro, one of the new guys. And these guys here, just basically, you know, uh, <laughs> cannon fodder. <clears throat> Indian Doll, the legendary painter, and Logan Weaver, ever faithful. Okay, is that everybody? Do I have everyone with me now? This will be the battlefield. The binding spell for Leviathus wears off in four hours. So when the clock ticks midnight, I'm going to send this potion down into the street over there, summon Leviathus here, and together with our army, the last stand of the living, we will defeat King Leviathus and the army of the demon undead. All right, my friends, the hour is nigh. Four minutes to midnight. It is... To move out. Just give the order. <laughs> Thank you, Dank Jeans. It is finally time. I stir, I evoke the power of the beast in the heart of the night where shadows feast. Rise, rise by my command to clash in the twilight of this land. We'll see about that, Leviathus. He's got shields up right now. Shields are down. Let him have it. Oh, I 
like I summoned a whole bunch of beasts. This is the army of the undead. All right, since the battle is underway, it is time for me to take all of the power-ups. Take this tuna fish gravy toast, the meat stew, everything. While I'm at it, give me some beer, give me some Red Bull, give me some coffee. And with that, we're as ready as we'll ever be. Time to unleash hell on these assholes. Okay, it looks like we're doing well. Most of the birds and bears are down. A couple of extra dogs here. Take them down. Here we go. He's at 50%. He's regenerating. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Don't let up, guys. Keep shooting. Oh, jeez. We got that whisper. Now we got freaking fire tornadoes. Oh, my God. Oh, crap. I'm getting my ass kicked here. Run. We need reinforcements. Skeleton warriors. And also, if I can convert some of them onto my side, that'd be lovely. Another one over here. Excellent. Is that the best you got, Leviathus? Oh my god. More massive tornadoes. Oh boy. I'm getting beat up again, guys. Help! Ah, tornadoes are everywhere. Okay, you guys need to start fighting, please. All right, it looks... Ow! Who is that? Okay, I think we're, we're mostly good here. Leviathus is, um, is fighting somebody over here, fighting some skeleton warriors. Guys, skeleton warriors, hold them down. Everybody attack, attack now, go. Also, screamers are rolling in from everywhere. That's not gonna help anything, particularly frame rates. Okay, focus on Leviathus. Oh, the zombies have all converted back over. Crap, we've been betrayed. All right, focus on Leviathus now. He's down, he's down, he's down. Let him have it. He's regenerating again. Here we go, what's next? Okay, we've got, oh my god, he's just teleporting in more army people. Okay, these are demons. It's a demon wave. Give me another round of skeleton warriors if I can, please. I can't convert these ones. These guys are too strong. The dark magic that binds him to Leviathus cannot be overcome, at least not by me. All right, guys, how's everyone doing? Let me know that you're alive. I see Hobie over here. I don't really see anybody else, though. Skeleton Warriors, I see a couple of uh, black shields here. There's another one. Neuro just dove in and murdered a couple of people over here. All right, we're doing good here. Oh, boy. Smoke too soon. We got a tornado. Whoa, getting blown around. Probably need first aid. Help. Ah. Holy crap. The base is being ripped apart by the tornado. Oh, my God. Look at it go. It's ripping huge holes. Oh my god, I got blown away again. Yep, okay, so much for the, the base here helping out. How are you guys doing up there? Hugh, you hanging in there? Hold on tight, buddy. The wind might sweep you away. Okay, I think we've defeated this wave. Let's focus again on Leviathus. Look, he's going for the, the traitors up there. Fight me, Leviathus. Bring it on. Come on, Cajun Thunder's died. Whoever that was. Hopefully someone not particularly important. Come on, come on, take him out. Oh, he's regenerating again. When will this end? Okay, what are we getting next though? What are we into now? All right guys, regroup over here in the middle. Oh, he's spawning in a whole bunch of radiated people. You know what? I have a, a hobo stew just for this occasion so that I'm immune to radiation. Take out the birds first. Birds are a huge issue right now. We don't want the birds. The tornadoes are in the middle of the base. He's targeting the traitors with the tornadoes. Holy crap, man. Dang, get out of the tornado, man. Ah, ah I got sucked into it. No, oh, let me out. Okay, are we good here? Can we safely target Leviathus? Wow, look out for the spit, the base. Holy crap, whoa, getting blown over again. Get rid of these stupid cops and rads everywhere. Oh boy, concussion. Oh, I gotta take a break. Here, give me some beer. All right, focus on Leviathus. He's going down. No boy. No, 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 not good. He summoned another wave. He regenerated. Oh boy. We got skeletons. We got skeletons. Oh my God, we got, we got a lot of stuff going on right now. Oh my God. Look at the rates. I'm gonna need some help here. Skeleton army. Skeletons, pin him down. 
Holy crap, look at the Wraith army up here. Run! Okay, do the best I can to backpedal and shoot. You know what might be good for an anti-air gun is, um, is this thing. Come on! Die! Ah, oh no, it's not working very well. Run! They just ran underneath Leviathus' legs. Okay, yes, use the guns that we're good at. Oh my god, deep laceration. Give me some first aid, guys, cover me. If there's, oh my god, I can't move. If there's anyone that I can bring onto my side, cop's gonna blow up right there. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, if there's anyone I can have to help me, I need the help right now. People are dying, including myself. Okay, I'm working my way through the rates though. Ah, there we go. Okay, there's maybe a couple left. What was that? Oh my god. Okay. Couple of more crates here. One's down. Reload. Okay. Do I need more food? I think I do need like tuna fish gravy and uh, uh, shepherd's pie and uh, this stuff here. Meat stew. Okay. No, I think ow, we're doing fine. I'm doing okay at least. Painkiller. Uh, who's shooting at me? Stop that. Holy crap. It's that cop right there. Take him out, man. The freaking shotgun blast of acid is just wreaking havoc on me and my armor, probably. I don't even know if I'm wearing armor. It might have been blown away by the tornadoes. Get, you can see if I can get another skeleton army to, to, to just hold on to Leviathus, prevent him from, uh, from getting away. Hold him down. Hold him in one spot so we can freaking focus fire on him. Wraith down. Another Wraith there. And down, and one more in the building over here. I'll take care of him myself. There he goes. He's down. There's a couple skeleton warriors, I think, that he summoned. Take care of them while I'm at it. All right, back outside. How are we looking, boys? I think we're looking pretty good. We got a couple of rads over there. You guys can handle them. I'm going to focus again on Leviathus. It's just you and me, buddy. He's regenerating again. No, 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 no. Don't you do it, Leviathus. Don't you do it. No! Ah, we've lost him. All right, guys. Consolidate here and take care of the rest of his army. Ow! Oh, jeez. Cover me, guys. I got knocked out. Okay. Oh, my God. It seems relatively clear now, and the sun's about to rise. We do have... I think it was Corpulence down here. I went over to check in the middle of the battle to see what was going on. Another radiated bird over there. Yeah, I'll, I'll make short work of these guys. Stop shooting at me! Who's doing this? Is it, is it the stupid bird over there? Kill the bird! Oh, guys, you might st not want to stand in front of the grenade launcher. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, ow! Okay, I'm getting mad now. How dare you shoot, spit! At the Witch King! That's right, with Leviathus gone in limbo, wherever the hell he went. I'm sure we'll see him again someday. But in the meantime, I am the reigning Witch King of the land. A red sun rises. Let's have a look at the devastation over here and actually take an assessment and see if we lost anyone there. Who is doing this? Oh, well, one of my chickens is <laughs> running through the battlefield here. No, I can see Indian doll back there. We got Logan, we've got Neuro, Hobie, Dank, Razzle. I think we're good. We did lose, it looks like two of the Black Shield mercenaries. We still have both of our zombie skeleton companions. Black Shield guy is good, he was good. They're confused because they can't get to where I ordered them to stay. All four traders are good, and uh, all four of these guys are good. We did it with minimal casualties, except for, like, the base, you know? The base really, really took a beating there. It was quite bad. These chickens are brave. Anyway, my friends, there's your first look at Rebirth Mod. It has been an absolute pleasure of mine to bring the series to you, and uh, let me just say that Ramsey, the Furious Ramsey, the creator of this mod, has done, has really outdone himself in the quality of the mod and in helping me to deliver this story to you all. So huge props to him. You can check him out. There's a link to his YouTube channel down below. And he does have plans on adding a whole bunch of new stuff and of course updating the mod for Alpha 21, which should be right around the corner. 
And thank you very much for your continued support on the channel. This has been a, just a stellar beginning of the year for me, and we're right on the heels of 100,000 subscribers, which is a really big milestone. So yeah, thank you again. I really appreciate you all being here and uh, for following along the series up until now. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a series. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.